a trash roulette with a winning rate of only 0.001%, tossed in a corner, neglected by everyone, yet I unhesitatingly gambled my entire life to activate it, when everyone thought I was a fool. Suddenly, I saw a flash of golden light. I actually drew the hidden reward, the divine weapon Xin Yuan sword. All because the mission game has arrived. The Fate Roulette Lottery. It became the fastest way to increase combat power. In my past life, I finally obtained. The only golden roulette in the entire server. But I didn't expect to be targeted by the aristocratic families. Under their full-on siege, I could only fight desperately. I spent a million years of life to draw this refined roulette. But I didn't expect to skip 99% of the positive effects. I drew a mysterious crisis with only a 0. 12% chance, just when I thought my life was over. When I opened my eyes again, I found myself back on the 21st day of the apocalypse. However, I wasn't the least bit happy about being reborn, I couldn't help but curse. Because at this moment, I had just spent 60 years of life to engrave 60 white roulettes. Although I drew two top tier items, a life sword and a longevity pill. Only then could I follow the lottery rules. All non-attribute rewards drawn must be surrendered. At a critical moment, I performed a miraculous switch thanks to two and a half years of speed training. I hid the longevity pill on my cousin, not realizing she was a brainless fan. She sold me out for her brother. Now, with nothing to my name and only level zero, I had just one year and 184 days of life left, and only one path ahead. I decided to gamble with this last year of life, squatting in front of the lottery box. Back then, I drew seven days of all attributes from one of these white roulettes. I fought hard to turn my fortunes around, and now I am confident I can find it and rise again. But as my right hand touched one of the roulettes, a cold prompt suddenly echoed in my mind, please specify the price you want. One cup of soil, two pounds of scrap iron, three global bragging licenses, for magic sound mice, ten yellow longevity pills. I directly specified my choice. If I could really choose, I could at least determine my fate. As long as I draw something that can't be surrendered to the settlement, it should be fine. I've made my choice. Just this potion, with some impatience, I turned a page and simply consumed the longevity pill, yet I still resigned myself to fate. The white roulette in my hand had only one positive effect, consuming the yellow longevity pill could increase my life by a hundred years, with a probability of 1. 3%. I remained expressionless upon hearing this, silently thinking I'll choose. The next moment, the roulette flashed white light, and I received the message, congratulations, you won the blood fiery red snake. The lottery had just ended. I quickly threw the roulette away. A small teleportation portal suddenly appeared. I saw Xia Chang's expressionless face as he casually drew his sword. In a flash, the blood fiery red snake was cut in half at its midsection. Now, enjoy your last few days, he said. His words were clearly directed at me. Although I had half a year left, without food, I couldn't last even half a month. However, this time, I truly ignored him. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. You may choose an additional item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. Not only can I actually choose a reward, but there's also an additional hidden reward? Could the core of the mysterious crisis actually be this? As for why the blood fiery red snake is the grand prize, only I know. This time, I quickly looked at the hidden reward that appeared before me, a 30 centimeters tall yikili figurine, two tang swords, three barrels of old style red braised beef noodles, and a box. For all attributes plus seven for five days, Five yellow longevity pills multiplied by two. Five options, all outside the roulette, and all positive rewards. It makes sense, if the hidden rewards were on the roulette. Then it wouldn't be hidden at all, everyone would see it once drawn. Now, I can only choose what others can't see. I chose four, silently thinking to myself. A warm current quickly flowed into my body, finally dissolving the overwhelming hunger I felt after being reborn. Severe hunger can't be solved with just one meal. Can I have the corpse of that blood fiery red snake? But this is the blood fiery red snake, its meat has strong fire poison. How could you be so hungry? Just take it if you want, dying from the poison would save you from starving. Thanks for cutting in, Zhe Chang waved his hand, not paying it any mind. Wu Xian, who came with me, quickly shouted. I'll cut in and draw until I die. Do you think this is a lottery? You could lose your life. Zhe Chang was clearly impatient. After all, I don't have many years left to live. Just draw and get lost. I still have seven years of life left, trading it for six unconscious. Clearly, I was preparing to go all in. Do as you wish. Next, congratulations on winning. A damaged antique phone, three iron wires, a screaming machine, a signed photo of Cohen Cohen, and a Bawangwa demon. Unconscious's expression darkened from the moment the answer was given. But when the reward from the sixth roulette appeared, damn, here we go again. 
Jia Cheng casually swung his sword, cutting the flower demon in half. I stepped forward and picked up the corpse. You can eat this too. I have no choice, I'm really starving. Jia Cheng wanted to hurry everyone along, but at that moment, a woman in red stepped out of a nearby vehicle. Originally slightly angry, Jia Cheng couldn't care less and immediately put on a big smile. Little Jia Cheng welcomes Miss Lu's grand arrival. The woman waved her hand nonchalantly, hearing only the word Lu. I instinctively looked up, and upon recognizing her, a flash of killing intent crossed my eyes. It was indeed her. Miss Lu Xinyu. So now, whether to draw or face Lu Xingyu, Xia Cheng's tone instantly shifted to that of a subservient family member. Though the Lu family isn't the sole ruler, their ability to concoct longevity pills has already secured their undefeated position in the early apocalypse. Let's get started when you're ready. Hearing his flattery, Lu Xingyu remained expressionless. Don't worry, there won't be any issues. Even if something damp comes out, I can manage the lottery area properly. With the plan set, Lu Xingyu suddenly shouted, Shut your crow's mouth. Even so, his face remained expressionless, the epitome of an icy beauty. All right, all right, Jia Cheng said, sweating profusely. Meanwhile, the stars retreated to the side, signaling their subordinates to prepare for defense. Lu Xingyu then retracted his gaze, and as the light from his fingertips flashed, a purple roulette appeared in his hand. Wu Xian in the back was curious, staring intently over there. After all, having fallen into the realm of fate, he had never seen the purple roulette draw. I was huddled under the steps, fiddling with the items in my hands. Perhaps the purple roulette's lottery was relatively eye-catching, and no one noticed your inconspicuous little figure. Luxinyu took a deep breath, then to eliminate the imminent danger, tilted the surface of the roulette outward and made a sound as he pulled. In the next moment, the flowing purple light swiftly swept across the roulette, one prize after another. Congratulations on winning the prize, level 5 ferocious beast, the scale armor C is cursed. The moment the award was determined, Luxinyu immediately jumped back a step, although wearing high heels, but his movements are not hindered at all. Less than half a second. The distance has already opened up to more than 10 meters. At this moment, a portal opened in front of the purple roulette, and a giant pheasant, towering 2 meters high, suddenly appeared from within, breathing in the air at that instant. The diamond-shaped shell suddenly opened, and a silent strange scream immediately spread. It was a type of high-frequency infrasound that wouldn't be deadly, but the urge to feel dizzy and vomit was unavoidable. The defense line arranged by the binding agent was controlled in this instant. Moment next moment. Lin Jiahai calls the antenna on the top of his head. Two water arrows shot out in the blink of an eye. A dish. Penetrated defense works that are 30 to 40 centimeters thick. And another way. Directly penetrated the heads of his nearby colleagues. Ali Cha Cheng Ji exploded with a lotus birth, and in the next moment, grabbed a long spear from beside him and threw it fiercely. Lin Jiahai said he originally wanted to kill more wild animals, but that long spear that shot over. Yet it made him feel the danger to his life had to quickly close the diamond shell to form a defensive platform. All of this happened in an instant. The spear made by Jia Qingji clanged as it pierced the shell of the armored clam. The tail of the spear trembled for a while before settling down, but considering the depth of the penetration, it didn't break through the defense at all. However, it seems that the city of Jia does not expect to take the opponent away with a single shot. A command was also issued immediately, and the sound of military crossbow cavalry shooting, with dozens of crossbow arrows shooting towards the armored clam. A soft sound, the hard shell of the armored clam split a small piece due to simultaneously enduring multiple attacks, there's a chance to come again for another round. But before the subordinates could load their guns, the meteor shower occurred. Wait, try to preserve the integrity of the shell as much as possible, the soft tissue inside must not be damaged. Hearing this request, Joe almost cursed directly due to his poor performance, but he couldn't refuse, he just thought that this woman was probably after the materials on Lin Jia Haicheng. The outer shell is made of excellent material for crafting shields, after all, the Lu family still has a qi refining master. But this is a hundred year lottery zone, facing a level 5 fierce beast, it's already good to survive, and there are so many demands. Aiming at that gap, the mounted archers are all tense, daring to be angry but not able to speak, yet treating us like sharpshooters. Who knows that in this gap, the spirit armor see suddenly opened the spirit armor again, letting out a strange cry, and the second sound wave instantly brought about a state of stagnation and dizziness. The city machine people are all messed up, it's all the fault of the women in this city, this wave is definitely going to lose a few more subordinates, Ling Jiahai said, this time belongs to the emergency shell opening, the emitted subsonic wave frequency is fast enough, but the duration is insufficient. The distance of propagation is limited, about 15 meters at most. This distance is just enough to not reach the rear where I am located. 
At the moment the armored clam opened its shell, a pebble, with a bullet-like whistling sound, swept past the defensive formation of the city of Jia and directly hit the armored clam, causing the two-meter-high clam to sway and nearly fall. Xia Changji saw a favorable situation arise, grabbed the long spear behind him and threw it out, resulting in a long series of sounds, the level 5 ferocious beast was killed on the spot. Xia Qingji breathed a sigh of relief, ordered his subordinates to go and dismember the corpse of Lin Jia Haichen, and then had the time to turn around and look for the boyfriend of the stone from earlier. But following the trajectory of the stone flying, and with me holding a slingshot, the people of Jia City were stunned, that stone couldn't have been shot out by the slingshot in my hand, right? I, however, confessed without being prompted, realizing I was wrong, the verification just now was merely a moment of novelty. When I spoke, I even pretended to have an innocent look on my face, and my words even carried a sense of being willing to let it go. But in the eyes of the chronicles of Jia City, this is simply a flashy display of arrogance. However, before he could speak, Lu Xinyu next to him suddenly interrupted and asked, What's going on with the slingshot in your hand? His first thought was that it came from the roulette. Hearing this question, I swore in my heart, secretly giving myself a title. Why did I choose to show off at this moment? Isn't it just to attract Lu Xinyu's attention? Why did I have to draw the fierce blood red snake in the first place? It was also for this moment. Lu Xinyu is here. What I aim for is to extract the century-old purple roulette, and this coincides exactly with what I heard in my previous life. In order to extract a higher-level purple longevity pill formula, Lu Xinyu spent a hundred years of life, but unexpectedly drew a level 5 ferocious beast where the northwest lottery area. I bet right, but even if I bet wrong, there is still a way out, after all, the corpse of the blood-splitting red snake is a good thing. I think the essence of this snake is very elastic, so I pulled it out to try it. When I said this, I was gambling once again, I couldn't be too straightforward, thus exposing myself. So I can only read. Look Sinyu is not a stupid girl. The handle of the slingshot is probably the pain of 80,000 floral wastes. Upon hearing his question, a trace of barely perceptible excitement flashed in my eyes. Did I hit the jackpot by getting materials on the spot? I truly spoke honestly about this, after all, who could have predicted that Wuxin would draw six times in a row and even get an 80,000 flower waste? Moreover, even without the pain of 80,000 flower wastes, just using your hands to pull and play can still unleash the capabilities of the fierce blood red snake's essence. After hearing my explanation, the meteor shower pondered for a moment, then said in an authoritative tone, Slingshot, show me. I feel a bit helpless, but I can only move forward. This power dances, the meteor shower has not fallen silent. So that everyone present heard the sound of the slingshot and couldn't help but widen their eyes, it really was that slingshot. Unintentionally stunned, this Chen Chen actually has hidden skills. What is your name, after the shock? The tone of the meteor shower has obviously slowed down a bit. Chen Chen, I have no hidden intentions. With the capabilities of the Lu family, it's possible to find my information, but it's all in conversation. Sure enough, after hearing this name, Look Xinyu's tone immediately changed slightly. Bring the throne to you originally. It seems that in those 62 consecutive draws, you still have something hidden, right? I heard this but only lowered my head and did not speak, because at this moment, anything I said would be superfluous. What lay before me was even a dead end, which was the lingering threat from the Lu family, who could directly kill me. However, even so, I still have a backup plan, but I'm not foolish enough to throw myself into a trap knowing it's a dead end. I would choose this way for only one reason, Lu Xinyu's actions have led me to a conclusion that the Lu family is not united. Many things are not as I think they are. Otherwise, this person with the surname Lu has clearly already become an alchemist, so why waste another hundred years of life to obtain a purple longevity pill formula? From any angle, this hundred years of life should not be used to extract the pill formula for the Lu family. It seems that my white-eyed wolf sister is not that extremely foolish, Various incidents indicate that the matter may not have truly fallen into the hands of the Lu family. The silence lasted for about half a minute. Unlike Lu Xingyu's situation, everyone else was thinking, after all this time, he turned out to be Chen Chen. Fate plays tricks on people. At this moment, Lu Xingyu seems to weigh his words, then looks at me, Chen Chen, you probably don't even have a year left to live, do you know I can make you live? I heard this and my heart was filled with murderous intent again, but on the surface, I only let out a deep breath. Really, Lu Xinyu didn't have any intention of making a promise, it's up to you whether you believe it or not. If you want to live, come with me. Say it. He turned around and was about to leave. This change in the situation has made many people look at me with some envy. After all, being connected to the Lu family, although I may not know great wealth and nobility, at least in this apocalypse, I can at least eat enough and stay warm. Can you return the slingshot to me? I will catch up in a few steps. 
tentatively asked Lu Xinyu ahead, when Yen did not reply, only casually tossed the slingshot behind him. I know that although I have survived the hunger crisis and have the external reward choice, the most awkward thing now is that I have no life to draw from, only half a year left, and I can't even draw a piece of the white roulette. It is said that a general finds it difficult to fight a battle without troops, so I can only submit to my enemies and first rid myself of the title of the city's doomed before making further plans. Driving to the Junjiang defense area, the meteor shower vehicle sped through the broken walls and ruins, traveling for a full half hour before reaching the destination he mentioned, the Junjiang defense area. This is the defense area managed by my Lu family. From today on, you will stay here, and I will take you to the guard team. If you are still alive after three days, I will give you a longevity pill. After saying this, the meteor shower left, leaving behind the subordinate who was originally sitting in the passenger seat. Wu Cho, I slightly raised my eyes and thought to myself, do you want me to demonstrate my value? That aligns quite well with my own plans. If you want to use me, then I will play along. Corrupting from the inside is much simpler than attacking from the outside. Just wait, everything you have taken away, I will eventually reclaim. That afternoon in autumn reminded me, after walking for about three minutes, a dilapidated building that had already been destroyed by 30% appeared before my eyes. Fortunately, the main structure of the building was still intact, so it wouldn't collapse. At noon in autumn, I stepped forward a few paces and gently pushed open the door to the first floor. Miss Hao Zhao asked me to bring someone over, but all I could respond with were bursts of inappropriate interjections. I suddenly felt embarrassed and scratched the tip of my nose, this guy has disrupted someone else's good deed. But Muccio twitched the corner of his mouth, followed by a reprimand, luckily you damn came out for me. Behind the old screen, Hao Zhao only felt a chill all over, almost leaving a shadow, sighing as he came. Arrived, Hao Zhao didn't even have time to fasten his belt, and with just a few steps, he hurried to the front, the matter made his small brain shrink even more. Old Xiao covers his face like frost, I let you lead the team to watch this defense area, and this is how you watch it, I will punish you with two days of meals, if you dare to offend again. Hao Zhaolin opened his mouth but could only lower his head with a face, he is the boss. Wu Chou's expression also softened a bit, then he turned his head towards the door and said, you can come in, whoever you are. I know it's calling myself, turning around and walking into the room, this person is the young lady I was brought here with, from now on just keep him in the Junjiang defense area, you can find any place for him, I'll leave first, all along, I have been silent beside. But that good invitation seems to have come from that Miss Wu Chou, letting me know what the gift I brought is resolved. With a slight turn of the eyeball, little brother, what is your name? Upon hearing this sentence, how could I, who have lived two lives, not understand? Lu Yichuan turned out to be Brother Chen, so from now on I'll call you Brother Chuan, and you can see my pretentious demeanor. Good tricks make one's own guesses more certain, he he, Brother Chuan, I didn't expect you to actually catch the attention of that woman from the meteor shower, not simple at all. Don't think too much, I'll call you Brother Chow, the person has already thought crookedly by themselves, it's very reasonable for me to borrow the donkey going down the slope, hey no problem. Hao Zhao was speaking when a woman suddenly peeked out from behind the screen, weakly calling out a greeting. Captain, wait a moment. Hao Zhao's expression turned cold, didn't you see I'm busy? Go play by yourself over there. Then he put on a smile again, Brother Chuan, the smell in my room isn't very good. The two of them came outside, and for the next few minutes, Hao Zhao introduced to me, in as few words as possible, the various things that happened after the Doomsday game arrived on Earth. I already knew everything he was saying, but I still patiently listened. The Doomsday game has descended upon Earth for 21 days now. Early mutations caused plants and animals to mutate into ferocious beasts, rampaging everywhere. Make countries around the world no longer countries. According to later statistics, within just a few hours, the global population's death and injury rate reached 37%, which is nearly 3 billion people. Humanity struggled for seven days before the population was reduced by nearly another billion. Finally figured out the rules of the new world. This is a game. Using the concept of the apocalypse. Taking survival as the goal. All humanity is for players. Mutated plants and animals are NPCs. The core rule is the command roulette. There are no so-called levels. Killing monsters will produce fire. The main storyline is an unclear official position. And the server is Earth. Later, players referred to it as force of fate, and although the rules have been figured out. However, the initial impact shattered the existing social organizations, forcing humanity to form settlements scattered across various corners of the globe. Sharp decrease in population. Productivity closely follows and drops to a halt. Data-driven world. Moreover, it has rendered many research activities meaningless. Humanity is forced to return to primitivism, airplanes and tanks are not without productivity. 
Using up existing ammunition means losing one round, and it won't be used unless dealing with large-scale dampness. However, after many players have leveled up, people also realize that life brings not only disasters but also endless opportunities. After reaching a certain level, an individual's ability to cause damage to ferocious beasts can even far exceed that of hot weapons. A society belonging to the strong is thus born. And all of this is fixed on the twelfth day of the arrival of fate. Nine days ago, I pretended not to understand and asked in surprise. Yes, in just 21 days, this world has completely changed. Good tricks side, and only players like him, who found a way in the early stages, can say that. Only then do you have the qualification to feel compassion for the world. The status of the Lu family is also established in the Nine Heavens, in the area south of the Jiangnan settlement, which is Suicheng, considered a second-tier power. However, with the life-saving sword and the longevity pill formula entering the first tier, it is only a matter of time. Upon hearing these two, I felt an unnatural itching sensation in my teeth. When did you become a formal player, Brother Chow? The most special thing about the game of life is that, not everyone can become a formal player. The process has a bit of a survival of the fittest feeling. With good luck, Hao Zhao talks about luck, but in reality, he is full of self-satisfaction. Recently, our defense area experienced a small-scale moisture issue, and coincidentally, a life card was brushed out. The fate card is, I once again pretended to be Xiao Bai, oh you see, I almost forgot to tell you, the so-called fate card, also known as the receiving fate card. You can understand it as fate, this game has a network access license in the roulette, and you can also get it by defeating monsters. Next, under Hao Zhao's introduction, I was forced to review the basics of the mission card. In short, only those who have obtained a life card are official players, killing monsters allows them to level up and become stronger. Of course, the function goes far beyond this, such as cross-region forum transactions and so on. In short, it is about life, everything is based on the life card. Currently, Hao Zhao has reached level 4, making him the highest ranked person in the entire defense zone. Alright, Brother Chuan, let me take you to find a place to stay first. After that, if we have the chance, we can go outside the defense zone and see if we can break through the limits of life. One person speaks and one person reasons, one is taking the misunderstanding to the end, while the other donkey on the slope is about to fall into the basin. Finally, I chose a hotel room before the end of the world. I sat down on the dusty sofa, and after the rebirth, that somewhat restless mood finally eased. To extend my life, I first need to find these two things. I murmured as I fell, reaching out to lightly tap the attribute panel in the void, Looking at my skills returning to the state before liberation, I shook my head helplessly. That's it, sleep a bit, everything is in dreams. Just as I fell asleep, a death-like alarm made me red-eyed. My son, you ancestors, I roared in anger, and could only turn over and sit up. But no matter what, I am someone who has lived in the border defense zone in my previous life, even with red eyes, I can only walk out of the door. In no time, there were already hundreds of people gathered in front of the fence, on a deliberately piled high heap of rubble, all listening attentively as a lookout stood on top, saying that radar detected a group of fierce beasts gathered 500 meters upstream. The magnitude is about 30% in the white damp area, and the end point of the unexpected path is our defense zone. The white dampness means that the number of ferocious beasts is below 500, and 30% also means more than 100. The level of the head should be level 1 to 3, all swimming in the water, simple, a man's voice came from the watchtower. Brothers, did you hear that? Everyone get energized, we might get an extra meal tonight. It's confirmed the level of this fierce beast, and a good move is to leap down from the stone pile. Team 1 of the power cut, come with me outside, the rest clean up the gaps, the construction of the electrical grid in the housing area is not easy, unless it is an unstoppable beast group, otherwise most of the defense areas choose to pull the front line outside the protective net. The sound of the flowing current just stopped, and then Jabian leaned forward and jumped out of the protective net first, drawing the long knife from his waist, readying the small team, and the logistics brothers, get the seafood pot boiling for me. I didn't jump out impulsively, I was holding onto a steel bar from the outside, using it for leverage to fling myself onto a pile of rubble about 5 meters high. Although I have a temporary extension of all attributes, without weapons it is like fighting a fierce beast in close combat, no different from running barefoot on a road full of steel nails. At this moment, the long knife in Hao Zhao's hand had already severed a giant creature emerging from the water in two, marking the official start of the conflict between the defense zone and the beast herd. The reason why the Junjiang defense area has the word Junjiang is precisely because less than 5 meters away from the perimeter of the defense area is the largest river in Suicheng, the Suijiang. Since the fate descended, Suijiang has become the main channel for aquatic ferocious beasts to invade the inland. The attack power of the good moves is sufficient to seriously injure or even directly kill them, but when the numbers increase, 
he is also overwhelmed. Fortunately, the butcher squad quickly rushed to provide support. All kinds of attack methods should be available. The only one who suffered a good beating is the ancient style flying fish. Hao Chun, standing at the front lines, certainly heard the shout, but before he could react, a stone shot through the air and knocked the bone winged flying fish to the ground. It flopped a couple of times before going completely still. Instant kill. An absolute instant kill. What the hell? Who did that? No way. That fish didn't even fly three meters before it was done for. Struck by lightning? Dude. It's a clear day. What the members of the defense zones guard team didn't expect was that the bone-winged flying fish was just the beginning. After that, more and more ferocious beasts that had come ashore inexplicably dropped dead on their way to the defense zone. Even the crab-like beasts known for their defenses couldn't withstand a single blow. Finally, a stone? Holy crap, it's a stone. The member who recognized the weapon turned his head instinctively toward Chen Chen's direction after his shout. He had witnessed Chen Chen climbing up the building before the battle began. No way, it really is him? The two shocked exclamations finally drew many people's attention to a boy holding a slingshot within the defense zone. Stone after stone shot out from that slingshot, each landing spot incredibly precise. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say he never missed. What he's holding? A slingshot? Suddenly, this machete in my hand doesn't feel so great. By the way, who exactly is he? Who knows? Could he be a scattered player who just found a team? Hao Chen was also taken aback. But this only deepened his self-awareness. No wonder Miss Liu has her eyes on him. He then shouted loudly. Ha ha ha, our sniper is in position. Brothers, charge in. Oh, what does it feel like to have a sniper on our side? There's absolutely no need to worry. At the beginning of the life-eating event, most players were focused on close combat. It wasn't that they didn't want to play ranged, but there was simply no option. There were plenty of ranged firearms for humans, but cold weapons, bows, crossbows, javelins, compared to swords and spears, these ranged cold weapons had long become a thing of the past, with only those used in sports remaining. But just bows, no one would produce a large number of arrows to stockpile in a warehouse. Furthermore, the lethality of bows and crossbows mainly comes from the bow's tension and the string's elasticity, even if players maxed out their strength attributes upon leveling up, the power wouldn't increase much, unless it was a weapon drawn from the roulette or dropped after killing a ferocious beast. As for javelins, while their lethality depends on strength, they are similar to arrows, no one would produce a large number of them. This is also why Chen Chen chose to use a slingshot, in the early stages where ranged professions were lacking. The impact of this slingshot was definitely not small. The ferocious beasts attacking the defense zone were not mindless. After realizing that most of their comrades had met untimely ends, retreat became inevitable. The ferocious horde, which had charged fiercely, was defeated in less than 10 minutes. But without Chen Chen, this small-scale beast tide would have continued for at least another hour, possibly resulting in casualties. Clear the battlefield, bring all the bodies in, and check for roulette and life cards. After confirming that the ferocious beasts had retreated, Hao Chen immediately shouted, Captain Hao, we found a white roulette here. I have one here too. He he, there's one here as well. The drop rate isn't low. After tallying up, the 84 ferocious beasts killed yielded a total of 9 white roulettes, 7 iron swords, 5 large knives, and a bucket of coins. The roulettes and weapons were stored together, while the bucket of coins was tossed aside. Chen Chen leaped down from the ruins instantly becoming the center of everyone's attention. After all, his slingshot was beyond everyone's imagination. Hey buddy, what's up with that slingshot of yours? Yeah, yeah, that thing shoots out a little cutie with every shot. It's so cool. Did you draw it from the roulette? Chen Chen was overwhelmed by the questions. But in the end, Hao Chen pushed through the crowd to help him out, while also expressing some regret. Brother Chuan, what a pity. No life card came out. It's fine. Just let it be. But there are two high-quality white roulettes in here. Why don't you pick one? The roulettes produced by the defense zone's guards, after deducting a portion for submission, could be freely distributed. And given Chen Chen's achievements, it was completely reasonable for him to get one. The crowd clearly had no objections. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen didn't plan to be polite. But unfortunately, a glance revealed that neither of the roulettes had the longevity pill option he needed. The other rewards were all optional. Everything's pretty average. What about the other roulettes? Can I take a look at those two? Hao Chen was slightly taken aback. Brother Chuan, besides these two, 
there's only one medium quality and six low quality left, and the odds of winning aren't high. That's okay, just let me see. All right then, bring over the remaining roulettes, with Hao Chen's command. The remaining seven roulettes were quickly laid out in front of Chun Chen, one medium quality and six low quality. The latter would likely be tossed into various lottery zones for the life-eating maggots to draw from, since the odds of winning were low, and drawing recklessly could easily lead to trouble. Chen Chen took a quick glance. Ha! Huh? Space ring! On that medium quality roulette, there was indeed such an option. Hey! That's such a small chance. Less than 1%. If you draw it, it would be a miracle. That's true. Chen Chen! Hearing this, couldn't be bothered to refute how Chen's words and continued to check on his own. Unfortunately, as a hard currency in life eating, the longevity pill option didn't appear easily on the remaining six roulettes. The best reward was just one pill for all ailments. As the name suggests, it was a pill for curing diseases. Of course, that was just on the surface. I'll take this one. Chen Chen pointed to the only low quality roulette with the positive option of refined iron spear. Ha! Huh? How Chen was clearly puzzled. Are you sure, brother? Don't even mention whether you can draw it or not. Even if you do, this broken iron spear can't be better than your slingshot, right? I'm sure. Ah, this. How Chen was at a loss, but he had no reason to refuse, after all. It was just a low quality roulette, which had no value at all. All right, if you insist on choosing this one, then I'll give you the medium quality one too. Won't that make it hard for you? Chen Chen asked. Somewhat surprised, in his past life, he had no interactions with the subordinates of the Lu family, so he hadn't heard much about Hao Chen's character. Hey, what's the big deal? Just a bunch of white roulettes. None of them have high quality options. Even if I drew all of them, no one would say anything. Then I guess I won't be modest? Take it. Take it. Chen Chen wouldn't be polite. Just because they couldn't draw it didn't mean he couldn't. As for the lack of high quality options, that was just something they didn't know. Even though he currently had no lifespan to draw from, but he couldn't just wait until he had rice and then have no pot to cook it in, right? By the way, Brother Chuan, what's up with that slingshot of yours? After distributing the spoils, Hao Chen finally asked the question everyone present was eager to hear. Did you also draw it from the roulette? Sort of. Chen Chen smiled faintly, but Hao Chen was confused. What do you mean sort of? The materials all came from the roulette. Chen Chen had no intention of hiding anything since Lu Sinyu had this behavior. She was definitely the type who wouldn't give up until she saw results, so he had to let her get a taste of success. Simply put, it's the snake tendons of the blood fiery red snake, combined with the roots of the Ba Wan flower demon, tied together. And that's it. Everyone was momentarily stunned. Is that it? What else could it be? But, how did you know? Hao Chen's question clearly implied. How do you know about this kind of operation? However, Chen Chen just smiled and said nothing. He simply bypassed him and walked over to the pile of beast corpses that the defense team had brought in. After pondering for a moment in front of the crowd, he pulled out a relatively intact crab from within. With ease, he broke off one of its giant claws and, after a bit of manipulation, tossed it to Hao Chen. Take a look. At first, Hao Chen was completely bewildered. But the next moment, an attribute panel popped up. Rough Iron Claw Crab Fist, a hastily made gauntlet. Strength plus 5, level requirement, level 1. Craftsmanship, white, rough. Holy crap, this is, Houchin couldn't help but twitch his mouth, this was a bit outrageous. With a snap and a twist, he turned it into a fist gauntlet? As for the rough part, of course, it was rough, it was directly broken off from a beast and just fiddled with a bit, how could it not be rough? But that wasn't the main point. The main point was, how did Chen Chen know? Bro, where did you learn all this? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen shook his head. Everyone has their secrets, you might as well not ask. Xiao Gu. Not sharing knowledge doesn't mean being selfless, everything he knew came from his past life experiences. If he revealed it all, what advantage would he have left? Alright then, in fact, Hao Chen wasn't prepared to press the issue, it was just a casual question. Whether Chen Chen answered or not, he wouldn't lose anything. However, he quickly shifted to a secondary question, so, how many useful materials are there on these beasts? Quite a few, actually. Chen Chen raised an eyebrow, but Xiao Gu, you can't expect me to showcase everything in public, right? If I did that, secrets would no longer be secrets. Hearing this, Hao Chun could only feel helpless.
He wasn't stupid, at this moment, he finally understood why Lu Xinyu valued Chen Chen. If he were in Lu Xinyu's position, he would do the same. This was also where Chen Chen felt fearless. All the knowledge was in his head, could it be stolen? No wonder it said, the power of knowledge is limitless. Hao Chen took a deep breath and said, how about this? Brother Chuan, I'll find you a place. You handle the beast corpses, and I just want the final results. How does that sound? He did not change his attitude towards Chen Chen because of the facts. Whether based on Lu Xinyu or Chen Chen's abilities, his attitude was entirely justified. Even if the Lu family came to inquire, his approach would still be acceptable. Sure, with Hao Chen already making concessions, Chen Chen had no reason to refuse. Not long after, all the beast corpses were transported to the Junjiang defense area, in the best environment that resembled a logistics warehouse before the apocalypse. Although this wasn't a strict requirement, it was certainly better than a dirty and chaotic place. After that, Chen Shen requested time to process the corpses and directly closed the door. Then, he fell asleep an hour later, outside the door. Do you think we'll still get to enjoy our seafood feast tonight? You ask us. Who do we ask? On the other side, Hao Chen reported everything about Chen Chen to Wu Qiu, and after some twists and turns, it eventually reached Lu Xinyu's ears. Lu Family Mansion. After listening to Wu Qiu's report, a strange smile appeared on Lu Xinyu's otherwise calm face. This Chen Chen must have drawn something during the last lottery, that's why he knows so much about the materials on the beasts. Miss, what should we do? What to do? After a brief silence, Lu Xinyu clasped her hands together and said lightly, Unless we can find a way to dig those things out of his head, we can only cooperate. Keep a close eye on the family's recent roulette. Once there are relevant options, you must get them for me. Understood. After Wu Qiu responded, he exited Lu Xinyu's room. Once he left, Lu Xinyu slowly raised his hand to support his chin, gently stroking his right cheek with his long, jade-like fingers. In the end, the ancient well-like calmness in his eyes revealed a trace of incomprehensible sorrow. Will there really be such a thing? Junjiang defense zone. Late at night, the boy, finally willing to wake up, took a moment to collect himself, sat up, and took a deep breath. Still alive. Still here. Not a dream. It takes time for a person to accept an incomprehensible reality. After sitting up, Chen Chen did not forget the main task. Among the 84 ferocious beasts, almost none were useless, after all. Those that could actively attack human defense zones were not good creatures, and they all had some materials on them. To help him better dismember the beasts, Hao Chen had also prepared several blades of varying sizes. Quite thoughtful. Although he could tear them apart with brute force, this method of violent disassembly was not suitable for all situations. At least when separating useful flesh and blood, sharp blades were needed for assistance. Unfortunately, they all live in water. The materials are still insufficient to refine the longevity pill. In his previous life, Chen Chen had obtained another recipe for the longevity pill and naturally knew the listed ingredients, otherwise, it would have been difficult for him to gather a million years of lifespan. It was also then that he understood that several herbs on the recipe had to be bound with blood to fully manifest, and only the holder could see them. Unfortunately, it was meaningless to regret at that time. Forget it, let's collect some first, I'll find a way for the rest later. Roar, lucky, even this is here. Materials for the purple longevity pill. Unfortunately, the level is a bit low. With 84 ferocious beasts, each had usable materials. So the entire disassembly work continued until the next morning. When a ray of sunlight broke through the gap and entered, Chen Shan stretched lazily. Hey, finally done. Not long after, Kala, the door of the logistics warehouse was pushed open a crack from the inside and the dazzling sunlight made Chen Chen's eyes a bit dazed, but it was quickly blocked. Brother Chuan, did you finish? You, my name is Dong Fan Yen Yen, if it's too much trouble, just call me Sanhua. You, or you can call me Zio Yanzi? You're blocking my sunlight. Ah, 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 sorry, sorry. Dong Fan Yen Yen quickly stepped aside, unaware that a trace of nostalgia appeared in Chen Chen's eyes. This Zio Yanzi was originally part of the Lu family's guard? It was clear that he had been so familiar from the start. That's right, this Dong Fan Yen Yen. Chen Shen knew him, he was a rare friend from his previous life. Unfortunately, he tragically died during a mission in the outer battlefield. In his last life, Chen Shen did not know the reason, only hearing that he seemed to have died an untimely death. Outer battlefield, places outside human settlements, 
the few things that Chun Chen constantly thought about, aside from the Lu family and that white-eyed wolf sister, were few, and this Dong Fan Yen Yen was one of them. However, the meaning of this constant thought was completely different before and after. Besides, I wonder if she is still alive. Thinking of this, Chin Chen couldn't help but shake his head, temporarily putting aside the extra thoughts, if fate had not been severed, they would meet again, and right now, since we meet again by fate, let me make up for the regrets of my past life. With this thought, Chen Chen stepped out of the logistics warehouse, his gaze fixed on where Dong Fan Yen Yen was, Dei Yen Zi, eh, go find Hao Chen, ah, uh, oh, as the sound fell, he turned and walked towards Hao Chen's residence, Dong Fan Yen Yen propped her chin, as if lost in thought, Dei Yen, Dei Yen, oh right, I have so much fire, I should be called Big Yen, can't call me Little Yen, a few minutes later, Hao Chun, sporting dark circles under his eyes, approached with a woman in his arms, her appearance was quite exquisite, and even with some dust on her, her beauty was hard to conceal. In today's world, those at the bottom couldn't afford cosmetics, East Asian sorcery had long since become a thing of the past. Brother Chuan, calling me so early, is there good news? Hao Chen got straight to the point. He had originally planned to wait until Chen Chun produced results, but ultimately succumbed to sleepiness and went back to take a nap in the early hours. Otherwise, his face wouldn't have darkened so much. Of course there's good news, really? Hao Chen instantly perked up, but Chen Chen's next words made him calm down a bit. However, Xiao Gu, if I were you and didn't want to fly far away, I would immediately notify the higher-ups. This, hearing Chen Chen's words, Hao Chen's throat caught for a moment as he thought of a certain possibility, feeling a bit grateful towards the latter. Little brother, Hao Chen swallowed hard, what exactly have you come up with? But Chen Chen avoided the topic, remember to have them bring the longevity pill. Hao Chen hesitated, then chose not to press further. All right, he then reached out and swiped from the side, and a card the size of a mobile phone popped out, unfolding into a window the size of a person. This was one of the functions of the lifespan card, communication. All formal players with a lifespan card could connect to the server of Earth, initiating conversations no matter where they were. It was essentially the equivalent of an online games, world channel. After sending a few messages, Hao Chen closed the chat window, but his curiosity got the better of him. Little brother, can you give me a hint? Seeing his goal achieved, Chen Chen pretended to be helpless and pulled out a piece of fish skin from his pocket. Handing it over, what is this? The skin of a water arrow fish, coated with some blood serum from a magic patterned octopus. Upon hearing this, Hao Chun couldn't help but open the item details. Magic patterned octopus blood serum patch, a patch coated with magic patterned octopus blood serum, for external use, restores 30 points of vitality per second when not fully restored, lasting for 30 seconds, level requirement, level 1, crafting process, white, rough, what the hell? A band-aid? Just as the complaint left his lips, Hao Chen realized, wait, this is unprecedented. The members of the defense team around them exchanged glances. Hao Chun hadn't revealed the item attribute panel, so they only heard band-aid and unprecedented, and their hearts were itching with curiosity. Hao Chen didn't exaggerate. Since the arrival of Devouring Life, there had only been two ways to restore vitality. One was to recover naturally through rest and food after battle and the other was to take medicinal pills. Of course, medicinal pills were only available in the roulette. Therefore, the vast majority of players restored their vitality through eating and resting. Not only was it slow, but during high-intensity battles, there was simply no sustainability. When the beast tide approached, human warriors had to arrange combat teams in advance, taking turns to fight, or it would only lead to increased casualties. The appearance of Chun Chen's band-aid was truly unprecedented. No wonder, no wonder, Hao Chen finally understood that with this thing, he could indeed choose to fly far away, but that also meant betraying the Lu family. However, if he had known about this thing in advance, he might have had to weigh his options. Little brother, you're going to make a fortune this time. Chen Chen merely shrugged at his words. It's hard to say whether this will be profitable or not, because from a specific perspective, his recent actions somewhat imply aiding the enemy, but to achieve the goal. This is a necessary process. The sun rises in the east, casting a golden glow from the sky onto the earth. If it weren't for the unstable situation, this would indeed be a beautiful sight to appreciate. Speaking of which, Xiao Gu, I've been a bit curious since last night. 
What are you collecting that bucket of coins for? You mean that? How Chen's gaze shifted away. But he couldn't help but think, could it be that he even knows the purpose of those iron lumps? Being chosen by Wu Qiu as the captain of the Junjiang Defense Zone meant that Hao Chen's cleverness was absolutely sufficient. Once he realized this, he also understood, Chen Chen was doing it on purpose. Since it was intentional, just a bunch of broken iron lumps, they drop every time we kill a fierce beast. Unfortunately, so far no one knows what they can be used for, we just keep them because they're a nuisance lying around. Can I take a look? What's the big deal? Get someone to bring that bucket of coins over. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen looked at Hao Chen but only smiled. Everything was unspoken. Chen Chen certainly knew what these coins were, but if he had said it yesterday, or before Hao Chun changed his attitude towards him, it wouldn't have been appropriate. Some things don't need too many people to know. Now that it was brought up, wasn't Hao Chen subconsciously helping him cover it up? The reason for this was the earlier band aid that took the lead. Otherwise, it would have been hard to achieve such an effect. In his thoughts, the bucket of coins was already placed in front of Chen Chen. He pretended to be curious and squatted down, taking out one. Interesting, it even has the character time engraved on it. Could it be a commemorative coin for the duration taken to kill a fierce beast? It should be. Hearing Chen Chen's words, Hao Chen quickly cooperated, but this thing, aside from being a bit harder than a regular coin, currently has no other use. Among these coins, Besides time, there are also minute and second, with the latter two being more common, while time is one of the few. But then again, for low-level fierce beasts, getting a time coin is already the limit. Such currency is uniformly referred to as time currency, categorized from high to low as year coin, month coin, day coin, time coin, minute coin, second coin. The exchange system is consistent with the time system. Chen Shan still remembers in his past life. In the early stages of the game, because time currency had almost no place to be used, it was usually overlooked by players, only to regret it when it finally came into use. However, although it's called time currency, it can't actually buy time. Or rather, it can't directly buy time. Its status is similar to that of gold and silver coins in most online games, merely used for transactions, after all, no one can use their lifespan as money to buy things, right? Of course. Longevity pills are an exception. For truly valuable items, longevity pills are always hard currency. If no one wants it, I might as well keep it. It should work well as ammo for a slingshot. Hey, Hao Chen seemed unconcerned. If you don't mind the weight, I still have several buckets. I won't need that many. Chen Chen waved his hand. He wasn't greedy and understood that Hao Chen just wanted to emphasize the useless attribute of time currency in front of everyone. About an hour later. Lu Xinyu's vehicle slowly stopped at the outskirts of the Junjiang defense zone, and two men and a woman got out of the car, exactly the same configuration as when she went to draw lots yesterday. Among the three, Wu Cho took a few more steps than the others and directly approached Hao Chun. You better really have something to discuss, otherwise, you know the consequences. I, I understand. Facing Wu Cho, Hao Chun felt a bit intimidated, not for any other reason but because Wu Qiu represented the Lu family, and he was already an 8th level player, the doubled gap. If he wanted to, Wu Qiu could easily kill him. Not long after, Lu Xinyu also walked over, but unlike before, her eyes were directly locked onto Chen Chen's position. Her red lips slightly parted, this is faster than I expected. Wasn't it said to be 3 days later? Chen Chen chuckled lightly, just got lucky and ran into a small scale beast tide right after arriving. Their conversation seemed mismatched, but from the moment Lu Xinyu spoke, Chen Chen knew that Hao Chen must have reported it, or perhaps others in the defense zone had reported it. So Lu Xinyu knew what Chen Chen was up to, and her goal was to make him demonstrate his value. To use him, faster than expected naturally referred to the speed at which he showcased his value. Seeing that Chen Chen had indirectly exposed her intentions, Lu Xinyu simply became more open. Show it, your value. The young man didn't waste words and directly handed her a blood serum patch of the magic pattern octopus. Lu Xinyu took the patch, still expressionless to the point that Chen Shen thought she was expressionless, but her eyes were shocked and narrowed. The formula for this thing, compared to Hao Chun, Lu Xinyu's thoughts and intentions were evidently more comprehensive. If she could obtain the formula, its value, while not as high as the longevity pill, would still be quite significant. Most games have high values for recovery potions at the beginning of their operation. However, Chen Chen was not that foolish. You know that's impossible. 
Chen Chen said lightly, not waiting for Lu Xinyu to respond before continuing. If I give you the formula, I would have no value left. Would I? He certainly had the formula, if it was just about applying serum on a piece of fish skin. Who couldn't do that? All this knowledge came from a reward he had drawn in his previous life, subjob card asterisk alchemist. Just as his words fell, Chen Chen, Wu Qiu suddenly shouted angrily, please don't forget who gave you the chance to escape the fate of the devouring maggot. But his words undoubtedly touched a sensitive nerve. Then please don't forget who forced me to become a so-called devouring maggot. Do you think I wouldn't dare to kill you? Ha! Try if you can. Lacking confidence, could Chen Chen really speak openly about the grievances between him and the Lu family at this moment? Perhaps he couldn't take revenge yet. But self-preservation was no longer a concern. You, Wu Qiu was about to speak again, but was stopped by Lu Xinyu's angry voice. Enough. She then looked at Chen Chen. If you want something, just say it. I don't have time to waste with you. Longevity pill. Chen Chen's voice was unequivocal. That's impossible. Lu Xinyu's response was equally firm. As the hard currency of devouring life, how could it be so easily traded? Impossible? Then what if I give you a hundred of these patches? Unless it's the formula. Ha! Your Lu family's appetite is always this big. Lu Xinyu merely scoffed at this. It's just that I can't dig everything out of your head. Otherwise, you would have the qualifications to trade with me? This blood serum patch was unique. But without the formula, needing to trade continuously with Chun Chen would make its value far less than the longevity pill. After all, the feeling of being constrained was not pleasant. At this moment, Chen Chen clearly realized this. If the Earth's economy recovered, selling these patches could indeed make him rich. But unfortunately, there were no ifs. He then settled for a compromise. I can't give you the formula, but I have other things. Is that so? Then show your cards. There's one more thing. Lu Xinyu said, looking at the young man, Chen Chen, although my Lu family has taken your things, you need to understand one thing, this world, is a world of the survival of the fittest. Weaklings can never hold on to what doesn't belong to them, nor can they obtain what they desire. She said this, Chen Chen knew it all too well. As long as one's fists aren't strong enough, they will always be bullied. Without the Lu family, there are still the Wang family, the Li family, the Zhou family. This world has never lacked greedy people. After the arrival of Life Devourer, humanity had long been divided into two parts, but not men and women, rather useful people and useless people. Chen Chen, who is not strong enough now, must be useful enough to carve out a path for survival. Just having band-aids is indeed not enough. Stronger medicine is needed. That makes sense. But I'm stubborn and refuse to believe in the evil. As soon as the words left his mouth, a glass bottle was thrown from Chun Chen's hand. It was something he had dug out from the logistics warehouse, containing about a dozen pills. As for what they were, Lu Xinyu took it and lightly tapped it with her finger, then opened its attribute panel. Raging Sea Dispersing Clouds, the raw material is derived from Divine Power Sea Dog, tanned with its blood and flesh mixed with various auxiliary materials. After consumption, it can temporarily increase all attributes by 10 points. Lasting for 12 hours, when consumed again, the duration is 50% of the previous time, level requirement, level 2. Crafting process, white, rough. This, if the previous band-aid had touched Lu Sinu's psychological defenses, this one simply crushed them. Continuous recovery medicine is practical, but it doesn't significantly affect the battle situation, sometimes, no matter how much blood you have, it just delays the inevitable. But this raging sea dispersing clouds is something that can truly change the tide of battle. What exactly did you draw from the roulette? The roulette draw had no sound prompts and wouldn't announce the rewards. Thus, unless it was a tangible reward that appeared out of nowhere, no one knew what anyone had drawn. Chen Chen's situation was even more extreme. Although the 62 white roulettes were all low grade and mid grade, there were still some rare rewards. But the probability was so low that it was outrageous, and no one paid attention. So, Aside from the life-sucking sword and longevity pill recipe, what else had he drawn? No one knew. I think there's no need for me to tell you, right? Lu Xinyu suppressed her anger. You have such an opportunity. Why suffer the torment of that life devourer and end up with less than a year of life left? Yes. Why bother? But some questions, when explained, would only lead to endless discussions. Should I say this is what I drew in my previous life? Good question. Why bother? I just want to. Want. Lu Xinyu's retort got stuck in her throat. 
and she understood the implication behind Chen Chen's words that he didn't want to explain, but there was no other way. Just like her earlier plan, before finding a way to extract what was in Chen Chen's mind, cooperation was the only option, and the method of cooperation always depended on the advantageous party. With the serum patch plus this, I'll trade you a longevity pill. Is that enough? Lu Sinyu let out a slight breath upon hearing this. Some things aren't solely up to me to decide. Just wait. After saying that, Lu Sinyu directly reached out and pulled up a chat window from the side. Clearly, she was also a formal player. A few minutes later, for something like this, three bottles, plus a hundred serum patches, can be exchanged for a white longevity pill. Chen Shen couldn't help but smile sarcastically upon hearing this. You really are asking for a lot, aren't you? I've been very generous. Do you think any other forces besides us would be willing to trade you these things for a longevity pill? Hearing this, Chen Shen felt a bit helpless. Although it was cruel, this was the reality, compared to the Lu family, which had already achieved freedom with longevity pills. Other forces would probably treasure them immensely. Who would be willing to trade them away? Unfortunately, there are indeed no three bottles. You don't have the capital to bargain. Hearing her words, Chen Chen smiled, don't throw in the towel too early, take a look at this first. As he spoke, he pulled out a pill from his pocket and tossed it over like a magician. Lu Sinyu was stunned as she reached out to catch it, but when she saw its properties, she was momentarily dazed. Muscle activation capsule of the golden spear dragonfish, the raw material is derived from the ferocious beast golden spear dragonfish. After consumption, it can temporarily enhance physical attributes. Increasing strength and defense by plus 15, with effects lasting for 8 hours, when consumed again, the duration is 80% of the previous time, level requirement, level 3, production process, white, rough. Although she still maintained a blank expression, her heart was shaken like a thunderclap. Indeed, the Lu family possessed quite a few high-quality roulette items, there were pills that could enhance physical attributes, but without exception, they were all obtained from the roulette. What Chen Chen produced, while not as effective as those drawn from the roulette, seemed to be infinitely producible based on his demeanor. Just like the longevity pill formula, he must have a systematic method for refining. Lu Sin Yu thought with certainty. These were really extracted and produced from a group of ferocious beasts that are all below level 3? Level 3 ferocious beasts might not even have such high attributes, yet after being processed into pills, their effects far exceeded their original capabilities? You can understand it that way. Chen Shen did not confirm or deny her words. The rest was up to Lu Sinyu's own considerations. If it didn't work out, he could only settle for second best. After all, bringing out something with better effects would only harm him. After a while, set a condition. If you make these specifically for my Lu family, we can negotiate how many longevity pills you want. Chen Shen was taken aback, clearly not expecting her to say that. Recruiting an enemy, or rather, Recruiting someone who harbored misgivings about his methods, this was no different from playing with fire. But since she said so, all right, then return the life-sucking sword and the longevity pill formula to me. What are you joking about? Ha, huh, it really wouldn't work, you laughed. Wasn't it you who started the joke first? Lu Sinyu felt helpless, although she hadn't taken the sword and formula, it still felt like she was lifting a rock to smash her own foot. However, at that moment, the capsules just now were at least 20. And considering the one you already have, I'll give you a white longevity pill. If you're still not satisfied, go find someone else. This sentence came from Lu Sinyu's chat window. Clearly, she hadn't completely closed it, and this voice was all too familiar to Chun Chen, the head of the Lu family, Lu Tianyuan. As the head of the family, his authority was not something Lu Sinyu could compare to. Chen Chen knew it would be difficult to negotiate further and could only nod. Okay, Sinyu. Let's trade. Lu Tianyuan didn't even acknowledge Chun Chen, clearly indicating that while his items were useful to the Lu family, they weren't a necessity. Instead, the earlier recruitment seemed to be Lu Tianyuan's intention? Yes, father. With the transaction completed, Chen Chen also gained an additional pill. White longevity pill, a secret pill that can directly increase lifespan. But due to poor craftsmanship, it can only randomly increase lifespan by 1 to 9 years after consumption, level requirement, level 0, production process, white, excellent. Finally, it's in hand, even if it's of inferior quality. All items in life sucking have a production process classification, ranging from low to high is rough, excellent, fine, 
and flawless. On Lu Sinyu's side, as the light flashed between her fingers, everything was collected into her spatial ring. But before leaving, she said to Chen Chen, I heard you're pretty good with a slingshot. There's a family operation tomorrow, if you're not afraid of dying, you can come along. Of course, if you're worried someone might use this against you, you don't have to come. Chen Chen was taken aback, wondering what the Lu family was planning. Were they trying to turn enemies into friends? Interesting, are you going to? Lu Sinyu paused for a moment. Is it important? Of course, for me, if you don't go, won't I just be left with enemies? Saying this, Chen Chen added with a light laugh. Maybe there will be a lot of people when we set off, but by the time we come back, I'll be the only one left. Her expressionless face suddenly smiled, but it was hard to tell if it was a light smile or a cold one. If you can do it, feel free. Ah, uh, Brother Chuan, I didn't expect you. After watching Lu Sinyu's car leave, Hao Chun couldn't help but speak. But before he could finish, Chen Chen laughed and took over. Fate is full of twists, isn't it? Sigh. Hao Chen shook his head. Then reminded, offending the Lu family isn't a wise move. From the very beginning, the conflict has been hard to reconcile. So, they really, he was clearly asking about the life-stealing sword and the longevity pill formula. Chen Chen smiled. The reason I'm here is that Lu Sinyu thinks I still have some use. Otherwise, do you think they would pay attention to a level 0 life-stealing maggot? That. All right. Xiao Gu. I need to go back and prepare for tomorrow. If any fierce beasts attack, Come find me. After saying that, Chen Chen turned and walked back to the logistics warehouse where he dealt with the corpses of fierce beasts without looking back. Hao Chen stood there in a daze until the iron door slammed shut with a bang, and then he suddenly remembered something. Wait a minute. My seafood feast is still with you. Wu Chou had cut off his food supply for two days, and he had to solve his meals himself during this time. But as soon as he finished speaking, a voice of realization rang in his ears. Right. I can't call myself Little Yen. I need to change it to Big Yen. Hao Chun, what the hell? What does it matter to me whether it's big or small? It's my seafood feast. Brother Chuan, open the door. Entering the logistics warehouse, Chen Chen quickly locked the bolt behind him. Privacy and security were the main priorities. Then, in his hand appeared the white longevity pill. From this moment on, my, Chen Chen's, extraordinary life is about to begin. The consumption of the longevity pill didn't involve any special scenes. Once the pill was swallowed, it immediately transformed into a warm current that spread throughout his body. And then, a tribute panel name, Chin Chen level, zero lifespan, one year and 183 days blood chi, 100 slash 100 strength, 1, plus 7, defense. Damn, what a piece of junk. Just one year? If only this thing could be chosen. Originally, Chin Chen planned that if he had more than two years of lifespan, he would draw both of the two roulette pieces he had. Now he could only choose one. Moreover, he didn't even have the option to choose. It can only be you. He took out the medium grade piece from the two roulette pieces from yesterday, which had two positive rewards, space ring and beast repelling incense. The space ring, as the name suggests, is for storage. The beast repelling incense is used to drive away fierce beasts in the outer battlefield. And since it's a roulette product, there hasn't been any case of it failing so far. However, for Chen Chen, the most urgent need right now was still the space ring. After all, the fierce beast products he made were rare items, and no matter how many pockets he had, it wouldn't be enough to hold them, having a space ring would be perfect. After holding up the roulette, please specify the prize you want. 1. Cold 2. Small scale locust plague 3. Blind for 3 days 4. Lifespan reduced by 3 days. 9. Space Ring 10. Beast Repelling Incense The familiar designated prompt sound indeed came again. I choose. 9. Not long after the thought settled in Chen Chen's mind, a plain-looking ring appeared on his right index finger. Ah, the year of lifespan I just gained is already gone. But the next moment, Chen Chen suddenly reacted. The Space Ring isn't the grand prize? The Beast Repelling Incense is? What a miscalculation. Damn. But now that it had come to this, he was powerless. Fortunately, he still had 183 days of lifespan left, in this half a year. He could surely obtain another longevity pill. Let's take it one step at a time. I want to see what the Lu family is up to. In his previous life, Chen Chen had been eager to seek an explanation from the Lu family. But while focusing on improving himself, he had overlooked the other party's growth. If he had known he would be reborn, 
he would have paid more attention. Lou family mansion. Backyard. Father, why do you want me to invite him along? He he, Sinyu, I know you want to extract his value, but don't you think that a life and death crisis is more likely to force a person's abilities out? The two in conversation were none other than Lu Tianyuan, the head of the Lu family, and his youngest daughter, Lu Sinyu. Are you suggesting? Just watch. The benefits in my Lu family's hands aren't so easy to take. As the father and daughter spoke, Dad, a young man suddenly walked in, but was met with a reprimand, How many times have I told you to call me father? The young man cleared his throat. F father. What is it? It's, it's like this. Father, the Qin family from Qincheng wants to cooperate with us tomorrow. They also have targets on the outer battlefield and are willing to share 30% of the spoils. Lu Tianyuan frowned slightly upon hearing this, 30%? Is that the Qin family that is engaged to the swordsman M O Y? Yes, he's among the people we're traveling with. When Lu Yunlu said this, there was a hint of jealousy and resentment in his eyes. He didn't think he was much worse than that Qin fellow. All right, but we need to find an opportunity to deal with that kid from the Qin family, after all. M O Y is one of the few professionals left. We can't let him be taken by others. He he, I understand. With the space ring in hand, some medicines with even more exaggerated effects that existed in Qin Chen's mind were also birthed one by one in that logistics warehouse. What he provided to the Lu family were merely the common goods from his previous life. How could he truly aid the enemy? In the early stages, those pills and capsules could indeed change the tide of battle to some extent. But as players' levels increased, that little boost could be ignored. The game Life Devourer has no level restrictions. If you have the ability to level up high, then level up as high as you can. Although there were many ferocious beasts in the warehouse, the types were limited, and what Chin Shen could make was also restricted to a few kinds, but the quantity was large, right? Unfortunately, in this life, he was not a true alchemist, the products made from his experience were rough in craftsmanship, and the effects would be somewhat inferior. This was reasonable, if anyone could do it without a profession. Wouldn't the world be in chaos? From morning to afternoon, nearly seven hours later, the tightly closed door of the logistics warehouse slowly opened. Chen Chen walked out, completely fitting the description of disheveled, with a distinct smell of the ocean clinging to him. Compared to him, the fish sellers at the market were simply small fry. What the hell? What is that smell? Seafood. Seafood. Boss, Chuan Gu is out, your seafood feast is ready. Hearing the shouts of those around him, Chen Shen couldn't help but scratch his nose. Uh, sorry, I forgot about this. Everyone present was speechless. Are you deaf? Was the noise from us breaking down the door still too quiet? I said we should just blow it up. Cough. Realizing the situation was not right, Chen Shen quickly coughed and then pushed the warehouse door open a bit more, pulling out a small cart piled high with band-aids. My bad. Everyone gets two band-aids. No one is allowed to take more. What the hell? Wow. Is this for real? Brother Chuan V587. Before long, Hao Chen responded, having not eaten for nearly two days. While he wasn't starving to the bone, he was definitely feeling the pressure of his stomach against his back. Ah, uh, Brother Zhao. Hao Chen raised his hand. Don't say anything, just get the pot. Boil some water, he was so hungry that his voice was trembling. Honestly, this attitude made Chen Chen feel a bit embarrassed. However, in an era where the strong are revered, this wasn't surprising. During small-scale beast tides, long-range sniping, combined with a thorough understanding of beast materials, and the determination of the hard steel Lu family, even this group of defense team members under the Lu family couldn't help but feel a sense of admiration for the strong. But who would have thought this was all due to a misunderstanding? Sorry everyone, the edible parts on the left side of the warehouse are what I separated out, and eating them together has unexpected surprises. Consider it my small compensation. Chen Shen was just that kind of person. If you treat me well, I will repay you a hundredfold. But if you treat me poorly, I will repay you a thousandfold. Of course, one could also say he held grudges. But it didn't matter. Those with overflowing kindness do not last long in this life-devouring world. Hearing about the unexpected surprises, the guy responsible for boiling water clearly moved faster. And many people rushed into the warehouse to bring out the meat chunks Chen Shen had sorted. After anxiously waiting for the water to boil, they tossed the meat into the pot without even washing it, and soon the aroma wafted everywhere from the dozen large iron pots. For Hao Chen, who was already feeling the pressure of his stomach against his back, 
This smell was almost lethal. Damn it, I'm about to starve to death. You all wait for your turn. I'm going to try some first. Saying that, he reached into the boiling pot to grab some meat. It was definitely hot, but with his level, he wouldn't get burned. Remembering Chun Shen's words about eating them together, he grabbed two different kinds of beast meat, taking a bite. MMM, this fish meat is really chewy. It has to be medium rare. After swallowing the fish, Hao Chun took another bite of the octopus tentacle, and his rough eating style made many people's mouths water. Damn it, I'm not waiting anymore. It won't kill you. Just eat. Hey, leave me a piece of that dragon fish meat. This large pot of boiled meat didn't even need any seasoning to be fragrant. Salt and MSG would only spoil its original flavor. At this moment, Hao Chun had already swallowed the magic pattern octopus tentacle completely. Ha, huh? my god. A gasp drew the attention of many. Official players have a strong perception of the changes in their bodies. And after exclaiming, Hao Chun quickly opened his attribute panel. Name, Hao Chun Occupation, None Level, 4 Lifespan, 67 Years and 1 Day Blood Chi, 1358 Strength, 11, plus 5, Spirit, 1 Defense, 8, plus 5, Speed, 4 Skill, Violent Slash, LV1, Combat Power, 179. Strength and Defense both increased by 5 points. And it can last for 4 hours. Damn. After Hao Chen, others who had eaten various beast meats also discovered that their attribute panels had one or two temporary attributes added. Brother Chuan, what the hell is going on? It's simple. You can think of it as medicinal cuisine or a chemical reaction. The meat of different ferocious beasts influences each other, ultimately affecting the body. Hao Chen was taken aback. He understood the principle, but that wasn't a reason to accept it calmly, right? The ones who grabbed the grass. The meat from before must have gone to the dogs, right? Don't waste it, brothers. Not a single piece should be left. Of course. How team? We must finish it. Is anyone teaming up to hunt ferocious beasts? I feel like I have endless energy. How about going to kill a few more to eat? Yes. Yes. We can't waste the attributes we have. Together. Together. Seeing that someone had already set off. Hao Chen reminded. You can go out. But if you get a life card. Remember to bring it back for your brother Chuan. Got it? Oh, got it. After this incident, the people in the Junjiang defense zone admired Chen Chen even more, right? As the seafood feast continued under the setting sun, a satisfied Hao Chen called Chen Chen over to a nearby pile of ruins. After inviting him to sit down, he pulled out a crumpled pack of cigarettes from his pocket and asked, Want one? This stuff is a limited edition. Chen Chen didn't hold back and directly reached out to take one. Spending big, ha, huh? Xiao Gu, let me guess, you want to ask about the coins, right, ha ha, I knew I couldn't hide it from you, what exactly can those coins do, usually, Hao Chen was a straightforward guy, never beating around the bush about what he wanted to know, but he wouldn't be reckless when it was time to be clever, coins, well, they are money, so of course, they can buy things, buy things, Hao Chen simply didn't understand, the key is, who sells them? But Chen Chen smiled mysteriously. I can't tell you that yet. Once I become a formal player, we'll go buy together. For now, just gather more. You won't regret it. Hey, still playing riddles with me. A night of waiting ultimately proved futile. The drop rate for the life card in Life Devourer was slightly higher than that of the lifespan roulette, but it wasn't something that could be easily obtained. In the end, I still have to work hard myself. After a slight sigh, Chen Chen fell into a deep sleep in the hotel room he had chosen. The next day, morning, as the sun rose in the east, Chen Chen naturally woke up, taking a deep breath that brought him a whole day's good spirit. After rinsing his mouth with the river water that had been sitting overnight, he pushed the door open and walked out. A morning breeze from the river suddenly blew in, carrying the faint aroma of last night's seafood pot. Hunger hit him instantly. However, he saw his right index finger flash pulling out a pill and swallowing it. It was made from the tail-fin meat of the golden gun dragonfish, mixed with the blood and flesh of various water ferocious beasts. Its only purpose, to fill the stomach. In later generations, it was often used as expedition rations. One could replace three meals. After all, the golden gun dragonfish was known for its vitality. Just eating it could last for two days worth of meals. However, the consumption was far beyond what a pill could compare to, the bigger the appetite the greater the consumption. When Chen Chen reached the vicinity of the defense line, good morning, brother Chuan, 
The one who spoke was his old friend from his previous life, Dong Fan Yen Yen. Yo, De Yen Zi. After last night's seafood feast, he had also made friends with Dong Fan Yen Yen in this life, and with the latter's honest character, the two quickly became familiar. After some small talk, both were drawn to the sound of an engine, they saw a dilapidated pickup truck filled with people, kicking up a cloud of dust as it sped towards the defense zone. It came to a stop with a chi sound in less than half a minute. On the truck bed, there were a total of eight people, varying in size, six men and two women. Some held steel long spears, while others had knives at their waists, the more eye-catching were the two women, one of whom was holding a rope tied with daggers. This woman, Chen Chen recognized, her name was Shi Xiaoyu, one of the few professionals in the early stages of the game, with the profession of assassin. She was originally the contemporary heir of the intangible cultural heritage martial art roped art. When the game arrived, by a stroke of luck, she drew a job change card, and at that time, the major powers had not yet risen, so she naturally used the card herself. Later, this woman grew to a very high level, but it was said that for some reason, she left the Lu family. This was also one of the few pieces of information Chen Shen had heard about the Lu family in his past life. He never expected. She was already under the Lu family's banner so early, but what could have caused her to leave the Lu family? This was, in his past life, a mystery that was neither too big nor too small, and one that intrigued many. Hey, over there, go find someone named Chin Chen and tell him to get ready to depart. A man on the pickup truck looked down and spoke, not naming anyone specifically, but his tone was filled with a strong sense of superiority. However, before he finished speaking, no need to look. He's right here. The voice came from the person sitting in the passenger seat of the pickup. Chen Chen furrowed his brows at the sound. Click. Just then, the car door opened. A man with knives in both sides jumped out of the car. A sword on his left and a knife on his right. But evidently, the sword was of a more exquisite design. Upon seeing him, a surge of anger rushed over Chen Chen's forehead. Lu Yunpan. The Lu family had three children, two sons and one daughter. The eldest son was Lu Yunpan. The popular young man Lu Yun Lu was the second son, and Lu Sin Yu was the youngest daughter. On that day, it was this Lu Yunpan who hosted the lottery and took away his life-sucking sword. So, when Chen Chen said yesterday that if Lu Sin Yu didn't go, the only one accompanying him would be an enemy, or rather, a direct enemy. Long time no see, I didn't expect you to survive. Lu Yunpan looked at Chen Chen, his head held high with an air of superiority. Thanks to you, Hoof. If you want to defy fate, come along, but of course, I won't be responsible if you die. Chen Shen gritted his teeth slightly at those words, deep down. He was unwilling to go, but reason told him that now was not the time to completely fall out with the Lu family. Why would the Lu family invite him to this so-called operation? Either they truly needed him, or they wanted to test him. But regardless of which, this so-called operation was more beneficial than harmful for him, as he currently had a short lifespan and lacked confidence. Continuing to struggle in the border area would yield little results. To progress quickly, he had to seize every opportunity. Of course, all of this was predicated on the condition of self-preservation. It's fine. I didn't die after three days without food or water. I'm very tough. Then get in the car. After saying that, Lu Yunpan intended to sit back in the passenger seat. But a voice suddenly interjected. Wait, young master, can I come along too? The one who spoke up so promptly was none other than Dong Fang Yin Yin, who was beside Chen Chen. Upon hearing this, Lu Yunpan frowned and then coldly said, We're not going on vacation, the destination is the outer battlefield. Show your attribute panel. Okay. Dong Fang Yin Yin unhesitatingly opened her panel. Name, Dong Fang Yin Yin occupation, none level, 4 lifespan, 103 years and 60 days blood chi, 1669 strength, 7, plus 7, mentality, 1 defense, 4, plus 5, speed, 12, plus 4, skill, phantom 3 swords, LV2, combat power, 232, oh, over a 100 years of lifespan, level 4 but combat power over 200, and still has temporary attributes, alright, keep up, upon seeing Dong Fang Yin Yin's panel. Lu Yunpan directly let her go. Their journey was originally about having as many capable people as possible. Hearing she could go, Dong Fang Yen Yen quickly climbed into the vehicle and squeezed beside Chen Chen, not saying a word, just quietly waiting. The vehicle soon started moving, racing inland while the rising sun was still some distance from the horizon. Along the way, 
a black seven-seater MPV merged into the side of the pickup truck, and through the window, it was clear that there were more than seven people inside. However, in this day and age, there were no traffic police to jump out and catch them for overloading. Inside the vehicle, not knowing where they were headed, Shen Shen became idle, his main focus on Shi Xiaoyu. The other party showed no reaction to his scrutiny. Until, my name is Chen Chen, and you? Oh, uh, I was asking you, what the hell is that oh? Is this girl really that cold? Forget it, pretend I didn't ask. Chen Chen felt a bit frustrated. Although he hadn't bathed in a while, his face was still relatively clean, right? However, the others in the vehicle laughed at his attempt to strike up a conversation. Ha ha, give it up, kid, if this ice queen answers you. The heavens might as well rain down beautiful knives. Why can't it be pounds? Even euros are useless. Can you buy a longevity pill? Unexpectedly, after the chatter, Shi Xiaoyu actually lifted her head, glanced at Chen Chen, and then slowly spoke, Shi Xiaoyu, the others. Hmm, that's quite nice. Saying this, Chen Chen subtly looked up at the sky. The weather is really nice today. Clear blue skies without a cloud. Not even a drop of rain. Although the truck bed was quiet. The engine of the pickup seemed to be mixed with popping strange noises. Why? Just because he was handsome? Compared to before, being handsome now really can't be eaten. Not even as spiritual food. Although Shi Xiaoyu responded to Chen Chen, she didn't say anything further. The latter was actually trying to strike up a conversation based on the idea that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Even though it wasn't the case yet, the wheels of fate would eventually turn. This was also a discovery Chen Chen had made over the past three days. As long as it didn't directly relate to him, things that were meant to happen would still happen, and people he was meant to meet would still be met. It can't be said that the butterfly effect doesn't exist, it's just not as outrageous as imagined. And since that's the case, Chen Chen could only let himself become that butterfly's wing. Otherwise, if the Lu family developed to the heights of his past life, it would be far too troublesome for him to handle. First, become a formal player. Chen Chen thought to himself, this is the prerequisite for everything. The old pickup and the black MPV drove steadily on the already dilapidated road, occasionally having to detour around damaged sections. This undoubtedly made the journey take longer. In the meantime, the pickup had to stop at an abandoned gas station due to low fuel, fortunately finding one usable gas pump, otherwise, the Lu family might not even reach their destination. It's strange, we've been traveling for so long, yet not a single flying beast has come our way. I clearly saw them in the sky. Perhaps it was the monotony of the journey that prompted Dong Fan Yan Yan to speak up. As soon as he did. Ha, hey, do you think that's why we call it a settlement? If we had to be on guard against the beasts in the sky 24 hours a day, how would humanity survive? Is it because of those towers? Chen Chen naturally knew the reason and spoke up to ease the tension. Exactly. Another person chimed in, those towers are called ultrasonic beast repelling towers modified from the television towers of the pre-apocalypse. They are the fundamental reason for the existence of various settlements. Ultrasonic beast repelling towers, in simple terms, use sound waves to drive away surrounding beasts. They can release a very high-frequency ultrasonic wave within a certain height range, making flying beasts unwilling to approach the covered area. This was discovered on the ninth day after the arrival of Devouring Life, during a resistance effort. At that time, a superconducting technology base was attacked, and the researchers had no weapons to defend themselves, so they aimed the experimental sound wave weapon at the beasts. To their surprise, this test drove away the vast majority of the beasts, and those that did not retreat were extremely repelled by the sound waves, allowing the researchers to hold out until nearby military forces arrived. Later analysis revealed that it was not the sound wave weapon that was effective. Instead, the ultra-high frequency sound waves temporarily incapacitated some less developed brained beasts, resulting in the retreat effect. Once discovered, humanity immediately set to work, using the ultrasonic sound waves from the sound wave weapons to diffuse through the television towers, achieving remarkable results. Since then, humanity has established settlements based on cities with television towers. At the very least, it can avoid threats from the sky. So that's how it is, Dong Fan Yan Yan said. Realizing he had not understood this aspect before, two vehicles swiftly navigated through various towns, almost moving at full speed except when detours and obstacles required them to slow down. Even so, the journey still took nearly three hours. The general direction was heading north. 
When the vehicles finally stopped, the group had arrived at the western part of the Jiangnan settlement, at the junction of the former Sudong province and Xiangnan province. Due to the extensive forest vegetation and low population density, this area had turned into ruins in less than an hour after the arrival of devouring life. Nowadays, many remnants were already covered in moss. A defense zone was also established here, named Longxi, but it did not fall under the jurisdiction of the Lu family. Bang! At that moment, the front car door made a muffled sound, and the four people who had been in the car stepped out. The three siblings of the Lu family were present, along with a bald man whom Chen Chen did not recognize. The next moment, Lu Yunpan walked straight towards the defense zone's fence and introduced himself when he saw a man approaching. Buddy, I'm from the southern Lu family. Let's make this convenient. As he spoke, he pulled out a cigarette. But upon hearing he was from the Lu family, the man dared not accept it and quickly replied, No need to be polite. Who are you all? At this time, nearly 10 people also emerged from the black MPV, 8 men and 1 woman. Compared to the Lu family, they were 5 short, but the leading man showed no signs of discomfort. We're heading to the outer battlefield. Consider it an adventure. Just go through this gate. This might not be very convenient. What do you mean? Lu Yunpan's expression turned slightly unfriendly. The man, seeing this, became a bit nervous and quickly explained. It's, it's like this, Mr. Lu, everyone knows what's out there, and the higher-ups require us to collect. Tolls, Lu Yunpan then realized. Ha, it seems that Sui Xiang Pavilion knows how to do business. As soon as he finished speaking, Lu Sin Yu walked up. Her face as cold as ice as she looked at the man and said, A white longevity pill. You understand this is the limit. Uh, okay. The man was immediately taken aback. He had thought the other party would offer some materials, weapons, or perhaps some rations. He almost forgot that they were from the Lu family, who would normally take out what they drew. Only they had the strength to trade it now. Truly, they were wealthy and extravagant. Although it was just a white one, and only one, the beneficiary was fixed. But who could deny the high value of the longevity pill? After handing over a white longevity pill, the fence of the Longxi defense zone was temporarily shut down, allowing this group of over 20 people to enter the outer battlefield. However, they had barely walked less than 10 meters. Brother Qin, according to what we agreed beforehand, whoever in this group contributes more will receive more. You are now one longevity pill short. The speaker was naturally Lu Yunpan, and the brother Qin he was chatting with was the person in charge of the black MPV. Brother Lu. No need to say more. Qin Chang has noted it. He he, that's good. After responding with a smile, Lu Yunpan turned back and shouted. Everyone listen clearly. We are now in the outer battlefield. The goal this time is a lord level ferocious beast. And, it's a first kill. Be smart. Did you hear that? Yes. The Lu family camp shouted in unison. But only two remained unfazed. One being Chen Chen. And the other was Shi Xiaoyu. After hearing Lu Yunpan's words, Chen Chen understood why they had called him. The life-eating had descended, and ferocious beasts and humans became natural enemy camps. Humans have their ranks of high and low, and so do ferocious beasts, with levels that are even more strict and ruthless. The known levels are ordinary, elite, and lord, but that is only known. Dealing with ordinary and elite ferocious beasts, normal players can handle them alone or in groups of three to five, but dealing with a lord. It's like the alpha wolf in a pack, it can summon a large number of ferocious beasts below the lord level to protect itself from all sides. Hitting one is not much different from hitting a group. Moreover, lord level ferocious beasts have strong self-healing abilities, it's possible that while you are dealing with the peripheral beasts, you might not have time to pay attention to it, and when you turn your head, its injuries have mostly healed. That feeling of fighting for a long time only to find it was in vain is certainly unpleasant. Therefore. When dealing with peripheral ferocious beasts, someone must be able to restrain the lord and prevent it from healing. If it weren't for me, this task should have been Shi Xiaoyu's, right? Chen Chen thought to himself, the rope dart is versatile, suitable for both long and short distances, if played well, it can handle both simultaneously, but if played poorly, it could cost you your life, but no matter how well one can balance, it's still better to have a pure long-range player pulling the lord but doing so would generate hate value. Just like the butcher at the village entrance would never greet the pigs in the pen with a smile. Are you trying to force me to reveal all my cards? Hoof. It's not possible to let you have everything your way. 
Let the Liu family taste the bitterness of trying to steal without success. After more than 20 people walked out of the Longxi defense zone fence, they entered a nearby forest area in just 15 minutes, but they did not cluster together. Crowding together would only increase the chances of being attacked by ferocious beasts. Their goal was not ordinary ferocious beasts, so they naturally wanted to avoid excessive conflict and conserve their strength. Although they were far apart, formal players could contact each other through lifecards, but Chen Chen, not yet a formal player, could only walk alongside Lu Sinyu, and this was Lu Sinyu's intention. Afraid I might not be able to resist and kill one of your brothers? After walking a distance, Chen Chen suddenly smiled wickedly, a look that made one believe, if given the chance, he would definitely do so. I find that you always have this inexplicable confidence. After glancing at him, Lu Sinyu said, Lu Yunpan is level 13, Lu Yun Lu is almost there but still level 9, and you, at level 0, what makes you think you can kill them? You really don't respect your two older brothers, do you? Upon hearing this, Lu Sinyu paused slightly but did not refute. In a world where the strong are revered, why should those with ability submit to the incapable? Chen Chen smiled, not denying it, but suddenly said ominously, Yes, then, aren't you afraid of death? The chilling tone made Lu Sinyu's heart skip a beat. After taking a breath, she replied, Killing me won't benefit you. Oh really? If you're relying on the longevity pill, then you're mistaken. As long as there's a formula, anyone can refine it, right? Lu Sinyu clenched her fists tightly, exhaling deeply. I have no grievances or grudges with you, but I swore to leave no one from the Lu family alive. He he. Just kidding. Boring. The team continued to advance into the forest for five or six kilometers, during which some ferocious beasts came to disturb them, but their levels were not high, they were either killed instantly or chased away, until they encountered something that was no longer a beast. Puff. A sudden sharp sound rang out from the west side of the team. Then, wah, the cry of pain immediately startled everyone, and their alertness peaked. Thirteen, are you okay? Undoubtedly, thirteen was the injured one, who, despite the pain, shouted, there's old six, be careful, the, the dart is poisoned, not long after, a light purple status appeared above him, poisoned, minus two hundred and six, before that, there was also a red injury status. Lu Yunpan at the back of the team narrowed his eyes and said, Friend, hiding in the shadows like an old coin is not a glorious thing. Come out. However, the person did not respond. Instead, in an instant, puff, 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 three sounds rang out in quick succession. But this time, the team was on guard, and it was not so easy to hit them. The three men from the Lu family camp turned and leaped, using their shields to block the incoming darts, leaving only a light ding sound. The next moment, TSK, whoosh, ugh, swish, pong, everything happened too fast, almost in the moment the attacker clicked his tongue, the swift cold light flew past like a shadow, the next thing was the sound of that person being killed, crashing through some branches and finally landing in the mud, in less than a second, what the, a faint sound of fear arose from somewhere in the forest, but when the cold light followed, it was a miss, runs really fast from a towering camphor tree over five meters high. A graceful figure suddenly descended, landing and crushing a few dry leaves, it was Shi Xiaoyu, and that cold light was indeed the rope dart in her hand. Lu Yunpan cast a glance back but said nothing as he turned to 13's position. 13, how much longer can you hold on in your poison state? 13 was the codename for that man in the Lu family's vanguard team. The so-called vanguard team, to put it bluntly, was a suicide squad with little time left in some levels, these people often could no longer obtain longevity through other means and could only rely on a family. Exchanging contributions for longevity pills. To put it more harshly, they were tools. Seven seconds left. I can hold on. Thirteen wiped the sweat that had emerged from his forehead due to the intense pain and nodded. Whom? Lu Yunpan nodded. You still have 82 points. Do you want to exchange for a band-aid? Not far away. Chen Chen couldn't help but laugh. He had just switched to a band-aid from him. And now he was turning around to squeeze the vanguard? The Lu family truly lived up to its name. How many? Points? Thirteen clearly knew about the existence of band-aids. Although their effect wasn't as good as healing pills, it was said that there were quite a few in stock. Fifty points each. Well, never mind. Fifty points for a band-aid? It would be better to kill him. The white longevity pill was 188 points. And seeing that there was still half left, 
Spending most of it just to exchange for a band-aid was insane, but if he didn't exchange it, his health. Chen Chen remained a cold observer. Although he also had band-aids, it had nothing to do with him. Lu Yun Pan was clearly playing favorites. 13 only had 82 points, yet he asked for more than half right away. What good would it do him to touch his bad luck and ruin his good fortune? Moreover, in this world, hugging Jesus could lead to a very miserable death. Hmm. Then once your poison state passes, we'll set off. 13. Okay. The team's advance did not slow down because 13 was injured. Instead, they gradually began to speed up while maintaining their pace. Clearly, Lu Yunpan was anxious. The attackers from earlier must also be targeting that lord level beast. Shi Xiaoyu had only killed a sacrificial lookout. If they didn't hurry, they might not even get a sip of soup when they arrived. After a few minutes, the team delved about three miles deeper into the forest. The air here was already filled with a faint smell of blood. Indistinguishable whether it was human or beast, but one thing was certain, they were getting close. Team, gather and adapt. With Lu Yunpan's command, the 20 or so people scattered around quickly closed the distance to about 3 meters apart. Only Shi Xiaoyu remained in the tree. After all, she was an assassin, and only by staying in the shadows could she maximize her combat effectiveness. Feeling the unpleasant aura approaching, Chen Chen frowned slightly then leaped onto a tree branch, his speed combined with temporary attributes was a solid 8 points, just climbing a tree, how daring, tch, below, Lu Yunlu saw this and curled his lip, secretly thinking, playing with personality on the outer battlefield, be careful not to die in a more unique way, Lu Yunpan also cast a glance but quickly returned to focus, saying, everyone be careful, from now on, anyone entering our exploration range, whether beast or human, will be killed without exception. Oh, the others had no objections to his command. In the outer battlefield, let alone targeting a lord-level beast, even a rare item would attract greed, killing for treasure was the norm. Compared to the oppression of the lower class and settlements, the outer battlefield was the true gathering place of fear. The darkness of humanity played out every day, just as everyone was on high alert. Young master, there are people ahead. The one speaking was the bald man driving the pickup clearly holding a higher status in the Lu family than the others. Upon hearing this, the Qin family also became vigilant. Beside Qin Shang stood a thin man who looked to be in his 40s or 50s, with short hair mixed with silver strands, and his level seemed not low. Meanwhile, Qin Shang slowly took out two knuckle dusters and put them on his hands. A fist master? Chen Chen thought to himself, could this guy also be a professional? Otherwise, fists had relatively low lethality compared to knives and guns. He remembered that in his past life, there was a rather prominent fist master, while it was exaggerated to say he could shake mountains and rivers. It was true that he had carved a bloody path through a beast tide with a single punch. But was that person Qin Chang? Chen Chen didn't delve deeper, just feeling curious before shifting his gaze away. At this moment, Lu Yunpan also made a decision. Sneak over. Everyone understood the situation and their footsteps slowed as they approached finally realizing they were at the outskirts of the battlefield. Ahead was a small team of three with an unclear background, engaged in combat with a giant wolf over three meters long. The wolf was already injured, but the three were not in good shape either, from the situation. It seemed the wolf had the upper hand. The Lu and Qin families had no intention of intervening. Suddenly, woo, the giant wolf let out a long howl, and where the sound waves passed, sharp wooden spikes shot up from the ground. This was clearly a forest thorn wolf of the wood attribute. Among the three, the most severely injured man couldn't dodge in time and was impaled through the heart by a wooden spike. Ha, ha, damn it. Seeing his companion hanging nearby, another man leaped several meters high in fear, swinging his great sword down. Heavy sword cleaves mountain. This was likely his skill. The speed of the sword's descent clearly exceeded basic physical principles, appearing as if he had jumped high and then struck down in an instant. It was fast, but the forest thorn wolf was faster. Its front paws barely left the ground to evade the attack before it lunged forward to bite, its paw the size of a basin slamming into the side of the man's head. Ugh. At the same time, the wooden spikes created by the forest thorn wolf reached the ground beneath where the Lu and Qin family stood, forcing everyone to dodge. But in doing so, they exposed themselves. The man sent flying by the forest thorn wolf crashed right into the Qin family's camp. A subordinate of the Qin family helped him absorb the impact. Unfortunately, the wolf's paw had already mangled half of his face, even if he was saved. 
his life would likely not last long. If the Lu and Qin families had helped from the beginning, things wouldn't have come to this. But in this world, what ifs do not exist, since they had already been exposed. Lu Yunpan no longer hid and took over the remaining battle. Your companion won't last much longer. Aren't you going to take him and leave? The meaning of this was simple. We will take the prey. You can leave. The other side was, of course, unwilling. The wolf was only at half health. But just as Lu Yunpan finished speaking, three members of their camp had already leaped out, surrounding the forest thorn wolf, which was eager to escape. Whether willing or not, fists are bigger. And there are more of us, you can only accept it. Even if he killed the forest thorn wolf, could he take away the spoils that belonged to him? The answer was no. Damn it. Before leaving, all he could do was express his resentment. But just as he rushed past the Lu family's camp to retrieve his companion, a cold glint flashed past his head, separating him from his body. The one who struck was the bald man. Your mouth isn't very clean. Be careful in your next life. Thud, he fell to the ground, eyes wide open in death. On the other side, Xin Chang frowned slightly, looking at Lu Yunpan. He was already preparing to leave. Why kill him? Oomph. Lu Yunpan laughed sinisterly. Xin, my dear brother, you really are compassionate. Qin Chang turned his head away and replied, I just think you did something unnecessary. That's all. Above, Shi Xiaoyu tightened the rope in her hand, suppressing an inexplicable impulse, only staring coldly at Lu Yunpan. Shen Shen appeared indifferent, after all. He had been through a lot and could only say, such behavior is typical of the Lu family. Kill that little dog, then continue forward. The forest thorn wolf was already at half health. How could it withstand the nearly full strength members of the Lu family's vanguard? After less than 10 exchanges, it fell unwillingly, unable to rise again. Young master, a yellow roulette has appeared. After players kill a fierce beast, the server of earth will explode to scatter the loot. Hence it is referred to by players as exploding gear. This time, the forest thorn wolf exploded a yellow roulette and some scattered time currency. Bring it here, Lu Yunpan said. However, when he took it in his hands, he couldn't help but want to throw it away. TSK. Only one positive option. Trash among trash. Put it away. We'll throw it to the life-eating maggots later. Yes. Moments later, as the team prepared to set off again, a sudden sound came from the forest ahead. A wuh. Wolves. Carnivorous canids. Social animals. Even when transformed into ferocious beasts, this habit is not something that can be easily changed. The arrival of life-eating is a disaster and an opportunity for humans. But for animals, it is merely an opportunity. Instead, humans must reclaim their position at the top of the food chain. But is it possible? At least when facing the current pack of wolves, they could only fight up close like primitive men. It seems that the leader is also some kind of cat or dog transformed. Lu Yunpan frowned. Everyone, form a Bagua defensive formation. No need to linger in battle. Focus on defense, and keep pushing inward. As this command was given, the members, who had been maintaining a certain distance, quickly began to move. They soon gathered into a circular formation with a radius of about 8 meters, weapons tightly gripped, some already clashing with the forest thorn wolves. The overall tactic was to fight while retreating, but the appearance of the wolf pack seemed to be to stop their advance. Big brother, the leader must have dealt with the last group of people and is now recovering. Lu Yun Lu, realizing this, quickly shouted. Lu Yun Pan also reacted quickly, pondering what to do when he caught sight of a man and a woman perched on a tree. Just as Chen Chen thought to himself, no way, Shi Xiaoyu, Chen Chen, use ranged attacks to draw aggro and cover us while we find the leader. This damn, before he could speak, Shi Xiaoyu had already responded first, two longevity pills. Sure, came the reply from Lu Yun Pan. It seemed that there was still a sort of employment relationship between Shi Xiaoyu and the Lu family, and matters like this fell outside the usual scope. It was a different price. I also want to. Understanding this, Chen Chen shouted as well. Why not take advantage of it? However, as soon as he spoke, Lu Yunlu looked up and instinctively said, What are you even worth? Don't you know your own weight? Shi Xiaoyu wanted two longevity pills because of her strength and because she was a professional. But what about Chen Chen? Lu Yunlu spoke out of turn to mock him. Hearing this, Chen Chen was about to retort. But, unexpectedly, it's fine. Sinyu, you, Lu Sinyu did not give her second brother a chance to finish, he has temporary attributes. At least now he's worth that price. 
Although she didn't know Chen Shen's specific attributes, being able to assist in repelling a small-scale beast tied in the Junjiang defense zone and dealing with the wolf pack here would be no problem. No time to dwell on this. Let's move quickly. Hearing his brother's words, Lu Yunlu could only glare at Chen Shen and not say anything more. At this moment, Shi Xiaoyu had already taken action. Her rope dart flew down like a cold gleam, piercing through the head of a forest thorn wolf in no time. The material of the dart is quite good. Chen Shen smiled at this, then said no more. His right hand index fingers ring glimmered, and a sharp thong was immediately shot out by the slingshot. Bang! The downward impact, combined with the piercing power of the thong and the elasticity of the slingshot, created a threefold force, causing a forest thorn wolf to be gruesomely bent into a V-shape from the waist. A woo! The forest thorn wolf lay on the ground, howling in pain, whether dead or alive. It could no longer move. This operation is even more impactful than Shi Xiaoyu's single shot through the head. Without enough force, even if one aims at the weak point of a canine beast, it would be difficult to achieve such an effect, right? He indeed deserves two longevity pills. As she spoke, Lu Yunpan withdrew her gaze. Everyone, break out of the wolf pack's encirclement. Teeth? Unlike Lu Yunpan, Shi Xiaoyu was closer, allowing her to see the bullets Chen Chen shot out which were not ordinary but resembled the teeth of a ferocious beast. He he, let's go head to head and let them experience the bite from the sea. You're more interesting than I imagined. After saying this, Shi Xiaoyu had already changed her position, lightly leaping to another tree, and her rope dart flew downward in the process. Although she didn't manage to score another headshot, she did hit a forest thorn wolf. Moreover, as she retracted, she used that momentum to launch another dart, hitting her target precisely. The attack of the rope dart was indeed elusive, truly deserving of the title, Cunning Soldier. Of course, such effectiveness relied entirely on Shi Xiaoyu's assassin profession, which provided specific bonuses for such small weapons. It really is the professionals. Chen Chen sighed lightly, it would be a lie to say he wasn't envious. In his previous life, he had only officially transitioned to warrior on the 46th day after the game arrived, during the Great Class Change version. The assassin was a subclass derived from the warrior, belonging to short range and cunning combatants. While he admired her, Chen Chen's actions were not slow. One by one, teeth continued to shoot out from the slingshot in his hand, each hit accompanied by a forest thorn wolf losing its combat ability. His strength, combined with temporary attributes, totaled 8 points, and with the slingshot's attributes, it reached 13 points, not low at all. At least it was comparable to Shi Xiaoyu's. Under the cover of the two, Lu Yunpan had already led the team to break through the wolf pack's encirclement. Even though some were injured, their combat effectiveness still remained above 90%. After breaking free from the wolf pack's obstruction, the remaining 21 people took advantage of the window to sprint through the forest at the fastest speed. As for the direction, with that bald man around, there would be no mistakes. Sure enough, after advancing about 5 miles, young master, the lord is just ahead. Lu Yunpan grinned. Ah, Fu, as long as you can secure the first kill on the Lord, you can go find my father for your reward when we return. Thank you, young master. Swish, swish, running at the front. Lu Yunlu burst through a patch of bushes about two meters wide and immediately felt the stench of blood in the air intensify several times. It wasn't until he stepped on a disorganized, black, red, and white object that made him nauseous that he stopped. Stop, quick, stop, in the forest. As the number of dead and injured forest thorn wolves reached over 10, the elite wolves in the pack could no longer sit still. A whoa! A long howl suddenly erupted, and the scattered wolves immediately clustered around the elite head wolf. From the player's perspective, this meant that the accumulated hatred value had reached a threshold, and the wolf pack was about to unleash a powerful attack. The forest thorn wolf, besides pouncing and biting, had a talent skill, forest thorn spike which was the move that had forced the Lu and Qin families out at the beginning. But back then, it was only one wolf using it, this time, it was a group. Shi Xiaoyu returned to a tree trunk, slightly panting, the reward will be less. Let's first find a way to stay alive, if we lose our lives, no amount of reward will matter. After Chen Shen said this, a light brown pill appeared in his hand. I can take down the biggest one before they launch their attack, can you handle the rest? Hearing this, Although Shi Xiaoyu was puzzled about how Chen Shen would do it, there was no time to think further, if you can do it, I have no problem. On the other side, deep in the forest, hiss, the long, 
rustling his echo through a clearing in the forest. Lu Yun Lu, who had just burst out, could never have imagined that what they were about to face was such a monster, a giant worm that was at least 10 meters long. Not just long, but its body was also thick, only slightly thinner than the esteemed readers present. Hearing his shout, the following team members slowed their pace. Even Lu Yunpan, a level 13 official player, felt a cold sweat break out upon seeing the long worm. Don't tell me what the radar detected is this thing? The bald man, Afu, also looked somewhat grim, judging by the strength of its mental energy. It must be it. There's nothing else within a few kilometers. Lu Yunpan took a deep breath. No choice. We fight. With that, he drew his battle knife from his right waist, while his left hand rested on the exquisite long sword at his side. Afu, figure out this guy's attributes and put them in the team channel. Got it. Afu quickly responded. The attributes of the beast were not always revealed, a player needed to establish a connection with it to display them, whether by dealing damage or applying control skills. Even throwing a stone that hit would allow them to see the panel, even if it didn't deal damage. After saying that, Afu lightly tapped his forehead and commanded, mental detection. Clearly, this was Afu's skill, focused on mental attributes, which allowed him to confirm the direction of the Lord all the way. The next moment, the giant worm seemed to sense the gaze and let out a sudden shriek. Afu quickly interrupted the detection, but the purpose had already been achieved. Name, Earth Splitting Giant Python Rank, Lord Level, 12 Vitality, 2984 slash 5211 Strength, 39 Mental, 4 Defense, 27 Speed, 14 Skills, Earthquake Wave, Giant Tail Split Combat Power, 472. This guy, in the team, Lu Yunpan couldn't help but twitch his mouth. 39 points of strength, plus such an exaggerated body, the last group must have died horribly. What's wrong? Lu brother, lost your confidence? Qin Chang, now wearing gauntlets, seemed like a different person, his previously humble demeanor replaced with a combative attitude, full of confidence, that must be your Qin family's reliance, sky collapse, right? Lu Yunpan said with a half smile, confidence isn't just talk, everyone, while this big guy doesn't know us yet, let's give it some firepower, facing the 20 or so from both families, although the earth-splitting giant python had a size advantage, it wasn't overly reckless. It understood deeply that some prey could harm it. Although he gave the order, Lu Yunpan did not take the lead in attacking. After all, he had brought so many cannon fodder tools, why should he act first? This was not something that could be taken down in one hit. I'll go first. The one who spoke was a member of the Lu family's vanguard. Zhao Yi. Level 6. Strength 29. Combat power 251. The reason for announcing his level and main attributes was to provide a reference for others. However, Upon hearing these attributes, everyone quickly calculated in their minds this guy had basically put all his upgrade points into strength. As Jawi ran towards the earth-splitting giant python, this guess was confirmed. Speed? Not at all. But the next moment, Zhao Yi's actions stunned everyone present for a moment. Invincible. As he shouted the first three words, Zhao Yi spun his body while holding a great sword. And just as he completed the fifth rotation, Vortex. Whoosh. In an instant, the great sword shot through the air, flying accurately towards the raised head of the earth-splitting giant python. But how could the giant python remain frozen in place? As the snake's head turned to evade, who would have thought that the great sword vortex would suddenly change direction at that moment? Swish! With a light sound of a blade piercing flesh, it suddenly slashed open the giant python's body, leaving a wound over 10 centimeters deep. But unfortunately, it was just too thick. This depth was merely a superficial injury. Minus 11. Additional. Minus 77. The first damage entry was pure basic damage. The second entry was clearly the additional damage from Zhao Ji's skill Invincible Great Vortex. Skills, by their nature, are not just about the actions. Normally, one point of strength can deal 10 points of damage. And one point of defense can negate 10 points of damage. But Devour Life also has a combat power setting where the damage of a lower combat power individual is reduced even if their strength exceeds that of a higher combat power individual's defense. Conversely, it amplifies. Well done. Next, it's my turn. The one shouting was, Dong Fan Yen Yen, level 4, strength 7. As soon as his attributes were announced, someone couldn't help but exclaim, 7 points? Damn. Bro, are you kidding? Zhao Ji can only deal 11 points of basic damage with 29 points. 
hurry and find a tree to hide behind. But Dongfan Yenyan was not the type to heed advice. Temporary Strength 7, Combat Power 232, I'm going in. His temporary attributes were boosted by the seafood breakfast he had before setting out, and the enhancement was about to end, leaving no time to hesitate. However, his courage to act certainly didn't mean he was truly foolish. He sprinted forward, and in just a few seconds, he was in front of the fisher giant python, which was still recovering from the previous strike. Dongfang Yenyan closed in. There was no time to block. Swish. Minus five. One sword slashed across the giant python side. Whoosh. Minus five. A return strike deepened the existing wound. Swish. Minus five. A cleaving strike left a bloody cross-shaped gash. Dongfang Yenyan's figure moved like a phantom, swiftly completing his attacks. Then he leaped back, creating a distance of several meters, landing lightly. This was his skill. Phantom Three Swords. Even so, it was hard for everyone to believe that this was accomplished by a seemingly heavy and rough man. Additional. Minus 31. Bleeding. Minus 140. When the damage entries popped up, not only did the fisher giant python writhe in anger, but the surrounding crowd was also left speechless. A level 4 player dealing more damage than a pure strength level 6 player. What a beast. But if he was a beast, then what could be said about Chen Chen? Who? as a level 0 informal player, had just taken down an elite level forest thorn wolf with a single shot from a slingshot? Whoosh! Critical hit! Minus 1360! Beads of sweat dripped down Chen Chen's forehead, making him look like he had lost a size. Shi Xiaoyu was stunned. 1. 1000 damage! What are you still dawdling for? Are you waiting for the wolf pack to react? That shot nearly exhausted all of Chen Chen's strength. Ah! Uh, oh! After that, he was half hanging on a tree, completely drained of energy. If someone were to stab him at that moment, he would undoubtedly die. Hey, this feeling, still so exhilarating. How did Chen Chen, at level 0, manage to deal over a thousand damage? The answer lies in the light brown pill he held in his hand before the fight began. Bloodthirsty potion of the double fin shark. The raw material is derived from the ferocious beast bloodthirsty shark. Upon consumption, it immediately consumes 30 days of life and unleashes 10 times the power, making the first three attacks ignore the power gap and guarantee critical hits, the effect lasts for one second, after which the user is weakened for three seconds, weakness, all attributes reduced to 10%, level restriction, 0 to 10, crafting process, white, rough, this pill was also known in his past life as, one second real man, Chen Shen could only regret that he was not a true alchemist now, otherwise, if he could enhance the crafting of the bloodthirsty potion to excellence, the weakness duration would only be one second. Three seconds is neither long nor short. Sometimes it passes in the blink of an eye. Sometimes it feels like years. If someone from the Lu family were here, Chen Chen would definitely not use it. Nor would he recklessly use it if there were ferocious beasts nearby that would be tantamount to seeking death. Compared to the three types he gave to the Lu family, the bloodthirsty potion is the real lifesaver. When he was arguing with Lu Sinyu about the longevity pill yesterday, he was prepared to explode at any moment. But fortunately, it wasn't needed. Once the three seconds of weakness passed, ha, huh, Chen Chen let out a breath. And below, a dozen forest thorn wolves were already dead or injured, not forming a threat. Seeing this, he couldn't help but smile bitterly. The potion is indeed powerful, but the cost is a bit high. I only have half a year left to live, and suddenly a month is gone. Chen Chen, just as he was thinking, Shi Xiaoyu called out to him, You don't want to help, do you? He replied with a smile. Who would have thought that the next second, a life card dropped? Do you want it? This is just too easy to come by? Except it cost a bit of life. Yes. When Chen Chen jumped down from the tree, Shi Xiaoyu pinched the life card between her two fingers and glanced at Chen Chen again, Want it? The boy immediately realized. If she didn't want to give it, she wouldn't have asked. Since she asked but didn't give it immediately, it was clear she wanted to negotiate. What do you want to know? She saw you rarely cracked a smile. Tell me how you did that just now. Can that situation be replicated? If it can. What? Do you have a national grudge or family feud to settle? Chen Chen originally just joked and interrupted. But, unexpectedly. Yes. She really did. But I can't tell you who it is. So untrustworthy. I'm afraid you'll betray me. Then I promise not to betray you? I don't believe you. Chen Chen. This girl is really straightforward. Wait. Where did this life card drop from? 
Elite. This time, as soon as she opened her mouth, she Xiaoyu realized and quickly changed her words, I don't know, I saw it on the ground. Chen Chen crossed his arms, I didn't lie to you. Ah, I know, I really didn't lie to you. Mm, I know. At this moment, Shi Xiaoyu had already slumped down. All right, this life card came from that elite level. It was originally your loot. Then give it to me. Can't you just? I don't have it anymore. No more? Shi Xiaoyu seemed to have grasped a lifeline. Then it can be obtained, right? Tell me how to do it. Shen Shen couldn't help but twitch his mouth. This little girl must be the class representative in language class. So good at finding loopholes. But, no. Why not? What if the person you want to kill has something to do with me? This was actually just an excuse from Chen Shen. The reason he didn't give it was that he wanted to probe Shi Xiaoyu's background to see if they could cooperate. After all, being able to leave the Lu family for some reason indicated that she had some discord with them. Utilizing all available resources is the only way to bring them down as quickly and effectively as possible. Upon hearing Chen Shen's words, Shi Xiaoyu finally fell silent. His concerns were not without reason. As this thought settled in her mind, she seemed to have made up her mind, all right, I'll tell you, but even if it relates to you, I won't give up, unless you kill me afterward. Chen Chen was slightly taken aback, the situation was more complicated than he thought. Who is it? M.O. Huizhu, the eastern power of the Jiangnan settlement, from the Nahue Tower, the swordsman M.O. Huizhu, her, that's not a problem. Upon hearing this answer, Chen Chen felt a bit disappointed. What deep hatred could you possibly have with her? He certainly knew of M.O. Huizhu in his previous life. She was also a well-known figure. He didn't expect there would be such matters behind the scenes. Shi Xiaoyu bit her lip upon hearing this. The hatred of killing my father. Realizing he had touched on a painful subject, Chen Chen quickly said, Uh, sorry. It's fine. Deepening my obsession for revenge is also good. After a brief pause, Shi Xiaoyu immediately pressed on. So will you give it to me or not? Let's make a trade, give me the life card. Since the enemy was different and the whole matter had nothing to do with him, why not do Shi Xiaoyu a favor? Who knows, it might come in handy later? In any case, it was an undeniable fact that she had distanced herself from the Lu family. It wasn't until she held a light brown pill in her hand that Shi Xiaoyu shot him a glance, you men really are born liars. Chen Shen twitched his mouth but was too lazy to respond to her sarcasm. Have you seen the properties of this thing? Think carefully before you take it. If I can take revenge, what's 30 days, 3 years, 30 years, even 300 years, I would spare no effort. After carefully storing it away, Shi Xiaoyu asked again, By the way, did you make this yourself? Yes. Thank you. No need, whether I can help is still uncertain. With that settled, Chen Shun unhesitatingly activated the life card in his hand. The next moment, a cold notification sound rang in his ears. Congratulations. Activation successful. All permissions for ID Chun Chen have been unlocked. Remaining lifespan, 150 days, 7 hours, 12 minutes. This was the entire process of becoming a formal player. There were no earth-shattering effects, no newbie gift packs, and certainly no enhancements. Only experience, 0 out of 100 yes. Only after becoming a formal player would the experience bar appear on the panel, allowing for leveling up, learning skills, and Becoming stronger. Everything in Life Devourer relied almost entirely on the life card. After a brief pause, Chen Chen conjured a piece of beast bone the size of a pigeon egg, drew back the bowstring, and shot it at the nearest dying forest thorn wolf. Awu. Kill. Experience plus 20. Shi Xiaoyu exclaimed. It has only one breath left. Sigh. Chen Chen sighed. I'm just too kind-hearted. I can't bear to see the wolf suffer. Look at all those holes in its body. It must hurt so much. Once it's completely dead, it won't hurt anymore, right? You must be a devil. Aside from the life card, this group of forest thorn wolves also dropped a superior white roulette. Shen Shen glanced at it. There were a total of six options on the front, but only one was useful, experience plus 300. The others were all dispensable, like instant noodles, glutinous rice, inflatable babies. After all, it was a white roulette, even with many front options. Premium rewards were still rare. Do you want it? Shi Xiaoyu handed the roulette to Chen Chen, her gaze instinctively landing on the largest area. Life-sized real doll, Boa Hancock. The proportion was a full 67%. Chen Chen couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. I don't need it. Really? Really? 
I don't believe it. To be honest, why not just change your surname to Lou? Really, I don't have time to argue with you. There should be a fight up ahead. Let's go take a look. You really don't want it? Don't want it. I believe it or not. You have to believe it. In the depths of the forest, where the Lord resided, after several rounds of probing, the earth-splitting giant python had raised enough vigilance against the Lu and Qin family's small team, no matter who attacked. It was no longer so easy. From all directions, the sounds of advancing beast roars began to echo. Lu Yunpan also understood that they had to resolve this quickly before the beast horde arrived. But that long worm, due to not being in peak condition and confirming they posed a threat, swung its massive tail, sometimes sweeping, sometimes slashing. They couldn't get close at all. Even if they approached to hit its tail or try to maneuver for a quick attack, the damage dealt was very limited. This isn't a solution. Qin Shang jumped back to avoid the sweeping tail, sweat pouring down his forehead. He wasn't losing his combat ability, but being toyed with by the earth-splitting giant python was far from pleasant. Lu Yunpan glanced over, then stop hiding it. Your collapse of heaven must have skills, right? Use it. I can only use it once, if I miss, it's wasted. Qin Chang knew this guy was waiting for him to act first, so he had to use this excuse to explain. If you have a way to make that big worm unable to dodge, I'll unleash my ultimate. If I had a way, would I be so passive? Then what are you even saying? With collapse of heaven equipped, Qin Chang seemed like a different person. You have the ability. You come? Then don't complain when the first kill is taken by my Qin family. After saying that, Qin Chang smashed his fists together, as if gathering power. Pingin and Shi Lu, find a way to restrict that guy's movements and create an opportunity for me. Yes, a response echoed, and four figures, holding shields, quickly approached from the southeast, southwest, northeast, and northwest. For the first time, the earth-splitting giant python's tail was met with a shield. Seeing this, Lu Yunpan frowned slightly, feeling a sense of being played by the Qin family. If they had this ability, why not use it earlier instead of jumping rope with them? He suddenly gripped the hilt of his knife and quietly contacted his brother through the command card, Yun Lu. When the opportunity arises, make sure to act before that Qin Chang kid. Got it. Lu Yun Lu replied. He also understood that their father agreed to team up with the Qin family to ensure they had enough manpower to kill the lord, not to hand over the treasure. After all, the rewards were substantial. At the same time, if there was a chance, Although the Pingin and Shilu sent by Qin Chang could withstand the earth-splitting giant python's attacks, completely restricting it was not easy. At this moment, not far away, two figures were already half-crouched in the trees. It was none other than Chen Chen and Shi Xiaoyu. Why are you stopping? Aren't you going to help? Shi Xiaoyu asked, her right hand already gripping the end of the rope dart, which was her starting position for the attack. The first attack of the rope dart was nothing more than a throw or a fling. The real trick was to create inertia, then manipulate the rope through pulling with both hands and hooking with both feet, achieving its elusive characteristics. Sometimes, before you even realized it, the dart tip was already in front of you. So, even without Chen Chen, the Lu and Qin families could still break the deadlock this time. But, if you want to go, go ahead. I'm just going to watch the show, Chen Chen said. If it weren't for his plan to undermine the Lu family from within and reclaim what belonged to him, he would have left long ago. Why would he intervene now when he wasn't needed and there was no benefit in doing so? If the Lu family was comfortable, he would be uncomfortable. That makes some sense, that big guy looks tough to deal with. Aren't you going? Work for the pay you receive, that's my principle. They only said to hold back the lord when the beast horde comes out, but didn't let me engage in a confrontation. Upon hearing this, Chen Shen's eyes shifted slightly. Are you in a contractual relationship with the Lu family? No. Then, the next moment, Chen Shen heard an answer that left him utterly speechless, that Lu Yunpan is my XXX boyfriend. Chen Shen, Sigma, surprised face, huh? Why are you staring so wide-eyed? I'm just lazy, too lazy to go to unfamiliar places. And since I know Lu Yunpan, I just stayed with the Lu family, perhaps due to the bloodthirsty potion. She saw you wasn't the so-called ice mountain when she was with him. Clearly, whether one is cold or not, depends on the person. Also, I'm still a virgin. Who asked you that? This girl really says whatever comes to her mind. She has no reservations. However, since their relationship wasn't very deep, there was a possibility of leverage. At the very least, their relationship couldn't be considered good. 
Just mutual exploitation. As the two were talking, the beast horde. The beast horde is coming. A sentry responsible for vigilance in the team shouted. After that, the bald man Afu pressed two fingers to his forehead and expanded his mental power. Young master, the scale of the beast horde is about 60% of the white beast tide. That is to say, around 300 beasts, those on the periphery, buy us some time. Lu Yunpan was unwilling to let Qin Chang deal with the lord alone. If he really got the first kill, the Lu family would suffer a huge loss. The numbers are still increasing. A Fu, who hadn't stopped his mental probing, shouted again. Among the four basic attributes, the enhancement of mental power mainly manifests in will and consciousness. In terms of support, it can be used for detection and interference when combined with related skills in combat. The enhancement of mental power can improve reaction speed to a certain extent. Visual capture, danger perception, physical response, all have significant effects. It can also help players maintain relative calm in desperate situations. However, since this attribute has the least obvious impact on combat power, its role in battles against ferocious beasts is relatively limited, so few players focus on investing points in it. This afu is just an exception. Damn it! The speed and scale of the approaching beast horde exceeded Lu Yunpan's initial expectations. He had fought against lord-level beasts before, and it was precisely because of that he knew. Survival must come first. Everyone, form an octagonal defensive formation. Prepare to resist the beast tide. The octagonal defensive formation aims to encircle the target in the center, sealing off its escape routes as much as possible. Outwardly, it resists the inevitable interference. This is similar to the initial octagonal assault formation. However, one focuses on attack, while the other focuses on defense. The purposes are different. One minute. Everyone, spread out. Be careful of that big bug's counterattack. Prioritize resisting the beast tide. Hurry, hurry, hurry. If you move slowly, the cost is death. Chen Chen, perched on a tree trunk, raised an eyebrow. Such an ancient formation is only needed in the early game. But it is useful. In the later stages, when individual combat power becomes strong, formations only serve a decorative purpose. The beast tide left little time for both families to react. Just as the formation took shape, countless ferocious beasts burst forth from the forest. Giant rodents, wolves, mountain cats, bears. These animals, which originally did not inhabit the Jiangnan region, had migrated back from further south after being mutated into ferocious beasts due to the arrival of devour life, and there were even traces of tigers and leopards. However, in this area, this territory, it was clear that the dominant force was the good old Lu Yunpan really only cares about himself. Watching the ten or so people from the Lu family scatter, Qin Chang couldn't help but curse under his breath. Although it was a gossip formation, the Lu family only focused on their own position at the five gates, completely ignoring the Qin family's position. Qin Chang had no choice but to seek stability first. Peace and joy. Come back. After brewing a powerful move for a few minutes, he could only turn back and strike towards the forest area. Damn you, beast. With a punch thrown, a terrifying shockwave uprooted many trees, and amidst the swirling dust, a faint smell of blood lingered. In the direction he struck, at least a dozen fierce beasts perished instantly. A large number of kill notifications popped up. Heavenly collapse. Indeed formidable. Ha! Chen Chen, who was watching the show, chuckled. This guy, is he just cursing while pointing at the mulberry tree? But it was a good curse. However, it wasn't long before the tree was no longer a safe zone. What was most abundant in the southern forest? Without a doubt. Snakes, rats, insects, and ants. After watching for just a moment, Chen Chen felt a chilling sensation at the back of his head. A dangerous signal feedback from his mental power. The young man dared not delay. He hooked his right foot around the tree trunk and, as his body lunged towards Mother Earth, he drew back his bowstring and shot out a piece of finger bone. Snap. With a light sound, the rapidly attacking mutated green snake was hit in the seven inches. Meanwhile, Chen Shen hooked his toes around the tree trunk, spun around like a hula hoop, and returned to the trunk. Kill. Experience plus five. Seeing the experience points pop up before him, he realized this was a bamboo leaf green snake that didn't even have a level. It couldn't even be considered a fierce beast. The basic experience points a player could gain from killing fierce beasts were normally ten times the beast's level. If it was elite or lord level, there would be additional boosts. If it had no level, 
It uniformly added five experience points. You're quite nimble. Have you practiced before? Not far away. Shi Xiaoyu asked after witnessing the earlier scene. The rope dart in her hand had already flown out countless times, and her experience was increasing by dozens. Ah, I often sleepwalk, so you can be speechless too. Nonsense. Of course, Chen Shen's skills were honed in his past life, the things deep in his consciousness were still his own body, so reproducing them was not difficult. But how to explain such things? It was better to dodge the question and brush it off. After a bit of teasing, Chen Shen's expression became serious. He had no interest in helping the Lu family fight the Lord, but if it was to grind experience for himself, he had to be diligent. At that moment, the young man took out a piece of bone and his slingshot shot out an illusion. As for aiming, the ground was filled with live targets. Was there a need to aim? Just glancing at them was a blatant disrespect. Kill. Experience plus 20. Kill. Experience plus 10. Kill. One kill notification after another. Experience notifications continuously appeared before Chin Chan's eyes. And soon. Congratulations on leveling up. Level 1. Free attribute points plus 5. Yes. In life devourer. Every level up grants free attribute points, you can allocate them wherever you want, which leads to many inexperienced players randomly distributing points in the early game. Even Chen Chen, in his past life, was late to realize, now that he had reloaded and started anew, how could he make the same mistakes again? With five free attribute points, he allocated three to strength, one to spirit, and one to speed. In the early stages, with insufficient attack power, Strength was naturally prioritized, with spirit and speed as supplements. Many players felt that adding spirit had no impact on attack power, so they simply didn't allocate points there. They would allocate all to attack or assist with attack speed. But in reality, if you viewed the body as a computer, then spirit was equivalent to the CPU. If the computing power couldn't increase, then everything else was meaningless. You couldn't neglect it, nor could you allocate everything to it. Therefore, as a gradual aid, allowing the body to adapt to the changes in attributes is the most reasonable and effective approach. After allocating the points, the young man felt as if he had been reborn. He then glanced at the experience points needed to level up to the next tier experience, 10 1000. Once the level was no longer zero, the experience required for leveling up skyrocketed, before level 10. Each level up required an additional thousand points of experience. Moreover, the greater the level difference between both parties, the less experience gained from kills. At a higher level, the experience gained is reduced by 10%, while the base remains unchanged. In other words, once the level exceeds 10, even if you are level 20 killing a level 10, or level 100 killing a level 90, you gain no experience. Conversely, if you kill an enemy of a higher level, for every level you surpass, the experience doubles. Formula X plus X asterisk Y, it sounds like a lot, but upon closer thought, if Chen Shan wants to level up directly, he needs to kill a level 11 beast to do so, even if he were to risk his life, the opportunity is slim. The rules of this data-driven world leave no room for negotiation, even if you lack just one point of strength, if you can't kill, you can't kill. Dismissing the panel in front of him, Chen Shan couldn't help but grin. Time to level up. Whoosh. Puff. Kill. Experience plus 90. Seeing this experience, Chen Shan raised the corners of his mouth in surprise. Hey, not bad luck. I hit a squishy level 3 monster. Using a slingshot to kill is much harder to defend against compared to a rope dart. After all, who would expect a stone to become a deadly weapon? A rope dart has distance limitations. The longer the rope, the longer the reach. However, a slingshot can be made with more resilient and elastic materials, further enhancing its lethality. The upper limit is higher. Continue. But this time, before Chen Chen could pull back the slingshot's rubber band, a voice rudely interrupted. Chen Chen? Shi Xiaoyu is here too. You two are really slow. What are you waiting for? Hold the boss. And the team can start harvesting after fending off the beast tide. Chen Chen, underscore. In other words, he really hated people with no sense of boundaries. This rude voice could only belong to Lu Yunpan, although the plan was set before departure. It was still annoying. Pull the monster? Then let's pull. Chen Chen chuckled to himself. But where to pull it to? He took out a tooth projectile, turned around, and aimed at the earth-splitting giant python's position. Distance 514 meters. Wind speed 3 meters per second. Humidity unknown. 
According to y equals x superscript 2 plus bx plus c, the angle of the parabolic trajectory should be 47 degrees upwards. Full draw. He he. Beside him, Shi Xiaoyu remarked, You're not a bullet. Why do you care about humidity? Just as Chen Chen released his grip, he tilted his head, his mouth twitching. You don't really think I'm calculating, do you? Isn't that so? What a joke. Can humans really learn math? Hiss. Oh, you calculated the parabola correctly. Hit the bug. After making Shi Xiaoyu speechless twice, Chen Chen became a bit more serious. With his level 1, hitting was no problem, but he might not even break through its defenses. However, the beast tooth has a special piercing effect. It may not cause damage, but it still hurts, especially since Chen Chen was aiming with the tip forward. Just then, the young man switched to a meatball. If I hit this one, I should at least get some aggro. Go! Two seconds later, bang! The explosion echoed through the forest, and soon after, the ground began to tremble. But it wasn't caused by the explosion, it was the earth-splitting giant python writhing continuously that caused the vibrations. Like a black bear rubbing against a tree, like a crocodile rolling around, the sudden situation left everyone stunned, their hands and feet busy dealing with the ferocious beasts, but their mouths couldn't stay quiet. What the hell is going on? What the hell just exploded? Who brought the gunpowder? Damn it! Come on, do you think gunpowder can affect a level 13 lord beast? Then, something's off. The vibrations seem to be getting closer. That giant worm isn't coming this way, is it? Don't tell me. It's already here. Damn. In the midst of the fierce battle with the beast horde, Lu Yunpan's ears perked up, and he heard the voices around him. He then looked back. His expression started indifferent, then narrowed in confusion, and finally widened in shock. I can't believe this. You useless idiot, how did you pull the monsters over? Chen Chen looked innocent, glancing at Lu Yunpan with a hint of apology. I just leveled up to level 1. His silence was deafening, but reality didn't give him even a moment to say another word. The earth-splitting giant python couldn't determine who had attacked it. So after rushing over, its tail slammed forward. Earth-splitting tail, one of the lord's skills. The terrifying force instantly smashed the ground before them creating a narrow crack that extended over 10 meters before finally stopping. The shockwave from this skill also affected everyone and the ferocious beasts around. Minus 312. Stunned. Lasts 3 seconds. Minus 312. Stunned. A large area of damage and stun notifications spread like splashes of water on the ground during a torrential rain. Dense yet orderly. Everyone received the same amount of damage, indicating this was a fixed damage value that ignored defenses. Immediately after, the giant snake's tail swept through. No one was spared, whether beast or human. Fortunately, under the Bagua defensive formation, the distribution of personnel was not dense, so the earth-splitting giant python's attack only affected Lu Yunpan and Lu Yunlu. This sweep caused varying degrees of damage, purely physical. Under the heavy blow, Lu Yunlu was sent flying straight into a tree, blood oozing from the corner of his mouth. Ah, ah, ugh. It's all your fault. Chen Chen. Compared to his older brother Lu Yunpan, Lu Yunlu was more vengeful. He had already been somewhat displeased with Chen Chen. And now this emotion erupted directly. After steadying himself, he charged towards the latter. Yun Lu. Lu Yunpan wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. The Lord is coming. Some things need to be set aside for now. But, can't you tell what's more important? Lu Yunlu clenched his fists, glaring fiercely at Chen Chen. You wait. After this, you'll see, Chen Chen, however, didn't care, if a dog barks at you, do you bark back? How do you like the monsters I pulled this time, gentlemen? Upon hearing this, Lu Yunpan nearly exploded, pull them back, circle around, just don't let this worm heal, who the hell told you to pull them over? I'm just a newbie, how would I know so much? Chen Chen muttered, Lu Yunpan was furious, and with his internal injuries, he couldn't help but cough up some blood. If it weren't for Chen Chen's value to the Lu family, and the need to conserve energy to deal with the Lord, he would have wanted to take down the latter himself. In today's world, strength is always the top priority, and Chen Chen's ability was a double-edged sword. Keeping him would help enhance the Lu family's strength, but letting him run to another faction would be tantamount to aiding the enemy. The latter was something the Lu family absolutely did not want to see. If it must come to that, even if it means destruction, I cannot be a pawn for others. Lu Yunpan took a deep breath and swung a punch. 
striking the earth-splitting giant python hard, establishing a bond of hatred, with both sides at the same level. The latter also held some trepidation towards the former. Only when the two forces converged did the earth-splitting giant python finally cease its agitation. Seizing the moment, Lu Yunpan shot a glance at Chen Chen and said, Now, you understand, right? Chen Chen smirked slightly, realizing that this wave of disgust was enough, causing more trouble would be counterproductive. So he replied, Got it, leave it to me. With that, a meatball bullet appeared in his hand again. As for what this thing was, rough blood heat bullet, made primarily from the venomous flesh of the fiery blood red snake, mixed with other auxiliary materials. The blood heat toxin can cause small-scale blood explosions, inducing a frenzied state that lasts for 5 seconds, frenzied, extremely itchy, unable to perform normal attacks, and unable to control the release of other skills, level restriction, effective only on targets below level 15. Crafting process, white, rough, he he, big worm, look here. Chen Chen drew back the bowstring and instantly shot out the blood heat bullet. In the blink of an eye, the earth-splitting giant python exploded with a bang. Hiss. The earth-splitting giant python had finally found its nemesis. It twisted its body and charged towards Chen Chen, rather than using skills. It preferred to swallow him whole. Itch. Deadly itch. And it couldn't even scratch it. Who could stand this? What exactly did you do to it? Shi Xiaoyu was somewhat bewildered at this scene. Chen Chen chuckled. I'm just a level 1 rookie, how could I possibly have any tricks to deal with a lord? Should you expect me to break its defenses? Shi Xiaoyu, level 1? How does this guy not resemble a level 1 rookie at all? By now, Shi Xiaoyu was having a hard time pinning down this man beside her. Which level 1 rookie could hide so many little secrets? The bloodthirsty potion was one thing, but his methods could even affect a level 13 lord? Moreover, that slingshot in his hand was no ordinary item. Hey. I don't have time to chat with you, the big worm is coming to play with me. With that, Chen Chen no longer lingered, leaping to another tree. With his temporary attributes, his speed had reached 9 points. Coupled with the leg strength from his power attribute, he moved through the forest much faster. The earth-splitting giant python wanted to chase him, but it had to maneuver left and right. So no matter how fast it was, it was futile, even crashing into a tree trunk wouldn't help. A fallen tree couldn't serve as a leverage point anymore? Besides, this forest was its home, crashing into trees. Wasn't that like demolishing its own house? Under such circumstances, in less than a minute, Chen Chen had opened up a distance of nearly a hundred meters. This was still intentional, otherwise, if he ran too far, the giant python would have given up on him for nothing. He had to maintain a distance where it couldn't catch up but could still see him. After all, even a sea king has to keep a backup plan these days next. Let the Lu families stealing the treasure but losing the rice operation begin. They had gathered a large force to come to this forest. Didn't they just want the reward for the first kill of the lord? I won't let you have your way. Of course, sending a level 1 to fight a level 13 was still unrealistic. The bloodthirsty potion could bridge the gap between the two. But the earth-splitting giant python still had over 2000 health left. What could one second do? The temporary attributes were not within the amplification range, so taking the potion would mean 40 points of strength. Ignoring the combat power difference would result in 400 points of damage, and after a critical hit, it would be 800 points. It couldn't be killed. Absolutely couldn't be killed. The consequence would be dying in a state of weakness lasting 3 seconds. So, this plan had to be passed. No matter how extraordinary he was, or how many cheats he had, it was still impossible. There's no choice but to seek another way. Looking at the overall situation, the only ones capable of accomplishing this task are the Qin family. Additionally, a retreat plan must be devised. Lu Yunlu is itching to tear him apart, so appearing before him without absolute leverage is no different from seeking punishment. Now that he is officially a player, it's time to enter the second phase. After Chen Chen pulled away the earth-splitting giant python, Lu Yunpan, who was commanding the defense against the beast tide, furrowed his brows, staring in the direction he had left, how much more is that guy hiding in his head? Clearly, what could influence a level 13 Lord Beast had truly caught Lu Yunpan's attention. If such a thing were in someone else's hands, big brother, we absolutely cannot let him go like this. Lu Yunlu spoke up, between us, whether it's the soul-sucking sword or the pill formula, it's not like those other soul-sucking maggots, who just had a longevity pill taken from them, this not. I'm afraid it can't be untied. In his words, 
He was also considering his supporter from before the apocalypse. Of course, there was some dissatisfaction with Chun Chen. That guy's demeanor reminded him of his previous group of black fans. Although after the Liu family gained power, he had taken the opportunity to deal with some of them and humiliated quite a few. But with such a character, how could he just let it go? So, there's no way we can completely control him. I know this, Liu Yunpan said. Not only do I know, but our father knows as well. So from the very beginning, our decision has been to destroy what we cannot obtain. Just squeeze out the last bit of value from this guy. What about his things? What's so difficult about that? Just lock him up. If he's willing to make those medicines for us, we'll give him some food. Otherwise, if he starves to death, what does it have to do with me, Loosen you, who had been listening to the conspiracy the whole time, suddenly curled her lips. You guys are still so sinister. Sinister? Lu Yunpan shot her a sideways glance. My dear sister, this world doesn't need good people. To this, Lu Sinyu had no response, but she felt a bit uncomfortable inside. She hadn't always acted like this. After addressing Lu Sinyu, Lu Yunpan continued, The beast tide level isn't high, it's better to settle it early. Let's take down that lord. If the first kill announcement doesn't come out, more and more people will rush over. Just as the Lu brothers were conspiring about something. The protagonist of the conspiracy was calmly pulling monsters and noticed something was off. No, something's not right. The reason was simple, the Jiangnan settlement was vast. The forces within were intricate and varied in strength, competing for interests. Based on this, how could a newly born lord in the northwest be known to the southern Lu family? Moreover, it was a newly born lord with the first kill still in play. Such an existence, once it appeared, would be concealed by the major forces in no time, how could it be detected by the Lu family's radar? Not to mention that another Qin family had popped up. Could it be that the northern forces were well-fed and voluntarily relinquished their interests? The likelihood of that was low, to say the least. Therefore, it made no sense for news of a new lord to leak to the southern Lu family unless it was intentionally spread by the northern forces. Almost only this possibility remained. But, why? Chen Chen kept recalling events from his past life. Wondering what had happened in the north that would make them give up even the first kill of a lord? Or was it thrown out as a decoy to mislead? At the very least, the value had to exceed that. Unfortunately, no matter how hard he racked his brain, at this point, on the 24th day since the arrival of soul sucking, the answer was none. At this point, all he could do was take it one step at a time. After once again finding a place to land, Chen Chen found himself in a stronghold resisting the beast tide which was precisely the area under the Qin family's responsibility. What is this guy really plotting? Shi Xiaoyu, following behind, tilted her head, trying to understand Chen Chen's intentions. Hey, isn't that the Qin family's stronghold? Could it be that he wants to? Shi Xiaoyu hurriedly caught up. However, within just a few breaths, the earth-splitting giant python had already arrived at the back of the Qin family's stronghold first. How could the commotion of that massive creature be hidden? Young Master Qin, something's not right, this creature's aggro isn't on us. The speaker was a man in his 40s or 50s. He wasn't particularly strong, but he had seen enough of the ferocious beast's behavior to know that the giant python's target was clearly not their stronghold, but rather, above? That is, above. Chen Chen had already drawn his bowstring and shot out another blood heat bullet. However, having suffered two losses already, the earth-splitting giant python would not fall for the same trick again. The enormous snake had swiftly moved to the side, narrowly avoiding the bullet shot by the young man. But just as it turned back in anger, glaring at the boy for a moment, a swift and unavoidable point of black appeared in the center of its vertical eye. If the earth-splitting giant python could speak, it would definitely say, I'm done for. You little rascal. Boom. A burst of purple mist exploded from the giant snake's head, and two lines of text jumped out from the earth-splitting giant python, severe poison lasts 3 seconds, severe poison, unable to act, loses 12% of health per second, can be fatal. The middle-aged man who witnessed this moment felt a sudden jolt in his heart, and his gaze instantly turned cold. Young Master Qin, a great opportunity. Qin Chang certainly knew this, and without needing a reminder, his figure had already surged forward, heaven-crushing heavy fist, without a doubt. This was a skill attached to his heaven-crushing gauntlet and it was an instant cast skill that required no charging. The earth-splitting giant python, unable to act, could only watch helplessly as the fist came crashing toward it, unable to evade. 
From the moment it became a lord, it had been contemplating how it would die, but no matter how it thought, it could never have imagined it would meet such a fate. Damn it. I still have one skill left to use. In a state of severe poison, the already unhealthy earth-splitting giant python was reduced to critical health in just one second. And then it received a heavy punch from Qin Chan. How could it possibly survive? The bright red kill notification contrasted sharply with its lifeless body lying on the ground. The next moment. Congratulations to player Qin Chan for achieving the first kill of the regional lord earth-splitting giant python. Reward, 100 years of lifespan, one purple lifespan roulette, and a first kill gift pack. Congratulations to player Qin Chang. Congratulations. A series of three announcements echoed in the world channel, which all official players could receive, no matter what you were doing. It would be forcibly broadcast. This included the Lu family brothers who were dealing with the beast tide. Lu Yunpan's hand, which was wielding a knife, froze in midair at the sound in his ear, his eyes twitching as if he had contracted a serious illness. How could this be? How could this be? Big brother, the Lord was. I'm not deaf. Lu Yunpan was filled with murderous intent. What a Qin Chang. Truly what a Qin Chang. The first kill of the Lord was snatched away and their operation this time was equivalent to being wasted. Not long after, Lu Tianyuan, far away in the southern Jiangnan settlement, also sent a message, what happened? How did the first kill get taken by that kid from the Qin family? Didn't I say to find an opportunity to take him out? Useless. Useless. You bunch of useless trash. Lu Yunpan couldn't help but roar, useless. Good for nothing. You worthless things. The members of the Vanguard team, hearing this, were all filled with anger but dared not speak. Look at what you just said, it was you who told us to resist the beast tide. Is it our fault that the first kill was taken? Isn't this like blaming your wife for not being able to have children and then forcing her to get sterilized? People can't be this unreasonable. Of course, they would never dare to say this. Everyone, follow me. Lu Yunpan could no longer hold back, if he didn't go find trouble with the Qin family. How could he face himself? On the other side, she Xiaoyu, who had witnessed everything, gaped in disbelief, her heart in turmoil. She could no longer imagine how many secrets this man still had. A slingshot shot, and a level 13 lord couldn't even move? What kind of interstellar joke is this? But at that moment, Chen Chen's face only showed pain and a hint of suspicion. The pain was because he only had two of those bullets. Its name, Fiery Blood Serpent Gall Bullet, made with the gallbladder of the Fiery Blood Red Serpent as the core material mixed with other auxiliary materials for tanning. After hitting the target, the gallbladder toxin will inflict a severe poison status. Lasting for 3 seconds, severe poison, unable to act, reduces 12% of health per second. Can be fatal, level restriction, only effective against targets below level 15. Crafting process, rough and crude. This is why, when Chen Chen chose the fiery blood red serpent as the designated reward, it was judged as the grand prize. In terms of effectiveness, it far surpassed a yellow longevity pill. The fiery blood red serpent is a treasure. The serpent's meat and blood can be used to make blood heat bullets, bullets, arrowheads, poison pills, or coatings for various weapons. The serpent's tendons are extremely resilient and provide varying elastic force bonuses based on level, making them excellent materials for strings, though they are generally used for bowstrings. A slingshot. Who would take a slingshot out normally? Do they think it's for shooting birds like when they were kids? The gallbladder is among the top 5 poisonous substances among low-level ferocious beasts, affecting both humans and beasts equally below level 15. Its wide-ranging effects are much stronger than a simple longevity pill. It deserves the grand prize. Everyone thought Chen Shen had drawn a ferocious beast snake, but no one expected he had drawn a, well, a treasure snake. As for the suspicion, it was because, it can't be wrong. This feeling, it should be. At the moment the earth-splitting giant python fell dead, besides the announcement in his ear, Chen Chen felt another movement. At first, he was just suspicious, but by now, he was certain, it must be, over there. Hey, where are you going? Shi Xiaoyu, who had been keeping her eyes on Chen Chen, called out as he suddenly moved. She didn't expect Chen Chen to actually rely on himself, taking the first kill from the Qin family, which had only a slight advantage over the Lu family. That thing doesn't care about who gets there first. It was obvious to anyone that the core element for Qin Chang to seize the first kill was the severe poison state of the earth-splitting giant python, even if he had sky collapse, he still had to hit it, right? Without an output environment, 
Even the Liu family would take a long time to grind it down. I must find out. Unfortunately, the boy who had already left didn't look back, ignoring her voice as he rushed forward. Shi Xiaoyu hesitated for a moment but ultimately chose to chase after him, only to have another pair of eyes closely watching her from behind. How many secrets do you still have? As her voice fell, she quickened her pace. Just as she left, the Lu family followed closely behind, their figures lingering and departing in an instant. Where's Sinyu? Lu Yunpan suddenly asked at the front of the group. That woman. Lu Yunlu seemed to have lost his composure due to the first kill being snatched away. But before he could finish, he was stopped by Lu Yunpan, Yunlu, I. Lu Yunlu quickly corrected himself, what I mean is, why has Sinyu disappeared? Anyone will do, hurry and find the young lady, the family will reward you with points. Unfortunately, they were now in a dense forest where fierce beasts could appear at any moment, and the danger of acting alone, was obvious, but just as everyone fell silent, how about I go? A voice drew everyone's attention, who was this brave soul daring to act alone? You? A level 4 rookie. When everyone's gaze locked onto the speaker, they realized it was the lowest ranked member of the team, Dong Fang Yin Yin. However, as the mocking voices began, Lu Yun Lu quickly interjected, All right, it's you. His only goal was to divert the other's attention. As for who went and whether they would die, what did it matter to him? As long as someone went, that was enough. Whom? Lu Yun Pan nodded slightly in satisfaction. The family can promise you 100 points, you can exchange them for whatever you want later. Hearing about the 100 points, the members of the vanguard who had remained silent just now were all envious. A few of them were just short of that 100 points to exchange for a longevity pill. Young master, no need to say more. You didn't go just now. And now, it's too late. Dong Fang Yen Yen, hey, thank you. Young master, hmm, go ahead. Yes, watching Dong Fang Yen Yen leave. Lu Yunpan's gaze shifted back to the direction of the Qin family, and after a moment of contemplation, he said, let's go. Northern Dense Forest. About 10 miles from the place where the earth-splitting giant python died, Chen Shen suddenly stopped at a tree, and before him was a stone altar that looked like it had been there for many years. Its shape was that of an equilateral geometric figure, with lines so numerous that it was almost circular, and in the middle of the outer circle was a similar shape but not a complete copy, it was slightly offset, similar to an intersecting hexagram, the inner circle had rotated half a turn more than the outer circle, from a distance, the stone altar was covered with some moss, and there were green vines around it, completely unlike anything that should exist in the original world, even the mysteriously renowned Mayan civilization did not have such architecture, moreover, this was originally the territory of Huaxia, at this moment, there was a faint blue glow surrounding the stone altar. No doubt about it. It really is. Chen Shen had seen this kind of stone altar in his past life. So he was extremely certain. Although he had never entered one personally, he knew that in his previous life, the reason Devouring Life was updated to the Great Rebirth version was due to the appearance of a relic. That's right. A relic. The stone altar before him was a relic. A relic that did not belong to Huaxia civilization, nor to Earth civilization. Its origin remained a mystery even in his past life. But upon careful reflection, the relic of the Great Rebirth version should have appeared on the 46th day after the game's arrival, right? So why was this one? Why? Moreover, this relic was actually activated because the earth-splitting giant python died. That snake can't be the guardian beast of the relic, can it? Chen Shen couldn't help but think. And just then, a number of figures wielding weapons suddenly appeared on the eastern side of the stone altar relic. There were all kinds of weapons, swords, guns, spears, and halberds, about 30 people in total. The news about the earth-splitting giant python must have been released by them, right? Chen Chen thought. But unfortunately, the distance was too far, and without any mental skills, he couldn't hear the conversations over there, he could only see the few leaders with excited expressions, and some cunning, half-satisfied smirks. Clearly, they at least knew of the relic's existence and there was quite a bit of understanding. Otherwise, how could they have actively leaked the information about the earth-splitting giant python? How could they have appeared near the ruins just as the giant python died? Among the group, the leader had already walked to the top of the stone altar, holding an object resembling a compass. As soon as he arrived, the blue light on the altar suddenly intensified. If it were night, this light could probably illuminate the night sky. After a moment, 
A slightly smaller inner circle of the altar began to tremble slightly, slowly revealing a dark passage leading downward. It seemed like an underground tunnel. However, from a distance, Shen Shen couldn't see it clearly. Shortly after the passage appeared, the group took out flashlights one after another and entered in order. And only when the last person had entered did the passage slowly close. At this point, Chen Shen stood up generously, leaping down from the tree, intending to approach the stone altar. But as soon as his feet touched the ground, the young man turned back and chuckled. Have you seen enough of the show? Come on out. His mental power couldn't detect anything on the altar. But there was no pressure around him, if the people following him had any killing intent. He would have struck first. I didn't intend to hide, it just wasn't the right time to appear. You two left the group without permission. I have a responsibility to come and check, don't I? Ah, uh, Brother Chuan, I came to bring Miss Lu back. Shen Shen didn't expect that there were actually three tailing him, and they were following quite closely. But now that it had come to this, he had to accept the reality. If it were someone else, he could just kill them. But here, one could be beneficial for his future dealings with the Lu family, and one was a friend from his past life. The last one, although surnamed Lu, Seem to have some issues with the Lu family. Since you all came and saw everything, what are you planning to do next? Chen Shen crossed his arms, naturally pointing to the suddenly appeared ruins, yet his tone carried a sense of whoever dares to report. I will kill them. Clearly a level 1 rookie, yet he could exert such pressure, which was bizarre and perplexing. But it was the truth. Shi Xiaoyu and Dong Fan Yen Yen were both taken aback, while Lu Xinyu stubbornly retorted, but the passage has already closed. What can you do? She, too, was filled with a sense of exploration towards the stone altar that seemed completely unlike any civilization on earth, subconsciously ignoring the pressure Chen Chen brought. The latter let out a deep breath. Yes, what could he do? In his past life, he might have hesitated, letting opportunities slip away. But in this life, follow me. Upon hearing this, everyone did not argue and followed him to the top of the stone altar, where the faint blue light still flickered. However, the stone steps leading down were gone. That compass they had earlier should be the key to enter, right? Without that, how will you open the door? Shi Xiaoyu asked after looking around. But Chen Chen just smiled and took out a bone about three feet long, resembling a long sword. From his spatial ring, who said this door can only be opened with a key? Brother Chuan, you wouldn't. Before Dong Fan Yen Yen could finish her sentence, she saw Chen Chen stab the bone fiercely at the center of the stone altar. Bang! A sudden dull sound echoed, and the center of the altar was punctured by his bone. She and Lu and Yen, degree A degree. No, could you be any more reckless? Is it really that simple? Lu Sinyu stared in disbelief at the stone steps slowly appearing before her, which looked almost identical to the ones opened by the group with the compass earlier. Brother Chuan, impressive. Chen Shen smiled as he retracted the long sword bone and said, A small ruin like this. Can such an old-fashioned latch lock withstand my swordfish spine bone? Ruins? An old-fashioned buckle lock? Upon hearing this, the other three were left dumbfounded. I mean, is there really a connection between these two terms? Ruin sounds grand, old-fashioned buckle lock sounds so low-class. Is it really reasonable for them to appear together? In fact, Chen Chen knew this thanks to an experience from his past life. Let's go down together. But with all this noise, we need to be ready for a fight at any moment. With that, Chen Shen had already pulled back a tooth in his slingshot to half draw. At the slightest hint of trouble, he could launch it in a breath, hitting the target. Don't ask him why he was so accurate with the slingshot as a child. He was mischievous and would shoot down any bird's nest he saw. And over time, he became a perfect shot. Practice makes perfect. The three behind him were a bit surprised, but they tightened their grips on their weapons, ready to respond to any attack. The stone path going down was narrow just wide enough for one person to pass. The steps were slightly mossy, likely due to the dampness, making them very slippery, and there was only a faint light source to help discern the direction, making the whole process slow. Even if you had a speed of 20 or 30 points, you could only go down one step at a time. Chen Chen lost count of how many steps there were, but he knew the whole process took over 30 minutes. Just as the two girls behind him were starting to feel a bit anxious, the light ahead finally brightened at a corner. However, just as the boy in front poked his head out, a cold wind howled towards him, thud a long wooden spear brushed past his face, directly stabbing into the stone crevice of the tunnel, the spear's tail vibrating from the inertia. 
Immediately after, as the vibration subsided, the spear was pulled back. It turned out the spear's tail was tied to a rope for retrieval. But before this action was completed, a soft thud echoed in the narrow passage. Due to the enclosed environment and some spaciousness, even breathing had a faint echo. Just after that slight vibration, there came a thud sound. The sound of someone kneeling on the ground, followed by the clatter of the spear falling to the ground. The whole process was over in the blink of an eye. The speed was so fast that even Shi Xiaoyu, a quick attacker, was caught off guard. She thought to herself that if it were her, it would be hard to retaliate so swiftly. Let's go. There's only one sentry. While the three were still in a daze, Chen Chen had already called out ahead. To him, killing a person was no different from stepping on an ant. In fact, it was even less exciting than killing a kuan. Is he really a newbie who just became a formal player? Shi Xiaoyu thought, considering both the hidden methods and the calmness he displayed while killing. It didn't seem like it. Not at all. Lu Xinyu felt a sense of being toyed with, recalling how she had brought him to the Junxiang defense zone when he had looked so timid. Now it seemed, he was just pretending, right? Because the stakes in his hands were still unclear, and their effects had yet to manifest, he had acted relatively low-key? Dong Fan Yen Yen, Brother Chuan is awesome. After the four of them crawled out of the dark, damp path, their vision finally opened up. The ground was marked with some splattered, still drying blood, broken arrows, and a few bloodied wood chips. A glance was enough to tell that these were all traces left by old-fashioned mechanisms. Could this really be left by ancient people? Shi Xiaoyu glanced around and sighed slightly. Lu Xinyu then stepped forward to check the identity of the person Chen Chen had killed. And after a moment, she showed a hint of surprise. It's someone from the Jing family. The Jing family? Chen Chen was also a bit surprised upon hearing this. Which Jing family? Although he asked this, his heart was as clear as a mirror. The Jing family, known as the Tiger of South China built their reputation during the early days of the life-eating event, primarily showcasing their bravery and combat skills. Even a level 1 novice could defeat ferocious beasts 3 or 4 levels higher through sheer technique. As a result, the Jing family's strength rose rapidly. However, in his past life, Chen Chen's understanding of the Jing family was limited to the title tiger of South China, and he knew little else, not even who among them was the strongest, let alone that they had explored ruins. But one thing was certain, the Jing family, crowned with the title Tiger of South China, was indeed a top-tier force. Next, Lu Xinyu's introduction aligned perfectly with his understanding. Brother Chuan, what should we do? Should we continue deeper? Dong Fan Yen Yen was rather simple-minded, a good-natured person even before the apocalypse. Now that he realized he had offended the Jing family, he instinctively wanted to back out. But at this point, if they retreated, they wouldn't even get a sip of soup. We've come this far, I can't leave empty-handed, Chen Chen said. It feels quite exciting, I'm staying, Shi Xiaoyu declared. As she was merely relying on the Lu family anyway, she could survive anywhere. The Jing family has a significant purpose for appearing here, I want to stay and see, Lu Xinyu said, though her tone didn't quite reflect that perspective. Hearing both women express their intentions, Dong Fang Yen Yen couldn't help but look a bit disheartened. Ultimately, a firm resolve ignited on his large face, all right. Then I'll stay too. Chen Chen understood his character well. Perhaps it was precisely for this reason that in his past life, if you're not afraid of death, follow me. Chen Chen said, stepping forward. The underground environment resembled the tomb passages from a treasure hunting movie, about two meters wide and less than three meters high, enough for four people to walk side by side. However, for safety, the four proceeded cautiously in a one-to-one -one formation. The passage was covered in moss and a dampness lingered in the air, hard to shake off, but as they ventured deeper, problems soon arose, hey, the heavens are quite considerate, one path for each of us, who's going to choose first, before them lay four separate forks in the path, each with a distinctly different environment, some were dry like yellow sand, others were wet with puddles everywhere, some were dark and shadowy, and others were blazing with light, this, is this really underground, Dong Fan Yen Yen gazed ahead, confusion written all over her small eyes. All right, I believe this isn't left by ancient people. She saw you frown slightly, in such an environment underground. Not to mention ancient people, even modern technology would require VR to achieve this, right? But where did it come from? Lu Xinyu looked puzzled. What could be at the end of the passage? Who knows? Chen Shen turned his face and smiled, he only had a guess. 
which had remained just a guess in his past life. Let's pick a path and see what happens. Who's going first? As soon as Chen Chen finished speaking, the other three exchanged glances. With such paths before them, the Jing family must have entered one of them, leaving only one person as a lookout. But whether it was dangerous or not remained unknown. Forget it, my life is the least valuable. I'll go first, Chen Chen said, stepping boldly to the center of the four paths as the others hesitated. If fate allows, I'll take this one. Without waiting for a response, he walked straight into the dark path, as the light flickered, the boy vanished from sight. After that, the path disappeared, leaving only a brick wall in its place. Is this, a teleportation portal? No wonder there are all kinds of environments. The two women suddenly exclaimed, followed by a burst of curses from behind, damn it, we're already here, just go for it. Seeing Chen Chen take the lead, Dong Fan Yen Yen seemed to be inspired letting out a howl as she boldly stepped into the desert-like passage, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Which one will you choose? With only two passages left, Shi Xiaoyu couldn't help but ask. That big guy is right. Just do it. I'm afraid of the dark. So I'll take this one. Lu Sinyu said, walking directly to the path where water pooled and the environment was rather dim, hesitating for a few seconds before stepping in. Shi Xiaoyu raised an eyebrow at this. I'm not afraid of the dark, darkness is my camouflage. After saying that, she also entered the last remaining path, the one blazing with light above. The darkness these two women spoke of was probably tanned. In the dark, lightless passage, the young man walked slowly, trying not to make a sound with his footsteps, with only the sound of dripping water from the stalactites above echoing softly. If one were to ask why he chose this path, others might have made a blind choice, but Chen Chen was different. Upon entering the passage, he was certain of his guess. The choice of the fork in the road, along with the buckle lock at the entrance of the stone platform, all came from a so-called interview program from his past life. It was the 63rd day since the game arrived. The first base city on earth, Chuanbei Base City, was established, and on the eve of that, to dismantle the devouring maggots class, igniting hope for all humanity, a program was launched in Chuanbei Base City. Through some formal players, it was broadcasted to the chat channel of devouring. Its name, Fortune. The content was to interview those who had experienced various fortunes and ultimately became strong, becoming influential figures, promoting their experiences to encourage everyone to explore the new earth. Unfortunately, not all formal players wished for this. The program didn't last long before it was halted. After all, no one wanted to see more people competing for opportunities without reason, and many realized that the launch of Fortune was meant to dismantle the devouring maggots class accustomed to being high above, who still hoped for equal human rights, unknown ruins, no, one, Chen Shen was certain that everything here was very similar to what he learned about the no, one unknown ruins in fortune from his past life, the differences in time could even be negligible, he also clearly remembered that it was that dark, lightless passage that provided the interviewer with an excellent opportunity, to think the same passage would appear, hey, I wonder if that lucky guy is inside, Chen Shen thought to himself, his steps never faltering as he approached, finally seeing a distant beam of light deep within the passage, very faint, yet extremely bright, contradictory, yet reasonable. Sure enough, the young man was slightly taken aback but made up his mind in the next moment. The slingshot in his hand was pulled to its limit, the rubber band wrapped around a beast's tooth, in his mouth, a golden gun dragon fish muscle activation capsule rolled down into his stomach and the moment he felt the surge of power, he released his hand. Whoosh! Perhaps due to the limited space of the passage, the beast's tooth bullet caused an extremely slight air vibration during its flight, creating an echo, but it was only for a brief moment. By the time the figure ahead reacted, the beast's tooth had already pierced into the back of his neck, shattering his entire jaw. The death was incredibly tragic. Huff! Having snatched someone else's opportunity, Chen Shen suddenly felt a pang of conscience, so he let out a long breath. Even though, he had no conscience, Chen Shen never considered himself a selfless person, in comparison, he was somewhat selfish, though not to an extreme degree. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself for revealing all the past opportunities, and coincidentally, someone was reborn and happened to stumble upon it. Chen Shen said shamelessly, the odds were very low, weren't they? Maybe one day in the future. Someone will come from behind and take me down. The young man walked towards the source of the light, pausing for a moment before bending down to take a look. 
Everything was normal in front of the grave of the deceased. Jing Ze, it really is correct. As for why he was sitting here, completely exposing his back to him, it was because welcome, challenger. When Chen Chen placed his right hand on the stone wall ahead, a melodious and light female voice echoed in the narrow space. I am the examiner of the Thousand Star Trial Ground Channel 03, and you will undergo a mental strength assessment. This was it. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen's heart leaped with joy. Jing Ze, the first fire mage after the great job change version, the first true ranged class since the arrival of Devour Life. The root of it all was that he had once undergone this mental strength assessment, laying a solid foundation. It was also he who allowed humanity to re-recognize the game Devour Life, recognizing the core of global datization. Thousand Star Trial Ground. Channel 01. Desert. Welcome. Challenger. I am the examiner of the Thousand Star Trial Ground Channel 01, and you will undergo a strength assessment. In the channel where Dongfang Yen Yen was, there was no one else present. Thousand Star Trial Ground. Channel 17. Blazing, you. The woman clutched her already perforated chest. Her eyes filled with unwillingness. How did you get in here? She saw you. Hearing this, wiped the blood from the corner of her mouth under the blazing sun. I walked in. The woman in front of her had caused her some trouble, but not much. The advantage of a professional lies in their ability to fully exert their power. With this advantage, even with slightly lower attributes, they could still win. A normal player with 10 points of strength could only exert 7 or 8 points, but a professional could exert it completely, even exceeding the norm. The gap between the two is evident. The Jing family will never let you go. After saying this, the woman still harbored her unwillingness, dying with eyes wide open. After dealing with the enemy, Shi Xiaoyu also reached out and pressed against the stone wall in front of her. The light female voice followed. Welcome, challenger. I am the examiner of the Thousand Star Trial Ground Channel 17, and you will undergo a dexterity assessment. An assessment? Ha! Thousand Star Trial Ground. Channel 14. Wetlands, compared to Chen Chen's decisiveness, Dong Fang Yen Yen's luck, and Shi Xiaoyu's quick resolution of battle. Lu Xinyu was caught in a tough fight. In this wetland, there were actually three opponents at the same time. She tightened her long sword, and after a fierce battle, she managed to severely injure two of them, but she herself was also wounded. How did you know about this place? When the battle reached a pause, the opponent asked the same question as Shi Xiaoyu's adversary. It was clear that this place was discovered by the Jing family and had not been mentioned to anyone, so they were very confused about the presence of others following them. I discovered it by chance. Is that not allowed? Lu Xinyu instinctively concealed Chun Chen's existence upon hearing this. This is absolutely impossible. The stone altar is right there. How can it be impossible? My Jing family has gone through great lengths. At this point, the person stopped speaking. In any case, this is impossible. No one else could know about this place besides my Jing family. Upon hearing this, Lu Xinyu flicked her long sword. Whether it's possible or not, go ask King Yin yourself. As soon as the words fell, she stepped on the wetland and leaped up. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? The sound of clashing metal echoed continuously in this place. If we were to speak of Lu Sinyu's advantages, it would probably be that her rank is slightly higher than the three opponents across from her. Although the overall strength of the Jing family surpasses that of the Lu family. However, not everyone from the Jing family is strong. There will always be relatively weaker members. After a while, the two sides were in a standoff. The two heavily injured opponents had already been defeated by Lu Sinyu, but the remaining one was evenly matched with her due to skill. They fought back and forth without a clear victory, but at that moment, an indescribable pressure descended upon both of them, rendering them completely immobile. Congratulations, challengers, I am the examiner of Passage 14 in the Thousand Star Trial Ground. You have passed the initial skill assessment, and in three minutes, you will enter the re-examination phase. Skill assessment? The voice in their ears left both of them puzzled. Unfortunately, the weight of that pressure still bore down on them. In passage 03, the mental strength assessment. The young man sat cross-legged on the ground, keeping a vigilant watch over the entrance of the passage, while on the other side, he continuously completed the relic assessments. The so-called mental strength assessment, to put it simply, is about the application of mental strength. From a subjective perspective, Mental strength is also called agency, but here, it mainly manifests in intention. Countless blocks lay in Chen Chen's mind, 
and he could only move them by thinking. The goal was to arrange the blocks into the shape given by the so-called examiner. Not a single mistake could be made. Starting with eight blocks, Chen Chen stacked them repeatedly, and now the number of blocks he needed to move had reached 512. With each completion adding one more block, it seemed there was no end in sight. When he placed the 512th block in the correct position for this round, passed. Entering difficulty level 7. Please stack the blocks into the given shape. But be aware, this round must be completed within 32 minutes. The young man raised an eyebrow, the number had doubled again, and there was a time limit now. How far does this ridiculous assessment go before it ends? Of course, grumbling aside, the assessment had come, so it had to be completed. 1024 blocks might be a bit challenging for others, as they might not be very familiar with the application of mental strength. But for Chen Chen, it posed no difficulty at all. It wasn't that he was strong. It was just familiarity. Anyone who had developed their mental strength in their past life would find these tasks not difficult. It was merely a matter of time. The 32 minutes for this difficulty level 7 was hardly needed. Sure enough, in less than 10 minutes, the assessment was completed again. Passed. Entering difficulty level 8. Please stack the blocks. But be aware. This round must be completed within 30 minutes. Not done yet. Chen Shen couldn't help but scream internally. He was starting to wonder how many rounds Jing Zhe had passed. Was being a fire mage really this difficult? It seemed better to continue playing with the slingshot. Next. Difficulty 9. Difficulty 10. Difficulty 11. Until difficulty 12. The number of blocks reached 32. 768, and the time was only 22 minutes, Chen Chen barely passed the assessment on time, immediately after, passed, entering difficulty level 13, Chen Chen, W, W, over 65,000 blocks, 20 minutes, this ridiculous assessment really seemed endless, didn't it, this time, after going through the previous 12 assessments, Chen Chen, who was already somewhat mentally fatigued, finally tasted failure, but for some reason, as he sighed in relief, his mental strength instantly returned to full capacity. The fatigue vanished, and his energy felt as if he had just slept for eight hours. This, congratulations, challenger, I am the examiner of passage 03 in the Thousand Star Trial Ground. You have passed the mental strength assessment. Overall quality rating, SSS+. Before Chen Chen could regain his senses, the voice beside him came again. Due to your outstanding performance, the Thousand Stars Trial Ground will award you a special reward. This time, as the voice fell, the stone wall in front of the boy began to collapse, a faint glow quickly illuminating two floating spheres. Special reward? Recalling the words he just heard, Chen Chen no longer hesitated and reached out to press the one on the left, a detailed panel immediately appearing before him. Hidden Class Transfer Card Asterisk ID Binding, ID Chen Chen has been bound, using this card. You can randomly transfer to one of the special hidden classes and gain related abilities. Level Restriction, Level 0. Crafting Materials, Gold. Flawless. Transfer Card? Shen Shen stared at the information panel in front of him. Momentarily stunned. Was this how Jing Zhe became a fire mage in his past life? But wait, wasn't he only a fire mage after the Great Transfer version was released? Could it be, that guy was hiding his skills? Suddenly, the boy felt he might have just killed an extraordinary character. This guy was either a schemer or an old coin. A hidden class. It wasn't clear if it was good or bad, but judging from the voice, it shouldn't be something common. This was, a win. And the other sphere is, transfer altar. Transfer altar, using this item. You can establish a transfer altar at any location within the service area for players to use when transferring classes. Note 1, using this item will trigger a version update. Note 2, Included transfers are, Warrior, Shield Soldier, Ranged Attack, Level Restriction, Zero. After reading the attribute panel in front of him, Chen Chen had only one thought in his mind, what the hell? Wasn't this something that only appeared on the 46th day after the arrival of Devouring Life in his past life? And it had entered the Great Transfer version. The Note 1 version update, was the Great Transfer version? What the hell? It was only the 25th day, but regardless, these two items already belonged to him and were successfully stored in his space ring. In other words, the right to the version update was in his hands. Ha! Chen Chen let out a breath, forcing himself to calm down. At least for now, this place was still not safe. He would think about it later. But now that he thought back, after the great transfer in his past life, 
The first to rise was also the Jing family. Could it be that they got the transfer altar in this unknown ruins? No? One foot and kept it hidden for a while? It wasn't impossible. After putting away this special reward, a voice echoed again in the boy's mind. Special reward has been issued. Now issuing basic rewards. Please check, challenger. As the voice fell, three spheres reappeared in the hole of the stone wall in front of Chin Chen. The first sphere clearly marked, experience plus 2500. Hey, after working so hard for so long, it wasn't a waste of time. The second sphere, premium purple roulette premium? Chen Chen picked it up and looked. Ha! All ten options are positive? Superb lifespan roulette. Moreover, the lowest reward was, all attributes plus 120, 7 days, no wonder it was a roulette that could only be drawn once in a hundred years, the rewards were simply incomparable to the white roulette. As for the best reward, even Chen Chen gasped when he saw it, but unfortunately, he didn't have a hundred years of lifespan to draw it. Next was the last sphere, ranged class transfer card asterisk ID binding, ID Chen Chen has been bound, using this card. You can specify a transfer to one of the classes skilled in ranged attacks and gain related ability enhancements. Level restriction, level 0. Craftsmanship, red. Exquisite. Another job transfer card, but it's ID bound. He already has a hidden class transfer card, and now he has another for a specified class. Does this mean he has to choose one later? Unfortunately, such a relic. And the rewards don't even include a longevity pill. Sigh, so stingy. Please note. The assessment has ended. You will be teleported to the entrance in three seconds and cannot re-enter. What the hell? Not happy now? Qianqing Trial Ground. Channel 01. I pressed too quickly and turned it into 02. My bad T to the power of T. It's been corrected. Congratulations. Challenger. I am the examiner of Channel 01 of the Qianqing Trial Ground. You have passed the strength assessment. Overall quality rating, a plus. Assessment rewards have been issued. Please check, in front of Dongfang Yen Yen, a sand dune that was originally over half a meter high suddenly sank into quicksand, and soon a stone pillar slowly rose, holding two round orbs. One was experience plus 1250, and the other was a non-bound warrior class transfer card, strength type. Oh my. Qianqing Trial Ground. Channel 17. Congratulations, Challenger. I am the examiner of Channel 17 of the Qianqing Trial Ground. You have passed the agility assessment. Overall quality rating, yes. Assessment rewards have been issued. Please check, in the blazing sky, a beam of light shone down, landing right in front of the sweating Shi Xiaoyu. Three glowing orbs floated in that light. Ha, 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 what agility assessment, dodging sunlight? I can't believe this place thought of that. Complaining aside, Shi Xiaoyu didn't forget to check the rewards in front of her. Three glowing orbs. The first was also experience, experience plus 1500, the second, premium yellow roulette, the third, warrior class transfer card, speed type, what a pity, I'm already a class holder, seeing the third reward, Shi Xiaoyu couldn't help but raise an eyebrow, fortunately, this transfer card isn't bound, so she can keep it and exchange it for something she needs later, speaking of which, the Qianqing trial ground can actually give out transfer cards as rewards and it's in the form of assessments. What exactly are they playing at? Qianqing Trial Ground, Channel 14. Congratulations, challengers, you have passed the skill assessments re-examination phase. In one minute, you will enter the final assessment, defeat the enemy in front of you. The re-examination assessment in Channel 14's wetland is, to put it simply, dealing with a fierce beast of equal level, judged by the so-called examiner based on skill points. The goal can also be inferred, Certain skills can improve combat efficiency. However, one minute later, the so-called enemy did not appear. But Lu Sinyu and another person both clearly understood that the assessment had already begun. In other words, the enemy is the other party. Back to the original situation, there can only be one of us left alive. Right? Cut the nonsense. In a situation where there is only one goal, the so-called skill is to aim for vital points with every attack. However, since the arrival of Life Devourer has only been 25 days, where do the players get their skills? Everyone started with a stick or a machete, it's already impressive if they don't just swing randomly. And in such circumstances, quickly establishing a power. The Lu family and the Jing family are clearly not easy opponents. Before the apocalypse, they had all been exposed to cold weapons to some extent. The Lu family, for instance, runs a martial arts school, 
and only Liu Yunlu was somewhat rebellious, running off to become a star and even becoming a top influencer at the time. Liu Xinyu choosing to use a sword also has a certain foundation. By coincidence, the other party was also. On the broad wetland, the sound of splash, splash as they stepped in the water, accompanied by the clashing sounds of swords from both sides, gradually painted a stunning picture of battle. Clearly, there was a difference in levels. Yet at this moment, it seemed that the two were only clashing in technique. The fight lasted nearly 15 minutes, finally concluding with Lu Sinyu's slight advantage as a full stop. Congratulations, challenger. I am the examiner of passage 14 in the Thousand Star Trial Ground. You have passed the skill assessment. Overall quality rating, A. Assessment rewards have been issued. Please check, challenger. In the wetland, a stone platform slowly rose. Two glowing orbs, experience plus 1000 and warrior class transfer card, skill type, floated before loosing you. Finally, it's over. Outside the thousand star trial ground, stone platform, as Chen Chen was just teleported here. A prompt from the devour life game system echoed in his mind. Congratulations on leveling up. Level, 2. Free attribute points plus 5. 2,500 experience points looked like a lot, but in reality, it was only enough for Chin Chen to level up once, and after this, his experience bar directly changed to 1600-2000. Yes, after leveling up from level 1 to level 2, the required experience increased from 1000 to 2000 points. With the 5 free attribute points, Chen Chen still allocated them as 3 points in strength, 1 point in spirit, and 1 point in speed bringing his strength to 14 points with the addition of 5 days of temporary attributes. However, before he could start planning his next move, a whistling sound suddenly reached his ears. The boy quickly crouched to the side, barely dodging the incoming attack. In the next moment, he pulled back the slingshot in his hand, and as it snapped forward, he placed a bone stone in the bowstring, producing a sharp sound. The attacker had yet to recover from the rhythm of the assault, with one leg still off the ground. Standing on one foot like a Bian character, Chen Chen was right beneath that point of the Bian character. Puff! Oh roar 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 roar! A howl of pain emanating from the soul echoed around the stone platform. It made listeners gasp and onlookers shiver. Due to the rapid shot and the moving target, Chen Chen's shot nearly grazed the target. But where he aimed, grazing was even worse than hitting the bullseye and sending someone away. Those who witnessed this scene could only say, it turns out that the phrase be careful. I'll shoot you with my slingshot was not just talk. Someone really would do that. Oh roar. Oh roar. Oh roar. Chen Chen. Hiss. Just a little slip. Didn't aim right. I'll kill you. Bang. Just as the attacker was about to rise in pain, another stone shattered his skull. Hmm. This time I hit the mark. You little brat. So arrogant. Everything happened in an instant. And seeing one of their own fall to Chen Chen, a burly man swung his fist fiercely. His movement was like wind and thunder, and in the blink of an eye, he was before the boy. A punch aimed at his head. Chen Chen suddenly furrowed his brows, thinking that this person's attack power was quite high. If hit head-on, he wouldn't die but would end up severely injured. There was no choice, he could only rely on medicine to temporarily boost his attributes. But just then, clang, the attacker's punch directly struck the blade of a great sword and only a shockwave sent the suddenly appearing figure in Chen Chen flying back over 10 meters. De Yenzi? After stabilizing himself, Chen Chen couldn't help but be surprised. He he, Xuan Gu, I just saved your life. Dong Fan Yen Yen thrust the great sword in his hand directly into the ground, finally unloading all the force from the punch that had struck his sword, only to feel his arm tingle. It was clear that the person's strength was quite formidable. Ah, thanks, Chen Chen replied then furrowed his brow. Surveying the surroundings, at this moment, there were more than 20 people surrounding the stone platform. The leader, a man with a dignified expression, appeared to be around 50 years old. Before long, Shi Xiaoyu and Lu Xinyu also arrived in a flash of light, being transported to the area around the stone platform. And at that moment, the pale blue light on the stone platform completely extinguished. One of the men on the opposing side held a compass and stepped onto the stone platform again but he could no longer activate it. Count the numbers, the 50-year-old man said in a deep voice upon seeing this. After a while, reporting to the master, Jingzi, Jingli, Jingyun, Jingtsun, Jingya, are all missing. With each name mentioned by his subordinate, Jing Chang's brow furrowed deeper, and when the name Jingya was finally spoken, 
he directly stomped his foot, shattering the ground beneath him. Good, 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 very good. Jingcheng was furious. What a mantis stalking a cicada, unaware of the oriole behind. Do you all understand that above the oriole, there is still an eagle? At this moment, he knew that these five were most likely in grave danger. Among them, Jingya was his youngest daughter. Kill them, leave not one alive. Upon hearing this, she, Lu, and Yin tightened their grips on their weapons, but facing over 20 people, how could they stand a chance? However, waiting to die was not Chen Chen's character. Kill me? He pulled back the slingshot in his hand. It won't be that easy. Just before he launched the projectile, he whispered urgently, split up and retreat. As soon as his words fell, he released the projectile, which struck the ground, and dark smoke erupted, spreading rapidly like a nuclear explosion. With Chen Chen's earlier warning, the other three, though surprised, quickly chose a direction and fled. But, why are you following me? As the boy burst through the smoke, a dark figure clearly followed behind him, though it was still possible to discern who it was, Lu Sinyu. It's just a coincidence, she replied, half of her face shrouded in darkness, still expressionless. Chen Chen wanted to say something more, but before he could, a voice called from behind, Stop! Only a fool would stand still, if you have the guts, don't chase me. With a speed of 10 points, Chen Chen maneuvered through the forest. His efficiency in movement was not low, which soon created a distance between him and his pursuers. Yet, Lu Xinyu seemed impossible to shake off. That was a coincidence. But what about now? Chen Chen shouted, somewhat angry. Do you have to follow me? What? Do you want to break free from the Lu family's control? Are you an Ares? So possessive. Chen Shen didn't actually want to break away from the Lu family right now, after all. His plan to corrode from within had not fully unfolded yet, and the Lu family was still intact. Letting them go like this left him feeling unsatisfied. But now, he needed a completely safe personal space. Is that not allowed? You really are something. Boom. Daring to flirt while being chased, do you really not take my Jing family seriously? With a loud crash, the sprightly old man landed right in front of Chen Chen. Where he landed, the ground directly collapsed into a small pit, dust swirling around, his presence quite imposing. The newcomer was none other than the head of the Jing family, Jing Chang. After fleeing for hundreds of meters, they were still caught up. Chen Chen's heart sank. This old guy's level is not low. It seems we don't have time to discuss your zodiac sign, this old guy is quite strong, so we'll have to deal with him together. No need for you to say that. It's good for young people to have confidence. Jing Cheng slowly straightened up, his joints cracking, but, blind confidence isn't so wonderful, you two won't escape, do you think you're Conan? What Conan? I can't even have a proper conversation with you old man, it's like shooting a dog a hundred paces away, whoosh, a beast tooth bullet suddenly shattered the air and shot out, compared to before entering the thousand star trial ground, Chen Chen's current strength was a solid 14 points, even if he couldn't exert it to the fullest, this strike had at least 10 points of force, coupled with the 5 points of strength from the fiery blood red snake muscle. The damage could definitely take out most players without any defense, including Jing Chang. Such power also resulted in a terrifying rate of fire. Yet even so, Jing Chang still dodged a slingshot? You little brat really don't follow the usual path, no wonder Zayer died at your hands. The beast tooth bullet barely grazed the ends of Jing Chang's hair, dealing zero damage but filling the hate meter you can't be left alive. As soon as the shout fell, Jing Cheng immediately brought his two fingers together and charged at Chun Chun from below. Finger sword, sword grip. This sudden attack, if it had been anyone else, might have truly hit, and Jing Cheng could have lost his head. But Chen Chen was different, he had seen such techniques in his past life. Strictly speaking, this belonged to the boxer category. But it wasn't about mutual benefit, each finger had its own strengths, the index and middle fingers as a sword. The thumb as a cone, all five fingers together as claws, and a single finger as a spear. The essence lay in two words, inch power. The advantage was clear, with considerable lethality, but the flaw was equally significant, too short a range. After narrowly dodging Jing Cheng's sword, the young man suddenly kicked out towards Jing Cheng's waist, his speed no less than Jing Cheng's. Seeing this, Jing Cheng furrowed his brow, deeply aware, why were this young man's combat skills so proficient? Just as they say, time waits for no one. Jing Chang had only a moment to react, he had to use his fingers as a palm to block at his waist, hoping to catch Chen Chen's kick. 
However, the young man seemed to be merely forcing him to defend. Upon seeing this, he simply disregarded the kick, directly pulling back the slingshot in his hand, not even loading it, and shot it with the rubber band. Snap. Wow. Minus 134. Chen Chen's shot hit Jing Cheng's cheek, and as the damage popped up, his body was propelled back several meters by the force of his own palm blocking at his waist. Old man, your defense isn't that high. His strength combined with the slingshot's rubber band's 5 points totaled 19, yet he could deal 130 points of damage, and this wasn't even a full exertion of power, which was quite telling. Jing Cheng couldn't help but clench his fist and grit his teeth, how could he bear being spoken to like this by a junior? However, now that life devourer had descended, everyone's starting line was level zero, so there was no distinction between seniors and juniors, at most just that the older generation had a shorter starting lifespan. Speaking of which, this was still a disadvantage. You little brat with a sharp tongue, your defense is low, but your strength and speed can crush you. Chen Chen could calculate that his defense was low, and he could certainly deduce how much strength the former had, just now was merely careless, next. I will take your life. As a villain, talking too much isn't good. Boom. As soon as the young man finished speaking, another black smoke bomb exploded on the ground, allowing him to escape once more. This black smoke bomb was refined from the ink sack of the magic pattern octopus, originally meant for escaping, easily blocking the line of sight. You, Jing Chen clearly did not expect Chen Chen to use the same trick again. The next moment, two swift sounds came from not far away indicating that the two were fleeing at high speed. Jing Chang had no choice but to calm himself down and search for their tracking position again, but on the other side. Damn it, you emotionless girl, don't tell me this is another coincidence. I, Lu Sinyu, who was following behind, wanted to respond, but as the words emotionless girl reached her ears, a wave of sorrow surged up in her heart, I'll kill you. Fu, Lu Sinyu's sword, perhaps fueled by her anger, moved much faster. And by the time the boy in front reacted, he could only pull away slightly. The sword whistled past under him. Are you crazy? Lu Sinyu, however, said nothing and struck again. Chen Chen dodged. She thrust again. He dodged again. Enough. It really is enough. Whoosh. Chen Chen heard a more intense rush of air beside his ear, and two swords almost simultaneously came at him, leaving him just a moment to evade. Swish. The iron sword grazed his left leg and blood immediately mixed with dirt, splattering onto his pants. Thud. Thud. The boy took two heavy steps, his face turning pale. Minus 190. The damage value popped up, and a wave of pain shot through his left leg, adding a strong anger to Chen Chen's gaze towards Lu Sinyu. When did this woman choose to go crazy, if not at this moment? Seeing this, Lu Sinyu also calmed down, quickly jumping back to create distance from Jing Chang but she dared not approach Chen Chen. Yet, her expressionless face revealed no guilt or anything else. Only a faint entanglement in her eyes could hint at her emotions. Kid, die. Knowing that the longer the night, the more dreams, Jing Chang did not give the two a moment's rest and once again brought his fingers together, charging forward. This time, his ferocity was far beyond before. Chen Chen's left leg was already injured, he wanted to dodge, but the sharp pain slowed his reaction by half a beat. Who would have thought that in the next moment? His life is mine. Lu Sinyu's speed seemed to have increased significantly in a short time, and a gust of wind swept past her feet, instantly bringing her sword in front of Chen Chen. Jing Cheng's two-finger sword could only clash against it helplessly. Ding. Clearly flesh and bone. Yet when they collided, it produced the sound of metal clashing. Jing Cheng's five fingers were evidently well-trained. Or perhaps, he was a professional. Little girl. Don't you want to kill him too? Our goal should be the same. Yes. Lu Sinyu replied coldly, but he must die by my hand. However, in the midst of their conversation, you two take your time to struggle. I'll take my leave first. Although Chen Shen did not know why Lu Sinyu wanted to kill him, nor why she was blocking attacks for him at this moment, this great opportunity was too good to waste. Kid, don't run. Hurry up. Your life. I'll collect it later. Chen Chen. What a cliché plot. My life is mine, not dictated by fate. Why not collect some trash instead? Never see you again. Whoosh. The boy's figure finally darted out of the dense forest in the mountains with a light sound, and a wide river immediately came into view. The cool flow of water, accompanied by the sounds of beasts, filling his ears and nose, 
Although the process was a bit tortuous, the final result was good. As for what would happen to Lu Sinyu? Die, you old hag, that would be best. Wasn't it just the phrase emotionless girl? She never had an expression. So what else could she be called? Afraid of being called out. First, find a safe place. With this thought in mind, Chen Chen directly followed the slope of the mountain towards the wide river. As there were usually some caves between the river and the forest. Whether formed by soil erosion or dug out by ferocious beasts. Either way, as long as the dangers within are dealt with, it becomes a temporarily safe dwelling. This was also the experience Chun Shen had accumulated from his past life adventures. Moments later, as the sun set, hiss, the boy pushed aside some vegetation and finally found a hidden cave, still holding a few different plants in his hands. Even though they had left the soil, a faint spiritual aura still lingered. A flash of light flickered between Chen Chen's fingers as he stored all the herbs away, then began to observe his surroundings. At the cave entrance, some large footprints were scattered in a regular pattern. Looking like, hey, are these bear tracks? Chen Chen grabbed his slingshot, tightly pulling back a beast tooth bullet, and began to venture inside. With a temporary attribute of 11 points in spirit, he could clearly sense the movements of the wind and grass around him. Even the flight of a mosquito was perceptible to him. Finally, just as he was about to reach the bottom of the cave, a low growl suddenly echoed. The boy stared intently ahead, not daring to relax his grip on the slingshot for a moment. Suddenly, a green light caught his eye, followed closely by two red dots. Chen Shen knew those red dots were likely the eyes of the bear-like beast, but the green light. Whom? A frog? Yes, right beside the massive creature. A frog no larger than the palm of his hand, with a beautifully patterned skin, was quietly perched there. Roar! As if noticing Chen Shen's gaze, a threatening roar suddenly crashed towards the boy. The stench hit him like a wave, making him feel nauseous. Hey! Big guy, have you not brushed your teeth in days? That breath is something else. With that, Chen Chen released the slingshot, and the beast tooth bullet shot out. But when it hit the large bear, minus 57. Good heavens, is it made of iron? Chen Chen quickly checked his attribute panel, name, iron tooth battle bear rank, elite level, for vitality, 1657 to 1714 strength, 24 spirit, 1 defense, 6 speed, 3 skill, mountain shattering combat power, 187. What the sun? This attribute is a bit unfair, isn't it? Just as thoughts crossed his mind, Chen Shen immediately distanced himself, he still had no means for close combat, and even with experience from his past life, he needed a proper weapon, right? The reason ferocious beasts wreaked havoc on human society when they first appeared, causing great disasters, was that their physical attributes far surpassed those of humans? Just like the Iron Tooth Battle Bear, not only was its strength innately formidable, but its defense was also extremely strong. Moreover, as levels increased, these already advantageous attributes could receive additional boosts, and beasts above elite rank possessed special skills. All of this seemed as if the Earth, this server, had given the overall ferocious beasts a cheat. Roar! After taking a hit from the Beast Tooth Bullet, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear let out a painful and furious roar, yet its body remained completely still, only spreading its front paws slightly. It looked as if it were protecting something. Could it be some rare herbs? Chen Chen thought to himself. Or perhaps, that frog? Roar! While the boy pondered, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear let out a long roar, followed by a violent tremor. Mountain shattering the rapid shockwave forced Chen Chen to retreat to the corner of the cave as being hit by that shockwave could cause him to lose health. You can use spiritual power before even reaching level 10, when it comes to cheating, you beasts really take the cake. Once he steadied himself, the boy exhaled heavily, realizing the slingshot no longer provided him much sense of security. Dealing with this big guy, even if the beast tooth bullet has a certain level of penetration, how long would it take to completely kill it with the damage it inflicts? There's no choice. In urgent situations, one must act according to the circumstances, so I can only use it first. As the thought fell, a beautifully crafted card appeared in Chen Chen's hand. It was Hidden Profession Transfer Card. Although there was also a ranged Profession Transfer Card, both were ID bound, but anyone could understand that a hidden profession must be stronger than a common profession, right? With a profession bonus, the odds of winning are certainly higher than being a blank slate. Originally, he didn't need to rush to use it, but now, at this moment, Chen Chen was faced with only two choices. One, take down that bear, 
Two, still take down that bear. As for the reason, would you allow someone who already knows your secret to leave safely and then go fetch help? Others might not know, but Chen Chen wouldn't, and this iron tooth battle bear clearly wouldn't either. Ding, do you want to use the hidden profession transfer card? Yes, the boy answered without hesitation. The next moment, the card transformed into a stream of light and surged into his body, a mysterious feeling making the time around him seem to stop. The hidden profession transfer card could randomly transfer him to any profession, and Chen Chen couldn't choose. He had no idea what he would become. Perhaps a gunner, a warrior, or maybe a mage, a sorcerer, hidden professions, in simple terms, are all professions that are beyond the common. Anything could happen, but he never expected it would actually be transfer successful. Random profession, special breeder, breeder, breeder. What the hell? How is a breeder considered a hidden profession? Can this even be counted as a profession? However, before Chen Shen could express his thoughts, the voice in his mind rang out again, profession type, secondary profession. This, so that means I can use another transfer card. The boy suddenly realized, and he jumped several meters away in excitement at this moment. He had no time to care about what a special breeder was. Another card appeared in his hand, ranged profession transfer card. After using it, he could choose to transfer to a profession skilled in ranged attacks. Ding, do you want to use the ranged profession transfer card? Yes, please choose one of the following professions as your profession. 1. Mage, Apprentice Mage, a profession that can use spiritual power in advance. Skilled in single element or multi-element attacks. With high damage, profession level can increase with level. 2. Archer, Crossbow Archer, a profession skilled in using bows and crossbows. With strong attack penetration, penetration ability can increase with level. 3. Thrower, War Thrower, a profession skilled in attacking with thrown objects. Damage depends on the thrown object, but has high flexibility. 4. Ranger, Swift Strike Ranger, a profession that primarily uses ranged weapons, including bows, crossbows, and thrown objects, for attacks. Good at guerrilla tactics, quick strikes, and maneuvering through forests, with special force bonuses for ranged weapons. The four options lay before Chen Chen, waiting for his choice. In his past life, Chen Chen was a warrior, with no specialization, just stronger in strength, and he had suffered greatly in that regard. Now, for specialized professions were right in front of him, the gap in experience was bittersweet, only he could understand it. However, time was pressing, and he didn't have much time to consider the pros and cons of these four professions and their future developments, he could only choose the best one based on his situation. That is, 4. Ranger. Transfer successful. Profession, Ranger. As soon as the sound passed, Chen Chen heard again by his ear, Ranger class limited attribute, your strength can be maximized. Agility skill effects increased by 30%, and ranged physical attack damage increased by 50%. This attribute can evolve, goodness. Hearing this prompt, Chen Chen couldn't help but exclaim, it's still the class system. The damage was directly increased by half, but that's not all. Unique skill Penetrator has been activated. Penetrator, when your attack causes penetrating damage to the target, it will additionally inflict 10% of the target's health as damage. Wow. Boom. Chen Chen felt a loud sound by his ear, and the surrounding environment returned to its original state. Time continued to pass, and the Iron Tooth Battle Bear gradually approached. But this time, puff. The first bullet fired after the boy changed to ranger pierced through the iron tooth battle bear's chest. Minus 85. Penetration. Minus 171. Two lines of text popped up. And Chen Shen couldn't help but smile. This damage was incomparable to before the class change. Especially with the extra damage from penetrator. Even more terrifying. With such severe injuries, the iron tooth battle bear let out an angry roar. Choosing to abandon protecting its important possession and charged straight at Chen Chen. Its advantageous attribute was strength, and Mountain Shatter had already been used, so it couldn't be used again in a short time. There was no other way but to close in on the enemy. Want to get close? Dream on. As he spoke, Chen Chen grabbed five bone bullets, full bow shot, buckshot, self-inflicted, he held these five bone bullets in his hand, as the snake tendons couldn't bear the load, so when they burst forth, they could only determine the direction ahead, with the attack frame approaching that of a shotgun. Hence the name, Buckshot. Bang! In the narrow cave, the sound of two bone bullets hitting the ground echoed, while the other three struck the iron tooth battle bear, halting its advance. 
minus 85, minus 85, minus 85. Three lines of text almost popped up simultaneously. Unfortunately, none caused penetrating damage, but the damage was still considerable. And after this encounter, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear's health dropped to just over a thousand. Hey, still coming? Chen Shen pulled back his bow again, aiming a beast tooth bullet at the Iron Tooth Battle Bear's head. This cave environment was unfavorable for the Ranger class, but it was also unfavorable for the Iron Tooth Battle Bear to exert its strength in this situation. Whoever had the longer reach had the greater chance of winning. Seeing this, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear couldn't help but let out a low growl, clearly wary of Chen Chen. Oh, not giving up. Ha, huh, then let me show you something fierce. With that thought, a dark, spiked bullet immediately embedded itself into the bowstring. All right, locked on. Whoosh. Roar. The Iron Tooth Battle Bear, unable to dodge in time, simply roared and charged headfirst to take the bullet, as its head was its strongest defense. Unfortunately, just as the bullet made contact with the bear's head, boom, black smoke erupted on its head. Countless black spikes immediately pierced into various places, including its eyes. Minus 85. Minus 9. Asterisk in in this scene. 85 foot was the damage from the bullet itself, while those 9s were the damage from the spikes that exploded out. Additionally, poisoned. Minus 137. Poisoned reduces health by 8% per second. Can be fatal with both base damage, diffraction damage, and abnormal status effects. This bullet was undoubtedly one of Chun Chen's trump cards. Poison Spike Sea Urchin Spike Bullet, made from the sharp spikes of the Poison Spike Sea Urchin using a special technique. It is extremely unstable. Upon impact, it explodes. The spikes can inflict 10% damage of the bullet itself and poison the target for 3 seconds. Level Restriction. Level 1. Crafting Process. White. Rough. Just one whole spike from the Poison Spike Sea Urchin is enough to make this one bullet. Although the stock is extremely low, the effect is immediate. After this encounter, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear was left with just over 700 health points. Of course, this was also due to the benefits of the Ranger class. Otherwise, dealing 100 points of damage with this bullet would have been the best outcome. Two seconds later, health 470-1714, with less than a third of its health remaining, the Iron Tooth Battle Bear finally escalated its wariness of Chun Chen to fear. The bear's paw, which had been slamming the ground, showed signs of retreat, it was clear, it wanted to escape. Unfortunately, now that we've come this far, even if you want to leave, I won't let you have your way. One shot for 85 points. 470 means 6 shots. Accept your fate. The narrow cave passage was like the road to the underworld, leaving the Iron Tooth Battle Bear with no escape. Even if it dodged 1 or 2 shots, the outcome would not change. In the end, kill. Experience plus 1200. Congratulations on leveling up. Level 3. Free attribute points plus 5. Hey, it feels great to get such experience from killing elite monsters when you're low level. The experience gained from killing elite monsters is 10 times that of ordinary beasts, and with the bonus for defeating a higher level enemy, while others would only receive 400 points. Chen Chen got 1200 points. With the 5 free attribute points, Chen Chen allocated them to strength, spirit, and speed as usual. Meanwhile, as the Iron Tooth Battle Bear fell, a yellow disc appeared on the ground. He he, did I get something good? The boy bent down to pick up the yellow disc. Just then, a beautifully patterned frog that had been near the Iron Tooth Battle Bear happened to jump onto his finger, clinging tightly with its limbs. Shin Shen instinctively wanted to shake it off, after all, frogs are often poisonous. However, a voice in his mind left him frozen in place. Subjob, special creature detected. Would you like to tame it as a pet? It was the message from the subjob. The special breeder. This frog? Upon closer inspection, it did indeed look somewhat different from ordinary beasts. So it was classified as a special creature? Perhaps sensing Chen Chen's scrutiny, the little frog tilted its head and blinked its large eyes covered with a thin film. For some reason, the boy's mind automatically filled in the sound effect of blinking. Cartoon Spring Sound. MP3, then as if compelled by some unseen force. Yes, the moment he answered, a few drops of bright red blood automatically oozed from various parts of Chen Chen's body and floated above the little frog. Thud, it merged into it. The little frog blinked again. Cartoon spring sound, MP3, asterisk 2, and then its entire body, with its glowing green patterns, was washed over in blood red as if animated. 
Taming successful. Individual name, Elemental Spirit Frog. You can redefine the ID. Holy crap. Really. Chen Chen quickly swiped lightly on the Elemental Spirit Frog to open its panel in his previous life. He had heard of characters who could control ferocious beasts or pet beasts, but he never expected that he would become one of them now. Name, Elemental Spirit Frog Nickname, None, Click to Change, Owner, Shin Chen Level, 0 Vitality, 100 Strength, 1 Mentality, 5 Defense, 1 Speed, 2 Skill, Elemental Transformation, LV1, Combat Power, 46 Seeing This Attribute Panel. As a human, Shen Shen admitted he felt a pang of jealousy. Level 0, 5 Points in Mentality. Where's the equality for all beings? Heaven, who the hell told you that? Elemental Spirit Frog. Doesn't sound like a name. Let's change it. Saying this, the boy reached out and clicked on the nickname section. Typing in the pop-up text box, Wily Frog this little guy jumped onto his finger to cling to the big shot. So clever. Calling it Wily Frog is quite fitting. Right? Sounds terrible. 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 A childish voice suddenly echoed in the boy's mind. Ha! Huh? So it was just an auditory hallucination. Shaking his head, Chen Chan reached out again and clicked on the confirm button. Sounds terrible. 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 All right. All right. All right. The boy raised his hand to place the elemental spirit frog in front of him. So it really is you. Can you talk? The elemental spirit frog blinked. Sounds terrible. 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 How about? We just call you terrible. Unexpectedly, as soon as Chen Shen said this, the elemental spirit frog flipped over and bit his finger with its wide mouth gulp. Sounds terrible. 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 At this point, the boy realized that his elemental spirit frog had quite a bit of intelligence, but its ability to express itself still needed improvement. After all, it was his pet beast, so it deserved a good name. Thinking of this, Chen Chen pressed down on confirm. Ah crap, I slipped. Change successful, just as the voice echoed in his mind. Yaha, bad owner, stupid owner, smelly owner, what kind of name is that? Sounds terrible. The wily frog flipped onto Chen Chen's palm its emerald green little claws slapping and pounding, its big eyes filled with, well, at least in the latter's view, it was filled with indignation. So you little thing can talk? Of course, of course, of course. The wily frog puffed up its chest. What a terrible name my bad owner gave me. Chen Chen's mouth twitched. What kind of pet beast was this? Not only did it need blood to recognize its master, but it also needed a nickname to communicate normally? Ridiculous. Well, it can't be helped. I slipped. Nonsense. The wily frog didn't believe it at all. Stinky owner, you did it on purpose. All right, I'll change it for you. Is that okay? With that, Chen Chen once again brought up the elemental spirit frog's attribute panel, lightly tapping on the nickname option. But this time it popped up, changing nickname again requires 100 year coins. Your balance is insufficient. The boy looked at the wily frog, his eyes meaningfully conveying, see? This broken system has made your stinky and poor handsome owner suffer. Wily Frog, oh, oh I don't care. I don't want to be called Wily Frog. Then what do you want to be called? Chen Chen admitted he was terrible at naming. So he simply tossed the decision back. When the owner has money in the future, I'll change it for you. Call, call. The Wily Frog's voice stretched longer and longer. As if it had a name stuck in its throat. But it just couldn't say it. As if something was stuck. Chen Chen's mouth twitched, it's over. It must be because of that drop of blood. Now it had become a naming disaster. Call. Frog Frog. Is this still a female frog? How about we call it Shinji Jiwa? It's better to call it Heart Machine Frog. Alright, then it's Heart Machine Frog. No changes. Upon hearing this, the Heart Machine Frog rolled its eyes and flipped onto its back, probably choosing death. Fine. 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 Let's call it Wawa. Is Wawa okay? Wawa immediately flipped back, it's a deal. It really can't compare to the heart machine frog. Under the threat of the elemental spirit frog's death declaration, Chen Chen ultimately chose to compromise, the nickname Wawa, and the full name heart machine frog. Next, he also learned a bit about the abilities of the elemental spirit frog. This was indeed a type of special creature. Having just been born with five points in mental attributes, and possessing unique skills in the beast world, this was an elite characteristic. The elemental spirit frog belonged to the long-range type of fierce beasts, or rather, spiritual beasts. It had a certain elemental attack capability, but it needed to level up to gradually reveal it. As for its current skill, 
Elemental transformation, it was merely a survival skill. Moreover, to call it transformation would be better described as assimilation. Previously, the reason Chen Chen mistakenly thought the Iron Tooth Battle Bear was protecting her was that she had assimilated her elemental information into that of a bear cub. How could I not protect a cub? In reality, what the Iron Tooth Battle Bear was guarding was what lay behind it. Jade Bone Garan. Ha ha, finally found it. Jade Bone Garan, spiritual plant, long-term consumption can prolong life, and is a supplementary material for refining longevity pills, quality, yellow, age, 34 years. What lay before him was the spiritual plant guarded by the Iron Tooth Battle Bear. In the context of the game Life Devourer, lifespan was equally important for fierce beasts. Of course, they didn't need to draw lots, they simply aimed to extend their lifespan. This process was quite similar to enhancing strength. The age of the spiritual plant was directly increased after absorbing a certain amount of nutrients, it wasn't that the number of years in attributes equated to how many years it had actually grown. The materials are finally complete. Before entering this cave, the plants Chen Chen had in hand were also materials for refining longevity pills, but compared to Jade Bone Garan, they were somewhat inferior. Whether there were fierce beasts watching directly determined the rarity of the spiritual plant. The damp cave floor was neatly arranged with beast meat and spiritual plants, and the young man's mind quickly recalled the method for refining longevity pills. In Life Devourer, the refining of pills didn't require a Dan furnace or anything. As long as you had the recipe and the steps were correct, you could refine it. Of course, someone like Chen Chen, who didn't have an actual recipe, was most likely the only one who told him he had a good memory. After recalling it several times, he kneaded the materials according to the amounts and order in the steps, then took out a pile of dry grass and twigs from his spatial ring, along with two dark-colored bones. These were also extracted from the corpses of fierce beasts during the beast tide a few days ago. The main one was the demon horn swordfish. Indeed, the vertebrae that previously pried open the unknown relic stone platform no. One came from the same type of fierce beast, the most well-known characteristic of this demon horn swordfish was, its bones were hard. The two bones Chen Chen took out this time were not particularly smooth, but due to their sufficient hardness, they could strike sparks when rubbed together, functioning similarly to flint. Crack! A spark fell onto the pile of dry grass and twigs, instantly igniting a flame. As the spark ignited, several semi-finished longevity pills were tossed in, yes, it was that rough. Everything before this had basically no significant difference in process from this, otherwise, the production process wouldn't have displayed rough. This wasn't because Chen Chen could only manage rough, but unfortunately, without specialized tools and suitable professions, he found it difficult to proceed. Gentle fire. Refine for 30 minutes. The boy constantly reminded himself of this final step, whether it would succeed depended on this moment. Under his control, the haystack burned only a little, maintaining a gentle fire. Beside him, the surface patterns of the frog had turned a light red, in this state, even if she jumped into the fire it wouldn't have much effect. This was the peculiar trait of the elemental spirit frog. Unfortunately, without skills, this was all she could do. By the way, frog, do you need to stay outside all the time? What Chin Shen wanted to ask was if there was some kind of pet space or something similar. Then, what else? The frog asked. Well, this little thing didn't even know. However, there was no need to worry too much now. The elemental spirit frog was small enough to hide in his hair, sleeves, or pockets anywhere. Their conversation did not hinder the boy's actions. Whenever the hay and twigs were about to burn out, he could always replenish them in time. After half an hour of gentle fire refining, a faint fragrance finally wafted through the air. Chen Shen took out a small brush-like piece of grass and began to remove the pills from the ash, brushing off the suit. Five semi-finished products, but only three could be considered successful. The other two had cracked during the refining process. He held one of them up. White longevity pill, a secret pill that can directly increase lifespan, but due to rough craftsmanship, it can only randomly increase lifespan by 1 to 5 years after consumption, level requirement, level 0. Production process, white, rough. The three white longevity pills had identical effects. This was still thanks to that yellow jade bone kaolin. Otherwise, whether he could truly refine the longevity pill was still debatable. What a fragrant pill. The frog blinked her bright eyes and said, Master. Can you give me one? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen instinctively wanted to say no, but the words turned into, I only have these three, I can't make any more. If luck was bad, 
These three might only extend his life by three years. I, 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 I can find that kind of grass again. Are you sure? Yes. The frog nodded seriously, looking like she wasn't lying about the longevity pill. Chen Chen, half believing, handed her one but said, Okay, but if you can't find it, he glanced up at the already dusk sky outside, then I'll have roasted field frogs for dinner. Eek, for her own safety, the frog quickly nodded vigorously, I can find it, I can find it, I will definitely find it. She suddenly felt like she had chosen the wrong master. It must be, just an illusion, right? Here, for you, the boy handed her one, bringing it to the frog's mouth. The little creature's eyes twinkled as she opened her cherry-like mouth and swallowed the entire pill. In the next moment, the medicinal power transformed into a pure energy that expanded the frog's small body by a circle. The patterns on her back shimmered in waves. In the end, she truly expanded by a circle. Yummy yummy hee hee. Chen Chen was indeed taken aback. The fierce beast eating the longevity pill really had a special effect? With that thought, the boy quickly opened the frog's attribute panel. Name, Elemental Spirit Frog Nickname, Cunning Frog Master, Chin Chin Level, 3 Vitality, 1000 Strength, 2 Spirit, 14 Defense, 2 Speed, 5 Skill, Elemental Transformation, LV1, Combat Power, 130. A rough white longevity pill directly raised her from level 0 to level 3. This is indeed unexpected. From this, it can be seen that for fierce beasts, lifespan equates to experience and strength, directly consuming longevity materials is also a shortcut to enhancing power. Master, there is still residual energy after the transformation. Frog Frog conveyed this thought. In other words, this longevity pill can not only enhance by three levels, the reason it only reaches level three is that Chen Shen is level three, and the pet's level cannot surpass the master? Can it be preserved? No. Then how? As soon as the boy's words fell, a message immediately echoed in his mind due to pet's feedback, experience plus 200. This works too? Although converting longevity energy into experience points feels a bit of a loss. At least it's not wasted, right? Moreover, it seems that this pet still has quite a few uses. After removing Frog Frog's panel, Chen Chen finally turned his attention back to the two remaining longevity pills in his hand. Taking a deep breath, heaven above, earth as witness, I vow today, to exchange the hundred years of prosperity of the Lu family for two pills to gain ten years of longevity. After saying this, the boy opened his mouth and swallowed the two pills. Then he directly opened the attribute panel. Name, Chen Chen Occupation, Ranged Attack Asterisk Ranger, Secondary Occupation, Hidden Asterisk Special Breeder Level, 3 Experience, 1000 slash 3000 Lifespan, 10 years and 150 days. Hiss, Lu Family, I, no, heaven, you finally opened your eyes. Now that 10 years of lifespan is in hand. Chen Chen finally had the courage to face the yellow lifespan will that the iron tooth battle bear had revealed, extracting from the yellow will required consuming exactly 10 years. This wheel, without a doubt, is of low quality, as it only has one positive option, top grade alchemy furnace. Crafting pills and elixirs does not require an alchemy furnace, but it can still be used. This furnace belongs to its specialized tool, with it, the only thing left to become a true alchemist, or rather a pill master, is a title. With the experience from his past life, the necessity of this furnace skyrocketed. At the very least, it could elevate the craftsmanship of what he concocted by a notch. Right? Holding the yellow wheel, Chen Chen silently thought lottery. Please specify the prize you want. 1. Severe Cold 2. Top Grade Alchemy Furnace 3. Beast Tide. 7. Late Stage Cancer. 10. Erase All Two-Dimensional Things Damn. The last option is so malicious. Fortunately, I can choose, if someone else were to draw this wheel and got that, wouldn't countless people cry to death? I choose. 2. The moment he made his choice, 10 years of lifespan turned to ash again. But compared to the top grade alchemy furnace, what does 10 years of lifespan even count for? This time, the yellow wheel only had one positive option. So, congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can additionally choose one item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. 1. Xianhai Dragon Chanting Spear 2. Self-Eating Hot Pot from the C Asterisk 1 Box Slash 10 Packs 3. All Attributes Plus 18, 3 Days, 4. All Attributes Plus 5, 15 Days, 5. White Longevity Pill Asterisk 7 Inch Hay. The hidden rewards are quite tempting, but unfortunately, you can only choose one each time. Alright, Chen Greedy each one. That's our main character. Little Chen. Among these five rewards. Originally. 
the most urgent need was five, but the white longevity pills. It's not that Chen Chen is arrogant, but they really aren't enough. Seven piled together aren't even enough to draw a purple wheel. Good items are basically concentrated in the purple and above wheels, similar to the life-sucking sword from the previous white wheel, which is purely an exception. If it weren't for the low probability and the many unpleasant low-quality options, that roulette probably wouldn't have appeared in Chen Chen's hands. So, option 5 is eliminated. 2 is directly ignored. Although 3 and 4 provide a certain boost to combat power. To put it bluntly, if one gets used to such temporary attributes, it will instead lead to corresponding discomfort in their physical attributes later on. It's fine in daily life, but when it comes to battle. So for him, the greatest enhancement is 1. The spear, the king of all weapons. The cold weapon with the most significant advantages in actual combat. In his previous life, Chen Chan wielded a type of long weapon. But it wasn't a spear, it was a halberd. The difference from a spear is that a halberd is heavier and more domineering. But they share a commonality, they are both long. However, a spear has more advantages than a halberd. Mastering the spear means one can handle the halberd without worry. Select. 1. Reward has been issued. Whoosh. Kong. At the moment it appeared. The spear seemed to spin in mid-air before it struck the ground, resembling a dragon's roar. The young man took a step forward and pulled it up. Shenhai Longing Spear, forged from the mysterious iron from beyond the heavens and the bones of the earth dragon, crafted through 81 tempering processes, when swung, it seems to emit the sound of a dragon's roar. Level Restriction, Level 1, Base Attributes, Strength plus 12, Attack Speed plus 10%, Craftsmanship, Yellow, Excellent. He he, not bad. Chen Chen waved the spear, and as he swung it past his side, it even pierced through the cave wall, shattering some stones. Very good. After putting away the Xianhai Longing Spear, Chen Chen stripped away all the useful materials from the Iron Toothed Battle Bear, Bear Paws, and Bear Skin, both excellent materials for refining weapons. And next, Wah Wah, it's your time to perform. Whether it's the Jade Bone Kalen or the Washing Marrow Willow Spike, if you can't find them, tonight we're stewing Tian Kuan. Wawa suddenly jolted, saying, Master, what is Tian Kuan? It's a field frog. Humans really know how to come up with nicknames. Is there any connection between these two words? Just get to work. Why ask so much? Oh, in fact, Wawa wasn't exaggerating. Elemental spirit frogs are inherently sensitive to spiritual energy. So finding spirit plants that contain spiritual energy shouldn't be a problem. It's just that. Fire Core Linghua, a fire attribute spirit plant, can be used as raw material for fire attribute affinity enhancement potions, quality, white, year, 11 years. As you can see, it's easy to go off track. Chen Chen was holding back the impending eruption of a volcano, while wearing a devilish smile as he looked at Wawa, Wawa, is this what you said you could find? Wawa suddenly shivered, Wawa, Wawa never said it would be 100% correct. Chen Chen's mouth twitched wildly, alright, alright, you can find it, but it doesn't mean you found the right one right? By this point, he was on the verge of exploding. If you can't find it, forget it, but you brought all these ferocious beasts to me. Just for a fire core linghua, it actually attracted a fire spirit leopard, and a group of flame mountain cats. Ah, uh, master, go for it. Master is the best. Master is awesome after shouting this. Wawa directly flipped over and burrowed into Chen Chen's collar. It was a bit smelly, but it was safe enough. Awesome. I'd rather you not be so annoying. Complaining aside, with such a group of big cats charging in, it was impossible not to deal with them. The young man jumped back sharply, brandishing the Xianhai Longing Spear, performing a flourish before leaping into the fray. Compared to the halberd, the spear is indeed much lighter. Light, but not ineffective. One blood flower after another blossomed like mist. Whether it was the fire spirit leopard or the flame mountain cat, each fell under his spear with large damage notifications pouring down like a torrential rain. Such a scene could certainly be described as spectacular. Oh, Master is so amazing with the time spent flattering. You might as well help me find some Jade Bone Kalen or something. Otherwise, eh? Aren't there these big cats? But cat meat is sour frog frog. Frog frog said seriously, my meat is bitter. It's fine. Your master is a starving ghost. Just sprinkle some cumin. I can accept it. Scheming frog, sigma, degree degree, then why can't cat meat work? Alright, let's change the reason. I, don't eat cat meat. Frog frog hugged herself tightly, 
feeling grateful to have such a master who might want to slaughter her at any moment, but gratitude aside, blood had already dripped, and the master accepted it, what else could she do, master's thoughtful treasure hunting little frog frog, online now, night fell, deep in the forest, the roars of beasts gradually increased, logically, the night should belong more to the ferocious beasts, but as long as there weren't large groups of people, the difference between humans and ferocious beasts wasn't that significant, after all, everyone was a hunter, Chen Chen's silver spear was already soaked in blood, after nearly three hours, heaven did not disappoint the determined frog, and she successfully found two jade bone kalin over twenty years old, along with several washing marrow willow spikes, although washing marrow willow spikes were also longevity materials, they were auxiliary materials for refining yellow longevity pills, with the core still being those two jade bone kalin, one 23 years old and the other 28 years old, enough for Chen Chen to refine a batch of white longevity pills, after dealing with the immediate trouble, Chen Chen was thinking of finding a place to rest, but unexpectedly, a long beast roar echoed in her ears, roar, then, there was a painful scream from a human woman, don't get it wrong, it was the kind of scream that really sounded painful, the boy swung his spear and looked over, frowning after a moment, this sound, why does it sound a bit familiar, who is it, forget it, none of my business, although this place wasn't quite a true battlefield beyond the realm, it was still the territory of ferocious beasts, here, slaughter was happening all the time, those who meddled in others affairs often didn't have a good ending, find a river, take a bath, end the day beautifully while humming, Chen Chen pulled out the scheming frog from her collar, frog frog, do you like swimming, um, I like it, after saying that, she added, but there are many unreasonable big guys in the river, so what, just clean them up, master is mighty unfortunately, the harsh reality was that the more you didn't want to deal with something, the more it would force you to deal with it, here, we can cite a rather mature law of Murphy's law, amidst the roars, a slender shadow suddenly swept past Chen Chen's head, and when it landed, the boy looked over with a slightly cold gaze, you must have installed a camera on me, right? You always managed to find me. The girl who landed was momentarily stunned when she saw him speak. She had only wanted to lure the monster to a place with other people to share the pressure. But who knew she would encounter Chin Chen? But in an instant, her eyes returned to their original state. Calm yet with a hint of killing intent, so what if it is? You. The boy wanted to speak, but behind him came a fierce beast's roar, roar. He helplessly slung his spear. Let me deal with this big guy first before I chat with you. With the roar, a shadow suddenly dashed past under the moonlight, sliding several meters upon hitting the ground, showing how fast it had come. Upon seeing it, even Chen Chen, who was well informed, couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. What the hell? In the midst of his exclamation, that gigantic creature had already pounced. The young man had no choice but to raise his gun to block. Bang! The claws collided violently with the silver spear. Block! The prompt appeared and the young man was sent flying back over 10 meters. In life devourer, a successful block incurs no damage, and moreover, it can link to the opponent's attribute panel. Name, Moon Pattern Silver Tiger Rank, Elite, Mutated, Level, 6 Vitality, 3133-3489 Strength, 37 Spirit, 5 Defense, 14 Speed, 23 Skills, Silver Moon Roar, Domain Asterisk Silver Thunder of Moon Lake Combat Power, 429. After reading this attribute panel, Chen Chen could only shout, what the hell, this is cheating, does even a male protagonist get such treatment, damn, expressionless girl, where the hell did you lure this damn creature from, I, Lu Sinyu's voice faltered here, I warn you, take back what you just said, what time is it now, and you're still worried about these trivial matters, Chen Chen shouted, then used his spear to flick some dirt to obscure the opponent's vision before saying, if you have the ability, Deal with this creature yourself, if you don't, just obediently answer my questions. A mutated elite beast, the moon pattern silver tiger. This woman really knows how to attract monsters. The so-called mutated species can be understood as professionals among humans, or as geniuses among beasts, the origins of such beasts must be clarified. Otherwise, if a small one is dealt with, a larger and older one will inevitably follow. Ha! Huh? Lucin you suppressed the anger in her eyes and finally calmed down. I don't know, this guy came on its own, the young man's lips twitched slightly, so it's starving and came out to hunt, which makes it even harder to deal with, but at least one thing could be confirmed, 
No older ones would come looking for them in a short time. There's no time to hesitate. Take it down. With that, Chen Chen moved first, the Xianhai dragon chanting spear instantly falling like a crescent moon. But just as it was about to hit, the moon patterned silver tiger suddenly jumped back, as if toying with him, avoiding the attack. It could have dodged earlier and more smoothly, but it chose to play with danger. Like playing with danger. Ha! Be careful, don't get yourself killed. As soon as the words left his mouth, a cold light shot towards the moon pattern silver tiger, which was the spear thrown from the young man's hand. Whoosh! Faced with this sudden attack, the moon pattern silver tiger instinctively reacted to dodge, but it didn't know that Chen Chen was waiting for this moment. At the instant it jumped. Pun! Dash 45. The sharp beast tooth had strong penetration, but before it could pierce through the moon pattern silver tiger, the beast tooth bullet was burned to ashes by the electric currents coursing through its body, scattering into the air. The final bit of damage was negligible compared to the over 3,000 health points of this big cat. But as the saying goes, the damage may be low, but the insult is extremely high. The moon pattern silver tiger had initially approached with a playful attitude, teasing this human. But it never expected that this human would bite back. How could it endure? Suddenly, roar silver moon roar a sudden dizziness struck the young man's head like a hammer. Damn, dizziness, lasts two seconds. Oh no, this is bad, receiving the system's abnormal status alert. Shen Chen wanted to change his tactics, but it was already too late. The only option was to endure the upcoming attack. However, before the moon pattern silver tiger could attack, he was met with a sword approaching from behind. But in less than half a second, she couldn't withstand that terrifying force and was directly knocked back. Roar! In that roar, Chen Chen could not escape either, being slapped back 10 meters, crashing into a tree. Severe injury. Minus 1157. Warning. Health has dropped below 25%. Pua. A mouthful of fresh blood spilled from the boy's mouth. This one strike had taken over a thousand points of health, which was truly terrifying. The gap in combat power, the disparity in offensive and defensive attributes, was too great. If it weren't for his all attributes plus 7 still having a bit of time left, with only one point of defense, he would probably have been taken out in an instant. Combat damage calculation, base damage asterisk own combat power slash opponent's combat power, what the sun. With only 300 points of health left, Chen Chen dared not approach to attack again. Although the core of Life Devourer was similar to an online game. It was a real game that existed in reality, dying meant truly dying. Moreover, although injuries were represented by numbers, the pain in the body was unavoidable. Being slammed against the tree trunk by the moon pattern silver tiger, Chen Chen felt as if his bones were about to shatter. You're not dead, right? Lu Xin you asked from not far away. Pooh. The boy turned his head and spat out a mouthful of blood foam. Isn't it because of you that this big cat came here? If mutated elite monsters were that easy to deal with. Wouldn't all of humanity be rushing in? I, Lu Xinyu wanted to refute but found no words, although she was also a victim. It was indeed her actions that had drawn Chen Chen into this mess. This responsibility couldn't be avoided. Since that was the case, she didn't plan to say more, I'll give you two longevity pills. Help me. You're quite generous. Chen Chen's tone was somewhat sarcastic, but then he took out a pill and tossed it into his mouth. His previous injuries recovered significantly in an instant. This effect was far better than the blood serum patch of the magic pattern octopus. What kind of band-aid could have such an effect? Wouldn't it sell like hotcakes? As for what this was, blood serum gel capsule of the magic pattern octopus, a gelatinous capsule infused with the serum of the magic pattern octopus, which restores 50% of health points per second for 2 seconds upon consumption, level restriction, usable below level 5, crafting process, white, rough, compared to the serum gel capsule. The band-aid was merely scraps. Of course, the production rates of the two were definitely different. The serum from one magic pattern octopus could either be made into 10 gel capsules or nearly a hundred patches. They could also be mixed, but the total amount wouldn't differ too much. You really have hidden quite a few things. Chen Shen turned back and chuckled lightly, saying that, can I really spill everything to my enemies? That would be no different from Jesus' mother. Once his state was fully restored, the boy once again took up arms. Hmm. No. The gun had been thrown away. He was now armed with a slingshot. Before he even arrived, he hurled a handful of gravel at the moon pattern silver tiger against the mutated elite monster. This crude slingshot couldn't deal much damage, but it was quite effective for harassment. 
The gravel shot out like buckshot, forcing the moon pattern silver tiger to leap back to avoid it, even though it knew the damage wasn't high, it would still hurt if it got hit, right? If it could dodge, why take a hit? Seizing the opportunity, Shen Shen didn't waste any time. Executing a quick step to grip the Shen Hai Longing Gun tightly, the slingshot's damage was insufficient now, and he could only use the Shen Hai Longing Gun to push forward. But with such a disparity in attributes, he couldn't just go into stab, poke, slash, or sweep, he had to leverage his ranger class advantage. Shoot! The boy once again kicked up some sand and gravel to obstruct the moon pattern Silver Tiger's line of sight, then immediately pulled back. Hey! Find a way to restrict that big cat's movement, even one second is enough. I'm not hey. Lu Sinyu directly responded, there were only the two of them in this area, and that hey wouldn't be called by anyone else. That emotionless girl, help me. You might as well just call me hey. Lu Sinyu spoke in a chilling tone, her intent to stab Chun Chen with her gaze completely unmasked. She hated it most when others pointed at her face. The last person who did that is already buried under grass. If it weren't for other matters getting in the way every time. Hey, hurry up. Chen Chen, wielding a long spear, was already in a bit of a mess from the attacks of the moon pattern silver tiger. Seeing this, Lu Sinyu gritted her teeth, ultimately succumbing to her own entanglement. My method needs some time to prepare. Just wait a bit longer. The moon pattern silver tiger was an elite level mutant. And with the Lu family's current information, they certainly knew of its existence. Killing a mutated elite-level beast would yield profits that were at least on par with that of a lord-level beast, and it wouldn't be reported to the entire server by the life-devouring system. This was a way to make a fortune quietly, so why not take the chance? It was based on this that Lu Sinyu was willing to use her methods. Hurry up! Chen Chen urged, his speed at a mere 11 points. If it weren't for his past life experience pulling him along, he would have been caught and toyed with by the moon pattern Silver Tiger long ago. Feline predators are not very friendly to their prey. They eat only after playing enough. Can't hurry. Just wait. Damn it. Knowing that urging was useless, Chen Chen simply put away the spear, pulled out a slingshot, and directly took out one black projectile after another from his spatial ring. With a bang, it hit the moon pattern silver tiger, creating a cloud of blackness that lingered for a long time. This wasn't some kind of refined product. It was just the excrement from the intestines of those aquatic ferocious beasts. One word, stinky. While handling these things, Chen Shen had at least ruined 10 pieces of intestinal membrane, cutting the animal's intestines into small pieces to use as gloves. And it was utterly disgusting. In the end, the outer layer was just some useless fish skin. Otherwise, whether he would have taken it out to use was still debatable. When it exploded, a nauseating stench that made everything wretch and withered all the grass instantly became a huge blot under the moonlight, if it were daytime, this place would surely be a dark patch. Not only was it smelly, minus 45, it also dealt damage. Lu Sinyu, who was preparing something, couldn't hold back, ah, so stinky, what the hell did you make? The frog in Chen Chen's sleeve was also frothing at the mouth. It smells, it smells worse than the owner. Ugh, ugh. You just threw a roasted frog into my clothes. Gulp. Swallowing sound. Roar Ugh the terrifying stench drove the moon pattern silver tiger into a rage. But before it could finish its roar, a strong urge to vomit swept over it. This was simply beyond what any creature could tolerate. A single type of smell was fine. It could even serve as a pheromone for identifying the same species. But once mixed together. What a hybrid breed. Even more infuriating was. Big kitty. You're so big. You must have a high demand, right? Here comes more. Pun. Moon pattern silver tiger, I present you in hashtag asterisk and, however, whether the stink bomb hit it or not, the black mist would disperse, and the stench would spread. Completely unstoppable. Ugh. Chen Chen couldn't help but pinch his nose. Two of these is a bit too much. Even you can't stand it. Master. The frog protested repeatedly. I apply to go out for fresh air no coming out. The boy shouted in his mind, even if you vomit inside, you can't come out. Hide well. No. No more roasted frogs? Chen Chen temporarily ignored the naive frog, with Lu Sinyu still outside. It was better to expose the frog's situation later. After firing two stink bombs, the boy immediately retreated with his spear. Due to the imposing aura of the moon pattern silver tiger combined with the terrible stench, even the lurking snakes and insects around didn't dare to approach. If not, how could Chen Chen be so at ease? Hey, how much longer do you need? 
This was clearly directed at Lu Sinyu. Give me 10 more seconds. You better pray I have 10 seconds left to live. The boy's lips twitched slightly, there was no choice but to close the distance again. The moon pattern's silver tiger was just nauseatingly foul, not immobile, so it wasn't the best time yet. To unleash the effect of the penetrator, it had to be ensured that it couldn't dodge. Seeing Chen Chan approach again, the moon pattern's silver tiger's eyes reddened a bit. Roar, however. Pun. A stench bomb just burst into its mouth. He he, this mouth is way bigger than a bird's nest. Moon pattern's silver tiger. It had lived for so long, evolving from a little milk tiger to a mutated elite. And this was the first time it encountered such a disgusting human. Throwing poop into a cat's mouth? Can't you do something more civilized? The key was that this poop also exploded. Ugh. Ugh. Roar ugh. Poo. Chen Chen couldn't hold back. Poo ha ha. Poo ha ha just as the laughter faded. Z. A sudden silver lightning struck right in front of Chen Chen. Scorching the ground black. If that silver lightning had hit him, the outcome was unimaginable. It seemed the moon pattern silver tiger had lost its aim due to the stench, otherwise, in the next moment, under the moonlight, the silver black circular domain suddenly expanded, with fine lightning currents flickering within like ripples in water. The radius of the domain was about 6 meters. Undoubtedly, this was another skill of the moon pattern silver tiger besides silver moon roar, domain asterisk moon lake silver thunder. Rather than a skill, it was more like a domain. After all, it's a mutated beast. Other beasts below level 10 could at most use a bit of spiritual power to create a shockwave or spit a fireball. But mutated ones. The current domain was far more exaggerated than any fireball or shockwave. Poker-faced girl. Hurry up. Almost done. Lu Sinyu clenched her delicate fists. But it might not even last a second. Stop whining. Hurry. Chen Chen knew this was her signal of readiness. And he immediately retreated over 10 meters. Gripping the Xianhai Longing Spear at its tip. Slightly leaning back. On the other side, Lu Sinyu was also ready. She held a spliced metal hoop that first hovered in her palm. Then, Lu Sinyu suddenly flipped her palm. And at the same time, the hoop was pulled by this force. Spinning rapidly and quickly enlarging. After getting it going, she maintained her gesture and turned it clockwise for a full circle. The hoop was thus lifted by one force after another. Circling around Lu Sinyu, performing an expanding circular motion. The radius went from half a meter to one meter, two meters, three meters. This process wasn't slow, Lu Sinyu took less than three breaths to reach in front of the moon pattern silver tiger. But ultimately, she still had to step into the range of the moon lake silver thunder. A moment of hesitation flashed in her eyes, but it was soon dispelled. Then, she stepped into the domain. A current brought a terrifying burning sensation, crawling all over Lu Sinyu, but at the same moment, the metal hoop also touched the moon pattern silver tiger. She suddenly looked down and shouted, now. But Chen Chen didn't foolishly wait for her to speak. Seeing the metal hoop land on the moon pattern silver tiger, he swallowed a pill. And at the same time, whoosh, boom. The gap between these two sounds was almost instantaneous. Yet the silver lightning on the moon pattern silver tiger suddenly halted. In the next moment, a shocking number popped up, minus 4140. Chen Chen's original strength was 10 points, plus the temporary attribute of 7 points, and the Xianhai Dragon Yin Jian with 12 points, totaling 29 points. Yet even so, how could he not deal over 4000 damage? Why was that possible? Undoubtedly, it was due to the bloodthirsty potion of the double thin frenzy shark he had consumed earlier, previously at level 0. Now at level 3, the damage was worlds apart. After multiplying by 10, his strength reached 290 points, which could directly penetrate the moon pattern silver tiger with only 14 points of defense, resulting in a base damage of 2760 points, adding the bonus from penetrator. That was the final value. As for why he would risk enduring 3 seconds of weakness with Lu Sinyu watching closely, it was because, kill, experience plus 2400, congratulations on leveling up, current abnormal status has been cleared. Current level, 4. Free attribute points plus 5. The sudden feeling of weakness that surged in his heart vanished in an instant. After all, Chen Chen was someone who had lived through a lifetime and knew some hidden settings of life devourer. No matter when, leveling up could remove abnormal statuses. He had calculated this point, knowing he didn't need to endure those 3 seconds of weakness, otherwise, he would never have chosen to take the bloodthirsty potion. 
No matter how great the rewards from killing the moon pattern silver tiger were, he couldn't joke with his own life, could he? For the five attribute points from leveling up, Shen Shen still allocated them in the ratio of 3-1-1. Ha! The young man leaped down from the tree and turned his gaze toward Lu Sinyu's position. Well done. Expressionless, as he uttered the last two words, Lu Sinyu happened to lift her head. At that moment, the word was stuck in Chen Shen's throat, unable to escape. What happened to your face? Face? Ha! Isn't it? Expressionless, after a self-deprecating laugh, Lu Sinyu raised her hand to touch her right cheek, the rough skin resembling a continuous mountain range primarily in pale yellow and black. The most exaggerated feature was a claw mark crossing her nose and a third of her lip, almost tearing her face in half. Ugly? No, perhaps terrifying would be a more fitting description. In contrast, her left cheek looked like that of a celestial being. Such a face was indeed too cruel for her. And all of this stemmed from the first year of the Life Devourer era. June 30th, 2028. Again, on the 10th day of the descent. That was before the establishment of the settlement, during a purple roulette lottery organized by the Lu family. Unfortunately, the result of the lottery was beast tide. The beast tide drawn from the purple roulette was almost a disaster for humanity at that time. It was no less than a volcanic eruption before the apocalypse. Although, under the combined suppression of the few strong individuals present, the beast tide was eventually quelled. The Lu family, being the first to bear the brunt, suffered casualties. The most severely affected didn't survive the day. And it was at that time that Lu Sinyu ended up with half of her face completely disfigured. Originally, she was a beautiful angel, a water lily emerging from the water. After her severe injuries, although recovery potions stopped the bleeding, the scars remained forever on her face. The contrast before and after even made her consider death at one point. Until her father, Lu Tian Yuan, handed her a silicone mask. The system of this world has just been established, changing your face to survive will always find a way. Lu Sinyu, perhaps, on some future roulette. We need you, the Lu family, needs you even more. In the end, she still reached out to take the mask, and from that moment on, there was never again anything on Lu Sinyu's face that could be called an expression. I must clarify, I didn't know about this before calling you that. Chen Chen, while not considering himself a good person would not stoop to the level of rubbing salt in someone else's wounds, it was not about conscience but basic morality. How come? Lu Sinyu raised the left corner of her mouth, since the right side wouldn't lift. Do you want to apologize? Consider it an explanation. Upon hearing this, she lightly clenched her delicate fist but then relaxed it, realizing that she couldn't kill Chen Chen, no matter how intense her anger or murderous intent was. Without the strength, she simply couldn't do it. The moon pattern silver tiger had already died at his hands, why should she be any different? Whatever, I'm sorry for scaring you. The boy didn't respond immediately but walked over to the corpse of the moon pattern silver tiger and retrieved the long spear that had pierced through it. Indeed, just now he had used the Shenhai Longing Spear as a javelin, piercing the big cat and dealing over 4000 damage, resulting in an instant kill. After pulling out the spear, he casually smashed its skull and stored a dark blue round bead into his spatial ring, then proceeded to deal with the other flesh. As a mutated elite, the moon pattern silver tiger naturally had treasures all over its body. The silver blue pattern tiger skin was excellent material for crafting lightning resistant gear, while the leg and spine meat could be used for alchemy, and the bones could be refined into weapons or boiled to create soups that temporarily boost attributes. There was even the highly resilient tiger tail sinew. After pulling it out, Chen Chen flicked it in his hand. He he, this is great material for making slingshots, I just need to find a substitute for the Ba Wan Hua Yao root handle. Unfortunately, no roulette appeared. You're quite familiar with beast materials? Lu Sinyu asked from behind him. The boy paused for a moment. Ha, what do you think? Looking at her expression, Chen Chen finally let out a sigh. Stop acting like a jilted lover, you have a share in the materials from this big cat. Whether it's the skin, meat, or bones, you can choose anyone, you're the main contributor, just give me a little. Lu Sinyu said this, but her tone didn't seem very eager. It was almost as if, she had ulterior motives? Well, there is that kind of thing. Really? In that instant, she seemed to come alive all of a sudden. I haven't even said what it is yet, but you know what I'm asking. You also said there is that kind of thing. The boy fell silent, 
realizing that women were indeed the best at picking apart details, when she was serious, no word could escape unscathed. Forget it. Helping an enemy doesn't benefit me at all. Upon hearing this, Lu Sinyu fell silent again, her eyes showing some conflict. But before she could speak again, Chen Chen put away the spear and said, Let's leave first, with just one mutated elite dead. This place will soon get lively. After saying this, he lightly jumped away from the spot. Halfway up the mountain, in fact, as Chen Chen spoke, faint beast roars were already approaching from this direction. In the early stages of devouring life, mutated beasts were as rare as professionals among humans, losing one meant one less, which would certainly cause a commotion. Although Lu Sinyu wanted to say something, she knew Chen Chen was right, so she had to leave first and plan later. It wasn't until they had run for over 10 kilometers that the two found a place to rest in a cave by a mountain stream. Guarding the cave was a sharp-clawed platypus, but it was only level 3, and Lu Sinyu easily killed it with a single sword strike, probably gaining very little experience. Go ahead. What? Lu Sinyu suddenly seemed caught off guard. Chen Shen didn't mind helping her recall, fixing her with a sharp gaze and asking, What benefit is there for me in helping an enemy? Upon hearing this, she fell silent for a moment again. The boy beside her, however, seemed eagerly waiting for her response and from his gaze, she could guess the answer he wanted, but that answer, as she pondered, a niche on her cheek made her raise her right hand again, the hardened keratin, like a ravine, should not exist, yet it pricks a little, just like the attitude of the Lu brothers towards themselves, stiff and as unfamiliar as dead skin, I am merely a tool, Chen Chen couldn't help but be taken aback, but he smiled and said, oh, this is getting interesting, go on, my surname is Luo, whom, Goodness, is there a big revelation here? The surname Luo, Luo Sinyu, Luo, Luo Shiyu, the founder of the Chuanbei Base City, the daughter of Luo Beichuan, Luo Shiyu. It is rumored that Luo Shiyu was traveling in the south when the life devouring event occurred. Later, after the establishment of the Chuanbei Base City, her father Luo Beichuan found his daughter, but due to some inconvenience, he never presented her to the public. This Luo Shiyu, could she possibly be the same person as Lu Sinyu? A storm of thought surged in Chen Chen's mind until, when the world became like this, I happened to be traveling with friends and coincidentally got stuck in Jiangnan, it was Lu Tianyuan who took me in. Chen Chen, what the hell? Lu Sinyu doesn't have the surname Lu, but Luo, because she was taken in by Lu Tianyuan and took on the surname Lu, then she is very likely Luo Beichuan's daughter, Luo Shiyu. The only uncertain point is, the reason Luo Beichuan does not present his daughter to the public, could it be because of her facial injury? But there can't be such a coincidence in this world, right? Chen Chen had many thoughts in his heart, but his face maintained relative calmness, and he pretended to be composed as he asked, Ha, taken in? So I should just believe whatever you say. You don't believe? Why should I believe? The boy retorted bluntly. Lu Sinyu was also taken aback upon hearing this. Yes. Why should he believe? Right now, at this moment, it was she who was persuading him to help an enemy. This excuse to distance herself from the Lu family was completely invalid, at least from mother's perspective. The probability of it being made up was almost 100%. Only Chen Chen would think so much, but there was nothing she could do but increase the bargaining chips, at least in her view. This was a bargaining chip, the one who refined the longevity pill is not me. But, your sister, upon hearing this, Chen Shen couldn't help but slightly part his lips, he had only guessed before. But, unexpectedly, it was true. Goodness. Fong Yining, however, to be honest, it's shocking, but let's not talk about it. With her love-struck brain, she could die any day and no one would claim the body. Implying, I don't believe it. Lu Sinyu clearly heard this, but besides that, how else could she distance herself from the Lu family? In a moment of urgency, she simply, then how do you want me to prove it? You have to tell me your real name, right? After dragging this out for so long, he finally found a chance to ask this question. This, she truly didn't expect Chen Chen to propose such a method. What's the use of saying it? Even if you know, what can you do? You can't possibly know me, right? You're overthinking it. But if you're asking someone for help, you should at least introduce yourself, right? Lu Sinyu couldn't help but twitch her lips. Indeed, she had become a bit flustered. My name is Luo Shiyu. Waves surged in Chen Chen's heart, and he almost asked which she and which you at that moment, at this point, he was almost certain of her identity. 
Even the name, same name, same surname, same experiences, this can't just be a coincidence, right? But even so, he still pretended to be calm and asked, since you say it was Lu Tianyuan who took you in, then why? I don't believe Lu Tianyuan would take in someone useless. It's simple, because I am useful. Oh, the boy showed a hint of surprise, but also a trace of doubt. It's nothing, just the hoop from earlier, it worked well against the beast tide, and the Lu family has survived several beast tides this way. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen finally felt relieved. The beast tide, while a disaster, is also something that ordinary people without combat power can face. For forces like the Lu family, if they had means to deal with it, they would even wish to draw out the beast tide. What comes out of the roulette is much easier to handle than the ferocious beasts that organize themselves. And a large number of ferocious beasts represents a large amount of profit, after all. One major way to gain from the lifespan roulette is to kill ferocious beasts. Lu Sinyu, no, Luo Shiyu's metal hoop spins up, and it is no less than a high-speed saw blade. It's simply a ferocious beast harvester, isn't it? No wonder Lu Tianyuan would look at her differently. I hope what you said is true. What do you mean? Luo Shiyu was taken aback and asked. Just wait. Chen Shen didn't explain much, just took out a piece of somewhat smelly tough skin from his spatial ring, scraped off the inner layer of fat with a scraper, and handed it to her. This, fish skin mask, although it can't be the same as your original one, it's fine to stretch it to cover half your face. But what I want is not, the boy didn't let her finish her sentence and continued. I know, but do you think those materials are easy to find? I'm not some magical cat. Luo Shiyu was stunned for a moment, then stretched the fish skin mask in her hand and pressed it against her right face. It's excellent toughness quickly covering every rough spot on her face. It didn't look as realistic as a silicone mask, instead, it somewhat exposed the scars. But the color of the fish skin made the scars on her right face look more like she was wearing a half mask, allowing Luo Shiyu's left face to return to normal. She wouldn't have to remain expressionless anymore. She glanced at herself in the puddle under the moonlight. Looks pretty good, at least. It wasn't so hideous anymore. It's like walking on the stage of a masquerade ball that forever belongs to you. Very cool, isn't it? The boy smiled and said. Luo Shiyu raised the left corner of her mouth. You must have deceived a lot of girls with that mouth before the apocalypse, right? Chen Chen shrugged and didn't answer. But then she heard, what materials do you need to completely heal my face? After a slight hesitation, Chen Chen finally spoke, clearly stating, one tail of bell-quenching milk over a hundred years old, a piece of tender meat from the tail of frost earth dragon, and one piece of magic cotton willow heart. I'll prepare the auxiliary materials. The more Luo Shiyu listened, the more confused she became. Why have I never heard of these? What a coincidence. I haven't heard of them either. At this moment, Luo Shiyu was certain of her previous guess. Chen Chen must have obtained a relatively complete bestiary of ferocious beast materials. Or even more, a complete analysis of ferocious beast materials. Otherwise, how could he explain his thorough knowledge of ferocious beast materials? Moreover, the few materials he mentioned that he himself hadn't heard of further indicated that they indeed existed, he just hadn't seen them yet. I will find them. Ah, good luck. As soon as the words fell, Chen Chen also moved his body. I've rested enough, I'm leaving. Where to? Of course, back to the Jungnan settlement. Am I supposed to stay out here as a wild man? Going back to the Junjung defense zone? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen laughed. Do you think Lu Yunpan will let me go? Or Lu Yun Lu? Or perhaps, Lu Tian Yuan? Lu Oshiyu was left speechless because what Chen Chen said was the truth. So what are your plans? What? Do you want to track my whereabouts? I'm already a formal player, just add me as a friend. Whenever you gather the materials, come find me. Hearing Chen Chen's words, Luo Shiyu knew she had asked too much. Alright, let's part ways here. After adding each other as friends, Chen Chen left the temporary resting cave without looking back. Heading towards the Jungnan settlement under the moonlight. In the nighttime jungle, danger is ultimately greater than during the day. Whether human or fierce beast, though both are hunters, they are also prey. In the Jungnan settlement, the Lu family's grand residence, the head of the family, Lu Tianyuan, wore a face full of anger, while below him stood his two brothers, Lu Yunpan and Lu Yunlu, two useless fools. A solemn atmosphere instantly swept through with this angry shout, Lu Tianyuan's level was probably not low. The only flaw was that he had no profession. Not only did you fail to seize the Lord's first kill, 
But you even lost your sister. She's not even blood related. Lu Yunlu couldn't help but mutter. Who would have thought that the next moment? Bang! A sudden wave of powerful energy directly knocked Lu Yunlu over, flipping him in the air several times before he landed on the ground, his head scraping along the ground for nearly a meter. It looked painful. I've said it countless times. She is of great use to us. Treat her like a real sister. Dad! Lu Yunlu raised his head, tears of grievance glistening in his eyes as he cried out. Call me father. Lu Yunlu felt a twitch in his eyelid. Not knowing how helpless he felt inside, his father must have read too many novels when he was young. Just because he turned the tables a bit, he thinks he's the main character every day? No matter how you look at it, he's just a male supporting character, right? The trope of the underdog rising has long been out of fashion. What about that Chen Chen? After venting his anger, Lu Tianyuan temporarily shifted his focus, continuing to dwell on this wouldn't yield any good results, just adding to the troubles. He ran, ran away, ran away? In less than a second, Lu Yunpan followed in his brother's footsteps. Not a single thing can be done well. What use do I have for you two brothers? Faced with their father's state, Lu Yunpan had already gotten used to keeping silent, after all. If you don't let him finish his second middle school, he won't let it go. Use all connections. That Chen Chen. If my Lu family can't have him, then no one else can. Yes. With that, the matter was settled. When Chen Chen returned to the edge of the Jungnan settlement, it was already early the next morning. When the numbers on the life card timer all returned to zero, Death's Devourer descended, entering the 26th day. All attributes plus seven, with only six hours left. After that, the young man gazed at the fence before him, tensing his legs and using a higher piece of rubble to leap over bang, landing and kicking up dust. Originally, he could have chosen not to return to this Jungnan settlement, but the Lu family had not yet eradicated the life-sucking sword, and it was still in enemy hands, leaving now would be too early. Revenge against Lu was one reason, reclaiming the life-sucking sword was another. After all, it was like a divine artifact, if he didn't bring it back, how could he find peace in his heart? Now, two paths lay before him, one, lay low and do nothing, two, start showing off, which one to choose? Chen Shen did not rush to decide but began to survey his surroundings. The Junjun defense zone should be in that direction. Dian, you better not die easily. Due to his personality, he didn't have many friends in his past life, and Dongfang Yenyan was a rare one. If he could keep him safe, he would. Unfortunately, he had forgotten to add him as a friend earlier, otherwise, it wouldn't have been so troublesome. But as his thoughts reached this point, the scheming little frog in his collar poked its head out. It's big, watery eyes staring at the sky. Um, master. Why does it feel strange here? Frog Frog feels a bit uncomfortable. Just a bit uncomfortable? Chen Chen asked in surprise. He understood that Frog Frog was likely referring to the ultrasonic beast repelling tower. But that thing only had a significant effect on beasts with underdeveloped brains. Frog Frog was just a bit uncomfortable. Clearly not in that category. This is a place where humans gather. Just endure for a while. It won't be uncomfortable for long. Um... After confirming the direction of the Junjiang defense zone, Chen Chen set off as well. However, the journey was long, and he couldn't rely solely on walking. He could only walk along the main road, hoping to encounter a leftover vehicle. Although he had a speed of 12 points with temporary attributes, without agility and footwork, his speed limit could only reach 10 points. That is, 10 meters per second. It sounds fast, but when converted to an hourly speed, it was only 36 kilometers per hour. According to the game map from the mission card, Chen Chen was about 154 kilometers away from his destination. Even without eating or drinking, it would take over 4 hours to get there. But this was just the theoretical maximum speed, right? In reality, maintaining that speed would consume a lot of stamina, making it impossible to sustain for long. Resting and eating were essential. Life Devourer was a good game, but the environment was real people felt pain, stamina would deplete, hunger would set in, and one could even die from exhaustion, unless one had a special constitution or took medication, these realities couldn't be avoided, half an hour later, Chen Chen finally found a wooling van stuck in the guardrail beside a collapsed highway, on the window, a claw mark was strikingly visible, and inside the driver's seat were only some torn clothes and dried bloodstains, however, V-room V-room haha, the boy laughed heartily, is this a divine vehicle or what? Awesome. 
The entire passenger seat was wedged into the guardrail, yet it could still run. With a means of transportation, it would only take a little over two hours to reach the Junjiang defense zone. He pulled the car door, and with a sudden burst of strength, he yanked the van out of the guardrail. Such a big movement, yet the engine didn't stall. However, while the car didn't stall, the noise attracted nearby beasts. Although Chen Chen was within a settlement, who said there were no beasts? Settlement. To put it simply, it was the area covered by the ultrasonic beast driving tower, which was at least as large as several major cities combined before the apocalypse. How could humans with the ability to move freely cover the entire settlement? In places where there were no people, there would inevitably be beasts. Moreover, most highways were originally built in wilderness and forest areas, and the ultrasonic beast driving tower was more effective at driving away airborne beasts, those on the ground, like frogs, would mostly just feel uncomfortable. They couldn't be driven away. Come on, just in time to test my new skill. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder How did it come about? Of course, it was given by that big cat up ahead. Do you remember the dark blue bead that Chun Chen picked from the head of the moon pattern silver tiger? That thing could only be produced by mutated beasts. And in later generations, it was called skill spirit bead. It was one of the main channels for players to acquire skills. Generally speaking, skill spirit beads recorded all the skills mastered by the corresponding beasts. But players could only learn those that did not contain biological characteristics. What does that mean? For example, the two skills of the moon pattern silver tiger. Silver moon roar and domain, moon lake silver thunder. The former belonged to the tiger's roar. Thus it contained biological characteristics and could not be learned. Therefore, the only one that could be learned was domain, moon lake silver thunder. This was also why Chin Chin secretly hid that bead. Some secrets were better kept to himself for a while. Two hours earlier, Chen Chen had not yet reached the Jiangnan settlement. Due to the fatigue from the long run, he had to find a safe zone somewhere in the wilderness. After catching his breath, the boy held a dark blue, smooth bead in his hand. Domain, Silver Thunder of Moon Lake, Domain Technique, establish a circular movable lightning domain with a radius of 3 meters, which can evolve, centered on oneself. Enemies stepping into the domain will constantly suffer lightning attacks, and random lightning strikes will occur within the domain. Individuals suffering lightning attacks will enter a paralysis state every 3 seconds, paralysis, movement is restricted, and normal attacks cannot be performed, the damage from lightning attacks is 3 times the mental attribute of the domain caster, the damage from random lightning strikes is 10 times the mental attribute, while the lightning domain exists, it consumes 10 spirit points from the caster every second, skill cooldown time, 30 seconds after the domain closes, because silver moon roar cannot be learned. This skill spirit pearl only has the attribute of domain, silver thunder of moon lake. The young man tightly grasped the spirit pearl and silently chanted in his heart, learn. Learning skills can enhance combat power and increase damage in battle, as long as it exists and meets the requirements. It must be learned. The next moment, a confirmation box popped up in front of Chen Chen, you are about to learn domain, silver thunder of moon lake. Due to this skill's influence, you will unlock the spirit attribute in advance and classify it as thunder. Confirm? Confirm. The spirit attribute has eight major categories, wind, fire, earth, wood, water, thunder, ice, and dark, each with distinct characteristics and interconnections. The thunder attribute has strong destructive power, built-in penetration, and a paralysis effect, making it the perfect attribute for a ranger. What is there to hesitate about? After thinking confirm, the spirit pearl transformed into a stream of light and drilled into Chin Chen's body. A progress bar also appeared on the panel, slowly moving forward. Normally, players need to reach level 10 to unlock the spirit attribute, but that is just unlocking, to use it. One must successfully learn skills that consume spirit points to exert their effects, though there are exceptions, like Chen Chen, who learns skills requiring spirit points in advance. However, in the early stages of Life Devourer, this situation is extremely rare, as the existence of skill spirit pearls is still unknown to humanity, and the only way to obtain skills is through the roulette. Yes, it relies purely on luck. However, whether white or yellow, the skills drawn are mostly combat-type skills that do not require spirit points, as long as the physical condition is met, they can be mastered. Skills requiring spirit points can only be drawn from at least a purple roulette. How many players can afford a purple roulette in the early stages? About half an hour passed. Learning complete. The spirit attribute has been activated. Category, 
Thunder. Ha! Feeling the new power surging within him, Chin Shen couldn't help but take a deep breath. Then he lightly pulled from the side with his right hand, a tribute panel name, Chin Shen Profession, ranged asterisk ranger secondary profession, hidden asterisk special breeder level, for experience, 1180-4000 lifespan, 120 days vitality, 1748 spirit, 900 category, thunder strength, 13, plus 7, mental, 5, plus 7, defense, 1, plus 7, speed, 5, plus 7, skills, penetrator, LV1. Domain, Silver Thunder of Moon Lake, LV1, Combat Power, 346. 900 spirit points mean that Domain, Silver Thunder of Moon Lake can last for up to 90 seconds. That's enough. Returning to the present, after confirming he could not avoid a battle, the young man decisively called out, Domain, Silver Thunder of Moon Lake. As the words fell, a silver lightning flashed in his youthful eyes. And then, as his body became a conductor, he sank into the earth. Just in the blink of an eye, Z, as the lightning pool formed, Chen Chen felt a surge of energy quietly flowing away from him. It is the feeling of spiritual power ebbing away, during which his entire spirit feels somewhat. Perhaps, it can be described as open-minded, like the vastness of heart one feels when facing the sea. In fact, this is the state of mental power operating at full capacity. The attribute of spiritual power does not belong to all attributes, yet it is linked to one of them which is spirit. To put it plainly, this is a kind of potential energy. Do you remember the setting of spirit? Yes, it is consciousness, without spiritual power. The spirit is not visible, or rather, it is unclear, with spiritual power, the spirit becomes visible. Professions like mages and sorcerers are also born from spiritual power. In simple terms, spiritual power is the external manifestation of the spirit. As for the level of this value, it can be simply expressed with the formula, x plus y, asterisk 100, where x is spirit and y is level. Therefore, it is said to be not belonging to all attributes, yet still linked to them. Come on, kids. The young man stepped forward, and the thunder pool beneath his feet moved with him. In fact, this domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder, serves more as a formation. After all, Chen Chen's main attack method is ranged, activating the formation can prevent fierce beasts from sneaking up on him. His life depends on this, once dead, there is no way to resurrect. Of course, he must be cautious. Just three seconds after activating the formation, fierce beasts began to surge around him. In this area, there used to be mainly wild boars and small beasts, accompanied by wild monkeys, ground birds, and snakes and rats. The individual combat power is average, but the only advantage is, there are many. Gooey as it approached. A giant wild boar over two meters tall suddenly let out a howl, and when its front feet slammed down, a piece of concrete from the highway was directly lifted up, and Chen Shen happened to be at the end that was lifted. Damn. Fortunately, he wasn't a fool, the moment it lifted, he pulled back the slingshot and shot down. Minus 562. Paralysis. The first bullet did not kill the wild boar, but Chen Shen was not in a hurry, while still in the air. A long spear appeared in his hand and he shot it fiercely. Minus 780. Kill. Experience plus 40. As the notification appeared, the young man's figure also landed, lightly stepping on the back of the wild boar before yanking out the spear that had pierced through. His slightly crimson eyes resembled a reaper returning from hell. Even the basic attack carries lightning attributes? The young man was somewhat surprised. Could it be a hidden effect of the Moon Lake Silver Thunder? After all, the attribute of spiritual power is lightning and humans are conductors, when activating the lightning formation, the lightning attribute of spiritual power is conducted through the body to the slingshot, and then shot out by the bullet. If that's the case, it makes sense that the bullets shot from the slingshot carry lightning attributes. Reality does have its advantages. At the very least, it still follows the most basic principles of physics. Ha! Let's begin. The hunting moment. The fierce beasts living within human settlements occasionally face waves of encirclement. So even the highest level is only around level 6 to 7. Moreover, there are no elite monsters, which is a hunting ground for Chen Chen, who has temporary attributes and is a professional. Covered in blood, he traversed the area, and in less than a minute, the number of fierce beasts that died under his spear exceeded a hundred. Until, master, wait, there are good things over there. This voice naturally came from the frog in his collar. The communication between the master and pet is through brainwaves. So even though Chen Chen was in a killing frenzy, 
The transmission of sound was unobstructed. It even made him feel a bit clearer in mind and vision. What good things. It's. It's. Very good things. Chen Chen was left with a head full of question marks. But after spending this little time together, he had some understanding of the frog's ability as a treasure-finding expert. She said it was a good thing, so it must be a good thing. At the very least, it was something that could emit a strong wave of spiritual energy, whether it was good or not depended on the perspective. All right, you successfully caught my attention. With that, Chen Chen directly broke through the encirclement of the fierce beasts in the direction pointed out by Wawa, not forgetting to pick up the scattered roulette along the way. However, when he reached the end of the path, he was faced with a deep, dark forest. Great, do I have to dive into the woods again? Just as the boy's muttering fell from his lips. No, no, master, it's below here. Below? Chen Shen was somewhat confused. In front of him was a mountain forest, and below was a concrete highway surface. Below, could it be underground? To his surprise, Wawa jumped out in a hurry, bouncing on a section of the pavement under the moonlight. Right here, right here. The boy looked skeptical. Wah wah, don't fool me. No, no, right here. All right, it wasn't that he couldn't get it open. He stood up slightly, confirmed that no fierce beasts were chasing him, and then thrust his spear hard into the ground. Boom, the impact caused the entire pavement to tremble, and the Xianhai Longing Spear let out a long dragon's roar as the tremor lasted for several seconds. Wow, so hard? The Xianhai Longing Spear was a high-quality yellow-grade craft, if it couldn't pierce through something. Was it something mixed into the concrete during construction? Some kind of mineral that absorbs spiritual energy when devouring life descended, thus mutating. Thinking of this, Chen Shan changed his position and thrust again. This time, the spear penetrated the concrete surface, going half a foot deep without any obstruction. He replicated the same action in several places around until the ground was poked into countless piles resembling honeycomb, confirming the size of that thing. Not too big, not too small, about the size of a basin. The boy thrust the spear into the ground, using the lever principle to gently lift it, and then he heard a rumble as the center of the pockmarked surface suddenly sank in. Having already determined its shape, it didn't take long to extract it from the surface. When the good thing Wawa mentioned fully revealed itself, Chen Chen realized it was actually a starfish spirit titanium, or a mineral containing a large amount of spiritual energy. With extremely high hardness and strong toughness and ductility, an excellent material for making weapons, quality, purple. Is this it? Chen Chen asked, holding the starfish spirit titanium in his hands. This was indeed a good thing. It should have decent properties for making a slingshot handle, but it was still a bit far from very good. Sure enough. No. No. Still below. We need to go deeper? Wawa nodded, mmm. It must be this big rock affecting my judgment. Wawa isn't fooling the master all right. With the starfish spirit titanium as a start, Chen Shen put in all his effort and managed to tear a piece of the pavement away, revealing the stone base underneath, half of which was already showing red earth. The area Wawa pointed to was right inside that red earth. At this point, the boy had a bold guess if the starfish spirit titanium was just a gate stone. Then the real treasure was probably, holy crap, starry blue ginseng? Just by digging a small piece of red earth, the roots that were just revealed made Chen Chen's breathing grow heavy, until he pulled out its original, starry blue ginseng, spirit plant, a spirit plant that grows using star essence as nourishment, the main material for refining high-level longevity pills of black grade or above. With extremely high spiritual energy content, it can also serve as a life-saving elixir in critical moments, quality, purple, year, 912 years. Oh my goodness, over 900 years of starry blue ginseng? So, starfish spirit titanium is just a channel for absorbing the essence of the stars, right? Just like the green leaves of a pineapple that extend out for photosynthesis. Its essence is actually underground. That's it. Frog Frog excitedly jumped onto the surface of the blue ginseng, her eyes filled with an undeniable desire. Or rather, she didn't even think to hide it. The starry blue ginseng is a material for refining high-level longevity pills above black grade. In other words, it contains at least a thousand years worth of life essence, which is great for humans, and for fierce beasts, or rather, spirit beasts. It's an even more deadly temptation. Chen Chen quickly put it away. I'm about to drool. I can't just give this to you. The black longevity pill can increase lifespan by up to 10,000 years. And if he could refine it, 
It would be a significant gain for him in the early stages. Ah, I just want one tendril, please. Master the blue ginseng was put away, and Frog Frog, who suddenly lost her foothold, let out a startled cry, but midway transformed into wind attribute, flowing down with the wind and clinging tightly to the boy's waist. No, Chen Chen firmly refused. Even a single tendril is too much energy for you right now, you have to take it one bite at a time. To put it simply, he was reluctant. Quack alright, stop looking so forlorn. No blue ginseng tendril, but how about I give you a skill to learn instead? Really? Have I ever lied to you? Frog Frog thought for a moment. Hmm, forget it, let's just roast it and eat it. Eek, master. I was wrong the master and pet made their way back to the position of the wooling divine car during which Chen Chen also collected some useful materials, which was the skill he promised Frog Frog. The hidden secondary profession's special breeder certainly wouldn't just give him the ability to tame pet beasts. Breeding is not the same as feeding, it refers to cultivating and caring for animals, moreover, it has the word special in front, meaning he can not only tame special creatures but also has the ability to cultivate special creatures. What is the purpose of cultivation? Of course, becoming talented. Looking at the fierce beast materials laid out before him, Chen Chen couldn't help but fantasize. He he he, I can already imagine the scene later. Master, what are all these? Hearing Frog Frog's question, Chen Chen cleared his throat and pointed to the first item, one pouch from a flame-bellied mouse, 30 grams of fire flower. After introducing them one by one, he looked at Frog Frog, Frog Frog, transform into fire attribute, and then eat this pouch first. Ha! Huh? This! This, what's wrong with it? It looks really stinky. How could that be? Chen Chen said, just as Frog Frog was about to retort. He followed up with, there's something even stinkier behind. Master, can I not eat it? The boy revealed a devilish smile. Be good. Frog Frog, I just want to cultivate you into a Gatling Frog. Is there anything wrong with that? Eat the pouch of the flame-bellied mouse. Then chew and swallow the fire flower. And after that, be obedient. Eat. The scheming frog was extremely reluctant, she was just a frog, why did she have to eat a mouse? Wasn't a mosquito tasty anymore? Or was a little beetle not sweet? But under her master's oppressive authority, she ultimately couldn't escape this calamity and obediently complied. Afterwards, a window popped up in front of Chen Chen, evolution plan 1 in progress, remaining 13 minutes 59 seconds, time passed quickly, cultivation successful. Individual named Scheming Frog has gained corresponding growth. Learn skill, Fireball Explosion. Fireball Explosion, instantly shoots a fireball with a radius of zero. A 5 meter fireball, upon hitting the target, will cause fire attribute explosion damage and has a 15% chance to inflict burning, lasting for 5 seconds, burning, reduces health by 3% per second. Strength and speed weaken to 50%, the damage of the fireball explosion is 2. 5 times the caster's mental attribute, skill mana consumption, 30 points, skill cooldown time, 3, 5 seconds. Ha! Huh? Frog Frog was surprised, clearly sensing its own change. Did I just learn this? Now you know the master isn't trying to harm you, right? Mmm 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 mmm. Master, I want more alright. Chen Chen pointed to the second item, then let's go with this, half a tail of the dark surge dragon. One part of the rain knight daffodil stamen. The materials from fierce beasts and spiritual plants were mostly collected by Chin Chen along the way. After taming Frog Frog as a pet, all information about the elemental spirit frog species was recorded in his mind. How to cultivate and the direction of cultivation were all documented for reference. Of course, it could also be self-established. In fact, when he learned all this, Chen Chen already had doubts in his heart. It had only been 26 days since Life Devourer descended upon Earth. Where did these records come from? Could it be that this game is a reflection of a real world? If so, what is the channel of this reflection? However, he didn't delve deeper, he had no time to investigate now, as his own path was still uncertain. Worrying about these things would be putting the cart before the horse, wouldn't it? Advancement Plan 1 in Cultivation Remaining 11 minutes 59 seconds Cultivation successful Individual named Cunning Frog has gained corresponding growth Learn skill, chain water ball. Chain water ball, rapidly shoot 3 to 9 small water balls forward. And finally charge to shoot a giant water ball with a radius of 1 meter. The attack damage of small water balls is 0. 8 times the caster's mental attribute. And the attack damage of the large water ball is 1. 
6 times the caster's mental attribute, skill mana consumption, 45 points, skill cooldown time, 8 seconds, fireball, water ball, and then half a heart of the burrowing porcupine, advancement plan 1, cultivation successful, has gained corresponding growth, learn skill, dust burial, dust burial, rapidly scatter dust in a 135 degree sector ahead, targets affected will take a certain amount of earth attribute damage and have a 12% chance to fall into a blind state. Duration determined by corresponding resistance, blind, loss of vision, perception range reduced by 90%, dust damage is 1. 8 times the caster's mental attribute, skill mana consumption, 45 points, skill cooldown time, 8 seconds. The trunk of the Wooling God car was filled with materials collected by Chen Chen, all basic attribute materials, but they could serve as preliminary materials for cultivating the elemental spirit frog. In the next hour, following fireball, water ball, and dust throwing, there were also wind pressure cannon, vine binding, flickering lightning, ice spike fall, and shadow ambush. Quack, I can't eat anymore. Master when frog frog could no longer eat even a little bit. The basic skills of the eight attributes were finally all arranged. Looking at the attribute panel again, it was already vastly different from before name, elemental spirit frog nickname, scheming frog owner, Chin Chen level, for vitality, 1300 spirit power, 2100 strength, 3 mentality, 17 defense, 3 speed, 6 skills, elemental transformation, LV1, fireball explosion, LV1, chain water ball, LV1, sand dust burial, LV1, wind pressure cannon, LV1, green vine binding, LV1, flickering lightning, LV1, ice spike fall, LV1, shadow stealth, LV1, combat power, 629 tut tut tut, seeing the densely packed text under skills, Chen Chen, the owner, couldn't help but feel a bit sour. The prototype of the Gatling Frog, this is already a success, right? Sigh, if only learning skills for myself were this easy. Your combat power is even higher than mine. Frog Frog? He he, isn't that all thanks to the owner's nurturing? Frog Frog hadn't forgotten its roots. If it relied on itself, not to mention whether it could learn so many skills, the process wouldn't be this simple, right? To become stronger, fierce beasts indeed need to eat and drink, then rely on their bodies to digest and absorb. But this method has a high degree of randomness. Moreover, the time required is definitely not just this little bit. However, at this moment, apart from elemental transformation, the other skills on Frog Frog's panel were displayed in faint black text, with a small note below, asterisk note, other skills can only be activated after being transformed into the same attribute as elemental transformation. True, if there weren't this limitation, the elemental spirit frog would be too overpowered. But it's already quite exaggerated. How many beings in this world can master all eight attributes? This also destined that the existence of the elemental spirit frog wouldn't be numerous. Otherwise, it wouldn't be classified as a special creature. According to the professional analysis of the special breeder occupation, to be rated as a special creature, a spirit beast must meet an absolute prerequisite condition naturally born and nurtured. In other words, the elemental spirit frog did not mutate from a native species on earth. Ha! What is the truth of this world? Really, the room the sound of an engine starting up, the Wuling Shinche slowly began to move. Inside the driver's seat, the boy skillfully coordinated the clutch with his left foot and the accelerator with his right, directly starting in third gear. Although there was a big hole in the passenger seat, well, it's just the shell. Better off without it. The sound of the rear wheel screeching against the ground created a piercing scream, and the next moment, it kicked up a splash of water from the still drying blood on the ground. Speeding away, along the way, they encountered quite a few fierce beasts, but none dared to approach easily due to the imposing presence of the Wuling Shinche. Starting from the blood pool, with blood and sparks flying, which little cutie would dare to come close? Do they not value their lives? Adding up the time spent before and after. By the time Chen Chen arrived, the sky was already showing a hint of dawn. It was at this moment all attributes plus 7 has expired. The attributes that had fought alongside him for 5 days ultimately faded away with time. Jun Jiang Defense Zone. Outskirts. Eh? Car sounds, a member responsible for the outer guard suddenly raised his head at the sound. Nowadays, the sound of a car engine was as rare as the roar of a South China tiger before the apocalypse, making it hard not to attract attention. Before long, this exclamation also drew the attention of those around, damn, what kind of divine car, 
can still drive with a big hole in the passenger seat? Look at you. So ignorant. Exactly. Haven't you seen the National Divine Car? I don't even doubt that seven or eight tattooed big men could come down from above. As the crowd discussed, the car didn't drive straight in, after a slight turn. A young man kicked open the non-existent car door and stepped out. What the hell? Chuan Gu? It really is him. How did Chuan Gu come back? In this Junjiang defense zone, Chen Chen was quite well known. After all, that previous feat of one person with a slingshot was more impressive than a sniper. Later, a pickup truck from the Lu family took someone away. And most people still remembered it clearly. And those who left the defense zone rarely returned. Brothers, have you seen that big guy Dong Fan Yin Yin? Chen Chen asked as he got out of the car. The people around finally understood he was here to look for someone. And they exchanged glances. But no one said they had seen him. Isn't he the big guy who left with you? Chuan Gu? Yes, that's him. Haven't seen him? Chen Chen asked in return. He should have arrived here earlier than me. Hey, Chuan Gu. Once you leave this place, who would come back? A crew cut man said, his tone a bit sour. What do you mean by that? Chen Chen pretended not to know, but deep down, he already had an answer. He thought the Lu family would throw Di Yenzi back into this defense zone, but unexpectedly, they had put into use the border defense zone. To put it bluntly, was just cannon fodder. In terms of hierarchy, it was only slightly higher than the life-eating maggots. Not much different from those vanguard teams that went to encircle and kill the lord, all serving the interests of various powers. However, the latter's fate was better than the former's. Sure enough, the crew-cut man went on to explain, pretending to understand. Chen Chen stopped asking and instead said, What about Xiao Gu? He wouldn't have left too, right? Just as the words fell. Ha ha ha, Chuan, my little brother, do you still remember me? As the hearty laughter faded. How Chen's figure came from not far away. Here. Of course. I'm here. How could I leave my brothers behind? This guy was still the same. Always with a pretty girl by his side. To fill their stomachs. These women were willing to offer their bodies, after all. For some women, being played to death was better than starving to death. As they spoke, How Chen had already walked up to Chin Chen. So, how's it going? Chuan, did you get anything good this time out? Actually, I did. Chen Chen didn't comment on Hao Chen's actions, but he wasn't annoyed either, besides, his smooth start in the Junjiang defense zone had a part of his credit. Want a roulette? A top-grade roulette? Dream on. If I had that, I would have drawn it myself. Just a piece of good quality. That's fine. That's fine. Chuan, can we talk privately for a moment? Hearing this, Hao Chen didn't hesitate and directly pulled Chen Chen aside, clearly indicating that the roulette wasn't his main purpose. Under the watchful eyes of others, the two turned left and right, winding into a ruin, just as they arrived. Little brother, let's not beat around the bush. When are you taking me to spend some time currency? The young man understood immediately. It turned out this guy was planning on the time currency matter. It seemed the last time he got that shot had quite an effect. How much have you saved? He didn't waste words. If he hadn't saved enough, he wouldn't even have enough to spend. After thinking for a moment, Hao Chun finally gave a rough number, not much time. After all, it's rare, about one or two hundred, but there are plenty of minutes and seconds, without two white level space rings, it probably won't hold. So much? The young man was slightly surprised. If I can fill two white space rings, that would be at least 500,000 coins, right? Space rings are also graded, and it's quite simple to distinguish them. Generally speaking, the color of the wheel from which they are drawn indicates their level. A white space ring has a storage space of 1 cubic meter, which is a cube with a side length of 1 meter. However, the space inside will automatically organize and stack itself, no matter how messy it is when you store things, they will be neatly arranged. And when you take them out, you only need to use your mental power to communicate your intent. The prerequisite is that you must have a concept of what you stored. If you forget what the items look like after storing them, you won't be able to retrieve them. Unless, one day, Humans can manipulate the power of space inside. That sounds about right. Hao Chen nodded in response. If we convert it to time, it should be around three or four hundred. The boy also nodded in relief upon hearing this. Five hundred thousand time currency sounds like a lot. And two cubic meters can be imagined to be quite large. But their exchange rate is not comparable to RMB. Sixty seconds currency exchanges for one minute currency. 
and 60 minutes currency exchanges for one hour currency. If all 500,000 are seconds currency, that would only be less than 139 hour currency. All minute currency. Uh, that's impossible. Most of the fierce beasts in the border area hover around level 3. So getting seconds currency is already quite good, minute currency is rare, and our currency is even more precious. Hao Chen had saved this half bucket of our currency for over 10 days. God knows how many beast tights he had gone through. All in all, it's about 500 hour currency. Not much, not too little. I have over a hundred hour currency myself. Chen Shen had killed quite a few fierce beasts these days. And of course, he had also obtained some time currency. However, compared to the materials from the fierce beasts, time currency was like gold coins in an online game, just pick them up. Who cares how much there is? He wasn't a brick mover. So, little brother, how should we spend this money? Hao Chen clearly couldn't hold back any longer. Hey, it's simple. Take it outside to spend. What? Hao Chun was momentarily stunned. What you said is the same as saying nothing. Whose money isn't spent outside? Which outside are you talking about? The boy couldn't help but roll his eyes. Right now, which outside do we have? You mean, he said, looking up at the sky outside. My god, are there still people doing business out there? Chen Chen was speechless. He was now certain that this guy had survived until now purely because of good luck. Shouldn't he first think about where the time currency came from? Sai, talking to someone whose brain doesn't turn is somewhat exhausting. Xiao Gu, how about this? Let's add each other as friends. And when I'm ready to set off, I'll find you. As for now, I have other more important things to do. Other things? What could be more important than this? Hao Chen was now just holding on to the anxious feeling of having money to spend but not being able to. Not knowing was fine. But now that he knew, how could he hold it in? There is, and it's much more important. After finishing his sentence, Chen Chen casually asked, By the way, Xiao Gu, where do people usually go after leaving here? Leaving? Hao Chen didn't think too much and just said what he knew. Generally, they joined the Lu family's out-of-bounds battlefield exploration team. Those with not much life left might directly join the vanguard. Exploration team? Chen Chen certainly knew what that was, but he couldn't reveal it here. Ah, little brother. You should also know that this life-devouring broken game has been around for so long, and humanity's understanding of it is still very limited. Simply put, it had been 26 days since life-devouring descended. What could be accomplished in less than a month? Even the current social system was pieced together haphazardly, and there were already classes like the life-devouring maggots. The social system was far from perfect. In a perfect system, there wouldn't be so-called useless people. And this can be attributed to a fundamental reason humanity's understanding of the game Devour Life is far too limited. In other words, they have not fully adapted to it yet. The existence of the expedition team is humanity's means of adapting to it, through exploring the outer battlefield. They gradually come to understand and comprehend some of the basic principles of Devour Life. And only then can they slowly adapt to it. This is a process, a slow but essential process. Humanity has evolved for over 200,000 years and it has always been this way. So where is this expedition team? Bro, you want to find someone, right? Chen Chen waved his hand. Not really, just the big guy who set out with me before. I haven't seen him this time. Just curious. I see. Then you can head north from here. Following the Sui River, you should be able to find a few expedition team camps. North. Ha. Huh. Okay. Thanks. After that, the young man bid farewell to everyone and left the Junjun defense zone. At this moment, Lu Tianyuan's orders had just been issued, and the rewards given made some scheming individuals in the defense zone feel even more frustrated, they were so close. That was, so far, the only family capable of mass-producing longevity pills. Fortunately, because he was worried that other forces would notice Chen Chen's uniqueness, Lu Tianyuan did not send people to pursue him aggressively, only tracking him in secret. With this, Chen Chen could be said to have had a smooth journey. Until a message popped up in front of him. She Xiao Yu, the Lu family is looking for you. This was the chat system granted by the life card, which could only be used between official players. Previously, Chen Chen and Shi Xiao Yu had already exchanged friend requests. Oh, is that little brat planning to do a day trip? Not long after. Lu Xinyu, the Lu family is looking for you. These two, could it be that they had made an appointment? Even the punctuation was the same? But since that was the case, the plan had to change a bit. The expedition camp would be put off for now. 
Let's go there first. Jiangnan Settlement, Northern Part, a cluster of half-collapsed houses, backed by the rushing river. In the river, countless ferocious beasts of various kinds crawled ashore, but no matter where they emerged, they would be met with fierce attacks from several players. If they got injured, the players would immediately return to the housing area to hand over to another team. After several back-and-forth exchanges, they could finally get a moment's rest. This river was, before the apocalypse, the largest river in the Huaxia nation. After the arrival of Devour Life, countless sea beasts surged inland, almost every moment. And now, the ones standing against them were one of the founders of the Jiangnan settlement, Jolong City. Jolong City had a military background. Its leader was a general from before the apocalypse, and the majority of its members were former soldiers, police, and the like. This group of people truly embodied the saying, if there is a war, they will return when called. If it weren't for Jolong City blocking the most ferocious sea beasts, the Jiangnan settlement would not have been established, and humanity would not have so many survivors now. On the 26th day after the arrival of Devour Life, these official predecessors could only do this much. At the Jolong City Command Center, the main camp, Dragon Head, a car is coming towards us. Ah, uh, inside the camp, a middle-aged man who had been resting with his eyes closed slowly opened them, seemingly awakened from his slumber by the shout. A car? What kind of car? A nearly scrapped wooling van. The middle-aged man was taken aback, his mind spinning for a moment, but he couldn't think of which of the current factions would do such a thing. How many people came? One. One? Yes. Just one. The middle-aged man pondered for a moment upon hearing this, a lone individual charging into Jolong City was unlikely. Perhaps it's a defector. Let him in. As a force that blocked the ferocious beasts of the Yangtze River Basin, Jolong City undoubtedly belonged to a first-rate power. After all, the more ferocious beasts they killed, the more resources like roulette and materials would be produced, and the strength of the players under their command would increase more rapidly. In contrast, those second-rate and third-rate forces had significantly fewer ferocious beasts in their guarded areas compared to the vast waters of the rivers, leading to slower resource collection and naturally slower strength enhancement. To obtain more resources, the forces below inevitably competed for supremacy, which would inevitably lead to clashes. Such matters had already been dealt with by the leader of Jolong City more than once, but unfortunately, there were simply not enough personnel, so some tributaries had to be let go sacrificing a few to protect the main force. Yes. Shortly after the subordinate responded, the middle-aged man heard the sound of a car engine outside the tent, which soon came to an abrupt stop, clearly indicating it had parked. After a few moments, a young man lifted the curtain of the tent. Oh, Yu Zhanfeng slightly raised his head, a flicker of surprise flashing in his eyes, but it was quickly suppressed, though it was still caught by the boy who entered. He immediately asked, Young man, are you looking for me? General Yu. The boy spoke up. You still remember me. The descendant of the famous General Yu Fei. A renowned military leader before the apocalypse. Of course, I know. Hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng frowned, stop flattering. If you want to join Jolong City, you don't need to come directly to me. Just find any ambush camp and prove your strength. But if you just want to loaf around and wait to die, you're not welcome. The implication was clear. I don't support idlers here not even a single one. Chen Chen was not surprised. After all, this was the iron-blooded man Yu Zhanfeng. In the early days of the descent, it was this ruthless leader who led a team to seize several hilltops amidst the ferocious beasts, which later led to the establishment of the Jiangnan settlement. Zhanfeng, just as his name suggests, if it weren't for this, he wouldn't have chosen to cooperate with Jiulong City. Of course not. Upon hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng raised his eyes, signaling Chen Chen to begin speaking. General Yu. There's no more General Yu now, just call me the leader. All right, then. Leader, before I start, there's something you might want to see first. With that, Chen Chen directly displayed in a tribute panel. Class change altar. Using this item, you can establish a class change altar at any location within the service area for players to use when changing classes. Note 1, using this item will trigger a game version update. No two included class changes are warrior, shield bearer, ranged, level restriction, zero. Not bad. The reason Chen Chen chose to cooperate with Jolong City was precisely this class change altar. Although he could quietly use it to set up the class change altar wherever he wanted. That way, first, it would be hard to defend. 
easily becoming a gift for others. Second, the benefits couldn't be maximized. The significance of this item for a large force was far greater than one could normally imagine. What does it mean for everyone to be able to change classes? The reason existing professionals are rare and sought after is precisely because their combat power is stronger, right? If the combat power of the entire force could be enhanced, this thing, Yu Zhanfeng's previously fatigued demeanor vanished in an instant, and he jumped up from his seat. Where did you get this? From a purple roulette. Here, Chen Shen made a slight fabrication. After all, the unknown relic no one involved too much, including the shadow of the Jing family. If he said this item was produced from the relic, it would only cause more trouble. No matter how you put it, the strength of the Jing family is on par with that of Jiulong City, both being top tier. One occupies the Great River, while the other occupies the Great Mountains. One river and one mountain have given rise to two major top tier forces in the Jiangnan settlement. And of course, many second and third tier smaller forces have emerged as well. Moreover, he has also offended that old guy Jing Chang. Saying it's a purple roulette isn't too far-fetched, the credibility is relatively high. Purple roulette? Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but be surprised. It's not that he hadn't seen it before, but Jolong City has too many complicated aspects to consider, and they wouldn't easily draw from a purple roulette. What if they drew a bad option? The benefits of this job change sanctuary are undoubtedly enormous, but in comparison, there are also risks involved. It's indeed a good thing, but kid, have you thought about it? What would happen if I set up this sanctuary within the territory of Jolong City? Chen Chen replied without hesitation. It would face the most exaggerated impact led by the Jing family throughout history. Because it's impossible to set it up quietly, once the sanctuary is used, Devouring Life will undergo a major version update. And by then, all official players will know where the sanctuary is. Is there any need to imagine the outcome? He he, you're quite clear about the distribution of forces in this Jiangnan settlement. Yu Zhanfeng smiled. That's right, with such a good thing, they will definitely come to snatch it. And with more people, Jolong City won't be able to hold them off. By then, don't say you, even I, along with Jolong City, will probably be completely devoured by the ferocious beasts during the process of human self-consumption. After hearing this, Chen Chen nodded in agreement. This is indeed the most naked reality. The temptation of the job change sanctuary is enough to cause a huge uproar. In his previous life, the Jing family might have considered this point, which is why they delayed its opening and didn't choose to set it up within their territory. Although it ultimately didn't become their own possession, the sanctuary became shared among several families. They still retained an absolutely strong power. Since you know all this, why bring it up to cooperate with me? Yu Zhanfeng asked when he saw Chen Chen nodding but not expressing his stance. This time, the young man finally spoke. What if I can make Jolong City withstand the pressure from all sides and ultimately control this job change sanctuary? Oh, that's quite interesting. Yu Zhanfeng showed no signs of looking down on him. If it were someone else, like Lu Tianyuan or Jing Chang, they would probably have directly mocked Chun Chen for being overconfident. After all, their tolerance is just that much. What do you plan to do? Boss, what do you think of Jolong City's combat power? As soon as this was mentioned, Yu Zhanfeng felt a sense of pride, if I say second. No one would dare to claim the top spot, but to face the impact from all the other forces in the Jungnan settlement, we don't have enough people. What if there's this? As soon as he finished speaking, the young man directly threw a glass bottle to Yu Zhanfeng. The latter caught it swiftly. Excellent orca blood gel capsule, the raw materials are derived from the blood orca, tanned with its blood and flesh mixed with various spiritual plant auxiliary materials. After consumption, it can temporarily increase all attributes by 25 points, with the effect lasting for 3 minutes, due to the excellent production process neutralizing the drug resistance. Reconsumption does not reduce the duration, level restriction, level 5 to 15, production quality, white, excellent, this, after reading it, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but take a few steps forward, no longer holding back his probing intentions, and said, the effect is even better than raging sea dispersing clouds, boss knows that one? Chen Shen said with a half smile. Damn it, seeing his expression. Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but laugh in anger. Don't play dumb with me. From the moment you entered this camp, you knew I recognized you, right? Chen Shen smiled. Is that dragon head not planning to inform Lu Tianyuan of my whereabouts? Humph. That old bastard has been relying on his endless longevity pills and hasn't given me a good face for a few days. If it weren't for the many people I need to take care of, 
At this point, Yu Zhanfeng raised an eyebrow. Chen kid, do you have a grudge against the Lu family? Chen Chen couldn't help but twitch at the corner of his eye. If it weren't for the fact that the Lu family's actions had already spread to this northern region, it could only mean that Yu Zhanfeng's insight into people was truly spot on. It's not exactly that. Just a bit of a blood feud, I suppose. Looking at Chen Chen shrugging nonchalantly and reflecting on what he said, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but exhale. You young people are becoming more and more contradictory in your speech. Ha! Chen Chen remained non-committal, but in reality, the Lu family's grudge against him. In his past life, they had forced him into a dead end, which could be considered a deep blood feud, right? It's just that in this life, it hasn't been that extreme yet. All right, enough nonsense. Can you mass produce this thing? Chen Chen nodded and said, The meat of one fierce blood tiger whale is enough to make 3,000 pills. As long as the materials are sufficient, it won't be a problem to satisfy everyone in Jilun City. Good. Yu Zhanfeng was definitely not one to hesitate once he confirmed the advantage was on his side, he would go for it directly. A fierce blood tiger whale. Ha! Huh? I'll personally go find one for you this time. Once the entire army is equipped with these pills, your holy altar will be established right here in the south of the Yangtze River. The blood and flesh of the fierce blood tiger whale had such effects which also meant that this type of creature wouldn't be abundant. Just like the fierce blood red snake, which is full of treasures. Yet, in a massive beast tide, you could hardly see a few of them. Sometimes, you wouldn't even see its name outside of the roulette. Most spirit beasts, ferocious beasts, of the fierce blood lineage were like this. In his past life, Chen Chen, as a pharmacist, vaguely remembered that it was because they had a common ancestor. But he didn't know the details. After that, Yu Zhanfeng only took half a day to bring back a fierce blood tiger whale over 5 meters long. It was said that to catch such a beast, he personally dived into the Yangtze River and followed the current into the sea before finally finding it. This operation was undeniably risky. Although in the early stages of life devourer, the level of powerful ferocious beasts was not far from that of human experts. Ferocious beasts had a few more days to develop than humans, so there were still stronger ones. He still remembered that in his past life, on the 91st day of arrival, a giant octopus with a level of 81 had surged onto the shore and slaughtered half of a base city for some reason. In the end, it was only through the combined efforts of human experts that it was forced back. Yes, just forced back, not killed. How many pills can you make from this one? At most 3,005, Chen Chen estimated. In reality, making nearly 4,000 wouldn't be a problem, but he couldn't just hand them all over, right? The remaining materials, with increased dosage, could be used to refine a batch of pills with stronger potency. These were all good life-saving items, although increasing the dosage would inevitably disrupt the balance and cause the body to develop resistance. Compared to the temporarily increased attributes, those side effects could be completely ignored. Moreover, as long as the craftsmanship was improved, the drug resistance brought by superior craftsmanship could cover it up. Now that he had a pill furnace, as long as he got a pharmacist's secondary profession, he could elevate the pill-making process to a fine level. By the way, speaking of the pill furnace, Qingyan Yangyan Furnace, top-grade pill furnace, forged from Qingyan Shen iron through countless rounds of hammering, the medicines born from this furnace are naturally of higher quality, effect analysis, enhances pill-making craftsmanship by one level, level restriction, level 1. This pill furnace was clearly not a product of Earth. The only explanation is that it arrived with the arrival of Life Devourer on Earth and it had already existed for quite some time before that. The excellent orca blood gel pill the Chen Chen took out was made using this Qing Yan Yang Yan furnace. Otherwise, the craftsmanship wouldn't have reached excellent. 3005. Ha! When Yu Zhanfeng heard this number, he seemed to do a quick calculation in his mind. That's only enough for a small team to last 6 minutes. In that case, you keep needing it, and I'll have someone keep an eye out for more orcas. Chen Chen was momentarily taken aback by this. Is there really that many official players in Jiulong City? The preliminary estimate is around 6,500, and it's still increasing every day. Yu Zhanfeng nodded at this and added, but about 70% of the people are stationed along the riverbanks to fend off the fierce beasts, so the manpower available to resist various assaults is around 3,000. 6,500? He indeed underestimated the level of first-rate forces, even if he didn't take a little for himself. The gel pills wouldn't be enough for 3,000 people. Not everyone could have just one chance, right? Rush in and be a real man for three minutes? However, 
How about this? Long too. You don't need to look for Orcus anymore. I'll make you a list, and you can gather the materials according to it. I have a better plan. A better plan? Yu Zhanfeng was slightly taken aback by this, but since it came from Chun Chen, the credibility immediately increased. Although his strength lay in seizing territory, he wasn't a fool. Putting the pieces together, if he still couldn't see that Chen Shen had a secret, he might as well not be the leader and let someone else take over. All right, you handle it first, and I'll send someone to gather the materials on the list. Okay. In the following days, Chen Shen's life enjoyed the first regularity after the read file rebirth. Every day, he spent some time refining hundreds of Orca gel pills, and the rest of the time was for his own affairs. What were those? Leveling up. Getting stronger. Another thing was to confirm his future path. His profession was tentatively set as ranger, so he needed to plan his future route. Simply put, with the experience from his past life, could he still be an ordinary ranger? His slingshot was a unique path. The spear would only be used for close combat in changing moves. The main means of attack would still be the slingshot. Because, Kung Kang Kung Kang, in the quiet room, on the left were the cut pieces of orca blood and flesh, and on the right were various prepared auxiliary materials, in the center stood a greenish, nearly round tripod furnace with a maximum diameter of about 90 centimeters, which was the Qin Yan Yao Yan furnace. At this moment, orange-red flames were continuously burning in the furnace, and the lid was shaking non-stop. The young man sat beside it, his gaze slightly eager with anticipation. The ratios are all correct, it should be able to refine it. He wasn't an alchemist now, many things only had formulas, and during the refining process, he couldn't intervene at all, nor did he have the means to intervene. Even if it failed, he could only accept it. Besides hoping, there was nothing else he could do. Finally, three minutes later, the flames in the furnace began to slowly extinguish, and when everything calmed down, the furnace spat out more than ten clods. These clods were primarily deep gray but accompanied by irregular orange-red patterns. A surge of hot fire elemental energy that turned the little frog in the young man's chest into the corresponding orange-red. Master, what is this? Such rich fire elemental energy. The frog exclaimed, and just as Chen Shen was about to answer, he heard, can it be eaten? Whether it can be eaten, you'll find out in a bit. The scheming frog, ribbit carrot? A few minutes later, a person and a frog arrived at a riverside camp set up to intercept the fierce beasts of Jiang Hai. Three or four soldiers in camouflage uniforms glanced at them upon seeing them. Of course, they couldn't see the frog hidden in Chen Chen's collar. Before his strength was completely solidified, he would not choose to expose the existence of the frog that would only add to the trouble. Brothers, lend me a slightly higher place to test the new weapon. New weapon? A soldier with two stripes on his shoulder responded to Chen Chen. Brother, you didn't bring anything, did you? But for a high place, let's go to that watchtower. With Yu Zhanfeng around, the soldiers had heard a bit about Chen Chen. All right, thanks. Moments later, the young man climbed directly to the top of the watchtower, also to leave more visibility for the lookout sentinels. The wait did not last long. 3 o'clock direction. 9 ice wall king crabs. Levels 5. 3. Suddenly, a shout rang out. The meaning of levels 5. 3 foot indicated that among the 9 ice wall king crabs, there was an elite level estimated to be 5 while the others were estimated to be three. Normally, before making contact, one could not see the information of the ferocious beasts and could only rely on estimates. This shot clearly came from the watchtower, just after it fell. First and second teams, oil on the blades, first team follow me up, second team on standby, adapt as needed. This shout came from the same soldier who had initially responded to Chen Shen, the ice wall king crab, a ferocious beast with innate ice attributes had a shell as hard as nine layers of ice, coating the blade with oil and igniting it could effectively counter their defenses. Of course, the main means of output was still skills. But, hold on, brothers, on the watchtower, Shen Shen straightened his body, the slingshot in his hand was fully drawn. Let me try the new weapon first, those big spiders are just right. Ha! Huh? The soldier Taui turned back to look, but only saw a young man fully drawing the slingshot, aiming precisely at those ice wall king crabs. This, what is going on? However, the young man on the watchtower seemed unprepared to wait for his response. After getting ready, he released his right hand, letting the bullet fly out. Whoosh! The sound of the bullet slicing through the air had barely sounded. Boom! By the riverbank, 
a scorching heat wave suddenly swept up, causing the surrounding air to heat up significantly, and those nearby, including Taui, were already sweating on their foreheads. At that moment, the riverbank had completely changed, on the ground, an irregular circular area about 5 meters in diameter was divided into several sections shaped like fields, each section seemed to have volcanic lava slowly flowing, and the ice wall king crabs, completely enveloped within this area, except for the largest one, were all thoroughly cooked in place. Moreover, the flowing lava was continuously burning that elite ice wall king crab, and even though it was constantly releasing cold air, it was hard to resist. The crafty frog in Chen Chen's collar couldn't help but shudder all over. Can't eat. Can't eat. Absolutely can't eat. Eating it would kill the frog. The soldiers were all dumbfounded. What the hell? This. New weapon? Is it a nuclear bomb? Isn't that radioactive? Are you stupid? Did you see a mushroom cloud? The shocking discussions were incessant, eventually reaching Yu Zhanfeng's ears. Nuclear bomb? Hearing those two words, Yu Zhanfeng was also stunned. Don't joke. What about the scene? Send me a copy through the game system. A few seconds later, when that scene appeared before his eyes. What the hell? He definitely wasn't someone who hadn't read much. He just couldn't think of any other adjectives to express his feelings upon seeing such a scene. Should he come up with something flowery like, You are quite impressive. My lord? Who has the time for that? What is this? The soldiers below weakly responded, Dragon head. Didn't we say? Nuclear bomb. Where is he? I'll ask him myself. Area 271. When the energetic Yu Zhanfeng arrived at Area 271, Chen Chen was already surrounded by a group of soldiers. As for the elite level Ice Wall King Crab, it had long been dismembered. Chen Chen had taken the most valuable pieces of crab row and three pairs of large pincers, claiming he needed them for alchemy. Chen Kid, Yu Zhanfeng shouted from outside. Hearing his voice, the soldiers parted to make way. As they were also eager to ask him, was there any more of that nuclear bomb? Who wouldn't want such terrifying power? Dragon head. The boy chuckled. Did I surprise you too? Of course. If you make any more noise, the entire Jiangnan settlement will know. He he. Stop with the he he. What the hell is it? Nothing. Just my specially made special bomb. After saying that, the boy directly shared a property panel with Yu Zhanfeng. And only he could receive this attribute information. Earthquake lava bomb, alchemical item, one-time consumable, an alchemical item rich in fire and earth elemental energy, can be used as a crossbow bolt, bow bolt, or thrown object, effect analysis, when it explodes upon hitting the ground, the fire and earth elements contained within will trigger spiritual energy to affect the surroundings, creating an irreversible flowing lava area, causing extremely high damage, rated damage, the elemental damage at the time of explosion is 10 times the caster's mental attribute. Flowing lava will cause continuous burn damage to targets with fire resistance below 85% until the lava cools and solidifies, level restriction, 10, or activated by spiritual energy, crafting quality, yellow. Excellent. This, Yu Zhanfeng felt numb, and this was what caused that nuclear explosion? Especially when he saw the small dirt ball Chen Chen was holding, his eyes widened and he took a small step back. If it exploded, don't be afraid, it won't explode. Put. As soon as Chen Chen said this, a nearby soldier suddenly couldn't hold back and laughed. Yu Zhenfeng's old face turned red. Who the hell is laughing at me? Get the armed forces along the river. I want your monster killing report from Area 001 before sunset. I, the soldier was dumbfounded. But Yu Zhenfeng didn't give him much time to spare. Not even a moment to complain. He took off running. It was now 10.11 AM. Sunset was at 6.56 PM. There were only 8 hours and 45 minutes left. The distance from Area 271 to Area 001 along the coast was 270 kilometers, and at a maximum speed of 10 kilometers per hour, it would take 450 minutes, 7, 5 hours without eating, drinking, or resting. This was a challenge to the limits. This thing of yours. After dealing with that soldier, Yu Zhanfeng turned back to Chen Chen, but before he could finish his sentence, impossible, absolutely impossible, unless, unless, Chen Chen's eyes twitched, damn it, he spoke too quickly, unless what, nothing, do you think I would believe that, the boy's mouth twitched, knowing he couldn't avoid this this time, after all, the commotion he caused was indeed a bit too loud, there was no way around it, in fact, this was also the path Chen Chen had chosen, 
which he called Special Bomb Ranger Ranger, a profession that primarily uses ranged weapons for attack, skilled in guerrilla tactics, adept at swift assaults, often roaming in the woods. With ranged weapons having special force bonuses, this is a very broad range. To put it simply, a ranger is a long-range assassin, but without using hidden weapons, following the route of throwing bombs to kill you. Of course, one can also throw spears, some say this is an archer, but it's not. The archer is essentially limited to the bow and arrow, honing only the bow and hand. Specializing in archery, the ranger's playstyle is similar to that of an archer, but they are not archers. Perhaps from the perspective of specialization, they cannot compare to archers, but they are versatile. Even one might say they are full of variations, because there are so many tools that can be used for ranged attacks. What Chen Shen has mastered allows him to create all kinds of different tools with varying effects, greatly increasing the scenarios he can handle. That is, special ammunition. A ranger who specializes in special ammunition, the special ammunition ranger. Unless, Yu Zhenfeng stared at Chen Shen, as if trying to read something from his eyes, the latter knew he was waiting for his answer. Helplessly, unless you can get enough roulette wheels with the alchemist profession on them, and enough longevity pills, if you can do that, there will be as much special ammunition as you want. As soon as the boy's words fell, the surroundings immediately quieted down a lot. Yu Zhanfeng's mouth twitched, are you joking with me? Chen Shen shrugged, some facts sound like jokes when you say them, then why can you do it now? Because, I have a secret. Yu Zhanfeng, this is like saying nothing. All right, everyone, come back next time to try new weapons. Upon hearing this, the crowd wanted to stop him. But thinking of Chen Shen's earlier words, they lacked the courage to do so. If there were that many roulette wheels with professions, wouldn't Jolong City have drawn them all? So many people are waiting to be fed. How could they possibly be saved up? There was nothing they could do. The soldiers could only watch him disappear step by step from their sight. While the flowing lava at the shore constantly reminded them that it was not a dream. Two days later, on the 28th day of arrival, Chen Shen specifically found a wasteland outside the defensive area, where fierce beasts occasionally appeared, but not as frequently as by the riverbank. The purpose, of course, was no longer for himself. Not long after arriving, an iron-shelled silver crab seemed to catch the scent of prey and crawled out from the riverbank. He he, is it here? Frog frog, it's your turn. Indeed, it was the second step of the advanced plan one cultivated by Frog Frog to familiarize and enhance the skills mastered. Smart readers may have already noticed that whether it's players or pets, all mastered skills on the panel have levels, and the only way to improve the level of a skill is through hard training. There are no shortcuts. All right, watch this frog. As the slightly immature voice echoed in the boy's mind, the patterns on Frog Frog's body turned orange red, and as its small mouth opened, a surge of intense energy gathered within, the next moment, as Frog Frog's mouth opened, the fireball expanded to a diameter of one meter at the moment it was spewed out, a process that was almost impossible to see with the naked eye. The size of the fireball contrasted sharply with her small size. Simply put, the fireball rapidly reacted violently with the spiritual energy in the air after it was expelled, causing it to expand. This is the charm of spiritual energy. In the next instant, boom! The explosion of fire attributes almost instantly engulfed the iron-shelled silver crab. Minus 4752. Kill. Experience plus 6. Seeing this damage, Chen Shen couldn't help but widen his eyes, even with the level difference. The damage likely depended more on the disparity in combat power. Own combat power slash opponent's combat power equals final damage multiplier. Combat power increase slash decrease is always the last calculation. The most obvious area to enhance combat power is skills. A skill can increase combat power by 50 points. And if the proficiency of the skill can be improved, the increase in combat power is exponential. Each level increase in skill proficiency results in different increases in combat power. A simple and easy to understand formula is x sat face y1, asterisk 100. Where x is the value and y is the current skill level, the review section is incorrect. This is the standard. In short, if a skill is refined to LV5, it will directly increase combat power by 400 points, and it stacks. This means that just one skill, refined to LV5, will increase combat power by 1050 points. However, is it really that simple? When the frog finished casting Fireball Explosion, Chen Chen had already opened the frog's attribute panel and directly clicked on the skill proficiency section. All mastered skills proficiency was displayed in a list elemental conversion LV1, 46%. 
Fireball Explosion LV1, 3%, Chain Waterball LV1, 1%, Shadow Stealth LV1, 1%. It only increased by 2% proficiency. Chen Chen had initially thought that training a pet would be simpler than for a player. But alas, he was just dreaming. Looking at his own Penetrator LV1, 11%. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder LV1, 5%. The goal has not yet been achieved. And the comrades still need to work hard. The road ahead is long. Keep going. Frog, the master is with you. Quack. Um, on the 29th day of arrival. Morning. The boy had just opened his eyes. Hao Chen, Brother Chuan. Where are you? I've got several pieces of Tian. Can we set off now? Several pieces of Tian? Chen Chen was suddenly a bit dazed, and it took him a while to realize that Hao Chun was referring to the time currency, Tian coins, equivalent to 24-hour coins. However, the boy did not reply immediately but instead focused on the Qingyan radiant flame furnace in the center of the room. At this moment, the flames had dissipated, and some elixirs had already accumulated at the furnace's mouth. Undoubtedly, these were excellent orca blood gel pills, with a quantity exceeding 100, the furnace's capacity is limited, and each batch can only produce this much. As of now, the fierce blood orca from three days ago had been completely refined into pills. Total quantity, 3,504 pills. He he, done. With the fierce blood gel pills completed, all that was left was the better method. The materials Chun Chen listed had been found by Yu Zhanfeng's people, with about 70 to 80 percent located. The remaining few were spiritual plants and according to the latest news received, they had already been collected. It was estimated, they would be delivered within today. With the scale of Jolong City and the large number of people, it was impossible to rely solely on armed off-roading for transportation, there were always vehicles available. In fact, to cope with the current environment, some old transportation tools had been brought out. It was only when Chen Chen was called to the square to receive the materials that he realized the most representative one was actually a propeller plane. Dragon Head, IU-1S1. The boy pointed at the sky, where on earth did you dig up those things? It's a miracle they can still move. Yu Zhanfeng's facial muscles couldn't help but twitch, you little brat don't know anything, the takeoff conditions for this thing aren't that harsh. And, it saves fuel. That last sentence is the key, right? Of course. Do you think there's still crude oil available? Before productivity is restored, every drop of fuel counts. As the two were talking, the propeller plane had already landed and glided, stopping within 10 meters. You can't say it, you really can't say it. The takeoff and landing conditions for this plane are indeed very forgiving, and it doesn't need to fly that high, it can completely skim low under the ultrasonic beast driving tower, making it faster than a car for traveling. Old planes are still old planes. Your grandpa is still your grandpa. Once the engine had completely stopped and the propeller had come to a standstill, Two soldiers dressed in camouflage uniforms descended from the plane. They ran a few quick steps and then stood at attention in front of Yu Zhanfeng, saluting, report, Long 2. The material collection mission has been completed. Special Operations Team 029-12 is now returning. Please give instructions. Give the stuff to this kid. After returning the salute, Yu Zhanfeng tilted his head to indicate Chen Chen beside him. Yes. Then, a white-level spatial ring was handed to Chen Chen who also learned to salute before accepting it. After a brief inspection, hmm, everything is ready. Hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng also let out a slight sigh of relief. So, shall we choose an auspicious day? Or start right now? Chen Chen shook his head. For the rising human race, every day that strength improves is an auspicious day, isn't it? Upon hearing this, many around them expressed deep agreement. Strength is too important in today's world. I'll prepare a bit. We can start this afternoon. All right. Yu Zhanfeng didn't say much more, nor did he ask what Chen Chen was planning to do. After all, besides trust, he had nothing else to offer. Moreover, after spending these few days together, he had also discovered that Chen Chen, like him, was someone who shared a common enemy. Perhaps it wasn't accurate, but he was willing to trust his instincts. After receiving the materials, Chen Chen also sent a message back to Hao Chen. Chen Chen. I'm in the northern part of the settlement, Jiulong City. Who would have thought that not long after? You have a friend request. Please check. The boy was momentarily stunned, then clicked on the notification, only to see the other party's ID was Dongfang Yinyan. How did this big guy, Chen Chen unhesitatingly chose to accept? And within moments, a message immediately came through, 
Dong Fan Yan Yan, Brother Chuan. It's Dianzi. Yes, it was that big fool for sure. Chen Chen, is there a possibility that I can see your ID? Dong Fan Yan Yan, Dong Fan Yan Yan, let's not talk about that. Brother Chuan, I heard from Zhao Gu that you're in Jiulong City? Should we go find you together? Chen Chen, yes. In the 254 to 273 area, near the downstream region. After replying, the boy understood that how Chun must have learned from others that he had previously looked for Dong Fan Yan Yan, which is why he found him through the expedition team. But if it wasn't for that, it could only be the Lu family's doing. However, at this moment, he was no longer afraid of exposing his location. After three days, both he and Wawa had significantly improved their combat power. His level had also risen to level 8. Attribute panel name, Chen Chen Occupation, Ranged Asterisk Ranger Secondary Occupation, Hidden Asterisk Special Breeder Level, 8 Experience, 860-8000 Lifespan, 117 Days Blood Chi, 4677 Spirit Power, 1700 Element, Thunder Strength, 25 Mentality, 9 Defense, 1 Speed, 9 Skills, Penetrator, LV2. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder, LV1, Combat Power, 483 Yes. Besides the increase in level, his unique Ranger Skill Penetrator had also reached LV2, Penetrator LV2, 3, 1%. LV2, when your attack inflicts penetrating damage on the target, it will additionally inflict 15% of the target's blood chi value as damage. The penetrating damage increased by 5%, which may seem small, but if it's a prolonged battle, that 5% can be quite considerable. Because, Chen Shen had now refined a special bullet that could achieve 100% penetration. Its base damage isn't high, but once it penetrates and benefits from the penetrator boost, it becomes a significant fixed damage skill. However, when it comes to stats, we still have to look at Froggy's pet stats name, Elemental Spirit Frog nickname, Scheming Frog Owner, Chen Shen Level, 8 Vitality, 2500 Spirit Power, 3700 Strength, 5 Mentality, 29 Defense, 5 Speed, 10 Skills, Elemental Transformation, LV2, Fireball Explosion, LV2, Combat Power, 957, I never leave out unchanged data on repeat panels. Old readers know, due to the need to refine Fireball Explosion, Froggy's main skill Elemental Transformation has also seen an increase in proficiency. Elemental Transformation LV2, 14, 9%, changes its elemental composition based on the elemental environment including but not limited to the 8 basic attributes, skill cooldown time, 0, 4 seconds, hey, the Gatling Frog is here, if the reload speed isn't fast enough, can it still be called Gatling? Fireball Explosion LV2, 0, 9%, after compressing energy, it instantly shoots a fireball with a radius of 0, 7 meters forward, upon hitting the target, it will cause fire attribute explosion damage and has an 18% chance to inflict burn damage. Lasting 8 seconds, the explosion damage of the fireball is 3 times the caster's mental attribute, skill spirit power consumption, 25 points, skill cooldown time, 3, 2 seconds. The enhancements for fireball explosion are relatively numerous, the fireball grows larger, the burn chance increases, damage increases, spirit power consumption decreases, and cooldown time decreases. Normally, the proficiency increase of an attack skill would have these effects. With the support of these two skills, this little guy's combat power has already surpassed her owners by more than double. But this is also attributed to those 8 elemental basic skills. Come on, waves. This noon, in the core base of Jiulong City, Chen Chen has completed the refinement of all the materials he collected. But these are not for direct use. The materials he had Yu Zhanfeng collect all share a common point. They are rich in vitality. What is vitality? It is referred to as qi and blood. Essence whether human or beast, without vitality, one cannot survive, vitality is the root, the foundation, the source of power. In his previous life, due to the extreme scarcity of fiery blood materials, alchemists racked their brains to create an immovable, inedible fiery blood product, vitality surge array. Using a large number of spirit plants rich in vitality energy as array points, spirit minds as array veins, and finally using pure fiery blood materials as the array eye to activate this array. However, the material used as the array eye, the fiery blood element, must be sufficiently rich. Otherwise, it cannot support this formation and will waste all other materials in vain. Based on this, Chen Chen had no choice but to contribute the few good things he had hoarded. 
Myocardial gel capsule of the fiery blood orca. The raw material is taken from the fiery blood orca. Tanned with its myocardial flesh mixed with various spirit plant auxiliary materials, after consumption, it can temporarily increase all attributes by 50 points. Lasting for 8 minutes, due to excellent production craftsmanship neutralizing drug resistance, reconsumption does not reduce the duration, level restriction, 10 to 15, production craftsmanship, purple, excellent. The existence of this item is because the heart of the fiery blood orca is inherently superior to other parts of its flesh, classified as yellow-grade material. Therefore, it can only be upgraded to purple-grade through the purification and refinement of the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace. If Chen Shan still had the means of an alchemist, it wouldn't be impossible to push it to black-grade refinement. Using this as the array I should be more than enough. Array points and array veins have now been completed, all that remains is to activate the array I and the great formation will be set. But before that, is it here? In the Nine Dragon City camp, Yu Zhanfeng was with two trusted aides, alongside Chen Chen. Their purpose here was naturally to set up the job change altar. Are you sure that better method you mentioned is effective? Don't worry. Would I really trap myself? When the time comes, all the members of Nine Dragon City stationed here will feel the blood boiling. Yu Zhanfeng was filled with doubt. Is it really that exaggerated? Whether it is or not. You'll know when the time comes. All right then. To keep it confidential, Yu Zhanfeng hadn't mentioned the job change altar to anyone, including his trusted aides. And now, everything was just a final tremor away. Let's begin. Chen Chen didn't hesitate, immediately taking out a small stone altar from his spatial ring. Before Yu Zhanfeng's two aides could express their surprise at what it was, he bent down and pressed it onto the ground. Confirm the establishment of the job change altar here and announce the location to the entire server? If so, the game version will update. Confirm. The boy spoke lightly. The next moment, the small stone altar pressed into the ground seemed to embed itself into the surface, merging seamlessly with the surrounding environment. Then, like a machine expanding, it rapidly extended its range outward. In less than half a minute, the altar, which was originally only palm-sized, now had a diameter exceeding 5 meters, its overall shape resembling multiple equilateral geometries. Of course, this was just the outline, in the center of the altar stood a triangular stone pillar about 1 meter high, topped with a hexagonal stone platform that emitted a faint blue glow. From this pillar, circles of stone patterns expanded outward to the edges. Each circle turned half a side more than the previous one, resembling the production site of this altar, unknown ruins no. 1, and at this moment, each of these stone patterns flickered with a faint glow. This is the job change altar. Yu Zhanfeng stared at the altar, slightly dazed. But the next moment he didn't forget the main point. All members of the third squadron enter high alert status. Yes, the soldiers, hearing the order, didn't know why they were on alert. But executing orders had already become muscle memory for them. The next moment. Attention. 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 A voice echoed in the minds of all official players of Devour Life simultaneously, and it rang out three times in succession. In the past, such commotion only occurred during the first kill of a lord-level beast. And this time, players quietly awaited the notification that was about to come, many sensing that this event was likely beyond a mere first kill. Not long after, in five minutes, the game will undergo its first version update. This update is expected to take 10 hours. Version number 1. Zero. Two, version codename, great job change, in five minutes. Again, there were three consecutive announcements, and the final words lifted the spirits of all players, who began discussing among themselves, great job change, what does great job change mean? But before they could figure it out, the voice in their minds came again. After the version update, the job change altar available for all players will be open to everyone. Coordinates, east longitude 115, 4 degrees. North latitude 29, 9 degrees, after the version update. What? What what? Everyone can change jobs and become professionals? Where? What do east longitude and north latitude even mean? Can someone explain? As soon as the system's notification ended, all players of Devour Life, whether fighting monsters or resting, were almost all invigorated. Job changers. This identity, which could originally only be obtained through the roulette. Now. Everyone can have it? The feelings of all players at this moment can only be described in one word. Boiling. But not long after. The system notification sounded again. Congratulations to player Chen Chen for discovering the class change altar and successfully setting it up. 
Achieving the Hidden Achievement Facilitator. Rewards, Lifespan Asterisk 120 Years. Celestial Coins Asterisk 50. Premium Yellow Roulette Asterisk 3. Congratulations to player Chen Chen. Congratulations, Chen Chen. In the Lu family mansion, Lu Tianyuan couldn't help but furrow his brow upon hearing the name. Impossible. It must be a coincidence, right? Chen Chen. Luo Shiyu's flawless half-face slightly froze. Could it be the reward from that thousand stars trial ground? This guy. Shi Xiaoyu listened to the voice in her mind. The thoughts she had cast aside were picked up again. Sure enough, compared to Lu Yunpan, you are more interesting. On the way to Jiulong City. Ha ha, my brother Chuan? Awesome. Little brother is indeed impressive. I'm looking forward to it more and more. Outside the settlement. A certain exploration team of the Lu family. Under the vanguard camp. The man's knife had just been pulled from the corpse of a fierce beast, and the slightly fierce gaze in his eyes was tinged with jealousy from the voice in his mind, why am? What right does he have? Jolong City, the main camp. Yu Zhanfeng and others naturally heard the system's broadcast, and it was only then that his two confidants fully understood the truth of the matter. Of course, the ins and outs could only be guessed. Ten hours. Yu Zhanfeng frowned slightly. Could it be that we have to guard this place for ten hours? Not just that. Chen Shan rarely became serious. From the moment the altar landed here, to master it, we must guard it forever. This is an undeniable fact. How could Yu Zhanfeng not know? So, we must make this battle resound, so that everyone sees Jiulong City as a thorn, lodged in their hearts, want to pull it out, but fear it pricks the heart. His words stirred the hearts of many soldiers around. Is it the words of a general that inspire the troops? Even Chen Shen couldn't help but feel blood boiling. His right hand flipped, and a purple roulette immediately appeared in his hand. Then let me lend you a hand. Dragon head. Good kid. Just got a hundred years of lifespan, and you're going to squander it already? Although Yu Zhanfeng said this, everyone could tell that what shocked him was not the squandering, but the purple roulette in Chen Chen's hand. This thing is not something an ordinary fierce beast can drop, right? At least among low-level fierce beasts, only a lord level one could drop it. But Yu Zhanfeng racked his brain and couldn't recall which lord was killed by Chen Chen. Nor was there this purple roulette? Forgive him for his limited understanding, he really couldn't think of it. He he. The boy chuckled. If all the things on it are good, can it still be considered squandering? After saying that, Chen Chen directly activated the purple roulette, shouting, Drawl. The soldiers beside looked at each other, probably almost asking, Aren't you going to pay your respects first? At least say amen to give that old thing in the west some face. They had no idea that Chen Shen was already enjoying the heavenly music in his ears. Please specify the price you want. 1. Purple longevity pill asterisk 2 foot 2. 9 nether cold iron asterisk 800 kilograms 3. Blood fiery materials asterisk 30 kilograms 4. Universe show off license 5. Spirit driven flying device 6. Special physique 7. Hidden class change card asterisk non binding 8. Yellow Longevity Pill Recipe 9 Spirit Tool Asterisk Heavenly Fiery Bow 10 1000 Barrels of Gasoline 1 Ton Slash Barrel Tisk TSK All 10 options are high quality. This is really hard to choose is it really the premium purple roulette? Not a single bad item. Let alone the longevity elixir. The roulette's products even lack probability. 1 dose equals a thousand years. White is 10 years. Yellow is a hundred years. Purple. Naturally a thousand years. Two doses mean 2,000 years. This tantalizing number. If it were someone else, they would probably choose one without a second thought, right? Human history has only just crossed 2,000 years since the common era. Two, three, no need to consider. As for four, I want to choose, honestly. Five, I didn't expect to see it so soon, but at this stage, it doesn't mean much. This thing only gradually appeared after more than a hundred days in my past life. To put it simply, it's a means of transportation, and the energy is spiritual power. Hence it's called spiritual drive. 6. The uncertainty is a bit high. 7 is purely a trading item. 8 doesn't need consideration either, he knows the formula for the elixir. And it's even a black grade one, but he's missing the identity of a pharmacist. After all, high grade longevity elixirs can't just be concocted by knowing the formula. 9 and 10 can be outright excluded. After analyzing so much, in reality, all these thoughts flashed through Chen Chen's mind in an instant. So it seems, I can only choose between 1 and 6? At least, when dealing with the current situation, 
Only these two options maximize the benefits, longevity goes without saying. Besides this purple roulette, he still has quite a few other roulettes left. There will definitely be more roulettes coming in later. But option 6 also has its value. The probability of a special physique appearing in the roulette is lower than that of the ID-bound job transfer card. Among all the other roulettes Chen Chen possesses, the most valuable is the longevity elixir. Physique? To put it bluntly, it's just wishful thinking. At this moment, Chen Chen truly realized that being able to choose is also a headache. Choosing between two is really difficult. And his hesitation. Strange. Does it take this long to draw a prize? Maybe it's already drawn. Just that we can't see it. But that doesn't mean we should be dazed. Right? Hmm. The surrounding voices were quiet. But Chen Chen wasn't deaf. He heard every word clearly. However, this inadvertently helped him make his decision. Six. He shouted it out directly. Congratulations on winning. Special physique. Life devouring battle body. Life devouring battle body, an ancient bloodline physique that has been lost. It is said that beings inheriting this physique can comprehend a trace of the world's origin, effect analysis, when you kill a target. There is a 1% chance to absorb the remaining lifespan of the opponent, if the opponent is in an abnormal state. This probability increases to 3%, if they are filled with fear. This probability increases to 10%. You can devour your own lifespan to gain a tribute enhancement, the more lifespan you devour. The stronger the enhancement, the extent depends on level. Currently, one day of lifespan equals 1% increase in all attributes. This physique is indeed 6. Little did Chen Chen know, as soon as he finished speaking. 7. Comrade, why are you calling 7 when you haven't even shouted the count? The soldier next to him looked at his comrade with disdain and shook his head, sigh. Is it done? Yu Zhanfeng asked upon hearing the noise. Hmm, not bad. Then that's good. You don't ask. I won't say, this is the best way to handle the roulette draw, the life-devouring maggot. Saying too much is just the blood and tears of an imperfect system. In fact, this handling method in Jolong City is the best solution for dealing with this kind of apocalypse. Everyone is strong. Humanity is strong. Only then can we solve the crisis of the fierce beasts and rebuild the glorious culture of humanity. The game's update has begun, but this update can be understood as a non-stop server update which will not affect players who are already playing. Therefore, players can fully utilize the 10 hours of the update to gather their teams and rush over. Time flies. Soon, it reached the second hour of the update. The closest faction to Kowloon City had already gathered one kilometer outside the coordinates of the main camp. And these people were from the Jing family. Inside the main camp, Yu Zhenfeng wore a mocking expression. Humph. That old guy Jing Cheng is always the first to get restless. Leader. Aren't you going to greet him? A confidant said beside Yu Zhanfeng. The latter let out a faint, mocking laugh and then said, That old guy wouldn't foolishly rush in by himself to make a wedding dress for others. He's waiting, waiting for the other factions to arrive, to first gather a group of like-minded people to attack my Kowloon city, and then fight for the ownership of the holy altar. Beside them, Chen Chen smiled without speaking. Not making a wedding dress for others? Unfortunately, he had done that once. Whom? It seems inappropriate to describe it that way. Back to the point. Don't worry. As long as they dare to step into the range I've set, they will definitely regret it. Saying this, Chen Chen had already taken out the myocardial gel pill he had prepared in advance and pressed it into the eye of the formation that had been set up in the middle of the camp. The gel pill, equivalent to energy, was pressed down. Suddenly, a faint aura of blood surged within an 800 meter radius of the entire Kowloon city camp and the formation was now considered activated. Well, it doesn't feel like much? After feeling it for a moment, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but feel puzzled. The young man couldn't help but laugh, if it felt like this. Wouldn't others also get a boost when they come in? What advantage would that give us? Yu Zhanfeng felt embarrassed, indeed. If there was no distinction between friend and foe, what difference would it make if there was no boost? So what should we do? Simple. Chen Chen smiled, this formation is called the surging blood chi formation, which can keep the fierce blood elements in the body active at all times. Fierce blood elements? Those more than 3,000 pills. Did the leader forget? Yu Zhanfeng was stunned, you mean, as long as they take the orca fierce blood gel pill and stay within the range of this formation, the boost won't expire? The young man nodded with a smile and directly displayed the attributes of the formation. Surging blood chi formation, while within this formation, the fierce blood elements in the body can be maintained without dispersing. 
and the effect is increased by 30%, irrelevant individuals entering this formation will be ineffective. Formation range, a circular formation with a radius of 800 meters centered on the eye of the formation. Just a few simple lines made you Jean from overjoyed. Good. 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 That's great. Pass on my orders. All members of the third team, take the fierce blood gel pills, and then stay within 800 meters of the main camp. Try not to leave, and prepare well for this mountaintop defense battle. Yes. Don't worry. Leader, occupying the mountaintop is what we do best. While waiting, another half an hour passed. One kilometer away, Jing Chang, who had been closing his eyes until this moment, suddenly opened them, leaped lightly to a flat area, and looked out, is that Fu Jianbai from Feng Wotai, my brother Fu? At this moment, behind the Jing family, a team of about 200 people was rushing over, with only one uncovered large truck carrying more than 50 people, while the rest were running. At the front of the large truck, a bald man with dark skin also looked over upon hearing this. So it's my brother Jing. After cupping his hands, he added, It's indeed me, Fu Jianbai. The various powers in this Jiangnan settlement have some intersection with the upper echelons, and the Feng Wotai has a subtle hierarchical relationship with the Jing family. Speaking of Fu Jianba, Brother Fu, you came this time for the transmigration altar, right? Jing Cheng asked, Yes. Fu Jianba's voice was heavy, ever since being pushed down by the Lu family, the resources available to Feng Wotai have dwindled, and the members' levels have not been able to rise. Let's cooperate. Jing Cheng said straightforwardly, relying solely on myself. It's a bit tough to take down Zhulong City. After all, there are many fierce beasts on the other side of the mountain, and it's impossible to mobilize everyone. Given the circumstances, how could Fu Jianba disagree? All right, on the 9th to 17th days of the descent, during these eight days, the original Jiangnan settlement could be described as a situation of one river, one mountain, controlling pavilions and towers. River refers to Jiulong City, mountain refers to the Jing family. The pavilions and towers are the four second-tier forces under the jurisdiction of the river and mountain. As the saying goes, to control, the pavilions belong to the mountain, while the towers rely on the river. The platform and pavilions refers to Feng Wotai. The other three are Langsenting, Na Heifang, and Suixiang. After the two forces converged, Jing Cheng stood up and walked to the front. At this moment, the third squadron of Jiulong City was already lined up and ready. Let me see if Jiulong City still has the spirit of the former Jiulong army. After a brief pause, Jing Cheng took a deep breath and shouted, Those occupying the mountain, come out and have a word. This voice was imbued with spiritual power, so the entire Jiulong City camp heard it clearly. Jing Cheng clearly had a grasp of spiritual power, it wasn't just a simple unlocking. Now that the old man had shouted, Yu Zhanfeng certainly wouldn't continue to hide. He lifted the tent and approached, arriving at the front of Jiulong City about a minute later. Ha! Yu Zhanfeng grinned and laughed heartily, old man, hasn't it only been half an hour? Can't sit still? Humph! Who's like you, occupying the latrine and not knowing to move? Ridiculous! Who would move out once they've occupied the mountain? If it were you, would you move? Jing Cheng's old face twitched. Stop talking nonsense, give up the transmigration altar, and we can coexist peacefully. Yu Zhanfeng rolled his eyes. TCH, old fool, smelly brat with no experience. After being called an old fool, Jing Cheng could no longer hold back. He suddenly moved, using two fingers as a sword, and lunged towards Yu Zhanfeng. However, as he got close, Yu Zhanfeng sidestepped and swept his right leg at Jing Cheng's waist. Bang! With a muffled thud, Jing Cheng nearly fell to the ground, looking quite embarrassed. Iron finger Jing Cheng? Yu Zhanfeng mocked with a laugh, flowery fists and embroidered legs. Hmm. Jing Cheng was furious, veins bulging on his forehead, and the frequency of his attacks became increasingly fierce. But each time, Yu Zhanfeng dodged. The gap in their close combat skills was not trivial. Jing Cheng's moves were effective against players with no combat experience, but they were clearly insufficient against soldiers from before the apocalypse. After so many exchanges, I haven't seen much progress from you. The air of the Ten Finger Sword technique, is this all you've got? Yu Zhanfeng dodged while counterattacking. Although he was hit by Jing Chang, he still held the upper hand overall. This guy was not only fighting but also taunting, which was infuriating. Jolong City and the Jing family each occupy the river and the mountain, both being first-tier forces, so conflicts are inevitable. 
But Yu Zhanfling always had the upper hand. That's why he said what he did earlier. In the end, Jing Cheng simply flipped the table. Everyone, attack in. Hoomph, hoomph, hoomph. Upon hearing Jing Cheng's command, Yu Zhanfling let out a cold laugh. The former felt a wave of doubt, but the latter's offensive left him no time to think. He was not a professional. He only had a skill that required spiritual power, combined with his own finger technique martial arts, which gave him some strength. In comparison, Yu Zhenfeng was a genuine professional, a fist master. There was a clear level difference between the two, in terms of strength. Jing Chang was no match for Yu Zhenfeng. But why were both sides considered first rate? Even if you block me, so what? In terms of overall strength, your Jilong city is no match for my Jing family. Defeat is just a matter of time. As Jing Cheng spoke, he suddenly heard a man in a t-shirt screamed as he flew past him, landing on his backside and sliding at least 10 meters. Jing Cheng, degree degree. Impossible. This must be an accident. You need to support thousands of people in half of the river. How could your overall strength be? Ugh. This one was worse. Landing face first. Jing Cheng, degree degree. This. Ugh ah ah Jing Cheng, degree degree winky face. Impossible. This can't be happening. My people's average level is at least 3 to 5 levels higher than yours in Jilong City. Bunch of useless fools. Though he shouted this, as one by one Jing's people were sent flying or pushed back, he couldn't help but believe it. Until. Bro. Something's not right. These guys from Jilong City are like they've been injected with adrenaline. Fu Jinbai jumped back several meters, his great sword digging into the ground and dragging for nearly a meter before he could shake off the residual force. This power. Something's definitely wrong. He, the strongest of the Feng Wotai, even if he had lost part of his territory to the Lu family, a starving camel is still bigger than a horse, yet he was being pushed back by a mere soldier? At that moment, Jing Cheng finally reacted. What kind of trick are you playing? None at all. Yu Zhenfeng feigned innocence. There's no trick, it must be that your people have slacked off in their training and have weakened, right? Jing Cheng gritted his teeth in anger but felt helpless. He didn't expect Yu Zhanfeng to confess, after all. If it were him, he would hide his secrets too. Everyone, retreat for now. The situation was unfavorable, and he could only grit his teeth and avoid the sharp edge. For now, they could only wait for other forces to gather, using numbers to overwhelm quality to have a chance at gnawing through this tough bone. If they were to retreat, Yu Zhanfeng certainly wouldn't stop them. After all, there was the transmutation sanctuary to defend. Moreover, if the blood boiling formation was broken, the enhancement would be nullified. Anyway, with version updates and the sanctuary providing cover, Jolong City's weakness wouldn't be exposed for the time being, let them retreat. Brother Jing, what should we do? In the temporary camp, Fu Jianbai asked with concern, if we let Jolong City control that sanctuary, their strength will eventually become the absolute first in the Jungnan settlement. By that time, what will it matter to us? Do you think I don't know? Jing Cheng shouted angrily, Don't worry, there are others interested in that thing, and more will come here. But Jolong City still has the forces of Nahue Tower in Suishan Pavilion, not to mention Nahue Tower has that woman there. Poof. Jing Cheng let out a muffled grunt. So what? My Jing family now has several professionals too. Swordmaster? If she dares to come, just watch if I kill her or not. At this point, Fu Jianbai had nothing more to say. After all, there was only one way to solve the problem, and they could only strive for it, otherwise, who knew what would happen to the hard-earned lives of those above? He was originally just a coal miner. When Life Devourer arrived, he happened to have a weapon in hand and, along with a group of fellow workers, managed to kill a few low-level ferocious beasts, gradually developing from there. Later on, as his level rose, he encountered Jing Cheng and established the wind and fire platform. If everything could go back to the beginning, he dared not think, nor did he want to. Four hours into the game update, the people from Sui Xiang Pavilion rushed over upon hearing the news, but were blocked at the periphery by those from Lan Xian Pavilion, unable to enter and provide support. Another 20 minutes passed, and the people from Nahai Tower also contacted Yu Zhanfeng, claiming they had arrived. However, the swordsman Mo Huizhu was intercepted midway by an assassin from the Lu family, and the others couldn't just leave her behind to come alone. Ha, enemies meet, and it's particularly eye-catching, isn't it? In the main camp of Jolong City, Chen Shen shook his head in realization, this was indeed unexpected. Originally, 
The Lu family had little interaction with the Jing family, and there was no need to rush to aid that old man Jing Cheng, who knew a personal grudge would suddenly emerge. That assassin, without a doubt, was she Xiaoyu. With her temperament, how could the Lu family hold her back? It was merely a matter of interests, Lu Tianyuan had enough strength but wouldn't easily fall out with her. They could only let her be. At this point, one river, one mountain, pavilions and towers had already mobilized everyone around the class change sanctuary, leaving only some minor forces that couldn't be called by name. However, those might have long been lurking around the main camp of Jolong City. They were few in number and small in scale, just enough to pick up the scraps. Of course, not all were like that. Outside the main camp of Jolong City, at the Jing family's position, Southeast Association, the name sounds impressive, but in reality, there are only a few dozen people. But fine, at this time, I'll take anyone. Jing Cheng looked at the man who had come to pledge allegiance, a hint of disdain in his eyes. Yu Dongnan had no expression on his face, but deep down, he silently vowed, underestimate me? Thirty years in the east of the river, thirty years in the west, don't bully. However, Jing Cheng couldn't be bothered to deal with him any further and instead stood up to count the number of people. By this moment, they had already gathered over 5,000 people at their position, significantly more than what Jilong City could muster. It's time to end this farce. It was afternoon, five hours into the update, and only half the time remained to complete it. If they still couldn't seize the class change sanctuary by then, the number of practitioners from Jilong City would only increase and their power would only grow stronger. This was not a possibility, but a certainty. Never underestimate the dominance of an army. Forever, everyone, fill the main camp of Jilong City, and seize the class change sanctuary. Now, Jing Chen clenched his fists, success or failure hinged on this one move. Upon hearing this, Yu Dong Nan's eyes rolled, and the next moment he shouted in the temporarily established team channel, Edge OB, stand by for action, in Jilong City, the main camp. Yu Zhanfeng stared at the sand table before him, a serious expression finally appearing on his face. After all, the number of people surrounding the camp had increased five to six times compared to three hours ago. Stick to the tactics we arranged beforehand. After saying this, he looked at Chen Chen. Kid, your special ammo. Is it enough? The young man chuckled lightly. Don't worry. It will definitely leave a deep impression on them. The entire main camp of Jolong City spanned an area of 800 meters. This range might not seem intuitive just by numbers, but the area was larger than 281 football fields, over 2 million square meters, 10,000 large three-bedroom apartments. It doesn't matter if you can't imagine it, anyway, it's very large. Thus, with over 3,000 people crammed in here, there was still plenty of room to move. However, the sand table before Yu Zhanfeng was not filled with people in a complete circle, but rather arranged in a staggered manner with gaps between areas for convenient support. Then, because there were still formations guarding the Great River, they were not afraid of ambushes. Unfortunately, if it weren't for the many ferocious beasts in the river and the insufficient supply of blood gel pills, there would be no need to arrange troops to deal with the mere 5,000 people temporarily gathered by the Jing family. They could just push through directly. As the final defensive battle commenced, Chen Shen had already arrived at his combat position, the makeshift observation tower closest to the main camp. With his abilities, he could single-handedly defend the class change altar located within the main camp. However, Yu Zhanfeng certainly would not skimp on manpower within a 50-meter radius of the altar. Personnel were deployed, and in the middle of this area, there was only Chen Shen. After all, the class change altar belonged to Chen Shen. He chose to place it in Jolong City from a cooperative standpoint not as a gift. Yu Zhanfeng did not engage in any underhanded tactics in this regard. A true iron-blooded man would disdain such things, with the blood-boiling formation in place. Even though Jolong City's numbers were at a disadvantage, they did not find themselves too overwhelmed at the onset of the battle. It was just that the Jing family chose a strategy of fierce concentration, leading to many people facing two or even three opponents at once, resulting in a breach due to being unable to cope with the blood factor in play. Two fists could rival four hands, but if more, Yu Zhanfeng had long anticipated such a situation, which is why he did not allow the various defensive lines to be too far apart. Once they discovered the Jing family attacking at one point, reinforcements rushed in from both sides and even farther away. Of course, not all of them rushed to aid, about ten people remained at the temporary strongholds, 
With assistance from the surrounding strongholds, this area in front of the main camp managed to hold on, but gradually, as the Jing family intensified their efforts, disregarding the increasing damage, Dragon's Nest, calling Dragon's Nest, within the main camp, Yu Zhanfeng's chat channel was always in receiving mode, and at this moment, he received news from the front lines, the pressure on the front 086 stronghold is too great, we can't hold on, Yu Zhanfeng frowned, pondering, when a voice came through the team frequency, it's fine, we can let some in, the voice came from the ID Chen Chen, listen to him, Yu Zhanfeng immediately ordered, yes, 800 meters was not too far, amidst the constant tugging, within 10 minutes, Chen Chen atop the observation tower in the main camp saw vague figures approaching, he he, they're coming, the young man chuckled as he took out a new slingshot, the Y-shaped mouth already aimed at the incoming target, indeed, a new slingshot, made with starfish spirit titanium for the bow handle and moon pattern silver tiger tail sinew for the elastic band, it was a brand new slingshot, the previous one wasn't ineffective, it was just, too weak, at that time, Chen Chen had only made the slingshot on a whim, using materials that weren't the best, merely optimizing what he already had, but now, having confirmed his ranger profession, he naturally needed to use good materials to craft weapons, this new slingshot, aimed, as he spoke, the young man immediately released his right hand, special ammo, earth shatter lava, whoosh, as a wave of intense heat swept overhead, the soldiers of Jolong City instinctively ducked, not for any other reason, but because they had seen it before, ever since the first successful test explosion, he had changed several locations to specifically test various special ammunition, and the earth shatter lava bomb had been used more than once, the pursuing members of the Jing family were somewhat puzzled by this scene, wanting to advance further, but unexpectedly, boom, the terrifying heat instantly transformed into a shockwave, and the high temperature quickly burned the group of pursuing players, the explosive damage from the flames, combined with the burning from the lava, caused one player to drop to critical health in less than three seconds, what the hell, what the hell, what is this, lava, are you kidding me, others were not faring any better, hastily fleeing the fiery area, but waiting for them were the swords and blades of Jilong city soldiers, it doesn't matter if the earth split lava bomb didn't completely obliterate them, there's still someone nearby to finish the job, even if the finishing blow doesn't kill, zing, a sudden flash of lightning struck that player, leaving them charred black as coal, this is the power of the new slingshot, a double defense line specifically for mopping up stragglers, how ruthless can you get, but the boy on the watchtower stroked his chin, tau e, make a note that the moment damage from the earth split lava bomb is still too low, it needs improvement, tau e, a private from zone 271, had directly become Chun Chen's assistant after the last incident, specifically following him to test various special bombs. Okay, a voice responded. Many soldiers couldn't help but twitch their lips, thinking, are you not satisfied with this? Do you have to kill someone outright to be content? If Chen Chen could hear this, he would probably respond directly, backslash, slash I'm researching this thing just to kill someone in one shot, why go through all this trouble if it doesn't? Throwing pebbles would be faster. I guarantee one shot for a little cutie, two shots for three ugly monsters, dispose of the bodies, near the Lu Yen area, several soldiers stepped forward to clear away the already bloodless bodies, their faces showing no emotional fluctuations, dead people, it couldn't be more normal since the arrival of life devourer, they either died from being torn apart by ferocious beasts or perished in the struggle for the interests of their compatriots, in the fight for the class change altar, casualties are inevitable. One can only say that with Chen Chen, a former alchemist. In the mix, Jolong City could reduce a lot of deaths, though injuries were unavoidable. Since Yu Zhanfeng took on this collaboration, he naturally considered this point. Deep down, he was also a warrior. But unfortunately, the world hadn't given him a chance to fight before the arrival of Life Devourer. Now, his fighting spirit was finally beginning to vent. The soldiers were indifferent to the dead and Chen Chen was even more so, in his past life, he had even crawled out from a pile of corpses, West Side Outpost 012, requesting support, East Side Outpost 077, requesting support, the battle unfolded, flames of war igniting everywhere, and the fighting entered a heated phase, but with Yu Zhanfeng as the mastermind, the soldiers were not in a state of panic, however, the pressure each person faced was significantly greater than usual, Chen Chen's earth-split lava bomb had shocked others more than once, until, 
Hum, Lu Yunpan, Chen Chen, holding a telescope, spotted a familiar face 600 meters away, it was none other than Lu Yunpan. But, wasn't the Lu family entangled with Naihai Tower? How did this guy end up near the Jolong City camp? Had the skirmish ended? However, since you're here, let's collect some interest first. He had received game system rewards for setting up the class change altar. And since the altar was in Jolong City, the Lu family, no matter how foolish, would know he was in Jolong City. Given that, it would be strange if they didn't come. Jing Cheng didn't know that Chen Chen was the one who had intruded into the unknown ruins no. One, after all, he had only seen the person but didn't know their name. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have been able to wait until the update was halfway through before charging in. Chen Chen glanced at the game update progress remaining, 3 hours 17 minutes 42 seconds. Forget it, let you bounce around a bit longer. The ownership of the class change altar had yet to be settled, and it was still too early to seek revenge on the Lu family, it wouldn't help his plans at all. With the ability to receive designated rewards after rebirth, his goals were far beyond just retaliating against the Lu family, that would merely serve as a momentary pleasure along the way. Nothing more, time quickly passed and over an hour went by. As dusk fell, the world was shrouded in darkness, and the remaining update time dwindled to the last two hours. Jing Cheng could no longer sit still. What's going on? Three hours, and still no progress? In the battlefield, Jing Cheng couldn't help but shout in anger. In these three hours, the casualty rate on the front line had already exceeded 30%. Out of 5,000, less than 3,500 remained. Yet, on the side of Jolong City, only a little over 300 had died, and they were all low level. Jing's side had not been without attempts to breach the camp nearby, but each time it was a one-way trip, with most casualties occurring on the camp side. In contrast, the peripheral area had mainly been repelled and injured. What kind of monsters are in this camp of Jolong City? Jing Cheng could only lament that there were no satellites in this world, and he hadn't brought binoculars this time, after all. Who could have predicted the battle would develop into this? Brother Jing, I'm afraid we can't wait any longer, we must take a gamble. Fu Jianbai said beside him, the ones currently at the front were mostly at levels 3 to 7, with very few above level 8, and none above level 10. In other words, the high-level fighters were still lurking outside. What Fu Jianbai meant by taking a gamble was to let the high-level fighters enter for a final assault. Jing Cheng clenched his fists, knowing that things had indeed come to this point. It can only be this way. After saying that, he also ordered in the team frequency, all high-level professionals, go into battle, in the last two hours, even if we can't take the altar, make sure to inflict heavy damage on Jolong City, driven by interests, Jing Chung had temporarily set aside the threat of the beasts, they had not held a high position before the arrival of devouring life, and now they were very likely to return to a pre-liberation state, how could they not care, it is easy to go from frugality to luxury, but hard to go from luxury to frugality, the era of devouring life, the night of the 29th day of the arrival calendar. Led by Jing, the robbery army entered the final assault phase, with high-level players over level 10, who had mastered spiritual attributes, all entering the fray. 20 minutes later, with 1 hour, 41 minutes, and 2 seconds remaining, Chen Kid, be careful, that old man Jing can't sit still, on the watchtower. Ah, I see it, Chen Chen smiled. Impressive package. It will fill you up. Dragon head. Retract the front line. Okay. After Yu Zhanfeng responded, a message appeared in the team frequency, all members. Retract the front line. Retreat to within 300 meters of the camp. Prepare for encirclement. Upon hearing the order, the soldiers, though exhausted, were spurred into action by the sacrifice of their comrades. Many were injured, but following orders had become muscle memory for them. Perhaps only this group of people possessed the strongest combat power in the apocalypse. The camp. The watchtower was now empty, as the upcoming situation would only increase the chances of injury for those standing in the immobile area. Instead, moving around would allow for better combat effectiveness. Chen Chen arrived at a ruin and suddenly looked down at the frog in his collar, saying, Frog, it's up to you soon. Ribbit hee hee. Don't worry. Master. Indeed. The impressive package couldn't rely solely on Chen Chen. A distance of several hundred meters was at most a matter of one or two minutes for players over level 10, and those with good movement could be even faster. Just after leaving the watchtower, Chen Chen sensed an abnormal fluctuation nearby. 
His spirit was at nine, and when he was calm, he could perceive movements within 70 to 80 meters around him, not through sight, but through the perception of breath fluctuations. This was also the effect of spiritual intention. As long as one had more than one point in spirit, all players could experience it, but among the four main attributes, ordinary players would rather invest in defense than spirit. Who knew its function when they didn't understand? After all, it wasn't as intuitive as the other three. Back to the point. Shortly after Chen Shen sensed that fluctuation, a swift figure darted past him, wielding a tang knife, heading straight for the camp. It was understandable, as time was running out. This is probably also Jing Cheng's intention. Since Gao Zhan has already entered the field, there's no need to play coy, it can be more straightforward. He he, being the sixth wheel or something, I like it the most. The boy pinched a beast's tooth, pulling the tiger's tail sinew to its limit, causing the bow made of starfish spirit titanium to bend slightly. During this process, a faint lightning blow flickered across the beast's tooth, originating from his new slingshot. Thundersea spirit bow, slingshot, with a handle made of starfish spirit titanium and a sinew from the moon pattern silver tiger tail. Due to the addition of lightning attribute materials, there is a 7. 5% chance of lightning strike upon attack, basic attributes, strength plus 15, range plus 20 meters, level restriction, level 5 and above, craftsmanship, yellow, rough. It's a pity that Chin Chin lacks experience in weapon forging, otherwise, this slingshot could have been made even better. After all, the materials are of yellow grade. Who? Just as the sound of a hard object slicing through the air began, the man in front holding a tang knife suddenly froze. Who? He turned sharply wanting to raise his knife to block the projectile, but the flying beast's tooth was still too fast. A soft P.U. sound came as it pierced through his left shoulder, taking some flesh with it. Minus 240. Penetration. Minus 918. Goodness. That's quite a bit of blood? Chen Chen's penetrator is already at LV2, and penetration can cause 15% of the opponent's total health as damage, and this shot dealt over 900 damage, which means his health exceeds 6,000 points. Health points depend on strength, defense, and level. From the bullet's damage, it's clear that the opponent's defense isn't low. In the midst of his thoughts, the knife-wielding man shouted angrily, Bastard, what kind of skill is a sneak attack? The knife-wielder gritted his teeth against the intense pain in his left shoulder, blaring fiercely at Chun Chen behind him. He was very confident in his defense, the damage was the best proof. But the second, penetration? Are you also a professional? Chen Chen did not answer this question, only pulling back the bowstring again. Buddy, I advise you not to go in that direction anymore, or else, you will die. The knife wielder took a deep breath, looking at his already stopped bleeding left shoulder. Sufficient defense can enhance physical condition and speed up recovery. With you? He swung his knife in anger. Win against me fair and square before you talk. Oh, ha? Huh? The knife wielder suddenly found it hard to react. Did I just say something so cool? and you just say oh, but at that moment, he saw Chen Shen suddenly release his right hand, but as everyone knows, with a slingshot, once you see the hand release, there's not much time left to react, a normal slingshot has an initial launch speed of about 45 to 90 meters per second, and the decay within 100 meters won't exceed 30 percent, to the human eye, it's just a blink, but speaking of a normal slingshot, is Chen Shen's slingshot, normal, just in terms of initial speed, his slingshot fires at least over 200 meters per second, already approaching the speed of a handgun bullet, making it almost indistinguishable to the human eye. And the decay, with an additional 20 meters of range, is at least 150 meters. If it's a special projectile, like the earthquake lava bomb that explodes upon landing, the entire parabolic arc would be at least 5 to 600 meters. With this firing speed, how could the knife wielding man dodge? Just a moment ago, he saw Chen Chen's right hand release, and the next moment, he felt as if his heart had stopped. Ji, the silver-blue electric current pierced through his chest like a spear, causing his whole body to freeze, as if time had stopped. At this moment, the boy slowly spoke, special projectile thunder light penetration. Two lines of damage text immediately popped up, critical weakness, minus 1836, weakened, penetration, minus 918. Deadly weakness, hitting the target's fatal weakness. If the defense is broken, the target's health is reduced to one point. If the defense is not broken, 
The target's health is reduced by 30% of the maximum value and enters a weakened state for 5 seconds. Clearly, this was the result of Chen Shen not breaking the defense, the current simply passed through the heart, causing this deadly weakness damage. However, this was not the end. If it doesn't hurt to the bone, how can it be memorable? In the next moment, he raised his right arm, fingers spread, palm facing the knife-wielding man, sleeve cannon, flame burst, pun, in a weakened state. The knife-wielding man's speed and defense were poor, and this sudden fireball was frighteningly fast, leaving him no chance to dodge. Minus 1347. Bang! The violent fire explosion instantly sent the knife-wielding man flying into the air. He he. The boy drew back his bowstring, I love shooting at flying saucer targets. If I'm not mistaken, you still have 823 health left. At that moment, the knife-wielding man finally felt fear, all he wanted to say was, Newton. No, brother Nyo, grandpa Nyo, ancestor Nyo, can't you let me fall a bit faster? I'm going to die. No, let's talk it out. There's nothing to talk about. The boy smirked, beast tooth bullet, piercing your kidneys. The knife-wielding man, with no way to gain leverage in midair, could only watch helplessly as the beast tooth bullet shot towards him, facing nothing but death. Just as Chen Chen calculated, he was left with just over 800 health if the attack penetrated it would be certain death. Even if it didn't penetrate, could he manage to dodge the next arrow after landing awkwardly? At that moment, it felt as if he could see the flight trajectory of the beast tooth bullet clearly, and the last bit of time that belonged to him seemed to stretch infinitely. On the 16th day of his arrival, he wagered his last 13 years of life, stacked three white wheels with nothing to show for it, and finally drew a yellow wheel to get the swordsman class change card. He thought his life was about to take a turn for the better ready to soar, but who knew today? I'm not willing, not willing, unfortunately, because miracles don't happen often, they remain miracles. Minus 479, penetration, minus 918, kill. Two lines of text represented a vibrant life that had just fallen, and it hadn't even been five seconds. And this time, life devour, life increased by one year in 52 days. Ha, not bad luck. But it's a pity this good fortune met a short-lived ghost, he probably drew a lot in the past. This life-devouring battle body has also officially opened for business today. From the corpse, Chen Chen also found two high-quality white wheels and one low-quality yellow wheel. Still have some stock. Okay, let's find the next victim. As the voice fell, the boy gently patted the little cutie in his sleeve. Well done. Frog. He he he. The sounds of battle around the entire Jolong city camp rose and fell with the clashing of swords and spears ringing out, or the dull thuds of fists hitting flesh. The fights among high-level warriors often took a moment to resolve. Unlike Chen Chen, who could finish a battle in just a few seconds. Wow, what a freak. A high-level warrior from Jolong City nearby trembled at the corners of his mouth, feeling that if it were him, he would fall into Chen Chen's hands with just a moment of inattention. However, just as this thought crossed his mind, a message came through the team frequency, Chen Chen, according to the previously established plan, gradually pull them together. Create a big wave. Taui, the Western 011 stronghold has already got three. Chen Chen, received. The package will be delivered soon. Hiya hiya hiya. Looking at the information in the team chat, this high-ranking ninja couldn't help but shiver. Silently mourning for the unfortunate soul at the Western outpost 011 for three milliseconds. On the other side, Shortly after receiving the message, Chen Chen also arrived at the location mentioned by Tao Yi. Unfortunately, you, Chen Chen, the one speaking was none other than Lu Jia, Lu Yunpan. Oh, young master Lu? It's been a few days. I've missed you, stop with the sarcasm. I shouldn't have let you leave the team back then, the holy altar was obtained at that time, right? Ha, are you my father? Do I have to tell you everything? You think you can live with that attitude? Lu Yunpan was infuriated by his words. Today, I'll make up for my previous mistake. I'll take your life now. Saying this, Lu Yunpan drew the life-sucking sword from his waist and leaped into the air. Cross slash kill. As the shout fell, the sword in his hand drew two lines of spiritual light in the air. And with a diagonal slash, he unleashed the entire sword wave. Chun Shen couldn't help but narrow his eyes. What a fast sword technique. If it were before. Chen Chen would have definitely been unable to dodge this move. But now, sleeve cannon wind pressure. The boy raised his right hand, and his open palm directly fired the wind pressure cannon. 
which cancelled out Lu Yunpan's cross-sword wave mid-flight. The two streams of spiritual power collided, instantly creating a slight spiritual explosion that spread outwards. Had had. Is that all you've got? Chen Chen retracted his right hand, his gaze mocking, if you have any other moves, feel free to use them. What the hell? You've also changed jobs? Lu Yunpan's face was one of utter disbelief, completely not expecting that a wrong decision back then would create such an enemy for the Lu family. But it was also his own greed, always wanting to dig out the wealth in Chen Chen's mind. In the end, all this guy needed was just that one opportunity. However, if we trace it back to the root, it was Luo Shiyu's scar on her face that gave Chen Chen this chance. If Lu Tianyuan knew about this, who knows how he would treat his beloved daughter. What does it have to do with you? The boy replied coldly. If you don't attack, I won't be polite. Saying this, a beast bone bullet shot through the air. But due to the uneven terrain, with Chen Chen being higher and Lu Yunpan lower, the trajectory of the beast bone bullet was somewhat detectable to the latter. The instinctive reaction made him raise his sword. And with a ping sound, he blocked the bow bullet. You bastard, full bow bullet hail shot. Bang bang bang. Ping. Damn it. Triple shot beast fong. Whoosh whoosh. Ding. Not done yet, special bullet thunder piercing. After several exchanges, Lu Yunpan had been blocking with his sword. And this time he did so habitually. But this time, just as he blocked, zing. The bow bullet transformed into a thunderbolt. Piercing through him like a spear and two lines of damage text popped up instantly. Dash 25. Armor break. Penetration. Minus 2653. Thunder piercing bullet, a crafted item. A one-time consumable, contains highly unstable thunder elements, can be used as crossbow bolts, bow bullets, or thrown items, affect analysis, when hitting a target. The raging thunder elements within will pierce through the target's body like a spear. And if the user's mental attribute is higher than the target's, it will cause an armor break effect, lasting 3 seconds. Armor break, defense value becomes ineffective, rated damage. The penetrating thunder element damage equals 1 times the caster's mental attribute. 5 times, level limit, 10, or activated by spiritual power. Crafting process, yellow. Excellent. Lightning penetrating shell. This is what Chen Shen has crafted. A special bullet that can cause penetrating damage with 100% certainty. However, this special bullet has a fatal flaw, it must hit the opponent. In other words, if it doesn't hit, it's no different from a stone. The impact is clearly not as strong as the earth rift lava shell. Moreover, the materials for making this lightning penetrating shell are not easy to obtain. He had previously mixed some into the material list for Yu Zhanfeng's blood boiling formation, which allowed him to produce about 10 rounds. He he, as an alchemist, who doesn't keep some secrets? Lu Yunpan held the soul sucking sword. But he was stunned. This. No way. You guy. What's going on? What's going on? Lu Yunpan was raging inside. He was already level 15. How could Chen Chen, having just obtained the life card, deal such terrifying damage to him? He didn't understand. And there was even a hint of fear. Seeing his expression, Chen Chen couldn't help but sneer. Hey, let you. This fool. Blabber on endlessly. It's so annoying. Damn it. Stop being so impotently furious, you only have a higher level than me. What else is there to be proud of? While saying this, the young man shot a regular beast bone bullet over. But the latter, now like a startled bird, had no courage to use his sword to block it. Moreover, he was currently under a broken armor status. Of course, in these three seconds, two breaths had passed, and Chen Shen couldn't do much for now, unless the timing and location were right. It would be hard to take advantage. After dodging that shot, Lu Yunpan no longer recklessly advanced, after a few breaths, he retreated back to the temporary camp and immediately said to the few people around him, what are you waiting for? Let's attack together, take down this group, and we'll be close to conquering Jolong City. In a short time, the Western 011 stronghold was no longer just the three people Taoi mentioned, counting Lu Yunpan, there were a total of six people, including two professionals. High combat power generally refers to those with high battle strength. Not all of them are professionals. Like Lu Yunpan, he was just a high-level player. He could use spiritual power because he had learned relevant skills. Hearing Lu Yunpan's words, several people from different factions exchanged glances and nodded. The sky had darkened, and the updates would soon stop. Once Jiulong City possessed the job change altar and had more professionals, their current momentum would definitely be suppressed. 
their activity range would only become narrower. Moreover, there was also Jing Chang's death order. Let's fight. The group of high combat power in front wanted to attack together. But Chen Chen was not worried. Instead, he was pleased. However, after a moment's thought, he said to the few high combat power members of Jiulong City beside him, Don't attack yet. Lure them to a place with more people. Is that feasible? How big do we want to play? One of the high combat power members expressed some concern upon hearing this. After all, there was even one inside who was at a higher level than him. If it weren't for the blood boiling formation, he might have already been defeated in the battle with the opponent before Chen Chen arrived. It's possible. Chen Chen was not being arrogant, he was at least 80% sure. Besides, if this doesn't work, we don't need to guard the altar. The high combat power member fell silent upon hearing this, because it was indeed the case. In the end, there would inevitably be a wave of group attacks in the defense of the altar. It was only a matter of time. Moreover, if it really developed to the last moment, Jolong City might not be able to hold on. In terms of average strength, in a war of attrition, Jolong City undoubtedly ranked first, but in terms of high-end combat power, it was lacking. After all, there were only so many resources, but the number of people who could share those resources was much greater than that of other factions. Moreover, Yu Zhanfeng didn't adopt the soul-devouring maggot approach, it was completely open-ended. If one wanted to spin the wheel, they had to rely on their own abilities to do so, drawing lots to enhance their combat power. As a result, resources were certainly dispersed, and there was hardly any stock left. At this moment in the battle, it was all about high combat power. Sadly, without the blood boiling formation, Jolong City might not have lasted even half an hour. After confirming the strategy, Chen Chen shouted in the team channel, Chen Chen at Yu Zhanfeng, Dragon Head, how's the frontline contraction going? It wasn't long before there was a reply in the channel, Yu Zhanfeng, 200 meters in front of the main camp. That old guy Jing Cheng is also there. Chen Chen, great, I'm on my way. After all, it had only been the 29th day since the arrival of Soul Devouring, and players had only figured out the gameplay for just over three weeks. How many high combat players could that produce? Referring to those above level 10, almost 70% of the high combat players gathered in Jilong City now. If we convert this ratio into numbers, that's 34 players. There were only 48 recorded in total. Now, among the 34 gathered in Jilong City, more than half had converged at the stronghold in front of the main camp due to the tactics devised by Qin Shen and Yu Zhanfeng. At the moment the game update entered its final hour. Do you really have to make a fuss to this extent over occupying the hill? At the front line, Jing Cheng's face was dark as he said, the class change altar is of great significance to all humanity, it's not something you in Jiulong City can monopolize. As soon as he finished speaking, Yu Zhanfeng immediately laughed, you shameless old thing, you couldn't break through the first time, couldn't enter the second time, and now that time is running out, you're trying to play the empathy card? What's the difference between your moves and that surname Maz? You. Jing Chang was suddenly at a loss for words. How could this Yu Zhanfeng compare him to that phony? Absurd. Since we can't reason with you, then, let's just steal it. This time, as Jing Chang's words fell, a clear youthful voice interrupted, Ha! Hey, old man, weren't you planning to do just that from the start? Jing Chang instinctively retorted, Where did this young brat come from? Your mouth. But at this point, his words abruptly stopped. For in his eyes appeared the figure that had haunted him for countless sleepless nights. It's you! Just as the old man's shout ceased, a furious voice from behind also roared, Chen Chen, don't you dare run! Upon hearing that name and glancing at the young face before him, combined with the name announced by the system nine hours ago, everything clicked into place. It's you! It's actually you! Time rewinds to the very beginning of the Great Class Change version, the Jing family's courtyard. Finally appeared, the altar. Chen Chen, seizing my Jing family's fortune, even if I die a hundred deaths, it would be worth it. Head of the family, the altar should belong to us. Yes, we even got the location of the altar. Yet it ended up benefiting that kid named Chen Chen. Indeed, the map and details of the unknown ruins know. One inch were obtained by the Jing family during a roulette draw, specifically that compass. So they knew that the earth-splitting giant python was merely a guardian and it had to die for the location of the ruins to be revealed, with the compass being the key. Therefore, after finding the earth-splitting giant python, the Jing family led that creature to an area detectable by human radars and quietly spread the news. If they hadn't done so intentionally, 
How would the Lu family have known about the existence of the Earth-splitting giant python? A lord-level beast was enough to attract the attention of all players near the ruins. Whether they were family forces or wandering soldiers, they would all be drawn there. Once the lord was dead, the Jing family, stationed near the ruins, would be able to rush over immediately to explore. But who would have known that there would later be a show called Fate, with a foolish pig named Jingzhe exposing its fate, while someone shared their experience of prying open the locks of ancient relics? Even more absurd was that there was a reborn person who had seen all of this. Jingcheng listened to the words below, feeling an even greater frustration that had nowhere to be released. In a fit of rage, he exclaimed, Do you dare to say anything more? One of the four people who appeared outside the stone altar that day must be that Chen Chen. Yet in the end, not a single one was able to be captured. The crowd, hearing this, lowered their heads helplessly, not daring to respond. But in their hearts, they all thought, what the hell, didn't you also lose track of too? How can you still have the face to criticize us? How shameless. Yes, after chasing Chen Chen and being blocked by Luo Shiyu, Jing Cheng ended up losing track of even Luo Shiyu and had to return empty-handed. After all, the forest was so vast, filled with countless ferocious beasts, some of which were even lords, making it inherently difficult to track. This was Jing Cheng's inner self-justification at that time. Humph, gather the troops. Head to Jiolong City. It's you. It's you. Jingqing's fury erupted completely at that moment. If it weren't for Chen Chen, why would he have to go through all this? Although he might become the guardian of the holy altar, at least he wouldn't be so passive, right? Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's me, your hero, Xiao Ichuan, everyone nearby. What kind of ancient relic is this? Chen Chen was never a serious person. It was just the resentment from his past life and the situation of being a life-devouring maggot right after his rebirth that suppressed his true nature. Now, setting sail again, with a designated divine aura hanging over him, his mindset naturally changed. At this moment, Lu Yunpan, who was closely pursuing, also had his pupils spin, knowing that Gingcheng had a grudge with Chun Chen. Uncle Jing, Jingcheng and his father, Lu Tianyuan, were of the same generation. So this call of Uncle Jing was not out of place, but just as the call fell, noisy, pun, with a flick of the slingshot in Chen Chen's hand, a cloud of black smoke suddenly exploded beneath Lu Yunpan's feet. The next moment, the others collectively, underscore, angle, whoa what? What is this? It stinks to high heaven. Ah 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 my eyes, my eyes, scatter, scatter, quickly scatter, old eight, my uncle eight, please. Just take back your divine powers, underscore, angle, underscore Pua. As the situation developed like this, Yu Zhanfeng was also a bit confused, turning his head and unable to help but ask, Chen kid, what did you throw over there? Oh, it's nothing, just some secret fish row. Taui scratched his head, but they are saying it stinks. Isn't fish row supposed to be fishy? What I meant was, the sauce from the fish intestines, isn't that just shit? Ugh, I mean... There's really no need to be this disgusting, Yu Zhanfeng said with a face full of disdain. I might not even be able to bring myself to hit him later, but I have to say, well done, thief, you think this is a joke? Jing Cheng roared in anger, finally unable to hold back as he charged out of the black mist, heading straight for Qin Shen, behind him, all the high-level fighters from the Jing clan also rushed out, not for any other reason, it really stinks, seeing this, Yu Zhanfeng was about to step in to stop them, after all, the only one who could fight Jingcheng here was him, as both sides were close to level 20. Jingcheng was level 19, Yu Zhanfeng was level 17, but the latter was a fist master, with a refined application of strength, which made him stronger than Jingcheng, that's the advantage of being a professional. Otherwise, the class change holy altar wouldn't have attracted the entire Jiangnan settlement to gather here. But before Yu Zhanfeng could make a move, Chen Chen acted first. It seemed he had been waiting for this moment. Sleeve universe entangled roots. Poo 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 poo. Just as the boy finished speaking, Jing Chang and the others suddenly collided head on with a patch of lush green vines that surged out from the foul smoke, like a wall, making it difficult to avoid. Green vine binding, LV1, it quickly condenses wood element energy to create a vine forest 15 meters long and 8 meters wide in front. The green vines are controllable. Can bind and also serve as a defensive green wall, capable of regenerating once after being cut, the defense power of the green vines is 2, 1 times that of the caster's mental attribute, skill spirit energy consumption, 
210 points, skill cooldown time, 10 seconds. Indeed, this vine forest is one of the basic skills of the frog. Green vine binding. As soon as the vine forest appeared, the boy clenched his fist fiercely bind. This is called Chuan borrowing frog move. The protagonist Chuan Chuan was already familiar with it, and it was no different from using his own skills. From the appearance of the vine forest to the start of the binding, less than two seconds had passed. And on Jing's side, including Gao Zhan, no one had time to react. By the time they thought to dodge, their hands and feet were already tightly bound by the green vines. What is this? Damn. Damn it. Chen Chen. If you have the ability, don't use such a lowly trick. Fight me in a fair brawl. You bastard. I. I quit. I quit. The ground was covered in green vines. And not only was Jing's side in a panic, but the Jolong city side was also dumbfounded. Wow. What is this? A. Magician? What the hell is this magic? Is this magic? You can say it. Why curse? Since the arrival of life devouring, player's understanding of spirit plants was less than 1%. So how could they have encountered such a situation? This frog's move green vine binding was a tender sprout taken from a recently sprouted spirit vine king in the deep forest of Yu Mountain, combined with other auxiliary materials to cultivate it. Speaking of which, one must thank that old thief Jing Cheng for his relentless pursuit. And at this moment, quit? The boy disregarded his side shock and leaped to a high point. When your inner greed arises and you come to this place, you can never quit again. Special bullet, endless poison. Endless poison bullet, a crafted item, a one-time consumable, made by mixing several spirit plants and beast toxins, can be used as a crossbow bolt, arrow, or thrown object, effect analysis, upon touching the ground. It will produce a large area of biological toxic smoke, causing poisoning effects to those who come into contact or inhale it. Lasting 6 seconds, poisoning, reduces 8% of health per second. Potentially fatal, rated damage, none, level restriction, 10, or activated by spirit energy, crafting quality, yellow. Excellent. The purple-black smoke exploded in an instant, quickly filling the entire vine forest, and then, poisoned. Lasting 6 seconds, poisoned, poisoned. Large numbers of poison status effects sprang up like bamboo shoots after rain, and the purple-black damage kept rising, losing 8% of health per second was no small matter, not to mention the discomfort of being poisoned. At this stage, players had little poison resistance, the 6-second poisoning time and 8% poisoning damage were basically unavoidable, the vast majority of abnormal states had resistances, which could also be called tenacity, the higher the corresponding resistance value. The shorter the time endured when the body experiences the corresponding abnormal state, and the lower the damage taken. Quick, get out of this area. With the binding and poisoning appearing one after another, who knew what else would come next? Upon hearing this, everyone tried to use their swords to cut the green vines, but their hands and feet were bound, how could they cut? Unless they forcibly broke free with strength, just like, ha, in the green vine forest, a loud roar echoed and a vigorous figure shot up into the air, seemingly breaking through with brute force. But waiting for him, is that all you can do? Sleeve universe wild sand burying life. Swish. Chen Chen, who also leaped into the air with force from his feet, waved his hand, and a cloud of yellow sand poured down from the sky. The sudden appearance blinded Jing Chang, who had just rushed out. Wow. With a loud shout, his body fell as if losing all support, leaving behind a line of text in the air. Blindness lasts for 10 seconds. Sand got into his eyes, and there was no way to avoid blindness. A 15% chance was forcibly raised to 100%. The people below, still poisoned, completely broke down, realizing there were other tricks. This person was simply a demon. We were all using swords and blades, at most just using some skills for a dash or slash. You just throw out an AoE? Come on, be a person. And Jing Chang, who fell back into the green vine forest, was soon bound again by the vines, this time not just his hands and feet, but his neck, body, and thighs, he was almost tied up like a green zongzi. Ah, 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 Jing Cheng screamed, but he couldn't muster any strength. Watching this scene, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but shiver, could he withstand this if it were him? What kind of methods did this Chen Chen have? It was too outrageous. He he, frog frog, well done. Chen Chen praised frog frog in his heart. He he. Let him run? If he's not tied up tightly, wouldn't that be a waste of the skill the master found for me? Chen Chen chuckled at this. But this was only for now, 
once players started to develop various resistances, the impressive package wouldn't be so easy to handle. In fact, this was just catching them off guard. After all, they had never seen such an attack method. Next, Chen Chen, who was falling from the air, drew his bow again, special bullet earthquake lava. Among the special bullets Chen Chen had created, the one with the highest damage and impact was the earthquake lava bullet. As a small black dot rapidly enlarged before their eyes, all the high-level players bound below were momentarily stunned. One of them, driven by a desperate will to survive, temporarily broke free from the green vine forest. But unfortunately, boom, in an instant, the explosion turned the green vine forest into a sea of molten lava. The instantaneous fire and earth elemental damage reached 10 times Chin Chen's mental power, causing many to see terrifying damage numbers pop up, with two even dying on the spot. The damage caused by spiritual power couldn't be resisted solely by defense. Defense could only mitigate 30% of the spiritual damage, and only if the defense value exceeded the damage output of the mental power. The rest, whatever the mental power could block, it would block. What couldn't be blocked would have to be taken as damage. In simple terms, defense is physical defense, which can only offset part of the damage caused by spiritual power acting on the body. Mental power is what provides magical defense. In the previous life, it was only after realizing this that players gradually began to value the mental attribute. And clearly, that was not the case now. Ah, ah, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Stench, vines binding, poisoning, sand throwing, and finally, a volcanic eruption. In just a few seconds, everything they experienced was unprecedented. They just wanted to ask, what kind of devil's feast is this? Can skills really be used endlessly? Are we even human? Are we really in the same world? Are we really playing the same game? I can't take it anymore. I really can't take it anymore. Run, run away. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, mom. A few high level players, who fortuitously had a bit more spirit and slightly higher defenses, managed to withstand this round of attacks, but they almost rolled and crawled out of the lava area, quickly retreating afterward. The panic and helplessness on their faces, mixed with fear was as if they had walked through the gates of hell, staring ahead and not wanting to approach even a step closer. This impression was truly profound, penetrating to the marrow. In such moments, retreating was like a boulder rolling down a mountain. Once the first stone fell, the second and third would follow. It simply couldn't be stopped. In no time, the original dozen high-level players from the Jing clan, including Jing Chang and Lu Yunpan, were reduced to just seven. Up to this point in the class change altered battle, the outcome had already been decided in advance. Even if Jing Chang wanted to fight back, he would likely be powerless. Looking at the remaining time, 0 hours 46 minutes 57 seconds, the night moon hung high, and this battle was finally coming to an end. Of course, this did not mean it was over. The countdown reaching 0 would only mark the beginning of another prolonged battle. Let me go. Let me go. Jing Chang, unable to move, ultimately conceded. Even though he still had half his health left, he understood at this moment that if Chen Shen did not relent, he would eventually be ground to death. Lu Yunpan shared this realization. However, instead of begging for mercy, he, Chen, each one, if you want to kill me, then I, won't let you off easily. Bound and restrained, his eyes turned blood red at that moment, as if he had activated some irreversible enhancement. Then, with a crack, his upper body expanded tearing his clothes apart and breaking the vines that bound him, as his muscles swelled, ultimately leaving, nothing behind. Among the remaining high-level players from the Jing clan, there was a woman who blushed at this scene and turned her head away with a TCH. In some places, even if the muscles expanded, it wouldn't help in combat, it would only be an eyesore. Jing Cheng twitched the corner of his mouth, just a young punk, why not just admit defeat? On the other side, Chen Chen also twitched his eye. It turns out Hulk's shorts were just to sell more movie tickets. You still have time to joke? That big guy doesn't look easy to deal with. Yu Shanfeng couldn't help but comment. But in reality, Chen Shen was merely saying this. His thoughts had already turned serious. The Lu family could rise. And there was indeed a reason for it. An enhancement that directly affects the bloodline? But the side effects should be significant. He speculated in his mind. Otherwise, Lu Yunpan would have used it from the start. Meanwhile. Lu Yunpan's transformation was reaching its final moments. He lifted his head, his blood-red eyes glaring directly at Chun Chen. Chun, each one, ugh. However, 
The only response to his mad shout was a beast tooth bullet. Ding! With a crisp sound, the giant Lu Yunpan's head was knocked to the left by the beast tooth bullet, leaving only a shallow scar. Die! The boy's actions undoubtedly enraged him, before his roar faded. His massive body leaped like a frog, and as he landed, he directly pierced the ground with the sword in his hand, sending a large amount of rubble flying toward Chen Chen. Chen Chen was about to dodge. Tang Shoubang Shan Quan. As soon as the words left his mouth, Yu Zhan Feng, slightly crouched in a horse stance, unleashed a punch that manifested as a wall of energy, blocking all the rubble one by one. What the hell? Is this hitting a cow across the mountain? Chen Chen was stunned by this scene. His impressive package was quite overwhelming, but when it came to style, it had to be Yu Zhanfeng's kind. That punch was cool. It's not that mystical, it's just a punch hitting the energy wall in front. The boy fell into deep thought upon hearing this. Was there really a difference between the two? However, reality did not leave the two with much time to rest. Seeing his attack deflected by Yu Zhanfeng, Lu Yunpan immediately launched another assault without hesitation. This time, he cracked the ground beneath him, leaping into the air, seven or eight meters off the ground, revealing, good, 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 you think my slingshot is nothing? Chen Chen instantly drew his bow, special shot adaptive version thunderbolt piercing bird, flying saucer targets are my specialty, whoosh, zap, roar aha, the giant Lu Yunpan in midair suddenly tensed up feeling as if half of his life had vanished in an instant. The momentum of his forward descent was lost, and he crashed down to the ground. The so-called fatal blow was nothing less. Dash 63. Armor break. Lu Yunpan's spirit is lower than Chen Chen's. Hence the armor break. Critical weakness. Minus 5307. Weakened. Fatal strike. Penetration. Minus 2653. A stack of damage notifications piled up and Chen Chen's smile turned cold. The Lu family owes me everything, it's time to collect some interest. As he spoke, a metal round shot was fired from the slingshot. Special shot Heavenly Falling Heart. Heavenly Falling Heart Bullet, crafted item, single-use consumable, the shell is made of hard meteorite iron, with volatile fuel sealed inside, can be used as a crossbow bolt or arrow, effect analysis, upon hitting the target. The volatile fuel inside will ignite rapidly and break through the meteorite iron shell generating a strong thrust that spirals forward. Due to its sharp tip, it can pierce through even iron, while also causing an armor break effect that lasts for 6 seconds. Armor break, defense value becomes ineffective, rated damage, instant damage upon hitting is 5 times the shooter's strength attribute, level restriction, level 8 and above, crafting quality, yellow, excellent, ton. The metal round shot had just hit when the volatile fuel inside exploded, forming a brilliant flame flower in its spiral. The force of the slingshot and the flames even prevented Lu Yunpan from descending. Ultimately, pun, the flame flower pierced through his massive body, and the blood that gushed out was instantly turned to black carbon. Dash 1695. Armor break, penetration, minus 2653. Kill. The reason Chen Chen chose this special shot was that it dealt physical damage. Unrelated to spirit attributes, and since Lu Yunpan was in an armor break state, the physical damage could be fully maximized. Puff, Lu Yunpan, thus met his end. When the massive body fell from the sky and lay still, the morale on the Jing side completely deflated. But long before that, the family head Jing Chung had already admitted defeat. What was there left to hold on to? The defeat was inevitable. In fact, if it weren't for Chen Chen taking the lead, the outcome might have been quite different. After all, in the previous life, the transfer shrine was a joint venture among many families, not solely owned by one. Looking at Lu Yunpan, now collapsed on the ground and returned to his original form. Chen Shen couldn't help but let out a long sigh, this is just the beginning. Not long after, several soldiers retrieved everything from Lu Yunpan's body. Mr. Chen, this is the opponent's space ring, and the sword that fell on the ground. The boy, seeing this, took a deep breath before reaching out to take the long sword. Life Devourer, Drink of the Realm, Long Sword, Single-Edged Sword, made primarily of Chunshan Tungsten Iron, through countless rounds of tempering, embedded with a core that contains a trace of the world's origin, said to have come from the hand of a Realm Master, Basic Attributes, Strength plus 16, Attack Speed plus 30%, Effect Analysis, Life Devourer Asterisk If this sword kills a target, there is a 1% chance to absorb the remaining lifespan of the opponent, if the opponent is in an abnormal state. This probability increases to 3%.
and if they are filled with fear, this probability rises to 10%. Drink of the realm asterisk this sword is not a standalone item and can resonate with any life devourer series equipment to enhance the life devouring effect. Level restriction, above level 1, craftsmanship, yellow, flawless. Chen Chen had seen the attributes of this sword when he first drew it, but now, looking at it again, the initial excitement had long faded. It was not only because of his rebirth but also due to the life devourer battle body. However, soon, a system prompt echoed in his mind, the drink of the realm of life devourer has been activated. Life devouring effect upgraded. The boy couldn't help but be stunned. Was his life devourer battle body also considered life devourer series equipment? Could it activate drink of the realm? This, check, Chen Chen silently thought. And the details of the life devourer attributes immediately appeared, life devourer, drink of the realm too, if this sword kills a target, there is a 3% chance to absorb the remaining lifespan of the opponent, if the opponent is in an abnormal state, this probability increases to 9%, and if they are filled with fear, this probability rises to 30%, becomes invalid after removing one piece of equipment, it actually increased the probability by 3 times, in simple terms, it was a set effect, right? With Drink of the Realm 2, it indicated that there would be Drink of the Realm 3, Drink of the Realm 4, right? When he first drew this life devourer, Drink of the Realm, it was quickly snatched away by the Lu family, and he hadn't really thought about it in detail. Moreover, in his past life, apart from this sword, he had not heard of any other life devourer series equipment. Ha, this is quite a pleasant surprise, the boy thought to himself as he sheathed the long sword. Tossing Lu Yunpan's spatial ring into his own ring, this operation was commonly known as space stacking, abbreviated stacking space. Subsequently, his gaze turned to the remaining members of the Jing family, who, bound by the vines in the Qingtung forest, were all very obedient. They no longer struggled, waiting patiently for Chen Chen to come and dispose of them. Dragon Head, how should we deal with these people? Yu Shanfeng beside him was taken aback, he hadn't expected Chen Chen to hand over the disposal rights to him. But after a moment of surprise, he replied, you decide, I handle it? Of course, they were all captured by you. Suddenly holding the power of life and death over so many people, Chen Chen felt somewhat unaccustomed, whether in this life or the last. He had indeed never experienced such a thing. The Jing family, the Jing clan, the tiger of South China, in his past life, they were renowned ultimately becoming one of the five great families of the Longnan base city that became a gathering place in Jiangnan. Now, whether they live or die, it all lay in his hands. While pondering, Chen Shen had already walked to the front of Jing Chang, who was bound like a green rice dumpling, and suddenly asked, So, old man, do you still want the class change altar? Jing Chang's eyes were bloodshot, but he had no choice but to lower his head to him. No, I don't want it anymore. Humiliation indignation. A thick cloud of negative emotions lingered in Jing Cheng's heart. As the head of a family and a man over 50, he had actually suffered a setback at the hands of such a young person, which made him lose control over his own life and death. But no matter how indignant or humiliated he felt, if he wanted to survive, he had to admit defeat. Not anymore? That's good. At this point, the young man raised his hand and a glimmer of relief appeared in the eyes of Jing Chang and the other high-ranking members of the Jing family. But what they awaited was not the release of the bindings but MMM. Ah, ah, ha, MMM, ah, no, suffocation, strangulation, a crooked neck, pull, a broken waist. Of the remaining seven people, Lu Yunpan died first, and now five more followed closely behind, regardless of gender, size, height. Or looks, Chen Chen made no exceptions. All killed. It was no wonder that the Jing family would become one of the five major families of the Longnan Bay City in the future. Whether strong or lucky, they were all potential enemies. Sorry, I was too far away just now and couldn't control it that precisely. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to suffer that fate again before dying. Thief, you dare. Bang, a silver spear, a muffled sound, and the cold light of the spear abruptly pierced the chest of the one who spoke. Poor Jing Cheng's defense was not high enough to withstand Chen Chen's strength, otherwise, even if bound, the latter would be helpless. Fatal weakness, defense broken, minus 13,698, near death. Fatal weakness, hitting the target's fatal weakness, if the defense is broken, the target's health is reduced to one point. The heart was undoubtedly a fatal weakness. You, blood oozed from Jing Cheng's mouth and nose, 
and the fear of dying quickly suppressed his anger at the total annihilation of his side, blood bubbles flowing from his mouth as he begged for mercy, spare, spare, spare me, let me go, to be honest, we don't have much enmity, Chen Shen took out a slingshot, the Y-shaped fork aimed directly at Jing Chang, but your luck is too good, and I'm afraid, smack, kill, life devoured, lifespan increased by 97 years and 199 days, Current lifespan, 119 years and 2 days. Oh, the old man is quite afraid of death. After doing all this, the significance of the green vine forest faded, and after the frog disconnected its spiritual power output, it quickly transformed into a sky full of spiritual energy, drifting away. All the spatial rings and weapon equipment were collected by Chin Chen. Then he returned to the Jolong city camp. You let me handle it, so the aftermath is up to you. Yu Zhanfeng. Stop staring. Clean up the battlefield. Yes. Half an hour later. Ding. 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 The continuous three sounds made the night much more boisterous. Then. Game version update completed. Version number. 1. 0. 2. 2028. 0. 7. 19. 21. 51. 55. Game version. Game. As long as it was a major announcement, the game system basically notified three times in a row. This time, the system update completion also meant that the class change altar was officially in use. The era of mass class changes had arrived at this moment. However, the location of the altar was right in the center of Jolong City. This meant that to use it, one must join Jolong City or obtain their permission, unless you could conquer Jolong City and release the usage rights of the altar. However, before the players could think about their next plans, the system sounded again. Congratulations on the game hot update completion. All players will have their experience points doubled for the next 72 hours. We hope all players actively engage in the game and seek more version easter eggs. Congratulations on the game. Congratulations. 72 hours. Experience doubled. Ha ha ha. Finally. Something exciting has happened. Let's team up for the out of bounds battlefield. We need a ranged player. Anyone coming? Ranged? You're thinking about Peach. How low can the damage of a bow and arrow be? Should we try again? Are we just going to scrape the beasts with it? They won't thank you for that. Damn. Who said that? I've seen someone play with a slingshot. It was awesome. In the world channel of the game, players finally found a way to vent their frustrations. The previous class change altered defense battle was indeed a bit stifling. Although not all players participated, anyone could imagine how intense the battlefield would be. The double experience over the past three days could be considered a breather granted by the system to Nine Dragon City. At least the player's attention wouldn't be entirely focused on the altar. Nine Dragon City. The main camp. In front of the altar glowing with a bluish light. Yu Zhanfeng, Chen Chen, and a group of high-level warriors from Nine Dragon City gathered here. The situation ahead will only be more dangerous than today. Danger can strike at any moment, and attacks can come from any direction. Now that we have the altar, we must make use of it. After Yu Zhanfeng briefly set the stage. He immediately tilted his head to signal, Ling Feng, you go first. The one called Ling Feng was Yu Zhanfeng's right-hand man. Okay. Chen Chen naturally had no objections to Yu Zhanfeng's arrangement. The losses in the struggle for Nine Dragon City were considerable. The casualties were not just cold numbers. Since this was something they fought for with their lives, it should belong to them. Previously, when he directly killed Jing Chang and others, Yu Zhanfeng had no objections either. From his perspective, he would have chosen to act just like Chen Chen, and would have been even more ruthless. He had once been a soldier and understood that this world needed order. The Jing family and its affiliated powers, as well as various second-rate forces including the Lu family, all belonged to the tumors of order. Yu Zhanfeng only wanted to eradicate them. A world where the strong are respected is indeed powerful, but if the weak have no hope, then humanity will also lose hope. In a truly complete order, the strong need to be strong and the weak also need hope. But if the tumors are not removed, and the parasitic class is not eliminated, a complete order cannot be established. So at that time, even if Chen Chen had a soft heart and didn't kill Jing Chang, he would have taken the opportunity to eliminate that old man while he was still recovering. Back to the point. When Ling Feng stepped onto the class change altar and pressed his right hand on the stone platform, the originally faint bluish light suddenly became dazzling. Immediately, 
A panel appeared before his eyes. You can choose from the following professions. 1. Warrior. 2. Mage. 3. Shield Bearer. 4. Ranged Attacker. Note, once selected, it cannot be changed. Is it just these four? Yu Zhanfeng looked at the blue panel and couldn't help but ask, implicitly assuming that Chun Chen knew the details. After all, it was he who brought it out. What did you expect? No brawler? Yu Zhanfeng was naturally referring to his own profession. Warrior is it, brawlers are a type of martial artist warrior. At this moment, Ling Feng also received the basic information for each profession and turned to Yu Zhanfeng, saying, Boss, these four professions are not hard to understand. Warriors focus on strength, mages focus on spirit, shield bearers focus on defense, and ranged attackers focus on speed. Each profession has secondary attributes, but that depends on the individual. After Ling Feng finished speaking, Chen Chen further explained, for example, your brawler is a warrior who primarily focuses on strength and also takes a secondary focus on defense to enhance physicality, while my ranger primarily focuses on speed and also takes a secondary focus on strength to increase damage. Of course, this is all definitional, any player can allocate points as they see fit. Just as Chen Chen finished speaking, Yu Zhanfeng suddenly turned his head, aren't you a mage? Nope, but you are not. A hidden canon, a hidden universe, and, Yu Zhanfeng was clearly referring to Chen Chen's attack methods, just as the words fell. Who says only mages can play with those? I'm a ranger who knows some spells. Isn't that fine? Everyone else, find my ass. The ranger we understand is simply someone who plays with bows, crossbows, throws javelins, and maybe a bit differently like you with a slingshot. Who plays like you? Where one shot from a slingshot either erupts like a volcano or drills like a thunder gun, and you wave your sleeve. Fireballs, water bombs, sand dust burial. Why not just shot Buddha Kingdom in hand? Ridiculous. In any case, just choose a profession based on your strengths. The corresponding profession will have bonuses in the corresponding main attributes. Ling Feng broke the silence at that moment. Hearing this, everyone finally came back to their senses. Although it was somewhat different from the imagined massive wall of professions, it was still better than being a blank slate. After a slight disappointment, Yu Xianfeng quickly understood. No matter what, this is something everyone can use, no need for a roulette draw. Let's keep it simple. No need to be picky. Yes, Ling Feng, continue. Okay. After responding, Ling Feng did not hesitate and pressed on the warrior option. Before this, he had been playing with knives, and his upgraded attributes were mostly in strength. So of course, he chose warrior. In fact, many players were like this either strength or speed. After all, the benefits of strength and speed were the most obvious and the most useful in combat. After Ling Feng selected warrior, you have selected warrior, detecting physical attributes, strength qualified, defense qualified, speed, not qualified, unable to change profession. Is there such a thing? Seeing the prompt box in front of him, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but widen his eyes. Ling Feng, does it say how much speed is needed to change professions? Ling Feng on the stone platform seemed to have operated for a moment. Hmm, I can see it. I need at least 12 points at this level. Is it related to level? Ling Feng nodded. I backtracked a bit. If it's level 1, the warrior's transfer condition is strength 3. And for each level up, the strength requirement increases by 2 points. After level 5, there are requirements for defense and speed. Starting at 2, and then 1 point for each level. Plugging in my level. I need 9 points. A simple calculation reveals that Ling Feng's level is 12. Dragon Head. I'll come back later. Wait until I level up once more and raise my speed before changing professions. After saying that, Ling Feng also stepped down from the stone platform. His attributes could indeed change to Shield Soldier. But since he could choose, why settle? Okay, no need to force it, Taoi. Upon hearing this, Taoi walked straight up to the stone platform. Then, without hesitation, he clicked on Shield Soldier. He he, Brother Chuan, from now on, I'll be following you. Chen Chen smiled and nodded. Welcome. You have selected Shield Soldier, detecting physical attributes, defense qualified, strength qualified, transfer task has been issued. Please check, complete the task to change to Shield Soldier. Task? What kind of task is it? Yu Zhanfeng was like a curious baby, unable to help but ask every time he saw something different. Not difficult. Kill three defensive type beasts that are higher level than me, and then collect materials from them. 
indeed not difficult, in the sea area, shrimp, crabs, and turtles can all be considered defensive types. Yu Zhanfeng nodded, with Ling Feng and Taoi taking the lead. He also had a preliminary understanding of the transfer altar. So he said, All right, next, you have selected warrior. Hua Xia, Jiangbei, the transfer altar, is right there, isn't it? Under the night moon, a middle-aged man gazed out at the surging river. There are many fierce beasts in this river, but the holy altar is not something you can enjoy alone in Jiangnan. Just as the middle-aged man's words fell, a voice suddenly came from nowhere. The sacred beast will support you. Go. Only the voice was heard. The person unseen. It's not the right time yet. Wait a bit longer. You are very wise. I shouldn't. Have used the wrong words, right? The owner of the voice was looking at the middle-aged man below through a transparent glass. His eyes filled with a playful expression. Then came a complaint. When can I go back? Life is hard as the words fell. Another sound echoed in the space, as the earth people say. When heaven is about to bestow a great responsibility on a person, it must first sweep out the door? No, it is to labor there. Like those cattle and horses? Starve them. Make them lose three circles? Empty and poor. Just forget it. I can't be bothered with you. The pessimistic guy. Just keep an eye on things. I'm going to take a nap still napping? Not checking the previous disturbance? Can't check. If you have the ability, go check. The next day. At 10 in the morning, Chen Shen turned over in his tent and slowly let out a long breath. Recalling his past life at this time, he was still struggling in the border area, fighting for a couple of the lowest quality white longevity pills. And now, everything felt like a grand dream, yet it was incredibly real. Hmm. Three new messages. Dong Fan Yen Yen, Brother Chuan. We will arrive at Jiolong City in two hours. Should we double the experience? This big fools we probably included Hao Chun. Hao Chen, ha ha ha, congratulations, brother Chuan, you found the holy altar for the job change, can I shamelessly bask in your glory? Chen Chen grinned, this Hao Chen really had no shame when it came to being thick-skinned, he wasn't a professional, so the job change at the holy altar was naturally only beneficial for him, why not take the chance? There was another message, Shi Xiaoyu, where are you? I'm coming to rely on you, alright, alright, no wasted words. The meaning is expressed directly enough. This also made Chen Chen suddenly remember I'm still a virgin. Chen Chen replied one by one. Got it. I'm also living under someone else's roof. Brother Zhao. It doesn't count. Jiulong City. If Chen Chen really went to say it, Yu Zhanfeng wouldn't disagree. Nor would he have any second thoughts. But just for Hao Chun, he didn't need to. It wasn't that he didn't value friendship. In the end, this guy had just helped him by chance not even counting as a favor. However, not long after replying, Hao Chen, how about, when we arrive, you help me introduce myself? As expected, this guy wouldn't give up easily. I'll try my best. After closing the chat interface, Chen Chen simply considered the matter of double experience, utilizing it was a must, but where to use it was crucial. In any case, going to the outer battlefield was unavoidable. That was much more dangerous than the previous forest. It was absolutely impossible to go alone again, a small team was essential, and supplies on the battlefield were also very important. With such thoughts, two hours quickly passed. Dong Fan Yen Yen, Brother Chuan, we have arrived. Okay, send a location. Jolong City, the main camp. Long Tu, let me introduce you. These two are friends I met elsewhere. Chen Chen lifted the tent flap of the main camp, and his voice simultaneously entered. Hmm. Yu Zhanfeng raised his head upon hearing this, and the young man pointed and introduced one by one, Dong Fang Yan Yan, Hao Chun, he he, on behalf of Jiulong City, I welcome you both. I won't bother with pleasantries, I'm here mainly to ask for a few people to use. Ask for people? Yu Zhanfeng was genuinely taken aback, thinking Chen Shen was bringing people to use at the transmigration altar. It's about the double experience, right? Ah, how could I miss out on such a good thing? How many do you need? Tao Yi, Sheng Tianxiang, this character is passionately played by the top player, Flying Blue Sky, he he he, and that sharpshooter of yours, Tang Bei, you won't be reluctant to part with them, will you? Wow, you really know how to pick, ha, huh? I only have a few high level fighters, and you want to take two at once, come on, with the altar around, your manpower will only increase in the future, right, you really can't bear to part with them, who can't bear to part with them? Take them, 
Take them. Upon hearing Chen Chen's words, Yu Shanfeng immediately waved his hand. But one thing, all three of them are skilled members of my Jiulong army. How are you going to take them away and bring them back? Don't worry. In response to such a request, Chen Chen had no extra words to say. He could only promise to do his best. However, the people he wanted were not nameless individuals. They were all notable figures from his past life. Such people might even have better survival skills than he did. All right. I won't say more. I hope everything goes smoothly. At this point, he seemed to suddenly realize something and turned to Dong Fang Yen Yen and Hao Chun, asking, By the way, speaking of the altar, have you two chosen your professions? The altar is currently available. How about? Eh, this. No, no. Upon hearing Yu Zhanfeng's unexpected remark, Dong Fang Yen Yen was left dumbfounded, while Hao Chen immediately seized upon the word benefit almost rushing forward to shake hands with the former. Dong Fang Yen Yen was dumbfounded because the question sounded like, have you eaten? Want to grab a bite? That shouldn't be a whole meal. Right. As for Hao Chen, it goes without saying, this guy had been harboring this idea even before arriving in Zhilong City. The two had two different reactions. The latter, however, made Yu Zhanfeng subtly furrow his brow. A person's instinctive reaction is hard to hide, even if they can hold back their words. The micro-expressions on their face will betray them in an instant. Even so, he nodded, of course, you can use it any time. Although Yu Zhanfeng was skilled at seizing territory and stabilizing the previous Zhulong army to establish the current Zhulong city, he was certainly not a fool. Chen Chen took the initiative to bring people to introduce to him, even if he didn't explicitly state the intention. The right to use the altar had to be granted. No other reason. Just emotional intelligence. After all, the transmigration altar was brought by Chen Chen. Ha ha ha, then I won't stand on ceremony, where is the altar? Yu Zhanfeng smiled and gestured, then had soldiers take the two to the altar, while Chen Chen stayed at the camp to wait for Tao Yi and the others. Once the two had walked far, Yu Zhanfeng spoke again, Chen Kid, where did you find such an exceptional friend? Eh? Chen Chen naturally knew he was referring to Hao Chen and couldn't help but explain. I wouldn't call him a friend, he just helped me out before. Keep that in mind. Yu Zhanfeng then understood. So, by this twist of fate, I helped you return a favor? Of course. A great person. The leader. Go away. Stop joking around as the two joked. Tao Yi, Shang Tianxiang, and Tang Bei arrived one after another. From last night until now, the three had completed their class change tasks and each became different professions. Tao Yi, needless to say, became a shield warrior. As for Shang Tianxiang, he couldn't escape the wheel of fate from his past life. He changed to a mage. Chen Shen still remembered that the owner of this name was a well-known alternative in the Longnan base city in his past life, a magic swordsman. A man who changed to a mage but loved wielding a sword. The last one, Tang Bei, was different from the warrior of his past life. He changed to ranged attack, which was also why Chen Shen could point him out. After all, this is a different point. He wanted to know what would happen to Tang Bei. Of course. This could just be his sensitivity as a reborn person. You all know about the double experience, right? I'm planning to form a small team to go to the outer battlefield. Are you interested? With all three present, Chen Chen got straight to the point without wasting words. I don't need to express my stance. Brother Chuan, I'm following you. Tao Yi was the first to speak. Following closely, Sheng Tianxiang also said, I just changed my class, and I do need to train in a more complex environment. No problem. Finally, it was Tang Bei's turn. Go. Uh, ha. Chen Shen didn't react at first, so Tang Bei was. This kind of personality? Don't mind him, this guy is just a quiet one, but he's actually warm-hearted. You'll know more as you interact with him. Yu Zhanfeng timely explained. This indeed surprised Chen Shen. However, it was very much in line with the rumors about Tang Bei from his previous life, whose title was The Silent Sniper. Of course. It wasn't just any sniper. It was said to be his self-made heavy artillery sniper. That's right. Although he was a warrior, he indeed had such a title in his past life. Otherwise, Chen Shen wouldn't have been able to remember this name among countless players. Just like Shang Tianxian's magic swordsman, it was memorable for its uniqueness. People always unconsciously remember some strange things. I see. While the few were talking, Dong Fang Yen Yan and Hao Chen had already received their class change tasks and returned. Surprisingly in agreement, Warrior. After hearing about Chun Chan's upcoming plan, both expressed their willingness to join. 
Dong Fan Yen Yen didn't need to say much, ever since the unknown ruins no. 1. He had held a respect for Chen Chen, but later lost contact with him and ended up in the Lu family's exploration team. Hao Chen's purpose was more straightforward, he was almost going crazy wanting to spend money. However, just as they were about to set off, the last member of this temporarily formed team arrived, Shi Xiaoyu. Ah, a familiar face, and they were particularly happy to see each other. Sister little fish, it's Xiaoyu, the elegant Xia, the female Yu, and the Jie Yu's Yu, it's little fish, sister little fish, forget it. Thus, the team heading to the outer battlefield was finalized with seven members, team leader Chen Chen, ranged asterisk ranger, slingshot soldier and mage, team members. Dong Fan Yen Yen, Warrior Asterisk Undefined, Swordsman, Hao Chen, Warrior Asterisk Undefined, Swordsman, Tao Yi, Shield Soldier Asterisk Shield, Also a Fist Fighter, Shang Tian Xiang, Mage Asterisk Magic Swordsman, Swordsman, Tang Bei, Ranged Asterisk Archer, Sniper, Shi Xiaoyu, Warrior Asterisk Assassin, Rope Dart Soldier, The seven member team was tentatively set to depart in the afternoon with the destination being the outer battlefield downstream of the Great River, Zhangdong Battlefield. That place was the area with the most exaggerated invasion of sea monsters. Due to the large number of sea monsters coming ashore, the monster population there was constantly changing, especially the amphibious monsters, with new ones reported almost every day. Of course, the opportunities there were also the most abundant. However, danger and opportunity ultimately coexist. In the Zhangnan settlement, Southern region, Lu family mansion. Going to Jiang Dong battlefield? Yes. Lu Tianyuan clenched his fists upon hearing this. Chen Chen, I will definitely avenge Lanner. Everything you took away, my Lu family will retrieve in full. Issue a bounty for me. 30 white longevity pills, to capture Chen Chen. If he's alive, the reward will be doubled. Head of the family, isn't this too? Not too much. Before Lu Tianyuan could finish speaking, a somewhat indifferent delicate voice suddenly came from the side of the room, and then a girl with a face full of freckles, no taller than 1 meter 60, walked in as the light blocking glass door opened, just 30, as long as it's done, don't say double, triple is fine too, the man fell silent upon hearing this, but Lu Tianyuan suddenly turned his head and asked, why are you here, I was feeling bored, so I came out for some fresh air, where's my brother Lu, Lu Tianyuan glanced over but said no more, only stating, the double experience opportunity can't be missed, I had someone take him to the South Sea battlefield. The freckled girl was taken aback, what did you say? Why didn't you tell me? What if brother Lu gets hurt? You old fool, can you afford to compensate for that? Lu Tianyuan suppressed his anger, he's just on the outskirts. Besides, with your good brother's band-aid, he won't die. I don't care, you bring brother Lu back. This, the freckled girl disregarding Lu Tianyuan's difficulty, continued to press, I don't care, you let brother Lu come back right now, it's just for gaining experience, there are so many soul-eating maggots, can't you just summon a beast tide? Hearing this, Lu Tianyuan was completely speechless, soul-eating maggots, no matter how you put it, they are still resources, things that are everywhere, why summon more? But facing this young lady, he had no choice but to compromise, fine, I will call him back, after that, he quickly changed the subject, but you are willing to pay such a high price for Chun Chen? It's just rolling a few pills, what's the big deal? The freckled girl pouted. I just didn't expect that guy could still be alive. He was clearly on his last breath, why not just swallow it down? Lu Tianyuan felt a headache coming on, you are indeed just rolling pills, but the materials are what my Lu family is looking for. Even if it's just a white longevity pill, the materials are still hard to find. The only consolation is that one set of materials can produce more than one longevity pill. On this point, our interests actually align. Who aligns with you? Fang Yining shot him a glare. Quickly call my brother Lu back. Lu Tian Yuan. Old fool, why are you frowning? It's itchy. Just itchy. In the Jing family's courtyard, dozens of players surrounded the large courtyard as dawn broke. And at the forefront was a brown-haired man who looked to be only in his late twenties. By noon. It had been nearly six hours since the courtyard was surrounded. The players gathered here either smiled with amusement or stared intently at the Jing family women huddled in the corner out of fear, their eyes gleaming with unmistakable intent. At the main entrance of the courtyard, a man in his early thirties kept his gaze fixed on the brown-haired man who was a few years younger than him. 
When a fierce ray of sunlight pierced his eyes at noon, it seemed to instantly burn away his patience. Jing Xian, how much longer are you going to hold out? Jing Cheng is dead. The Jing family's five claws have perished. Your Jing family is no longer what it once was. Don't you understand? Xianlia, ancient term meaning fierce, referring to a strong fire. My father has just passed. And you small-time villains are so rampant, isn't this too much? The brown-haired man showed no signs of psychological burden. His face full of mockery, Jing Cheng guarded this riverside mountain range and gained a lot, he had to go and seek death by trying to seize the transfer altar. Now look, he lost his life and his family. 30 years in the east, 30 years in the west, and now it's time for this mountain to be under my southeastern association's control. If you know what's good for you, hand over the Eight Zhang mountain gate, and I might consider letting you live. Jing Xian was completely unconvinced, his face darkening, do you think I'm still in swaddling clothes? If I give you the eight Zhang mountain gate, will my Jing family have a way to survive? Sai, finally, waiting for Jing Xian to express his stance, you Dong Nan lost the last bit of hope. Forget it, if you won't give it, I'll have to find it myself. With that, he waved his hand, kill them all, the women can be played with, but leave their lives. Jing Hua glared with fierce eyes, the entire Jing family. Follow me to fight against the external enemies. The losses from yesterday's job change sanctuary defense battle were not just borne by the Jing family. The Lanxin Pavilion and Finghua platform, originally part of the Jing family, also suffered significant blows. This directly led to the two factions having to merge into one to resist the ferocious beasts while fending off the encroachment of other forces. The other two pavilions, Naihai Tower and Suexiang Pavilion, also experienced varying degrees of loss, but compared to the first two attackers, they fared somewhat better. It can be said that this incident was like reshuffling the deck in the Jiangnan gathering place. Some suffered losses, while others benefited. And our instigator, at this moment, was leading a temporarily formed team, officially embarking on a journey to the outer battlefield. Outer battlefield, a place beyond human habitation. This is the concept of the outer battlefield, but it is merely a general definition. In reality, the entire earth is now divided into several major regions. That outer battlefield is just one of them. The Earth, this server, originally had 71% of its area covered by oceans. Now known as the Beast Sea Forbidden Zone, the remaining land along the edge between the Beast Sea Forbidden Zone and the land is called the Landing Zone. Of the remaining 29% of land, originally about 16% was habitable for humans. But now, due to the ferocious beasts, this area has sharply decreased to 5. 69%. It is called the safe zone, due to different local names. It is also referred to as paradise or gathering place, at least it has not been completely occupied by ferocious beasts and is still livable. The area between the safe zone and the landing zone, with the half closer to the safe zone named the buffer zone, has a lower density of ferocious beasts, while the half closer to the landing zone is the so-called outer battlefield. It is planned to be called, cultural defense zone. This is the defense zone of human civilization outside the safe zone. The final remaining 13% is collectively referred to as the absolute beast domain, simply because those areas have never been suitable for human survival. After the arrival of life devouring, the animals that originally lived in those areas naturally became stronger in the process of survival of the fittest. How strong? At least in the previous life, Chen Chen had never heard of anyone who could survive after entering those areas. Beast Sea Forbidden Zone, Landing Zone, Cultural Defense Zone, Buffer Zone, Safe Zone, Absolute Beast Domain. This is the current overview of the Earth's server map, downstream of the Great River, eastward. The seven-member team led by Chen Chen rode in a Wuling Xinche, charging out of the defense zone of Jilong City, completely ignoring the earlier buffer zone, and heading straight for the cultural defense zone by the sea. This is one of the outer battlefields, the Jiangdong Battlefield. At the river's mouth downstream, it has become a place rarely visited by humans. With only occasional small-scale exploration teams appearing, and few crowds. Those small-scale exploration teams are the few who were left behind in the outer battlefield after Life Devouring arrived and did not retreat in time to regroup with the main forces. Because they are few in number and have smaller targets, they can maneuver better with the ferocious beasts, resulting in a higher survival rate. The seven-member team set out in the afternoon and arrived at the edge of the Jiangdong battlefield around 4 o'clock, following the remaining road. It wasn't that they didn't continue deeper. It's just, they ran out of fuel. Be careful. Those beasts have already noticed us and are closing in. 
Sheng Tianxiang in the back seat suddenly spoke up. After changing to the mage class, his mental attributes had increased, making his perception more acute. Chen Shen was not surprised, this was not the dense forest of the buffer zone outside the Vlongxi defense zone from that day, but a real outer battlefield. What are you afraid of? Every encounter is experience. Get out of the car. Right. Let's take them down. Hao Chen laughed heartily, he was still on the warrior class transfer mission, more eager than anyone else. The ferocious beasts living in the outer battlefield are far more bloodthirsty and frenzied than those in the buffer zone. Their hunting grounds include not only humans but also other ferocious beasts on their menu, and slaughter happens every moment. For them, humans equal rare tender meat. Seven people stepped down from the Wuling Shinche, and Chen Chen reached out to pat one of them, saying, whose space ring still has room? Put the car away. This broken car is out of gas, what do you want to do with it? The one who spoke was Shi Xiaoyu. Although she seemed puzzled, her body was honest, with a slight wave of her hand. She stored the car away. Her space ring was of the yellow grade, which was quite a rarity at this stage. Yellow grade space ring, a cube with a side length of 10 meters, the outer battlefield has everything, including gasoline. Chen Chen replied, unless you can accept relying entirely on your legs when we need to hurry later, we have to keep this car. While the two were talking, a small group of ferocious beasts had already crawled up to the team, just 10 meters away. Be careful. Tang Bei raised his sniper rifle and said indifferently, It's a saber-toothed shark crocodile, a mutated hybrid. Sheng Tianxian took out the large sword from his back, a surge of spiritual power already faintly circulating. This guy really has chosen the path of the demon sword master. As for that surge of spiritual power, it was a basic skill after transferring to mage, just like Chin Chen's penetrator. Mage is a spirit liberator, and the effect is quite simple no matter what weapon is used. Even fists, spiritual power can be released as an attack method. To put it simply, it's magic damage with a basic attack. Of course, the damage will have a certain amplification. Don't be fooled by the fact that the effect isn't as good as penetrator, the requirements for penetrator are not low. Not everyone has the means to easily penetrate a target. You know? Back to the point. The group of saber-toothed shark crocodiles targeting Chen Chen's group numbered 13, and due to a layer of camouflaged scales on their backs, they were hard to spot while crawling slowly. However, their signature low, rumbling sound of Hu, Lu, was in stark contrast to their stealth. Not enough to share, let's see your speed. Just as he finished speaking, Chen Chen was quick to react, shooting a beast tooth projectile forward, which accurately pierced through the back of a saber-toothed shark crocodile's skull. Connecting to the spine. Critical weakness. Defense broken. Minus 4498. Penetrate. Minus 674. Kill. Experience plus 40. EXP asterisk 2. Three lines of text popped up in succession. And the group of the saber-toothed shark crocodiles became agitated. The death of their kin made them realize that this group of tender meat was not easy to deal with. Damn. Brother Chuan. You caught me off guard. Dongfan Yen Yen couldn't help but complain upon seeing this, and without caring much, he stepped forward with his sword, his lower body bulging with rugged muscle lines. The next moment, he dashed out a phantom, phantom three swords. First, it wasn't that he was anxious, it was just that the rest of the team had already started killing. Despite the scales of the saber-toothed shark crocodile, it was a power-type beast, it had some defense but wasn't particularly high and it was also a corresponding beast for the warrior class transfer mission. Dongfan Yenyan hadn't completed his transfer yet. Second. Third. With three strikes, the tail of a saber-toothed shark crocodile snapped in response. And the next moment, the large sword plunged fiercely into its neck. Kill. Experience plus 36. EXP asterisk 2. The level of the saber-toothed shark crocodile that Dongfan Yenyan killed was one level lower than his, so the experience value was reduced by 10% resulting in only 18 points. Seeing this scene, Chen Chen chuckled. It's just a low-level beast on the outskirts of the battlefield, killing it doesn't yield much experience. Sleeve cannon, flame explosion, kill, experience plus 80. East flame flame, damn. If you don't have much experience, then don't kill him. Brother Chuan, leave him for me, okay? Even a mosquito's leg is still meat. Oh underscore underscore, big flame is dejected. No longer wanting to argue. Not long after, all 13 crocodiles were killed, and everyone had expressions of having held back, except for Chen Chen, who was resting his chin on his hand. 
My damage is still not high enough. I need to get a skill. Skill? Taui asked from the side. How do you get it? Simple. As soon as Chen Shen finished speaking, a premium yellow roulette appeared in his hand. Undoubtedly the reward given by the system for achieving the hidden achievement facilitator. The premium roulette produced by the system is of higher quality than the normal excellent drops. There are 10 options. All positive. Are you going to draw a prize? Shi Xiaoyu suddenly leaned over, her gaze instinctively glancing at the prizes on the roulette. You mean, all 10 are good? Taui, no way? Tang Bei, what are they? The others, hearing this, couldn't help but gather around. But even if all 10 are good, the chance of drawing a skill from it isn't high, right? Look at that proportion. It's less than 3%, the smallest piece. Sheng Tianxian pointed to a certain prize on the roulette and said, However, Hao Chen waved his hand and said, Hey, it's just a 10-year lifespan. There are no trash prizes. It's good to draw for fun. He felt a bit sour saying this. But at this moment, the young man had already raised the roulette in his hand and lightly shouted, Draw. With the apocalypse looming, human hearts are hard to gauge since good things have been brought out. They shouldn't be kept for too long. As the saying goes, a long night brings many dreams. The next moment, a heavenly sound rang out. Please specify the prize you want. 1. Yellow lifespan elixir asterisk 1 foot 2. Lord level fierce beast asterisk devouring purple python level 7. 3. Bone sculpting flower asterisk 3 foot 4. Condensed light moon concealment Tian Quan Ver. Minus 1 seventh static figurine 5. Spirit driven swift boots asterisk 1 pair 6. All attributes plus 50, 8 hours, 7. Strength, speed plus 30, 12 hours, 8. Existing skill level plus 1, random 1, 9. Directly master a new skill corresponding to a profession 10. 10 barrels of gasoline, 1 ton slash barrel. The rewards from the roulette vary by level, and their value corresponds to the current stage. Among the 10 rewards, the one that provides the greatest boost for Chen Chen is undoubtedly 6, but in the long run, it must be 9. So, there's no need to hesitate. 9. He responded in his heart. The next moment. Congratulations on winning. Master a new skill. Delayed spirit explosion. Delayed spirit explosion. Attachment skill. You can add delayed spirit explosion to ranged physical attacks such as bows, crossbows, and thrown objects. Effect analysis. After adding delayed spirit explosion, the ranged object will produce a spirit explosion within 1 to 3 seconds after hitting the target. Dealing three times the damage of the caster's strength attribute, skill consumes spirit power. Each addition consumes 50 points of spirit power from the caster. Skill cooldown time, 3, 7 seconds. As soon as the skill attribute panel appeared, the young man's mind was once again. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can additionally choose one item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. He he, as expected, the smallest area is the grand prize right? Chen Chen quickly checked. 1. Yellow level dark attribute material asterisk 10 foot 2. Ancient tang knife asterisk sharp edge 3. Satiety pill asterisk 30 grains slash bottle 4. All attributes plus 20, 3 days, 5. Designate a skill proficiency increase of 50% as the 5 rewards appeared. Chen Chen immediately ruled out the first 3 options. The dark attribute materials were not useful at this stage. He wasn't skilled with swords and he didn't need the satiety pill. 4 and 5. A choice between the two. Before making a selection, Chen Chen waved his hand to check the proficiency of the skills he had mastered. Penetrator LV2, 11. 31%. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder LV1, 57. 7%. Delayed Spirit Explosion LV1, 0. 0%. An increase of 50% proficiency would only be enough to raise Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder to LV2 which wasn't very rewarding, right now. The short-term attributes were actually better. I'll choose 4. Reward has been issued. 20 points of all attributes surged into his body, and Chen Chen immediately felt a sense of spiritual elevation. He he, not bad luck. I drew it. Wow, really drew it? Sheng Tianxiang beside him couldn't help but exclaim. Just that little bit. Are you kidding me? Of course not. As the voice fell. Chen Chen directly pulled back the slingshot and aimed at the corpse of the saber-toothed shark crocodile 10 meters away, using just an ordinary pebble. Just as the others were curious about his actions, a pong explosion immediately drew everyone's attention. Oh my! Where did that come from? Boom! Exploded? What the hell? An internal explosion? 
The boy retracted the slingshot in his hand and said, Just a small trick. Nothing to mention. Everyone, underscore. Hey, wait for me. Ignoring the reactions of others, Chin Chen took out a premium yellow roulette again, raised it to take a look. Hee <laughs> hee, this is also good. It has a movement skill. This time, it was how Chen's turn to be curious. But just as he leaned over to take a look, goodness, that's less than 1% of the area. How could it possibly be drawn? How would you know if you don't try? What if you're lucky? Chen Chen replied with a smile, then raised the roulette and lightly shouted, Drawl, please specify the price you want. 1. 99 gasoline 5000 liters 2. Lamborghini Supercar 1, Rivuelto, 3. Choose 1 Mastered Skill LV plus 1 foot 4. Oh, 999 Pure Gold Watch 1 foot 5. Movement Skill, Light Pursuing Thunder Shadow Step 6. Purple Space Ring, A equals 30 meters, 7. White Longevity Pill Asterisk 15 foot 8. Experience plus 5000 points 9. Random Skill Proficiency Increase of 95% 10. Hidden, Other Dimensional Made Asterisk Rem, 1 7th Fragments, among the 10 prizes this time. Chen Chen was actually most interested in 10, because he had never heard of it. And it was actually a hidden prize? Although the Devouring Life event had devastated human civilization, it had only been a month, and the crystallization of human civilization had not yet been lost in the long river of history. Who was Rem? Chen Chen certainly knew. That was a character from a virtual work. What would happen if he collected all the fragments? Could it be that seven Rem fragments could summon little Rem? Degree you degree, looking forward to it moreover. The area on the roulette was only about zero. 3%, the smallest piece, undoubtedly the grand prize, but, I choose 5, even though 5 was not the smallest grand prize, Chen Chen chose it, because it was the most beneficial, as for Ram and Ram, he would consider that after his abilities had completely risen, since the roulette had already appeared, it meant there would definitely be more in the future, congratulations on winning, mastered new skill, light pursuing thunder shadow step, chasing light and thunder shadow step, a technique of body movement and footwork, chasing that light, leaving only the shadow, moving along the light, swift as thunder, effect analysis, you can exert all your speed attributes and stack damage for the next attack. For every thousand meters moved using this technique, you can stack 50% lightning attribute damage for the next attack, this doubles in a lightning environment, thunder shadow instant movement, activate your own lightning spiritual power to communicate with the outside world. Allowing you to set up a lightning channel for a position teleportation, maximum distance of 300 meters. Requiring a one-time consumption of 30% of spiritual power. No cooldown, skill consumes spiritual power. Maintaining the movement technique requires 3 points of spiritual power per second. Skill cooldown time, 75 seconds cooldown after deactivating the movement technique. So, what did you draw? Seeing Chen Shen had been stunned in place for a few seconds. Hao Chen quickly asked. Not bad. I drew it. Hearing the boy's words, everyone's expressions seemed to say, can you be any calmer? That's the grand prize. The grand prize. To them, the difference between the 1% of option 5 and the 0, 3% of option 10 didn't seem significant. Whether or not they could see the specific rewards above was irrelevant. Anyway, they wouldn't draw anything. Alright, next one. Wow, you're still drawing? The system gave me 3 pieces. Should I just let them go stale? The crowd was speechless, but they could understand, if they had three of those wheels, they wouldn't be able to resist either. But let's be honest, couldn't you draw quietly? You have to show off in public, right? Chen Chen chuckled, having obtained attack skills, movement skills, and temporary attributes from the first two wheels. The only thing left to enhance combat power was, please specify the price you want. 1. Yunnan Biao Compound Acetate Dexamethasone Ointment Asterisk 10 Tubes Slash 1 Box 2 Kong Shuifu Old Flem Sauerkraut Beef Noodles Asterisk 1 Box 3 Level up by 1 inch 10 Purple Longevity Pill Asterisk 1 Piece Unfortunately, there wasn't any good stuff here, but Chen Chen wasn't discouraged, after all, not every wheel would have good things, yet he still chose to draw, even if the gain wasn't much, it was definitely not a loss. 10 The best reward was undoubtedly this Purple Longevity Pill. Congratulations on winning! Purple Longevity Pill Asterisk 1 Piece Purple Longevity Pill, a flawless longevity pill produced by the wheel, taking it can directly increase lifespan by 1000 years, level requirement, level 0. Crafting process, purple, flawless. Don't be fooled by the big number of a thousand years, think about it. 
In his past life, Chen Chen had a lifespan of a million years, so this mere thousand years really couldn't stir any waves in his heart. Indeed, one cannot always have good luck. Looking at the suddenly appeared purple longevity pill in Chen Chen's hand and hearing his words, everyone present fell silent. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can additionally choose one item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. The purple longevity pill, as the grand prize, naturally triggered the hidden reward 1. Heroic Soul Jade Ring Huang Zhong, accessory, ring, used for archery. Worn on the right thumb to hook the string, 2. Thunderbolt Shells Asterisk 10 Rounds 3. Strength plus 30, 7 days, 4. Yellow Longevity Pill Recipe 5. Secondary Profession Card Asterisk Alchemist When the 5 rewards appeared before him, even Chen Chen was momentarily stunned, compared to this, he would have preferred a straightforward 5 choice option. Okay? However, among these 5, 1, 2, and 5 were all great. 1 is obviously equipment, and it is currently the most useful thing for him, capable of directly enhancing combat power. 2 is a special bullet infused with the power of natural thunder, and it's produced by the roulette. If special bullets can be refined, the system will certainly have them, and they will be even more powerful. 5 goes without saying, if considering the long term, it must be 5, as the identity of an alchemist is essential for him. 3 choices, and he doesn't want to give up any of them. Damn, can't they be separated? Do they have to be taken together? Chen Shen shouted in his heart. It was tormenting, too tormenting. At this moment, because of his hesitation, the rest of the team thought he was feeling down and began to tease him. No, this is the purple longevity pill. Purple. Hao Chen had a look that said he didn't want it, almost reaching out to snatch it. Xuan Gu, you're being a bit excessive, isn't that right? Not satisfied with the purple longevity pill? A cultivator has to live a thousand years. But first, they need to refine a stone. Sai, Taoi, Shang Tian Xiang, and Tang Bei expressed their opinions one after another. Then Shi Xiaoyu rolled her eyes directly. This isn't the first time he's been so pretentious. Just get used to it, I agree, Dong Fang Yin Yin foolishly chimed in. Chen Shen twitched the corner of his mouth, you guys don't understand a thing, some things, you will never understand. Just then, as the boy's complaints fell, you can pay 66 years of lifespan to choose two hidden rewards, or pay 666 years of lifespan to choose three hidden rewards. Ha, huh? there's such a thing. Chen Shen was pleasantly surprised upon hearing this, he had the ability to specify rewards and as long as he had the capital, his lifespan would only increase. So paying lifespan to get more rewards was no different from getting them for free. Thinking of this, he directly swallowed the purple longevity pill in his hand. The others could only envy him. Then, I pay 666 years of lifespan to choose rewards 1, 2, and 5. Rewards have been issued to the spatial storage equipment. Ha! It really is a life for reward situation. And it's quite humane. These three rewards are all physical items, if he could get them all out. Chen Shen was confident he could store them in his spatial ring before anyone else saw, but there would always be some movement. Once leaked, it would be a crime of possessing treasure. Among the six companions, he had no absolute trust in any of them, of course. This included Dong Fang Yen Yen. Although they were friends in a past life, who knows if sufficient benefits would bend his back. Some things are better avoided if possible. This way, he could save a lot of trouble. Sensing that three items had been added to his spatial ring, Chen Chen quickly checked the details. Heroic Soul Jade Ring Huang Zhong, a jade ring sealing a wisp of heroic soul, can be worn as a necklace or a finger ring, and wearing it grants the blessing of the heroic soul. Gaining attribute bonuses, heroic soul blessing asterisk arrow piercing the sky, activates the heroic soul and enhances oneself, increasing the power of ranged physical attacks by 23%. Damage by 233%, and adding a knockback effect, knockback, must knockback, consumption and cooldown, each activation of heroic soul, consumes 233 points of spiritual power and lasts for 23, 3 seconds, each activation requires a cooldown of 233 minutes, thunderous bolt, a special type of ammunition, a one-time consumable, it contains the natural thunder of special ammunition, usable as crossbow bolts, arrow bolts, or thrown objects, effect analysis, upon hitting any target. The natural thunder energy contained within will be instantly released, forming a temporary thunderstorm domain, where the natural thunder will automatically lock onto targets within the domain.
causing significant lightning damage, rated damage, this damage is the rated damage of natural thunder and is not affected by the caster's mental attributes, level restriction, 10, or activated with spiritual power, crafting process, purple, flawless. Secondary profession card asterisk alchemist, using this card allows direct transition to the secondary profession alchemist and grants related abilities. Level restriction, level 0. Crafting process, black, flawless. These three items, exchanged for a lifespan of 666 years, are undoubtedly worth it. Even if one were to draw normally, consuming the same lifespan might not yield the same rewards. One word, worth it. Alright, let's keep moving. Although they had been battered by Chin Chen, the team quickly tidied up the battlefield and continued along the riverbank. They were, of course, traveling at the maximum speed of 10 meters per second. No matter how high the density of beasts in this out-of-bounds battlefield was, it was impossible for every area to be filled. After all, beasts also have territorial awareness. After traveling about 3 kilometers along the riverbank, a foul fishy smell suddenly assaulted their nostrils, and on the ground, some severed limbs and broken arms were particularly nauseating. In the team, Tang Bei bent down to take a look and said, There's still warmth, it just died not long ago. Hearing this, Chen Chen suddenly thought of something. Everyone, spread out. Just as Chen Chen's voice fell, the ground beneath the seven suddenly loosened and shook. And finally, just before everyone managed to escape, boom, two sections of ground suddenly closed together like the jaws of a giant beast causing a violent tremor that made the nearby beasts quickly retreat. Because that thing, Chen Chen, now holding the mysterious corpse whispering gun, wiped the sweat from his forehead. Damn, is there really a ground maw monster in the middle and lower reaches? Good thing we ran fast. The others were still shaken, but the three who came from Jiulong City showed no surprise, because this ground maw monster was not uncommon on the Jiandong battlefield. Just like traps in the forest, it could catch you off guard. And if you couldn't dodge, forget about being minced meat, you might end up as meat paste, and everything that was smashed would become nutrients for this ground maw monster. But ultimately, this thing is not a type of beast, it is controlled by another existence that governs the ground. Everyone, clear out, Sima Dongshi. Dare to scare my father? Sleeve cannon flame explosion. The ground maw monster is actually a general term used by players for its attack method, in reality, it is a mutated lichen which is lichen that has absorbed spiritual energy, also known as spiritual plant. However, those classified as spiritual plants generally do not possess strong aggressiveness, their self-defense method often involves attracting nearby beasts to protect them. There are not many types that actively attack, and this ground maw monster is a common one in the Jiangdong region. Dense lichen spiritual plants grow a layer of protective color, blending into the environment, whether it be land, ruins, or even scattered beast bones, their roots intertwine about a foot underground, entangled with each other, allowing both male and female plants to rapidly reproduce while also digging out the ground in the area. When someone or a ferocious beast passes by, and they happen to need nutrients, these lichen spirits will quickly channel their power into their roots, generating an instantaneous elasticity that propels two pieces of ground upward. The ground that is ejected will bite down on the prey like a gaping maw smashing it into a pulp and absorbing its nutrients. The attack from start to finish will not exceed 3 seconds, so the hit rate is quite high. If it weren't for the slight tremor of the swollen roots being detected in advance, even Chen Chen would have been caught off guard. Puff! Chen Chen commanded the frog to suddenly slam down a fireball explosion, which almost instantly ignited the camouflage layer of the lichen spirit, and the flames spread out immediately. The speed was as swift as igniting oil flowing on the ground. The ground was covered with damage indicators, ready to drive anyone with a fear of clusters insane. Clearly, the number of lichen spirits was extremely, extremely high. I can't believe this. Shi Xiaoyu, who had never seen such a scene, couldn't help but exclaim, What is this thing? Just a bunch of weeds, Chen Chen said, indifferent to the scene before him. Once the flames subsided, he raised his hand again. Sleeve cannon, flame burst. Another shot. This time, the lichen spirit, the ground mouth monster, could no longer sit still. The entire piece of ground visibly bulged. And then, from the center of that area, countless brown filaments suddenly emerged. Be careful, Brother Chuan, that's its main root. Ah, just take care of yourselves and try to keep your distance. Shen Shen knew this, but hearing Tao Yi's reminder still made him feel inexplicably touched. Whether it was genuine or feigned concern, 
At least it was care, right? Most spirit plants do not move, and their attack methods are through roots, stems, and leaves, this lichen clearly falls into that category. After the boy's command, he first threw a regular stone. When battling ferocious beasts, one must always proceed with caution. No matter what means are used, one must first establish a connection with the beast to obtain its attribute panel before further strategizing, that is the best approach. Pun. The stone hit, and a chunk broke off the main root stem, with a damage indicator immediately popping up dash 830. Chen Chen's goal was naturally achieved. But, name, mimetic lichen rank, elite, mutated, level, 11 vitality, 10168 for 10998 strength, 31 spirit, 42 defense, 19 speed, 2 skills, root dance, wilderness mirage, nutrient absorption combat power, 579 over 10,000 health points, and still an elite level mutation. Tricky, but as long as we can kill this guy, the experience should be substantial. Chen Chen frowned slightly. Can we do it? He he. Why not? Hao Chun was already rubbing his hands in excitement, and as soon as he finished speaking, he directly slashed at the lichen in front of him with his sword. However, the damage that popped up next was not even close to that of the elite mimetic lichen. It was clear that only by attacking the main root could one truly harm it. This won't work? Tao Yi said upon seeing this, that's a piece of mimetic lichen. Of course it won't work. Not only won't it work, but it won't be long before they can repair themselves. On the Jiangdong battlefield, the difficulty of subduing the ground mouth monster is also the highest. Shang Tianxiang added, unless you can use ranged means to take out its main route. Hao Chen felt a bit discouraged upon hearing this. He was playing as a warrior, not to mention that his class transfer task was not yet completed. Even if it were, he would still lack ranged attack methods. Did someone mention ranged means? Chen Chen chuckled, and as he spoke, he had already raised his right hand. Bang! Ah! I haven't even fired yet? Indicator, 322. Fixed damage, minus 235. It's me. The one who spoke up was Tang Bei, but the weapon he used. Wait, is that M99? The M99, a 12, 7mm caliber semi-automatic high-precision sniper rifle, has great power, low recoil, and high shooting accuracy. If full-power ammunition is used, it can take down an enemy's head even from a kilometer away. In today's world, even non-defensive beasts below level 20 would find it hard to withstand. But there's one thing. Productivity has stagnated now. And every bullet used is one less bullet available. The leader is really generous. Ha! Huh? I'm using steel balls. Tang Bei's expression was unchanged. And the next moment he pulled the trigger again. Bang! Fixed target. Not interesting. Shen Shen twitched the corner of his mouth but instinctively drew his bow and shot, Pung. Indeed, others, you too can hit the center of the main route, and yet you complain about the target being inadequate? Can you endure? I can't. This time it was Sheng Tianxiang speaking. As soon as he finished, he turned the grip of his great sword, dragging it forward and creating sparks while releasing its sword energy. Spirit release, demon ceiling slash, minus 117, others. Such a cringy move, you one s one. It didn't even hurt me. A flurry of operations as fierce as a tiger. And then I see the damage. Chen Chen, very cool. I'm impressed. Shang Tian Xiong. Come on. You guys fight. You guys fight. Just when the others thought he was complaining. Another voice came. Anyway, I've already gained experience. He he, the four who hadn't dealt any damage. All right. All right. So that's how we're playing? Shi Xiaoyu said repeatedly. Then grabbed the very end of the rope dart spun her delicate body half a circle, and suddenly threw it, thud, minus 188, Dongfang Yen Yen, good job, little fish sister, you're just pretending, right, Tao Yi, no doubt about it, this is a bit infuriating, Hao Chen, I damn, frustrated, Hao Chen picked up a stone and threw it, but unexpectedly, the main root of the mimetic lichen suddenly shook, deflecting Shi Xiaoyu's dart tip, and a tendril smashed the stone he threw, then followed the parabolic path of the stone and struck him. Pia, when Hao Chen crawled out from a pile of rubble, his face was covered in dirt, and his indignation was impossible to hide. Why? Why did it hit me? I damn. Furious? Hao Chen even thought about charging in to battle the mimetic lichen main route for 300 rounds, but with his long sword in hand, he stopped halfway, because he suddenly realized that thing was in a fully activated state. It wouldn't need even a second to crush him. 
Charging in would just be a pure sacrifice? I'll let you off this time. Alright, stop playing. Let's fight seriously. Shen Chen took the initiative, originally just to get the attribute panel. But now that he had the data, he wouldn't hold back in the fight. The mimetic lichen had three skills, Root Whirl, Wild Confusion, and Ground Absorption. Root Whirl was clearly a physical root strike. Ground Absorption was a healing skill most spirit plants had, but only Wild Confusion. Chen Chen was a bit uncertain about. In Life Devourer, the variety of spirit plants was even greater than that of beasts, and even though he was reborn, it was impossible for him to know them all, so he could only judge that it was likely a large area influence skill. The specific effect could only be revealed when forced out. Next, delayed spirit explosion. The young man shouted softly, and from the bowstring pouch, a surge of spiritual power, like a thread, drilled in with the release of the skill. Beast Tooth Bullet. The mimetic lichen had a speed of only two points, but what it meant was its reaction speed, because this guy wouldn't move, and with only two points of reaction speed, in Chen Chen's eyes, it was equivalent to zero. A Beast Tooth Bullet. After applying delayed spirit explosion, directly crashed into the connection between the main root and the ground, and the mimetic lichen had no time to dodge. Puff, the bullet embedded itself, dealing basic physical damage first, followed by the spirit explosion a second later. Minus 830, minus 2100, delayed spirit explosion can deal three times the damage of the caster's strength attribute. Chen Chen's panel strength is 25 points with a temporary attribute increase of 20 points, and the Thundersea Spirit Bow adds 15 points, totaling 70 points of strength. The basic damage is 700, and 3 times that, 2100, he he, over 10,000 health. It's not that hard to take down. Damn! Dong Fan Yen Yen exclaimed, Brother Chuan, is this your new skill? Just as the words fell, no time to flatter. Retreat! Tang Bei, holding the M99, fired a steel ball bullet, using the recoil to instantly retreat over 10 meters, stopping only after climbing onto a high point of ruins. The others were not slow either, quickly pulling away. It turned out that after Chen Chen's delayed spirit explosion took away nearly 3,000 health from the mimetic lichen, this immobile creature seemed to go mad and grow wildly. It couldn't move, true, but it could grow? If given enough nutrients, it would only be a matter of time before it covered the entire earth. Originally. The area was about 20 meters in diameter, but now it had grown to over 30 meters. It sounds like it only grew 10 meters, 50%, but if calculated by area, that's more than double. The rapidly growing branches of the mimetic lichen, after their roots penetrated the surface, quickly absorbed spiritual energy to drive the stem deeper, like a long-awaited rain after a drought. A brief separation feels like a new marriage. Everyone wanted to dig deeper. Chen Chen finally reacted. This was probably the mimetic lichen's second skill. Wandering wilderness. Area expansion was just the first step. And at this point, there was no retreat. Attack the ground. Stop this thing from taking root. Hurry. Okay. Everyone responded in unison. Especially the three from Jiolong City, who quickly realized that if the mimetic lichen was allowed to grow and take root freely, that mouth would become too big to handle. The moment after Chin Chen's warning, he no longer held back immediately gripping a ground rift lava bomb, fully drawing his bow before shooting it downward. Minus 2073, a sea of fire erupted, and the instantaneous damage of the explosion was 10 times Chin Chen's mental attribute, he originally had 9 points, and with the temporary attribute multiplied by 10, it became 290 points. Unfortunately, the main attribute of the mimetic lichen was also mental, its original 42 points seemed to have doubled under the influence of the skill Wandering Wilderness, allowing it to withstand a significant amount of damage. Such a large amount of instantaneous damage caused the mimetic lichen to completely focus its aggro on Chen Chen, with its fine roots whipping towards him like whips. No matter how fast the boy was, he couldn't avoid being hit. However, not long after, the lava flow from the ground rift lava bomb turned many of the roots to ashes, leaving no vitality. The fire resistance of spiritual plants, except for special existences, generally does not exceed 85%. This burning was unavoidable. The minus 330 entries popped up consecutively 7 or 8 times. In the burning state, 3% of health was lost every second. And in addition, strength and speed were also reduced by 50%. Indeed, to burn grass, 
you must use fire. Not far away, Taui raised the shield he was about to smash down high, and upon seeing this scene, it was already stuck in mid-air, feeling, I always feel like we're a bit unnecessary. The knife raised by Hao Chun also stopped midway, his eyes never leaving the molten lava flowing out from the earth rift lava bomb. Stop. Don't yet. There aren't enough nests in Jiulong City. We don't even have enough for ourselves. Sheng Tianxiang hurriedly called for a stop. This is just basic practice. Sit. No. Stand properly. Dong Fan Yan Yan. What do you mean stand properly? Xuan Gu. When did you learn this move? I learned it a long time ago. Tang Bei said expressionlessly. Actually, I wanted to ask when that fireball popped out of your sleeve just now. The third person, Shi Xiaoyu, who had never seen the earth rift lava bomb, followed up, what, exactly are you? Chen Chen, I'm not a thing from the east. Ugh, you're the thing. Your whole family is a thing. I'm a thing person. Shi Xiaoyu retorted naturally, from the Suidong area. The lichen has retracted. Take advantage of now. Perhaps due to his sharpness as a sniper. Tang Bei was always the first to remind everyone of the current situation. And every time he spoke, the M99 in his hand would fire a steel ball. He was a ranged attack profession. And after changing jobs, he had a profession-specific skill called Bombardier. The fixed damage entry he had previously dealt was brought about by this exclusive skill. At this point, some might wonder, shouldn't it be Penetrator? No, Penetrator is a unique skill of the Ranger, not of ranged attack. In short, Rangers are ranged attackers, but not all ranged attackers are rangers. Seeing the mimetic lichen retreat, Shen Shen certainly wouldn't agree, this was a mutated elite monster. It was valuable, he he, want to leave? Not so easy. Special bullet, thunderlight armor piercing. G, minus 15. The thunderlight armor piercing bullet hit, and silver electricity surged through like a spear. The damage caused by the mental attribute itself wasn't high, but it had penetration. Minus 1649. Penetration damage. Once a penetrator reaches LV2, any penetration injury dealt, regardless of how thick your health is, directly takes away 15% of your health. Equal treatment. All beings are equal. After being injured again, the main root of the mimetic lichen had already dropped below 30% health, entering a critical kill threshold. The next moment, it was seen that its survival instinct exploded, and its roots danced wildly. Not only attacking Chen Shen but also stimulating some ordinary mimetic lichens to grow rapidly, wanting to block the attack like a wall. This speed was not slow, so it looked like a green wall visibly crawling up in front of them. Following that, the mimetic lichen used its third skill earth absorption, with thick roots bursting out fine threads, crazily drilling into the ground. At the same time, its health was rapidly recovering. A thousand points per second, in just three seconds. Chen Chen's previous two bullets were wasted. This thing is a bit cheating. Shi Xiaoyu frowned. Having a lot of health is one thing, but recovering so fast. Bang! A steel ball suddenly pierced through the green wall. But Tang Bei, who fired the shot, slightly shook his head. It can penetrate, but the main root has hidden. Equivalent to not hitting. Xuan Gu, what should we do? Taoyi asked. Sai. Chen Chen sighed at this moment. I originally wanted to keep a low profile but now it seems I have to show off. Hmm, ha, just as the two sounds arose, Shen Shen suddenly stomped his right foot on the ground. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder. A lightning domain with a radius of three meters suddenly unfolded with his light shout, and the part of the mimetic lichen that was just at the edge of the domain was instantly charred. He he, let you all see what it means to be a man bathed in lightning. As the words fell, the young man took out a silver spear and strolled closer to the growth area of the mimic lichen. Each time the edge of the domain touched the lichen, lightning attacks came as expected. Occasionally, a bolt of lightning would strike down, shattering the green wall formed by the lichen. Unfortunately, since most of the lichen were around levels 1 to 3, they were merely sinking experience for Chen Chen, doubling to only 6 to 18 experience points. While what he needed was experience, 4688-8000 Sai, such low-level monsters really don't give much experience. I won't waste time with you. Light Pursuit Thunder Shadow. As he spoke softly, Chen Chen directly activated his movement skill with Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder. But instead of moving inward, he, Circle Step. His original speed was 9 points, but now with temporary attributes, his movement could reach a maximum speed of 29 points, which is 29 meters per second. 
equivalent to level 11 wind force, that is to say, a typhoon. As he circled around, although he wasn't invisible, he certainly stirred up gusts of wind and thunder. The cool breeze also made people feel a bit tingly all over. I, this, is this the flash? The sudden scene left the others present in shock, as this speed was somewhat outrageous. In the early stages of Life Devourer, movement skills were already scarce, and those who could achieve speeds above 10 were as rare as stars in the sky. Anyone would be dumbfounded by Chin Chen's actions. During this time, the young man had circled around the territory of the Mimic Lichen countless times, and the lightning damage had stacked to the fifth layer. At that moment, he suddenly leaped high using his movement skill, landing and then jumping into the air, delayed spirit explosion, triple, lightning penetrating shell. Whoosh! A lightning penetrating shell mixed with silver white electric currents shot down just as the young man leaped over the green wall. The ability to extend the delayed spirit explosion to triple was a sudden idea of his. It was due to the description of skill consumption of spiritual power. Each additional layer consumes 50 points of spiritual power from the caster. It was each additional layer, not deducting once for each cast. So Chen Shen thought, could he add a few more layers to increase the power of the delayed spirit explosion? The fact proved, it was possible. As for why it was only triple, the reason was simple, he couldn't hold it anymore. After stacking to the third layer, he felt that adding another bullet would definitely explode in his hand. That would be a loss. Triple delayed spirit explosion. Combined with five layers of lightning damage in the lightning environment, domain, moon lake silver thunder, plus penetrating damage, this shot would surely shake the heavens and the earth. Zing. Though there were many details, in reality, from the moment it shot to hitting the target, it was just a fleeting instant. The next moment, minus 22, minus 830. This was just the first wave of damage in an instant, with mental damage above and physical damage below, as the base damage of the bullet hit. Because the mimic lichen had slightly higher mental attributes, the first damage wasn't very high. But, crack, a bolt of lightning exploded from the point where the bullet hit, like ripe weed ears in autumn, and in an instant, it pierced through the main root of the Mimic Lichen, stacking five layers of lightning attribute power damage, the explosive damage of triple delayed spirit explosion, and the penetrating damage of the lightning penetrating shell. Three types of damage erupted simultaneously. Minus 2768, lightning attribute explosive power damage, minus 4982, damage from triple delayed spirit explosion, penetration, minus 1650. In total, the damage had already exceeded 10,000. The absorbing ground of the Mimic Lichen did not completely restore the blood value, so the damage caused by this attack. Kill. Experience plus 4,400. Congratulations on leveling up. Level, 9. Free attribute points plus 5. At this moment, not only Chen Chen, but also others who had dealt damage to the main root of the Mimic Lichen received a portion of the experience. However, since they did not get the kill, the experience they received was only about one-tenth of Chen Chen's. Of course, the focus was not on the experience, but on, oh my, brother Chuan, Taoi raised his head, looking at the hurriedly descending Chen Chen, then at the gradually withering mimic lichen, and couldn't help but be stunned. Really? Really killed it? Although he did not receive any experience, he had seen the scene of the mimic lichen's death before. The experience has been distributed. It can't be fake. Sheng Tianxiang's face was also filled with lingering surprise. That was a mutated elite, not just an ordinary ferocious beast. Tang Bei pondered for a moment and suddenly said, One day, I will also be able to shoot and kill an elite ferocious beast with one shot. There will definitely be. Such a day. Shi Xiaoyu tilted her head slightly, her high ponytail sticking up like a silly hair, one hand on her chest and the other supporting her face. Well, very strong, and also very cool. This, Dongfang Yan Yan and Hao Chen both looked bewildered, compared to the other four. They were even more unfamiliar with Chen Chen's methods. Between the two, Dongfang Yan Yan at least knew a little, while Hao Chen was truly clueless. He he, time to wrap up. With a slightly smug sound from Chun Chen, the two finally came back to their senses. Awesome, brother Chuan, you're already this strong now? Dongfang Yan Yan, the big fool, immediately asked, how did you do it? I also want to kill an elite monster with one sword. Previously, when Chen Chen killed a ferocious beast with a slingshot, he was merely shocked. Now he had directly upgraded to admiration. Just leveling up.
practicing and practicing, and I got this strong. Faced with this question, Chen Shen simply made up an answer. Otherwise, what could he say? I'm cheating? Ha? Huh? No. Dong Fan Yen Yen clearly didn't believe it. But since Chen Shen wouldn't elaborate, she had no way to dig deeper. Leaving her standing there in a daze, wanting to say something but stopping short, the three from Jiolong City didn't find anything wrong. After all, in the few days since Chen Shen arrived in Jiolong City, he had already given them enough shocks, even if he killed a lord with a slingshot now, they wouldn't be surprised. What couldn't a man who could conjure magma lightning poison bombs do? Stop dawdling, dismember it, and then keep moving forward, there's still plenty of time for double experience. As Chen Shen spoke, he walked to the front of the main root of the mimic lichen, and with a sudden flick of the Xianhai dragon chanting spear, a jade green orb was revealed in the middle of the main root. Without a doubt, that was a spirit orb that could only be produced by mutated ferocious beasts. If it didn't meet this condition, even if a lord was killed, it wouldn't drop, but if it did meet the condition, even an ordinary ferocious beast could produce it. Besides the spirit orb, the remaining materials were also quite good, including a yellow roulette, with three options on the front, reaching the medium grade level. Shen Shen wasn't going to hog it all, but since he did the heavy lifting, the roulette naturally belonged to him, while the other materials were shared among everyone. Even the three who contributed almost nothing received a share, albeit a small one. Let's go. Keep moving forward. Not long after Chen Shen and the others left, about three to four hundred meters away from their location, a group of men finally revealed their heads. Boss. Confirmed. He is the one who has been moving for three hundred years. A yellow-haired man with a crew cut said excitedly. However, as soon as he finished speaking, the man he called boss scolded him. Nonsense. Those thirty white longevity pills are at most excellent. The kind that randomly adds life. Bad luck. In the end, it's likely just thirty years. Could it really be that bad? The guy with the yellow hair on the plane thought the boss was being a bit pessimistic, randomly adding one to nine years. How could it be that every single one is the minimum of one year? Whether it's bad luck or not, it has nothing to do with us. Mei Tianfu's tone was indifferent. After all, we're just here to scout the way. Let's report the information to the Southeast Association, at least they'll provide something ready-made. Moreover, even if you want to go solo, you should weigh your capabilities, okay? He was naturally referring to the scene not long ago when Chen Chen instantly killed the mimetic lichen. Hearing this, the guy with the yellow hair finally shivered and decided to give up. All right, Jing family's villa. A battle of offense and defense had ended several hours ago, and the Jing plaque at the entrance of the villa had been knocked to the ground, shattered into pieces. Once a dominant force known as the Tiger of South China, the Jing family had early on exited the stage due to Chen Chen's influence. Of course, they were merely a tumor of the new order, and exiting was just exiting. In the main hall of the villa, Yu Dongnan rested his chin on his hand, listening to his subordinate's report. M.M. Understood. After getting a grasp of the situation, Yu Dongnan waved his hand, signaling the subordinate to step back for the time being. Then, glancing at the distant sky, he said, Sir, you've heard the situation clearly, how do you want us to proceed? After a moment, the side door of the main hall was suddenly kicked open, what kind of broken surveillance is this? I can't even hear anything. Yu Dong Nan's mouth twitched. Ahem. It might be that there's no microphone installed, let me repeat. The man who rushed in was about 50 years old, with a neat crew cut and a few strands of silver hair, looking somewhat pretentious. Hearing Yu Dong Nan's words, the man returned to a serious expression and nodded. Next, the former highlighted the key points of what had just happened. After a while, send them to their deaths. Yu Dong Nan was momentarily stunned. Sir, what do you mean? Just as he almost thought that was indeed the implication, the middle-aged man finally added. The chairman said that guy has a strange magnetic field, your people won't fare well if they go over. That's no different from sending them to their deaths. Well, of course, it's best if they don't die, but right now we must hinder him. Once we find the reason, we can take further action, but that's not. Yu Dong Nan's next words remained unspoken, but the middle-aged man understood. As cannon fodder? That's not what I meant. All right, it's not that hidden, I'm not an idiot. The middle-aged man waved his hand and said, Aren't there still some people originally from the Jing family left? Just let them go. Yu Dong Nan hesitated but eventually nodded. Understood. Although they were originally from the Jing family, how could he be willing? 
Merging the Jing family and incorporating their people was meant to strengthen the Southeast Association, not to gather more cannon fodder. In any case, formal players are ultimately a scarce resource nowadays. There's nothing to complain about. The Sacred Beast Association will grant you everything. A lifespan of a thousand or ten thousand years is just simple. Contribute more, and a hundred thousand or a million years is not a problem. Yu Dongnan had no expression on his face, but inside he was already twitching. Is this just empty promises? He chose to rely on this so called Sacred Beast Association only because of some benefits, and also because what it offered was indeed helpful in winning people's hearts. In today's world, the value of interests in people's hearts far exceeds everything else. Interests can enhance strength, while people's hearts can solidify strength. Yes, you, gather a few brothers and head to the Jiangdong battlefield, Yu Dongnan said, calling his subordinates, to kill that 300-year-old one? Yes, Yu Dongnan pondered for a while before nodding, then waved his hand to dismiss the others. Deep down, he had already marked a cross against this holy beast society. Conclusion, not a good thing. As dusk fell, the sky turned an eerie orange-red. In the central part of the Jiangdong battlefield, after killing the mutated elite-level mimetic lichen, Chen Chen and his group ventured about 50 miles deeper into the battlefield. Although there were battles along the way, they were no longer as perilous. The deeper they went, the more elite-level beasts they encountered, which indicated one fact there were lord-level beasts nearby. Since the arrival of Life Devourer, people had figured out some of the obvious rules including the hierarchy of beasts. First, beasts are born starting from the ordinary level, then gradually advance to elite and lord levels. Only with a sufficient number of ordinary level beast groups can elite level beasts be born. Similarly, only with enough elite level beasts can lord level beasts emerge. However, there is a variable in this process, which is mutation. The conditions for mutation are not fixed, but one prerequisite is certain, a high concentration of spiritual energy. Without enough energy, how can beasts mutate? As the number of elite level beasts nearby increased, Chen Chen instinctively slowed his pace and ultimately chose to set up camp in a thicket about 5 kilometers from the river. Let's rest here tonight. Although everyone had their levels, they were far from the stage of fasting and concentrating their spirits, they still needed to eat and rest. Afterward, the orange red dusk was replaced by a deep blue, and the flames around the camp also extinguished. After all, Lighting a fire while resting in the wild is like telling the beasts, come quickly. There's fresh tender meat here. Beasts fear fire? That was a thing of the past. Let's take turns keeping watch. I'll go first. Tang Bei hammered the last rivet into the ground, then found a slightly higher spot, closed his eyes, and rested with his M99 sniper rifle in hand. Among the seven, apart from Chen Chen, he perhaps had the highest spiritual power, naturally giving him the broadest perception range. During the quiet of the night, a certain level of spiritual power could make the night watch much more effective. Okay, I'll take over after you. Tao Yi nodded, and Shang Tianxiang also took on a segment of the night watch, perhaps due to their experience as soldiers in the Nine Dragons Army before the apocalypse. The three had already gotten used to distributing the night watch tasks. The others were not shy either, quickly crawling into their sleeping bags. There was no way to separate men and women in this world. There wouldn't be any makeup removal or bathing operations in the wild, and no one could complain about the blood smell on each other. Dividing the tents would only affect the response speed in case of emergencies. Shi Xiaoyu knew this well. Inside the tent, she wrapped herself in her sleeping bag and directly squeezed herself next to Chen Chen, leaving only a width of 30 centimeters. Yet she still forced her way in. This led to what is so soft, the chest. You really say everything directly. A bit small. Shi Xiaoyu. Tao Yi took a deep breath and turned to lie on his side, facing away from Chun Chen, saying, I'm air. Shang Tianxiang, I'm grass. Hao Chen blinked, then I'm a tree. Dong Fan Yen Yen concluded, No, what are you all talking about? I don't understand anything. Can someone explain? Tao, Shang, and Hao, you're such a fool. Chen Chen, hashtag, you guys really deserve a beating, right? Just because today is the Qi Shi Festival. Doesn't mean we should treat all male-female pairs as couples or spouses. It could also be your seventh uncle's daughter's cousin's younger son and your seventh uncle's wife's son's cousin's daughter-in-law. Really? Am I ugly? As Chen Chen finished speaking, Shi Xiaoyu suddenly chimed in. Not ugly, really. The boy instinctively replied. Just a bit fishy. With blood. How can it not be fishy? Damn. 
Chen Chen was about to say something, but his brows suddenly furrowed. Air, grass, trees, and that silly one. The fierce beast is coming. Taoyi immediately stood up and walked out of the tent. Damn fierce beast, affecting my brother Chuan's work? I can't stand it. I can't stand it. What if my little brother doesn't get up in the future? Hao Chen also crawled out. Tang Bei, did you see what kind of beast it is? Demonic sound mouse. A whole swarm. Tang Bei jumped down from the tree. The M99 in his hand automatically cocked. Standing behind Taoyi, back to back. Soon, the other four also crawled out of the tent. Chen Shen took out his slingshot and aimed in one direction, be careful. There's a big one. Brother Chuan, you could actually finish the job first. Stop talking nonsense. That big guy might be a lord level. Don't let your guard down. Stay close. Don't go to open areas. The demonic sound mouse relies on numbers to overwhelm quality in the swarm, let alone lord level. There aren't many elite level ones. This means something is off. Hearing Chen Chen's words, Tao Yi also put away his expression, gripping his steel shield tightly, while his other hand held a short knife with a wide blade about two feet long. The shield soldier is not just for defense, counterattacking is the mainstream. It's coming. Suddenly, Tang Bei's voice came from beside Chen Chen. The next moment, a deafening tremor sound instantly howled. The sound was like the overwhelming decibel blast of a plane taking off, making one feel as if their brain was turned into a mush. Even their vision blurred a bit. Clearly, the demonic sound mice hadn't arrived yet, but the attack had already reached. At this moment, Tao Yi, Shang Tianxiang shouted loudly against the demonic sound. Upon hearing this shout, Tao Yi seemed to instantly understand the former's intention, and he thrust his steel shield fiercely into the ground shouting, Guardian, Guardian, LV1, exclusive skill of Shield Soldier, you can condense spiritual power to set up a Guardian domain. During this time, your defense value increases by 300%, consuming 1 per thousand of spiritual power per second, selfless Guardian, when your health value greater than 35%. You can activate this skill to attract all attacks within a 3 meter radius to yourself, spiritual power cost, 100 points, skill cooldown, 12 minutes after Guardian is released. Selfless Guardian has no cooldown. Selfless Guardian. As Taui shouted this, everyone instantly felt their ears clear, but the former's mouth and nose suddenly exploded with blood. But Sheng Tianxian was not slow either. And in an instant, he inserted a thick, finger-sized black incense stick right in front of the team and lit it. The next moment, a light black shield suddenly opened up, and Taui quickly cancelled Selfless Guardian wiping away the blood from his mouth and nose. Damn, Angel, your reaction was zero. Three seconds slower than last time. You almost killed me. Angel, Sheng Tianxian's nickname during the Jolong army. If you call me Angel again, do you believe I'll be zero? Two seconds slower next time? In the previous chapter, I wrote it too hastily. It was a nickname, not a code name. And I've corrected it QAQ. Damn, Brother Xiang, Dad Xiang, was it wrong? Taui couldn't help but twitch his mouth, this was already the third time the two had cooperated like this since entering the Zhangdong battlefield. To put it simply, Taui drew the damage while Shang Tianxian used Black Guardian to create a shield. Ink Color Guardian, a specially made incense. A one-time consumable, a defensive incense that, when ignited, will create a circular shield with a radius of 5 meters centered on the incense. Effect Analysis, the shield has 30, 000 health points and spiritual power can be output from within the shield to restore its health, if the shield breaks, it will deal 1, 000 fixed damage to all individuals within 1 meter of the edge, level restriction, level 7 to 15, crafting quality, yellow, excellent, the crafting quality of an item depends on the base materials and the creator, even the roughest craftsmanship will not lower the quality of the base materials, at a glance, but excellent quality indicates that this item was undoubtedly created by Chen Chen, it is also present in the roulette. But if it came from the roulette, how could it be excellent? As soon as the shallow ink colored shield appeared, the surrounding sound waves immediately quieted down. But the health value of the shield continued to decrease, losing about 50 points per second. At this rate, it can only last for 10 minutes at most? How big of a rat swarm is this? Sheng Tianxian pressed his hand against the shield, frowning slightly. After this operation, the magic sound rat swarm had already appeared before everyone. What are you afraid of? The ink color guardian is more than enough. Chen Chen stepped forward and said, The urgent task is to find the biggest one, if we don't kill it, 
This rat swarm won't disperse, the lowest level of the rats forming the swarm, the magic sound rats, couldn't possibly be high level, and they might not even have levels, at that level, they simply couldn't be killed off completely, how many rats could there be in a single swarm, no one had ever counted because it was impossible to keep track, a hundred thousand, no, it could be a million or even ten million, after transforming into the ferocious beast magic sound rat, their reproductive ability had long been enhanced. Indeed, these magic sound rats were transformed from the brown rats that once infested every corner of the earth, the kind that everyone would have one or two of in their homes. The pests before the apocalypse would only become worse after the arrival of devouring life. How do we find it? The speaker was Tang Bei. If he could see, he wouldn't be so passive. The power of the M99 was great, and his steel balls combined with the bombardier skill enhancement dealt considerable damage. But facing such a large group of ferocious beasts without being able to find the leader, he was a bit dumbfounded. Simple. This time it was Chin Shen who spoke, heard them, and the biggest one will come out. As soon as he finished speaking, he raised his right hand. Hey, are we starting? Taui wiped the bloodstains from his face, and the emotion in his eyes turned to admiration. The next moment, sleeve cannon, flame explosion, a fireball with a radius of nearly one. Five meters was launched from Chun Chen's hand, creating a gap in the swarm of magic sound rats. However, this gap was quickly filled by the subsequent surge of magic sound rats. The situation did not change because of that one fireball. Looks like we need to step it up. Ha, huh? frog? The boy communicated with the frog in his sleeve, and the latter immediately responded. I've been ready for a long time hearing this. Chen Chen smirked and said, Tian Xiang, keep charging the shield. I need to give this big rat swarm some heavy medicine. Got it. Immediately, the boy made an exaggerated pulling the pin gesture with his right hand, leaving Tang Bei, the one who actually had a gun, dumbfounded, sleeve cannon, gatling mode. Then, his right foot crackled with lightning, jumping five meters high, while his left foot released another bolt of lightning straight down to the ground, using the downward force to hover in the air. Undoubtedly, this was the light pursuing thunder shadow step just used differently. Most skills in Devouring Life didn't specify how you had to use them, once mastered. It didn't matter how you wanted to use them. Then, Chen Chen raised his hand downward, flame explosion. A massive fireball thundered down. Chain water bombs. Pun, pun, pun. One water bomb after another slammed against the edge of the lightning-colored shield. And finally, water giant cannon. Pun. Sand rain descends. Sandstorm burial. Sleeve cannon version, the dust burial scattered in sectors, and because it fell from the sky, the coverage area was far greater than if thrown from the ground. These sands also caused damage, enough to instantly kill some magic sound mice that had no levels. Then, wind pressure cannon. A wind cannon struck the ground, followed by a surge of wind pressure, sending hundreds of magic sound mice flying, the scene far more exaggerated than launching from flat ground. Electromagnetic thunderstorm. As the voice fell, a chain of lightning surged from the boy's sleeve, which he then pulled, wrapping around the lightning-colored shield. Spinning burst. This skill undoubtedly came from the frog's never-before-seen ability, swaying lightning. But that didn't mean Chen Chen hadn't practiced it specifically. Swaying lightning, LV1, condenses lightning elemental energy to generate a lightning chain with an infinite straight-line distance, which can be pulled and dragged, causing damage to individuals swept by the chain, effect analysis, the effective attack range of the lightning chain is 15 meters, with attack damage being 4, 5 times the caster's mental attribute, beyond 15 meters. It can only cause a brief paralysis effect, skill spirit power consumption, 30 points per second, skill cooldown time, 12 seconds after release. Although it could be used continuously, Chen Shen didn't do so, he simply spun around before switching to another move ice spike array fall. The boy's right hand flicked sideways, and at that moment, an ice spike fell into the group of magic sound mice, sending a wave of them flying and freezing nearby individuals into ice sculptures. Ice spike array fall originated from the frog's basic ice attribute skill, ice spike fall. Ice spike fall, LV1, communicates with the water elemental energy between heaven and earth and cools it down to generate an ice spike, which then falls forward, effect analysis. Individuals hit will suffer explosion damage from the ice spike, which is three times the caster's mental attribute and the explosion will create an ice attribute shockwave with a radius of 3 meters. Individuals affected by the shockwave will take half the explosion damage and enter a frozen state, 
lasting 5 seconds, frozen, unable to act. Defense decreases by 15% after release, skill spirit power consumption, 285 points, skill cooldown time, 11. 6 seconds. Wow. Are you serious? Shang Tian Xiang, who was continuously charging the ink shield, was completely stunned. Why not? Become a mage? He he, it's not over yet. In midair, Chen Shen had just finished speaking when he spread his fingers again. Flame explosion. Fog day. Is the cooldown over? Brothers, we can start mourning for the magic sound mice. I feel like Brother Chuan won't stop, Tao Yi said, smirking while looking on with admiration. Although this wasn't a special bullet, it didn't affect his admiration at all but did the situation on site really need him to say anything? Chen Shen maintained his footing with a lightning light, and every time he raised his hand, a skill was unleashed, perhaps it wasn't as exaggerated as a Gatling gun's da 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 da, but in terms of rate of fire, this was definitely fast in terms of skills, by utilizing the differing cooldown times of each skill, he alternated their use, and after finishing one skill, a new one would be ready to connect, the speed at which the magic sound mice replenished gradually couldn't keep up with his killing speed, this truly achieved the feat of one person holding up an entire swarm of mice. My god, what a beast. Sheng Tianxiang sighed repeatedly while pressing the shield, suddenly feeling that he was nothing but a joke as a mage, right? He couldn't even compare to a damn ranger. Although he knew Chen Shen was outrageous, it was only today, at this moment, that he truly realized what outrageous meant. Hearing this, Hao Chen couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth, if that's the case then we are even worse than beasts, ha? Huh? However, while the two were talking, Chen Shen in midair suddenly stopped the lightning beneath his feet and plummeted down. Get ready, everyone, hold on tight. Upon hearing this, Tao Yi immediately gripped his steel shield. Want to move? Relocating to Anhui province? Your body might not make it, but I can consider helping with your head. Just as the words left his mouth, do you want to see how big that guy really is first? Tang Bei put down his sniper rifle, his face showing a hint of excitement, and at that moment, he grabbed a new magazine and loaded it with a click. Chen Shen smiled at this, didn't you say you wanted to collect it? This new magazine was equipped for the M99, but the ammunition inside came from Chun Shen's hands. Throughout their journey, they had killed quite a few ferocious beasts and passed through several safe zones, and Chen Shen took advantage of those gaps to replenish the special ammunition he had consumed and crafted some new toys. Among them was the previous Ink Guardian. I decided to follow you with Mao Tao, from now on. You are my ammo depot. Mao Tao, Tao Yi's code name, you really are not polite. Ha! Huh? Chen Chen laughed and scolded. But it doesn't matter. It's just a convenient thing. Tang Bei's words didn't make Chen Chen particularly happy. But if this could earn him someone's loyalty, that wouldn't be bad. Provided it was genuine loyalty, his trust in anyone right now was far from full. Even for Dong Fan Yen Yen. In his past life, he didn't trust others too much because of his relationship with the Lu family and his backstabbing sister. Despite having the ability of an alchemist, he didn't recruit followers. As a result, he was later surrounded and killed by the Lu family. In this life, he didn't want to make the same mistake again. Here they come. With his thoughts reaching this point, Tang Bei suddenly shouted, Tian Xiang, withdraw your spiritual power output, the rest is just a tug of war with the Lord. If we can't kill that big one, all the effort tonight will be in vain. Okay. Sheng Tianxiang responded and also lowered his hand. In fact, even if Chen Shen hadn't said anything, his remaining spiritual power wouldn't last much longer. He then tossed a pill for recovering spiritual power into his mouth. Heavenly Soul Rainy Extract, an essence liquid made from the essence of Heavenly Soul Rainy, which restores 30% of spiritual power per second for 3 seconds after consumption, level restriction, usable below level 10, crafting quality, yellow, excellent. Undoubtedly, this was also Chen Shen's masterpiece. The cool medicinal liquid entered his stomach, and Shang Tianxian's nearly empty blue bar instantly overflowed. The recovery of spiritual power even restored some of his mental state. Even the fatigue of the entire day vanished. Spiritual power was inherently related to mental state. So the recovery of spiritual power naturally equated to the recovery of mental state. And vice versa. MMM. Refreshing. By the way. Xuan Gu. Do you still need a thigh pendant? Chen Chen laughed. The thigh is just filled up. But there's still room on the calf. Are you coming or not? I'm coming. Definitely coming. As he spoke. Tang Bei suddenly pulled the trigger. 
and the muzzle of the M99 erupted with a blazing flame, even the barrel turned slightly red. However, after all, it was a product of postmodern technology, so it wouldn't completely melt. In the next moment, the pitch black night was also ignited with a blazing red. What the hell? Tang Bei, who had just fired, was surprised himself. Is this what it feels like to shoot out a stream of lava? Xuan Gu, you're my god from now on. Ha ha ha. The usually taciturn Tang Bei was so excited by this scene that he forgot his usual aloofness. His shot of lava hit the target perfectly, the demonic sound Mouse King. There was no doubt that this was concocted by Qin Shen, with materials identical to the earthquake lava bomb, but in liquid form, contained in a shell designed for M99 bullets. Normally, it wouldn't be possible to load it. However, after passing through the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace, it was maintained in a special stable state, only exploding completely within seconds of the shell experiencing a violent impact. This timing was just right for a sniper rifle to fire. Chen Chen smiled slightly at this but quickly reminded, Don't get too excited, the demonic sound Mouse King is coming. Really? One peanut can't fill it up, right? After saying this, Tang Bei fired the M99 again, but this time, the lava exploded among the mouse swarm, leaving an irregular area with edges 2 to 3 meters long. This was the flaw after being made into a bullet, it might explode before hitting the target, after all, it was a makeshift creation. How could it be perfect? Tang Bei's gaze sharpened as he rested his chin on his hand, deep in thought. In comparison, your peanut is too small, let me feed it a big one. As he spoke, the slingshot in Chen Chen's hand also snapped, and due to the superior materials, its lethality was no less than that of the M99. At short distances, the initial speed of the explosive shot was already approaching. Pun. The familiar sound of the explosive shot erupted in everyone's ears, and the next moment, a lava field several times more intense than Tang Bei's suddenly took shape. This shot of the earthquake lava bomb hit the demonic sound Mouse King right in the chest. Minus 6430. Burn damage. Burn damage. Minus 596. The instantaneous damage of this bullet was 10 times Chen Chen's mental attribute. Of course, it couldn't maintain that level throughout, only at the moment of explosion, and only at the center. But that was already enough to be outrageous. Xuan Gu, you call this a peanut? More like roasted chestnuts. There's no time for you to be shocked. This big rat still has over 10,000 health left. Let's go all out. Upon hearing this, Everyone quickly nodded, and the health deducted from the demonic sound Mouse King's burn damage state could also be calculated. Burn damage reduces health by 3% per second. Strength and speed reduced to 50%. I'll put the attribute panel in the team frequency. The one speaking was Tang Bei, he had taken down the demonic sound Mouse King's first health, so he naturally had the panel. Name, demonic sound Mouse King rank, lord level, 12 health, 12, 743 slash 19. 887 strength, 57 mental, 69 defense, 41 speed, 19 skills, mouse swarm commander, demonic sound shockwave combat power, 1128, he he, only 2 skills, just a bit thick skinned, let's take it down, Houchin saw the scene and immediately brandished his long knife, he had no ranged skills and could only fight in close combat, aiming to secure assist points for experience, since setting out, he had gained the least experience. Chen Shen was already close to level 10, and the highest, Shang Tian Xiang, was now level 12, while he was still at level 7. Once, he was one of the highest level individuals in the Junjiang defense zone. Of course, going back now would still be, just because people make others feel inferior. However, as he charged out, hey, don't be impulsive. Tao Yi wanted to stop him but couldn't, only able to watch as Hao Chun was slapped back into the Ink Guardian by a massive black hand. Suffering a near fatal blow. Ugh, cough, cough, cough. Coughing up a mouthful of black blood. He stared wide eyed. What the hell? Doesn't it only have two skills? Yeah, just two. Then what about this? The first skill. Swarm Commander. Taui spread his hands. What's the problem? It's, 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 it can control so many magic sound mice. Hit me. Just say it doesn't have a commander. How Chun. Damn it. Chen Chen also looked helpless saying, using skills, trying to fight the lord with basic attacks, do you think you're a bald caped hero? Ah, uh, Hao Chun felt a bit embarrassed at the remark, but he had to admit, he was a bit reckless, cough, got it, but my skills are also close range, can you guys create some opportunities for me? As soon as he finished speaking, Chen Chen sensed something was off, 
Was it because he couldn't save face and felt a bit resentful? This Hao Chun, no problem, Dong Fang Yen Yen, however, didn't catch on, swinging the great sword in his hand and responding, then charged out, because the magic sound Mouse King had already taken the initiative to attack. It wouldn't just stand there waiting for Qin Shen and the others to come up with a strategy, it knew that the strength of Ink Guardian was weakening. Moreover, Chen Shen had caused it significant losses. The casualties from that wave of Gatling bombardment meant the mouse swarm would need at least 10 days of relentless breeding to replenish, and the food required was astronomical. The territory they had painstakingly occupied could very well change hands because of this. This grudge, it wouldn't be satisfied until it was avenged. Phantom Three Swords, Dong Fang Yen Yen, charging out, gripped the sword hilt tightly, and after a short shout, his figure vanished from the spot, as if he had truly become a phantom. Whoosh. First, the first sword, the voice long and distant. Second, the second sword, the voice loud and near. Third, the third sword, the voice heavy and crashing to the ground. In the end, three sword marks were etched onto the magic sound Mouse King, it was utterly unable to dodge such rapid slashes. Dongfang Yen Yen's phantom three swords had been honed continuously, reaching the critical point of leveling up from LV2 to LV3, originally a relatively fast positional slash. It now incorporated certain movement techniques. Otherwise, that moment of swift disappearance would have been impossible. After Dongfang Yen Yen, Tao Yi, who was also skilled in close combat, readied himself, lifting his steel shield and crashing through several obstructing magic sound mice, finally leaping in front of the magic sound mouse king. Heavy shield 3000 pound charge. 3000 pounds. Over 2720 gene. 1. 3 tons equivalent to two chopped pepper fish heads stacked on top of each other. Not too precise, just providing a range for imagination, the magic sound Mouse King wanted to dodge. But at that moment, the two sides were locked down by others, leaving it no choice but to endure this blow. The heavy shield charge was the attack method of the shield soldier. Focusing on battle shield and defensive shield, the former emphasized strength, the latter emphasized defense, boom. The magic sound Mouse King directly took Tao Yi's shield with its head but it didn't immediately back down, instead, it stood its ground. Seeing this scene, Shi Xiaoyu and Shang Tianxiang, who had locked down the sides of the Mouse King, moved simultaneously. Shadowless Trace Flower Spear, the girl's delicate shout fell, and the soft spear in her hand immediately unleashed a dazzling blade shadow like flowing cherry blossoms, clearly a weapon that required a back and forth motion. In her hands it seemed as if countless darts were attacking continuously. Each head didn't deal high damage but it caused the magic sound Mouse King's health to drop rapidly. On the other side, Shang Tianxiang was also unwilling to be outdone. After changing to the mage class, his originally explored spiritual attributes have now been sublimated into spiritual power. As he twirled the hilt of his sword, streams of spiritual power surged forth. Demon Sword Thousand Punishments Hundred Flames Kill. Although he shouted it with flair, this move was actually a skill modified by Shang Tianxiang based on the spirit caller ability of the mage class. In simple terms, it was just a frenzied basic attack. However, the spirit caller was a basic skill in itself, meaning it had base damage. With 10, 100 consecutive slashes, the damage he dealt was surprisingly not much less than that of Shi Xiaoyu. Seeing everyone dealing damage, Hao Chen could no longer hold back. Swinging his long knife and charging straight towards the demon sound Mouse King. It was only when he got close that he unleashed his skill. Blade drag technique earth shattering pounce. Hao Chen dragged the long knife along the ground with his left hand until he was right in front of the Mouse King. Then took a small leap. Landing and rising like a dragon. Releasing the skill at that moment. The blade struck the demon sound Mouse King. Carving a deep gash into its front abdomen. Minus 1101. Bleeding. Bleeding. Minus 596. The damage was not low, and the bleeding effect added to the impact. Bleeding reduces 3% of health per second. Potentially fatal, however. The flaw of this move was ultimately obvious. Too close, and the windup was considerable, if not executed properly. It could easily lead to mutual destruction. At that moment, after enduring attacks from four people, the demon sound Mouse King finally squeak. The sudden sound wave cannon was deafening, instantly blasting the four surrounding it away. Demon sound shockwave cannon, have you ever seen a sound wave vehicle attacking the Hulk? Sound waves with a high enough frequency can even turn a person's brain into mush, rendering them completely foolish. 
although the four who were blasted away were not reduced to that state, they, deaf, blind, lasts for five seconds, deaf, blind, deaf, deaf. It was clear that the damage from the Mouse King's Demon Sound Shockwave Cannon was secondary, the main effects were the deafness and blindness statuses. Once afflicted with these two conditions, turning into a humanoid lobster and being thrown into a swarm of mice would lead to what kind of consequences? It hardly needed further thought. It was likely that in no time, they would be devoured by the endless horde of mice. The Demon Sound Mouse King was also preparing to do just that. The mouse swarm, which had calmed for a moment, surged again at this instant. But how could Chen Chen allow it to have its way, Domain Moon Lake Silver Thunder? A flash of lightning appeared in the boy's eyes, and immediately, a circular lightning formation with a radius of three meters unfolded beneath his feet, quickly reaching the four who had been blasted away. All the demon sound mice that approached were turned to charred remains by the flowing lightning pool. Squeak! Squeak! Upon noticing this loss, the Mouse King quickly called off the attack, locking its vengeful gaze onto Chun Chen. The next moment, with a shriek, a large number of demon sound mice gathered frantically. Just like when they had dealt with Hao Chen at the beginning, they piled up into a giant hand, poised to strike down. Hey! Chen Chen scoffed. You think you can do whatever you want with me? With that, the boy immediately took out a metal projectile from his spatial ring and shouted, Delayed Spirit Explosion Heavily Falling Heart Drill. The heavily falling heart drill with the added delayed spirit explosion struck right in the palm of the giant hand formed by countless demon sound mice before it could fall. Pun. Whom the force of the projectile hitting the target, along with the spin of the heavenly falling heart drill, instantly countered the downward force of the giant hand, even showing a tendency to push back. However, the standoff did not last long, the spinning heavenly falling heart drill exploded with a bang, because it was still spinning a second before the explosion. The range of the spirit explosion was much wider than normal, directly blowing off half of the giant hand. Boom! Minus 4. 656. Armor piercing. Instant damage caused to the magic sound mouse with a defense value of only 1, minus 4. 656. Large amounts of damage popped up, among which was a line belonging to the magic sound mouse king, minus 3. 446. Armor break. Not only that, but because a large number of low-level magic sound mice died as a result, a system prompt echoed in the boy's mind, congratulations on leveling up. Level, 10. Free attribute points plus 5. Quantity piled up to form quality, directly pushing his level past single digits. Hey, I leveled up? Looks like I killed quite a few. Chen Chen chuckled mockingly. With his previous level of 9, how much experience could he gain from killing those mostly unranked magic sound mice? In the end, even with double experience, it would only amount to single-digit points. It was entirely based on absolute numbers. Seeing that his attack failed to kill Chun Chen and instead helped him level up, the Magic Sound Mouse King was momentarily a bit broken. What does it mean to lose both the lady and the soldiers? This is it. But it was even worse for it, as it was close to dying itself. It truly illustrated what it meant to enjoy a moment of pleasure, but end up in a crematorium. Just as the assembled giant palm stabilized again, Tang Bei behind him put down his sniper rifle and said, Brother Chuan, this thing is going to run. Don't ask him why he was holding a gun, it was just to better concentrate his spirit. Your mental strength is quite high. Chen Chen was surprised to hear this. Once the mental attribute reaches a certain level, it can indeed predict the next move of a ferocious beast. So, don't underestimate spirit just because there isn't an actual increase in power. Tang Bei smiled and said, This attribute is quite good. The boy smiled without speaking further, as there was still a big rat to deal with, and the facts proved that Tang Bei was right. The reassembled magic sound mouse palm did not choose to attack but suddenly collapsed and scattered in all directions. Under the moonlight, the sky looked as if it was raining ink drops, but with the heavenly falling heart piercing bullet that had already been enhanced with delayed spiritual explosion damaging the magic sound mouse king. Chen Chen naturally pursued the victory. If a boss monster wants to escape, it's hard to keep it without some real skills. Coincidentally, Chen Chen had Thunder Shadow Instant Movement. Thunder Shadow Instant Movement, activate one's own lightning spiritual power to communicate with the outside world, allowing for the prearrangement of a lightning channel for a single position teleportation, maximum distance of 300 meters, consuming 30% of spiritual power in one go. No cooldown, Z, like a flash of lightning. The boy's figure instantly passed through the thousands of mice, reaching above where the Mouse King was, 
and with another slingshot. Special bullet, thunder light penetration. The thunder light penetration bullet could only exert one. Five times the mental attribute, which was still not enough to break through the magic sound mouse king's defense. But don't forget, the real killing point of this special bullet. No defense broken, minus one. Penetration, minus two. 983. This damage finally became the last straw that broke the camel's back. Squeak. Kill. Experience plus 22. Zero, zero, zero. At the same time, the system prompt that had just calmed down rang out again. Congratulations on leveling up. Level. 12. Free attribute points plus 30. The level surged up. And the thrill of leveling up almost made Chen Chen exclaim in delight. Over 20,000 experience points directly allowed him to level up twice. Originally. Leveling from 10 to 11 required 15, 000 experience points, but after reaching level 10, the redundant experience from killing that large batch of magic sound mice combined with this just happened to surpass the required experience. At this moment experience, 8620, 000 after level 10. Why is it so hard to level up? Because each time you level up, the experience required for the next level increases by 5, 000 points compared to the previous level. And that's not something you can just casually grind out. The difficulty of leveling up in Life Devourer is several times harder than those template MMRPGs where you can reach level 999 with a single hit. But the difficulty of leveling up has its advantages, for each level gained, the free attribute points received will be 3 times that of before, which means 15 points per level, at the same time. If you are a professional, the corresponding leading attribute will also receive an additional boost. For example, Chen Chen as a ranger, has primary strength and secondary speed. Therefore, after level 10, for each level gained, he can additionally increase his strength by 3 points and speed by 1 point. This time, leveling up twice in a row, the extra boost along with those 30 points of freedom has brought him to a new height. 18 points of strength, 8 points of spirit, 8 points of speed, 1 point of defense. That's right, defense. After level 10, even if you are not a defense type profession, you still need some defense to enhance your constitution, otherwise, in the end, some skills simply cannot be released. Attribute points added successfully. The four basic attributes of Life Devourer seem simple and easy to understand. In reality, each one has its own connotation. Strength is the power of the body, it includes the strength of limbs and torso, muscles, and bones, which is the tangible part manifested outward. Spirit is the energy of consciousness, it includes thoughts, perception, reaction, energy, etc. All intangible things fall under the spirit, defense is constitution and resistance, the higher the defense, the stronger the constitution, the greater the body's capacity to endure, and the stronger the resistance to external forces, the higher the defense, the higher the resistance and resilience to abnormal states, and mastering resistance and resilience also requires a certain level of defense, Speed is agility and explosiveness, the higher the speed, the higher the agility, the stronger the body's elasticity, and many evasive actions also require muscle rebound to support, the higher the speed, the stronger the explosion, because the faster the speed, the greater the mass, thus ultra high speed equals ultra gravity, to give a simple example, a 50 kilogram hammer dropped directly versus one accelerated to 20 kilometers per hour before dropping will definitely cause more damage in the latter case, this time. Chen Chen allocated points to defense, naturally to enhance his constitution and resistance. The 22, 000 points of experience that allowed him to level up twice may seem outrageous, but in reality, it comes with strict conditions, namely killing a lord level ferocious beast, only then can one reap a hundredfold basic experience. Now, his attribute panel has also undergone a significant change attribute panel name, Chen Chun profession, ranged asterisk ranger secondary profession, hidden asterisk special breeder, alchemist, previous secondary profession card, level, 12 experience, 86 20ths, 000 lifespan, 423 years 1 day blood chi, 15, 212 spirit power, 3, 000 element, thunder strength, 52 spirit, 18 defense, 2 speed, 20 skills, new asterisk delayed spirit explosion, LV1, new asterisk light pursuit thunder shadow step, LV1, combat power, 942, he he, now this is a normal attribute panel, Chen Chen chuckled to himself, back when he had just been reborn, having only half a year's lifespan was a headache for anyone who looked at him, 
but now he has finally achieved the freedom to draw. At the very least, he no longer has to worry about whether to draw from the good yellow and purple wheels, as long as there are good items, he can draw them on the spot. For example, wow, brother Chuan, we hit the jackpot, there's a purple wheel. After the death of the demon sound mouse king, Tao Yi, who was responsible for drawing the prize, suddenly shouted, drawing everyone's attention. Unfortunately, the demonic sound mouse, as a relatively common fierce beast, had long lost its first kill by the group leader. Is that so? How's the quality? Upon hearing this, Tao Yi began to examine it carefully. But moments later, he wore a bitter expression. It's my fault, my luck is just terrible. Medium quality? Sheng Tianxiang asked from the side. Low quality. Ah, the purple roulette. Low quality. This is not the low quality white roulette, the white one could still be gambled on. At most wasting a year of life. But drawing from the purple roulette costs a hundred years of life. It's not a world of difference, but there is a significant gap in value. It's fine, no matter what, it's still purple. Brother Chuan, I have great fortune, even if it's just one. I'll show you. Shortly after his words fell, Chen Chen also arrived at the corpse of the demonic sound mouse king and took the roulette from Tai Yi's hands. There was indeed only one option on the front, but it was, glazed heart armor. It's actually armor? That's rare. What he needed most now was defense. After all, he had no points in the first 10 levels. However, upon hearing Chen Chen's words, the few people around him were not so optimistic. With Hao Chen taking the lead, rare, indeed very rare, it only occupies a little over 1% of the area. Cough cough. Dongfang Yen Yen couldn't help but lightly cough. Zhao Gu, the rarity you're talking about shouldn't be the same as what I understand, right? Brother Chuan, you're not going to draw, are you? There's something on this. Damn. Life-eating bone grinding disease? In life-eating, anything that overlaps with the game's name is either extremely good, like life-eating battle body, or extremely bad, like the life-eating bone grinding disease before them. There has never been anything in between. This disease appears quite frequently, as it often shows up in the white roulette. Its effects are just as its name suggests, causing pain like devouring life and grinding bones. Moreover, to date, there has been no medicine that can cure this disease. What are you afraid of? The area is only 13%. It's not that easy to hit, Chen Shen said with a smile. And even if I hit it, a mere disease can't defeat me? No. What do you mean even if? Brother Chuan, hurry up and spit, spit, spit. You can't not believe in Murphy's law. But at that moment, Shi Xiaoyu spoke up. I just feel that he definitely won't draw this. And the probability of drawing the heart armor is actually higher. Upon hearing this, Chen Shen couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth, is this the sixth sense of women? However, to be honest, if it weren't for his luck, he really couldn't dismiss Murphy's law. Such grand statements like even if I hit were not something he dared to utter. That would be no different from playing with his life, because in the realm of lotteries, Murphy's law does not spare any blindly confident person. Except for those with luck forget all that, hesitation only leads to defeat, decisiveness is the way to win. Drawl. Others? No, whether it's defeat or giving away for free, neither is good, right? You don't jump around like a shaman, and now you're doing a negative lottery? Negative times negative equals positive? At this moment, however, Chen Chen had already turned a deaf ear. Please specify the price you want. 1. Life-eating bone grinding disease 2. Early stage blood cancer 3. Level drop by 3 foot 4. Broken Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba Izanitsu Agatsuma Figurine, 16 colon 1, 5. Mysterious Trash Asterisk 1 foot. 10. Glazed Heart Armor Chen Shen did not hesitate, I choose. 10. Congratulations on winning. Glazed Heart Armor. When a piece of armor as thin as gauze yet crystal clear appeared in Chen Shen's hands. Damn. What the hell? Did I really win? Ha ha ha. Hand it over. Just as Chen Shen was enjoying the shock of others. He suddenly raised an eyebrow, and the next moment, the armor in his hand disappeared, replaced by the Xianhai Dragon Chanting Spear, unleashing a series of dragon roars. Dong! A dull sound echoed, as if a pair of iron fists had slammed onto the gun barrel, causing a momentary tremor. The young man holding the gun was knocked back several steps, ultimately unable to help but jump back and flip, releasing all his strength. It was only at this moment that he realized the newcomer was a man with limbs as developed as a gorilla. He he he, kid, your reaction speed isn't bad, 
But unfortunately, your strength is a bit lacking. After taking this heavy blow, Chen Shen's hands felt somewhat numb, but at least he had blocked it. Once he steadied himself, he also put away his long gun, raising an eyebrow lightly. I was wondering why an unpleasant sound mixed in. Turns out it's a gorilla making monkey noises. The gorilla man immediately became indignant upon hearing this. Kid, show some respect with your mouth. Ha! How interesting. You want to kill me, yet you want me to respect you? After a few exchanges, the others finally reacted, with Tao Yi being the first to speak, pointing forward, exactly, are you stupid or what? The other party was clearly targeting Chen Chen, so why should he hold back his respect for a strong opponent? At this moment, Sheng Tianxiang and the others were also on high alert, tightly gripping their weapons, wary of the other side suddenly charging forward. In the meantime, a few people accompanying the gorilla man also arrived one after another. Once he felt his own confidence solidify, the gorilla man became more assertive, sharp-tongued and unwilling to shut up. I'll help you. After saying this, he clapped his hands together, and with a dull sound, turned around in place before suddenly launching Wind Thunder Diamond Fist. Chen Shen's eyes widened, I said you were a gorilla, and you really are. Ha! Huh? Although he said this, the young man's movements were not slow. He immediately loaded his slingshot and fired a shot. Special bullet, thunder barrier. Don't ask. Just know it's a new toy made by Chen Chen. He had gathered many materials only after arriving at the Jiangdong battlefield. Of course, it was also related to his alchemist secondary profession. Many things cannot be refined without the proper formula. Thunder barrier bullet, a crafted item, a one-time consumable. It is proportionally reduced with a special structure and infused with thunder attribute spiritual power. Can be used as a crossbow bolt, bow bolt, or thrown object, effect analysis, once this bullet is fired, it will instantly create a barrier. With the thunder elements inside forming an electromagnetic barrier that blocks all passing objects and spiritual power, the barrier lasts for 5 seconds before disappearing. The maximum threshold that can be blocked is the caster's level plus 10 levels, rated damage, individuals touched will receive lightning damage equal to 3. 5 times the caster's mental attribute, level restriction, 10, or activated by spiritual power, crafting quality, yellow. Excellent. Under the night sky, the thunder barrier had a feeling of illuminating the world around. And when it suddenly exploded, it completely blocked the gorilla man's wind thunder diamond fist. Until it was completely dissipated, the barrier still remained. What? It would be impossible for the gorilla man not to be shocked. His wind thunder diamond fist had already been honed to the third level, and in the Jung Nan settlement, there were probably not many with LV3 skills. There's nothing to be surprised about, I have plenty of things like this. Your father. Special bullet, earthquake lava. A bullet landed at the gorilla man's feet before Chin Chen's voice even fell. The firing speed of the thunder sea spirit bow was not something that the previous snake tendon bow could compare to, and the terrifying initial speed left the opponent little time to think. The crimson lava immediately exploded in a shape. The gorilla man's eyes bulged. What the hell? Lava? Are you kidding me? Can a person create something like this? The explosive damage in that moment was even minus 30. 374. Burn damage. Minus 1. 126. What the hell? The terrifying injury left the gorilla man with no time to care about the pain. Driven by the instinct to survive, he leaped out of the lava zone. Immediately after, he pulled out a pill and swallowed it whole. The immense energy instantly healed his wounds, restoring his body to its former state, dispelling the abnormal condition, and filling his vitality to the brim. Undoubtedly, this was a healing pill from the roulette. Its preciousness goes without saying, if he hadn't been scared out of his wits, the gorilla man wouldn't have taken out this pill. Life devourer is a game, but everyone only has one life. Ha! 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 Jing Kwai, how are you? The sudden scene not only left the gorilla man half paralyzed with fear, but also shocked the others who witnessed it. They had never experienced the unforgettable feast of the class change altar battle, nor had they witnessed the fight between the group and the demon sound mouse king. So they naturally had no idea about the existence of the earth shatter lava bomb. After the shock came fear. Crazy. You Don Nan is definitely crazy. How could we possibly? Before Jing Kwai could finish his sentence. Chen Chen had already walked up to him. Jing. Kwai. Ha. You're that old guy Jing Cheng's kid. Right? What? Do you want revenge? I. You have no chance. With that, Chen Chen fired a beast tooth bullet, directly hitting Jing Kwai's right shoulder joint. Dislocated? 
It was far from that simple, his right arm fell off completely. After a moment of shock, intense pain flooded Jing Kui's mind, and his screams echoed through the night, startling a chorus of beast roars. I, I, I was just, we were just sent by you Dongnan, not to avenge the family head. A young man beside Jing Kui shouted hoarsely, his eyes flashing with fleeting resentment. Judging by his appearance, he should be Jing Kui's son or nephew. Chen Shen sighed at his words. It's pointless to say more, you won't be able to keep this life. As the boy finished speaking, the bullet pierced through the heads of the few people in front of him. His strength was now at 87 foot points, and none of these people could possibly have a defense exceeding that value. Strength, base 52, temporary 20, slingshot plus 15, a direct hit to the head meant certain death. I didn't expect you to be so decisive. After the few died, Shi Xiaoyu suddenly broke the silence, Dong Fang Yan Yan and Ha Chen felt nothing, while the three from Jiulong City, due to their past military experience, found it hard to be so decisive against their fellow countrymen. Of course, that was except during the defense battle, as those individuals wanted to kill them, so how could they just sit and wait? Therefore, Chen Chen's actions still left them somewhat stunned. When Brother Chuan killed Jing Chang, he was just as decisive as just now. Taoi took a deep breath and spoke as if explaining. Hearing this, Chen Chen turned back. After all, they, whoosh, ah, just as Chen Chen turned, a sudden cold light struck his right knee, piercing through it completely. Blood gushed, and bones were exposed. But in the next moment, the boy drew back the bowstring and shot out a spiraling fire bullet, which halfway through transformed into a firebird, speeding away, beep, to everyone's ears. It seemed they heard a phoenix cry. This bullet was named, Spiral Flame Phoenix Bullet. Damn, where do you get all these strange things? Under the moonlit night, right in front of where the firebird flew, a transparent shield suddenly appeared, colliding with the soaring firebird in a mutual destruction. The firebird is naturally Chin Chen's new toy. Spinning Flame Phoenix Bullet, a crafted item, a one-time consumable, made by infusing fire attribute spiritual power into specially patterned designs. Accompanied by the sound of a phoenix cry when fired, can be used as a crossbow bolt or bow arrow, effect analysis, when fired. The blazing bullet ignites itself and absorbs enough spiritual power during the process to track and strike the target. Rated damage, an individual hit by the fire phoenix will suffer flame damage equal to 4. 2 times the caster's mental attribute. And if their burn resistance is below 65%, they will enter a burning state for 5 seconds, level restriction, 10, or activated by spiritual power. Crafting quality, yellow. Excellent. Another item from the roulette? Chen Chen thought to himself. This group was not a retaliation from the Jing family, but they were clearly organized, and their purpose was singular. The answer was already apparent. Lu family, but that Jing Kui, and the name from the person guarding him. Yu Dong Nan? Who is that? In his past life memories, there was no such character. While thinking, Chen Chen took out a blood serum gel capsule of the magic pattern octopus from his ring and swallowed it. This item only works on players below level 5 when it is at the white, rough level. White, levels 5 to 11, but once it reaches yellow, excellent, the level cap rises to 17. If you ask Chen Chen where he got the yellow leveled magic pattern octopus materials, yellow, levels 15 to 21, Jiulong City is guarding the mid lower reaches of a great river, and the main invasion channel for sea beasts is right there. Would they lack for octopus to butcher? This is the main material for crafting healing pills. So how could he not kill upon seeing it? Recovery pill? You have one too. Seeing Chen Chen recover from his knee injury in just a moment, the man in the tree couldn't help but exclaim. To heal injuries so quickly, it could only be the recovery pill produced by the roulette. Before that, you should just roll down here. Sleeve cannon flame explosion. Chen Chen and Frog Frog could communicate in the form of brainwaves allowing them to attack as soon as they thought of it. Of course, provided Frog Frog could react in time. Damn it! The man in the tree cursed, but was helpless as the earlier spinning flame phoenix bullet had exposed his position, causing this fireball explosion to aim straight for his face. If he didn't dodge, he could only take the damage. Jing Yu had no choice but to escape from his original position. However, sleeve cannon wind pressure. Me! Jing Yu didn't have time to react before his body was blasted back by the wind pressure cannon. Wind pressure cannon, LV1, instantly fires a wind pressure cannon with a radius of 0. 3 meters forward, creating a 90 degrees sector wind pressure impact, causing significant wind attribute damage upon hitting the target, effect analysis, 
the wind pressure cannon damage is 3, 5 times the caster's mental attribute, and the wind pressure impact damage is 30% of the wind cannon's damage. And now, as Chen Chen's level rises, Frog Frog, who is constantly participating in battles, naturally keeps pace with him, and its attributes are Pet Panel Name, Elemental Spirit Frog Nickname, Scheming Frog Owner, Chin Chen Level, 12 Vitality, 3, 700 Spiritual Power, 5, 300 Strength, 7 Mental, 41 Defense, 7 Speed, 14 Skills, Elemental Transformation, LV2, Fireball Explosion, LV2, Chain Water Ball, Combat Power, 1, 085. With such mental attributes, the damage caused to Jing Yu, who had no mental points to withstand a direct hit, was naturally not low. Minus 1, 247. Damage from wind pressure cannon, minus 374. The damage from the wind pressure impact is nothing compared to the earth split lava bomb, but this damage is already significant for Jing Yu. From the means of attack, it's clear that he also follows a long range route, with low defense and not much health. After all, a player's health points are only closely related to three attributes, strength, defense, and level. The specific calculation formula is simple, x equals x plus, a plus b plus c, asterisk 10 where x is the final value, x is the current health, a is strength, b is defense, and c is level. If you don't invest in defense for long range attacks, health cannot be high. Falling to the ground, Jingyu spat out a mouthful of blood, his expression turning grim. How is this possible? Compared to Jing Kui, Jing Yu seems even more incredulous about Chen Chen's actions. We all gamble with our lives. How do you have so many skills? I'm just lucky, hitting every shot. Is that not allowed? Chen Chen said, raising his palm again, a faint blue spiritual energy beginning to gather from his sleeve. Shut your mouth with your nonsense. Jing Yu shouted angrily, I've lived for 800 years and only got the high quality roulette, yet all I got was a bunch of trash. Not to mention I almost got myasthenia gravis. The winning rate of this broken roulette isn't that high. Bad luck? Blame the roulette? The young man shook his head. I don't have time to listen to your grievances here. Sleeve cannon, ice spike fall. The sleeve cannon version of ice spike array fall, you still have more? As the shocked words fell, Jingyu jumped back to avoid the incoming ice spikes. But the shockwave that exploded upon landing still sent chills through him. When Chen Chen killed Jing Kui, he had already revealed many of his methods, and now it was Firebird, Wind Cannon, Ice Spike, all striking in succession. Where did you get this cheat? He he, I'm the cheat, and there are plenty more like this. A guaranteed win. As the words fell, Chen Chen raised his hand again, Sleeve Cannon, Continuous Water Bomb. Water? Laughable. What damage can water do? Entry, Dash 277. I, seeing the damage pop up on his body. Jing Yu completely lost it. Damn it, is this never ending? That's right, water giant cannon. Just as the shout fell, the final blow of the continuous water ball shot out from Chun Shen's sleeve with a splash. So annoying. Jing Yu jumped back a step from his original position, quickly drawing a longbow from behind, knocking an arrow, and gathering some spiritual energy break spirit annihilation arrow. In an instant, the arrow shot out. The arrow from the bow collided with Chen Chen's giant water ball in a split second, but it did not penetrate the water ball, instead, it struck the front of the water ball, creating a web of cracks in midair. Only when the water ball stopped and soaked the ground did the web of cracks gradually repair itself. Interesting, but you can't shoot that special arrow many times, can you? After Chen Chen finished speaking, he suddenly shouted, Sleeve Cannon, Jing Yu? In a short time, after taking several sleeve cannon hits from Chun Chen, Jing Yu was like a startled bird, the first three words barely out of his mouth, and he was already on high alert. Without thinking, he directly retreated into the air, wanting to leave the boy's attack range. However, this time, hey, special bullet, thunderlight penetrating shot. Chen Chen's sudden change in tactics left Jing Yu, already airborne, with no way to dodge, this scene felt so familiar. He had been hit by the wind pressure cannon just like this. Jing Yu's pupils constricted sharply, a fear from deep within him prompting him to raise his hand, and no. Wait. Unfortunately, ah, the lightning pierced through him like a spear, coincidentally passing through his heart. Critical weakness. Minus 9. 613. Pierce through. Minus 1. 726. Kill. In the current version, player versus player combat does not grant experience points. 
The young man remained unfazed, walking closer to simply retrieve a spatial ring from the already charred body of Jing Yu, not sparing Jing Kui either. The others did not refrain from taking, but they simply did not. Then came the materials from the Magic Sound Mouse King corpse, after all. It was a lord level creature, and the flesh and bones on it were high quality materials, crushing and grinding them together, then tossing them into the furnace. Even a slug could successfully be turned into medicine. What an alchemist does is turn waste into treasure. When will I have the chance to get a blacksmith to play with? While thinking, Chen Shen swiftly separated the corpse of the Magic Sound Mouse King with just an ordinary razor. Such a knife, if the Lord Beast were alive, would leave no trace, but once it was dead, and the spiritual energy within its flesh and bones lost its vitality, one only needed to apply spiritual energy to the blade and strike at its weak points to successfully dismember it. Goodness, Brother Chuan, you can slice a lord like this so smoothly? The one speaking was Taoi. Throughout the journey, Chen Chen had dealt with many beast corpses, and everyone had already been shocked once. But how could a lord and elite be compared? Stop talking nonsense. If you have nothing to do, just cut off the tails of the dead magic sound mice. They're useful. What's the use of that? Taoi picked up a magic sound mouse from the ground and swiftly cut off its ring-shaped tail. Haven't you ever had rat tail soup? Taoi, degree degree, eh? Rat tail. What an old joke. I'm just kidding. That thing is made from rat tails, but it's much more useful than any rat tail soup. Just cut it. Stop talking. Perhaps because the magic sound mouse king had just died, the nearby elite beasts did not come to disturb Chen Shan and his group as they harvested their spoils. That Jing Yu seemed to be the last attacker. And after that, there was no more movement. However, after this encounter, everyone was too lazy to set up camp and rest. They either changed places to rest or simply fought until dawn. Sorry, I dragged everyone down because of me. Tang Bei's expression was indifferent. It doesn't matter. Just in time for double experience, I can grind levels all night. Taui followed closely. What you said makes sense. A rare opportunity. I'm fine with it. I've stayed up before. Shang Tian Xiang whose mental attributes were higher than the other two, naturally had no objections. The remaining Dongfang Yen Yen was a bit tired, but if there was a fight, she could still get energized. As for Hao Chen, he was thinking about leveling up, so how could he refuse? I don't mind either. I'm exhausted. Just carry me Chen Chen couldn't help but glance back, then said without hesitation, walk yourself, you're too small. I'm not interested. She Xiao Yu, you dense iron man. Thanks for the compliment Chen Chen was not. He was just still thinking about someone. I'll go find her once this is all over. In his past life, fate was full of twists and turns, with no opportunities, but this life was different. I wonder if she's still alive. With that thought, he didn't look back, releasing his spiritual energy and moving forward. After experiencing Jing Yu's sneak attack earlier, he would not be careless again, of course. If someone were to sneak attack from outside his detection range, well, he could only consider himself unlucky. Under the night sky, somewhere, in front of a glass screen, a creature that could tentatively be called human was currently staring at the man in the glass screen with a hint of contemplation in its expression. It was completely transparent, and even through it, one could still see the stars in the night sky. But it did not mean it did not exist. This human is indeed a bit different. Interesting, interesting, different? Could the last disturbance really be because of him? Another voice suddenly chimed in. Foolish. How could such a level of disturbance occur in an independent biological entity? To put it in earth terms, that's like a sow climbing a tree. If it's a female longclawed boar, it could climb. You are truly wise. Let's send our minions. Those humans are no longer reliable. Well, it seems we have no choice. In the following two days, Chen Chen and his group faced no further obstacles in the Jiangdong battlefield. Both the Jing family and the Lu family had quieted down. It seemed everyone was caught up in the double experience time, trying to kill as many ferocious beasts as possible. Some smaller factions that couldn't directly go to the outsider battlefield even used life-draining maggots to draw out beast tides for experience. Among them was a certain woman. Only nine beast tides have appeared? This bunch has such terrible luck. Nine isn't enough? Lu Tianyuan nearly lost his temper, the entire Northwest Century Lottery Zone was almost paralyzed due to the nine beast tides that had emerged. And still, it wasn't enough? Only leveling up to level 17. How is that enough? Fang Yining fiddled with the short knife in her hand, a hint of amusement in her eyes. By the way, old Deng, 
When are you going to call my brother Lu back? I miss him. That's my son. When to call him back is my business. The name old Deng struck a sensitive chord with Lu Tianyuan. If Fang Yining really got together with Lu Yun Lu, that would make her his daughter-in-law, right? How could she speak to her father-in-law like that? Unexpectedly, Fang Yining shot back with a glare. Nonsense. That's my brother Lu. What does it have to do with you? Old Deng? Do you really think I won't get angry? Oh, go ahead. Then, you don't want the longevity pill? You, Lu Tianyuan truly couldn't afford to lose it now. Although suppressing the nine waves of beast tides was exhausting, it also brought in quite a few resources, without life. He couldn't draw anything. No life to draw from meant the resources would become waste, and that was absolutely unacceptable to him. Fine, I'll call him back. You have three hours. You have three hours. The freckled girl spoke with an air of authority. If you can't bring my brother Lu back, Lu family, don't even think about getting a longevity pill from me. Lu Tianyuan felt a surge of frustration, almost clenching his fists to punch this woman in front of him. But the pill formula had already been bound by this guy, and after he fully grasped it, he even burned it to ashes. Apart from her, no one else could refine it. Just as her words fell, a voice suddenly came from not far away, Ening. Upon hearing this, the girl's expression changed instantly. Brother Lu, you're back? The change was quicker than flipping a page, resembling a little wife eagerly awaiting her husband's return. Her voice sweetened with sugar, with just a hint of restraint in her brows. Hmm, what were you and my father talking about? Lu Yun Lu seemed to harbor some thoughts of his own, though he didn't voice them. Nothing. Uncle Lu took me out to farm beast tides during double experience. Oh, he's never been this good to me. Lu Tianyuan beside them wore an invisible gloomy expression, feeling a surge of anger boiling in his stomach. With such a daughter-in-law, he was furious. If it weren't for the longevity pill, he, in front of Fang Yining, he couldn't even scold Lu Yun Lu to vent his frustration. It was like a turtle in a closed high school about to go mad from holding it in. By the way, what about that Chen Chen? Did you kill him? Lu Yun Lu had naturally heard the news of his brother's death, but to say he was heartbroken. Not really. Perhaps this world taught people to be cold-blooded. Hu Fang Yining pretended to pout cutely. Brother Lu, please stop mentioning those useless people. I've already offered a high bounty for 30 longevity pills, yet no one has managed to get their hands on them. Th. 30? Upon hearing this price, even Lu Yun Lu was a bit taken aback. Although the increase in lifespan had its probabilities, it could still extend life by about a hundred years. Drawing 10 yellow roulette tickets was already a high price. Exactly who? All right, all right, Ening, maybe someone is still in action. Let's just wait and see. Amum, um, there's nothing else we can do. Former Jing Clan Villa, now Southeast Association. The plaque with golden calligraphy was impossible to obtain. So Yu Dongnan could only manage to get a relatively intact stone slab to carve the characters himself and set it up at the villa's entrance. Main Hall, Jing Kui and Jing you are both dead, and now I have no one capable to present. Are you satisfied with this sacrifice? Yu Dongnan said this while facing the side door, his tone carrying a hint of complaint. The Sacred Beast Association will take action personally, you just need to send someone to assist. Really? After the other party's voice sounded, Yu Dongnan responded, but deep down, he directly translated assist into cannon fodder. Your impressive Sacred Beast Association is going to take action personally, what do I have to do with it? Just as this thought crossed his mind, the voice spoke again, all participants will be rewarded with one yellow longevity pill. Eh? Yellow longevity pill? Flawless quality. Um, can I go myself? Yu Dongnan couldn't help but ask. A flawless quality yellow longevity pill. Doesn't that mean a hundred years of life? Just for participating. Isn't that a free gift? However, the voice from the side door replied, I suggest you don't go. If you insist, just pretend I didn't say anything. Why? He he. Some things need to be discovered by yourself to feel the shock. I know your heart isn't with the Sacred Beast Association yet, but you will. Yu Dongnan's face was full of confusion, but he didn't ask further. Jiangdong Battlefield, Cultural Defense Zone, near the coastal side. Due to some environmental changes after the arrival of Life Devourer, the location they were in was the peak of a cliff. But this was not a naturally formed cliff, it was forcibly pushed up by the sea. Such absurd occurrences were not uncommon globally, but no one knew why. Assuming it was due to some reasons altering the movement of the Earth's crust. On this cliff, 
Shen Shan and the others could vaguely hear the sound of the sea crashing against the cliff. The 72-hour double experience had ended. Among the seven people on this trip, each had gained to varying degrees. But if one were to say who gained the most, it would undoubtedly be Chen Chen. Before setting out, he was just an eighth level novice, above level 10 to escape being a novice. But now he had already reached level 18. In the attribute panel, the highest strength had surpassed 100. Attribute panel name, Chen Chen level, 18 experience, 966-50. 000 lifespan, 322 years, 364 days vitality, 21, 842 spirit power, 5, 400 affiliation, thunder strength, 104 mentality, 36 defense, 20 speed, 44 skills, upgrade asterisk domain moon lake silver thunder, LV2, upgrade asterisk delayed spirit explosion, LV2, combat power, 1, 692, as everyone knows, I only display the changed data. Delayed Spirit Explosion, LV2, Attachment Skill, Effect Analysis, after adding Delayed Spirit Explosion, it deals 4, 5 times the damage of the caster's strength attribute, skill consumes spirit power, each addition consumes 45 points of the caster's spirit power, skill cooldown time, 3, 5 seconds, after Domain Moon Lake Silver Thunder reaches LV2, the enhancement direction is similar to Delayed Spirit Explosion, mainly increasing the area of the domain from a radius of 3 meters to 4, 5 meters, individuals suffering from lightning attacks enter a paralysis state every 3 seconds, reduced to every 2, 7 seconds, the damage from lightning attacks increases from 3 times to 4, 5 times, the damage from random lightning strikes increases from 10 times to 12, 5 times, the spirit power consumption decreases from 10 points per second to 8 points, the cooldown time reduces from 30 seconds to 27 seconds, the upgrades of skills generally do not bypass several basic points, attack range, Special effect conditions, damage, consumption, and cooldown time. Each upgrade almost always involves reductions and enhancements. Of course, there are also individual skills that may add new descriptions. Besides Chain Chen, the others also have corresponding improvements. Dong Fang Yan Yan rises from level 6 to level 13. Hao Chun from level 7 to level 12. Tao Yi from level 9 to level 14. Shang Tian from level 13 to level 19 and Tang Bei from level 12 to level 18. Shi Xiaoyu is the most exaggerated, rising from level 8 to level 20. It's all because her rope darts attack speed, when the beast horde is dense, is even comparable to Chun Chen's sleeve cannon gatling mode, killing quickly, and naturally gaining experience quickly. With this matter settled, Chen Chen originally intended to head back home, but after glancing at the map on the fate card, a familiar mark caught his eye isn't this. Chen Shen turned to look at Hao Chen, and could only say that this was indeed quite a coincidence. What's up, Brother Chuan? Hao Chen asked as he noticed the boy's gaze shift, feeling a bit uncertain since he was the lowest level among everyone, and calling him Brother Chuan felt lacking in confidence. After all, such titles are mostly used by the strong to refer to the weak. Why is his level rising slowly? The reason is simple, he was originally just a thug, and with a pure fighting style, Killing monsters naturally takes longer. As for skills? Not everyone is like Chen Chen. With an endless supply of skills, the one you've been thinking about is here. Chen Chen felt no particular reaction to Hao Chen's address. It was better for him to maintain his own posture to avoid trouble later. That one? You mean? Hao Chen immediately reacted upon hearing this. He had traveled all the way from the southern part of the Jiangnan settlement to the north, giving up his position as a small leader in the Junjian defense zone just to spend money with Chen Chen, right? Along the way, he had also picked up quite a bit of time currency. Everyone picked up a little, so there's no need to elaborate, right? QWQ, that's right. He has arrived. He, Taoi couldn't help but ask, who is he? Brother Chuan? What are you two playing at with riddles? Shi Xiaoyu was also stirred by curiosity. Who are you talking about? Could it be related to the coins Hao Chen kept picking up along the way? Tang Bei directly pointed out the source. The sniper's sharpness is truly frightening. Exactly. You all saw that thing. It's labeled with time units on the surface. So it's also called time currency. Everyone was taken aback. Time currency? Including Hao Chun. He had only heard Chen Chen say it was money that could buy things. But he had never heard what it specifically was. Yes. Time currency. Chen Chen smiled mysteriously. Since it's currency, it can certainly be used to buy things. And now. The person selling things has arrived. Upon hearing this, 
Everyone asked again, where? I say, Brother Chuan, why do you speak in such a roundabout way? Can't you just say it all at once? Chen Chen felt a bit embarrassed. All right, you can look at the map yourselves. At the northeast corner here, where the great river meets the sea. As everyone heard this, they opened their respective fate cards maps with a mix of understanding and confusion. Locking their gazes on the past, Tang Bei was the first to notice something unusual, is it this yellow dot? The map that came with the fate card was composed of blue and white lines, differing only in shade, representing all terrains and rivers with lines. Dark colors indicated lower elevations, while lighter colors indicated higher ones. Because of this, a small yellow dot stood out as somewhat out of place. However, its color was not deep, and it flickered slightly, making it easy to confuse with the white, flowing river area. Yes, that's it. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Once the target was confirmed, Hao Chen immediately spoke up. Among the seven, he was undoubtedly the most eager. What's the rush? Do you think just stumbling over there will help you find him? The map was visible to everyone, and this unusual yellow dot was no exception. But if it were that easy to find, why had no one discovered the function of time currency until now? In his previous life, Chen Chen only learned about it when someone posted the method on the world channel. Don't ask, it was from a show called Encounters. So how do we find it? Shi Xiaoyu asked, still trusting Chen Chen in this regard. After all, he was the one who opened the door to the first unknown relic. As soon as the question was asked, everyone listened intently. With the mood set, the young man no longer kept them in suspense. He unfolded his map, pressed his hand on the flickering yellow dot, and held it down. One second, two seconds, five seconds. The duration of the long press increased until the 17th second arrived, ding. Suddenly, a window popped up on the map, followed by another window. Congratulations on discovering the Easter egg, mysterious merchant Shichi Miao. A map teleportation point is about to appear. Please pay attention. The two windows popped up in succession, and once they completely faded, a golden yellow light appeared before everyone, huh? A light column? Xuan Gu, is that light column? Only we can see it? Shang Tianxiang frowned slightly, observing the reactions of the surrounding beasts, which seemed unable to see it. Tang Bei nodded. They can't see it. Their attention is still focused on us. If they dare to approach, they will be attacked immediately. Seeing the familiar light column shooting into the sky, Chen Chen couldn't help but chuckle. That's right. That's the entrance. Entrance? Taoi couldn't help but walk towards the light column. But halfway there, he suddenly turned back and said, Wait, Xuan Gu, are you sure that's the entrance? At this moment, the others also sensed something was off. Wow, a cliff? What entrance? That's a dead end, right? Are we supposed to jump off the cliff? The young man smiled lightly. Didn't you notice, the yellow dot on the map is in a relatively darker area? In other words, it's by the river. But we don't have to jump off the cliff, right? You can choose to take a detour down. Or if you have good eyesight, look directly down from the cliff to see if you can find that guy. This, Taoyi and the others weren't disbelieving of Chen Chen. But after all, it was a cliff jump, right? At their levels, Jumping from this nearly 300 meter high cliff would leave no chance of survival. You can be scared, danger and opportunity have always coexisted. I'm going down first. With that, Chen Chen walked to the edge of the cliff and leaped lightly, without a hint of hesitation, disappearing into the golden light column. Damn, Chuan Gu? No way. He really jumped. Tang Bei rubbed his chin. Based on Chuan Ji's weight, it should take about 4, 5 seconds to fall from 300 meters. But I don't think I heard a crashing sound. What the hell? Do you have to say such things so calmly? Dong Fan Yen Yen shivered. However, at this point, Shi Xiaoyu had already stepped out. Is there not a single man among you with any guts? Don't say that falling 300 meters won't kill you, even if it does. Isn't there already one accompanying us on the way? After saying this, Shi Xiaoyu leaped lightly, unleashing a burst of strength as she plunged into the beam of light. Ouch. What a feisty little girl. If you don't have it, I do. Hearing those words, Sheng Tianxian felt a surge of courage rising within him, and he stubbornly made his way to the edge of the cliff. Although his legs were weak, he still jumped in. Following closely, Hao Chen seemed to have overcome his fear of death. Damn. I came here for this. Damn it. Whoosh. With a gust of wind, he jumped into the beam of light, disappearing from sight. At the cliff, only three people remained. Taoi furrowed his brows. We agreed to stick with Brother Chuan. 
I can't fall behind. Upon hearing this, Dongfang Yanyan also steadied her heart, me too. I didn't say I was afraid. But, snipers are always the last to retreat. Upon hearing this, Tao Dong and the others thought, well, this guy really knows how to play it cool. They said it, but when they actually reached the edge of the cliff, the calves of the three couldn't help but tremble. It wasn't a fear of heights, it was just that looking down was definitely nothing. The key was to jump? Damn it! Just before jumping, Dong Fang Yan Yan even let out a local accent. If I die, I'll still be a tough guy in 20 years. Whoosh! Accompanied by a gust of wind, Dongfang Yan Yan transformed in midair into Dongfang Gao Biao. Ha ha ha, I can't let you outdo me. Taui gathered his courage, people, are meant to live towards death. TT, ah the last remaining Tang Bei said. What a pity. If you take away that last scream, it's still quite cool. After saying this, he reached out and turned off the system's recording function. Since ancient times, who hasn't faced death? What do I care for your wife and children? Ahem. Ahem. Just a bit of madness. Tang Bei isn't that kind of person, thus, the seven-member team all jumped off the cliff. Hundreds of meters away, a young boy climbed up from the ground. Beside him lay a giant wolf, its fur as white as snow, over three meters long and nearly two meters tall when standing. In its slightly fierce gaze, there was a hint of gentleness as it looked at the boy. The boy quickly sat cross-legged on the ground, his deep-set eyes half-squinted, then tilted his head, are they crazy? Why is everyone jumping off the cliff? Am I supposed to kill a suicide squad? At this point, he suddenly looked up at the sky. Hey, are you serious? Soon, a voice reached his ears. You might not believe it, but they're not dead. I know that. I won't die if I jump, but I'll definitely be injured. Right? No. The voice seemed unwilling to say more. Forget it. Let's see the living and the dead. Ah, uh, bye. Let's go. After saying this, the boy gently patted the giant wolf's back and then mounted it. Wu the white giant wolf let out a soft whine, then carried the boy on its back, swiftly running down the mountain like the wind. They didn't have the guts to jump off the cliff. It was better to obediently go down the mountain. Time rewinds to a minute ago. As Chen Chen leaped into the golden beam of light, an incredibly rich spiritual power lifted him up, then began to slowly descend. It felt like riding an elevator without a floor. This thing also had a name teleportation beam. Less than three seconds later, the boy was sent by the beam to a riverside. The surging river water formed a spectacular waterfall due to the change in terrain. Crashing into the sea after splashing several meters high, the wind stirred by the rushing water, brushed against the boy's tousled hair, carrying a slight chill. And at the confluence of the river and the sea, there was not a person, but a, a cat wearing a straw hat, gently swaying a bamboo pole as if fishing. Normally, such a place would be teeming with ferocious beasts. Yet now there was not a single one. But Chen Shen knew it wasn't that there were none, it was that he was not on earth. A golden beam of light had transported him to a place that was like earth. Yet not earth. Before long, Shi Xiaoyu arrived first, followed by Shang Tianxiong and the other four, who appeared one by one. Ha? Huh? Not dead? Or, already dead? After Dongfang Biu Biao regressed back to Dongfang Yan Yan, he kept rubbing himself confirming whether he was missing a part or two. You didn't, come down with your eyes closed. Did you? Hao Chen couldn't help but ask. Come down? Went to hell. Shi Xiaoyu turned back and rolled her eyes, cowered, among the five. Only Tang Bei remained calm, though slightly pale, Brother Chuan. Is this the one you mentioned, him? Ah, Shi Chi Miao. Chen Shen nearly blurted out a long time no see. What a strange name, by the way. Aren't there many ferocious beasts in these waters? Yeah, it's so quiet here. And that, whoa, that, that's a, cat? Still fishing. Their shock seemed to catch the attention of the straw hat cat by the river, which slightly raised its head, then turned around and made a shoe gesture, and then, went back to fishing. Huchen blinked. Brother Chuan, is that the seller you mentioned? Yeah, but, how do we buy? Do I need to teach you how to buy things? Chen Chen smiled lightly and stepped towards the straw hat cat, and before he could speak, he heard, meow the straw hat cat turned around, propping up its hat with a paw, its slit pupils scanning Chen Chen like a scanner, and after a few seconds, qualification assessment successful, S rank, up to this point, everything seemed normal, just like when it had shushed by the river, but then, meow high-end boutique Shi Chi meow, Shi Chi meow 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 I have everything you want, oh meow 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 whether it's equipment or treasures, or pills and treasure maps if you don't say it, 
I'll just meow 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 except for Chun Chun, whose mouth twitched uncontrollably. The others were all, Sigma, degree degree, wait, 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 why do I feel a bit dazed? You're not alone, I, I bye? Gulo meow as Taui finished speaking, a shadow suddenly flew towards him, growing larger, and then his head felt heavy, as if something was pressing down on it. You've got good eyes. Young man, what do you want to buy? Meow Shichi Meow said, not giving Taui a chance to respond. As the fishing rod in its hand shrank down several times, then hooked something from under the hat, how about this? The only one of its kind in the world, energy storing sleeves, can be used for attack as fists, swords, knives, or spears, and for defense as shields, ensuring safety, buy it. Buy it Taui, don't like it? Then this. Shichi Miao put away the energy storing sleeves and pulled out another item, Black Knight Shield Sword. Sharp sword for attacking enemies. Steel shield for defending. Both offense and defense. Black Knight 2i, still don't like it? Then how about treasures and pills? For attack, defense, healing, and spirit replenishment, everything you need. This, no, what do you actually want? Can you let me finish a complete sentence? And also, oh, greater than over equal to less than over equal to, oh get off my head. Meow meow meow. 17 meow rolled her eyes at the words and simply flicked her fishing rod, using it like a pole vault to jump onto the next person. Hey, young man, are you buying or not? Coincidentally, this person was Hao Chen. Yes, I'll buy. Although he was shocked by the fluency of this cat's mandarin, Hao Chen did not forget his core purpose. What the other party had showcased at Tao Yi's place was basically all produced by the roulette, right? Only the roulette could draw those items. Meow he he he. What do you want to buy? What do you want to buy? 17 Meow. Squatting on Hao Chen's head. Asked again after receiving no response. But at this moment, the former had not fully reacted yet, saying I'll buy was just a subconscious response. As for what he wanted to buy, could it be that he wanted to buy everything? After holding it in for a long time, Hao Chen finally managed to squeeze out a sentence, as long as it can make me stronger, I'll take it. Meow something that can make you stronger. Ha after a moment of thought, 17 Meow suddenly moved her fishing rod. Got it. This is it. Ding 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 ding. Dragon scale long knife remove. Hao Chen's eyes widened, he was into knives, right? This cat must be picking and choosing based on the person. Seeing that he liked knives and selling him one? How much is this? Not expensive. Not expensive. Just 50 days currency. Meow Hao Chen, confused face, 50? Alright, alright, I'll give you a tearful 10% discount. 49 days currency and 12 hours currency. How about that? Generous. Right. Meow. Even with a discount. I still don't have enough. Hao Chen wanted to cry but had no tears. Although he had earned a lot of time currency on the Zhengdong battlefield, it was mostly in hours. Day's currency only dropped from elite level ferocious beasts, and when divided, there was hardly any. Looking at the long knife in front of him, Hao Chen felt like he was standing outside a luxury car dealership before the apocalypse, wanting it, but unable to afford it. Ha! Huh? No discount even with a 10% off? I might as well be broke. Meow after saying that, 17 Meow flicked her tail and was already preparing to find the next buyer. Hao Chen panicked, wait, don't you have anything cheaper? If you want something cheap, go find Tuntin Mouse. I, 17 Meow, only deal in high-end products. Sigh, 17 Meow, I'll buy it. Before Hao Chen's urgent words could finish, a voice had already attracted 17 Meow's attention, it was Chin Chen. Seeing him, 17 Meow's pupils immediately lit up. Coming, coming. Meow before her excited voice could finish. 17 Meow had already lightly landed on Chen Chen's head. Young man, young man. What do you want to buy? The young man directly took out a dirty footprint covered a four paper from his spatial ring. How many materials do you have from this? Let me take a look. Meow 17 Meow hurriedly shifted her gaze. And after a moment, I have them all. Meow, what level do you want? How many copies? Just the yellow ones. Two copies. Wait a moment. I'll pack it for you right away. Meow not long after. A paper package that had been folded countless times was dangled in front of Chen Shen with her fishing rod. A total of 29 days currency and 7 hours currency. You can forget about the hours currency. Meow upon hearing this, Chen Shen was also generous. Here's one month currency for you. No need to give me change for the rest. He could easily draw time currency from the roulette. Since he could specify rewards, he could draw from a few white roulettes. 
In the roulette, almost anything could be drawn. Hu 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 so generous. Miao Hao Chun, watching from the side, felt his eyes go a bit dazed. Um, brother Chuan, borrow. Ha, huh? buying a knife? Ah, 17 Miao. What about that knife from earlier? I'll buy it. Here it is. Meow. 45 days currency what the heck? Why is it 50 when you sell it to me? Then I'll sell it to you for 45 days currency. Meow Hao Chun. 45 days currency. He. Also. Didn't. Have. Then do you have the elixirs? The kind in the roulette? Of course. Meow Shichi Meow is known as the mysterious merchant who has everything. As long as you can voice your request. Even if she doesn't have it now. She can go restock. What kind of elixirs do you want? Strength. Spirit. Defense. Speed? As she spoke, Shichi Miao waved her paw, summoning a blue-tinted virtual screen, which was simply the shopping mall interface from the game. The navigation bar at the bottom of the window was divided into several subcategories, including the four basic attributes, as well as recovery types, enhancement types, special types, and so on. Each subcategory had multiple products available for selection, with prices clearly marked, but without exception. One word stood out, expensive. It's a premium product. How could it be called premium if it weren't expensive? But it must be said that the elixirs here from Shichi Miao are quite effective. At least, Chen Chen couldn't currently refine anything with the same effect. Once the window appeared, all the attendees' gazes were drawn to it. I'll take a bottle of frenzied bull strength elixir. The one speaking was Chen Chen. This frenzied bull strength elixir, as its name suggests, temporarily increases strength. All right. A yellow grade bottle is 5 days currency, a purple grade is 45 days currency, and the black grade is temporarily out of stock upon hearing this. Everyone shopping understood that the black grade existed, it was just out of stock. For the same elixir, the higher the grade, the more exaggerated the enhancement. For example, the yellow grade frenzied bull strength elixir increases strength by 30 points, while the purple grade can reach 210 points, 9 times the price for 7 times the enhancement difference. I'll just take the yellow grade. Chen Chen wanted to buy the purple grade, he could scrape together the currency by spinning the roulette, but that item couldn't be used by just any grade, and buying it would only let it gather dust temporarily. Moreover, with so many people around, if he spun the roulette like a madman to gather time currency, even the dullest person would notice something was off. The previous three premium yellow roulettes were all positively oriented, so whatever he drew could be explained by luck. But the mid-grade roulettes weren't so easy to deceive, right? All right. Following Chen Chen, others also picked out their desired elixirs and made their purchases. Hao Chen wasn't someone who couldn't afford anything, but his wealth was limited, totaling only about 12 days currency. If it were for stockpiling mice, it would definitely be enough. But here at Shichi Niao, it was a bit lacking. In the end, he bought three bottles of full blood recovery elixir from the recovery category. 3 days currency per bottle, it pained him greatly. Of course, it wasn't just about buying elixirs. Do you have weapons like this? Xi Xiaoyu raised her rope dart and asked. Yes. I want a more flexible metal, it shouldn't explode immediately upon impact. Yes. Do you have skilled books for sword energy? Yes. Once this was settled, Xi Qi Miao licked her cat lips in satisfaction but suddenly heard. By the way, why isn't there a longevity elixir? The one asking was Tang Bei who had just bought a bottle of Swift Wind Elixir. Shichi Niao's elixir shop indeed had every kind of elixir, but it uniquely lacked the core longevity elixir from Devouring Life. Not even the most basic white longevity elixir was available. Just as his voice fell, Shichi Miao jumped up and tapped his head idiot. Reselling longevity elixirs is a death penalty. A death penalty. Miao. Death penalty? Tang Bei frowned. Then as if a light bulb had gone off, he immediately retorted. Who said it was a death penalty? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Meow just pretend I said nothing. After that, Shichi Meow seemed to become a startled bird, fearing that something else might happen. She suddenly lowered her hat and jumped onto Chen Chen's head, whispered something in his ear, and then immediately disappeared. The empty riverside was suddenly left with just one phrase, pleasant transaction. Fate will bring us together again. Meow. Brother Chuan, did that cat say something to you when it left? By the riverbank, Tang Bei put down the sniper rifle in his hands, breaking the momentary silence after Shi Miao had departed. It's nothing. Chen Chen, coming back to his senses, gently shook his head. 
then gazed at the golden light column that appeared after Shi Miao vanished. Let's go. It's time to head back. Just now. Shi Miao had only said one sentence. Two words, level 99. See you in the underworld. Chen Shen felt a bit stunned. Shi Miao's demeanor was no different from his past life. But it had never spoken of anything outside of transactions before. Why this time? Is it because I can choose the reward? He couldn't help but think this. But if so, level 99. See you in the underworld might not necessarily be a good or bad thing. Just as he was pondering, the space ahead suddenly rippled visibly. And moments later, a cat's head popped out. It's Fluffy Paw offering a spatial ring. Young man, since we are so faded, I'll give you this. Meow with that, the cat's head and paw quickly disappeared. This time, everyone saw it. But only how Chun couldn't help but ask. Chuan, brother Chuan, what did it give you? Chen Chen took a slight breath but turned back with a faint smile, saying, Nothing, I bought a lot, and it gave me a spatial ring. Oh, seeing that the others were silent, the young man smiled back. Let's go, time to head back. Coming. As everyone stepped into the golden light column, the rich spiritual energy gently lifted them, as if they were walking on cotton. Moments later, the golden light before them suddenly vanished. The abrupt change in light left everyone momentarily dazed. However roar, a sudden low growl made all seven present tense up. Chen Chen frowned, the teleportation light column leaving the trading space should have sent them to the nearest safe point, right? Why? Things were becoming increasingly perplexing. Only when his vision fully recovered did he see the scene before him, a young boy riding on the back of a wolf, his gaze indifferent. People, mixed in with ferocious beasts, around him, there were quite a few amphibious ferocious beasts from the sea closing in, roughly counting, there were no less than a hundred. Suddenly, the boy on the wolf's back raised his long knife, kill, without a single word wasted. The ferocious beasts surrounding Chin Chen and the others surged forward like hungry wolves. But now, it seems you don't intend to explain anything. Fine, the boy said as he immediately pulled back the slingshot. Delayed spirit explosion instant blast. His agile figure leaped up, and a conical bone bullet shot out. Thud embedding itself into the back of a spiny sea lion that had already charged towards him. Boom! The explosion in the next moment violently tore the beast apart. Although his temporary attributes had already expired, Chen Chen now possessed over a hundred points of strength, easily penetrating the defense of a beast just over level 10. As easy as drinking water. The subsequent instant blast was a delayed spirit explosion he had specially adjusted. One to three seconds. Just take the minimum value, right? This first shot of battle stunned the group of ferocious beasts and inspired the remaining six. But just a moment later, the boy on the wolf's back raised his long knife. Beast blood boiling kill. As the words lingered in the air, the double pupils of the surrounding ferocious beasts gradually filled with blood-red threads, and the rising momentum was much stronger than before. He can. Amplify the ferocious beasts? No. To be precise, it should be to inspire and command. The attributes of the beasts had not been substantially enhanced, but were merely triggered more effectively. As for how it was done, it remained unknown. Chen Chen couldn't hide his shock, and the others felt similarly. After all, this was unheard of. Is this world originally like this, and I just haven't noticed it, or is it because of me that the world has become what it is now? To be honest, Chen Chen is a bit confused. But, never mind. Remember, they could have escaped death, but because of you, they walked the path to death. The boy on the wolf's back suddenly chuckled, looking at the sharp knife in his hand as if it were his closest friend, just ferocious beasts. The more that die, the better, right? Chen Chen fell silent upon hearing this, then suddenly pulled the string and shot another arrow. Boom! The explosion still occurred, and the damage had not diminished, but the defensive layer of the ferocious beast's skin seemed to have become thicker and harder. In the next moment, he understood. He quickly reminded the six people who were currently fighting the ferocious beast. It's the effect of blood. The beast's defense hasn't strengthened. It's just that the blood has increased the elasticity and toughness of the surface. If you can't handle it, take the pills I gave you. This battle is unavoidable. That said, Chen Chen's gaze never left the boy on the wolf's back. Because the aura emanating from him was so strange that even he found it somewhat tricky. Perhaps it was the level. Or perhaps something else. But since they hadn't engaged yet, Chen Chen couldn't discern it carefully. After a moment of confrontation, the eyes of the two boys naturally collided. On the wolf's back, he tilted his head, you 
are indeed very special. Specially handsome? I don't need you to tell me that. Especially. Shameless. Ha! As soon as the voice fell, Chen Chen directly shot an arrow enhanced with delayed spirit explosion. You play dirty. The boy on the wolf instinctively turned his head to dodge. But unexpectedly, Chen Chen raised his hand again. Sleeve cannon flame explosion. This, a prediction? With the shooting speed of fireball explosion, given that he had already shot in advance, the time left for the opponent to react was only a fleeting moment. One second? No, it might not even be half a second. This little time was just enough for the boy on the wolf to swing his knife diagonally, swish. The blade passed through the fireball but couldn't stop it in the slightest, not even causing a slight disturbance. The result was, a woe in a critical moment. The white giant wolf beneath the boy raised its front paw, and that basketball-sized paw directly shattered the fireball in midair, leaving no trace. Chen Chen frowned slightly. Howling Moon Sky Wolf? Doesn't seem quite like it. Her name is Abai. She is my best friend. The boy on the wolf neither confirmed nor denied, softly saying as he stroked the giant wolf's head. Thank you, Abai. Wu Hat. With your ruthlessness towards ferocious beasts, you actually have such a friend. Abai is different. Chen Chen chuckled lightly. He wasn't disbelieving. After all, in this world, all kinds of bizarre events could happen. But now, their positions were indeed different. After exhaling a short breath, he said, You should know my name, but I still don't know yours. The boy on the wolf glanced at him, his expression still indifferent, but he said, Bai Zhan. Bai. Zhan. Chen Chen pondered for a moment upon hearing this but couldn't recall such a character from his memory. Perhaps the other side was too low-key, and he hadn't heard of him, or perhaps it was because of his rebirth that such a character appeared. The Lu family sent you? Bai Zhan raised the corner of his mouth disdainfully. Lu family? Never heard of it. Is it some insignificant family? As he spoke, Chen Chen frowned slightly, pulled back the slingshot in his hand, and directly shot sideways, shattering a silver cloud seal that was lunging at him. You say I'm shameless, but you also sneak attacked? He he. Bai Zhan chuckled playfully. All's fair in war. The enemy doesn't mind a city. It's always boring to chat. Let's have a fight. Interesting. Haven't we always been fighting? You have a gun, right? Take it out. Chen Chen finally understood his meaning. But, sorry, I refuse. A mere mortal like me only has this one life. I can't afford to gamble. Bai Zhan fell silent for a moment before saying, A person without ambition is not worth mourning. Chen Chen couldn't help but think to himself. Late stage Chunibu, and then replied, You have hemorrhoids, your whole family has hemorrhoids. He didn't expect that his words would seem to strike a nerve in the other. Whole family? Bai Zhan paused for a moment. I haven't heard that word in a long time. Suddenly, whoosh, a swift shadow appeared, followed closely by a sharp blade. The boy had to step back, drawing out the Shanghai Longing gun to block the strike. This couldn't be considered a true fight, right? But the fork of the slingshot was really useless for defense. Clang. A long sound echoed. Damn. Are you allergic to whole family or something? Bai Zhan's gaze turned cold. A hint of madness flickering in his eyes. The apocalypse took everything from me. I have no family left. Apologize. As soon as he said this, Chen Chen used a burst of strength to push Bai Zhan's long knife aside. Then thrust his gun upward. I apologize to you. Damn it. Do you think you're the only one who lost family? Who hasn't? You, Bai Zhan could only stagger to block Chen Chen's quick strike. The force of their clash made many fierce beasts shrink back, not daring to cause trouble. Such fast gunplay. After receiving the blow, Bai Zhan's emotions seemed to calm a bit. Use your gun. Let's see who's better. If you win, I'll leave immediately. But Chen Chen suddenly pulled back his gun and drew the bow. Pun. Do you think I'm a three-year-old? The explosion of delayed spirit blast erupted, forcing Bai Zhan to jump back to avoid the sharp edge. Chen Chen's power attribute was 104 points, and when the LV-2 delayed spirit blast detonated, it equated to an attack with 468 points of power if he didn't dodge. Serious injury was unavoidable. However, after landing, Bai Zhan lunged forward with his knife. You don't want to use it? I'll force you to. If you have the guts, try it. Chen Chen shouted, a silver lightning flickering in his eyes. Indeed. Domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder. A circular lightning array with a radius of four. Five meters unfolded from beneath his feet with the boy's shout. Bai Zhan, who was approaching with his knife, leaped in without the chance to change direction. The lightning attack within the array, 
along with a subsequent bolt of lightning, arrived as expected. Two lines of damage notifications popped up one after the other. Minus 274. Minus 2. 092. Chen Chen was momentarily stunned. Bai Zhan's mental power was surprisingly high. He reached LV2 with domain, Moon Lake Silver Thunder. And the lightning damage he suffered was 4. 5 times his mental attribute, which meant 76. 5 mental power and 765 damage. Even if his combat power would ultimately weaken a bit, it shouldn't be less than 30%, right? A rough estimate suggested this guy's mental attribute definitely exceeded 50 points. In this moment of shock, Chen Chen was horrified to find that Bai Zhan, after being struck by lightning, didn't retreat but charged forward with reckless abandon, slashing down with his knife. It wasn't a skill, just a simple strike. But Chen Chen felt that this blow was anything but ordinary. Ding! The boy instantly raised his silver gun, fiercely blocking it. After a year of struggling in his past life, his combat experience was quite solid, and with his proficiency in the war spear, he was also adept with the long gun. After blocking this strike, Chen Chen didn't linger in battle and immediately created distance. At the same time, he began to analyze in his mind, was it because of his high mental attribute that ordinary attacks contain spiritual power? That last strike was clearly not ordinary, but it also seemed to be mental intent. Could it be the intent? Blade intent? Who exactly was this Bai Zhan? Are you just going to keep running away? Chen Chen snapped back to reality at the sound of the voice, glancing around. My teammates have already gained the upper hand, the advantage is mine. Are you really going to fight me to the death? Upon hearing this, Bai Zhan took a closer look at his surroundings. The situation was indeed as Chen Chen had said. After pondering for a moment, he raised his head and said, It seems I don't have time to waste with you. A Bai. Wolf the white giant wolf responded to the call and quickly came to Bai Zhan's side, lifting him up. Ready, tactical A. Upon hearing this, Abai immediately crouched low, and Bai Zhan bent slightly as well, sheathing his knife before drawing it out half an inch. In the next moment, Abai carried him and began to circle around the entire front line. Chen Chen frowned slightly. What skill is this? The wind-up is so long? However, he wouldn't just wait to be hit. He raised his right hand and fired a sleeve cannon, flame burst at them, followed closely by water balls, ice spikes, and wind pressure, one after another, but without exception, all were dodged by a bai with agile footwork. By this point, ten seconds had already passed. Feeling something was off, Chen Chen gritted his teeth and took out a silver gray bullet, knocking it on the bowstring. Delayed spirit explosion, triple, instant explosion. Bai Zhan, who was circling the front line, also frowned, clearly sensing that something was wrong. What Chen Chen was about to unleash. I have no choice, although there will be some flaws. It should be enough. Bai Zhan murmured before suddenly stopping a Bai, crouching down when a glint of blade light appeared from the back of Bai Zhan's hand gripping the knife handle. Chen Chen felt every hair on his body stand on end. This feeling, he had experienced in his past life when he drew the mysterious crisis. It was the feeling of death. Everyone, get down. As Chen Chen's voice fell, Bai Zhan also opened his eyes, a sharp gaze filled with killing intent piercing through. Intentional, blade draw slash, special bullet, thunderous might. As the words intentional left his mouth, Bai Zhan's hand, gripping the knife handle, swiftly drew it out. Blade draw slash. With the sound, a curved blade light shot out rapidly. The speed was as quick as a blink, but at the same time, the special bullet in Chen Chen's hand was also ready. Special bullet, thunderous might. Thunderous might bullet, special type of bullet. One time consumable, contains the special ammunition of natural thunder. Can be used as crossbow bolts, arrow bolts, or thrown objects, effect analysis, upon hitting any target. The natural thunder energy contained within will be instantly released, forming a temporary thunderstorm domain, with natural thunder automatically locking onto targets within the domain causing significant lightning damage, rated damage, this damage is the rated damage of natural thunder and is not affected by the caster's mental attributes. The so-called any target naturally includes spiritual power, but if you think that just detonating it will allow you to avoid it, then you are gravely mistaken, as this round bullet, filled with violent lightning elements, cut through the air, the reaction of spiritual power immediately triggered the thunder from the sky, and at the same time, the triple delayed spirit explosion erupted. Like a fuse, it completely activated the thunderous might bullet. 
The thunder roared deafeningly. Wherever it passed, the ground looked as if it had been plowed by a lightning plow, leaving a long trench. Silver blue fluorescence still flickered on the charred ground. The scene was utterly shocking. However, the arc of the blade wielded by Baijan did not disappear. Instead, it pierced straight through the thunderstorm and grazed the boy's waist. Ugh. Pain? In that moment, there was none. Chen Shen only felt a sudden disconnection from his lower body. Cut in half? But wasn't I wearing the Liuli Heartguard armor? It should be able to withstand a non-protected attack of no more than level 10, right? Could it be that Bai Zhan is already above level 28? At the same time Chen Shen was hit, the Thunderbolt Cannonball surged with overwhelming force, rumbling past where Bai Zhan stood. A wolf, the white giant wolf beneath him howled loudly, its white fur shimmering with a layer of silver light as the thunder passed. It merely seemed a bit dispirited, but Bai Zhan on its back did not have that luxury. As the thunder swept by, terrifying damage values ruthlessly popped up, leaving no part of him unscathed. The high temperature burned away his clothes, leaving only fragments. The exposed skin could not withstand such scorching and split open, with blood oozing out instantly carbonizing to a charred black, clinging to the surface like a blood scab. In the gaps, faint blood red still flowed. Ugh! 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 Just after the thunder passed, the now white giant wolf began to pant anxiously then locked its gaze filled with hatred onto Chen Chen. But just as it was about to act, ah, bye, hearing the voice, the giant wolf immediately toned down its movements, appearing quite docile. Go, ugh. After responding, the giant wolf suddenly turned and dashed away into the distance. Clearly, Bai Zhan's command took precedence over its instincts. This battle, up to this moment, could be considered over, but the aftermath it left behind. Gurgle. Chen Chen's eyelids twitched a mouthful of thick blood spilling from his lips, his legs giving way as they lost the support of his spine, first softening, then collapsing, and finally, bang, the unsupported upper body crashed heavily to the ground. Master, you, Frog Frog cried out anxiously, its sleeves twitching slightly, don't come out, I'm not going to die, Chen Shen scolded in his heart, though he stopped Frog Frog's movements, blood was already gushing out uncontrollably, if this trend continued, he would probably bleed to death in less than half a minute. There was no time to think about why the Liuli Heartguard armor had not activated. The urgent matter was to save his life. Chen Chen's thoughts shifted, and he took a pill from his spatial ring, raising his hand to bring it to his mouth, but at that moment a slightly trembling foot stepped on his forearm. You! The boy stared in shock, the person was none other than. Hao! Zhao! Hao Chen's face showed some embarrassment, but a firm resolve lingered in his eyes. Chuan! I don't want this either, but you know how important strength is in this world. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself for showing too many good things. As he spoke, the knife he gripped tightly was about to stab down, this knife was one Chen Shen had bought for him. But suddenly, sizzle, bang, hiss, two sounds erupted almost simultaneously. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. In an instant, Hao Chen paid the price for his actions, ending up in a dire situation. His right arm holding the sword was severed by Dong Fan Yin Yan's strike, while his left foot, which was stepping on Chun Chen's forearm, was shattered by a sudden thunderstorm. The source of this thunderstorm was simple a thunderlight penetrating shell with delayed spirit explosion added. As for how it was triggered, the thunderlight penetrating shell could be used as a crossbow bolt, bow bolt, or thrown object, it just needed to hit the target. So hitting Hao Chen's leg was sufficient, wasn't it? Inevitably penetrating, Combined with the delayed spiritual explosion, this special bullet simply exploded in the middle of Hao Chen's leg, and the outcome was naturally as such. Clang clang clang, the dragon scale long sword fell, leaving only one hand and one foot of Hao Chen continuously retreating, his eyes filled with fear of death. Don't kill me, please. Xiao Gu, oh Zhao Gu, you are really disappointing. Dong Fan Yan Yan, holding the still blood dripping great sword, stepped closer. But behind him came Chen Chen's voice, De Yanzi, what the hell? Chuan Gu, hearing Chen Chen's voice, Dong Fan Yan Yan suddenly remembered that the latter was now left with only half a body. Treating his injuries was far more important than killing Hao Chun. The big fool quickly ran over, pretending to help him up. Hey, don't! Chen Chen shouted, as his life-threatening injuries meant that the more he moved, the more his vitality would be harmed. Ha! Huh? The elixir. Just give me the elixir. Oh. And you, you stepped on my lower half. Hey, isn't it already useless? Useless my ass. 
it can still be reattached. How could he just give up his lower half? It was only cut open, not blown to pieces, all the parts were still intact. Okay? Oh oh oh. Is this the elixir? Yes. Hurry up. I'm about to die. Eh? Fortunately, although Dongfan Yenyan was a big guy and a bit foolish, he had no malicious intent, otherwise, if he could just subdue Chen Chen, he would have made a fortune. The process was thrilling, but everything went smoothly. During this time, the other four also reacted, pushing aside the beast's corpse and crawling out, covered in blood. Seeing Chen Chen's terrifying injuries, they all gasped in shock. Not long after, the boy held the elixir in his mouth, beads of sweat the size of beans sliding down his forehead, and he finally gasped. Right now, help me reattach it. Oh, a response that left everyone a bit flustered. Don't mess it up. Who would have thought that as soon as Chen Chen finished speaking, Shi Xiaoyu urgently shouted, Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. no, no, it's this side that's the front, it's reversed, what the hell, are you guys even capable? These five were not doctors after all, asking them to reattach a body was like asking a beggar to enter a courtyard, complete novices, in just a few seconds, they were misaligned here and there, but fortunately, the incision was very neat, and they finally managed to attach it, at that moment, the elixir in Chen Chen's mouth finally went down his throat. As the pill rolled into his esophagus, a thread of spiritual power seeped in, and the overwhelming life energy immediately burst forth, causing the boy's arms to flex. Not long after, the flesh at the upper body's severed edge began to twitch slightly. The dead skin was pushed outward by the newly grown tender flesh, rising like a mountain, and then it fell away, revealing flawless skin beneath. The entire process was visible to the naked eye. This terrifying recovery effect left the surrounding people stunned their eyes wide open. It could grow back even after being cut in half? This, WC, Taui was stunned for a long time, ultimately choosing the simplest and most direct adjective to express his feelings at that moment. Shang Tian Shan, Chuan Gu, this thing can definitely be written into history, right? Tang Bei, exactly. If we had this, how many casualties could be reduced in Jolong City? Dong Fang Yan Yan, yeah, yeah, this is a super band-aid, right? Shi Xiaoyu, after being stunned for a long time, then if you have a grudge against someone, can you just keep cutting her in half? As her voice fell, the surroundings fell silent except for the sound of the river flowing into the sea. Why are you all looking at me like that? Am I wrong? You must be a devil. Chen Chen directly broke the silence. Remember, don't ever provoke this woman, it's deadly. Repeatedly cutting in half, is that even okay? The other four men were as silent as cicadas in winter. There was no need for Chin Chen to say anything about it, they had already understood when they jumped off the cliff. This woman is not to be trifled with. The pill that can restore severed limbs is undoubtedly one of Chen Chen's life-saving measures, the regeneration capsule of the starfish. Regeneration capsule of the starfish, made from the regenerative factors within the body of the starfish mixed with auxiliary materials. It can completely heal bodily injuries in a very short time without leaving a trace, level restriction, usable below level 25, crafting quality, purple. Excellent. This item was created by Chen Chen only after he obtained that alchemist's secondary profession, and the raw materials naturally came from the banks of the Great River. It belongs to the category of having a formula but cannot be produced without the relevant profession. Alright, fully revived. Next, the young man said, his voice deepening, and he picked up the dragon scale long knife from the ground, slowly walking towards Hao Chun. Seeing him approach, Hao Chun used his remaining hand and foot to frantically scoot back, Why you? How can you be? Just as he was about to be shocked by how Chun Chen could recover, he quickly reacted and said, Ah, uh, Chuan, brother Chuan, no, 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 Chuan Gu, Chuan Dad, Chuan Yi, why you? Please spare my worthless life. However, Chen Chen, who had already approached, directly stabbed through his right lung, halting his retreat. Ah, 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 I, I know, I was wrong. The young man remained silent, and the next knife pierced directly into the left side of his throat, not allowing him to die immediately, leaving him with a breath. At this point, he slowly spoke, Zhao Gu, you must understand one thing, once the Pandora's box of greed is opened, it can never be closed again. Sizzle. As the words fell, the dragon scale long knife, just like its suffix name, severed the head of its former owner. Only death can stop greed. The five men behind the young man shivered at this scene, 
But they also understood that this was something that had to be done, how Chen was indeed deserving of death. After dealing with him, Chen Shen couldn't help but let out a sigh, this wave wasn't a loss after all, at least he had indirectly verified the nature of Dong Fang Yen Yen, this big fool. As for Hao Chen, in fact, he had some suspicions since they set out, but he didn't expect this guy to erupt when he was severely injured, he truly hadn't considered enough. If he had taken more protective measures, let alone Hao Chun, even Bai Zhan probably wouldn't have had the chance to bisect him. It's just a pity that he still couldn't understand why he was bisected. With this matter settled, the battlefield by the riverbank was also nearly cleaned up. Brother Chuan, there are a total of 7 yellow wheels and 19 white wheels, and the beast materials have been separated according to your method. Hmm, thank you for your hard work. We can split the wheels evenly. How can that be? Shang Tianxian immediately spoke up. We were only responsible for holding off the beasts. The one who truly took them down is you. So you should rightfully take over 40% or more of the spoils. I can take one fifth of the remaining 60%, which is 12%. Shi Xiaoyu stated, I have no problem. I have no problem either. With the conversation reaching this point, Shen Shen could only smile and agree. 40% of the spoils meant two yellow wheels and five white wheels. But Chen Chen only took four white ones, and after the experience with 17 Miao, everyone began to value time currency as well. After collecting everything, they distributed it according to the proportions. Once the spoils were divided, it was time to head back home. With double experience completed, the class change altar would definitely become a hot potato again, sure to be targeted by various forces around. Even forces from outside the Jiangnan settlement would come rushing in. However, before leaving, Taozi, help me make a hole in this cliff. I'll refine some stuff and then head back. The dragon head and the others can't hold out for days. Brother Chuan, are you going to make pills again? Chen Chen, what do you mean by making pills? I'm refining medicine. He he he, close enough, close enough. That said, Tao Yi's movements were not slow. He quickly used his steel shield to poke a circle of holes in the cliff, and finally struck it with a punch. Pulong. The shattered stones scattered everywhere, and a cave as tall as two people was thus artificially created. Seeing this, the others skillfully sat down by the cave entrance, taking on the role of guardians. After all, this was outdoors, and fierce beasts could appear at any moment. Shen Shen was not polite either, he walked into the cave and took out the Qing Yan Yan furnace, while his eyes glowed, and his aura immediately calmed down. There was no doubt that he had activated that alchemist's secondary profession at this moment. This trip to the Jiangdong battlefield, for him and the team, was fruitful enough to be described as rich, far beyond just leveling up. Among the gains, there were several materials that Chen Shen had been paying attention to, some were his, and some were from Wa Wa. Before this, there were a few skills that could be researched first, namely the Wind Thunder Diamond Fist obtained from Jing Kui, and the Bangling Annihilation Arrow acquired from Jing Yu. In the space rings of the two, only these two skill books could be considered valuable. The rest included three excellent grade white longevity pills. Who refined them? Is self-evident. Ha! Just wait, my dear sister. Inside the cave, the young man looked at the two scrolls in his hand, and a corresponding attribute panel window immediately popped up Wind Thunder Diamond Fist, Fist Technique. Attack skill, charge forward and unleash a powerful punch containing both wind and thunder elements, effect analysis, this is a dual attack fist technique. Dealing both physical and mental damage, the physical attack damage of the fist technique is three times the user's strength value, and the impact damage of wind and thunder energy is five times the user's mental attribute, skill cost, 125 spirit points, skill cooldown, 24, 5 seconds. The effect is okay, but the cooldown time is a bit long. After reading, Chin Chen immediately tossed it outside. Taozi, this is for you. Ha, huh? me, I'm not going to be a punching gorilla. This kind of silly thing is better left to you, Taoi. You can just give me the item. Why the personal attack? And it sounds so much like it. So rude. Of course, even though Taoi felt this way deep down, he understood Chen Chen's intention, which was to prevent him from refusing. Hence the wording. Nevertheless, still so rude. The young man in the cave didn't have time to deal with such matters. His attention was already on the second window, Bangling Annihilation Arrow, Crossbow, Archery Technique, Condense Bang Ling power to shoot a Yin Ling arrow forward, or gather Bang Ling power in a thrown object before throwing it, effect analysis, Bang Ling power will disintegrate upon contact with spirit power aggregates if it hits directly, 
It will deal 3. 5 times the caster's mental attribute damage and put the target in a stasis state. Stasis, the next spirit power gathering will definitely fail. Skill cost, 180 spirit points. Skill cooldown, 45 seconds. Good heavens, silence, although it can only be used once. The practicality of this skill is more than sufficient, especially when the opponent is a fierce beast. The sudden silence could very well become the key to victory. You are about to learn Bang Ling Annihilation Arrow, which will take approximately 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Confirm? Since it's a good skill, is there even a need to consider whether to learn it? Confirm. When learning a skill, you can't do anything else. But fortunately, it doesn't take long. Throughout the process, the brain is constantly demonstrating how to use the skill, so it can't be considered boring. And when the progress bar reaches the end, learning complete. After finishing the skill, Chen Chen glanced at his combat power. He he, another 50 points. Combat power affects the final damage. So having a bit more is naturally better. I found a bug, the equipment wasn't set to add combat power, but adding it now feels a bit abrupt. I'll supplement it later. Tang Bei. Here. Wow. I have one too. Tang Bei said in surprise as he received the scroll thrown by Chin Chen. If you're following me, I can't treat you poorly, right? Hey. Thanks. Brother Chuan. I didn't follow the wrong person. Chen Chen smiled without saying a word, then began to busy himself with other things. The increase in combat power isn't just about attributes and combat power. For him, the special bullet ranger. Having sufficiently powerful special ammunition is the foundation of output. Gun skills are just a guarantee for close combat. He he, fire demon flower. Heart of the blazing sea python. And this, please specify the price you want. 1. Bone cancer 2. Bad blood disease 3. Split coin asterisk 1. 200 foot 4. Damaged life-sized Barbie doll 5. Fiery blood red snake asterisk 3 foot. 9. White longevity pill asterisk 2 foot 10. Earth fire spirit gel asterisk 10 kg This is a medium quality yellow roulette, which Chen Chen shows when dividing the spoils earlier. After the voice appeared in his mind, he immediately shouted in his heart, I choose 10. Congratulations on winning. Earth fire spirit gel asterisk 10 kg. Damn. Didn't win again. Seeing a transparent jar filled with fiery red liquid appear on the ground, Chen Shen couldn't help but feign a scolding. As his voice fell, a comforting voice came from outside the cave, you'll get used to it. Brother Chuan, winning is a coincidence, not winning is the norm. Sigh, a long sigh echoed in the cave. Then, the boy secretly smiled in his heart, having gathered the three main materials, with the remaining auxiliary materials laid out on the ground one by one. He then tossed them into the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace in the order of the recipe in his mind, igniting a furnace of alchemical fire with spiritual energy, refining in progress. 5 minutes and 44 seconds remaining. Less than 6 minutes passed in a flash. Refining complete. Obtained, unnamed bullet, asterisk 6. As 6 bullets rolled out of the furnace, a faint smile appeared on the boy's face. I'll call you, Earth Rift Lava Bullet Plus. Naming successful. The recipe has been automatically saved. He he he. One shot is enough. As expected of me an alchemist is a being that can turn decay into legend. In his past life, Chen Chen gradually gained fame through this secondary profession. With the arrival of Life Devourer, humanity had no inheritance, many things were concocted and created by alchemists themselves, including Chen Chen's special bullets. Since he concocted them himself, there was naturally a success rate and the probability of one-shot success isn't high. Chen Chen quickly checked the Earth Rift Lava Bullet that he had upgraded. Earth Rift Lava Bullet Plus, a refined item, a one-time consumable, a refined item rich in fire and earth elemental energy, can be used as a crossbow bolt, bow bolt, or thrown object, effect analysis, when it explodes upon hitting the ground. The dual fire and earth elements contained within will affect the surrounding spiritual energy creating an irreversible flowing lava area with a radius of not less than 6 meters, causing extremely high damage, rated damage, the elemental damage upon explosion is 13 times the caster's mental attribute. 5 times, flowing lava will cause continuous burn damage to targets with fire resistance below 90% until the lava solidifies, level restriction, level 20 and above, crafting quality, purple. Excellent. Hey, not bad. The materials for crafting this bullet are at least of yellow quality and that fire demon flower is close to purple quality. Through the purification and refining of the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace, 
Reaching purple excellent is not surprising. The alchemy furnace raises one quality, and the alchemist's secondary profession also has a corresponding upgrade, unfortunately. The materials obtained this time are only enough to upgrade the earthquake lava bullet, and there are no higher level materials for other special bullets for now. After all, this is the Jiangdong battlefield, mostly inhabited by sea beasts, with attributes primarily of water and fire. In the sea, there is water, and among its natural enemies, there is fire, water and fire do not coexist, speaking of water. Frog, are you ready to get stronger? Cunning frog, oh omega ribbit? Get stronger, get stronger, hoo 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 master v5. Then, let's begin. For the materials suitable for frog, he has collected quite a bit this time. And as for why? Just one point, the second round of nurturing for pets is not like the first round. The first round is like writing on a blank sheet of paper. Whatever you write is what it is. But the second round is like compiling and modifying program code, with the possibility of failure. Even if the strategy is given to you, there is still a chance of failure. Before the main event starts, let's warm up, with his thoughts settled. The boy turned his back, fully expanding his spirit, keeping frogs matters a secret for now. However, soon, this matter could be brought out in the open. The few people outside didn't ask much, thinking Chen Chen was concentrating on alchemy. Come on. Frog, let's try to enhance the chain water ball first. As he spoke, a row of water attribute materials was placed in front of him, looking not much stronger than the previous earth dragon tail. The overall process didn't change much. What appeared before Chin Chen was the progress bar for advanced nurturing. When this progress bar reached 100%, advanced nurturing failed. Proficiency of chain water ball plus 11. 2%. Ha, huh, it really isn't that simple. Let's continue. Frog, there are plenty of chances. Eh, do I have to eat more? Plus plus, life is tough. Frog cries if the chain water ball is a white level skill. Then this time, what Chen Chen wants to do is upgrade it from white to yellow. For fierce beasts, this is also called mutation. The difficulty is naturally considerable. After consuming four portions of the advanced recipe, he managed to stack the proficiency of the chain water ball to around 89%. And finally, a message echoed in Chen Chen's mind advanced nurturing successful. Skill chain water ball has evolved into water blade slash. Skill proficiency maxed out. Level upgraded, LV2. Soaking water blade slash, LV2, rapidly erupts forward not less than 9 water blades. And finally charges to unleash a giant soaking water blade. Effect analysis. The attack damage of a normal water blade is 2. 5 times the caster's spirit attribute and the attack damage of the giant soaking water blade is 5 times the caster's spirit attribute. If the giant water blade hits, it will put the target into a soaking state, lasting 10 seconds, soaking, subjected to intense water element soaking. Spirit in defense reduced to 50%, skill spirit cost, 35 points, skill cooldown time, 8, 6 seconds. Ah, finally succeeded. The low success rate of this round of advanced nurturing was because Chen Chen chose materials that could master the soaking abnormal state. Strengthening oneself and weakening the opponent are direct ways to improve combat efficiency. The advantage of the soaking water blade is that as long as it hits, it will definitely soak. The downside is that the attack speed of the water blade is not fast, making it possible to dodge. Of course, at this stage, it's already enough. Okay, the water upgrade is complete. Now it's time for fire. Frog, underscore, angle, quack for the sake of a certain someone's strength. In the end, it was still Frog who bore everything fortunately. Hard work pays off evolutionary cultivation successful. Skill fireball explosion has evolved into fire whirlwind. Skill proficiency increased. Current proficiency, 96. 38%. Finally, as he thought, a fist-sized emerald green orb appeared in the boy's hand. Frog fun. It's so big. Master, you can't be trying to choke frog to death, right? Big is good. Be a good frog and eat it frog, degree o degree asterisk. Quaka ah no way. I can't possibly eat even a tiny bit. You silly. This is a spirit orb. The main component is spiritual power. You just need to hold it in your mouth and turn it into spiritual power, right? Ha, huh? is it like that? Frog blinked its slightly bulging cute eyes, looking as if it was absorbing new knowledge. Then what else? All right. I'll try again. This time, Frog simply imitated its natural enemy, opening its big beak, and directly stuck its whole frog self onto the spirit orb. MMM wow, so big. Fortunately, in the end, 
the spirit orb automatically transformed into a special spiritual power, merging into Frog's small body, and thus the transformation began. This was the first time it directly swallowed a skill spirit orb. As for the origin of the spirit orb, of course, it was from the mutated elite level mimic lichen that the team encountered shortly after entering the Jiangdong battlefield. Only mutated ferocious beasts can produce skill spirit orbs. Cultivating. 11 minutes and 59 seconds remaining. The mimic lichen is definitely a wood type, and the skill spirit orb it produces can naturally provide wood type skills. Frog originally had a vine bind, and after this learning, when the countdown reached 4 minutes and 59 seconds, a window popped up again in front of Chen Chen. Detected that the pet cunning frog has a similar skill. Please choose, 1. Fuse and elevate this skill. Recommended, 2. Master it as a new skill. 3. Give up learning this skill. Ha! Huh? It can be like this. As someone who has lived two lives, this was Chin Chen's first encounter with pets, so he was only half understanding. However, with these three options in front of him, even a fool would know which one to choose. The boy didn't think much and directly pressed one. After pressing, the screen didn't change much, the paused countdown just continued to run. Cultivating. 4 minutes and 58 seconds remaining. In the end, evolutionary cultivation successful. Skill Vine Bind has fused and elevated to Vine Whip. Skill Proficiency maxed out. Level upgraded, LV2. Thus, Frog's evolutionary cultivation came to a conclusion. With this wave of enhancement, its combat power once again approached Chun Chen. Reaching 1, 477 points. Time flew by in the cave. Before he knew it, dusk had fallen. And Chen Chen didn't know how many pills and elixirs he had refined until he turned to look outside. Feeling a bit fatigued. Sigh, I wish there was an automatic alchemy machine. Special bullets were very interesting. And the endless variety of special bullets could catch enemies off guard. But replenishing ammunition after the battle was a headache. Ah, let's draw a prize to change my mood. As he thought, a medium grade yellow roulette appeared in the boy's hand. Of course, he had specifically chosen it. As for why he didn't draw it from the start. Please specify the prize you want. 1. Purple Level Beast Tide 2. Hurricane Disaster 3. Pink Loving GC Instant 4K Collection, Limited Edition, if you know what it is. Go to the corner and face the wall right now. 4. Random Lord Level Fierce Beasts 5. All Skills LV 1 Inch. 9. All Skill Proficiencies Plus 11. 1% 10. Sheji Heavenly I I Choose. 10. Congratulations on winning. Sheji Heavenly I. Immediately after. Congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can choose one additional item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. 1. 10 boxes of laxative pills 2. Yellow level space ring 3. All attributes plus 1, permanent, 4. 5 moon coins 5. Demon high school asterisk rius gremory, 1 third fragment. Ha! Good, good, doing this again? Ha! After rem, it's the red haired goddess, right? Alright, alright, I choose, I choose. 2. A goddess or not. How can a yellow level space ring not be tempting? He he he. Then, the space ring floated out, and the boy put it on his hand, moving some items from the previous white space ring over. Compared to the white one, the yellow level ring had a faster speed for storing and retrieving items. Long spears, special bullets, all could be placed inside. After selecting the hidden reward, Chen Chen felt a cool energy flowing into his eyes from all directions. Undoubtedly, it was the Xieji heavily eye. His eyeballs were instantly filled with a faint coolness, like having eaten a mint candy, but it was not irritating. Refreshing, perhaps only these two words could describe Chen Chen's feeling at this moment. As he slightly opened his eyes, the previously somewhat blurry view due to mild nearsightedness was now incredibly clear. In his line of sight, there were one after another illusory ten crosshairs, floating around the five people outside the cliff cave. But since his gaze did not shift, the crosshairs did not lock on. This Xieji Heavenly Eye was not unfamiliar to Chen Chen. In his previous life, there was a legendary figure who possessed this eye, the team he led had never had anyone betray him, and anyone with rebellious thoughts was expelled before they could act, because the Xieji Heavenly Eye, as its name suggests, is like the eye of the divine beast Xieji, capable of discerning good from evil and loyalty from treachery. Xieji Heavenly Eye, a special eye technique, can be directly learned and transform the pupils, after learning. The eyes will contain a trace of Xieji's divine essence, enabling the discernment of good and evil and loyalty and treachery in the world. Rank, beginner.
Beginner, could it be that this Sheji heavily I can be upgraded? On this point, Chen Shen was indeed unsure. After all, he was an outsider, knowing the general abilities of someone from his previous life was already good enough. How could he know the details? Whether it can be upgraded, he would think about it later. The boy closed the detail window in front of him and gradually focused his gaze on the people outside the cliff cave. The reason he didn't draw from the roulette at the beginning was naturally because of this human greed can sometimes be endured by will. And sometimes, awakening is just a thought away. He had stayed in the cliff cave for so long, and the items he made were considered good things for many people. So it was understandable that some would feel greed. The ten crosshair quickly locked onto the first person, Tao Yi. The originally floating crosshair then layered over Tao Yi like a tracking missile locking onto a target, slightly rotating a few times before changing from transparent and colorless to sky blue. Subsequently, Chen Shen also received the identification result, loyalty. Ha! This kid. Next, his gaze locked onto the remaining four people one by one, Dong Fan Yen Yen was also blue, indicating loyalty while Shang Tianxiang and Tang Bei were a turquoise green, friendliness. Finally, for Shi Xiaoyu, the crosshair's light actually kept alternating between sky blue and gray white. With no result, the boy's gaze slightly narrowed, as gray white represented treachery, so-called good and evil, loyalty and treachery. The green grass represents friendship, the blood red signifies enmity, the blue sky symbolizes loyalty, and the gloomy gray white stands for treachery. Loyalty and treachery continuously alternate. This woman has no good intentions, does she? Chen Shen couldn't help but feel a surge of vigilance. After all, no one knew when she might suddenly explode, just like how Chen did. Next, for white wheels, spin, 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 spin. It was too much trouble to do it one by one, so the young man simply chose to go all in at once. Please specify the price you want. It was just a white wheel, so naturally, he chose the smallest area. Congratulations. You won. White longevity pill asterisk 3. Congratulations. You won. Sky coins asterisk 25. Congratulations. You won. Power bracelets. Congratulations. You won. All skill proficiency plus 6. 6%. 6 After selecting the last reward, Chen Chen's mind immediately followed with, the proficiency of delayed spirit explosion is now full. Level up. LV3. The young man smiled broadly and waved to open the skill proficiency panel, Penetrator LV2, 51, 66%. Domain Moon Lake Silver Thunder LV2, 79, 3%. Delayed Spirit Explosion LV3, 0, 7%. Light Pursuing Thunder Shadow Step LV1, 36, 9%. Collapse Spirit Annihilation Arrow LV1, 6, 6%. 6 After this round, his combat power also broke through the 2000 mark. 2, 0, 92 points. He swallowed all three white longevity pills he drew, and combined with the lifespan gained from hunting the ferocious beast Life Devourer. His total lifespan was 372 years and 153 days. Furthermore, power bracelets, wrist guards, arm guards, made primarily from charged spirit iron, capable of dissipating and concentrating force, basic attributes, arm defense plus 12, effect analysis, the material of the wrist guard has a built-in concentration feature. Injecting spiritual power can multiply the strength of both arms. Up to three times, level restriction, usable above level 16, crafting quality, yellow, excellent. The white wills dropped by ferocious beasts of different levels have rewards of varying tiers. It is precisely for this reason that Chen Shen was able to draw this fairly effective power bracelets from a white wheel. All four white wheels had grand prizes, and this wave of all-in draws resulted in Consecutive grand prizes. Hidden reward stack. You can choose one of the following prizes. 1. About my reincarnation as a slime asterisk July, one half fragment, 2. Year coins asterisk 3 inch 3. Spirit realm gate 4. Purple longevity pill 5. Secondary profession card asterisk refiner Chin Shen's lips curled slightly, indeed. It surpassed what a normal white will could offer. The four stacked together and the quality of the hidden rewards even exceeded the hidden rewards from the previous yellow wheel grand prize. However, what is this cheat? First Rem, then Lias Mori, and now July has appeared. He couldn't believe that others' wheels also had these. At first, Rem's one-seventh fragment was a hidden option, and since he didn't choose it, now two consecutive hidden rewards are being thrown out? Is the hint this crazy? Just as his thoughts settled, a voice echoed in his mind again. You can pay six. Six years of lifespan to choose two hidden rewards, 
or pay 66 years of lifespan to choose three hidden rewards. Chen Chen. All right, all right, so it's made clear now. Celebrating a hundred chapters. The prompt for multiple selections of hidden rewards has only appeared twice so far, but looking back at the first time before this, it didn't seem to hold much meaning. It was just like telling him, it can be done this way, that's all. But this time, what exactly are you trying to do? Chen Shan stared ahead, muttering to himself, but such questions clearly had no answers, otherwise, his hanging would have to be renamed system. Perhaps it was because this time the hidden reward was drawn from the white roulette. The two selectable options required a significantly lower lifespan payment. After all, it was previously 66 years and 666 years, with things reaching this point. All right, I'll pay 66 years of lifespan. Select rewards 3, 4, and 5. No matter your blatant hints or subtle suggestions, if I can't understand it, I simply won't choose. However, as soon as the boy finished speaking, the surroundings seemed to fall into a strange silence. And then a voice echoed in his mind a rewards have been issued to spatial storage equipment. After the reward selection was completed, the window before him immediately faded away. The three reward, the spirit realm gate, had some connection to the spatial ring that Shi Miao had tossed to him when leaving, but now was not the time to study it. The four reward, the purple longevity pill, was taken out and swallowed directly, instantly adding a thousand years to his lifespan. He was also a thousand year old monster now. As 45, subprofession card asterisk blacksmith bound to ID Chun Chen, using this card will immediately change your profession to the subprofession blacksmith and grant you related abilities. P.S. Multiple subprofessions can be mastered simultaneously, level restriction, level 0. Crafting quality, black. Excellent. Would you like to use it? As he held the card, the system's prompt sounded. Yes. The boy did not hesitate, as his voice fell. A torrent of information quickly surged into his mind. The knowledge belonging to the blacksmith was passed down word for word from the profession card. Compared to that alchemist, the blacksmith required much more hands-on work, both mentally and physically taxing. But the benefit was that the latter came with over 95% of material details included in the inheritance, while the former required all recipes to be collected or mixed by oneself. Two sub-professions, overall, they each had their own merits. Both were essential. Indeed, somewhere in a valley, the weak-looking boy floated in mid-air, appearing utterly dejected. This place was called Hurricane Pool, located in the domain of absolute beasts. You lost. A voice drifted with the wind. The boy fell silent at the words, floating for a moment before saying, I didn't lose, I hit him with a deliberate sword strike. He should be dead. He's not dead. The boy fell silent again. Then he should be dying soon. In your earthling terms, full of life. That's impossible. It's a fact. No, ah. Bai Zhan, upon hearing this, angrily stood up. But due to the large movement, he tore the scab that had just formed on his body, and excruciating pain immediately spread throughout him. Wu, the giant wolf Abai couldn't help but voice his concern. And because of this, Bai Zhan managed to calm down slightly and lay back down. How is that possible? Didn't you say that no one could withstand my strike at this stage? The voice in the hurricane fell silent for a moment, and half a minute later, it provided a non-answer, he's different. No, Bai Zhan's mouth twitched uncontrollably, what kind of reason was that? Hoof. He took a deep breath and exhaled slowly. I won't lose again. No need, the maiden will temporarily take over your task. Bai Zhan said nothing more, not even expressing his attitude, simply falling silent in the hurricane pool, seemingly preparing to rest and heal, under the night sky, somewhere. Removing the glass screen before him, Starshine Man no, one couldn't help but let out a sigh. Sighing like that, be careful not to develop astigmatism. Pa, can't you curse me with something better? When will this damn task finally end? The starry light being no, two couldn't help but point to the sky. He decreed that we cannot interfere. If you want to be erased, then go ahead and speed things up. The starry light being no, one shivered involuntarily. Who wants to be erased? then just play the game well. I've already given you the mod, what more do you want? Hey, if you hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't be so angry. The starry light being no, one shouted angrily, this can't be changed, that can't be changed, what I want to change can't be changed, and what can be changed I don't want to change, is that what you call a mod? In any case, go, 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 suffer in silence up there, I don't have time to recite poetry with you, where are you going? 
Duh. To give that girl a mission. In the year of the devouring era. July 26, 2028. Also, morning of the 36th day of the descent calendar. Outside Nine Dragon City. A vehicle with its entire shell completely torn off sped back. Kicking up dust and drawing countless gazes. Hugh Lundlin at a nearby camp. As the vehicle whizzed by. Rolling yellow sands surged like a tide. Winky face. What the hell was that? Couldn't see clearly. A fierce beast? Don't be ridiculous. The radar didn't react at all. Degree degree. I think I saw a wooling logo. A car? You mean that's a car? Are you sure it didn't just have a plate left? As everyone knows. The Wooling Divine car only has three parts, the engine, the wheels, and the steering wheel. Ah, and the fuel tank. It's definitely not just that. What else do you want to add? Another person suddenly propped his chin and analyzed if it's a Wooling and wasn't stopped by the outpost. It must be the River God, right? When did he change his title? Yes, that's right. The one driving this vehicle back was undoubtedly Chen Chen. Although he was two days late. The situation in Nine Dragon City was not as fiery as imagined, and there had hardly been any disturbances. Out of curiosity, Chen Chen drove straight to Yu Zhanfeng's main camp. As for where the fuel came from? Of course, it was drawn from the roulette. To keep it under wraps, Chen Chen had even set up a temporary altar with the corpse of a fierce beast, chanting scriptures on the spot, and finally drew out 15 barrels of 92 hashtag gasoline, approximately 2, 384. 7 liters, which drew a chorus of what the hell stored in his spatial ring. It was enough for the Wooling Divine car to use for a while. In front of the main camp of Nine Dragon City, due to the high-profile actions of Chen Chen and others, Yu Zhanfeng was already aware of the situation. But when a Wuling Hongwang with its roof completely gone came to a stop in front of him with a ka sound, he couldn't help but twitch his lips. Is this the Wuling Hongwang battle-damaged version plus? Chen Chen shrugged. The roof was making too much noise, so I just chopped it off, it doesn't affect driving anyway. Is that why you turned it into a vehicle with no roof? You don't understand anything, this is called a pickup. The young man laughed and scolded. By the way, has anyone been bothering you lately? Speaking of this, Yu Zhanfeng also smiled coldly. Yes, how could there not be? But they might be waiting for you. Ha, huh? waiting for me? Based on suggestions from several loyal fans in the review section. I made some adjustments to the hidden rewards in the last chapter without affecting the subsequent plot. It should be more fun hee hee. Hee hee. Yu Zhanfeng smiled and waved his hand. Just a little joke. After the update was completed, several small factions attacked again the next day, shortly after you all set out. However, under the defense of the first batch of professionals, they returned in defeat. After that, a group claiming to be from the Lu family's special guard shouted for me to hand you over. A few words couldn't resolve it, and they directly started fighting, it was probably just an excuse, with the real goal being the holy altar. Finally, Kowloon City fought a tough battle. It can't be considered a complete victory, but at least it was a beautiful win. At this point, Yu Zhanfeng paused, took a deep breath, and continued, This is all thanks to you. Chen Kid, do you know what my soldiers call you now? Ha ha, I know. Taoi suddenly interrupted. They call you God of the River. The origin of this title is not without reason. The process is quite lengthy. But in the end, it boils down to one thing, Transmigration Altar. Although it has brought about quite a bit of controversy, its significance is immense. Moreover, Kowloon City owes more than 70% of its success to Chen Chen. Without the blood boiling formation, Kowloon City would have collapsed during the first wave of attacks, and there would have been no subsequent defensive efforts. To call him God of the River is no exaggeration. You talk too much. Don't you remember to report before you speak? Although Yu Zhanfeng's expression was slightly cold, he did not overly criticize him. By the way, weren't there seven of you? Why is one missing? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen's expression also turned cold. But it was Tang Bei who spoke up to explain. In front of Yu Zhanfeng, he recounted the entire process without embellishment. His expression remarkably calm. After listening, Yu Zhanfeng let out a sigh. Bai Zhan. After pondering the name for a moment, he suddenly showed a hint of surprise and quickly said, Go get the Kowloon Army's contact list. Get the one from 1997. Yes, a subordinate responded. And in less than three minutes, someone handed the contact list to Yu Zhanfeng. Chen Chen. Seeing this, did not urge him but quietly waited nearby. Half a minute later, it should be right. It's this person. Chen Chen looked up. 
his eyes instantly locking onto a name, by he? Yes, by he, a Tibetan, returned from the Kowloon army in 1997 to inherit his family business. His family runs an ancient martial arts school, and that guy's swordsmanship was unmatched in the entire army at that time. You can't be telling me. Chen Chen felt he had guessed about 90% of it, just one step away. Sure enough, yes, Bai He filed for marriage two years after his discharge, and later had a son named Bai Zhan. No way, the white wolf you saw might not actually be a wolf. As Yu Zhanfeng said this, his expression slightly stiffened, but a white mastiff, also known as a white wolf mastiff. Coincidentally, Bai He has one at home. This, realizing the possible background of Bai Zhan, Chen Chen felt deeply troubled. If he said he had no family, it meant that Yu Zhanfeng's old comrade, Bai He, had long since passed away, and Bai Zhan was the only bloodline left by Bai He. Yet, this person wanted to kill him. Seemingly understanding Chen Chen's emotions, Yu Zhanfeng closed the contact list and said, You don't have to feel troubled. If he wants to kill you, just kill him back. To cut off his lineage is also the fate of my comrade. Chen Chen remained silent. All right. I won't say much more. You've probably tired from the drive back, right? Go rest first. If there's anything you can't handle, I'll call you, okay? And by the way, I don't plan to return these three to you. He was naturally referring to Taoi, Shang Tian and Tang Bei. Their cooperation during this Jiangdong battlefield trip was quite harmonious, making them good partners for the journey. Hey, you brat, is it borrow without returning? Ha <laughs> ha. Borrow without returning is not hard to do. No, that's not right, is it? Subordinate, leader, it's borrow and return. Borrowing again is not hard. I know, why do you have to say it? Inside the camp, perhaps due to being promoted to god of the river. Outside Chen Chen's tent stood a wooden pole, hanging a blue and white flag, with the character written on it. Tao Yi, dressed in camouflage, sat in front of the tent. All because of a single sentence from Chun Chen, I want to study something. As for what to study, the spirit realm. The boy took out the space ring given to him by Shi Qi Niao when he returned. And after communicating mentally, he discovered there was only one item inside, a disc. Key to the spirit realm, the key to open the door to the spirit realm, level restriction, level zero, crafting process, gold, flawless, goodness, golden quality? That's right. It was precisely because this thing was called the key to the spirit realm that Chen Chen chose the door to the spirit realm in the hidden rewards. It sounded like a perfect match, didn't it? But as far as he knew, items of golden quality had high storage requirements. Could it be that this space ring? Fog day. Black level. The yellow level was already a cube with a side length of 10 meters. And the black level, even in his past life, Chen Chen had never seen one. Space ring, a ring engraved with a spatial ripple array containing a time-stopping space of a specified size, cannot store living beings, and can only be accessed through mental communication, basic attributes, a cube with a side length of 1, 000 meters, level restriction, unknown, crafting process, red, flawless, goodness, unknown level restriction? Then why can I? Chen Chen thought, also trying to take out the key to the spirit realm, but instead, a series of prompt windows popped up before him, insufficient level, cannot use, but designated ID Chen Chen has access rights to the key to the spirit realm. Would you like to take it out? This, can the space ring really do this? But thinking carefully, a cube with a side length of 1, 000 meters, a space of 1 cubic kilometer, might not sound strong in concept, but if you calculate it, that's 1 billion cubic meters, approximately equal to 1 Qinghai Lake, or 1 billionth of the Earth. This is undoubtedly an astronomical figure. Just imagine what kind of ability it would take to compress such a space into a small ring. Someone who could do this. Wouldn't they easily set a read permission? Take it out. Shi Chi Miao had said when leaving, Level 99, see you in the center of the earth. And now sent a ring containing the key to the spirit realm. And now he had a door to the spirit realm. This made Chen Shen ponder his ability to designate rewards. Could it be related to the spirit realm? When the exquisite disc was in his hand. Chen Chen realized it was not a perfect circle, but an oval with a diameter ratio of about 5 to 7. The front was engraved with intricate spirit patterns, shimmering under the light. The back had several irregular grooves, and on the side, faintly visible were some metallic mechanisms, probably the true tools for unlocking the key. After taking out this key to the spirit realm, 
Chen Chen found a rope and strung the black level space ring around his neck. Because of an iron rule, space rings cannot store items of a higher tier than themselves. The reasoning is simple. How could a 500 milliliter bottle hold one liter of water? Even if it was compressed, space and time are unyielding iron laws. At least for now. After finding nothing special, Chen Chen looked around for a moment, ensuring no one was disturbing him, before taking out the door to the spirit realm from his yellow level space ring. Whoosh! Bang! What the hell? The pure gold carved archway, no more than a hundred inches in size, burst forth from the space ring with a howling wind, giving off a sense of impatience. However, the boy quickly reached out to press it down, chanting store. The next second, what's going on? Brother Chuan? Taoi noticed the commotion and immediately lifted the curtain to enter. At this moment, Chen Chen was just reaching out. But fortunately, the spirit world gate and spirit world key had been stored away again. It's nothing. The boy's face darkened. Just a little accident. It's not a big deal. Do you need my help? No need. Just keep an eye outside. Don't let anyone disturb us. Okay. Including you. Ah. Uh, Taoi scratched his head. He had indeed been abrupt and hadn't considered whether he was disturbing anyone. Seeing Taoi lower the tent curtain, Chen Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. It wasn't that he was reckless, he simply hadn't expected such a small spirit world gate to be so heavy. Even pure gold would be a bit ridiculous, right? There were already two indentations on the ground. What? Does it need to take root as soon as it lands? Taking it out a second time, Chen Chen dared not be careless. First, he looked at its attributes through the spatial ring, spirit world gate, a portal that connects to the spirit world, after correctly placing the spirit world key, it can be used to open the spirit world passage, level restriction, level zero, craftsmanship, black, flawless, it seems that the importance of the key is greater than that of the gate, as it is two levels higher in rank, white, yellow, and purple are fine, but starting from black level, improving equality is not that simple, but, what exactly is the spirit world? If he didn't even know the details and just settled within the Nine Dragon City range, who knows what trouble might arise? Just then, the little frog that had been hiding in Chun Chen's clothes poked its head out. Master Frog Frog seems to smell the scent of home. Home? The boy furrowed his brow sharply. Could it be? The home you're talking about. Could it be this? As soon as he finished speaking, the spirit world gate reappeared in the tent. The wind pressure from the tremor causing the tent curtain to flutter. This time, Taoi managed to refrain from rushing in and also drove away the curious onlookers nearby. He simply said, It's a small problem, the river god is messing with explosives. Chen Chen, forget it, as long as he could stop people, it was fine. Compared to doing research, clearly messing with explosives had a more intimidating deterrent effect. And Chen Chen had a record. That's right, that's right, that's right. It's this one frog frog climbed directly onto Chen Chen's shoulder, bouncing with excitement. The boy was suddenly taken aback, so, behind the door was another world. Moreover, it was a complete world capable of nurturing life. The key to opening the door was given by Seventeen Meow. So she came from the spirit world to earth? Before the shot could settle, Chen Chen thought of a crucial point, frog frog, how did you get here? Here? This world? Frog frog stopped bouncing at his words. It's big eyes spinning for a moment before. I don't remember very clearly. It seems that, when I was very, very small, I swam and fell into a hole. And by the time I grew up, I was already here. Very small? How small? Just when I was a tadpole. The spirit world also has this kind of perversion? The boy couldn't hide his shock, although Frog Frog wasn't very clear. He could roughly analyze a key point. There exists a stable spirit world passage on Earth. And there might be more than one. Just like the whole frog frog mentioned, could this be the true source of the fierce beasts? With that thought in mind, Chen Chen immediately asked, Are there these fierce beasts we have killed in that world? Master, at that time, frog frog was still a tadpole Chen Chen. After a light sigh, the boy put on a smiling face and took out two pots, one big and one small, from the spatial ring, saying, Which one should we use? No, no, what's wrong? Their smell is off. It doesn't have that homey scent from before. The boy pondered, resting his chin on his hand. First, it can be confirmed that there must be a passage connecting to the spirit world on Earth. But the direction of this passage is uncertain. It could be a one-way ticket or a round trip. Secondly, the ferocious beasts on Earth likely originate from the spirit world. But, they are not pure. Because there's no homey scent. 
It really isn't simple. Chen Chen muttered, putting away the door to the spirit world and lifting the curtain. Hmm, Brother Chuan, go find the dragon head. Oh, in the Jungnan settlement, a certain battlefield beyond the realm, a black-haired woman stood atop a dirt slope, her long sword occasionally dripping with bright red, sometimes reflecting a dazzling cold light, presenting a striking figure. The green jade pendant at her waist swayed in the wind, rolling with her garments. Not far away, a team of players around level 5 was surrounding and hunting an elite beast of level 8. The woman's role seemed to be that of a scout. But suddenly, Maiden, a voice echoed in her mind, causing her to frown slightly. But due to the mysterious nature of the other party, this expression lasted only a brief moment. Is there a mission? The maiden maintained her usual expression, using her long ring finger to tuck a strand of hair that covered her face behind her ear, revealing that her gaze was somewhat cold. Kill someone. The voice got straight to the point. Who? His name is Chen Chen. At this, the maiden couldn't help but part her cherry lips, slowly lowering the long hand that had come from her hair. She then replied, Okay, do you need an image? The voice continued, but the maiden shook her head. With such a unique name, there won't be a second one. Even if I kill the wrong person, it doesn't matter. I wish you success. After that, there was no further response. The maiden squinted her eyes slightly, seemingly lost in thought. Some commenters argue that the official has been paralyzed for 21 days, and that family factions are unreasonable. So let me use the maiden's appearance to briefly explain this background. Just to give everyone a heads up, I won't name names. 36 days ago, at the moment of the arrival of Life Devourer, suddenly, an unknown factor flooded Earth, changing the biological genes of Earth that had been stable for thousands of years in just a few seconds. But this change only placed humanity on the whitelist. Earth is a planet where multiple species coexist. The known organisms, including plants, number over 2 million, excluding microorganisms. Even if your home is so clean that not a single ant or cockroach is present, there must be some potted plants, right? If not at home, there must be some on the nearby streets? Mutation spared no eukaryotic organism outside of humans. The speed was even comparable to elephant toothpaste, a type of chemical reaction. Thus, the animals and plants that underwent drastic changes in temperament, as if under control, hardly spared any visible humans. The casualties in the first moment were astronomical. This number continued to grow to 37%. The direct consequence of such casualties was the global information system coming to a halt. Communication breakdowns, and humanity being fragmented into small groups, returning to a primitive society. Larger groups did exist, but they were few. Subsequently, it was these larger groups that gradually established a foothold on the ninth day after the arrival of Life Devourer. At that time, the maiden working in a pet shop was destined to die, whether it was cats, dogs, squirrels, turtles, or even the lice and fleas on them, all suddenly mutated. In an instant, Several employees abruptly died before her. Not even a cry of pain was uttered. Extreme fear made her forget to scream, and she hurriedly fled outside. But the outside world was even more chaotic. But she did not resign to her fate. An extreme fear was suppressed for a moment by a tenacity deep within her. And a thought of resistance suddenly arose. It was at this moment that she felt an inexplicable power surge within her. With a leap of three or four meters and a punch that shattered a tree. Relying on this power, she broke through the encirclement of the ferocious beast and finally found a safe place. Just then, a voice reached her. Strong, right? Do you want to become even stronger? What's the price? Absolute loyalty. Okay, tell me your name. Loyal dog? No need for a name. Just a code name. My surname is Tong. Then I'll call you Tong Nu. Struggling out of her memories, Tong Nu turned her gaze to the small team that was leveling up. Wrap it up early. I have other tasks. The members of the small team were half puzzled, just about to ask what about the ferocious beast when a sharp sword light suddenly split the beast in two. The speed of the sword light was such that even the blood gushed out only half a second later. Jolong City, the main camp. What did you say? The source of the ferocious beasts, upon hearing Chen Chen's sudden intrusion and his words, Yu Zhenfeng's first reaction was a headache. For him at this stage, it was like putting the cart before the horse. I haven't even finished playing with the Transcendence Altar, and you throw me such a bombshell, even if we find it, what can Jolong City do? The boy was momentarily stunned, indeed, it was true, Jolong City had many people, 
but basically everyone had a role. The oceanic ferocious beasts coming ashore from the great river were like ants breaching a dam. Endless, there were simply not enough hands to manage the source of the ferocious beasts, unless, after finding them, they could blow up their spring water. Omega, I haven't played Honor of Kings, but that's probably the idea? Perhaps someone would ask, can't you Zhanfeng ignore the river and see ferocious beasts? The answer is no. Publicly, he couldn't. Allowing the river and see ferocious beasts to invade the inland would only increase the defensive pressure on the settlements, and the range of human habitation would gradually shrink. Civilization had already been washed away once. It couldn't happen again. Privately, he couldn't either. For Jiulong City to develop, it needed materials and resources produced by the ferocious beasts, only by guarding the river and see ferocious beasts could it achieve sustainable development, expanding itself from the point to the surface. Then, who has the spare time? Hearing Chen Chen's words, Yu Zhanfeng pondered for a moment before saying, Let's head north, the Qianlong Pavilion up north might have some spare capacity. The boy suddenly understood something, so, the north and south have already established contact? You brat, Yu Zhanfeng chuckled and scolded. Forget it, it's not really a secret. Three days ago, on the fourth day after the Transcendence Altar was activated, the North and South had already made contact. Three days ago, that was the 33rd day of the descent, even faster than in the previous life. Chen Chen still remembered that the establishment of contact between the North and South was the foundation for enhancing the defensive preparedness of the entire original Huaxia region and for the subsequent establishment of base cities. After the two major base cities of Beichuan and Longnan merged, they restored their former name, Huadong, Qianlong Pavilion, ha, huh, the boy chuckled lightly. All right, once things here are settled, it's time to check out the north. Things here? You mean, the Lu family? Yu Zhanfeng was momentarily stunned. You really are a vengeful guy, but that suits me. As far as I know, they will also take action this time. Oh, Chen Chen smiled coldly, that's just perfect. Then it's settled, just notify me when they arrive. Ah, why not take free combat power? The boy turned around and gave an international friendly gesture before lifting the curtain and leaving. However, not long after he had gone, Yu Zhanfeng received a message, Chen Chen, the guy on your right has ulterior motives, Yu Zhanfeng furrowed his brow, glanced at it, and quickly cut it off. But this scene was also seen by the man on his right. What's wrong? Long too? Is there something? A level 21 lord has appeared in the midstream. Organize some people and go take it down. Yu Zhanfeng's expression remained unchanged as he spoke, just like he usually did when giving orders. Yes, the man responded and then left the main camp. Yu Zhanfeng watched him leave with a scrutinizing gaze. Ulterior motives. Huh, by the way, how did Chen Kid know? Just as this thought crossed his mind, another message came through. Wang Fugui, the Lu family is in turmoil. Target midstream. I just said it out loud. Is this guy really that stupid? In less than 10 seconds. Wasn't it confirming that he had a problem? Unless, you little brat, not hiding it anymore. Ha, huh? Ling Feng, here, the Lu family is playing a trick to lure the tiger away from its mountain. Gather everyone back around the altar. Yes, Yu Zhanfeng's gaze was cold. No matter how much the Lu family could bribe, could they undermine everyone around him? As long as he gathered the people, using the simplest tactics, with the current overall strength of Jiulong City, the chances of winning were still quite high. After that, he sent a message to Chen Chen, Yu Zhanfeng, Chen Kid, the plan has changed. See you at the altar. A few seconds later, Chen Chen, so soon, is it because of him? He had just left the main camp not long ago, originally thinking about leveling up, but now it seemed better to handle the immediate situation first. Yu Zhanfeng, yes and no. We'll talk when we meet. Chen Chen, all right. This time, in order to break through before completely rising with the help of the job change altar in Jiulong City, all factions were putting in their utmost effort. The forces that had tasted the sweetness in the early stages of devouring life were unwilling to watch Jiulong City grow. The Jiangnan settlement was just that small, and the cake was only so big. Now it was peaceful, but if Jiulong City grew, it would only bring them harm. Don't forget, the entire Jiangnan settlement currently had no devouring maggots raised except for Jiulong City and considering their origins. What would happen once the forces overshadowed them? Gathering manpower didn't take too long. When Yu Zhanfeng arrived at the altar, three formations had already surrounded the job change altar. This time there was no blood boiling formation, but Jiulong City's combat power had already undergone a wave of upgrades, with everyone being professionals. 
Therefore, there was no need to focus on defense anymore. At the altar, the boy sat on the edge of the stone platform with his legs crossed. Seeing this, Yu Zhanfeng couldn't help but laugh and scold. How did you figure it out? Chen Chen smiled, revealing a playful grin, because I have good eyesight and can read people well. Not just him, I can see how many are here. Reading people well. Ha! <laughs> Saying this, Chen Chen himself chuckled self-deprecatingly, he indeed could read people. But unfortunately, he used to see it the other way around. Stop messing around. Be serious. The boy's smile faded at his words. If you really pull them all out, your manpower will be reduced by at least 30% as he said this. He also looked at the formation in front of him with a scrutinizing gaze, smiling meaningfully. Although everyone didn't know what these two were talking about, just analyzing the dialogue made it clear that it was definitely not a good thing. 30? 30%? Yu Zhanfeng truly didn't expect the number to be so exaggerated, but he didn't understand how Chen Chen managed to do it, so he was half convinced. You think about it yourself. The boy's words fell flat, and Yu Zhanfeng did not ponder for long before making a firm decision. At this critical moment, allowing a time bomb to remain in the army was absolutely the worst course of action. Once trouble arose, the morale would be thrown into chaos, ruining everything. Shoes, General Yu has great resolve. Less chatter, get to work. Chen Chen smiled, not annoyed, and the Xieji Tian Yan began to operate earnestly, specifically locking onto the grayish white traitor. A few seconds later, it pointed to the first formation, first row, third one. Yu Shanfeng was taken aback, completely not expecting one to be right in front of him. He suddenly shouted, Step forward. The man who was pointed out appeared calm on the surface, but inside, he was already beating like a drum. After stepping forward, cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He had vaguely heard the word capture just now. How could he not be anxious? However, after calling him out, Yu Zhanfeng did not speak again, only turning to Chen Chen. Continue. Still the first row, the seventh from the back. Continue. Third row, fifth row, second formation, third formation. Each time the boy spoke, it felt like a death warrant to some, yet they all tacitly remained silent until the selected individuals had reformed into a new formation. Many looked at each other and felt somewhat familiar. Even the original formation members felt an inexplicable sense of discomfort when looking at this new group, as if something was off. They didn't know why, but it just felt wrong. It was only then they realized this guy Chin Chen really had an eye for people. Of course, not all of them had already betrayed, but as long as they harbored treachery, they could forget about escaping this Xia Ji Tianyan's lock-on, Ha! <laughs> as soon as the lock-on effect of the Tian Yan was lifted, Chen Chen felt a wave of mental fatigue, as if he hadn't had a good sleep in days. Clearly, the Xieji Tian Yan's ability to discern good from evil and loyalty from treachery was realized through a person's spirit. No matter how well a person could disguise their exterior, their heart, their consciousness, their spirit could not be faked. It was possible that some treacherous individuals could immerse themselves in the act and obscure their mental state. But that was... After all, a minority. After exhaling, the boy took out a brown pill from his spatial ring, and after swallowing it, the mental fatigue was swept away. This was the skill of an alchemist. No matter if it was strength, spirit, defense, or speed, there were corresponding pills and elixirs to assist or restore. If he had been a bit more open-minded in his past life, he wouldn't have ended up alone in the end. After that, all right, all of you standing here, I'll say one thing. Confess honestly, resist, and the ground will split and lava will flow. Everyone in the new formation, hashtag, huh? I mean, shouldn't confessing lead to leniency? Yu Zhanfeng was more direct, facing the new formation and saying just one sentence, surrender your weapons. Surrendering meant erasing combat capability. Even if there was still some left, it wouldn't be strong enough. The emotions of torment, entanglement, and other anxieties gathered in the hearts of everyone in this formation if they surrendered. Losing their combat capability would only make them fish on someone else's chopping block if they didn't surrender. Wouldn't that mean admitting to their rebellion? Not to mention Chen Chen had also said, Confess honestly, what benefits could there be in admitting? Perhaps because of this, someone in the formation finally couldn't hold back. Either way, it's death. Let's fight. With that thought, the person raised the sniper rifle in their hand and instantly pulled the trigger. Bang! The sound of the hot weapon firing was so piercing at that moment, but the boy merely tilted his head, then swiftly shot out a rough black-red bullet, 
its firing speed not much slower than that of the sniper bullet. As for the scene, boom, boom, boom. The intense explosion made it easy for those nearby to confuse the two sounds, but in reality, bang was the fiery explosion created by fire attribute energy, while thud was the earth-shattering sound made by earth attribute energy. Following that, the two energies overlapped, and the high temperature melted the earth, forming flowing magma. This was, earth shatter magma. Holy crap. This. Damn. What the hell? The terrifying explosion stirred up a clamor. They had seen the earth shatter magma bomb before, but this time it was different. The damage from the explosion was even more horrifying, and the range of the magma was larger. Tao E, seeing this, couldn't help but rest his chin on his hand and murmured. Brother Chuan really upgraded the Earth Shatter Magma Bomb, a larger damage range. Plus, beside him, Shen Shen thought, this kid is impressive. His naming talent is as good as mine the Scheming Frog? The speed at which the fiery explosion occurred was as quick as a blink, and the moment the projectile hit the ground, a terrifying high temperature sent everyone within a 6-7 to seven meter radius flying. Some even turned to carbon on the spot. The magma that followed didn't even show much. Yu Zhanfeng. Witnessing this scene, clenched his fists for his fallen comrades but silently approved of Chen Chen's actions. If the means weren't thunderous, the apocalypse would not be peaceful. Don't blame me, it's because of his actions that the innocents suffer. Those who were not affected clenched their fists, their eyes filled with fear and anger. They understood that Chen Chen was using a chicken to warn the monkey. They also realized that confess and be lenient was no joke. But then again, betrayal is not surrender no one would remain calm towards a traitor. Not executing them was already a form of mercy. Those who had once harbored thoughts of resistance were now dissuaded. Among them, some had only entertained wicked thoughts. I, I only have, half a year left to live. I really had no choice. Suddenly, a voice pleading for mercy rang out in the formation, like the first flash of lightning on a cloudy day, drawing a chorus of responses. I, 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 I only have a little over a year left. I have no lifespan to gamble with. I can't survive at all. The Lu family promised to give me a longevity pill. Lord Chuan, spare me. Lord Chuan, last time I drew a lottery, I got ALS. Half of my face can't move anymore. Without the longevity pill, my life is. Me too. Me too. When will this deadly world ever find peace? Ah, uh, Chen Shen's tightly clenched fists relaxed slightly. He had envisioned this scene long ago. In the present where life devourer had descended. If there was anything that could make a former soldier bow down, it would be life itself. Not everyone is unafraid of death. And there were definitely others in the other three formations in similar situations. They were just holding on with a sense of determination, refusing to bow to fate, let alone half a year. Some people's lifespans might not even last half a month. Many were afflicted with illness, yet still maintained their combat effectiveness simply because they had chosen defense and had stronger physiques. But the diseases drawn from the roulette, how could one endure them just by having a strong body? The lifespan roulette brought about change, ushering humanity into a new era. But for many ordinary people, it felt more like aftershocks following an earthquake or the remnants of a severe illness. In fact, not just Nine Dragon City, any force without a supply of longevity pills would eventually face the same situation after a period of development. Chen Shen sighed deeply, he knew. The only thing that could change this situation was the longevity pill, but to avoid exposing himself. The young man suddenly spoke, startling everyone, if I remember correctly. The Lu family also participated in this siege. Help me eliminate them, and the longevity pills will be plentiful. His voice was calm, yet it gave those who heard it an undeniable feeling. Perhaps some people want to see a cold-blooded, indifferent protagonist who embodies selfishness at all times, but if that's the case, then this is where our fates part. I am not that kind of person, nor can I write such a protagonist consistently. Occasional antagonists can be portrayed from the side, but a protagonist who spans the entire text cannot be like that. Yu Zhanfeng looked at Chun Chen with a slightly surprised expression, clearly taken aback by his attitude. The purpose of bringing these people out seemed to be more than just what was visible at the moment. Destroy the Lu family? With this guy's current methods, it might not be impossible, right? I can't say for the north, but in the Jungnan settlement, who can withstand the resisting earth-shattering lava? Tough life, incredibly bold, swimming in magma? Please, the magma is just the opening act. This guy seems like he came back from the future, with endless tricks, all unheard of. 
the illegitimate child of heaven. If that were true, maybe he really could play like this. In any case, with Chen Chen's abilities, wanting to wipe out a Lu family would be a problem, but not one that couldn't be solved. Really? Really? After a moment of silence, someone finally broke the harmony in the newly formed formation. The boy looked over at the sound. You no longer have the right to question. Two choices. First, confess and then trust me. Second, resist. The outcome doesn't need to be demonstrated, right? With that, there was another round of silence. However, when Chin Chin used the Xiezhi Tianyan to scan, the originally full gray white area had already faded quite a bit, revealing some hints of a near golden green. In other words, friendliness. He subtly curled his lips. At least half of it was due to helplessness. As for the other half, in 10 seconds, I will start shooting birds. If anyone still harbors any luck, be careful. Your birds. Oh, 10, 9, 8. Without a sense of crisis and urgency, humans are always lazy creatures. 7, 6, Chuan, Chuan Shun, I, I believe you. The Lu family promised to give me a white longevity pill, so I can disrupt the formation from within when the great battle begins, creating chaos. They're all your comrades. Can you really do it? Chen Chen's face turned cold upon hearing this. I, the person hesitated. But Chen Chen didn't want to hear his explanation. Is there anyone else? Next. There. There's me. It turned out that humans are still herd animals. As long as someone takes the lead in a matter, there will inevitably be others who follow suit. Especially when people find that nothing bad happens after trying it out. Most people choose betrayal out of helplessness. Either because they have no lifespan left. Or they are seriously ill. Or. Pure greed. Chen Chen had already categorized these people in his mind. The first two still had a chance. The third. Frog frog. It's up to you. The boy spoke. Immediately sinking his chosen candidates to frog frog in his mind. So many? Ah. In a world like this. The dark side of human nature is bound to erupt. They were always like this. Just finally unable to hide it. Frog frog remained silent. Not fully understanding the master's sentiment. But as a pet. The emotions were shared. Frog frog understands. Let the darkness consume darkness, chewing through all greed, shadow, stealth, shadow stealth, LV1, condense shadows, transform into an image, merge into shadows, take the enemy's life in a moment of light and shadow, under the enhancement of dark attribute spiritual power, one can stealthily enter any place within a 200 meter range of a 270 degree sector in front of them, targeting any enemy, effect analysis, using dark attribute spiritual power to form a blade that pierces the target's vital points, causing massive damage, with all blade damage being six times the caster's mental attribute, six times, skill spiritual power consumption, 2,666 points, skill cooldown time, 66 minutes, shadow stealth, this is the only skill in Chun Chan's advanced cultivation plan that does not join the Gatling Frog program, nor can it be included. Simply because the dark attribute is the most mysterious among the eight main elements. Darkness is unknown, mysterious, and also terrifying. As far as Chen Chen knows, skills of the dark attribute are extremely rare. By chance, he obtained a material for cultivating shadow stealth in a sunless mountain gorge, purely by luck. In his mind, as the delicate voice belonging to Frog Frog just began, Chen Chen felt a chill at his sleeve. And then, the shadow beneath his feet suddenly stirred slightly. Moments later, uh, in the newly arranged formation, a man's left chest suddenly emitted a faint black light. And then, the whole person collapsed in response. This was just the beginning. The sudden change caused the others in the formation to panic. What? Hey, what's going on? He, he, how did he suddenly just die? Damn it. What the hell? Compared to the grandeur of the earth rift lava bomb, this time's change had only one characteristic, sudden, too sudden. The first lucky one appeared to have simply passed away in the eyes of others. Why? Why? Didn't we already confess everything? Exactly. We agreed to be strict. How did it turn into a death sentence? This can't be. It can't be like this. The noisy clamor continued to surge around the altar. Yet the number of those who suddenly died was still increasing. But if they could calm down, it wouldn't be hard to discover the reason and avoid it. However, before that, everything they had experienced had already shifted their attention elsewhere, causing them to overlook the somewhat simple killing intent at hand. Chen Chen's initial strict confession, combined with someone's defiance and resistance to the earth rift lava, 
had already shattered the inner defenses of many. Of course, the noise and chaos at the scene were also one of the sources of distraction. However, this slaughter came suddenly and ended very decisively. The crowd's minds were still unsettled, yet the surroundings had already returned to tranquility. When Frog Frog returned to Chen Chen's side, the formation was still in chaos. The boy remained indifferent, his face showing no signs of emotion, simply stating, those who are dead are beyond saving. Of course, if you insist on interpreting it as killing the chicken to warn the monkey, that's fine too. He then shifted his tone, this world is indeed shattered. No doubt about it. It's a damn mess, but it hasn't been destroyed. The trust between people has reached its lowest point today, yet it hasn't completely vanished. Not to mention far away, there is trust in Kowloon City, right? Think carefully, if humanity loses trust in each other, what will the final outcome be? Is it possible that the truth is just a game of the farmer? Chen Chen's words directly burned out the CPUs of everyone present, including Yu Zhanfeng, no one could escape the shock. A game? A game of the farmer? The farmer he referred to undoubtedly pointed to the farmer in the farmer's hypothesis, which can be simply understood as dimensional shackles. The boy's speculation naturally stemmed from the spirit world. Life Devouring and the Home Frog Frog mentioned both proved one point, there is not just one world. Or rather, there are multiple planets and regions where living beings can survive. Regarding this speculation, Chen Chen had heard of it in his past life, but it had never been confirmed, to the extent of being equivalent to preliminary attempts at scientific experiments. Finding no possibility of continuing, he simply gave up, but after being reborn, Chen Chen clearly felt an invisible force guiding him to think and develop in this direction. As for why he was chosen, it could only be because he is a reborn person. Just like there are only zero or countless times in cross-dressing, once strange things begin, no matter how many more come, it will no longer feel strange. Before the holy altar, just when everyone thought Chen Chen would start to speak grandly again, he instead said, all right, if I say too much, you won't be able to digest it, I haven't figured it out myself yet. Everyone, degree degree, what do you mean you haven't figured it out? After all this, are you just messing with us? In reality, Chen Shen's move was merely to give people a preventive shot. Truth often starts as a viewpoint and only becomes truth after many validations. The world is not something that can be handled by just one person. It's not even something that one force can manage. All right, I've finished my part. Chen Shen spoke again, then cast a glance at Yu Zhanfeng, Dragon Head. The next stage is your stage. Yu Zhanfeng looked embarrassed. You little brat, starting off with such a scene, and then making a speech calling for humanity to trust and unite, and now you want me to incite civil war? The pig is already cooked, do you want it to climb a tree now? Omega, didn't I just say I haven't figured it out yet? Just treat it as me rambling. Yu Zhanfeng, speechless as he was, the situation had come to this, could they really not fight? But facing the members of Jolong City, Yu Zhanfeng was stuck for about 10 seconds, unable to come up with anything, feeling much like constipation. Forget it, if we don't motivate ourselves, our strength far surpasses others, this time, we won't play defense, let's spread out and take the initiative. In the end, he added, what we're playing is a central flower blooming and encircling. The crowd below was momentarily stunned, and finally, oh, you won S1. This was far stronger than any pre-battle motivation, the blood surged directly to their heads. Then Chen Chen also spoke, go ahead and have fun, for light injuries, I have band-aids, for serious injuries, I have healing pills, with me here, as long as you still have a breath, even if you become a human puppet, you can return to your peak, I said it, the members of Jolong City, oh, Chuanshan V587, ha, huh? V587 for each of you, when Jolong City decided on their final strategy, Surrounding them was the Fulong Alliance, formed by multiple forces, which also held a pre-battle meeting. The meeting was hosted by the Lu family. After the fall of the Jing family, the most influential force in the entire Jiangnan settlement was none other than them, although the Southeast Association of Yudongnan was also included. After swallowing the Jing family, they seemed a bit low-key, as if hiding something. Speaking of Yudongnan, last time he had sent people to assist by Zhan in besieging Chen Chen. But halfway there, he was directly sent back by the latter with a proud face. It saved a few lives. The basic tactics are set. Do you have any objections? Lu Tianyuan stood before everyone, his grandstanding demeanor resembling the protagonist image he had in mind. Objections? TCH, 
The one who spoke was from the second-rate force Fang Wotai, which had its resources snatched by the Lu family. What objections could we have? The danger is all ours, while you Lu family sleep soundly in the back. However, as soon as he finished speaking, a sharp energy blast shot towards him without warning. Boom! Wah! The current master of Feng Wotai, Mu Jiming, the original master Fu Jianbai had already died, was caught off guard and was directly blasted away, losing half of his health. Until this moment, while listening to Lu Tianyuan's grandiloquent speeches, the other leaders of various factions vaguely recalled that this man was not just a family head, he also had a title, Shi Master, Dragon and Tiger Celestial Master, Lu Tianyuan. The rise of the Lu family did not solely rely on the longevity elixir formula from the beginning, without a certain level of strength, how could they establish a faction and raise the devouring maggots? At the inception of a faction, hard power is essential. If it weren't for his own abilities, Lu Tianyuan wouldn't hold himself in such high regard, even making his son call him father, as if he were no longer a dad. A man who no longer wants to be a father must have lost his mind after sending Mu Ximing flying. Lu Tianyuan coldly looked down. My Lu family's overall strength is the strongest, what's the problem with guarding the rear? Now, is there anyone who disagrees with the previous arrangements? As soon as he finished speaking, not good. Lu Tianyuan, hashtag, damn it, I just finished speaking? Speak quickly, spit it out. They, they are coming to kill. What are they coming to kill? They, Zhulong City, they are coming to kill. A great suspicion suddenly arose in Lu Tianyuan's heart. Damn, aren't they a bunch of idiots who only know how to defend and counterattack? When did they learn to take the initiative? If Zhulong City took the initiative, what was the point of arranging so many tactics? Originally, Considering that the average number of professionals in Jiulong City made it impractical to rely on numbers, Lu Tianyuan had come up with what he thought was a brilliant plan. It wasn't anything profound, it was simply to send people to various outer battlefield areas to provoke elite level beasts, raise the hatred value, and then lure them over to Jiulong City. If there weren't enough people, use the beasts to make up the numbers. You Jiulong City, aren't you eager to resist the invasion of beasts into human territory? Fine. Let's see how well you can hold up. This was Lu Tianyuan's original thought. But now, with the enemy taking the initiative, what was the point of implementing that strategy? There was no time left to provoke beasts and raise hatred. Damn it. Damn it. Everyone, counterattack. Hit back hard. If we can't suppress this wave of attacks, we're all finished. Lu Tianyuan's earlier grand speeches and self-importance had all vanished once the situation exceeded his control. What Fulong Alliance? They only united because they didn't want to be picked off one by one by Jiulong City and lose their existing resources. Their overall strength couldn't even compare to Jiulong City at present. Just as he finished speaking, Ching, a long knife pierced through his back, bursting out from his chest. Sizzle. The razor-sharp steel claw blade swiftly slashed his throat. Both attacks hit fatal weak points, whether Lu Tianyuan was a dragon and tiger celestial master or a chi master. It was all over for him. The first attack didn't break his defense, reducing his health by 30%, while the second broke through due to Lu Tianyuan entering a weakened state, dropping his health to one point, on the brink of death. The sudden turn of events stunned everyone present. Ha, hick, ah, uh, gurgle. Lu Tianyuan struggled weakly, trying to turn his head to see who it was, also thinking of taking out a recovery potion from his spatial ring to save his life. But the finger wearing the ring was also brutally grabbed by the steel claw in the next moment. The final blow was dealt, and survival was no longer possible. At this point, his remaining consciousness vaguely heard a sentence, It won't be. My old father. We won't all be finished. But you. You should be done for. Bastard. Thud. Lu Tianyuan's knees buckled, and he ultimately fell to the ground. He he. He ha 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 amidst Lu Yunlu's maniacal laughter. A voice suddenly echoed in his mind. You really are ruthless, from now on. I'll call you Wulu, the heartless Lu Yunlu. Um he he. As the voice fell, a cruel smile curled at the corners of Lu Yunlu's mouth, and he suddenly shouted, run away. Are you still waiting to die here? Do you think Jolong City will spare you? Or do you think you can survive the active assault of Jolong City? Just like my dead father. Isn't that a bit too wishful thinking? Do you really think you're the protagonist? Behind him. My brother Lu is so handsome I'm liking him more and more. He 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 after a moment of admiration. Fang Yining walked over to Lu Tianyuan's corpse. Stinky old man. I've been annoyed by you for a long time. You know? 
finally dead in your human perspective. This should be considered madness, right? Should I call you maddening or Fong crazy? It's a bit hard to choose listening to the voice in her mind. Fong Yining showed no signs of abnormality. Instead, she began to pick. I like Fong crazy because Fong crazy Wulu sounds smoother. If you say that, maddening Wulu doesn't sound bad either. I don't care. I want Fong crazy. The voice in her mind fell silent. But if one were to follow the faint light above the two, they would see the source of the voice. Unlike the two who found the white battle maiden, this was another translucent star glimmer person. That is to say, number two, who, after arriving on earth, had always enjoyed its literature and loved reciting poetry. He he, humans. Translucent star glimmer person number two shook his head, lowly creatures that can't even engrave their minds into their genes, ultimately just vegetables in a farm. Death may not be a rare occurrence nowadays, but openly committing patricide is a sight seldom seen in a hundred years. Lu Yu Lu's actions undoubtedly stunned everyone present. As for why he did this, the reason is naturally related to that translucent star glimmer person number two. About two days ago, just after returning from the outer battlefield, Lu Yun Lu had barely rested for a moment when his father, Lu Tian Yuan, called him aside to scold him for Fang Yining's departure. Perhaps it was due to the pent up frustration from Fang Yining. Lu Tian Yuan nearly hung him up to beat him. He cursed whatever came to mind, even bringing up the mischief he had done as a child. Damn old man. Don't let me have the chance. It was at this moment that a voice entered his mind. What would you do if you had the chance? Kill him. Lu Yun Lu replied fiercely without thinking then suddenly reacted, you, who are you, not important, you just need to understand that I can give you the opportunity and the ability, and that's enough, how do you prove that, he he, humans are indeed suspicious creatures, it's simple, just go outside, to the nearest fence, and there you'll find a beast of the same level as you, kill it, and you'll understand, Lu Yun Lu was half convinced, but the ability of the other party to speak directly in his mind made him a bit eager, in the end. He went to the place the other had mentioned with that feeling. When he arrived, there was indeed a beast of comparable level. And after killing it, what the hell? Ten times experience? Isn't this just an ordinary beast? Ten times? Isn't that something only elite beasts can provide? Not only that, but the beast also dropped a card, hidden class street fighter job change card asterisk ID binding. This. The card in his hand left Lu Yun Lu astonished. Aren't these things supposed to be only obtainable through a roulette draw? Now do you understand? What do I need to do? Lu Yun Lu pondered for a moment before speaking, which also served as his declaration. It's simple. Just like you said at the beginning. Fang Yining's experience was similar, though the process was slightly different. After all, the one handling this matter was the same. Let's just call him a person. The scene returned to Lu Yun Lu's patricide. The crowd had quieted down significantly, and with Lu Yun Lu's initial words, many had chosen to evacuate before the forces from Jiulong City completely attacked. Of course, there were also those who feared that once Jiulong City expanded, they would no longer be able to live in peace, and chose to stay. Their thoughts were the same as Lu Tian Yuan's, take a gamble. If they didn't take this gamble, they might lose everything in the future. Lu Yun Lu looked down at the various factions with a mocking gaze and after confirming that no one was leaving, he suddenly spoke, what's wrong? Aren't you leaving? After a while, not leaving. If we leave the Jiangnan settlement without the ultrasonic beast driving tower, everything we have will eventually be consumed. That's right. We can't leave. Isn't Jilun City just about that Guba holy altar? So what if everyone is a professional? When it comes to fighting hard, they can't compare to my brothers who have fought their way out of a pile of ferocious beasts. The voices of agreement from below were continuous, and Lu Yu Lu roughly counted, a total of 17 factions chose to stay. Very well, it seems there's still, you. As he spoke, his gaze landed on the silent Yu Dong Nan. The latter chuckled lightly and said, You have a familiar scent about you, I know someone who has it too. Lu Yun Lu, stop playing riddles with me. Who is he? What's his name? Yu Dong Nan also twitched his mouth, forgetting that this was a ruthless character who killed his father. However, before these two could finish their secret exchange, a figure suddenly flew in from the temporary camp set up by the Fulom Alliance, crashing to the ground and spitting blood before dying. Immediately after, listen up inside. This place is surrounded, surrender and self-destruct your hands, or I'll set fire to the mountain. Lu Yun Lu's eyes narrowed. That was quick. After saying that, he stood up to go out. 
But suddenly a voice echoed in his mind. Run! You're not his match right now. What? His steps suddenly halted, the dazed look contrasting sharply with his earlier imposing demeanor. He's very strange, the virgin is already on the way, and your level isn't enough. Starry bright person no. Two foot spoke without any unnecessary words. Virgin? You'll meet her later, for now. Leave. Starry bright person no. Two foot seemed very concerned about Lu Yun Lu's life, urging him repeatedly in just a few seconds. At this moment, Fang Yining also spoke up, Brother Lu, it must be him. We shouldn't confront him directly right now. You think I can't beat him? No. Brother Lu is the best. It's just that my sixth sense tells me that going out now won't lead to anything good. Lu Yun Lu took a deep breath, ultimately staring outside and softly saying, All right, then, ha, well, it's going to rain, and I haven't brought in my clothes yet, so I'm leaving first others, winky face, ha, that reason is a bit ridiculous, who still hangs out clothes these days, if they're not torn, just wear them, they all smell bad, who's complaining, if you want to slip away, at least find a slightly more reasonable excuse? Hey, just kidding. While Lu Yun Lu was stalling for time, the countdown outside had already begun. All they could hear. Three. Damn it. Three seconds isn't enough for me to escape. Given the situation, the danger of staying seems even greater. E Ning, hold on to my waist. Asterisk slash nabla backslash asterisk, huh? Hurry. Two. Fang Yi Ning also understood the seriousness of the situation. Although it wasn't really three seconds, there was clearly not much time left. The tent was already in chaos. With the call of two, someone couldn't hold back any longer and was about to go out and surrender. He he he, those who survive can come find me at the Lu family mansion. I'm leaving first. Rascal throws sand. Puff. As Lu Yun Lu's words fell, the tent suddenly erupted in a storm of yellow sand. At that moment. One. Whoosh. Just as the countdown reached one. A black and red round bomb shot through the gap in the curtain and rushed in. What is this? Run. Boom. Run? Are you kidding? The moment the earth split lava bomb plus exploded, there was no time to run. Unless you can teleport. Ah. I knew it. I knew it was this. That guy. It's that guy. Who? Slingshot maniac. Chen Chen. Slingshot. Maniac? No. How do these two words even go together? But the one shouting clearly had experienced the impressive package. The terror in his eyes had him rolling away from the lava area. If you don't want to die, disperse quickly. Ha! Huh? However, before the people outside the lava area could react, the shouter had barely run off when a loud boom erupted in their ears. But it wasn't another special bomb. Rather, all the supports of the tent they were in were almost simultaneously cut down. The tattered curtains and wooden beams fell onto the lava igniting into flames in an instant. In a moment, this area was turned into a sea of fire. The cries of panic were deafening, and it took about 10 seconds for someone to react, using their swords to cut through the curtains to escape. But the flames had not yet been extinguished, and they were about to face another fear. Players surrounding this sea of fire numbered nearly a hundred, and each one was a professional. How many people were in their tent? Even if they had experienced double experience, could they really say they hadn't gone through this? As time passed, more and more people crawled out from the tent, and from the shock still lingering in their eyes, it was clear. Some had instantly died under the earth-split lava bomb, and this was the plus version. If it weren't for the fact that there were all top-tier figures inside, Chen Chen wouldn't have held back. As for why he appeared here, a few minutes ago, at the altar, the strategy of Center Bloom had just been issued and Yu Zhanfeng received a brief report from the reconnaissance team he had formed. With the life-devouring system in place, reconnaissance now achieved almost barrier-free information transmission. This was much better than the old radio. No need to worry about being blocked by the enemy. The content of this brief report was, the enemy's leadership group is gathering 30 miles to the 3 o'clock direction of the main camp, seemingly for a meeting. Chen Kid, do you want to take a look at this? After receiving it, Yu Zhanfeng directly showed it to Chen Chen. Oh, such good news. He he, you little rascal. After a moment of surprise, Yu Zhanfeng quickly realized this kid was planning to take them all out. No time to waste. 30 miles will take 10 minutes to run. I'm heading over first. 10. 10 minutes? Just as Yu Zhanfeng realized, the boy had already followed a flash of lightning and disappeared several dozen meters away. It was indeed, like pursuing thunder shadow step. Aren't you driving your godly vehicle? Nope. 
sending you off, the last you lingered in the air, trailing off into a long echo. At his current speed of 44 foot points, combined with his agility, he can reach 44 meters per second without any slowness, which translates to 158 for kilometers per hour faster than a divine vehicle. Of course, maintaining this speed consumes a significant amount of energy. To exert full speed requires spiritual power. Is Chuan Shen really planning to surround them alone? Wow! Tao Yi's belated realization served as a wake-up call for Yu Zhanfeng, who quickly sent a message to the frontline troops, Formation 9 against 527, surround the enemy's main camp. And thus, the current scene unfolded. Hey, everyone! Chen Shen stood on a broken steel and concrete slab not far from the enemy camp, a playful smile on his face. For some reason, standing higher feels more impressive. You, what do you want? A man who recognized the earthquake lava bomb trembled as he asked. The young man didn't think twice. Of course, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take you all down. You forgetful fools. I, I, I remember. I will definitely remember this time. Too late. As soon as the words left his mouth, Chen Chen shot a projectile into the sky. Just as everyone was astonished, the projectile exploded in mid-air, and at the same time, the boy exclaimed, He he, special bomb, prison on the ground. Prison on the ground bomb, a crafted item, a one-time consumable, a confinement bomb containing 72 specially made small projectiles that can connect with each other and form a prison with the main body in the air, can be used as a crossbow bolt, bow bolt, or thrown object, effect analysis, the formed prison has no damage, and its defense is five times the caster's mental attribute, compared to defense value, rated damage, none, level restriction, level 15 and above, crafting quality, yellow. Excellent. Thud. A series of muffled sounds rang out in perfect unison, despite their small size, they created a slight tremor upon hitting the ground. Then, beams of spiritual light shot out, connecting to the shell hovering in midair. In the blink of an eye, the spiritual prison was formed. No one likes the feeling of being confined. As soon as the prison took shape, a member of the Fulong Alliance trapped in the Sea of Flames swung his sword at it. Unfortunately, he couldn't make a dent. Chen Chen's mental attribute was 36 points. Multiplied by 5 gives 180 points. How could those hovering around level 20 break through it? What? What is this? Prison on the ground? A prison? Damn it. I can't break it. No. No. Let me out. The boy teased. Did you not think about the outcome when you were surrounded here? Did you really think you were someone important? Not to mention, how many of you were already defeated last time? How could you forget so quickly in just a few days? Ready for another round? No. 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 No need. No need. Tang Jun Kai shook his hands. Beads of sweat on his face larger than soybeans. Oh, but it seems unreasonable to let just you go. What? Before Tang Jun Kai could finish his sentence, the boy outside the prison had already raised the slingshot and instantly launched a projectile. Sorry, I think that's a bit unreasonable. Special bomb, endless poison. Whoosh. With a bang, purple mist erupted, and the ground was covered with poison status effects that looked so familiar to Tang Jun Kai. Ah, devil. You devil. Devil? Interesting. Then this package will be upgraded to the devil impression package. I really am a genius at naming things Tang Jun Kai. You're still naming things at a time like this? Be a person. In the midst of the conversation, Chen Shen was also scanning for the figures of the Lu family and others. But unfortunately, after a while, he found nothing. Can someone tell me where the Lu family that gathered you all here has gone? The people in the prison were still in a state of panic and helplessness. So who could hear his words? But with his own eyes, he had already confirmed. They slipped away? In that case, you are of no use. He he. Devil's Impression Set. Volume 3. Falling Star 10,000 Scale Shimmer. The young man had just shouted when another bullet was released from the slingshot. Falling Star 10,000 Scale Shimmer. A crafted item. A one-time consumable. A central shot projectile made of an extremely thin outer shell combined with a highly dense inner core. Can be used as bow ammunition or bullets. Effect analysis. Upon landing, it will immediately explode and the fine iron scales contained within will cause corresponding attribute damage to surrounding targets, attributes based on the user's spiritual power attribute, rated damage, the physical damage from the explosion is 2, 8 times the user's strength attribute, and the attribute damage is 3, 2 times the user's mental attribute, level restriction, level 16 and above, crafting process, yellow, excellent, bang, 
the special bullet landed and exploded, and the fine iron scales immediately burst forth, mixed with the lightning elemental spiritual power that shot out. The instant dual damage caused many people in the prison to kneel on the ground. The screams were incessant. Among them, there were no ranged professions, and they could not hinder Chen Chen outside at all. This landed prison could easily be called closing the door to beat the dog. Watching the leaders of the factions in the prison flail about, howling like wolves and crying like ghosts, the young man felt only irritation. Sigh, this is really boring. Some people, after being punished once or twice, would not remember, only death would make them remember in the next life. Just like those in front of him. Please pack your bags, it's time to board the one-way bus to the underworld. Sleeve cannon. Tang Jun Kai's eyes narrowed. It's over. It's really over now. Fire. Vortex. However, just as Chen Chen's sleeve cannon erupted, the compressed fireball had not yet fallen into the prison. When it reached the midpoint, this farce, a delicate moan accompanied by a sharp white light whooshed past the young man's eyes, raising a cloud of dust and leaving a deep gash on the ground. Following closely, let it end here. As the voice fell, the smoke cleared, and a delicate figure appeared before him. The woman had long, straight black hair, clearly parted in the middle, and in the gust of wind she created, strands of hair could be seen. She wore a gray-black metal mask, leaving only a quarter of her cheek exposed. The half of her profile that was visible showed a faintly indifferent smile. Her long dress, a blend of light ink and silver, danced casually in the wind, her poised demeanor eliciting admiration. Chen Chen frowned slightly, it was hard to discern her origins from her attire, but the Xiaji heavily I showed, friendly. Moreover, it was a bright green friendly. There's a very familiar feeling. The young man speculated in his heart, the color depth of the crosshair of the Xiaji heavenly eye was proportional to the degree of corresponding thoughts, and the bright green friendliness at least indicated that the other party had no intent to kill him. As for why she appeared here to save those in the prison, who are you? Chen Chen asked. But the woman shook her head. That's not important anymore. After a moment of silence, the young man asked, What's your reason for saving them? None. Oh, then I guess I'll just kill again. Saying this, the young man raised his hand and shot an arrow without any negotiation. Seeing this, the woman's eyes behind the mask widened in anger, and she immediately shouted, I told you this farce is over, you can't understand human words, can you? At this sound, Chen Chen seemed to recognize something and shouted, Senior sister? The woman had clearly hesitated for a moment as she swung her long sword, causing the projectile to whiz past her blade and embed itself in a man's chest. Poor man. He died. The delicate brows beneath the woman's mask furrowed. You've got the wrong person. Impossible. You don't need to deliberately change your voice. I won't miss here. The young man declared firmly. This person was the one he had always been concerned about in both this life and the last. In his previous life, he was unable to protect himself, filled with hatred and uncertainty about her life or death, so he never sought her out. In this life, he had the energy to search for her, yet they met today, but it seemed she had come looking for him? Why Jean? Senior sister, I won't mistake you, if I say you're wrong, then you are wrong. This time, after a long silence, she suddenly swung her sword, unleashing a beam of sword light, starlight sword slanting moon. The speed of the strike was such that even Chen Chen had less than half a second to react. The slingshot couldn't block it, and he had already suffered from the glazed heart armor last time. Even summoning the Shenhai Longing Spear might not guarantee a defense. In this moment of crisis, the only technique that could resolve it. Thunder Shadow Instant Movement. Zing. As the lightning passed, the young man's figure instantly vanished, and the woman's starlight sword slanting moon naturally struck nothing but air. But in the next instant. Ha! Just as the fainting colored figure appeared before her, the lightning had just passed, and the young man's large hand reached for her face, his intention unmistakable. Clang clang clang, sound of the mask falling, among her long, straight black hair parted in the middle, beneath her willow-like brows, her clear eyes revealed a face. I told you, I definitely wouldn't mistake you, don't look. Just as the young man was about to turn his gaze, a flash of sword light suddenly appeared before him, Sister Jean. Take another step forward, and I'll kill you. She was disheveled, seemingly afraid to reveal her true appearance. Just then, a bright white light flickered in her eyes, resembling a hexagram pattern at first glance. In the next moment, without saying a word, as if anticipating something, she suddenly thrust her long sword fiercely into the ground, burying it over two feet deep. 
No, I can't, absolutely not, she growled, seemingly resisting something. Sister, what's wrong? Chen Shen was also anxious, he never expected things would turn out this way. Could it be because of that mask? Thinking of this, a wave of guilt surged in his heart. Ah, no, what's wrong with you? No, are you guys going to fight or not? Can you consider our feelings for once? Before Chen Chen could ask for an explanation, those in the prison could no longer stand it and shouted at the one who was left with nothing but a piece of cloth to cover himself, having to hold it up with his hands. But in the next moment, shut up, the young man and woman shouted in unison, and the one in front casually tossed in a standard earth split lava bomb, and with a bang, the already solidified magma melted again, just as Tang Jun Kai had just extinguished the flames on his body? Degree degree, what the hell? I just put it out. There were more than just Tang Jun Kai who had complaints. Why are you reminding that devil? What's wrong with letting him forget us? It's a sin. Hit him. Kill this brainless thing. The one shouting. No, don't you want to complain? I'll complain. Just go for it. The prison was once again in chaos. Outside the prison, Chen Shen looked gravely at the person he hadn't seen in a long time. His university senior and first love, Tong Hui Jin. His indifference towards Shi Xiaoyu was not only because that girl was a bit neurotic, but also because he had always held Tong Hui Jin in his heart. The life-eating event descended on June 20, 2028. It's what they call the graduation season. Tong Hui Jin, a year older, stepped out of campus first. Before parting, the two made a pact. Once they graduated, they would get married. It sounds cheesy, but it's realistic. The ultimate goal of any perfect love story is to tie the knot. But who could have known? Devouring life descended from the heavens, turning their brief separation into an almost eternal farewell. Before the young man, the color of the Xiaoji Tianyan reticle fluctuated between bright green and deep red, even appearing to flicker. Thus, it was clear that Tong Hui Jin's mental state must have been affected. Otherwise, how could a normal person's mind jump back and forth between intense friendliness and hostility? Was he insane? No, that couldn't be. Well, at least he could be sure that Tong Hui Jin was definitely not. And when the reticle in Chen Chen's eyes lingered more on red, Tong Hui Jin seemed to reach the limit of her self-control, hurry, run. She suddenly lifted her head, her pupils displaying a striking hexagram, radiating a faint white light. I can't hold it back anymore. Ah, at that moment, the bright green reticle vanished, leaving only a vivid red. The long sword plunged into the ground, instantly piercing through the sand and stone, and in the next moment, it lunged toward the young man, but just as it was about to reach him, ding, the long sword clashed with the long spear, creating a thunderous sound, but the next moment, Chen Chen did not attempt to wake Tong Hui Jin, instead, he shouted in a deep voice, Team 9, Code 527, use all means to take down those guys in the prison, I'll hold them off here, yes. A booming response came after a brief moment of hesitation. You kill them, I'll kill you. Tong Hui Jin, her eyes glowing with white light, coldly replied. At that moment, she seemed no longer herself, which was why Chen Chen's efforts were not in vain. The Xiaoji Tianyan relied on the mind to determine good and evil, the mind. Concerning a person's consciousness? When it turns red, it must mean a third party has intruded. Who are you? Why do you want to kill me? After deflecting the long sword, Chen Chen coldly questioned, He he, as for why, to restore order, restore order? Chen Chen was taken aback, for whom was the order being restored, what is chaos, and what is order? If he had to say there was chaos about him, it would be the cheat he had, right? Nonsense, the young man retorted directly, thrusting his spear forward. However, the spirit controlling Tong Hui Jin suddenly halted her body. If this continued, the spear would surely pierce her. Withdraw the spear? Or not? In an instant, the young man made his decision, allowing the spear to thrust forward, piercing Tong Hui Jin's left shoulder. In that moment, the heart-wrenching pain made his breath catch for half a beat, but there was no choice. Blood gushed out in an instant, and the wound revealed bits of chilling white bone. The injury was undeniably severe. Considering he had the skill of penetrator, but fortunately, this spear only counted as a moderate injury for Tong Hui Jin, not reaching a fatal weakness. Ah, the spirit controlling Tong Hui Jin seemed to have a delayed perception of pain. It took half a second for her to react after the spear had pierced. You, actually, as long as she doesn't die, 
I can heal any number of injuries, and the scars won't remain, so your trick will work on me. What do you mean by fear of collateral damage? That phrase is complete nonsense. Inner voice, since that's the case, I'll let her die in front of you. As the voice fell, Tong Hui Jin directly turned the sword back in hand, poised to slash at her own neck. What? Stop. This time, Chen Chen was genuinely anxious, but his movements were far too slow compared to Tong Hui Jin's speed in swinging the sword at her neck, as the sword's edge was about to strike. Ah, uh, it seemed like a sudden headache that made Tong Hui Jin stop swinging her sword, but at that moment, the spiritual entity was frantically trying to regain control. The six-pointed star in Tong Hui Jin's pupils flickering incessantly, and the sword in her hand trembling. Seizing the opportunity, the young man quickly lunged forward along the gun barrel, and in the blink of an eye, snatched the long sword from her hand. Senior sister? I. Am. After a moment's hesitation in responding to Chen Chen, her voice became a bit sharper. Don't resist anymore. Don't. You want. Me to die. Not resisting. Is strange. In this brief moment, Tong Hui Jin's own spirit seemed to gradually gain the upper hand. Finally. Get out of here. From Chen Chen's perspective with the Xie Ji Tianyan, the deep red on Tong Hui Jin was flickering continuously with her resistance. In the end, it vanished like a red light extinguished. But at that moment, a sudden beam of light enveloped her, transporting Tong Hui Jin away before Chen Chen could react. Ah. Hey. This scene was clearly seen not only by Chen Shen but also by nearly a hundred people from the number 9 bar 527 in Jiulong City, as well as a few leaders of small factions who had not yet perished. The young man stood frozen in place, never expecting such a dramatic conclusion to the situation. But in this circumstance, he neither wailed nor screamed. After a while, he slowly clenched his fists. Then he glared at the sky, I don't care who you are. If you have the ability, show your health bar. Ha, huh? just see if I kill you or not. If she suffers even a scratch, even if it's the king of heaven, I won't hesitate to kill. Crack. A sudden thunderclap seemed to respond to Chen Chen's anger at that moment. After that, the young man calmed himself, his gaze locking onto the remaining few people in the prison. A devilish smile suddenly seeped in. I say, if it weren't for you guys, she probably wouldn't have been taken away. Right? He he. He he he. Let's just finish off the last shot from earlier. Sleeve cannon, fire vortex. The dense fireballs erupted the moment the young man shouted. Then he turned and flicked his sleeve, letting the vortex of flames rise, incinerating the spiritual prison completely. Tang Jun Kai, who was barely hanging on, devil. You damned devil. Poor as he was, he had just gained a name before fading away. The rising flames ultimately spared no stubborn soul from the moment they gathered here for the second time. The path had already been sealed. The second so-called contest for the job change altar ended abruptly as the entire Fulong Alliance leadership was wiped out. This time, Jolong City had firmly established its foothold in the Jiangnan settlement. However, the fundamental core of this incident had long ceased to be a simple, so-called contest the moment Tong Hui Jin appeared. What seemed like a blunder actually triggered another extremely sensitive chain. Whose spiritual power was it that controlled Tong Hui Jin? On the way back, Chen Shen couldn't stop pondering this question in his mind. In fact, upon closer inspection, there were some inexplicable things in his past life that undeniably existed, but no one had delved into them before. Of course, it also related to those abnormal occurrences that appeared relatively late. In this life, is it because of me? It's no wonder Chen Shen would think this way, after all. Many things have changed because of his presence up to this point, whether it was his initiative or passivity. There is a saying, every choice creates an outcome, and sometimes, even a single thought can give rise to a parallel world. In a dynamic system, a slight change in initial conditions can lead to significant differences in the system over time. The butterfly effect, even the smallest changes can lead to enormous differences, let alone what Chen Chen is doing, which is far from small. However, thinking more is futile. The situation is passive, one can only respond to the enemy's advances and cover the ground when water comes. Passive? The gate is already open. How can I not be a proactive man worthy of this rebirth? The youth's heart surged, and his thoughts were clear. You want to kill me, to restore order, right? Just come. If you don't come, I'll have to lure you here. As for how to lure? Chen Chen currently has only a vague guess. The greater his actions impact on reality, the greater the so-called chaos must be then restoring order will surely follow, right? Amidst his thoughts, 
The Nine Dragon City camp was already in sight. With the fall of the Jing family and the Lu family unable to support itself, the current Nine Dragon City no longer fears any forces harboring ill intentions towards the job change holy altar, even if there are, they have the ability to resolve it. The Sui Xiang Pavilion and Nahai Tower, originally under the Nine Dragon City, were completely merged after this battle. However, during the personnel archiving process, where's Mo Huai Zhu? Where did your sword hero Mo Huai Zhu from Nahai Tower go? The one asking this was Shi Xiaoyu, with Chen Chen's connection. Yu Zhan Feng didn't mind her previous affiliation with the Lu family. In fact, if someone from the Lu family wanted to join Nine Dragon City, Yu Zhan Feng wouldn't refuse. Turning from darkness to light is better than being stubborn, isn't it? Of course, those who enter Nine Dragon City through such channels won't be easily reused. Just as that starry bright person said, humans are suspicious creatures. Everyone, to some extent, has a bit of suspicion. Even a fool would wonder if there are cockroaches under the overpass today. Enough of that. Back to the point. A member of Na Hai Tower responded. Who knows? She was already unpredictable. Na Hai Tower was just a resting place for her. Yeah, but it seems like I saw her yesterday, and now she's gone. She Xiao Yu clenched her delicate fist. Coward. The last fight isn't over yet. Hearing her words, a Na Hai Tower member couldn't help but mutter. Last time, the sword hero was just letting her win. Right, what did you say? And nothing. Asterisk, um, unable to find Mo Huai Zhu. Shi Xiao Yu had no choice but to walk away in boredom. After completing the personnel archiving, Yu Zhan Feng quickly issued the first iron rule as the dragon head power, which can also be considered a decree for this Jiang Nan settlement. Its content was concise, no life-eating maggots allowed inside. From today, this moment on, Nine Dragon City will not nurture or shelter anyone without fighting spirit. That is, life-eating maggots. No matter where you originally belonged, whether Na Hai Tower or Sui Xiang Pavilion, regardless of size or previous identity, Nine Dragon City will not accept you. If you want to live, you must fight and earn it yourself. There will be people to teach you how to kill monsters. But if you want to just eat and wait for death, I have only one word for you, roll. Yu Feng's final role was devoid of any emotion, yet it still shook people's hearts. The life-eating maggots, who originally wanted to continue living off others, all wore bitter faces after hearing his words. Life-eating maggots are cheap, are miserable, have no way out. But what about safety? As long as they occasionally give up a year of their lifespan for a full meal, they can continue to starve without worrying about fierce beasts taking their lives. It's a legitimate way to lie flat. Such a good life and now it's gone? Don't say they lack ambition, they're just life-eating maggots, intermittently filled with lofty aspirations, continuously just waiting to die. Only when they hear others draw good things and exchange them for a better life do they fantasize about what it would be like if they won. But most of the time, they are just waiting to die. To put it bluntly, they are nothing but pests. Of course, there are some who want to strive but have no opportunity. The purpose of Yu Zhanfeng's decree is to filter these people out. But the filtering process will always come with losses. Even new recruits have death quotas, let alone survival in the apocalypse. But if one can survive the filtering, then future achievements, if not high, will at least be self-sufficient. As for those who cannot pass the filtering or even participate in it, sorry, he is not a philanthropist. The Nine Dragon City was established with this principle in mind. But the issuance of this iron rule now is a result of Yu Zhanfeng listening to Chen Chen's advice. Choosing short pain over long pain. Originally, he planned to gradually abolish this system, far from being as decisive as it is now. However, any decision will always have dissenters. Without us, there would be no Lu family. Where would you get the longevity pills to become stronger? Although the odds of drawing good things are low, we have so many people, we have more lives. Exactly. Cutting us off like this is just pushing us into the fire pit. Right, right. Isn't this too heartless? In front of others, Yu Zhanfeng remained silent, but just as these voices paused, a bright youthful voice broke the harmony. Yes, that's right, the one shouting was Chen Chen, who had just rushed back to Nine Dragon City. Filled with anger upon hearing these words, he simply pulled back his slingshot, if you don't want the fire pit, how about I change it to lava? 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 What kind of joke is this? Chen? Chen Chen? Among the gathered life-eating maggots. It seemed a few were from the Lu family's territory, perhaps not from the same parking lot as Chun Chen, but at least they had heard of him. Of course, 
They could also be from other factions, but they had heard Chen Chen's name. After all, quite a few people returned alive from the recent impressive package, so it was not strange for his name to spread. And now, with the channels for the life eating cards, anyone wanting to know about him just needed to befriend a formal player to easily find out. You were originally just like us, a life eating maggot, right? Not only do you not speak for us, but you also kick us when we're down. What a tang shi behavior. Have you forgotten your roots? You were nothing before, but after drawing something good, you forgot where you came from? Who would have thought? Just as the angry voices rose, a bone bullet that Chen Shen had discarded long ago suddenly shot out. With a thud, it pierced someone's skull. The scene fell silent, and no one dared to speak up anymore. No one wanted to be the next lucky one to have their head blown off. At this moment, the boy's voice also rang out coldly, Yes, I was originally a so-called life-eating maggot, but fate did not treat me unfairly, allowing me to have today. Who was born not as a half-foot infant, as a maggot? Can one not harbor the ambition to become a dragon? The boy's words shook the hearts of thousands. Lying flat? Slacking off? Those with ability can lie down. Can slack off. But you who lack ability and ambition are just a bunch of social scum waiting to die. The crowd fell into dead silence. Chen Chen's words were undeniably hurtful. But every word was true. After the arrival of life-eating, who among those raised as life-eating maggots had high aspirations before their arrival? One by one. They originally held a mindset of just muddling through life, preparing to spend the rest of their days. What could such people accomplish when the apocalypse arrives? But because it was true, every word struck deep. What? Are you not convinced? The young man suddenly spoke, breaking the dead silence. If you're not convinced, prove it to me. I bet you don't have that ability. With that, he no longer lingered and turned to leave. Yu Zhanfeng didn't say a word the entire time, but after he left, he muttered, what got into that kid? Ling Feng, who was nearby, leaned in to quietly answer his confusion. As he listened to the reason, the expression on Yu Zhenfeng's face gradually shifted from puzzlement to seriousness. And finally, he furrowed his brows deeply, clearly understanding the gravity of the situation. Without further delay, I'll leave this to you, I'm going to have a chat with that kid. Understood. Lu Family Mansion. Lu Yun Lu, who had used some tricks to escape the camp felt quite unlucky. At that moment, he knew who was shouting outside without needing Fong Yining to remind him. Clearly, he had a higher level and plenty of means. But why was he still judged to be unable to win? What gave that guy the right? Damn it! Lu Yulu slammed his hand down on the coffee table, shattering it into pieces. Brother Lu, Yining, don't say anything for now, just let me calm down. Although Lu Yulu was furious, he wasn't so irrational as to take it out on anyone. Fang Yining could refine longevity pills, which was quite beneficial to him, so he couldn't afford to make an enemy of her. However, just as their voices fell, a voice suddenly burst in from outside. Oh, 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 our big star Lu Yunlu is having a day like this. Rare, rare, he he he. Lu Yunlu frowned deeply, who could still call him that in this day and age. Lost in thought, a slightly thin figure had already stepped into the entrance hall of the Lu family mansion. Wu Xin. Upon seeing the visitor, Lu Yunlu's brows sharpened like a sword. Wu Xin, the young master of Wu Media before the arrival, had previously collaborated with Lu Yunlu's economic team for a concert. Therefore, after the arrival, the Lu family took him in for that reason. But that was the extent of it. Lu Yunlu had no idea how things developed afterward and wouldn't bother to care. Now appearing here, young master Wu, how have you been lately? Observing Wu Xin's current state, Lu Yun Lu, no matter how foolish, knew he wasn't here to seek refuge, since that was the case, his purpose remained to be determined. Thanks to you, I'm doing quite well. Wu Xian toyed with the round ball in his hand, a hint of mockery in the corner of his mouth, but then he shifted the topic, Brother Lu, have you heard of the Sacred Beast Association? Lu Yun Lu was taken aback. Could it be? You too? It seems that guy didn't lie to me. Wu Xian smiled. The fact proves that no matter when, we in the upper class will always be in the upper class. Brother Lu, let's work together to make the Sacred Beast Association great. Hearing this, Lu Yunlu understood Wu Xian's intention, but he didn't fully trust him and merely said, Can we really do it? Fong Yining chimed in, Brother Lu can definitely do it. In the entrance hall, silence lasted for several breaths. Alright then, let's strive for that purpose. 
Wu Xian said. Let's encourage each other. In the abyssal beast domain, the eternal frozen glacier. Within a concentric circle spirit light array with a radius of about 5 meters, six points are evenly spaced and staggered, each point radiating two arcs of spirit light at a 60 degrees angle. These arcs of spirit light connect in a parabolic shape to the edge of the inner circle of the concentric circle, then bend 60 degrees to jump to the next point, ultimately returning to the starting point. Each angle is 60 degrees. In the spaces between these angles, a hexagon with curved edges is formed. Inside, a young girl hugged her chest with both hands, her cheeks bearing a slight purplish hue from frostbite, and frost clung to her long eyelashes above her tightly closed eyes. In the center, a beam of light pierced down from the sky, enveloping her. In front of the spiritual light array, two star-piercing beings stood with their hands behind their backs, appearing before her in a vague manner, their eyes filled with confusion. At this moment, the first one spoke, strange, the mental state of earthlings is clearly unstable, with occasional individuals showing mental deficiencies, and even those with normal minds later exhibiting signs of aberration. Why? Upon hearing this, the second one glanced over and said, It is indeed strange, those earthlings I interacted with were the same. The first one asked, Have there been any updates on the samples sent back? The second one replied, How can it be so fast through the dark universe? Do you know how many light years away we are from the laboratory? The first one scoffed. When will that bunch in the divine instrument department figure out a way to traverse the dark universe? They really don't treat us, who are out here pioneering, as people, do they? The second one said, People? You habitually used a term for individual life forms from Earth. The first one's mouth twitched, and he immediately looked up at the sky. Isn't that because of him? The two star piercing beings shifted away from this slightly sensitive topic and spoke about something else. The first one asked, By the way, has there been a response from above regarding the disturbance handling plan? The second one shrugged. There was a response, but it's no different from not having one. The first one inquired, why? The second one replied, only five words, eliminate the source of disturbance. The first one said, isn't that the same as what we're doing? The second one clarified, not quite, we only suspect he is the source of disturbance, but we can't confirm it yet. We need to wait for the people from the Fate Trace Department to come and investigate. The first one asked, when will they arrive? The second one was silent for a moment, then sighed, traveling through the dark universe. Damn it. The second one remarked, you just used a commonly used term by earthlings. The first one retorted, you recite poetry created by earthlings too. Do you have the right to criticize me? It's also because of him. After this exchange, the two exchanged glances. And finally, the first one broke the silence. Let's not worry about that for now. The girl should remain sealed here until we find a way to suppress her mind. She's just a native experimental subject. Why bother so much? Are you stupid or am I? She is clearly connected to the source of disturbance we suspect, and there might even be a combined relationship. The second one was silent for a moment. You're not envious, are you? Who the hell would envy two natives? Then why are you silent? See, you're silent again. Shut up. In Kowloon City, at the Chuan Tent, when the young man calmed down alone, he still felt a bit of moisture in his eyes despite maintaining absolute composure in front of others. All the experiences from his past life, combined with this life, overwhelmed him the moment he saw Tong Hui Jin again. He had wanted to chat freely and express his feelings, but unexpectedly, things took an uncontrollable turn. Yu Zhanfeng had been standing outside the curtain for several minutes, seemingly waiting to see his expression before not barging in to disturb him. Time passed second by second, he couldn't remember if it was five minutes or ten minutes, he only knew that at a certain moment, the young man suddenly spoke, damn it, Yu Zhanfeng hurriedly lifted the curtain and entered. Shen Kid, inside the tent, Shen Shen had already let out a long breath. Ha, Dragon Head, have you been waiting long? Yu Zhanfeng was taken aback, not denying it, and simply said, with things like this happening, there's not much I can do, almost nothing at all, but if you need me, just say the word. The young man shook his head and said, I'm planning to head north. Hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng seemed to have anticipated it and said, well, if you're going north, Go find Yun Wui. She will help you. Yun Wui? Chen Chen's expression showed some surprise. What? Do you know her? Ha! The famous commander of the Cloud Army. It would be strange not to know her, right? Don't you have the elegant title of Know You in the North and South? Nine dragons in the clouds with her? 
The boy said this with a hint of teasing in his expression. You brat. Yu Zhanfeng laughed and scolded. You can just say that I'm afraid of my wife. No need to beat around the bush. No you in the north and south. Nine dragons in the clouds, with Wu in front and you behind. The clouds suppressing the nine dragons, outsiders only know it as an elegant title. But only those in the know understand it's a humorous way of saying Yu Zhanfeng is afraid of his wife. However, to become a military leader as a woman, the abilities of this Yun Wui are undoubtedly impressive. I didn't mean that. Ha ha. Yu Zhanfeng looked disbelieving but said, whether she helps or not doesn't matter. Just remember to bring me something good when you go. Rest assured. Your wife. I will take care of her. You need not worry. Yu Zhanfeng. Hashtag. Although determined to head north, Chen Chen had no intention of setting off immediately. Only for one reason, north of the Huaxia region. There was not only the threat of the Beast Sea Forbidden Zone but also the Deadly Beast Domain from the north, the Eternal Frozen Glacier, with double threats present. If he didn't have enough strength, going there would be like delivering himself as a meal. As for how to accumulate strength? Of course, it was by hunting fierce beasts and obtaining resources through the roulette. On the 38th day of arrival, July 28, 2028, in the early morning, Chen Chen's team gathered again setting off grandly towards the outsider battlefield. This time, the destination was not just along the riverbank. If you have regrets, you can still go back now. On the Wuling Xinche, which had only one-third of the windshield left, the team still consisted of seven people, and Chen Chen's words were clearly directed at the newcomer, Ling Feng. The latter was also a clever person, after a brief pause. He understood and said, Regret? It's impossible to regret. I've wanted to follow you. Xuan Shen, for a long time, but unfortunately, the dragon had never allowed it. He he what he said was indeed true. After all, there were not many people Yu Zhanfeng could trust before, but since Chen Chen helped him root out those treacherous individuals, Ling Feng was no longer the only one, with more trustworthy people. He also considered Ling Feng's own development. Following Chen Chen was undoubtedly a good path. Dangerous as it was, the benefits were also considerable, right? Back to the team, in this CIG Tianyan, Shi Xiaoyu had stabilized on a relatively bright emerald green, and the gray-white treacherous had not appeared for two days. One couldn't help but wonder what this girl was thinking. Suit yourself. Chen Chen smiled in response to Ling Feng, but let me say this up front. This time I wanna play big. If you die, don't blame me. Can't do that. Life and death are fated. Wealth and honor are in the heavens. That said, when Chen Chen drove into the outsider battlefield, he still did not reduce speed, heading straight for the coastal area, and Ling Feng couldn't help but swallow hard. Xuan Shen wouldn't be thinking. Around 3 in the afternoon, when the Wuling Xinche stopped in front of a transverse bridge and was recalled into the spatial ring by Chen Chen, both the newcomer Ling Feng and the five veteran members couldn't help but twitch their lips. At this moment, they suddenly heard, let's go, jump over. The six of them, right triangle and area operators, eh? Jump. Jump over? Chuan Shen, do you know where that is? Taoi couldn't help but point at the other side of the bridge and asked. There was no need to jump, the broken bridge was already filled with fierce beasts. A few of them were drooling, just waiting for you to jump in. The place where everyone was now was precisely the bridge connecting the two banks at the mouth of the Great River to the small island in the middle. If you ask why the Great Bridge is in quotes, it's because this bridge was originally an underwater tunnel. It was the dramatic change in the terrain that forcibly broke this tunnel in half and pushed it up onto the land. On both sides of the bridge, you can still see the remnants of the tunnel's walls, with steel bars lying around, looking incredibly grand. I know, it's the sea beast paradise, you know, and still ah, uh, you really don't care, do you? No, the river god, that place is no different from the beast sea forbidden zone, right? Shang Tianxiong couldn't help but ask, how is it not different? It is. Where's the difference? You don't have to go into the sea, the six of them. What the hell do you mean you don't have to go into the sea? Why does it feel like that's not what you meant? Back to the point. The island in the middle of the two banks has sunk a bit due to the dramatic change in terrain, and now its highest elevation is only about 20 to 30 meters. Moreover, that area is only a few hundred square meters. In other words, as long as the tide rises, it's no different from being in the sea. That little space can be completely adapted to by the ocean's ferocious beasts. And once they drag you into the sea, they can feast on you. Scared? Want to go back now? As soon as Chen Shen said this, two pairs of eyes really did change a bit. 
but immediately after, it's too late too late, too late for what the hell are you saying, but while everyone was in a daze, the young man had already taken a few steps back, leaped into the air with a powerful push, and in an instant, he was five or six meters high with lightning flashing beneath his feet, just then, a loud splash erupted from the sea in the gap of the broken bridge, and a Tsangling Bay crocodile lunged at him with its mouth wide open at a nearly straight angle, but the boy in the air showed no signs of panic, can't wait to send yourself to your death, special bullet fiery phoenix cry plus, boom, beep, two sounds almost simultaneously exploded in mid-air, with the materials collected last time, Chen Shen had made several of his used special bullets into plus versions, including the fiery phoenix cry bullet, fiery phoenix cry bullet plus, a crafted item, a one-time consumable, made by infusing fire attribute spiritual power into specially drawn patterns, accompanied by a phoenix cry upon firing, can be used as a crossbow bolt or arrow, rated damage, individuals hit by the fire phoenix will receive fire damage equal to 6, 3 times the caster's mental attribute, and if their burn resistance is below 75%, they will enter a burning state for 7, 5 seconds, level restriction, level 18 and above, crafting quality, purple, exquisite. The explosive fire spiritual bullet transformed into a fire phoenix and was immediately swallowed by the Tsanglin Bay crocodile. However, it was clearly not voluntary. Boom! The sound of the explosion caused the entire crocodile to pause for a moment. Its upward momentum halted, and then it fell back into the sea, bubbling up. Only two lines of text remained in the air. Minus 6560. Burning. Minus 587. Chen Chen's mental attribute is 36 points, so 6, 3 times that is nearly 227 points. The base damage, combined with the Ranger class bonus and the final combat power calculation, resulted in this damage. Although it didn't kill the Tsanglin Bay crocodile in one hit, it was still quite impressive. After that, the boy in midair did not lose momentum, and before descending, he shot another 1 star fall 10,000 scales shimmer towards the opposite side of the broken bridge. Then he took out a spear, Domain Moon Lake Silver Thunder. Song. The thunder array fell from the sky, combined with the one star fall 10,000 scales shimmer that had just arrived, instantly dismantling the ferocious beasts on the opposite side that were eagerly waiting to be fed. Life devouring. Lifespan increased by 17 years and 4 days. In his mind, the prompt sound of the life devouring battle body activation suddenly came. Unfortunately, the short lived beast has come. A lifespan of 17 years is indeed a bit low for a ferocious beast, if the degree of mutation is sufficient. Living over a hundred years is quite easy. When the young man landed, none of the ferocious beasts surrounding the broken bridge dared to step forward recklessly. Woohoo! The river god is amazing! Taui exclaimed in astonishment after watching the whole process. At this point, everyone understood. Staying on this broken bridge with no place to go seemed even harder to bear. So it was better to take a gamble. If we're going into the sea, then let's go. Who's afraid? The first to act was surprisingly Shi Xiaoyu, but remember to pull me up. Okay. As she said this, a fleeting moment of gray white flashed in Chen Chen's eyes, causing his mouth to twitch involuntarily, thinking to himself, what is this woman scheming again? The only thing he could be sure of was she wouldn't betray him, because that gray white was so faint it could almost be ignored. Yet, he still felt something was off. The next moment, Shi Xiaoyu leaped lightly into the air, encountering an attack from a sea beast, but before Chen Chen could raise his slingshot, she used her rope dart to pierce the beast's jaw at a strange angle and swung herself toward the opposite shore. Just as she was about to land, the rope dart struck a remnant of the broken bridge, sending a force that slightly altered Shi Xiaoyu's landing position. And it was at this moment, in Chen Chen's Xiaoji Tianyan, Shi Xiaoyu quickly flashed a moment of gray white before her color immediately turned to bright green asterisk 3 leaning back slightly hashtag 3 um. What is a heavenly kiss? This is it the young man suddenly took three steps back. Fog day. You this guy. The fleeting warmth between his lips clearly told him that it had definitely hit the mark. And this woman even stuck out her tongue. He he. It's not my first kiss. So no loss. Hashtag. I'm the one who lost. And you totally did that on purpose. Right? Shi Xiaoyu replied with a helpless expression. What can I do? We've kissed. How about I allow you to deal with me right here? Want to? At this moment, Chen Shen just wanted to ask, why are there such women in the world? No wonder Lu Yunpan was her ex-boyfriend. With this offensive power, who can take it? If hints don't work, 
Can a direct assault work? At this time, on the opposite side of the broken bridge. Taoi, I feel like if we go over now, it might be a bit unnecessary. Shang Tianxian propped his chin, how about we go back? Let them enjoy their couple time? Tang Bei nodded, good idea. Flopping around when hungry can lead to a picnic anytime. Pure natural ferocious beast meat, enough to fill you up. Dongfang Yan Yan, although I feel a bit sorry for brother Chuan, it seems like we can only do this. The newcomer Lingfong, underscore winky face. Ha, huh? you, all treat the river god like this? Get over here, all of you. Do you all want to be beaten? From the opposite shore, a furious shout, this roar even scared back quite a few ferocious beasts by half a step. Really not going to deal with it right here? Chen Chen. What a gain you must be the legendary female rogue, right? The young man was now a bit exasperated. Yeah, either you kill me, or I'll stick to you. At this moment, Chen Chen finally understood, she had been plotting from the last time until today, right? No wonder it was gray white. Hashtag. It's up to you. Looking at Shi Xiaoyu's shameless face, Chen Chen held back for a long time and could only blurt out this one sentence. This was much harder to deal with than any ferocious beast. He he after the little farce. The remaining five members of the team, with help from the opposite shore, each leaped over the broken bridge. But with Chen Chen's earlier attack, not a single nearby beast dared to step forward to block them, until the seven entered the very center of the small island. From all directions, the sky and sea were filled with the roars of beasts. Wherever one looked, there were fierce beasts lurking, waiting for the right moment to strike. In contrast, the small team of seven appeared so insignificant and helpless amidst such an onslaught. At this moment, the young man smiled and said, The real show is about to begin. After saying this, he slung his spear behind him, directly loaded seven or eight bone projectiles into the slingshot in his hand, then aimed at the area with the most beasts and released it. Pun. Bang 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 bang. A muffled sound accompanied by a series of damages erupted among the beast horde. Among them was a simple message, the battle had begun. Chen Chen and the others charged straight into the heart of the estuary. Reaching the very center of the island, such an act was no different from provocation. It even had a hint of offending the powerful. Even if it was not harmful, it was extremely insulting. Could the beasts endure? Roar! A thunderous roar erupted just after the young man fired the first shot of battle, stirring up monstrous waves in the river and sea, crashing down. I don't think this is a good show. Shi Xiaoyu felt that the rope dart in her hand could not inflict any damage on this giant creature before her. Is it too late to back out now? Taoi replied. What do you think? And you? Hmm. You. There's no time to worry about titles now. Okay. As the complaint fell, the tumultuous waves receded. And in a daze, the fierce beast's head flashed with four crimson eyes, staring at the seven in the center of the island. It resembled a dragon but was not one. With a narrow mouth sharp white teeth, and four blood-red eyes arranged symmetrically on either side, shooting out beams of red light. Ha! A big guy has come. Chen Chen chuckled lightly. Don't panic. It's just big. While speaking, the young man had already raised his hand to shoot a bow projectile to gather information about the opponent. The fierce beast seemed too lazy to respond to this small stone. Because of this, minus one, 496, armor piercing, penetration, minus six. 185. The 100% penetrating damage was undoubtedly one of Chun Chen's specialties, Thunderlight Armor Piercing Bullet. And the current version, of course, was the plus version. Thunderlight Armor Piercing Bullet Plus, a crafted item, a one time consumable, contains extremely unstable thunder elements, can be used as crossbow bolts, bow projectiles, or thrown items, rated damage, the penetrating thunder elemental damage is too. Three times the caster's mental attribute, level restriction, level 15 and above, crafting quality, purple, excellent. The reason the quality is excellent is that the damage of this special bullet itself is not high, as for penetration, not everyone has the penetrator skill. The ranger's class feature mainly enhances the damage of ranged weapons. As the damage was released, the beast's attribute panel immediately popped up. Name, Azure Wave Cloud Dragon Rank, Lord Level, 21 Vitality, 33. 554 slash 41, 236 strength, 79 mentality, 15 defense, 34 speed, 74 skills, Azure Wave Shock, Ice Wave 1000 miles combat power, 1, 422. With such a large size, it's not surprising that it's a lord level beast. However, 
The panel appeared for only a moment before Chin Shen directly ignored it. You all see the armor piercing, right? Now, in fact, there was no need for Chin Shen to prompt. Everyone in the team capable of ranged attacks had already taken action. Sheng Tianxiong swung his sword, unleashing three rapid sword energies, Gale Triple Slash. Tang Bei was not idle either. After quickly loading his weapon, a loud bang erupted with a flash of fire. Modified Lava Bomb, Red Demon Devours. A blind modification of the Earth Split Lava Bomb, even the newly joined Ling Fon was quick to act, flipping his hand to take out an iron dart shaped like a kunai, which he immediately threw with a whoosh. He originally intended to change his class to warrior, but perhaps influenced by Chin Chen, he switched to ranged attack halfway through. As for his dart throwing skills, they were certainly honed during his time in the military before his arrival. Besides the three of them, Chen Chen, who was shouting commands, had also fully drawn his bowstring. Delayed spirit explosion, triple, whirling flame phoenix cry. Thus, in less than a moment, the jetting fire dragon, accompanied by three wind blades, surged forward led by the explosive fire phoenix. However, the flying iron dart struck first, hitting the Bai Tao Yun Jiao ahead of everything else. Everything happened within a second after the armor break state appeared. A mere moment that was far too short for the spirit attribute of only 15 points of the Bai Tao Yun Jiao to escape. The next moment, the kunai arrived first, piercing directly into its body due to the armor break, instantly exploding into a mass, leaving the Yun Jiao's abdomen bloodied and gruesome. Following that, the fire phoenix surged in, using the blood spilling from the wound as fuel. Explosion. Burning. Then came the high temperature shock like a pillar of fire, no matter how high the defense. After such a round of devastation, it was hard to maintain, especially since the Bai Tao Yun Jiao did not have high defensive attributes. Thus, it was charred on the outside and tender on the inside, and there were still three wind blades following. The fear of death filled its small head in an instant, and the will to survive made it forget everything else, as if something had ignited, causing the burning sensation on its body to extinguish in an instant, while the incoming wind blades were shattered into fragments simultaneously releasing an extremely cold halo. Originally, this halo would have surely hit the seven-member team, but at the critical moment, Taui took out his double shields and thrust them into the ground, Guardian, Selfless Vigil. Son, the terrifying ice halo instantly froze Taui into solid ice, but the others remained unharmed. However, the next moment, Sleeve Universe, Sea of Fire. With a wave of his hand, the circular sea of fire immediately surrounded them dispelling the surrounding chill without a trace, and the solid ice on Taui began to melt. This sea of fire undoubtedly originated from the upgraded fire skill of the frog, Fire Vortex. The big guy is getting anxious. Be careful of a counterattack. If we don't break its armor in three seconds, it will definitely be more cautious afterward. So everyone stay alert. Amum. Um, um. Everyone responded in unison. The battle continued. The severely injured Bai Tao Yun Jiao saw that Chen Chen and the others had resolved its ice wave thousand miles and had learned to be more cautious. After all, as a lord, it was better to command some minions to attack rather than getting its hands dirty itself. But how could ordinary ferocious beasts pose a threat to Chen Chen and his team? When it came to cooperation, the tacit understanding of Chen Chen's six-member team was already well established, and the newly joined Ling Feng's abilities did not conflict, quickly integrating into the group. The seven-member team included the highly offensive Chen Chen, Tang Bei, and Shang Tianxiang, with Xi Xiaoyu and Dong Fan Yan Yan providing support. With this combination, they could basically keep the ferocious beasts at bay within dozens of meters, and even if they closed the distance, they would hardly escape Tao Yi's round of shield strikes. Now with Ling Feng added, their ranged attack power was even stronger. Although they were in the center of the island, the surrounding ferocious beasts could at most cause the seven to be a bit flustered but they would not break through the defense line. Moreover, even if they did break through, did Chen Chen have no means to deal with it? With both Sleeve Cannon and Sleeve Universe? He had more than enough methods to deal with the monsters, right? If it weren't for the fear of sneak attacks emerging from the shadows, he could handle this situation all by himself. One wave, two waves, more and more ferocious beasts charged forward, yet they could not break through the defense line. Chen Chen's life-devouring battle body had activated several times, and his lifespan had inexplicably increased by 2,000 years, originally over a thousand. Seeing this, the Bai Tao Yun Jiao also became a bit anxious, constantly delivering food was not a solution. Ultimately, he had to take action himself. With that, 
his beastly eyes widened, and he rose, restoring most of his body, leaping above the sea surface to over 10 meters. The so-called Yun Jiao may not soar through the clouds, but it could still grasp the clouds and climb. At this moment, everyone realized that this Bai Tao Yun Jiao actually had only a pair of front claws, while the back half was merely a thick snake tail. Even so, that massive body was enough to shock. After climbing up into the clouds, the Yun Jiao did not linger in the sky, it turned around and dove back into the sea, entering the water without a splash, so quiet that one could even count the number of ferocious beasts roaring nearby. But Chen Chen suddenly furrowed his brows. Something's not right. Prepare for defense. Upon hearing this, Taui did not ask further. He stepped out and directly formed four small shields with his spiritual power, placing his dual shields at the front and back ends of the team, with six shields evenly spaced. Ha! He activated the shields with a shout. Hexagram shield formation, activate. However, one layer of insurance was not enough. So Chen Chen handed a bullet to Ling Feng. Throw it vertically the higher the better. This ready-made pitcher was not to be wasted. Okay. Ling Feng wasted no time, using a flick of his wrist to send the bullet into the air, until it reached about 10 meters high and exploded with a bang. Ground prison bullet, reverse celestial version, that's right. It was not covering the ferocious beasts, but the members of the team, in a completely opposite state from the last time, with each beam of spiritual light able to influence each other at frame frequency to form a barrier with defensive power consistent with the normal version. That meant five times Chin Chen's spiritual attribute. Why was it his? The reason was simple. Before Ling Feng threw it up, Chen Chen had already applied a three-second delay spiritual explosion to this bullet, so it naturally counted as his casting. Just as the two layers of insurance were completed, there finally was a change at the sea surface. The moment before, the sea was merely small waves, but in an instant, it surged like a pimple on the earth. With a massive amount of seawater crashing towards the island in the river, by Bo Jing Tao, what was terrifying was not just the tsunami-like wave, but also the numerous ferocious beasts lurking within. The most numerous were the claw pincer red crabs, notorious for being annoying. These creatures reproduced at an astonishing rate. With hard shells and large numbers, they surged into the Huaxia region through the sea after the arrival of life devouring. The reason was that the humans in the local area had long been extinct. Within the defensive formation, Taui even felt a bit overwhelmed, but the crashing tsunami did not care about that. Pong! With a loud bang, the spiritual light prison shield flickered, like a piece of jelly being washed by water, feeling as if it could collapse at any moment. Damn it, so many? It's one thing to have a lot, but they're hard to deal with. Is that the point? It's getting dark, and the tide is about to rise. If we don't prepare some food, how are we going to survive tonight? Chen Shen said sharply, there's no time to think about that, the defense shield won't hold for long, the seawater and red crabs will come crashing down, prepare for battle. After saying this, the young man did not sit idly by, he directly called forth several green vines with a shout of sleeve universe, intertwining them and forming a green vine shield above. Taui gritted his teeth, spreading his hands to expand the hexagram shield formation to a size sufficient to withstand the green vines. The combination of the two meant that the defensive power was not just a simple addition. Shortly after, the spiritual light prison shield ultimately could not withstand the onslaught of the seawater, transforming into a sky full of spiritual light. One must admit, the Bai Tao Yun Jiao move was indeed very powerful, although it borrowed the power of nature. Without some skill, one could not shine the crystal shoes. Borrowing strength and momentum is the most direct and effective way to quickly enhance combat power. The Roaring Sea ultimately gave everyone in the team a wake-up call, while it didn't directly break through the hexagram shield formation. The sound was deafening. It felt as if someone had punched you in the ear. Everything became dizzying. Immediately after. Crack. Crack. This was the sound of the claw crab pincers clashing in the water, signaling that those annoying creatures had officially launched their attack. The vine was resilient. But how could it compete with the scissor-like pincers? Chen Shen's frog had exhausted all its strength to urge the vine to grow, but in the face of overwhelming numbers, it was ultimately futile. There was no choice, the boy had to withdraw his hand, causing the frog to retract the vine whip. Now, all that remained was Tao Yi's hexagram shield formation, but one person alone could hardly support it for long. Those claw crabs seemed to have broken the shield more than once, coordinating perfectly as they simultaneously swung their iron pincers. Bang! Dilly Billy! We're done for. We can't hold on for even a second. Blood oozed from Tao Yi's mouth and nose, 
clearly having suffered immense damage in an instant, even experiencing a backlash of spiritual energy. Everyone jump up together and then retreat. Okay, the one who spoke was Chen Chen, but even if he hadn't said anything, Taui couldn't hold on much longer. In the next moment, the seven members of the team jumped into the air, about three meters off the ground, while the hexagram shield formation disappeared, and a swarm of red crabs surged in like ants, along with the tidal wave of seawater pouring down from above. This scene wasn't hell, but it was at least a desperate situation. And just then, life devouring, hundred days, earth rift lava active volcano, life devouring hundred days, Life Devouring Battle Body Effect 2 You can devour your own lifespan to gain a tribute enhancement. The more lifespan you consume, the stronger the enhancement. Each activation lasts for 30 minutes. The extent depends on level. Currently, one day of lifespan equals 1% overall attribute increase. When Chen Chen obtained this mysterious physique, he was at level 4. And the extent at that time was one day equals 1% overall attribute increase. Now at level 18, the consumption of lifespan had not increased. A hundred days meant a 100% overall attribute increase. Double. Earth Rift Lava Active Volcano. This was the simultaneous firing of three Earth Rift Lava Bombs plus. They formed an equilateral triangle shape. Bursting forth with the enhancement of life devouring as the bowstring snapped. Crashing into the ground. In an instant, the fire elements erupted. And under Chin Chan's deliberate control, each one exploded at a 135 degrees obtuse angle parallel to the ground on one side. Combined, the three looked like the moment a gas stove was ignited. The boom roared. The high temperature obliterated the approaching claw crabs and evaporated the tsunami-like waves. One shot of the Earth Rift Lava Bomb Plus was 13, five times the mental power. And with a 100% overall attribute increase, it became 27 times. After all, life devouring enhanced the base value. This enhancement was terrifyingly extreme. However, what remained was a vast expanse of bright red lava. Seeing this scene, everyone who had jumped into the air instantly widened their eyes. Oh my! River God! You! Oh my god what's the difference between this and jumping into a volcano? Heaven protect us! Hey! Losing my first kiss doesn't mean I have to commit suicide, right? The boy chuckled. What's the rush? Am I going to drag you all down with me to die? Sleeve Universe Dark Flow Annihilation Dark Flow Annihilation Shield, Defensive Skill, compresses Dark Attribute Spiritual Power to the extreme, then releases the restraint to expand a circular shield with a radius of not less than 3 meters. Effect Analysis, the shield lasts for 6 seconds and can absorb all spiritual attacks of level 25 or lower. Skill Spiritual Power Consumption, 1. 150 points, Skill Cooldown Time, 115 seconds. Why did Chen Chen take a day before heading to this island? It was to gather materials to create this skill for Frog Frog. As of now, it is truly unique. Because it contains the collapsing spiritual power from Collapse Spirit Annihilation Arrow. Furthermore, it seems that he is the only one with the sub-profession of Special Breeder. Right? Undoubtedly a scorpion poop. Of course, a day's time surely accomplished more than just this. As the pitch black circular shield opened, the seven members of the team also descended accordingly. Landing on the ground and creating an open area by decomposing the magma formed from spiritual power. Then, the shield dissipated. And there was no seawater or red crabs around anymore. A full 972 points of spirit. Although it is merely power and not the actual attribute value. Just having the power is enough. Right? How high could the spiritual defense of these red crabs be? The incredibly fast breeding beasts all share a common flaw, seriously imbalanced attributes. The Clawfist Red Crab has achieved an astonishing number of clan members along with extremely strong defense, making it difficult for the other three attributes to have significant achievements. And whether it's the ordinary version or the plus version, Earthquake Lava Bomb targets the spirit. Under such intense bombardment, this scene is not surprising. Even if a few are left, with Chen Chen, the plague got around. They wouldn't dare to come close. The crabs may be red on the outside, but they don't want to be red on the inside too. Normal people boil them, but this guy uses volcanic fire. He directly skipped the gradient process. Goodness. Impressive. Oh river god. Taui stared in disbelief at the scene before him. A near desperate situation. Yet it was salvaged to this extent. No wonder the river god could jump onto the small island without hesitation. With this skill, even if he can't win, he can escape smoothly. No time for flattery. If we don't take down that big bug, 
The same attack might come again a few more times. Let's go together. Oh, in the midst of the conversation, the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon became somewhat irritable again due to its attack failing once more. As a Lord level creature, it took so much effort to deal with a few humans, and the key point is that it still couldn't finish them off. Roar. Suddenly, a loud roar made many ferocious beasts in the sea shrink back their heads. Since it's called Lord level, it naturally has a territory. And where Chen Shen's team is located is the territory of the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon. It seems to be a nest. However, an attack like the one just now clearly cannot be unleashed continuously. After a roar commanded the ferocious beasts to leap up, the Azure Seed Song Dragon sank below the sea level again. It only has high power and speed, its defense is hardly worth mentioning. Once restrained, Chen Chen and the others only need to launch a quick attack, and it would be left in a state of near death or disability. Seeing this, the young man understood its intentions and immediately turned his head to say, You guys hold on here for a while, I'll go kill a silly dragon and be back. The few of them were stunned for a moment upon hearing this, until they saw Chen Chen's figure already darting out. This line feels very familiar. It seems to be in middle school Chinese class. Doesn't seem quite right, Ling Feng. Is it possible that it's I'm going to buy some oranges? You just stand here and don't move? Holy crap. What the hell? Damn it. He, 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 he turned it around. No wonder they didn't react immediately. She saw you, a bunch of big kids, mom. Please don't stab me in the back. The ferocious beasts are coming up. She saw you's face turn slightly red, for the sake of that mom. I guarantee no ferocious beast can break through my defenses. Wait, the river god just left like that? Didn't even ask if we can hold on? Dong Fan Yen Yen was always a step behind. But Chen Chen, who had already run out, knew nothing of this, in fact, he had no such intention. It was purely a figment of Tao Yi and the other's imagination. On the small island, the boy held a long spear, thunder crackling beneath his feet, and in less than half a minute, he rushed from the center of the island straight to the coastal area. Seeing the boy charging in, the azure wave cloud dragon narrowed its four eyes, flashing with crimson light. If it hid any longer, how could it command the ferocious beasts under its control? In a world where strength reigns supreme, the boss couldn't just back down like this, it would be a disgrace to its subordinates, right? What if later, a beast asked, who are you hanging out with? Would it really answer, that coward? In the next moment, as the boy reached the coast, one of the Azure Wave Cloud Dragon's claws aimed at Chen Chen and slammed down. He he, this is perfect. Just in time to serve a hearty dish to the readers. With that, the boy straightened the Shen Kai Longing Spear in his hand, while Wawa transformed fire elements, coating the spear with a small fireball. The flames roaring fiercely skewered Dragon Claw. If one were to ask what kind of fireball could ignite the long spear, it would refer to a skill in the mid-stage of the cultivation plan Chen Chen had designated for Wawa. Enchant, Elemental Sphere. Enchant, Elemental Sphere, support skill, after converting to the corresponding elemental attribute. It condenses the attribute into a spherical form, which then attaches to an object, temporarily granting that object the corresponding attribute attack, skill effect analysis. The basic attack damage of the enchanted object is 2. 5 times the caster's mental attribute, and the effect lasts for 30 seconds, skill spirit power consumption, 150 points, skill cooldown time, 15 seconds. This skill naturally originated from that special breeder secondary profession, which is focused on the cultivation direction of specific special creatures, filled with skills, abilities, and how to master them that the species can learn. To get Wawa this skill, Chen Chen had to grind through several lifespan wheels to gather enough materials as some materials were only available on the wheel. Without further ado, back to the battlefield. When the boy raised his long spear, the Azure Wave Cloud Dragon also slammed down with its claws, only by rushing towards each other could their hearts draw closer whoosh. Have you ever experienced stepping on iron nails? If you have, you might understand the feeling of the Azure Wave Cloud Dragon at this moment. Roar! A miserable roar erupted first, followed by two lines of damage text popping up. Minus two. 978, his own power damage plus Wawa's mental damage, pierce, minus 6, 185, piercing through the dragon claw, of course, also counted as piercing damage. Following that, Chen Shen's offensive perfectly illustrated what it meant to take advantage of your illness to claim your life, after dealing the first damage, he suddenly hoisted the long spear, accompanied by a flash of lightning, leaping into the air, meat processing, conductive sterilization, 
Special Bullet, Lightning Penetration Plus, Whoosh, Zing, Minus 1, 496, Armor Break, Pierce, Minus 6, 185. As soon as the armor break occurred, the Azure Wave Cloud Dragon panicked, wanting to escape, but the lightning penetration was of the lightning attribute, carrying a certain paralysis effect. In that instant, it couldn't move at all. And would the experienced Chen Chen not know this? While still in the air, he drew out the still flaming long spear from his back and hurled it down with a flick of his wrist. Modified blade, cutting board positioning. Whoosh. The speed of the flying spear was so fast that it even created a long sound in the air. Unsurprisingly, it pierced right through the head of the Azure Wave Cloud Dragon. In its armor break state, its physical defense was like paper to Chun Chen. Dash 4, 243. Penetration, minus 6, 185. The consecutive 6 damage hits had already wiped out over 60% of the health of the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon, and it should be noted that this creature was not even at its peak. Final step. Scorching Roast Whole Dragon. Delayed Spirit Explosion Spinning Flame Phoenix Plus, as the boy's voice fell, the arrow had already shot out. Although the damage of the Spinning Flame Phoenix was not as high as the Earth Rift Lava Shot, its advantage lay in being able to track. Even if this giant bug burrowed into the sea, the Fire Phoenix would chase after it. This was because during the development and refinement of this special shot, Chen Chen had infused a bit of controllable spirit allowing the shot to be briefly controlled by thought. Such manipulation was also considered high difficulty for alchemists, and not everyone could do it. Back to the point, the explosive fire phoenix instantly spread its wings and swooped down from midair, its incredible speed leaving a fiery red tail in the sky. How could the azure tide cloud dragon, which had just been pierced through the head, possibly react in time? Its slender body was knocked down in an instant by the fire phoenix. Dash 4, 673. Burn damage, burn damage, minus 1, 237, kill, experience plus 84, 000, zero, zero. seeing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but chuckle, chef's special hard dish, please enjoy, a full 84, 000, zero, zero experience points, which could be considered terrifying, this was not without reason, the base experience for a level 21 ferocious beast was 210 points, with the lord monster experience being a hundred times that, and with a level difference of 3 levels, the base experience tripled, which was 630 points. According to X plus X asterisk Y, the result was spot on. According to the settings, I didn't calculate it randomly. After killing the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon, Chen Chen immediately felt a tremor throughout his body. Congratulations on leveling up. Level 19. After a long day of hunting, the experience gained was far less intense than that from a Lord level ferocious beast. And of course, it was also because Chin Chin now needed too much experience to level up. At level 19, he needed 55, points to level up again. The 15 free attribute points gained from leveling up were added to the 4 basic attributes according to the 63-33 ratio, and his combat power increased a bit as well. But the biggest gain from this wave was still, congratulations player Chin Chin for achieving the first kill of the regional lord Azure Tide Cloud Dragon. Reward, 300 years of lifespan, 2 purple lifespan wheels, 1 first kill gift pack. Congratulations player, congratulations, 3 voices echoed in the minds of all players in Life Devourer at this moment. The Azure Tide Cloud Dragon was a ferocious beast at the mouth of the Great River entering the sea. Backed by the ocean, who could achieve the first kill without some skill? And because of this, in the Nine Dragon City, where there had been many interactions, the soldiers were all gaping, thinking, how long has the river god been out, and he's already done something big? This kid, Yu Zhanfeng chuckled upon hearing the voices. Meanwhile, Yun Wui, when is he coming? I'm getting more and more interested. Yu Zhanfeng, honey, are you sure you want to describe a little boy like that in front of me? Just as Yu Zhanfeng sent this somewhat jealous reply, Yun Wui immediately shot back. Yun Wui, nonsense. If I wanted to find a little man, you wouldn't even live to 43. Don't you have at least 13 points in your heart? Back at the mouth of the great river entering the sea. The voices in his mind did not cause Chin Chen much emotional fluctuation. First kill. After all, he had achieved it in his previous life as well. Besides the system reward wheel, there was also a purple wheel at the corpse of the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon, making a total of three wheels. This drop rate might have the boost of the first kill, but even without it, 
a yellow will suitable for the phase was guaranteed to drop. However, he did not rush to draw his weapon. Instead, after retracting his spatial ring, he waved his hand behind him. What are you all standing there for? The food is ready. Let's eat. Only after Chin Chan's shop did everyone snap back from their earlier shock. After all, it had only been three seconds from grilled dragon claw to roasted whole dragon. In terms of monster hunting, perhaps the river god should just step in. Coming, save me a dragon claw. Shi Xiaoyu shouted without hesitation. A boneless dragon claw will do. But you have to gnaw on it are you thinking about peaches? With the lord fallen, the surrounding beasts wailed in despair, and their wariness towards Chen Shen and the others reached an all-time high, making it impossible for them to organize another offensive in the short term. Taking advantage of this gap, the seven of them remained vigilant while enjoying their dinner. The dragon meat feast was enough to make the surrounding sea beasts envious, with a few even drooling. If it weren't for their fear of Chen Shen and the others' combat power, they would have rushed in to snatch the meat. Not wanting to waste the leftovers, Chen Shen waved his hand and stored them in his spatial ring. It was quite a large piece, and there was still plenty left, but it was not enough to fill even a yellow great spatial ring. It's time for the tide to rise. Let's head back to the island center, the young man said, shouldering his spear and walking ahead, with the seven members of the team closely following him like a golden crosshair, especially Tao Yi, who shone in gold. There was no need to fear any underhanded attacks from behind, right? As for Shi Xiaoyu, ever since her last success, she had maintained a bright emerald green. This was the most troubling point for Chen Chen. Clearly, he had not interacted much with this girl, yet she always seemed to be annoyed by her youth. How did she end up liking him? He wasn't like Li Jia. He couldn't be as ruthless as Li Jia. However, Chen Chen was unhesitating, while the person following behind him hesitated a bit. River God. Are we, staying here for the night? Chen Chen didn't even turn back, stay overnight? You still want to stay overnight? You can't really think there's time for you to sleep, right? Just hearing his words, everyone could imagine the madness that would ensue on the small island in the river after nightfall. With the lord just dead, a new ruler would inevitably emerge in the unclaimed territory, which meant they would soon face another lord-level beast. Don't worry, we won't die. Although Chen Chen's assurance was firm, the remaining six, except for Shi Xiaoyu who looked calm and Tao Yi who was full of confidence, were all skeptical. A few minutes later, the seven returned to the center of the island, only to find, ha, huh? in the direction of their gaze, several beasts were digging into the solidified lava rock, searching for something. However, before Chen Shen could even finish his ha, huh, Tang Bei had already pulled the trigger first, before those beasts could react especially made bullet shot straight through one of their heads. Puff, blood sprayed out, and although the beast with a severely injured brain did not die immediately, it could no longer maintain its standing due to the spiritual power within its body, swaying and about to fall. Seeing this, Tang Bei pulled the bolt with a click and aimed for its heart again. This time, he finally killed it. Nice bullet, did you make it yourself? Chen Chen asked in surprise, but he also took out his slingshot to shoot at the beasts. With the two of them working together, the others didn't even need to assist. Hey, as expected of the river god, you notice that right away? Must be a type of high hardness spiritual ore. Right, used for the bullet head. The shell and primer are still the same, but it looks like the damage isn't ideal, so we can only aim for weak points. Listening to this, Chen Chen felt a bit embarrassed. Homemade bullets, how could they increase damage without the system's recognition? But in the end, he was just one identity away from being a pharmacist or refiner. Shin Chen could help him, maybe just once, but could he help for a lifetime? However, if it was just once, he could help with other things. With this thought, Chen Chen said, You're already good enough, aren't you still not satisfied? What's the point of being a sniper if you can't kill with one shot? Tang Bei's gaze was indifferent, followed by a cold soldier's action of reloading his gun. In the midst of their conversation, the ferocious beasts gathered in the center of the island had already been completely cleared out. Shang Tian Xiang, standing behind, smirked, goodness, chatting while fighting monsters, can't you give them a bit of face? If it weren't for the fact that he had to expend spiritual power for long-range attacks, he would have joined in. Indeed, they were all using bullets, Shen Shen and Tang Bei didn't need any spiritual power at all. Face? I could just as easily expose their insides for free. Chen Chen turned his head and smiled, then got up and rushed to the center of the island, 
seemingly with a purpose beyond just the corpses of the beasts. But there's no loot. Why is Chuan Shen in such a hurry? Just follow and see, Shang Tianxiang said, immediately drawing his great sword from his back, remaining vigilant against the nearby beasts as he moved forward. They were merely afraid, but if given the chance to ambush, they would not let it slip by. At the center of the island, Chen Chen quickly arrived, kicking aside a few ferocious beasts, and took out a long spear to pry open the magma rock left behind, lifting the soil that had been stuck together to nearly a meter deep. Ha ha, just as I thought. At this moment, the six others also arrived one after another. Chuan Shen, what are you doing? Tao asked first. Chen Shen smiled mysteriously. There are good things down here. Come, help me dig this hard soil. Although they didn't know why, everyone still joined in to help, leaving only Shi Xiaoyu, who had no digging tools, to guard the surroundings. If the noise from unearthing this good thing was too loud, the nearby beasts might swarm in to snatch it. Thus, the group dug and dug, the hard soil gradually changing from a light orange to red, yet not a single stone was unearthed. Logically, there should be a rock layer beneath such soil. This soil, could it be that some beast filled it in themselves? What do you think? Chen Chen replied with a smile. He didn't answer directly, but it was no different from a direct answer. This pit was definitely made by a beast. Oh, water's coming out? Dong Fang Yen Yen, who had dug out a lot of soil with a sword, shouted. It's still seawater. He he, close enough. I'll handle the rest myself. With that, Chen Chen took his long spear and began poking along the edge of the dug pit, resembling a grave robber using a Luoyang shovel. Suddenly, a poke pierced through the soil layer. He he, found it. As he spoke, the boy swayed his long spear left and right, gradually enlarging the hole he had poked until it was the size of a basin, at which point the seawater burst forth like a balloon filled with water suddenly popping. With a whoosh, it surged out and seeped back into the soil. Immediately after, the basin-sized opening collapsed, revealing what was inside. It was an egg? Indeed, it was an egg with irregular green patterns. Master, master, this place also has the smell of home. The voice of Wawa suddenly echoed in Chen Chen's mind. The boy was momentarily stunned, not expecting such a surprise. But when Wawa mentioned home, was it referring to the spiritual realm? Before he could finish his thought, the egg was gently picked up by Taoi. Chuan Shen, we dug this hole for so long just for this egg? As he spoke, he handed the green patterned egg to Chen Chen. The action was completely unassuming. Upon hearing this, the boy nodded directly, that's right, an egg, one that was hidden underground and needed seawater to nourish it, and it was dug out from the lair of a lord. What does this indicate? The egg belongs to that lord. There is only this possibility, and it aligns with the breeding habits of high-level ferocious beasts. Why is it so important? Isn't it just a descendant? This point has been generally studied by people in the past, and they ultimately discovered a commonality. The offspring of ferocious beasts with low breeding frequencies tend to be stronger than their parents. From this, a conclusion was drawn. Their breeding is roughly equivalent to evolution. For ferocious beasts to become stronger, there are generally two paths. One is upgrading, and the other is mutation. The first is a steady and gradual approach, while the second relies on a sudden leap in bloodline. However, this is not guaranteed and involves a great deal of randomness. Besides this, there is also a shortcut which is breeding evolution. However, this path is not closely related to the ferocious beasts themselves, it directly determines their offspring, and success or failure also depends on the bloodline. But as long as the latter succeeds, it benefits the entire group. The Lord's Egg is actually one that already shows signs of bloodline evolution. Just as everyone was about to ask what kind of egg this was, they all widened their eyes upon hearing this. Tang Bei was the first to react. So those ferocious beasts gathered here just to dig out this egg? You could say that, but what they really want to do is eat it. The boy said, an egg that already shows signs of bloodline evolution, devouring it could absorb beneficial substances, and who knows, it might even mutate directly. It's understandable why the ferocious beasts flocked to it. Although the crowd didn't know the details, they could analyze the general idea in human society. There is a saying of complementing form with form so it wasn't hard to understand. However, at that moment, Dong Fang Yen Yen suddenly chimed in, he he he, I can understand, such a big egg must taste really good, right? The boy twitched his mouth, you silly, all you think about is eating, ha, huh? 
But just as he finished speaking, suboccupation, detected special creature. Would you like to adopt it as a pet? Good heavens, this, the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon is undoubtedly a mutation of a sea snake from Earth. And its bloodline actually comes from some kind of special creature? With the precedent of Frog Frog, how could Chun Chen not recognize its value? Yes, he responded fiercely in his heart. The system's prompt also indirectly confirmed that the little creature in the egg was no ordinary being. As the sound fell, the scene was just like last time, a drop of bright red blood quickly oozed from various parts of Chen Chen's body. Due to the presence of spiritual power, a hint of red light emerged in the dugout hole. What the? What's going on? River God, what are you? That drop of blood dripped into the azure patterned egg right before everyone's eyes and was instantly absorbed. Such a scene stunned everyone, including Shi Xiaoyu, who was still outside the hole. Chen Chen, however, didn't care about that, not to mention that the six people present could be trusted. In his upcoming plan, Frog Frog would also take center stage, known to everyone. Therefore, the exposure of the suboccupation was just a matter of time. And when the blood was completely absorbed by the azure patterned egg, a sound also echoed in the boy's mind. Collection successful. Individual name, Azure Seat Sanglon. You can redefine the ID. A dragon. It's actually a dragon? Although it doesn't sound like a dragon with an exceptionally pure bloodline, a dragon is still a dragon. Dragons exist in the spirit world? Moreover, analyzing from the name Azure Seat Sanglon, the scale of the dragon clan is not small. Just as the notification of collection successful sounded, Chen Chen also sensed an extremely familiar feeling coming from the dragon egg. This was undoubtedly a confirmation of bloodline connection, which Frog Frog also had at that time. It is this relationship that allows the master and pet to communicate through thoughts. Next came, please choose a suitable location to incubate the egg. Remaining incubation time, 3 days 18 hours 51 seconds, suitable location? Chen Chen held the dragon egg, thought for a moment, and returned it to its original position. But, incorrect location. Is the original position not working? The boy took it out again and placed it on the ground. Wrong position. This time, Chen Chen directly dug a hole in the cave wall, stuffed the dragon egg inside, and covered it with dirt. Yet still, wrong position. Damn. The five people in the cave watched Chen Chen's actions, blinking at each other, completely confused about what he was doing, as they saw Chen Chen take the egg out of the wall hole again. A few of them finally couldn't hold back, um, Chuan Shen, what exactly are you doing? The one who asked was Sheng Tianxiang, a mage, who was more sensitive to spiritual energy and could somewhat feel the feedback coming from the dragon egg. Of course, he had no idea what the feedback specifically contained. Upon hearing this, the boy didn't even glance at him and simply said, hatching the egg. The others, what? Hatching an egg? Can people do that? With this question, Shi Xiaoyu at the cave entrance suddenly shouted, You all hurry out. The tide is coming. Hey, is it finally here? Chen Chen chuckled upon hearing this. And the next moment, just as he was about to tuck the dragon egg under his arm for a convenient jump, he heard at the moment the eggshell touched his chest. Correct position. Remaining hatching time, 3 days, 18 hours, 49 seconds. The boy. He couldn't help but look up at the sky, as if to say, Are you kidding me? Hatch it against my chest? What's wrong? Chan Shin. Tao Yi and the others couldn't hear that prompt and thought something was wrong with Chen Chen. It's nothing. The boy twitched his mouth. And the next moment, he simply decided to go all out. Wah wah, come out. I'm not hiding it anymore. Looking across the entire earth, who else is my opponent? Quack knowing its master's determination. Wawa didn't hesitate and jumped out from the collar, landing lightly on Chen Chen's shoulder, causing everyone's eyes to bulge. A few of them opened their mouths, unable to utter even a single this. Then, Chen Chen steeled himself, and with a rip, he tore apart the long robe that had accompanied him for months into strips, wrapping the dragon egg and hanging it on his chest, tying one around his neck, another around his waist. The movements were incredibly skilled. Damn. This time, Shang Tianxiang finally managed to squeeze out two words, but Chen Chen shot back. Don't ask. Just know I used to take care of my sister. My real sister. After saying that, the boy lightened his stance and instantly rushed to the cave entrance, his spear crackling with silver electricity, ready to respond to a sudden attack. And it had to be the spear. Ha! The moon tonight is quite round. The night sky was adorned with a bright full moon, round and flawless. 
casting silver light everywhere. With a faint buzzing sound, under this moonlight, the sea resembled the mouth of a giant python, continuously swallowing the land with each wave. Gradually approaching were countless ferocious beasts relying on the water. In the depths of the distant water, one could vaguely see a pair of eerie blue vertical eyes glowing, watching the remaining land. Shi Xiaoyu saw a figure whoosh down beside her. Oh my, your appearance. Asterisk, is it ugly? Are you starting to hate me? You look more manly now, hashtag. What the hell does this appearance have to do with being manly? By the way, this frog. The boy grinned and was about to speak when he saw the other five also jumping out of the pit one after another. So he decided to wait until everyone was together before speaking. Let me introduce. This is the scheming frog. Wawa, see, also called Wawa. It's useless to supplement now. You stinky master. Well, I can't not know your name. Can I Chen Chen replied telepathically? Why not? Because. Just can't. Frog frog is not equal to ribbit ah. Frog frog opened its mouth and bit down on Chen Chen's neck. As long as it could move and had a neck. That neck must be the vital point, right? But to others, this scene looked like, Towie, what a scheming little bird, right in front of the mistress, planting strawberries for the master, declaring sovereignty? Sheng Tianxiong, the key is she looks really angry, trying to cover it up? Tang Bei, this frog, has bad intentions. Ling Feng, is it really that exaggerated? Dong Fang Yen Yen, from my angle, it looks like it's biting? Tao Yi's gaze shifted, biting. Then that's even more wrong, right? Chen Chen, everyone, get rid of these strange thoughts. It's just a frog. What could I possibly think about a frog? Do you think I'm a thirsty fool? She Xiao Yu, they, are right. It's the end of the month. Can I go a little crazy? You understand, right? I don't have time to mess around with you guys. The seawater is probably just a few minutes away. And the sea monsters in the water will only get fiercer. So, River God. Are we just going to sit here and wait? Although everyone wanted to clarify the existence of Frog Frog, the most important thing right now was to deal with the army of sea monsters during the tide. How could we just sit and wait to be torn to shreds by the monsters? So what should we do? You'll find out soon. Chen Shen came this time for two reasons, to level up and collect monster materials, and to collect the roulette, and third, to conduct an experiment. He never fought without preparation, in his past life, and in this one as well. Not to mention that his life now is far more precious than in his past life. Hearing this, the others exchanged glances, their eyes clearly conveying, do you know? But obviously, no one knew. River God, stop keeping us in suspense. The seawater is almost here. However, at this point, Chen Chen remained unmoved. But if one followed his gaze forward, they could basically guess what he was considering. Because there, it was like the eyes of an abyss, always staring at you. Ha! This old coin still hasn't come out. How long is it planning to hide? Shang Tianxiang said. And suddenly, spiritual energy surged from the great sword in his hand. It's bound to happen sooner or later. Why not give it a sword first? Hearing this, Shen Chen waved his hand and said. Don't rush. The lords have mutual sensing. It must know how that big worm died. It won't be so rash. It's waiting. Waiting for enough sea monsters to take us all out in one go. Then river god. You. I'm also waiting, waiting for enough sea monsters to feast, feast, feast. Chen Chen's words truly shocked those around him. Normal people would avoid such a scale of sea monsters, yet he wanted to feast. Since he had just had a big meal not long ago, this feast definitely wasn't meant literally. It could only mean, in past battles, the ancestors would often say, devour that army. The two uses of devour might be synonymous, but how would Chen Chen devour? Seven people, turning around to devour thousands of sea monsters? Is that reasonable? But regardless of whether it was in the river, the Ganges, or the Tai River, things had already begun to develop irreversibly in this direction. The tide had unknowingly swallowed the land down to the last hundred meters. By this time, the atmosphere seemed to have grown tense. Suddenly, splash, the sea surface under the moonlight surged with huge waves, and that deep blue vertical pupil grew taller by over a hundred feet at this moment. At this moment, the team finally realized that what they were looking at was not an eye. Instead, it was a giant jellyfish's outer umbrella, adorned with a pair of deep blue patterns, not just a pair of vertical pupils, but also accompanied by numerous blood vessels below. Well, although it wasn't an eye, it looked even more like one. 
Beneath the inner and outer umbrellas, the blood vessels connected to a dense mass of tentacles, which appeared transparent and fragile. But anyone with keen eyes knew that this was merely a facade. If you truly believe it, you've already lost. Another lord we've never seen before, the ocean is truly vast. Tang Bei sighed. While his sniper rifle was already cocked and loaded with a ground rift lava bullet, which was undoubtedly powerful. This creature is a bit tricky, the boy said, waving his hand. Hold on, let's wait a bit longer. Wait, but Chuan Shen, we're already within this giant's attack range. I know, this time, Chen Chen, as he spoke, took out a disc from his spatial ring, a hollow disc resembling a donut. Come on, closer, just a little closer. Unfortunately, the giant jellyfish showed no urgency, instead, its outer umbrella's deep blue vertical pupils began to glow, as if issuing some command. Sure enough, at the moment the glow descended, the fierce beasts that had been lurking in the sea began to emerge one by one a fish, shrimp, crabs, oysters, clams, armored turtles, lions, dogs, leopards, anything that could briefly come ashore was now out. The densely packed scene formed a stark contrast with Chen Chen and the others, who were pushed to a mere hundred square meters of space in the center of the island by the encroaching seawater. With such a vast disparity, how could they possibly win? In the next moment, the giant jellyfish seemed unwilling to follow the old path of the azure tide cloud dragon and launched its attack first. Hoomph, now's the time. Hundred feet slaughtering life extermination disc. Day 37 of arrival. One day earlier, Jolong City. Chuan Camp. Failure, 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 clatter, Kong, failure, holding a pile of components. Chen Chen's face was filled with frustration. Damn it, is this thing really that hard to refine? I'm clearly following the theoretical steps one by one. The thing he was referring to originated from a lottery before the start, please specify the prize you want. 7. Treasure Tool Blueprint Asterisk 100 Feet Slaughtering Life Extermination Disc, with 3 materials. Choose 7. Congratulations on winning. Treasure Tool Blueprint. Treasure Tool Blueprint Asterisk 100 Feet Slaughtering Life Extermination Disc, a blueprint recording the treasure tool, after making the components according to the listed steps. They can be combined into this treasure tool. Material quantities need to be explored on your own. 100 Feet Slaughtering Life Extermination Disc, a magical treasure tool passed down from ancient times. Unfolding this disc can set up a slaughtering formation with a radius of 100 feet. The power is closely related to the sum of the spiritual attributes of the formation I. Chen Shen had never heard of the treasure tool in this blueprint, but given that it occupied only 0.1% of the roulette, Chen Shen had to draw it. And moreover, it was a purple roulette. As for the hidden reward of the grand prize, although fragments of a two-dimensional character appeared again, he decisively chose the longevity pill speaking of the roulette's origin. It was something scavenged from the foolish spatial rings of the Fulong Alliance. Perhaps they thought the zero, one percent probability was impossible to draw, yet felt the rewards on it were good, so they carried it with them. Who would have thought it would end up benefiting Chin Chen? Come on, master, you've already made such an amazing shield, this will definitely be no problem. Sensing Chen Chen's current state, Wawa also jumped out to encourage him. Ah, if only it were that easy. After that, the boy made countless attempts, but the number of failures had consumed all the resources he had accumulated. Not just the three portions given by the roulette, he had invested quite a bit himself. Staring at the last piece of material, he steeled his heart, if I don't succeed, I will perish. After handling each component carefully, he adopted an unprecedented method. This or had strong toughness and ductility, originally meant for forging weapons, and the slingshot handle in Chen Shen's hand was one such example. The unique method of a forging master allowed him to break down the starfish spirit titanium into granules the size of rice, enough to fill every piece of the components. Adding so many rare spiritual ores at once was unprecedented in the forging world of his past life, but perhaps it was precisely this unprecedented act that forged the final success. Forging successful. Obtained, 100 foot slaughtering fate extermination plate asterisk 1. 100 foot slaughtering fate extermination plate, a miraculous treasure passed down from ancient epics. Same as above, effect analysis, within the slaughtering fate killing array, can freely command slaughtering fate heavenly blades. Each blade's power is three times the total spiritual attribute of the array's core during formation. Extermination plate activate slash seal. When opening slash closing the array, the extermination plate will automatically execute indiscriminate slashes on all targets outside the core. 
with power consistent with manual command, spiritual power consumption, during activation slash sealing, it absorbs the spiritual power of heaven and earth, during free command, each heavenly blade consumes 1% of the commander's spiritual power, cooldown and durability, after sealing the array, it requires 30 minutes to recharge, each activation consumes 10% of durability every 30 minutes, only a forging master can repair it, degree degree, explain clearly the origin of this thing, it can't be considered a waste, right? Time returns to the present. When Chen Chen clapped and pressed down on that disc, extermination plate activate instantly activated. Countless slaughtering fate heavenly blades rose chaotically, and the ferocious beasts within the array hadn't even reacted before being sliced into pieces. Even if the first strike didn't kill, the second was enough to take their lives. The treatment wasn't limited to those ferocious beasts, the giant jellyfish lord's swiftly extending tentacles were also severed with a small segment even falling in front of Chun Chen. If he had been even a moment slower in activating the array, the consequences would have been unimaginable. But if he had been even a moment faster, the effect wouldn't have been as good as it was now. Ha! Ha! This is really thrilling. The others, degree degree. No way. Holy crap. Wow. I'm going. Freak. Pretty cool after the shock. There was, winky face. The effect is not bad. It was worth all the fuss I made. Hearing Chen Chen's words, the crowd shifted from astonishment to twitching at the corners of their eyes, the scene was just not bad to you? The jellyfish lord's tentacles haven't even regrown yet. Could you at least leave some face for others? At this moment, the information of the giant jellyfish lord also appeared before the young man. Name, Blue-Eyed Jellyfish King Rank, Lord Level, 27 Blood Chi, 61, 002-64. 774 strength, 109 spirit, 43 defense, 51 speed, 42 skills, 1000 tentacles dance, blue-eyed illusion combat power, 1, 872, ha, a lord with high spiritual attributes, but no matter how high, can it surpass 3 times the total of my array's 7 people, the over 3000 blood chi lost by the blue-eyed jellyfish king was the result of that previous strike, but at this moment, whoosh, the blue-eyed jellyfish king, having suffered a major setback, saw that there were no more flying blade energies in the array and suddenly shot out several tentacles in anger, moving as fast as lightning. But the next moment, the young man brought his two fingers together to form a sword and lightly waved it in front of his chest. Swish! The blade light appeared, the tentacles fell, and the shimmering blue blood plasma remained striking under the moonlight. He he, thanks to my buddy for the jellyfish tentacles. Tonight's late night snack is ready the blue eyed jellyfish king, I percent hashtag at asterisk end. The second attack still ended in failure, and its pair of blue eyes trembled, emitting a ghostly blue light, clearly indicating that it had not given up. According to the panel, the ability related to those blue eyes could only be, blue eyed illusion everyone, close your eyes, Chen Chen said, bringing his hands together with two fingers, bending down to unleash a parallel slash, as the cold light passed. The seawater was violently blasted up several meters, forming a barrier of flowing water. Within it, many ferocious beasts were also cut apart. In the next moment, a vertical pupil on the outer umbrella of the blue-eyed jellyfish king suddenly emitted a pure blue light, directly striking at Chen Chen and the others, but it was just blocked by the seawater barrier. The timing was almost perfect. The other six were all stunned when the formation was activated, and now when the attack was launched. The timing control of the river god was truly meticulous. Achoo! Suddenly, the cross cold light was abruptly swung out by the boy's suddenly lowered hands, cutting through the sea surface and also slicing through the attacking blue eyed jellyfish king. But Chen Shen rubbed his nose, who the hell is talking about me? Outside, the blue eyed jellyfish king. Who are you going to cut just because someone mentioned you? What does that have to do with me? Within the murderous killing formation, the power of the attack equaled the sum of the seven people's mental attributes, and Chen Chen roughly calculated that it was as high as 122 points. This meant that the base damage of the blade light within the formation was 366 points of mental attribute damage. This damage was enough to run rampant in the center of this island. Oh no! It was to do as one pleased the more he used it. The more Chen Chen was shocked by the power of this treasure, and he became more curious about the ancient era mentioned in the description. Could it be that during the ancient era, such treasures were everywhere? But the more he thought about it, the more Chen Chen doubted the depth of the truth that this world concealed from the public. On the other side, after several setbacks,
the blue-eyed jellyfish king became much more cautious in its movements, no longer daring to launch reckless attacks, but instead ordered ordinary and elite-level ferocious beasts to surround them. But this was no different from sending experience to Chen Chen. Even if there weren't many, the quantity was significant, right? In less than an hour, congratulations on leveling up. Level, 20. He he. A free experience pack. Can't let it go to waste. Bring on some more? When players level up, especially above level 10, they will exhibit fluctuations in spiritual power. And the blue-eyed jellyfish king's mental attributes were not low. So this fluctuation naturally couldn't escape its notice. It was also at this moment that the sea ahead suddenly surged with waves, and one could sense the anger within. Watching Chen Chen being fed to level up, the blue-eyed jellyfish king suddenly felt a sense of stepping on one's own foot rising in its chest. So, filled with resentment, it's simply, splash, a giant jellyfish suddenly leaped out of the seawater, creating a towering column of water. But it wasn't doing this to show off its jumping ability, rather it was, whoosh. Accompanied by the roar of the water flow, the blue-eyed jellyfish king seemed to grow larger, and then the water flow formed thousands of tentacles, displaying its might. At a certain moment, these tentacles made of water suddenly lashed out towards Chun Chen and the others below. Thousand tentacles danced the boy frowned at this and resolutely steeled his heart. Exterminate the Immortals Disc Seal Both the activate and seal of the Exterminate the Immortals Disc could create a momentary flurry of blade light making it the most suitable to counter the blue-eyed jellyfish king's deadly move. And indeed, as he expected, the blade light from sealing the exterminate the immortals disc instantly cut through the lashing water tentacles cleanly. The exterminate the immortals disc could cut people, could cut monsters, and could also cut spiritual power. Seeing its attack fail once again, the blue-eyed jellyfish king finally began to entertain the thought of fleeing. It had no idea that in order to block this strike, Chen Chen had already turned off the Zhu Xian Pan. Even a fierce beast at level 20 something would find it hard to evolve such wisdom. After all, independent judgment and instinctual judgment are two completely different matters. But how could Chen Chen let the juicy meat slip away just like that? Seeing the jellyfish king about to escape, the young man directly raised the slingshot in his hand. I, Chen Daxing, haven't agreed yet. And you, little jellyfish, think you can just run away? Delayed spirit explosion triple earth shattering lava plus. Pun. Whoosh. The black red bullet tore through the night sky, aiming straight at the jellyfish king, whose body was already sinking. He he he. Explosion is the most beautiful art. And art is. Fill in the blank underscore underscore five points. Boom. The crimson explosion dyed the entire sky red. Following closely behind, the fire phoenix pierced through the wound of the blue eyed jellyfish king shattering the internal organs inside the umbrella and bursting out. A fatal weakness, combined with penetration. The outcome was predictable. He he, art has transcended. Seeing this scene, Tao Yi and the others suddenly recalled the two battles for the transcendence altar, where some people referred to Chin Chen as, the devil. This, indeed, was not something a human could do. It was just ridiculous. But at this moment, damn, is that a drop? A new one. The one shouting this was Dong Fan Yen Yen, who was just staring at the blue-eyed jellyfish king falling from the sky. And on it, a black light shone even under the moonlight with a different kind of brilliance. It turned out that something extremely black could also shine. It was the same principle as the yin yang balance. A round, black disc? Hearing this, Chen Chen confirmed the quality of that disc, a level 27 lord monster dropping a black disc. Rare, but not impossible. However, in this lifetime, it was the first time a black disc had appeared. He he, not bad luck, who will help me get it? I'll go. I'll go Taui was the first to volunteer, and without waiting for others to speak, he hurried over in a few quick steps. Before long, a black disc was placed in front of Chun Chen. Taui scratched the back of his head. Ah, uh, Chuan Shen, it must be my bad luck. It was no wonder he would say that, after all. This wasn't the first time such a thing had happened, right? On the black disc. There were only two options that could be considered positive. Having only one or two positive options undoubtedly meant it was a low-grade disc. Hey, it's fine. After all, it's still black. When I have time later, I'll set up a formation, and I should be able to draw something good. Speaking of setting up a formation, Tao Yi's face showed a bit of anticipation. Ever since witnessing the scene where Chin Chen set up a formation and got a drop last time, 
He now wanted to set up a formation with some stones even if he drew a white one, and then perform a great dance, although most of the time it was useless, there were still cases of winning, so he thought, could it be that I set it up wrong somewhere? Hmm, it should be, let's see clearly when Chuanshan sets up the formation later, Tao Yi thought to himself, with this matter settled. Although there were still many fierce beasts left, for the seven-person team, it was just a bit tiring to fight, but they could handle it. In fact, with Chen Chen's Zhu Xian Pan present, when they couldn't handle it, pressing it down to the ground basically solved everything. Because of it, the side that was struggling completely turned into the fierce beasts. There was a feeling called watching others defecate and urinate recklessly on your territory, but you couldn't beat them or drive them away. This feeling is simply, damn it. For three consecutive days, the number of fierce beasts in the coastal area decreased by more than half because of Chen Chen and the others. But after the blue-eyed jellyfish king, no more lord-level fierce beasts arrived, whether it was the old ones afraid of death or the new ones unable to advance. In the end, Chen Chen's level only rose from level 20 to level 24. But it is worth mentioning that after level 20, the number of free attribute points gained per level increased again, reaching 25 points. Four levels mean 100 points. After that, he allocated them in the ratio of 9, 6, 4, 4 foot to strength, spirit, defense, and speed respectively. These free attributes, combined with the additional 3 strength 1 speed gained for each level up, resulted in a total increase of strength 48 points, spirit 24 points, defense 16 points, speed 20 points. Compared to before, the increase was enough to be described as leaping. Attribute points added successfully. After a round of point allocation, Chen Chen's attribute panel underwent a significant change. Attribute panel name, Chen Chen class, ranged asterisk ranger secondary class, hidden asterisk special breeder, alchemist, blacksmith level, 24 experience, 17, 996 slash 100, 000 lifespan, 3, 671 years 176 days, total value after 3 days of monster grinding, blood chi, 27. 342 spirit power 9 zero, zero, zero element lightning strength 170 spirit 66 defense 42 speed 72 skills combat power 2 913 hey my combat power is almost breaking 3000 no matter what game you play the increase in combat power is always the most directly exhilarating not to mention the combat power in life devourer directly affects your survival ability having a bit more is never a bad thing so, how about it? The gains from these three days are pretty good, right? After checking his panel, Chen Chen turned to ask the other six. The feedback varied, but at least everyone had leveled up twice. And regarding the loot, the wheel had distributed quite a bit. However, that excellent items were few and far between. Only two had dropped in total over the three days. According to contributions, Chen Chen received one. While the other went to Tang Bei, these two were the main attackers in the team. So the distribution was accepted by the other five without objection. After distributing the loot, there are no fierce beasts coming. Let's tidy up and withdraw. Nowadays, near the small island in the river, due to the presence of the seven lords humans, even slightly higher level fierce beasts dare not approach. Isn't it reasonable to call those who can't fight lords? As for the lower level ones, too lazy to kill, even if killed. There's no experience, so we're just leaving. Chuan Shen? I haven't had enough of killing yet. He he the one speaking was Taoi. But before he finished, Chen Shen shot him a glance. I wonder who was too scared to even jump across the bridge at the beginning. Uh, Taoi looks serious. Hashtag, a true hero doesn't dwell on past bears. Enough. Let me set up a formation. Draw that black wheel. And then we'll leave. Upon hearing this, Tao Yi's eyes widened immediately. Set up a formation? Great. Great. Hurry up and set it up. I need to learn more. The others looked at him with disdain. Isn't one person being superstitious enough? Now we have two? Tang Bei followed up on Shang Tianxian's words, in this world. Having a bit of faith at least won't lead you astray, there's nothing wrong with that. However, as soon as he finished speaking, Ling Feng pointed at Chen Chen, who was setting up the formation. Is this the kind of faith you're talking about? In the center of the island, Chen Chen, with a dragon egg tied to his chest, had somehow found two wooden sticks. After poking them in place, he had the frog spit out a fireball to ignite them. And between the two sticks, he wrote in standard script three characters, Guan Yun Duan. In front of the sticks, 
The young man had a face full of devotion. Lord Guan Air, I am willing to exchange the destruction of the Lu family for the chance to draw any good item from this wheel. Please bless. Respectfully, just as the surrounding people looked on in astonishment, the young man raised the wheel in his hand, draw, wanting to solidify things further. Tao Yi thought, this is different from last time, right? You say he's hasty, but he's set up a formation, you say he's meticulous, but this formation is too much. After all, it's a thousand year lifespan. He really doesn't take it seriously. And who is Guan Yunduan? However, at this moment, Chen Chen had no time to care about what others thought, because the heavenly sound that belonged only to him had already begun to ring in his mind. Please specify the price you want. 1. 100. 000, 000 tons of elephant dung 2. 10 eggplants covered in unknown slime 3. A continuous stench for 30 days 4. Entrance BGM, just because you're too beautiful, cool light show version, 5. Red level beast tide, average level greater than or equal to 25. 9. Black longevity pill 10. Chen one spirit iron, 100 by 1. 800 asterisk 88 slash unit, mm superscript 3. The only two positive options had a similar area ratio, but upon closer inspection, 9 was clearly larger, with an exact value of 1. 731% while 10 was only 1, 699%. But Chen Shan didn't know what option 10 was. But does it matter? It's the smallest area. It's the grand prize. And right now he doesn't lack lifespan. So he should just mindlessly choose the grand prize. Choose 10. As soon as the thoughts settled in his mind, a long strip of diamond-shaped metal appeared in his hand. But as soon as it appeared, what the hell? Boom! Chen Shan still underestimated the weight of this Chen Huan spirit iron. Even though he was mentally prepared, he still let it drop straight to the ground. Is this the stabilizing needle of the sea? The weight of the diamond-shaped metal even caused the ground around it to sink a bit. But at this moment, the other six people simply widened their eyes. No way. Does Guan Yunduan really work? The boy chuckled and said, Of course, this is the distant cousin of the ancient war god Guan Yunchan from Huaxia, and his family is ranked second. It must be awesome, right? Everyone. Um. May I ask, what's his brother's name? Guan Yunchang. Real brother, not a cousin. Oh, his real brother passed away. Sure enough, it's a pure fabrication. But it actually works. The first black one in the whole server. Did he hit the jackpot? Heaven bless me, the god of Sichuan. Hey, keep it low key. It's just that I sacrificed the entire Lu family. I feel very heartbroken. Everyone again. Chen Chen chuckled as he stored the Chen Huan spirit iron in his space ring, which was in a vacuum. So no matter how heavy it was, whether iron or steel, it would obediently float inside. At the same time, he also began to check the detailed attributes of this spirit iron. Chen Huan spirit iron, or, contains immense spiritual power and can recognize its master. If forged in a spiritual realm treasure land, it can yield ever-changing treasures, also a top quality material for making high quality treasures, quality, red. Note, forging in a conventional environment may cause the spirit iron to become ineffective. Please be cautious. Ever-changing? Sounds a bit interesting. But does it really require going to the spiritual realm to find that treasure land to forge it? In Chen Chen's heart, upon seeing this line, a huge doubt arose. The hands behind this, have they actually reached this level? In his previous life, after crawling through for more than a year, he had never heard of any material that needed to be in the spiritual realm to realize its value. How many times has it been hinted at in these few days? Fragments of two-dimensional characters. Keys to the spiritual realm. Doors to the spiritual realm. Could it be the same hands behind this? And that spirit that can control Tong Hui Jin. Putting aside his thoughts, Chen Shen also looked at the hidden rewards selection window that had been hanging in front of him for a while, congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can choose one additional prize from the following as a hidden reward. 1. Battle Doll Dragon Ball Asterisk Krillin, one half fragment, 2. Re is zero, starting life in another world asterisk rem, one third fragment, 3. Purple Longevity Pill Asterisk 3 inch 4. Year Coins Asterisk 10 inch 5. The quintessential quintuplets asterisk Nakano Nino, one quarter fragment. Another clear hint, and this time, compared to the previous rem, it is evident that the number of fragments required has significantly decreased. Of course, it could also be that the hidden rewards from the black roulette are of higher quality. Among the five rewards, three are related to the two-dimensional world. And right after that, you can advance six. 
666 years of lifespan to choose two hidden rewards, or advance 66, 000 years of lifespan to choose three hidden rewards. The boy immediately noticed the difference in the prompt window, to make him choose, they even brought in the advanced lifespan lottery, right? Is my Hualuo devouring life? Starting point, I advance a bit of lifespan from the king of hell? Any coincidence is purely coincidental, however. This thing, advancing is equivalent to being in debt, Shen Shen is not that foolish. I choose three. With this thought, the boy put on a clever expression. But for some reason, the ground suddenly shook. What the hell? Is there an earthquake? Taui touched his head. Earthquake? Where's the earthquake? Shang Tianxiang, there's no earthquake. But the egg in your arms shook a bit. What? Is it about to hatch? Tang Bei put away his gun. Looking astonished, while Ling Feng beside him also wore an expectant face. Even the silly Dong Fan Yen Yen was staring intently. At this moment, the frog also jumped onto the eggshell. Quack master, is our second one finally about to be born? Chen Shen was speechless, he could be sure that the ground definitely shook for a moment. And it also made him feel an indescribable resentment. But it was indeed a fact that the dragon egg shook. After hanging on for so long like Jia Yun saving the fight, it was finally coming to an end. With this thought, the boy opened the dragon egg's attribute panel. Remaining incubation time, 29 seconds. Roar, what a coincidence. Not long after, the eggshell trembled gently again. Is it about to break? Tang Bei opened his eyes sharply. The others also turned their attention. And even Chen Chen felt a bit nervous, after all. This is a dragon. In this life and the next, he has killed them. But raising, not just him, but probably for all of humanity. This is the first time in history. What does this Azure Sea Dragon look like? The boy's curiosity kept growing. Under everyone's gaze, the time reached the last 10 seconds, and another tremor occurred. This time, the upper part of the dragon egg had already cracked open a gap. Brilliant spiritual light emerged from the gap and quickly disappeared. The next moment, crack, a delicate indigo little claw suddenly stretched out. Then crack it broke off a piece of the eggshell. And after retracting, it crack crack crack, as if it had eaten it. The same action continued for dozens of times. And in the end, it simply treated the cap on its head as a supersized cookie, eating it deliciously. It was at this moment that everyone finally saw its appearance. It was in the form of a Huaxia swimming dragon, with a slender mouth, tender little antlers, and two whiskers gently swaying in the wind. Its body was covered in fine azure scales, but not just a single shade of blue. From head to tail, there was a gradient of sky blue, winter green, plum green, snow blue, powder blue, bean green, deep blue, and indigo, including four little claws as well. Under the sunlight, these seven shades of blue danced back and forth. Truly beautiful. After finishing the eggshell, the little green dragon left itself with a base that still had a hint of blood on it. When it lifted its head and opened its eyes, the first thing it saw was Chin Chen. As everyone was mesmerized by its beauty, suddenly a childish voice pierced through the air. Daddy everyone, who, who is calling me daddy? What nonsense, dreaming all day? You want to be a dad before even marrying a wife? It would be easier for you to have a dad instead, I can. By the way, has anyone noticed the frog on Chuan Chen's shoulder anymore? Oh right, Chen Chen twitched the corner of his mouth with your attention span that can be easily diverted. It's a miracle you even remembered, saying this. He shook his head, I've already had the frog launch how many attacks, and you didn't notice? This time, even Tang Bei felt surprised, is it because you always shout sleeve cannon and sleeve universe that I'd become numb? No way, after saying that, he propped his chin and fell into thought. But to be honest, they really hadn't noticed. Another possibility is that the egg in his arms was eye-catching enough to draw away most of the attention? As the few of them continued their conversation, Daddy, the little green dragon in the eggshell base called out again, and this time its voice was even louder, seemingly carrying a hint of, complaint? Damn, our attention really is a problem. Tang Bei was rarely startled. No, this isn't right. It's definitely not right. As a sniper, his attention couldn't be easily diverted. Hearing this, Chen Shen didn't bother with the little green dragon anymore. After giving it a look, he hurriedly said, be good. Stay with your sister for now. After saying that, the boy directly grabbed the little dragon like catching a bug and placed it on his shoulder. The sudden scene made the little dragon a bit flustered, after flapping its delicate little claws for a while. 
It found a slightly stable position and clung to Chen Chen's shoulder. At this moment, the frog also cast a glance. Hey, how do you look like? This question left the little azure dragon momentarily unsure how to respond. But since daddy said this was its sister, it should answer, right? It thought for a moment I was born this way. The frog tilted its head, half understanding, not knowing what to think. After a while, do you have a name? Not yet. The little azure dragon answered honestly. The frog suddenly froze, quickly speaking, then let me tell you. You must make it clear to your master. Don't take some weird name, ah, uh, right. Not having a name is inconvenient. From now on you'll be called, um, Sanzang the frog, master. Think deeply. Let's call you, Sanzang one dragon. ID change successful. The scheming frog, hey, he he he, wonderful, the little azure dragon, Sanzang one dragon. When its panel was engraved with the nickname ID, Sanzang one dragon. The little azure dragon even felt like dying. Can't that stinky daddy come up with a proper name? What's the difference between this and having a dad with the surname Dang and a son named Eyeball? Also, what is Sanzang? The little azure dragon complained. Similar spirit beasts like her had enough genetic memory in their eggshells. And even at birth, they would possess considerable intelligence. Speaking human language was easy. He he, very zen, right? Chen Shen said proudly, I hope that when you get stronger, you can directly send fierce beasts away in one go. Managing killing, transforming, and burying them, isn't that cool? And besides, doesn't this name sound very stylish? San Zhang One Dragon. If that's the case, why not just call it Funeral One Dragon? Isn't that more straightforward? I'd rather not have this fancy stuff. Let's get a bit more grounded. The atmosphere of the underworld. Can it be considered grounded? Frog Frog, forget it. Second brother. Just like sister, give yourself a nickname and muddle through. While the three main pets were talking, River God, there's no time to play with dragons. Something's off. The one speaking was Tang Bei, who quickly added, Since just now. No, perhaps it started three days ago. Our attention has never been normal. Ah, is that so? Chen Chen frowned. I think I can guess who did it. A fierce beast? Yes, and it's a fierce beast of no low level. Everyone, brace yourselves. It looks like we're in for a tough battle. At this point, the young man let out a deep breath and added, Perhaps, we are no longer on the original island. What kind of fierce beast could have such outrageous abilities? During the outsider battlefield, the others had a kind of mysterious confidence in Chen Chen, treating him like an encyclopedia regarding fierce beasts and materials. I can't be sure, but it might be a mixed blood dragon, and has the bloodline of a Shen. Shen? Shang Tianxiang had seen some supernatural things before, and upon hearing this word, he immediately reacted. Shen Dragon? Chen Chen nodded, ah, but it definitely won't be pure-blooded. This certainty came from Chen Chen's preliminary understanding of the spirit world, according to his speculation. There must be an entrance to the spirit world on earth. But, at least for now, no powerful beings from the spirit world have descended through those entrances to earth. Otherwise, how could humanity be facing the current situation? Perhaps this is also the intention of certain instigators. However, this speculation was soon ruthlessly shattered by reality. Now, after the young man's words fell, he simply looked up at the sky and shouted, Come out! I know you're there, hiding and playing tricks on us. What can you do? Ordinary lords could understand some human speech, let alone this guy who had been toying with them for several days. Just as everyone was feeling a bit tense, the clouds in the sky were slowly parted by a pair of dragon claws. Eh? A familiar scent. The little azure dragon on the young man's shoulder raised its head and then turned to Chen Chen, saying, Daddy, that big guy shouldn't want to kill us. Bang! Before the little azure dragon finished speaking, a bullet had already flown out of the gun's chamber. Indeed, the one who acted was Tang Bei. Little azure dragon, intention, roar as the bullet flew. The dragon roared and the pale golden dragon claws also swiped down to shatter Tang Bei's bullet, causing not even a scratch. In the sky, a line of text appeared, no damage, minus zero. What the hell? Tang Bei's eye twitched, no damage, not a drop of blood lost? Just as he was stunned, the giant creature in the sky let out a long roar and suddenly thrust its massive dragon head forward, inhaling deeply before immediately exhaling a fierce and violent wind. The gale was silent. Yet it was like a giant clapping its hands, directly sweeping the seven members of the team away. Wah, what the hell? Typhoon? Ah, compared to this, 
typhoons are weak as hell. Among the seven, only Chen Shen managed to pull out his spear and stab it into the ground in time, avoiding being blown away by the gale. But afterward, his head also felt dizzy. Fog day. One dragon. Your fellow's tone is a bit too big, isn't it? Little Azure Dragon. Daddy, can you not call me one dragon? Are you male or female? Due to its relatively immature voice, Chen Shen had always been unsure whether it was male or female. Of course, I'm female. Have you ever seen such a beautiful male dragon? The little azure dragon puffed out its chest. Oh, a female dragon. Aren't you animals used to doing things the opposite way? Chen Chen expressed his understanding, stating that the more beautiful ones are usually male. As they attract females for mating, isn't that a hard rule? A female dragon? The little blue dragon was left speechless. That's even worse than just a dragon. Then it's just a dragon. Great. After all this effort, nothing to show for it. At that moment, the giant dragon that had parted the clouds finally lowered its head, speaking human words. Impertinent little one, is this how you greet others? It was naturally referring to Tang Bei's bullet. Chen Shen frowned slightly upon hearing this, immediately realizing that the visitor meant no harm, but he couldn't let his guard down completely, saying, Senior, where do you come from? Hoof, you little brat are quite humble. Not a bad thing for the master of the elemental spirit frog. The dragon rumbled, and in the end, its attention was fixed on the boy's shoulder. Oh, even the azure dragon of the vast sea is willing to follow you. No wonder, no wonder, ha ha ha. Chen Chen was confused by this statement, and a bit embarrassed. But one thing he was sure of, senior is from, the spirit realm? The dragon tilted its head slightly. It seems someone has revealed something to you. To be honest, it was a cat. Ha, it seems I've grown old and confused. Only that one or two clans can ignore the barriers of space and intrude into your world. The boy fell silent for a moment upon hearing this. After a few breaths, he still felt no killing intent from the other party. The crosshair of the Xieji Heavenly Eye remained a faint green, indicating the visitor was friendly. At this moment, Tang Bei also sat up from the pit he had dug out, spitting out some dirt. Damn. Damn it. He usually didn't act crazy unless he couldn't hold it in. River God. Be careful. As the shout fell, a property panel was shared. Name, Golden Eyed Shinchong Dragon Rank, Level, Blood Chi, Strength, Spirit, Defense, Speed, Skills, Combat Power. Seeing this panel, Chen Shen's eyes widened, everything except the name was a question mark. If it had malicious intent, wouldn't Earth be done for in one go? This, whoosh. After Tang Bei's words fell, his figure flashed like lightning to Chen Shen's front raising the sniper rifle in his hand without hesitation. From his momentum, it seemed he could pull the trigger at any moment. Seeing this, Chen Shen hadn't even spoken. Hoof! The golden-eyed Chinchung dragon let out a light snort, and then a gust of wind pressure distorted Tang Bei's mouth and nose, forcing him back over three meters before he could finally stop. You little brat! Truly rude! The golden-eyed Chinchung dragon scolded angrily. Hearing this, Tang Bei suddenly reacted half holding the sniper rifle, and his wariness lessened a bit. This time, he didn't rashly speak, he just walked back to Chen Chen's side, a hint of confusion on his face. The boy offered no explanation, only looking up at the golden-eyed Chinchong dragon, Senior. I apologize for my compatriot's recklessness, but there is one thing I still need to ask you. Hmm, at least you understand reason. What is it? Speak. Upon hearing this, the boy hesitated slightly as the question was somewhat sharp. But after a moment, he still asked, May I ask, Senior, is the mutation of Earth caused by the spirit realm? The golden-eyed Shinchong dragon was taken aback, but understood Chen Shen's meaning, you want to speak up for your kin, to seek justice for their deaths? Of course not. Having lived two lives, Chen Shen would no longer have a mindset of worrying unnecessarily. Life and death are all predetermined, whether by heaven or fate whether it be my relatives or the unrelated people of the world, those who have gone are gone, and the living must find peace. I just want the truth. The golden-eyed Shenlong's eyes steadied for a moment, and a flash of brilliance followed. He he, I didn't expect you at such a young age to see things so clearly. Upon hearing this, Chen Shen couldn't help but think after all. He had died once, how could he not be enlightened? At that moment, the golden-eyed Shenlong paused imperceptibly. But no one noticed this anomaly. The truth. Are you prepared to bear the responsibilities that come with understanding this truth? Upon hearing this, 
Chen Chen frowned but answered with a different question, that cat told me. Level 99. See the center of the earth. What do you think, senior? The golden eyed Shenlong slightly clenched his massive claws. That was before. He continued. Before he was uncertain, but now he is sure. And I have verified this point. Level 99 is too difficult to wait for. We must compete with time. After hearing his words, Chen Chen guessed the general idea, in short. The spirit world was in a situation that urgently needed a breakthrough. And the person they had chosen to break through was him. With this thought, the young man felt an indescribable pressure weighing on his heart. He wanted to ask, why? Just because I lived an extra life, why should I be burdened with these troubles? But this frustration could only be hidden in his heart, he had never liked being passive. When faced with problems, he had to push forward with determination. All right then, please lead the way. Senior, take me to the spirit world. The golden eyed Shenlong chuckled lightly, perhaps you have not yet realized, you are actually already in the spirit world. Already. Eh? This time, Chen Chen was no longer calm. But isn't this still that island? Island? Here. Where is this an island? With that, the golden eyed Shenlong's massive body began to swirl in the sky. And in an instant, a sense of seeing the light through the clouds rose in the hearts of the seven present. Immediately, where was the sea? It had vanished along with the retreating clouds. An indescribable tremor surged in everyone's hearts. The other six were not fools. Dongfang Yenyan was just naive, not stupid. From the conversation between Chen Chen and the Golden Eyed Shenlong, they understood they had arrived in another world, a place called the Spirit World. Following the river god is indeed thrilling. Ling Feng said, realizing it late, is the reason for Earth's mutation hidden here? He he, thrilling, indeed thrilling, this is our first time too. Speaking of mutation, don't you feel a natural sense of familiarity here? After Shang Tianxiang said this, the others were all taken aback, especially Tang Bei, who slightly wrinkled his eagle-like nose and said, spiritual energy, right? After we reached level 10, we unlocked spiritual power and spiritual power, comes from this spiritual energy, right? And strangely, my inability to concentrate has recovered here. Hearing this, the golden eyed Shenlong in the sky couldn't help but laugh, you little one may be a bit rude, but your perception is quite sharp. The small island you are on has actually become a projection point of the spirit world since that day. Spirit world experts can use special means to shift everything from the projection point here. This is also the reason why you have been unable to concentrate. After explaining this, the golden-eyed Shenlong did not intend to say more. Instead, he curled his body, summoned a fierce wind, and swept all seven people onto his back. Hold on tight, we'll talk once we get to a safe place. Whoosh! Oh my god, am I, riding a dragon? The sudden ascent made Taui unable to help but exclaim. There's no way around it, other words are too solitary to describe his feelings at this moment. Shang Tianxiang was even more exaggerated. Spreading his arms wide to feel the strong winds in the air, riding the dragon in the morning, dying in the evening, what more could I ask for? Ha ha ha, I, Shang Tianxiang, am finally living up to my name. The golden eyed Shenlong, he, flying with the wind, shook his head, the spirit of earthlings really is unstable. At this point in the story, everyone should have noticed that the protagonist is nearly invincible on earth, and the worldview is about to slowly unfold. But don't worry. The game remains the main theme. In the spirit realm, Mount Wancheng, a massive dragon body descended from the sky, steadily landing on a mountain peak. Soon, a true cloud ladder made of clouds slowly floated over, stopping at the feet of Chin Chan and the others. Its intention was clear, to take them somewhere. Now that we're here, let's go. The few people behind couldn't help but twitch their lips, it's the eight great forgivings of the Huaxia people. Right, however. Their unease was also due to being in a foreign land, lacking that grounded sense of stability. Seeing Chen Chen step onto the cloud ladder, they had no choice but to follow suit, bracing themselves. Once everyone had left the dragon's back, the golden eyed Shenlong instantly transformed into a dazzling golden light, merging into the destination of the cloud ladder. Upon seeing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but have a whimsical thought, does this count as entering a private server? The others, but to be fair, from a gaming perspective, it really does, doesn't it? Private server, spirit realm? Looking ahead along the cloud ladder, the destination was a giant tree that pierced through the clouds, its trunk so thick that it couldn't simply be described as something that a few people could embrace. Shocking, including Chen Chen, 
Only the word shocking could describe the scene before them, because some things, once they reach a certain size, are hard to find anything comparable to, because in your experience, there's nothing like it. Don't mention Earth being so big, or Mars being so big, normal people can never stand at a distance where they can observe the entirety of a planet. So, once it reaches a certain extent, the vocabulary to describe the scene before them becomes very limited, such as, damn, it's really big, beside them, she sell you, tch, you rogue, what the hell, you, a female rogue, still have the nerve to call me that, Taui was immediately unconvinced, I just occasionally can't hold back, what about you, she sell you, epsilon asterisk, who just as the two of them were speaking, Chen Shen ahead turned back to remind them, everyone, don't make a fuss, it makes you seem inexperienced, who knows what we'll see next, so stay calm, upon hearing this, everyone quickly fell silent, indeed, they were in a foreign land, not even knowing how to return, and restraining their words could help avoid losing face, the cloud ladder was not slow, as if propelled by the wind, yet everyone did not feel the wind, looking up again, the sky was filled with milky white clouds, with no sunlight visible, yet it was very bright, the common sense from Earth was clearly inadequate here. Before Chen Chan and the other seven could recover from their shock, they had already entered the massive trunk of the tree, but the expected scene did not appear. Normally, inside a tree trunk, there should be the inner walls of the tree, right? There might be some light, but it shouldn't be. Bright as day. How big is this tree? What kind of tree is it? Why is there such a large space inside the tree? Above and below were all drifting white clouds, saying this tree is another realm would not be an exaggeration, as shock and confusion filled the hearts of everyone entering this place. But by this point, Chen Chen had also guessed a rough idea. Many details were hard to articulate, but if summarized, it could be put into one sentence, this damn world is really freaking big. If the earth were placed in this world, it would probably be just a grain of sand in the vast sea. But whether the world is indeed the universe as understood by humanity is another matter altogether. Perhaps it is, perhaps it is not. Amidst the boy's thoughts, the cloud ladder had already brought everyone to a place. On the ground, with the texture of soil beneath their feet, let's just call it the ground. Ahead, a humanoid being formed from countless golden specks of light, humanoid, but only an outline without features, rested its chin on its hand, gazing at the seven people sent by the cloud ladder. Beside it stood a man with horns on his head, dressed in a robe of gold and white. At least, he looked like a man. As for the being of light directly in front, Chen Shen realized that the common knowledge of Earth was completely useless here, after all. Who has a body made entirely of light, with no discernible features and no clothes? At that moment, the man in the golden robe respectfully bowed and said, My lord, they have arrived. Whom? The being of light waved its hand, then looked at Chen Shen. Or rather, its gaze had never left Chen Chen. In the latter Xie Ji Tian Yen, a faint green shimmered, showing no signs of abnormality. I apologize. The being of light suddenly spoke. For bringing you here so abruptly, please forgive the rudeness. Before discussing matters, allow me to introduce myself. As it spoke, the being of light waved its hand slightly, and the world within the tree trunk suddenly transformed, shifting from the original white clouds to a gloomy black mist. Soon, a spark of spiritual light suddenly illuminated the black mist. The scene froze at that moment, approximately. 31. 8 billion years ago, the Chronicle Universe was born from an infinitely small singularity, exploding and expanding at a speed of 108 light feet per second, which translates to what you call 108 kilometers. And this little bit of light you see, the world was that small at the beginning. Chronicle. Universe? Chen Shen could hardly contain his shock. Because in that brief statement, there were three terms that shattered his worldview. Earthlings had learned since childhood that the universe was born 13, 8 billion years ago, and the speed of the explosion was between 50 to 100 kilometers. Moreover, the universe is simply called universe. It has no name. What the being of light said was equivalent to saying that earthlings have never gotten it right from ancient times to the present. Hearing Chen Chen's words, the being of light was not angry and directly added, I understand. This is different from what you have discovered because the position of Earth is in a corner of the Chronicle Universe, a very remote corner. The universe is vast, and some existences distort and hide certain things. So observing from that angle, many things are inaccurate. The boy fell silent upon hearing this. He could accept this explanation. 
it was just that his worldview had been shattered, and he needed a little time to process it. If there are no further questions, I will continue. The boy exhaled deeply, please proceed. From the other party's methods, Chen Chen could see that the being of light's identity was quite extraordinary, but for some reason, their meeting could only take place in this spiritual realm. As for the remaining people, they naturally only focused on Chun Chen, whom, after a light acknowledgement, the being of light waved its hand again, and the spark of spiritual light above suddenly expanded. The Chronicle Universe was born, about two, 816 years into its existence. At that time, it had already expanded to a diameter of one light year, and it was then that I was born, but I had no consciousness. As the being of light finished speaking, a parallel layer appeared within the expanding spiritual light area, compared to the upper layer. The color of this lower layer was so faint it could almost be ignored, yet it existed steadily, gradually deepening its color over time. But at that moment, the seven people present were already stunned in place by the four words I was born. The figure before them, was actually born at the very beginning of the universe? The light being paid no mind to their shock, and as the spiritual light area expanded to yet another level, a small blue dot appeared, and it continued, about 280 million years after the birth of the universe, with a diameter reaching 100,000 light years. At that time, I gradually became complete and was named Spirit Realm, also known as, Companion Universe. I expanded continuously with him, his overflowing energy supplied me, and the spiritual energy I generated also nourished him. Thus, after tens of millions of years of mutual existence, the Chronicle Universe was born. The first life, that is, the Kongzi, the first life. Kongzi? The light being nodded, yes, to describe it in terms of Earth civilization. It was like a flawless gem, crystal clear, naive, and slightly lonely. Its existence was like a child that I and he jointly nurtured. Before the endless epics, we were still very immature. I didn't even have a will. Nurturing life but not knowing how to care for it, only knowing to give it the best. Thus, it mastered elements that all later beings could not grasp. Light. All spiritual power originates from light. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but interrupt again. Originates from light? Where does that come from? This question had been on his mind not just now, but in his past life as well. People on earth in his previous life had also wanted to ask, why was light not one of the eight great elements? Clearly, light was everywhere, just like the other eight elements, wasn't it? It's easy to understand. The light being smiled and said, light moves at high speed, and after a long time, it generates energy waves, and when energy waves start to move, they become wind. Light brings heat, and the heat ignites matter, creating fire. As fire consumes matter, what remains sinks down to become earth. The matter in the earth revives, and when light bestows energy upon it, it becomes wood. The matter in the earth lies still, and when light purifies the impurities, it becomes water. Light disturbs the cosmic waves, and in another form, it descends as thunder. Water, after leaving the light and undergoing changes, becomes ice. Light cannot illuminate every place, so there is darkness, and because of this, among the eight attributes besides light, darkness, which corresponds to light, is very powerful. Perhaps a bit forced, but necessary for the setting, after listening, the boy fell into deep thought again, and after a while, he could only shake his head helplessly, forget it, please continue, but if I'm not mistaken, the root of the matter is also this Kangzi, right? You are very clever, the light being added, at least among the beings of this earth civilization, you are considered clever, sigh, after a sigh, the light being waved its hand again, causing the scene above to change rapidly, in that black mist, the blue dots representing life became more and more numerous and dense, at this point, the progress of evolution came to a halt again. In the three, seven billionth year of the Chronicle Universe, due to the sufficient number and strength of life, it was unprecedentedly prosperous, and countless planets were born in explosions, gradually evolving to a point suitable for life to exist. Just like your Earth, the boy was taken aback. The three, seven billionth year, wasn't that over two billion years ago? At that time, there were already life planets, and not just a few or rather, so many that they couldn't be counted. But at this moment, the light being continued to elaborate, however. There is a term in Earth civilization that describes it very accurately, what flourishes must decline. In the three, seven billionth year, for some reason, 
The Chronicle Universe was annihilated once. Hiss. Upon hearing the word annihilation, everyone present took a deep breath. They naturally understood what this annihilation meant. In other words, the universe had been destroyed. Who could accomplish such a thing? A Chunibu youth whose shouts destroy the universe. Every day? Perhaps sensing the shock in everyone's hearts, the light point person quickly explained. I know, this is very shocking, but I'm sorry, as, I, I can't explain more. What I can say is, that kind of annihilation has happened more than once. Another heavy bombshell dropped. This time, Chen Chen found it hard not to interrupt. Are we about to be annihilated again? Or are we on the brink of annihilation? The light point person smiled wryly. There's both good and bad news, and only you can hear it. Which one do you want to hear first? Only me? Chen Chen was taken aback, and the others exchanged glances, even at this point, they were still playing mysterious? The youth, however, did not hesitate, I'm the kind of person who prefers to enjoy first, so I want to hear the good news first. Good. As soon as the word fell, the light point person snapped his fingers, and a layer of barrier instantly enveloped Chen Chen, as if all sounds were cut off. In that moment, a boom echoed in his ears. What the? Chen Chen couldn't help but rub his ears. At this moment, the light point person spoke again, young man, perhaps, you can guess why I chose you. Chen Chen was slightly taken aback before saying, yes, but I didn't expect it to be so soon, nor did I expect it to be when I was still so weak. According to normal logic, shouldn't you wait until I'm strong enough to have no friends before coming to me? The universe has existed for so many billions of years, it can't just be discarded in these one or two years, right? He he, yes, a bit weak. Let's start with the good news, the earth you live on is currently in a relatively stable era established after countless annihilations in the cosmic calendar, which has lasted for 13, 8 billion years. This accounts for about 43, 4% 4 of the total duration since the birth of the universe. This is an almost perfect era with very few flaws and I have also evolved for 5, 1 billion years in such an environment. Thus, awakening my will. This, counts as good news, right? As the light point person finished speaking, Chen Chen was preoccupied with the familiar words he heard and immediately retorted. So, the human speculation about the birth of the universe is actually correct, just not entirely correct? He he, otherwise, do you think, with so many life planets in the universe, why did he choose Earth? The probability of picking a grain from the vast sea is so small, I don't need to explain, right? The youth was stunned, indeed, this could only be inevitable, not coincidental, even if there were some coincidences, there must be, inevitability, from the side, it could also be inferred that this relatively stable cosmic era has probably encountered problems, since he wants to solve the problem, he certainly wouldn't choose randomly, what about the bad news, upon hearing this, the light point person seemed to sigh, taking a moment before saying, the bad news is that this stable era won't last much longer. The corner of the youth's mouth twitched, he had already guessed that. Are we going to be annihilated again? Not to that extent. But if we continue to develop at this pace, in at most 30 million years, annihilation will occur irreversibly. 30. 30 million. Chen Chen almost blurted out, 30 million years is so long. What does it have to do with me? but ultimately held back. However, the light point person misunderstood him as worrying unnecessarily and said, yes, in less than 100 million years, this universe will. You, you want me to save this era? The resistance rising in the youth's heart almost made him forget the respect due to the formidable being before him. This existence is essentially the master of the spirit world, okay? Including the years without will. He has lived for over 31, 8 billion years. Even the Earth's dominant tardigrades can't live as long as he can. At this moment, a single word also echoed in the youth's ears, yes. IF asterisk 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 ING. Degree degree, this hanging, better not have it. Silence, as dead as the grave. Within this barrier where sound cannot penetrate, it feels even heavier. After an unknown amount of time, it was still Chen Shen who broke the silence, to be blunt. I'm still too weak. I might not be able to do it nor can I bear this responsibility. The light being immediately replied, the special arrival on earth, the arrival upon you, means that no one else can take on this task. Isn't that a bit like forcing a duck onto a perch? I guess it's a last ditch effort on its part. You guess? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you more right now, just that you can't understand it either. 
Hearing this, Chen Chen felt even more irritated. Then why bring me here? You introduced a wave of cosmic background, bragged about the origins of the spirit world, and mentioned some impressive life form called Yenzai, then told me the universe has been annihilated before, and will be annihilated again in 30 million years. After all that, not a single key piece of information? What am I supposed to do? Just charge in recklessly? I'm not from Reckless Village. It seemed the light being heard Chen Chen's frustration and spoke again, you don't need to be so anxious. Since I brought you here, it certainly isn't just to brag, as earthlings say. Then, if I may be so bold, what about substantial content? The light being smiled. Though it had no facial features, Chen Chen felt it smiled and said, first, the kin of Yenzai are on earth, second, the arrival of the spirit world is inevitable, third, what you call a game is an irresistible rule, do you need more? After hearing this, Chen Chen took a deep breath. The kin of Yenzai are on earth? Then, is Yenzai's mental power very strong? Upon hearing this, the light being couldn't help but sigh. It seems they have already begun to act. Please, answer me. Yes, the light being was somewhat surprised by Chen Chen's sudden emotional shift. The mental power of Yenzai has undergone multiple annihilations. Extremely stable. Extremely stable. Stability doesn't necessarily mean strength, but strength must be stable, then it can only be them. Does this mean that the annihilation of the universe has no effect on Yenzai? It does, of course, but it won't endanger life. The boy only wanted to curse after hearing this, something that can't be annihilated by the universe. You want me to fight against it? But since he, the light being, called me here, he must have a way to fight back, right? Holding on to this thought, Chen Chen asked again, they have weaknesses too, right? The light being laughed again. He he, I think he made the right bet. They have weaknesses? After a moment of silence, the light being finally spoke. If we consider it from the perspective of the chronicle universe, then there are almost none. Almost. So under specific conditions, there are? Yes. They have no weaknesses. And whatever they control is strong. But they still live in the chronicle universe. So they must abide by the rules. Rules. The boy repeated slightly. Irresistible rules life-devouring game? Ha ha ha. The light being laughed heartily. He did not choose the wrong person. However, Chen Chen did not pay attention to the other's laughter, but immediately followed up with a question. These rules can be utilized, right? How can they be utilized? Haven't you already experienced it once? Experienced. The boy was slightly taken aback at this, then immediately thought of the great job change version? Exactly. In other words, it's a revision of the rules. This is the operational rule belonging to Earth, and Yenzai must abide by it. Could it be that you can control the rule revision? Of course I can't. Then, you can. Chen Chen was stunned. I can. You have the gate to the spirit world, don't you? What do you mean? If I had to say it plainly, I can't, as long as you understand. That's enough. At this point, Chen Chen had generally grasped the meaning of the light point person. The spirit world would help. Finding ways to resist the actions of the Yangzi clan through rules, but the executor could only be him. You have the gate to the spirit world, doesn't that mean you can communicate with the spirit world at any time? As for what the other party was hesitating about or what taboos they had, Chen Chen was unclear. Then, there's one more thing I don't quite understand. Does the annihilation of the universe affect you? Also, it seems the time units of the universe are the same as those on Earth. Aren't you asking two questions? The light point person laughed and continued, first, the annihilation of the universe certainly affects me, my will would inevitably be extinguished, and it would be very difficult to wait for a stable era again. Second, it's not that the time units of the universe are the same as those on earth, but rather that the time units of earth are the same as those of the universe. Don't confuse this point. The boy let out a deep breath, how should I address you? His change in mindset was mainly due to Yangzi, because no matter what, he could not give up on his senior sister, Tong Huijin, and to resist that spirit, it now seemed that he could only rely on the rules. There was no other way. The Lord of the Spirit World. Let's call you, Spirit Lord? The Lord of the Spirit World. At this moment, Chen Shen felt that this world was somewhat absurd to him. Who would have thought that one day he could converse with the master of a world? Wasn't this nonsense? But now that it had come to this, what else could he do? It seemed that even if he wanted to throw in the towel, that he would find ways to make him continue. Since that was the case, it was better to accept it and take it step by step. With that thought, 
He spoke, so, Spirit Lord, you chose to summon me at this time, there should be more to explain, right? The Spirit Lord smiled and didn't keep him in suspense, he hopes you get on the right track, and I hope so too. Therefore, your only goal from now on is to strengthen your earth. Here, take this first. After saying that, he extended his finger and lightly tapped, and a token appeared before Chin Chen. It bore three characters, Celestial Token. Celestial Token, when used at any location within the service area, the game will undergo a version update, the subregions of the area will enjoy certain privileges, level restriction, level 35 and above. Celestial. The Spirit Lord then spoke, I can't say what it is or explain it, you'll know when the time comes, as for what you need to do now, I guess you understand. Chen Chen nodded upon hearing this, some iron rules cannot be violated. Even a master of a realm must adhere to the great principles. However, Spirit Lord, there's one thing I still don't quite understand. Are the two-dimensional products of Earth also derived from the spirit world? Two-dimensional? What does that mean? You don't know? However, upon hearing this, the Spirit Lord suddenly chuckled lightly. Heh, interesting. Really interesting. There are quite a few who don't want to die. Chen Chen? What kind of nonsense is this? Chen Chen was completely baffled. But when he wanted to ask more, the spirit lord waved his hand first, no need to ask, I can't tell you that either, I can only tell you, he is like us, we, upon hearing this, the boy's confusion had actually diminished by half, the we that the spirit lord referred to indicated both the chronicle universe and himself, since it had been compared to this extent, it would be a bit foolish not to understand, alright, alright, good, Chen Shen said with a hint of self-deprecation, now, the world really revolves around me, with that, the soundproof barrier also popped and disappeared. The other six immediately surrounded them upon seeing this, but did not ask further. Clearly, their doubts had already been explained by the man in the golden robe. During this time, they also understood that this man in the golden robe was indeed the goldenite Shenlong that had flown everyone to this place. The spirit beast had transformed. Unheard of. Or perhaps, one could say that the goldenite Shenlong could no longer be considered a spirit beast if one had to define it. Calling it a powerful being might be more appropriate. After a moment of silence, we really came here for a reason. Upon hearing Chen Chen's exclamation, Tao Yi immediately spoke up. What should we do? Chuan Shen. Just say it. Ah, always ready. Shang Tianxiang echoed. Although the others did not speak, the expressions in their eyes were enough to prove their attitude. With the two saying this, the young man instead smiled. No need to make it so solemn. Let's talk about it when we get back. Right now, saying more is just empty talk. Gold denied. See them off. The one who spoke was the spirit master. Yes, master. With that, the goldenite summoned the cloud ladder again, transforming into a beam of golden light that shot out. Just as it reached outside the trunk, it transformed into a gigantic dragon. Only by witnessing this scene could one truly understand how shocking it was. Climbing onto the back of the giant dragon, the seven member team also set off on their return journey. The journey there felt long, but the return felt swift, before long, the seven had arrived at the spot where they had entered the spirit realm. Senior Jean, we don't have to wait three days this time, right? Chen Shen jumped down from the dragon's back and turned to ask. The latter responded with a low hum, no need, before it was to throw off any spies, now you just need to pass through the spirit realm gate to return. As this hum fell, the clouds and mist before the seven dissipated, revealing a transmission gate standing quietly its frame radiating a faint blue light. So, this is goodbye? The golden-eyed Shenlong nodded, don't forget the master's instructions. I won't forget, but I will do my best. Whom? Earth, eternal frozen glacier, central domain. The snowfield under the blazing sun reflected a faint glow, but looking ahead along the glow, one could see a crystal-like spire. If viewed from above, it was indeed a six-pointed cone tower. The base is an isosceles cone with a hexagram. Inside the tower, start penetrating light being no. One foot was fiddling with a glass screen, on which a faint red dot was blinking. It hasn't moved for almost four days, they really are something. Ha! Huh? It's normal, with the current mixed spirit beings, they are no longer capable of exterminating them. The one speaking was naturally start penetrating light being no. Two foot. Then let's expand the spirit realm gate and let pure spirit beings in. I don't believe we can't eliminate these damned earthlings. If it weren't for the rules preventing us from taking action. No. Tu suddenly frowned, shut up. How Yen, do you know what you're saying? 
Expanding the spirit realm gate at this time would ruin all of Yang Zi's plans. Hao Yan was none other than the name of star penetrating light being no one foot. As for no two, I say, you Elan, you're just too calm. So calm that sometimes you don't know how to seek change. Did I ever say I wanted to expand the spirit realm gate to a degree that would affect the plan? Hao Yan, Yu Elan, the former impulsive, the latter calm. Yu Elan glanced at him, so what do you plan to do? Open it partially, just like the earthlings say, pilot program. As Hao Yan spoke, he reached out to pull over a map and zoomed in on the location where Chen Chen and the others were, revealing the entire island's layout. And in the southern sea area of the island, a crystal blue dot represented the controllable spirit realm gate. Isn't there just one right here? He he he. Yuelan still shook his head. If you want to do this, I suggest you report it to the higher ups first. Report it? Hao Yan scoffed. Have you forgotten where this place is? My brother? Earth? The island in the starry sky. The light paths here have never been attended to. They are uneven. And the nearest transfer outpost is a hundred thousand light years away. The communications we can initiate can only travel in a straight line for ten thousand light years each day. To send a message back and forth takes twenty days. Moreover, the transfer outpost doesn't reply to the reports sent to the headquarters immediately. Didn't you know that? Waylon fell silent again. The time consumed in between was indeed too long, but his personality did not support agreeing with Hao Yin's approach. Yet deep down, he hadn't given up. If they could solve the disturbance issue, perhaps their status in the headquarters would be a bit higher? That's right. A desire arose in Waylon's heart. The spirit lords overlooked one point. As long as a race has formed a society, its beings will naturally develop desires. No matter how strong or perfect the mental power, all beings will. Just like the spirit lord. Didn't he want to live? Wanting to live is also a desire. All right, then let me borrow a saying from the earthlings. When on an expedition, the emperor's orders may not be obeyed. You've finally been smart for once, Hao Yan said, already pulling up the window to adjust the specific spirit realm gate, which bore two special marks that needed to be activated together with Waylon to take effect. If Hao Yan could do it alone, why would he need to persuade the other so earnestly, though unsure of right or wrong? At that moment, Waylon chose to agree. The next moment designated transfer gate permissions have been modified. Current access level, D. The access permissions for the spirit realm gate are divided into six levels, with the highest being S, followed by A, and then descending. The gate originally designated by Hao Yan and the others was E level. The entire earth was originally just E. It's quite laughable that a minimum E level couldn't even allow a low tier pure spirit being to pass through, only able to release spiritual energy to alter earth's beings. Just like that, they nearly left humanity on the brink of collapse. I hope my decision won't be wrong. Don't worry, it won't be. Just as Hao Yan and Weilan were expanding the spirit realm gate, on the other side of the gate, a giant dragon happened to soar by. Ha, huh? this scene is quite rare. Thinking this, the giant dragon transformed into a stream of light and descended to the ground. The sudden change startled the spirit beasts that had just gathered here, making them tremble and sweat. Sorry, for the smooth progress of everything we've just arranged. This dragon has no choice but to take a backdoor. After saying this, the golden-eyed dragon raised its hand and drew a star with seven sharp points in the air. Then, seven-pointed star, sealing technique. The black and red seven-pointed star formation, once generated, was forcefully pressed down by the golden-eyed dragon onto the ground, then fixed near the transfer entrance. After that, the man transformed back into a giant dragon and soared into the sky. The seven-pointed star formation on the ground flashed with black light and disappeared with his departure. After the spirit beasts, stunned, caught their breath, they couldn't help but look at each other, seemingly exchanging some information. Before long, they regrouped and continued to surge toward the transfer entrance, at the estuary of the Great River, on a small island. Returning to Earth from the transfer gate, the seven felt a sense of as if they had returned from another world. I'm a bit out of breath. Tang Bei inhaled deeply but couldn't help frowning. That's normal, the spiritual energy over there is much more abundant, while the energy on earth is relatively mixed, akin to the difference between a plateau and a plain. Chen Chen explained upon hearing this, I see. The others nodded in realization. Then, Tao Yi continued the previous topic. Chuan Shen, what should we do from now on? You tell us, we will definitely follow you. The others shared the same look, clearly in agreement. 
though she Xiaoyu's gaze was slightly different, but her intention was clear, I will definitely conquer you. Chen Chen felt a flush of embarrassment, but the next moment, he keenly looked towards the distant coastline, something's not right, something is coming. Indeed, Tang Bei also raised his gun, as this helped him focus better. Sure enough, in the next moment, a sudden beastly roar came from that coastline roar. Along with the roar, there was a familiar sensation for the seven of them. Ha! It's just like what we just experienced, indeed, the momentum doesn't feel like a local beast. What's there to be afraid of? When soldiers come, we'll block them, when water comes, we'll cover it with earth. As long as it's not as exaggerated as Senior Jean, I'll kill as many as come. Listening to their words, Chen Chen also smiled, the spirit world isn't all like that, there are also weak creatures, it's just that, the scale of the world is much, much larger than earth. While the few were conversing, the first batch of grinning, toothy creatures had already emerged from the distant sea. What the hell? A six-legged dog? Nonsense. Have you ever seen a dog with a tail that has green fire? This isn't an earth creature, who cares? They're already baring their teeth at us, let's test the waters first. The last voice was from Tang Bei, and as he spoke, a modified bullet shot out. Although he had the earthquake lava bomb, using that for probing would be a bit wasteful. Bang! A bullet was fired and instantly pierced into the left front leg of the leading, six-legged green fire dog. The damage notification popped up as expected, but it was a bit lower than Tang Bei had imagined. Because, damn, such good luck? After that exclamation, a property panel shared by Tang Bei flew in front of Chen Chun. Name, Emerald Flame Earth Hound King Rank, Intermediate Lord Level, 29 Vitality, 46, 537 of 46. 993 Strength, 89 Spirit, 89 Defense, 59 Speed, 169 Skill, Ceiling Combat Power, 2, 499. Ha! Huh? Why is the skill ceiling? Taui couldn't help but be surprised after seeing the property panel. Also, what is an Intermediate Lord? Is there a higher rank? What about above the Lord, like Senior Jean? The few of them exchanged words, while Chan Chen thought of something else. No skills, is it a restriction of the rules? After seeing the word ceiling, this possibility suddenly came to his mind, but he quickly dismissed it. If the rules were to impose restrictions, they might as well not let them come over at all, why only seal their skills? It seemed to be an unavoidable outcome. Thinking of this, the young man immediately took out his slingshot and fired a earthquake lava bomb plus, no skills? Isn't that just an experience pack? No need to be polite. Let's go. That makes sense? Ha ha, let's go. Without skills. That meant they could only bite, for a team of seven armed with weapons who had been fighting against beasts on this island for several days. It was indeed like an experience pack. The only difficulty was, leave the one with speed 169 to me, you all handle the others. After saying this, Chen Chen's feet instantly erupted with lightning, which was the domain Moon Lake Silver Thunder. However, at this moment, ha, huh, daddy can this be eaten? The little Azure Dragon who had been quiet for a long time on the young man's shoulder, suddenly spoke, its slender body also landing in the lightning array. Strangely, as the flowing lightning climbed up like a long snake, it didn't cause her any harm, and even felt a bit, intimate? Chen Chen couldn't help but be stunned. Aren't you a water attribute? The little azure dragon shook its head, no, the inherited memories tell me I have water, thunder, and wind attributes. Water, thunder, and wind? Goodness, isn't that the ability of the local Azure Dragon? Riding the clouds and driving the mist, commanding the wind and thunder, with the addition of wind and rain plus lightning and thunder? With these three attributes, it can indeed be done. So how do you want to eat? He he, as long as I can eat. After saying this, the little Azure Dragon spun around in the low sky, then opened her mouth and began to suck fiercely downwards. In the midst of the thunderstorm, chains of lightning were drawn into her mouth while the excess struck her scales, leaving only a faint glow of lightning. At the same time, Chen Chen's spiritual power was plummeting rapidly. Goodness, what you're eating isn't thunder, it's your father's spiritual power. Fortunately, the rate of decline wasn't too fast, still within the boy's tolerance, otherwise, there would be no way to feed at this moment. Daddy isn't afraid, that little dog, I'll handle it. After sucking for more than 10 seconds, San Zhang, the dragon, suddenly raised her dragon head, and a pair of bright and pure dragon eyes flashed with a bolt of lightning. Roar unlike a normal dragon's roar. The little azure dragon's voice carried a hint of childishness, 
perhaps because she was still young, but if one underestimated her because of that, boom, such a sudden lightning strike would definitely make you understand what it means to be crispy and numb. Even though the Emerald Flame Mastiff King had a speed of 169 points, it wasn't so easy to dodge a bolt of lightning falling from the sky. The speed of the lightning approached 500 meters per second. Converted to speed value, it was around 500, far surpassing the Emerald Flame Mastiff King, and the reality was just as the numbers indicated. Before the thunder sounded, the Emerald Flame Mastiff King had already been struck black and gray by the lightning falling from the sky. Over 40,000 health points dropped directly by half. The Emerald Flame Mastiff King was left dumbfounded. When he realized the source of the attack, he instinctively took half a step back. A dragon? In that instant, the little head of the Emerald Flame Mastiff King could only hold on to this one word. In the vast spirit realm, there are countless types and races of spirit beasts, but in the end, the most domineering must be the dragon. At this moment, the Emerald Flame Mastiff King truly felt like it had the heart of a dog. Encountering a dragon on the way here and encountering another one here, had it offended the dragon's reverse scale today? How unlucky could it be? But with things having come to this, it could only fight. Thinking this, it suddenly trembled all over, shaking off the charcoal from its body. Then came a howl. Go! In the next moment, its tail erupted with emerald flames, its eyes glowing red, ready to howl like a battle wolf. However, halfway through, oh, woo, woo the rising green flames burned halfway and then completely extinguished. That's right, extinguished, even the original emerald flames were gone. He he he, little dog, you aren't trying to use a skill, are you? Seeing this scene, Chen Chen chuckled, generally speaking. This was the starting move of some powerful skill, but the Emerald Flame Mastiff King had been sealed from using all skills, so how could it still use one? It had misfired halfway and suffered a slight backlash. Thus, the current situation arose. He he even if you use it, so what? I'll still hit. Just as the little Azure Dragon finished speaking, the frog was also eager to show off, don't rush. Second brother, this time watch your sister. After saying this, the frog immediately flashed with a silver lightning, clearly transforming into the lightning element with elemental transformation. In the next moment, she opened her mouth and condensed a chain of lightning. It was swaying lightning. When it first appeared, it was in the form of Chun Chen's sleeve universe, electromagnetic thunderstorm. But now it was used solely by the frog, and its speed was still incredibly swift. As soon as the lightning chain was released, the emerald flame Mastiff King, still doubting life, was in deep trouble. Ah whoa! The frog's spiritual attribute was higher than that of the little azure dragon. And as the lightning chain arrived, the emerald flame mastiff king met its demise. The lord has perished, and the remaining emerald flame mastiffs in the arena have all begun to retreat. There's no other reason. None of the spirit beasts that passed through the seven star formation could use their skills, relying solely on biting. They were no match for the other six armed individuals. The number of Emerald Flame Mastiffs was far from reaching the level of a beast tide. When they passed through the Seven Star Formation and resolutely decided to come to Earth, their fate was already sealed. Don't let this group of experienced bags escape, finish them quickly. Oh, Eternal Frozen Glacier. No, this isn't right. Hao Yan looked at the observation screen, where Chen Chen and others were rampaging. His brows furrowed into a shape. I said not to act impulsively, didn't I? Now look what we've got. Waylon was also staring at the observation screen. Though he didn't understand much, he felt more frustration. His clan was naturally calm and composed, occasionally swayed by impulse, but normally very rational. If it weren't for Hao Yen's earlier statements being true, he wouldn't have agreed. But, is it useful to blame me now? Think about how to handle this. Damn it, what on earth is going on? At that moment, Waylon, still focused on the observation screen, suddenly shouted, no, they haven't used their abilities. The Emerald Flame Hell of the Emerald Flame Mastiffs is quite remarkable among low-level pure spirit beings. Haven't used skills? Hao Yen's gaze sharpened. You mean, this is definitely not a coincidence. After a moment of hesitation, Waylon made a choice, reported, this matter is definitely not simple, and it's not something the two of us can decide. Hao Yen's face was full of reluctance, he never liked being restrained, but in the exploration department, he had to be bound. Damn it. I will transfer to the purification department sooner or later. That's a matter for later, for now. Let's compile the report and send it out. By the way, 
What's the situation with that holy beast? Waylon thought for a moment and replied, A considerable force has been established in the western part of Earth, there are quite a few scattered tribes there, and they have now been integrated. The West? Didn't many of those people die in the spirit chaos when setting off just began? That's why the remaining individuals are particularly tenacious, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> That's true. After Hao Yin finished speaking, he no longer maintained the observation screen, forget it. I'm going to write the report, this group of natives can't come up with anything new now. Watch your wording. Hao Yin covered his face, hashtag, I don't need you to teach me, on the island in the river. Within 10 minutes of losing their leader, the group of Emerald Flame Mastiffs was slaughtered by the seven-member team. With an average level around 25, and quite a few elite levels, along with one or two initial lords, they were a rare source of experience for them. Among them, Chin Shen leveled up three times, next to him, Tang Bei was close to leveling up three times as well, and the others also gained about two levels. After the battle, with his secondary profession as a pharmacist, Chen Shen organized everyone to break down the valuable materials from the Emerald Flame Mastiffs. After all, they were genuine spirit beasts from the spirit realm, and the quality of the materials couldn't be compared to the hybrid species on Earth. With these materials, the quality of the refined items Chen Shen could concoct would surely reach a new level. However, another problem lay before them, the situation. This time, the ferocious beasts that surged in from the spirit realm had their skills sealed greatly reducing their combat power. What about next time? At least the portal on the island in the river couldn't be blocked for now. After pondering for a long time, the only solution remained, humanity. Must unite as one. Let's go. We should head back first. The boy gazed at the distant sky, his heart already filled with firm resolve. August 1st, 2028, the 42nd day of the new era. Kowloon City, the main camp. Chen Shen and six others drove the Wuling Xinxie back here last night. After a brief rest, they gathered the next day at Yu Zhanfeng's main office. What's going on? Aren't you planning to head north? After everyone had gathered, Yu Zhanfeng was the first to break the silence. Hearing this, Chen Shen slowly shook his head and expressed his thoughts, although it may seem abrupt. The current situation is no longer something I can handle alone. Not something you can handle alone. Yu Zhanfeng was not a fool. He sensed something was off from that statement. Did you encounter something on the battlefield? Sigh. It's not something that can be explained in a few words. Long too. Can you contact General Yun Wuyi in the north? I can. Yu Zhanfeng didn't waste time and nodded directly. Good. Then please organize it. Let's have a simple north-south meeting. Seeing Chen Chen's expression, Yu Zhanfeng understood the underlying meaning. All right. I won't ask too much. But you must clarify everything later. Ah. Of course. I came here to clarify things. Moments later, Yu Zhanfeng activated the built-in video communication function of Shimming, and the ID on the other end was Yunwui. However, as soon as the call connected, get to the point, if you have something to say, say it, I'm busy and don't have time to chat. The image that appeared immediately launched into a barrage of sharp remarks, as if to say, if you have nothing important, I'm hanging up. Ah, uh, Yu Zhanfeng felt awkward for a moment, took a brief pause, and then said, it's not me looking for you. Only then did Jun Wuyi lift her head, revealing a strikingly handsome face. Unlike the typical beauty with delicate brows and eyes, Yun Wuyi had sharp eyebrows and bright eyes, reminiscent of a heroic figure from ancient times. Her skin was a healthy wheat color, and her slightly thin lips complemented her features perfectly. Upon seeing not just her husband Yu Zhanfeng, a hint of awkwardness flashed across her face, but she quickly composed herself and said, Oh, so many people today? It is General Yun, right? Chen Shen had no intention of making small talk and got straight to the point, although it may seem abrupt. I thought about it and still need to disturb you. You must be Chen Shen. Old Yu often mentions you. Yun Wuyi said, that's me. I've heard a lot about you. Your actions in the South have greatly helped Hua Xia, and I would like to express my gratitude on behalf of the North. However, Chen Shen did not downplay his contributions. You're overpraising me. At first, I was just cooperating with Long Tu, I had my own selfish motives. Yun Wuyi was slightly taken aback by Chin Chen's straightforwardness. However, she quickly responded, People are just like that. In this apocalypse, isn't the most exposed aspect the ugliest side of human nature, selfishness? The most prominent example is undoubtedly the devouring worm class. Alright, General Yun, I won't waste more of your time. The image of Yun Wuyi nodded but added, No need to be so formal. 
Just like you call old Yulong too. You can call me Yun Luang. Yun Luang. Without a doubt. This is Yun Wui's code name. People in the military often use code names, and their real names are not used much. Alright, Yun Luan, I believe Long Tu has already informed you about my preparations to head north, including the purpose of this trip. Yun Wui nodded, yes, old you mentioned it. To be honest, I've also sent people to investigate several areas in the north where fierce beasts are prevalent, and I have some suspicions. So, Chen Xiaoyu, what is the source of these fierce beasts? In terms of age, Yun Wui was at least a generation older than Chen Chen, so calling him Xiao Yu was perfectly appropriate. The Spirit Realm. After Yun Wui asked his question, Chen Chen unexpectedly and without any preamble threw out the statement. Except for the six people who had walked through the Spirit Realm with him, everyone else was left stunned, including Yun Wui, who was soon joined by a trusted confidant. The situation had escalated the moment the words Spirit Realm were mentioned. Chen Xiao Yu. Please elaborate on the spirit realm you mentioned. Yun Wui had no doubts at all because she trusted her husband's judgment, having chosen to fully trust him meant that Chen Shen was a reliable person. Moreover, his character had been tested. I can't explain it clearly in just a sentence or two, but I can tell you this, the world is much more complex than you imagine. After saying this, Chen Shen shifted the topic, Yun Luan, can you tell me the preliminary results of your investigation? Yun Luan was also a smart person and immediately grasped the key point, could it be that the places where those fierce beasts gather are related to the spirit realm you mentioned? Yes. Chen Chen did not hide it, the gathering of fierce beasts is either due to the appearance of a regional lord or the emergence of a miraculous treasure, this is our previous understanding. But actually, the appearance of lord-level fierce beasts has a certain inevitability. What? Yu Zhanfeng and Yun Wui asked simultaneously, without a doubt. It requires abundant spiritual energy, and this spiritual energy is spilling into the earth through an entrance from the spirit realm. There is more than one of these entrances. Upon hearing this, everyone basically understood the gist. To be able to collapse the earth in an instant and launch a surprise attack on humanity, the number of these entrances must be spread all over the globe. Otherwise, how could it cause the entire earth's core organisms to mutate in an instant? So, this is inevitable. In other words, the reason fierce beasts appear is that the spiritual energy from the spirit realm is flooding into the earth, changing the earth's environment, Yun Wui said, her brow slightly furrowed, then if those creatures that have been absorbing spiritual energy since birth come out from these gates, humans, the extinction is not far off, Chen Chen said heavily, the silence at this moment was deafening, when humanity thought they had weathered the disaster and everything was moving in a positive direction, they did not realize that this was just the beginning. This was somewhat cruel for human society. What? You say there's still the ultrasonic beast repelling tower? Ha! Huh? Who knows if that thing will even work on the creatures coming out of the spirit realm. If one relies too much on it, the outcome will surely be tragic. What should we do? Yun Wui was the first to break the silence. I have a plan, but it can't be done by one person, or even a few. How many people are needed? Yu Zhanfeng asked immediately after. A lot. A lot. Do we need that many people? Chen Chen took a deep breath and blurted out his thoughts, yes, because what we need to establish is an unbreakable giant city at an equal or even slightly higher level. The center of the city will be the logistics and combat reserve area. The second ring will be for productivity support. The third ring will be the last line of defense. And the outer layers will be defense lines, the more people there are, the more layers of defense there will be. And on the outermost edge of the city, there will be a transparent or light-colored energy shield, powered by semi-perpetual or near-perpetual energy, serving the purpose of defense. By the way, there should also be sentries on the outer edge of the energy shield that can retreat back inside at any time. As everyone listened to Chun Chen talk about the city, each person's face was filled with astonishment. Until finally, Dong Fan Yan Yan suddenly spoke up, Chuan Shen, isn't this just the base city that humanity relies on to survive in science fiction novels? Chen Chen smiled happily. That's right, it's the base city. With it, humanity can develop positively while ensuring its own survival, ultimately gathering a strong enough resistance force. This is a long-term, far-reaching project. Yun Luan, what you're talking about? A base city. Can it really be realized? Of course, I can't do it alone. It requires enough manpower and materials, and also a sufficiently stable window period. Chen Shen's words were clearly understood by Yu Zhanfeng and Yun Wui. 
The window period naturally refers to a time when there are no disturbances from people or fierce beasts, but given the current situation, is it even possible? I know it's difficult to achieve, so it's not a short-term goal. Then I would like to ask you, Chen Xiaoyu, is there any way for us to help create a long enough window period? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen smiled with relief. That's the main purpose of my North-South talks. Oh, the couple's interest was finally piqued at that moment. Unexpectedly, Chen Chen then revealed a list of materials, saying, most of the things on this list can only be found in the North. So, Yun Luan, you understand what I mean, right? Yun Wui's mouth twitched slightly, not for any other reason, but because this list was at least half the length of Chen Chen himself, and it was all densely packed with small print. This is just. Moreover, there was one item that made Yun Wui's mouth drop open, the legs of the Icebone King Spider. 20 tons? Are you kidding me? To complete my preliminary plan, this amount is necessary. In the image, Yun Wui seemed to be contemplating something, and after a moment, she said, I'll do my best. Although we have enough manpower, there are still many small forces around that need to be suppressed. Most of the materials will be ready in three to four days, but 20 tons of spider legs. The fastest I can get them to you is in seven days. That's fast enough. Chen Shen had no reason to ask for a quicker turnaround. And then he turned to Yu Zhanfeng, saying, The task of transporting the materials will be up to you. The leader? Winky face. Hey, so all this time, I'm just a runner? What did you think? The materials from the south don't even need your orders. Your soldiers basically listen to me now. Although Chen Chen was quite infuriating, what he said was indeed the truth. Ever since the title of God of the River became known in the original Nine Dragons Army, they, who valued strength, had long regarded Chen Chen as their second in command. Of course, this was only nominal. They listened to Chen Chen mainly out of respect. Once the materials are collected, what's next? Yun Wui, however, did not pay attention to the laughter on the other side and directly interrupted, saying, Let me keep you in suspense for now. Once the materials are gathered, the timing should be about right. Yun Wui did not comment, but for now, it seemed she could only follow his instructions. By the way, Yun Luan, besides collecting materials, during this time you can gradually move the headquarters south to make contact with the Nine Dragons army as soon as possible. There are also some troublesome guys blocking the way between the north and south, deal with them as well. Yun Wei nodded, I was already planning to do that without you saying, the small forces left in the south can't stir up much trouble. I need to work hard in the north. And, old you still owes me a kid. Upon hearing this sudden change in topic, the expressions of the others looking at Yu Zhanfeng suddenly became somewhat ambiguous. Just like this, Omega. Yu Zhanfeng immediately couldn't hold back, damn. What are you looking at? Don't you know I'm busy? And how long has it been since the North and South were separated? There's no opportunity for me. That's simple. I'll give you the opportunity. As soon as these words fell, the image of Yun Wui suddenly disappeared. And in the second before it was turned off, there was almost no other movement on her side which indicated it was not an accident. So, Chen Shen looked at Yu Zhanfeng and suddenly spoke earnestly, Dragon Head, practice your legs more. Hey, you brat. Unfortunately, Yu Zhanfeng's retort couldn't even finish before the boy had already left. During this time, don't call me for anything unless it's urgent I'm heading back now. Damn, that kid. The corner of his mouth twitched suddenly, and he seemed to remember that there were others around. The atmosphere became awkward again. Run in circles for 200 kilometers. You must finish before sunset. Get moving. Wait. Why is it us practicing legs? Tao Yi, who had been following Chen Chen for a while, instinctively asked. See, 300 kilometers. When Chen Chen returned to his own camp, he didn't idle either. This time's Zhangzhong Island trip had brought him countless spoils. And naturally, he needed to take advantage of this downtime to digest them well. As for the matter of the abnormal spirit realm gate, Chen Shen had already sent it to Yu Zhanfeng after leaving the camp. Some things are better known to a few people. All right, next is the happy time. Counting the gains, the biggest one was naturally the new pet beast, the Azure Seat Sanglong. Although still a juvenile, its demonstrated lethality was not much lower than Chen Chen's. Next, the spirit pearls of Bitao Yunjiao, Blue-Eyed Jellyfish King, and Emerald Flame Earth Mastiff King were all in Chen Chen's hands. Two main water one main fire, which would undoubtedly enhance his abilities significantly. Who to give them to needed careful consideration. Unfortunately, 
there was no thunder element, otherwise, he would have used it himself. It's necessary to take a trip to the West Wind Thunder Valley later. Although it was the deadly beast domain, he was hanging on the wall, right? Mutual fear. Then, the gains from the roulette were also considerable. The first kill of Bitao Yunjiao gave two purple roulettes, and there was still one first kill gift pack that hadn't been opened. And later, killing other fierce beasts also earned him another purple roulette. Three purples, plus one gift pack. After the thought fell, the boy also had a beautiful package in his hand. And at the same time, a system prompt message echoed in his mind, do you want to open the first kill gift pack? Chen Chen had no hesitation and immediately said, yes, opening now. Ding. Congratulations. You have obtained blueprint asterisk spirit driven flying device with 15 materials. About my reincarnation as a slime asterisk July, one half fragment. Lifespan 150 years. All right. All right. I won't choose. You'll just force it on me. Right? You really are something. Then the next lottery won't be. Looking at the three purple roulettes in front of him, Shen Shen began to hesitate whether to draw or not. Before that, let's see what it actually is. About my reincarnation as a slime asterisk July, one half fragment, two dimensional fragment, if collected, can directly summon the real embodiment of the corresponding two dimensional character, item details, the abilities of the embodiment will match the rules, and it will 100% obey the summoner, there will be unexpected surprises after the favorability reaches full value. To be honest, I have no interest in unexpected surprises at all. Really? July. Chen Chen looked at the attribute panel in front of him. And a series of related information also surfaced in his mind. Consider this a brief introduction for those who haven't seen it, according to the translation. It is Zutsai, but the transliteration is July. So we go with the transliteration here, originating from About My Reincarnation as a Slime. It is an anime adapted from a light novel before the arrival of Devouring Life. Not yet concluded. In the work, she is the princess of the Great Demon Clan, with long, light peach-colored hair and porcelain-like horns that barely extend over her head. Not only does she possess a heart-melting beauty, but her skills are also exceptionally high. However, in the original story, she is the devoted fan of the main character, Tai Da. I wonder, what would happen if she were really summoned? Wait a minute. Why am I being led around by this thing? The boy's face showed a hint of helplessness. Forget it, let's draw lots. In front of Chen Chen, there were three purple wheels, one low grade and two high grade. There were also other colors, but their numbers were much greater. After several days of slaughter, while the white wheels didn't pile up into mountains, there were still over a hundred. The yellow ones numbered in the dozens, and Chen Chen himself had received twelve. He wasn't avoiding drawing, he was planning to stack them together to see if he could trigger a chemical reaction. Last time, Stacking four white ones yielded quite a few good items. What would happen with twelve yellow ones? The more he thought about it, the more he couldn't control the excitement bubbling within him. Let's give it a try. To test this idea, he turned his hand reaching for the purple wheel and picked up a yellow wheel. Please specify the prize you want. 1. 7. Yellow Longevity Pill. This was a low-grade yellow wheel, with only one front reward. Choose 7. Chen Chen said and without waiting for the hidden reward window to pop up, he immediately picked up the second yellow wheel. That's how he had stacked the rewards last time, one by one. After that, congratulations on winning, yellow longevity pill. Congratulations on winning, all attributes plus 30. Three days, congratulations on winning, all skill proficiency plus 13. 33%. Congratulations on winning, skill book asterisk gathering barrage. After drawing all 12 yellow wheels, Shin Chen even leveled up by one level, reaching level 28. But this was just an appetizer. Moments later, the voice he had been anticipating finally echoed in his mind, consecutive grand prize. Hidden rewards stacked. You can choose one from the following prizes. 1. Choose any skill level plus 2 inch 2. Combat puppet about my reincarnation as a slime asterisk red pill 3. Skill book asterisk infinite overlord spear 4. Purple longevity pill recipe 5. Stun resistance increase 85% hee hee. They are all quite good. Among the five options, the ones he could temporarily set aside were two and four, as the remaining three directly enhanced his combat power. The situations he would face in the future would surely be more arduous and complex. Therefore, an increase in combat power was essential. Often at such times, you can pay 66 years of lifespan to choose two hidden rewards, 
or pay 666 years of lifespan to choose three hidden rewards. Here it comes. After drawing all 12 wheels, he had drawn four longevity pills, three yellow and one purple. After consuming them, one, 300 years of lifespan was already in hand. Paying 666 to exchange for three rewards was still a net gain. So, there was no need to hesitate. I pay 666 years of lifespan and choose rewards 1, 3, and 5. Physical rewards have been issued to the spatial storage equipment. The only tangible reward was the skill book. As for the other two, reward 1, please select a skill to increase its level by plus 2. This reward had no restrictions. So even if he wanted to raise the LV3 delayed spirit explosion to LV5, he could. But in terms of damage increase, for Chen Chen, the strongest and most useful skill remained Penetrator. Penetrator. After making his choice, he confirmed it directly. Skill Penetrator has been upgraded to LV4. Penetrator, LV4, any of your ranged attacks will have a 25% penetration rate. And if triggered, will penetrate 100% when your attack causes penetrating damage to the target. It will additionally inflict 25% of the target's health as damage. He he. The boy was unable to contain his joy, one penetration meant one quarter of health, and as long as he hit four times, he could take down the opponent. The power of this skill exceeded his imagination. Next, the 85% stun resistance was directly added to Chen Chen's stats, and subjectively, he didn't feel any difference. As for reward 3, before checking it, Chen Chen first took out another skill book drawn from the yellow wheel, Accumulated Barrage. Accumulated Barrage, LV1, Integration Skill, you can create an accumulated barrage as a bullet transfer station, effect analysis, you can shoot bullets into the barrage, and the bullets entering the barrage will be frozen in time for up to 81 seconds, subsequent moving barrages can actively release the frozen bullets one after another, the maximum number of stored frozen bullets is 108. Increasing skill proficiency can increase storage capacity, skill consumption, 810 spirit points, skill cooldown, 45. 8 seconds. After reading the skill description, Chen Chen's eyes widened, and he was momentarily stunned. After carefully simulating it, he realized is this, a Gatling gun? A maximum of 108 bullets can all enter a time freeze, if he fills this limit within 81 seconds and then releases them all at once. Wouldn't that be a Gatling machine gun? Goodness! Chen Chen exclaimed. The reward of plus 2 levels was used up quickly. Ha! Huh? if he directly raised the level of accumulated barrage. Both the duration of the time freeze and the maximum loading capacity would definitely increase. Unfortunately, there was no such thing as a pill for regret. Fortunately, at this stage, 81 seconds and 108 bullets were already enough. Next was, Infinite Tyrant Dragon Spear, LV1, Gun Technique, Infinite Step, Tyrant Dragon Chant, Long Spear Out, Enemy Soul Abyss, wielding the long spear to launch an attack route according to a specific step, effect analysis, the gun technique has multiple segments of damage, with the first 1 to 72 strikes dealing 1, 5 times the caster's strength attribute, for the subsequent 73 to 81 strikes, each hit will stack damage for the next hit, starting with 2, 1 times the caster's strength attribute, and for each additional shot, it will stack an additional 1 times strength damage, skill consumption, total 1. 280 spirit points, skill cooldown, 22, 5 seconds. Chen Shen was not a warrior in the true sense of playing with guns, the reason he chose 3 was to enhance his combat power when engaged in close combat. Ranged archers have a long reach, but once they are closed in on, the situation becomes passive immediately. Although the gun technique does not benefit from the ranger class, this infinite tyrant dragon spear can explosively stack power. He didn't need to push back his opponent with a domineering gun technique all at once, this skill, which gradually strengthens invisibly, could better paralyze the opponent. Ranged Special Bullet Ranger. Close combat, long-handed spearman. All he needed to do was not leave himself with any obvious weaknesses. Next, you are about to learn Accumulated Barrage, which will take approximately 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Confirm? Confirm. Learning completed. You are about to learn the Infinite Overlord Dragon Spear, which will take approximately 23 minutes and 15 seconds. Confirm? Confirm. Learning complete. The two skills took nearly 45 minutes in total. From the time required, it seems that the Infinite Overlord Dragon Spear has a slightly higher value. Is the application of strength more intricate? Chen Chen guessed, then set that thought aside and turned his attention to the three purple wheels. 
His main goal was to try the hidden reward stacking of the purple wheels. With a thought, the boy immediately raised the first wheel. Please specify the price you want. 1. Purple level beast tide, average level greater than or equal to 23. 2. Abnormal status resistance potion recipe, partial. 9. Important tool length reduced by 1 cm. Chen Chen's eyes immediately caught option 9. And he couldn't help but shudder slightly, this is a bit too much, isn't it? To actually encroach on important tools? What if a woman draws this? Shouldn't they get one first before reducing it? Fortunately, he could specify the reward. 2. With that thought, Chen Chen silently repeated it in his mind. Congratulations on winning. Abnormal status resistance potion recipe, partial. As soon as the announcement of the reward sounded, the boy quickly took the next purple wheel, one of the two superior ones, which had five front options. Draw. Please specify the price you want. 1. Special accessory asterisk shumi sword sheath 2. Strength plus 70, 3 days. 4. Skin darkening by 3 degrees. 6. Spirit driven swift boots asterisk 1 pair 7. Satiety pill recipe. 9. Fiery blood material asterisk 3 tons. For the sake of the stacked hidden rewards, Chen Shen naturally wouldn't hesitate about what to choose, he glanced at it and selected the option with the smallest area. Select 1. Congratulations on winning. Special accessory asterisk shumi sword sheath. Immediately after, he held the third wheel. Draw. This one was still superior, but had six front options. However, compared to the previous one, the other five options could truly be said to be dispensable. In the end, Chen Chen directly chose the one with the smallest area, which was the jackpot. Congratulations on winning. Black longevity pill. Not bad. Black. Perhaps because of this, the value of the other five options plummeted. Normally, if a longevity pill of a higher tier than one's own appears in the wheel, then regardless of the quality, the remaining rewards are all quite poor. With all three rewards in hand, the boy was filled with anticipation for the final hidden reward. After about two seconds of waiting, the heavens did not disappoint him, consecutive jackpots. Hidden reward stacking. You can choose one from the following prizes. 1. About my reincarnation as a slime asterisk July, two-thirds fragments, two. Purple longevity pill asterisk ten pieces three. All skill proficiency increased by sixteen. Sixty-six percent four. Version Easter egg guidance compass five. Poison resistance plus eighty-seven. Six percent immediately after. You can pay six hundred and sixty-six years of lifespan to choose two hidden rewards. Or pay six. Six hundred and sixty-six years of lifespan to choose three hidden rewards. Seeing this, Chen Chen did not hesitate and directly swallowed the black longevity pill. 10,000 years of lifespan. Instantly added. This is much faster than refining one longevity pill at a time, right? With this 10,000 years of lifespan in hand, the boy's remaining lifespan also reached 16. 305 years. So paying 6. 666 wouldn't hurt too much. Originally, he could choose 2. Select it and then get the 10,000 years of lifespan, which would be like getting it for free. But as for lifespan, with the ability to gain designated rewards, as long as there are still spins available, he doesn't fear running out. If he doesn't mind the trouble, he can slowly accumulate more white spins. Among the remaining rewards, one is now a must pick. After all, he already has one half, and securing this two-thirds will give him a preliminary understanding of what he is really planning. He is secretly trying to shove these two-dimensional things at me, it can't be aimless. Moreover, if he continues to be disobedient, he will probably stuff all five hidden options with two-dimensional rewards. Having already forced the first kill gift pack, what else is there that can't be done? At this point, there's no need to be so stubborn. As for 3, increasing skill proficiency can promote skill level upgrades, undoubtedly a shortcut to enhancing combat power. And 4. After wandering through the spirit world, Chen Shen has come to deeply understand the importance of rules. If this version easter egg guidance compass can truly find the easter eggs that prompt version updates, it is a must pick. Option 5 also enhances personal abilities, but its urgency is less than the other three. Therefore, in the end, he chose. I pay 6. 666 years of lifespan to choose rewards 1, 3, and 4. Physical rewards have been issued to spatial storage equipment. Both 1 and 4 are physical items. And after 3 was issued, it has already prompted an increase in one of his skill levels. The proficiency of Lightning Shadow Step is now full. Level up, LV2. 
Effect analysis, every time this movement technique is used to move 800 meters, it can stack 65% lightning attribute power damage for the next attack, lightning shadow instant movement, maximum distance of 600 meters, requiring a one-time consumption of 23% spirit power. No cooldown, skill spirit power consumption, maintaining movement requires 2 spirit power per second, skill cooldown time, 65 seconds cooldown after releasing the movement technique. Chen Shen has mastered this movement technique for quite some time, but due to its limited use in normal circumstances, proficiency has always lagged behind. Now he has finally stepped into LV2. Next is, a scroll appeared in the boy's hand after he recited. Abnormal Status Resistance Potion Formula, Partial, Formula, Learning this formula allows mastery of the refining methods for some potions that resist abnormal statuses, detailed analysis, it includes formulas for six types of resistance potions against poisoning, bleeding, dizziness, paralysis, burning, and freezing. Hey, good stuff. This item had not been able to be concocted by any alchemist in his previous life, and its origin is clearly not Earth. Confirming and learning all six formulas took Chen Chen about 10 minutes, after which he took out the second item from this round of draws. Special Accessory Asterisk Shumi Sword Sheath, Accessory. Necklace, an ancient wooden sword sheath, seemingly plain on the outside, but actually contains Shumi within, detailed analysis. The sword sheath can hold all swords in the world, regardless of length, width, sharpness, or weight, and retains their inherent attribute effects, Basic attributes, spirit plus 21, attack speed plus 15%, level restriction, usable at level 25 and above, crafting quality, black, flawless, wow, not bad, ha, huh? after reading the attributes of the small sword sheath in his hand, the boy felt a bit of excitement, with a flick of his fingertip ring, the life draining sword life devourer, drink the realm, which he had previously snatched back from Lu Yunpan, appeared in his hand. I was still debating whether to learn a couple of sword techniques, but now, as he thought, Chen Chen pointed the sword tip at the small opening of the sheath, and a slight, inexplicable pulling force quickly surged up, directly drawing Life Devourer, Drink the Realm into the sheath, leaving only the hilt outside, which had also shrunk several times. In the end, it looked like a string of peach with sword necklaces. Hey, it fits quite well. The moment the necklace hung around his neck, an inexplicable sense of connection surged within him, as if placed in this sheath, life-devouring drink realm and life-devouring battle body would resonate more strongly. The boy raised his head, gazing at the sky, a faint smile playing on his lips. Was it given on purpose? He couldn't help but murmur. But it didn't matter, since the heavens had treated him this way. Why not enjoy the blessings without knowing their worth? Just accepting food and clothing as they came? With that thought, the boy also took out the last two prizes. First was, version egg guide compass, special item, activating this compass can automatically search for version eggs within a certain range, consuming a certain amount of spiritual power when used, detailed analysis, the compass has an effective range of a perfect circle with a radius of 150 kilometers, level restriction, usable at level 61 and above, crafting quality, red, flawless, wow, it can only be used at level 61, Chen Shen didn't expect that he had chosen a future item, but thinking carefully, the next version was basically confirmed to be the Sky Command from the Spirit Master, usable at level 35. It's just that. This feeling of a future already planned out made him feel somewhat breathless. With that thought, the boy shook his head, pushing the matter of the guide compass to the back of his mind. After all, it was a level 61 issue, and there was still time. Next came the main event. About my reincarnation as a slime asterisk Julai, just as the boy's mind had just begun to think about taking out the Julai fragment, two beams of light shot out from his fingertips, which were his one half and two thirds fragments. The two fragments burst out of the ring and immediately fused into one. However, perhaps due to the increased number of fragments, the resulting pink light appeared somewhat dazzling. Wow, quite a spectacle. Chen Chen shook his head, feeling like a mere spectator to this scene. About three minutes passed and the pink light finally fully merged, at which point a prompt window popped up, fragment fusion successful, remaining incubation time, 59 minutes 59 seconds, 17% of the overflowed fragments will convert into 17 points of favorability after incubation is complete, hey, not a bad deal, an hour, neither long nor short, it was noon, with the sun still in the eastern half, by the time it hovered directly overhead, this hour would just about be up, at that moment, the pink light in midair suddenly burst forth, 
gradually taking on a human form. First, long hair cascaded down, followed by a tall, slender body, and then a pair of sharp, delicate horns sprouted from the top of her head, finally enveloped in a robe. Once completed, the pink light flashed again, causing the boy to momentarily go blind before the brightness faded. The graceful figure of a girl descended from the sky. She clasped her hands together in a prayer pose, her pink hair dancing like falling cherry blossoms in the wind, only settling on her shoulders once she reached the ground. The boy was momentarily entranced. This nearly perfect face had truly materialized into a real person before his eyes. Her peachy, sparkling eyes were particularly endearing. Her skin was as white as jade, and the well-fitted robe accentuated her perfectly proportioned figure. With a red skirt around her waist and a pair of red flip-flops, exuding a cozy vibe. Before long, she parted her lips slightly. Um, you are, Mr. Each one, right? Perhaps due to the 17 points of favorability, she didn't call Chen Chen by his full name, her voice carrying a hint of friendliness. Ah, uh, Chen Chen forced himself to appear calm. Even though he was reborn, he had never encountered such a scene in his previous life. Calm? What calm? The fact that he didn't shout I'm in love was already as steady as a rock. I still remember before the arrival, among the most popular characters in the original work, besides the protagonist, Zhu Lai was the highest. For a group of LSP, she was definitely number one. I am Zhu Lai. Please take care of me. Zhu Lai slightly bowed, having met her master in this new world. And the effect of the phrase 100% obedience to the summoner was fully evident at this moment. Likewise, although he was the master, Chen Chen did not feel any sense of superiority. When interacting with his two pet beasts, his mindset was quite similar, treating them more like friends. Meanwhile, Nian Luo also summoned Zhu Lai's attribute panel. Name, Zhu Lai Occupation, Mage Asterisk Elemental Mage Secondary Occupation, All-Purpose Life Committee Member Master, Chin Chen Level, 10 Experience, 0 out of 10, 0, 0, 0 Vitality, 9, 8 16 Spirit Power, 5, 200 Affiliation, None Strength, 11 Mentality, 57 Defense, 8 Speed, 24 Resistance, Mental Attack 19%, Abnormal State 19% Skills, All Sense, LV1. Elemental Spirit Explosion, LV1. Elemental Spirit Shield, LV1. Combat Power, 800 Special Physique, Elemental Spirit Body. Ha! It really does follow the existing rules. Ha! An Elemental Mage. From a certain perspective, this could be considered a new hidden occupation, right? After all, the current stage of Life Devourer does not have this occupation. Moreover, it was clear that this July was still in a relatively weak early stage. But not understanding, one must ask, what the heck is an all-purpose life committee member? It's even a secondary occupation. However, at this stage, the biggest mystery was, so what is her significance after her existence? The boy seemed to be asking himself, but in reality, he was asking him. In the tent, silence quickly became the main tone. Zhu Lai saw that Chen Shen had not spoken again, so she obediently found a place to sit observing the latter who was deep in thought. Suddenly, Chen Chen asked, Zhu Lai, do you know Rimuru? The male protagonist of the original work, Zhu Lai directly shook her head. Is he your friend? Mr. Ichuan? What about Hong Wan? Chen Chen pressed on, but Zhu Lai still shook her head. At this point, the boy, who had been stunned for a moment, finally understood that the reality incarnation meant this. After entering the server of Earth, Zhu Lai had completely severed ties with the original world. There was no longer any connection. Otherwise, how could she not even recognize her own brother Hong Wan? But since there was no connection to the original world, was Zhu Lai still Zhu Lai? Surely she wasn't just a replicated individual? What significance could he have hinted at so many times? With such doubts, Chen Chen knew deep down, it absolutely had significance. As for what that significance was, he did not make it clear and the boy could only slowly speculate later. Looking at the present, Zhu Lai's most direct significance was probably just her combat power. All right, Chen Chen sighed lightly, having initially accepted Zhu Lai's joining, and said, just drop the mister. Part, it sounds a bit distant. Distant. Zhu Lai blinked her big eyes, then raised her finger, then let's call it, Ichuan San. How about that? Sounds better. Then Ichuan San, Zhu Lai said as she gracefully stood up. From today on, Zhu Lai will be responsible for taking care of your daily life. And please guide me if there are any shortcomings, huh? Daily life. 
Before the boy could finish his sentence, he had already fallen into a passive state. Ichuan San, your clothes are too dirty. You can't wear them anymore. Hurry and take them off to wash. No, wait. Chen Shen thought to himself, in the apocalypse, who still bathes and does laundry? Just having something to cover up is good enough. Wait, this can't be. The all-purpose life committee member? In a daze, the boy couldn't resist Ju Lai at all. The little girl was incredibly nimble, directly yanking off the shirt he had torn while hatching the little green dragon. Immediately after, she snapped her delicate little fingers. Water clean magic in an instant, Chen Shen felt a refreshing sensation wash over him. Ah, it was as if his whole body, covered in hardened clumps of dirt, was suddenly softened by a stream of water, leaving him feeling completely clean and invigorated, almost as if he had shed a layer of skin that didn't belong to him. To be honest, Chen Shen hadn't felt this kind of exhilaration in a long, long time. Just like the saying goes, after wearing a mask for too long, one really starts to think it's their own face, he felt as if he had donned a mask all over his body. Each one san. Turn around as Ju Lai's words fell. Chen Chen turned around lightly, like a marionette, feeling as if he was being turned by a force of spiritual energy. Then, the boy felt a chill all over. Degree degree. What the? Water clean magic ah, ah, ah there's a feeling called, the wind blows and the pants feel cool. And Chen Chen right now, has no pants. But for some reason, the more it was like this, the less courage he had to turn around. And he could only let Zhu Lai manipulate him like a doll. Frog Frog and the little green dragon were both dumbfounded. Okay? The little green dragon even exclaimed, the new sister is so brave Frog Frog covered its face with its claws, Omega, eh? So embarrassing however, things did not progress towards an unplayable rhythm, after cleaning his body. Zhu Lai snapped her fingers again, wood weaving magic sewing as Zhu Lai's sweet voice fell. A set of pure cotton woven summer thin clothes was draped over Chen Chen, consisting of slightly longer three-quarter sleeves and knee-length shorts. The whole operation took no more than 10 seconds, and even his hair was washed clean. Let's not even talk about whether it looks good or not. Just say it's all purpose, right? The little green dragon, why? Are you wearing clothes again? You really are too shy Chen Chen. You too have no dinner left. The little green dragon, I can eat spiritual energy frog frog was even more extreme. Transforming into a soil attribute, he he. I can just eat dirt these two sisters must have been brooding over the nickname issue for a long time. Chen Chen, is this lawless now? Zhu Lai clasped her fingers at her chin, as if admiring her proud work, looking at Chen Chen, making him feel a shiver all over. Um, very handsome, Ich Wan San ah. Uh. Not knowing how to respond to this scene, the boy could only let out a sigh, then his fingertips glimmered, and various fierce beast materials piled up into a mountain. Seeing this, Frog Frog was momentarily stunned, almost petrified on the spot. Boss, What's wrong with you? The little green dragon looked confused. Is something bad about to happen? At this moment, Chen Shen also retracted his devilish smile. Okay, the feast is ready. You too. Who wants to go first? The second one first. The second one first. The little green dragon instinctively felt something was off, but then had a sudden idea. Wait, daddy, didn't you say dinner was gone? The boy revealed a smile. Why don't you look up and see? Is it night now? The two sisters instinctively looked up, then suddenly looked down. The second, big, one first. Such a tacit understanding. Why not do it together? Frog, XX. Little Qinglong. Although she didn't quite understand, following the boss was definitely the right choice until they completed the first meal according to Chen Chen's cultivation plan. Underscore, oh little Qinglong, I can't speak now. My mouth is foul, and I've lost hope in being a dragon. I just feel like my whole dragon self is in trouble. Frog shook his head. The second one still hadn't experienced enough. Eh? Why am I? Little Qinglong leaped up, feeling the wind elements around her dancing for her. And this was precisely what the earlier cultivation plan had brought about. Shen Shen used a wind lizard heart, combined with enough supplementary materials, to directly enhance Little Qinglong's affinity for wind elements. The effect wasn't top-notch, but it saved a lot of training time. At that moment, she finally understood Daddy. I want more. The effect of the cultivation plan devised by Chin Chen was undoubtedly outstanding, though the taste was just a tad lacking. The Azure Sea Dragon race was, of course, included in the special breeder materials. Unlike the elemental spirit frog, its core was to enhance the affinity for the three major elements, wind, thunder, and water. The higher the affinity, 
the more powerful the skills inherited in memory would be. Besides that, there was no need to cultivate other attributes. However, materials that could enhance affinity were not easy to find, and if one were to search according to the hints given by the secondary profession, the directions pointed mostly to the spirit realm. What little Qinglong ate was basically drawn by Qin Chun from the roulette. Most of it was hidden rewards. Even if the ferocious beasts at level 20 or above dropped white roulette items, the quality of the rewards couldn't compare to those of the three or four star karamis. After simply enhancing the affinity for wind attributes, there were naturally also thunder and water ones. Not to mention, little Qinglong's three servings of vomit inducing meals were definitely unavoidable. However, comparatively, Frog's meals would be even more. Looking at the pile of materials stacked up, little Qinglong silently sent a moment of mourning. Boss, it turns out, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. In his grief and anger, Frog pulled out an unknown route. Oh, forward slash forward slash forward slash, get lost. That saying isn't meant to be used like this. Saying it aside, making a fuss aside, aiming for the enhancement after swallowing the meal, Frog could only tearfully indulge in feasting. Tasty? No, no, no. It was purely about wanting to eat a bit faster. And at this critical moment, Chen Chen was over there playing, clapping games with Zhu Lai. Chuan, you clap one. I clap one. Lai, Ichuan San is really amazing. Chuan, you clap two. I clap two. Lai, Ichuan San is a bit silly. Chuan, you clap three. I clap three. Lai, Ichuan San. Stop. Eh? Looking at Zhu Lai with his head tilted. The boy swallowed the retort that was on the tip of his tongue. Sigh. It seems that such a simple connection can't clarify his true intention. Chen Shen silently thought, do I need to make a bigger commotion? But, how big is big? In the tedious wait, the time reached 2 in the afternoon, and Frog and Little Qinglong finally completed the advanced cultivation of the Ichuan style feast one after the other. The boy first opened the attribute panel of the utterly disheartened frog, pet panel name, elemental spirit frog nickname, scheming frog owner, Chin Chen level, 28 vitality, 8, 500 spirit power, 11, 700 strength, 15 mentality, 89 defense, 15 speed, 30 skills, elemental transformation, LV3, fire vortex, LV3, quicksand hell, LV2, wind blast mortar, LV2, flickering lightning, LV2. Ice Hammer Explosion, LV2. Shadow Stealth, LV2. Dark Flow Annihilation Shield, LV1. Enchantment, Elemental Sphere, LV1. Combat Power, 3. 597. Just looking at the panel. Frog's improvement this time is unprecedented. During the trip to Jiangzhong Island, Chen Chen received dozens of white roulette rewards, and the combination of basic rewards and hidden rewards allowed him to gather the second stage advancement cultivation materials for Frog's Wind. Earth, Ice Triad. Now, only Thunder and Dark remain in the first stage. The other skills, including Thunder and Dark, have also seen their levels rise due to the absorption of the same source materials. Elemental Transformation has risen to LV3, with the cooldown time reduced to zero. Three seconds, Fire Vortex has risen to LV3. I don't think I've written the details of this skill before. Fire Vortex, LV3, after compressing a large amount of fire attribute energy, it instantly shoots a compressed fireball forward, creating a fire vortex upon landing or hitting a target, dealing a large amount of fire attribute damage, with a 27% chance to cause burning that lasts for 8 seconds. Skill effect analysis. The range of fire vortex is a perfect circle with a radius of 0, 9 meters, and the initial damage is 4, 7 times the caster's mentality attribute, skill spirit power consumption, 21 points, skill cooldown time, 2, 9 seconds. Undoubtedly, after rising to LV3, the effect of Fire Vortex has become even more outrageous, with just a 2, 9 second cooldown, as long as distance is maintained. What's the difference from skills that don't require cooldown? Besides these two, there are also skills that simply level up, then the skills of the wind, earth, ice triad have evolved, dust burial evolved into quicksand hell, and its level jumped directly to LV2. Quicksand hell, LV2 gathers a large amount of earth attribute energy to create quicksand in any location within a 135 degrees sector in front, covering a range of 270 meters, lasting for 30 seconds, skill effect analysis, the quicksand will absorb and drag in all targets within a radius of 30 meters, affected targets will receive earth attribute damage equal to 3, 6 times the caster's mentality attribute, and will be bound by anti-space, 
Unable to escape until they leave the quicksand, anti-space, all flying means requiring spirit power intervention become ineffective, skill spirit power consumption, 355 points, skill cooldown time, 32, 5 seconds. After the skill evolution, although the cooldown time has increased a bit, its existence time is sufficient to compensate for this, and combined with other skills, the deterrent power of Gatling Frog will only grow stronger. Wind Pressure Cannon evolved into Wind Blast Mortar, and its level also rose directly to LV2. Wind Blast Mortar, LV2, instantly fires a projectile forward with a radius of zero. A 1 meter compressed wind ball, upon hitting the target, will cause a large amount of wind attribute damage and generate a wind explosion that blasts forward. Skill Effect Analysis the damage of the compressed wind ball is 5 times the caster's mental attribute. The damage of the wind explosion is 70% of the wind ball's damage and will definitely knock back the target. Knock back, guaranteed knock back. Skill energy consumption, 95 points. Skill cooldown time, 7 seconds. Finally, Ice Spike Fall evolved into Ice Hammer Burst. Ice Hammer Burst, LV2, gathers a large amount of ice elements attached to the caster's surface, smashing forward like an ice hammer and causing ice attribute explosive damage. Freezing targets within a 10 meter range, freeze, unable to act. Defense decreases by 15% after, skill effect analysis, the direct damage of the ice hammer is 5 times the caster's mental attribute, and the ice attribute explosion damage is 2, 7 times the caster's mental attribute, skill energy consumption, 680 points, skill cooldown time, 21, 8 seconds. After looking at Frog's panel, Chen Chen waved his hand and opened the little blue dragon's pet panel name. Azure Sea Dragon nickname, Sanzang 1 Dragon Owner, Chin Chen Level, 17 Vitality, 11, 900 Spirit, 85, 000, 000 Strength, 68 Mental, 102 Defense, 85 Speed, 51 Elemental Affinity, Water 16, 2%, Wind 18, 1%, Thunder 21% Skills, Water Flow Mastery, LV1, Storm Mastery, LV1, Thunder Mastery, LV1, Elemental Dragon Breath, LV1, Combat Power, 1, 900. Compared to Frog, the Little Blue Dragon's panel is much simpler, and being a dragon, even at just level 17, all its attributes exceed those of Frog. However, in terms of affinity, Frog is a natural elemental being, able to resonate with the corresponding attributes just with the Elemental Transformation skill, while the Little Blue Dragon still needs to cultivate its affinity. Once the affinity is maxed out, Chen Chen's nurturing will be considered a great success. Of course, the materials needed will become rarer as time goes on, making it a relatively long process. The two are not on the same path. Frog is a sustainability type, while the little blue dragon is high burst. If the two beasts cooperate, plus July, the elemental magician, I feel like I could retire and just be a hands-off manager. Thinking of this, Chen Chen couldn't help but rest his chin on his hand. Then, he took out three spirit orbs, undoubtedly from the Azure Tide Cloud Dragon, Blue Eyed Jellyfish King, and Emerald Flame Earth Mastiff King. Originally, he intended to give them to Frog or the Little Dragon, but now it seems he needs to improve himself too? Otherwise, what prestige would he have as the owner? Although these three spirit orbs possess water, ice, and fire attributes, they lack thunder, which doesn't suit him, but that's for others. What is our protagonist Chen? an alchemist and a blacksmith. What kind of chemical reaction can occur from the overlap of the two? In his past life, he didn't know and couldn't do it, but this life is completely different, with different attributes. Chen Chen naturally cannot directly master those skills, but if he wants to use them, there are ways. With a thought, Chen Chen once again took out a piece of wood radiating spiritual energy from his ring. The round cross section has a diameter of over 0, 8 meters and is about 3 meters long. This wood is called, Xuanwu Dark Wood. Xuanwu Dark Wood, Earth and Dark Dual Attribute Spiritual Plant. Xuanwu Thick and Heavy Soul Stabilizing. Dark and Mysterious Absorbing All Rivers. Often used as a natural stabilizer in alchemy. And can also be a spiritual medicine auxiliary material to enhance attribute affinity, quality, purple, age, 82 years. Zhu Lai. Could you help me make some pendants or accessories with this? Um, upon hearing this, Zhu Lai stood up and observed for a moment then nodded and said, It's Yuan San, what kind do you want? If it's wood, Chen Chen thought for a moment and replied, A bracelet? Or something like a ring? In any case, it's best to focus on the hands. On the hands. Zhu Lai's beautiful eyes shifted lightly, and after a moment, 
It seemed she had an idea in mind. She then waved her delicate hand, would cutting magic on the Xuanmu ghostwood, for straight lines of light green radiance flashed by. And in an instant, a small wooden block floated in front of Zhu Lai's chest. Would carving magic lines of spiritual light cut through as Zhu Lai's fingertips moved, each time landing precisely on the wooden block without cutting more than a fraction. Once the general shape was formed, the spiritual light danced like a laser engraving, moving gracefully like a sprite. This scene left the other two beastmen and one person stunned. In terms of skillful operation, it had to be a magician. At this moment, Chen Chen could only exclaim in his mind, the all-round life committee member. Terrifying indeed. However, in the original work, Zhu Lai seemed to have been positioned this way. The key was that her combat power didn't seem weak either. While he was lost in thought, the small wooden block had already been crafted by Zhu Lai into an exquisite carved arm guard, which had three round holes that matched the size of Chun Chen's three spirit beads perfectly. These holes, a Chuan San wants to embed them, right? I'd drawn a spiritual pattern array inside the round holes, it should have some effect oh? Chen Chen truly hadn't expected Zhu Lai to be this meticulous. His goal was indeed to use one or more pieces of equipment to activate the energy within the spirit beads, thereby unleashing the skills contained within. Let me see. As he took the arm guard made by Zhu Lai, a sense of vitality surged forth. Chen Chen could feel that it was because the spiritual power within him had established a simple communication with the so-called spiritual pattern array on the arm guard. This indescribable sense of compatibility astonished him. Wasn't this his first time in this world? Why could Zhu Lai's abilities match here so quickly? The spiritual light used for cutting the wood was so skillful. It was as if it was an extension of her will. Following that, Chen Chen lightly tapped the arm guard, and a property panel indeed appeared. If it were something made casually, it would definitely not gain the recognition of the Devour Life server, which is Earth. In other words, the property panel was equivalent to official certification. Xuanwu Ghostwood Arm Guard, Arm Guard, entirely carved from Xuanwu Ghostwood, inscribed with a special spiritual pattern array inside, capable of embedding any carrier containing spiritual power and activating it, effect analysis, the embedded carrier must be spherical and cannot exceed three, only one can be activated at a time, and when activating two or more, including two, the arm guard will consume a certain amount of durability, durability, 49 40 nights, normal use consumes one durability point every seven uses, activating two carriers at once consumes seven durability points at once, activating three consumes 21 durability points at once, consumption and cooldown, this is related to the number of activated carriers, Single carrier consumes 700 spiritual power. Corresponding carrier cooldown 7 seconds. Activating 2 at once consumes 2. 100 spiritual power. Corresponding carrier cooldown 21 seconds. Activating 3 at once consumes 4. 900 spiritual power. Corresponding carrier cooldown 49 seconds. Level restriction. Usable at level 25 and above. Crafting process. Purple. Excellent. Goodness. This is directly purple excellent? Chen Shen shouted unfairly in his heart. It had taken him a long time to create a purple excellent item, yet Zhu Lai had just arrived and made one? But even so, this Xuanwu Ghostwood arm guard had directly saved him the effort of refining. Zhu Lai truly lives up to being the all-round life committee member. Ha! Huh? Zhu Lai, can you refine items? Chen Shen thought of this and couldn't help but ask. But Zhu Lai shook her head. Ichuan San, this is just a simple application of magic and magic circles. You call this a simple application? In the past, Chen Shen thought he was a leading figure in the Versailles world until he met Zhu Lai. Using magic the whole time, she sculpted a piece of Xuanwu ghost wood from a block into a bracer, even engraving usable spirit patterns on it. This is called a simple application? She didn't just transform it. However, no matter how you look at it, this wave of crafting skills saved some effort. Chen Shen adjusted it a bit and then secured the bracer onto his right forearm. And to be honest, the size was nearly perfect. Zhu Lai Chan awesome. Of course, in addition to this, Chen Shen didn't forget to take a spirit pearl and embed it into one of the three holes. Once the spirit pearl of by Tao Yunjia was embedded, spirit patterns immediately climbed up the bracer and feedbacked into the boy's body, completing the connection. In an instant, Chen Shen saw before him Xuan Wu Ghost Wood Bracer, hole one embedded, carrier is ice wave thousand miles, remaining durability eight times. Eight times? That's more than I expected. Using the spirit pearl like this naturally consumes its original spiritual power, making it a consumable. Once the spiritual power is exhausted, 
the spirit pearl becomes ineffective. Moreover, even if it contains multiple skills, only one can be randomly activated. Even when Shen Shen crafted it himself, the effect was the same. However, using skills outside of one's own system is inherently a form of value-added ability, and having a cost is completely normal. Then, Chen Chen embedded the remaining two spirit pearls one by one. Xuan Wu Ghost would brace her, hole two embedded, carrier is blue eye illusion, remaining durability six times. Xuan Wu Ghost would brace her, hole three embedded, carrier is emerald flame hell, remaining durability five times, blue eye illusion and emerald flame hell. For the former, Chen Chen had faced it before but had not experienced it personally, while the latter was simply disabled, as the opponent didn't use it. It felt somewhat unfamiliar. However, just by the names, one could tell the effects were not bad. The number of times the skills in the spirit pearls can be activated depends on the spiritual power content of the pearls and the spiritual power required for the corresponding skills. Therefore, the number of uses is not fixed. At this moment, Chen Chen's enhancement finally came to a close. It actually took seven and a half chapters. The remaining time was entirely spent crafting special bullets as the consumption of special bullets needed to be replenished after each battle. This could be considered a somewhat helpless point for a special bullet ranger, and when it came to crafting special bullets, Zhu Lai couldn't help at all, so she could only sit obediently beside him. When Wa Wa and the little blue dragon saw it was boring, they ran over to start discussing their hierarchy. Little Wa Wa is the boss, little blue dragon is the second, so I'm the third? Mm Wa Wa was always very satisfied with the title of boss. Little 3 doesn't sound good with us, no matter how you look at it, especially if your last name is Tang. So, let's just call you Little 3. Oh, Zhu Lai didn't understand but thought it was always right to follow local customs. Although she hadn't felt that foreign sensation since coming here, she only knew she was from somewhere else. But where she came from was a blank in her mind. It couldn't be said to be completely blank, there was probably a vague outline. But specifically, she just couldn't remember. Little 3. Little three, what are the horns on your head for? Eh, horns, Zhu Lai said, touching them herself, the sharp tips were a bit prickly, but as for what they were for, I don't know either hmm, it's just a symbol of the race, I guess, just like the stripes on your body, not only are there special patterns that can change into other attributes, but there are also a few that are just for decoration, right, that's true, my horns aren't really useful either, the little blue dragon chimed in, all right then, the three of them quickly became familiar with each other. Exchanging words, time flew by, and soon it was the night of the 42nd day since their arrival. After finishing the consumption of special ammunition, Chen Shen felt a bit anxious as he led Zhu Lai out of the curtain. Outside the curtain, Tao Yi, who had been dozing, immediately sat up straight upon sensing the movement of the curtain being lifted. He instinctively exclaimed, Chuan Shen, hello, wait, what? Before Tao Yi's greeting could finish, he was startled back half a step by Zhu Lai, who followed Chen Chen. What? The boy forced himself to remain calm. Let me introduce. This is Zhu Lai. But Tao Yi murmured, Oh my, your rival is quite something. Wait, why does she have horns? Cosplay? Or is it Japanese style? Chen Chen replied, Get lost. Those are real horns. They grow right out of her head. Real? Real horns? Hello? Are you a friend of Ichuan-san? I'm Zhu Lai. Zhu Lai slightly bowed, as a greeting, and with every movement, Taui couldn't help but twitch at the corners of his mouth. She really is Japanese style. At that moment, Taui just wanted to ask, Xuan Shen, what happened to your Wuling Shin car? Why are you driving a Japanese one now? No, wait, she has horns. Taui's shock quickly attracted the attention of those around, but upon seeing Zhu Lai, they either froze or became dumbfounded while some with strong guards silently clenched their fists. Of course, there were also those who immediately focused their attention on Wa Wa and the little blue dragon. This was also the first time Chen Shen put Wa Wa on display. Perhaps it was the confidence that came from strength, he no longer worried about anyone trying to trip him up. Even if someone did, it wouldn't be a difficult problem to solve. The powerless hatred and anger from his past life had mostly washed away at this moment. The noise didn't last long before Yu Zhanfeng rushed over upon hearing the news. Wait, what are you up to this time? He didn't finish the latter half of his sentence, but those who understood knew what kind of trouble is this. It's nothing, they are just proof of the existence of the spirit world. I always kept them hidden, and today I brought them out to breathe a little. 
That's all, the boy explained nonchalantly. Yu Zhanfeng was half convinced, although he had suspected it for a long time. He didn't expect Chen Shen to use this form to prove the existence of the spirit world. However, just as his words fell, a sharp voice cut in like a long rainbow. Beasts? Where did the beasts come from? Following the voice, a slender yet not weak figure dashed in from the distant sky, with spiritual light shimmering beneath its feet. Chen Chen recognized the origin at a glance, spirit-driven swift boots. It was at this moment. Bang! A sound of deflation suddenly exploded in mid-air, and the figure descended from the sky, each hand holding a three-foot-long nine-ring steel whip, landing with a loud clang. Seeing this, Yu Zhanfeng quickly took a few steps forward. Damn! Wife! Take it easy! What are you panicking about? If it spills, can't you just refill it? Hearing Yun Wui's words, Yu Zhanfeng's face turned sour, muttering to himself, It's not that easy, it's not a bullet that you can just refill whenever you want. Oh, Sister Long, hello? Through Yu Zhanfeng's words, Chen Chen also recognized the woman's identity, and then he reached out to greet her. What are you wearing? It's kind of cool, you wouldn't know? Upon hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng finally found a way to step down, continuing with a laugh and a scold. You little brat, acting like an NPC. Hurry up and stop dawdling, what's going on here? Chen Xiaoyu, this counts as our first meeting, and you give me such a big surprise right after arriving? At this moment, Yun Wui also spoke up. It's not really a surprise. Chen Chen waved his hand. Just consider it proof that what I said about the spirit realm really exists. Is it them? Yun Wui gestured with her eyes towards Wawa, the little Qinglong, and Zhu Lai. Is this little sister also from the spirit realm? You could say that. The boy nodded. Zhu Lai's background was hard to explain, so he could only be vague about it. However, he wasn't completely making things up. After all, Zhu Lai also came from another world, which essentially aligns with the definition of the spirit realm. They are not fierce beasts? Chen Chen smiled and asked. Let me put it this way. Long saw. Why are fierce beasts called fierce beasts? Of course, it's because they have very little rationality. They only follow their instincts to flee from battle when they are scared. They are undoubtedly fierce spirits. So do you think they have rationality? As he spoke, Chen Chen lifted one in each hand. Wawa on the left, little Qinglong on the right, one sitting upright, the other curled up. Don't be so sudden. Master, it's a bit embarrassing. Daddy, the two voices echoed simultaneously in Chen Chen's mind. Whom? The boy retracted his hands, tossing them onto his shoulders one on each side, then propped his chin on his hand, it does feel a bit like being dragged out as a typical example. Ha, Wawa slash Qinglong, you know that. Ha, the boy chuckled and didn't mind the retort, then said, in short, fierce beasts and spirit beasts are different, those who have been following me are all clear about that, do they also know about the spirit realm? Ah, they've been there. Been, been there? Yun Wui was stunned for a moment, her delicate brows furrowing as she pondered something. After a moment, she said, So, there is a possibility of cooperation between humans and the spirit realm? And fierce beasts are just the victims in this process. Is that what you mean? Chen Shen couldn't help but admire her sharpness. It could rival Tang Bei's. However, yes, but not entirely. Things are much more complicated than you think. But once our base city is established, everything will unfold step by step. Upon hearing this, Yun Wui understood that asking further was pointless as there were some things that couldn't be said at this moment. As for why to keep it hidden? If they were already hiding it, asking would be futile. In that case, let's wish for our base city to be completed soon. Ah, I hope so too. On this point, Chen Chen was sincere, after all. The establishment of the base city was the first step towards human unity, and it was necessary. If they wanted to rewrite this apocalyptic deadlock, they had to establish a base city, outside the entire Chuan tent. All the idle people gathered around due to Ching Chen's actions. It could almost be described as impenetrable. The two large pets plus Zhu Lai were enough to attract attention, not to mention their connection to Chen Chen. However, amidst the noise, several figures cut through the crowd. Leading them was a woman with shoulder-length black hair tied in a small ponytail, a string of rope tied around her waist with daggers at both ends. Those in the know recognized it as a rope dart. And in the entire Jolong city, there was only one woman who played with rope darts, Shun Chen. Before she even arrived, her voice had already reached them. The loud tone made many people unable to help but look up. 
Isn't that the only woman in the Chuanchen team? She Xiaoyu? Yes, that's her. It seems like you're a bit angry. The crowd's noise was still lingering when Shi Xiaoyu had already arrived in front of Chen Chen. Upon seeing Zhu lie next to him, her pretty face revealed an indescribable emotion. But what was most intriguing was her wanting to say something but stopping short expression. It seems. There's a hint of jealousy. Ha huh, really? Where? I didn't smell anything. I'm just thirsty. Let's get something to drink. Why the long face? The clamor of the crowd contrasted sharply with Shi Xiaoyu standing in front of Chen Chen. But it was ultimately broken by An Zhu Lai. Please take care of me upon hearing this greeting. Shi Xiaoyu twitched her lips and looked at Chen Chen. Suddenly saying, if you like this style, you could have said so earlier. Who can't cosplay? My Kyuko Kurajiri has conquered many people. You know. Chen Chen couldn't help but widen his eyes. Truly not expecting the conversation to take this turn. Originally, he had intended to reveal Zhu Lai to dissuade Shi Xiaoyu. But now, forget it. The young man took a deep breath. Zhu Lai's situation can't be explained in just a few words. As for you and me, you've been to the spirit realm. You should know what the future situation will be like. I could die at any moment. If you were with me, it might be hard to even have a peaceful ending. Hearing this, Shi Xiaoyu seemed to accept the can't be explained in a few words reasoning. Then responded, it doesn't matter. Then let's die together. The young man fell silent for a moment. Then finally sighed, all right. We'll live and die together. Asterisk, Sigma, who said that? Don't confuse me. What I mean is, if you die, I'll go with you. At that moment, the atmosphere suddenly fell silent until the young man sighed and jokingly said, Okay, then when the world is at peace, I'll marry you. Is that acceptable? Upon hearing this, she saw you was surprised but couldn't help but laugh in anger. That piece of cake must be as big as the earth, right? Eat it if you want. Chen Chen rolled his eyes. Of course I want to eat, why not? World peace is world peace, I can wait. After making her statement, she flicked her ponytail and said, I'm not going to argue with you anymore. I'm off to level up. Watching her retreating figure, Chen Chen couldn't help but sigh. He thought to himself, if I had that kind of free time, managing three palaces and six courtyards with 72 concubines, and not repeating any one day after day would be no problem at all. Sigh. As the sun set, night fell. The 42nd day was nearing its end. With previous announcements across the server, Chen Chen's name had become almost universally known in the southern region. Now, with the addition of his pet in July, the buzz around him was bound to rise even further. Even at this moment, discussions about Chen Chen were still ongoing on the World Channel of Life Devourer. And under such momentum, even those who didn't know him were gradually becoming aware. Of course, this was limited to formal players. To date, only 12% to 13% of the surviving humans had become formal players of Life Devourer. While the majority still lacked a life card, the establishment of the base city must first address this issue. The existence of the spirit realm, coupled with the threat of the UNZ, had forced humanity to confront a common enemy. If, at such a time, they still played the game of the strong remaining strong, true extinction would not be far off. Change was imperative. As for lifespan being a hard currency, well, there will always be a way to solve it. Chen Chen gazed at the rising moon, exhaling softly, allowing himself not to think for the moment. As the saying goes, things must be done step by step, and meals must be eaten bite by bite. Nothing can be accomplished overnight, and one cannot become fat by eating just one bite. However, just as Chen Chen was preparing to return to the tent to rest, hey, why has my roulette changed? The voice came from a man near his tent who had just exchanged a white longevity pill from a comrade, gathering enough years to prepare for a draw. Little did he know, once the roulette was taken out, the original rewards had changed. Changed? What changed? After the voice fell, someone quickly asked. This. It was originally a purple-grade battle knife, but suddenly turned into this. Demon knife. Iron shattered tooth. What the hell? What the hell? Iron shattered tooth? It seemed someone had reacted shouting what are you waiting for drawl no but what exactly is iron shattered tooth wait chen chen who had been listening to the whole thing couldn't help but shout the few people were startled by his voice but relaxed when they saw it was chen chen who spoke yes yes it's the river god what's wrong the one responding was the man holding the demon knife iron shattered tooth roulette who was still a bit excited 
Although Chen Chen was approachable, he usually didn't have the chance to strike up a conversation. Moreover, when a person's strength becomes formidable, they inherently carry a filter of being a master, and those with slightly lesser combat power wouldn't easily have the courage to strike up a conversation. Can I borrow your roulette to take a look? This? Of course. Since it was Chen Chen who asked, he had no reservations. The young man slightly nodded and took the yellow longevity roulette handed over by the man, which indeed had an option for demon knife, iron shattered tooth, along with the other two options. All the positive options occupied a total of 23% of the area. It could be considered a medium grade roulette. Are you saying that there wasn't an option for this demon knife before? After looking it over, Chen Chen couldn't help but ask. The longevity roulette was in the style of a scale roulette, with obvious raised marks between options, but the sections between every two raised marks were made of a crystal-like material. The specific content of each option was also displayed in the crystal area. The change, the modified option, if it was just a change of words, it didn't sound so far-fetched, but why? This point Chen Chen couldn't figure out for the moment. That's right, that's right, it previously showed random purple battle knife. I've hidden this roulette for a long time. I definitely wouldn't remember it wrong. Is that so? Can I trade you a high-grade one for it? The man didn't show any signs of resistance upon hearing this, only asking, River God, are you interested in this iron-shattered tooth? Yeah, would you trade? Sure, a high-grade for my medium-grade. Why would I refuse? He he. All right, then it's settled. After the exchange, the man excitedly took the high-grade yellow roulette that Chen Shen had given him and turned to leave with a beige crosshair. Chen Shen was left watching him, a slight smirk playing at the corners of his mouth. What is he planning now? Chen Shen murmured, genuinely not understanding. But, the white treachery, whether it was the lingering Lu family or that Jiangzi, it was best to stay alert. As for the roulette, drawl, an irresistible rule, mutual fear, but what he drew this time was, congratulations. You have won. Five pounds of rotten eggs. What the hell? The young man jumped back several meters, and after letting out a fireball from his frog, he turned the rotten eggs he drew into ashes. Damn. That's foul. Seeing him like this, a few people around laughed and said, ha ha ha, even the river god has times when his luck runs out? Hey, this is just the beginning. Not drawing something catastrophic is already a blessing from the heavens. Little did they know, just as the two finished speaking, Congratulations, you have won. Late stage lung cancer. What the? Cough, cough, cough. Cough, cough. To keep it under wraps, he exerted all his strength. But at this point, the goal had clearly been achieved. Because of his recent cough, coupled with the sudden onset of illness, the people nearby had already sensed something was off. Hashtag, no way. Did he really get sick? Listening to this commotion. Lung, lung disease? Sigma, you jinx. If Chuan Shen really caught some serious illness, you'd be in big trouble. Sigma, degree degree, I, I, hearing the anxious voices of the crowd. Shen Shen couldn't help but deflate a bit. It's fine, don't panic. Zhu Lai, hey water healing magic. As a blue light descended, Chen Shen's sickly appearance vanished without a trace, showcasing Zhu Lai's formidable abilities. And then, two misses in a row. You must be feeling the pressure, right? Draw again. During the spinning of the roulette, Shen Shen also made a choice in his heart. Congratulations on winning. Demon Blade Iron Shattered Tooth. Ding. As the roulette turned to ash and dissipated, a somewhat ancient looking battle knife fell directly to the ground. It, it came out? Awesome. Chuan Shen. It can be like this? I've learned nothing. I've learned nothing. However, compared to Chen Shen drawing the Demon Blade Iron Shattered Tooth after two rounds, the crowd was more concerned about Zhu Lai's ability and magic that can heal. This, what a good thing. At this moment, everyone also recalled what Chen Shen had said before, as long as I'm here, as long as you still have a breath, even if you become a human puppet, you can return to the peak. Now it seemed, the credibility had doubled. Ha, huh? at this time, Chen Shen also let out a long breath. You all saw it, whether it's Zhu Lai or me. Whatever illness we draw from the roulette, we have ways to solve it. Then, what about the devouring bone disease? Devouring bone disease, these five words pierced the hearts of the crowd like needles. Compared to cancer and such, this disease that came with devouring was clearly more troublesome and terrifying for them. However, upon hearing this, Shen Shen couldn't help but take another look at the hidden reward in front of him. Then he nodded solemnly and said, it can be cured. 
He then silently chanted in his heart, Choose one. Reward has been issued. The next moment, an ancient booklet was directly transmitted into Chen Chen's spatial ring, which was the one reward just now, complete cure for devouring bone disease, including therapy, a pillow sent with a yawn. Nothing could be better than this, right? This thought in his heart was clearly meant for him. However, since it was an irresistible rule, how did he manage to have whatever he wanted? This was something Chen Chen had never figured out. Unable to understand, Chen Chen simply decided not to think about it and turned to look at the information in the booklet. Complete cure for devouring bone disease, including therapy, contains a detailed explanation of the pathology of devouring bone disease and specific therapy plans. Along with the required medicinal ingredient formulas, potion asterisk revitalizing bone elixir, white bone sword orchid, ethereal grass, seven leaf dragon saliva, nine foot stone quenching liquid, body tempering flame spring, note, this formula is outdated. The dosage of medicinal ingredients is inaccurate. Needs to be self-formulated. Goodness, this formula is outdated, so straightforward? Could it be that devouring bone disease also originated from the spirit world? If so, what kind of positioning does the spirit world have on Yangzi? Chen Shan sent out his thoughts to check the properties of several medicinal ingredients. But after a moment, he could only shake his head helplessly. Among the five medicinal ingredients, all except for the body tempering flame spring needed to be obtained from the spirit world. Thus, it was clear that if he wanted to treat the devouring bone disease, he had to go to the spirit world. Forget it, let's consider it a reconnaissance mission. With that thought, Chen Shen also pulled back his thoughts, humanity's strength was inseparable from the spirit world. And the recent events on Jiangzhou Island had proven that the spirit world would eventually merge, or rather, completely descend to earth. If he waited until then to rush, it would be too late. The words seemed lengthy, but in reality, from the moment Chen Shen said can cure to this moment, only a few seconds had passed. Those two words echoed like thunder in the hearts of those around. Surprised exclamations followed, really? Is it true? River God, one of my comrades has bone grinding disease and has been in pain for several days. I have one here too. Me, me, me. But, he's not a formal player. Upon learning that Chen Shen could treat the life-devouring bone grinding disease, the crowd around him became invigorated. But this was also inevitable. In a past life, someone had done a statistic on the white and yellow colored roulette. The probability of encountering life-devouring bone grinding disease was as high as 70%. And for the vast number of life-devouring players, these two colors were the most common and frequently drawn from, thus increasing the chances of drawing this affliction it would inevitably lead to a significant number of this group. Of course, I can cure it. Facing the excited crowd, Chen Shan spoke again, delivering a shot of adrenaline. But not right now. I still need to find some materials. When can you do it, River God? Yeah, this damned disease is killing me when it flares up. I feel like jumping into the river to be torn apart by those beasts. Exactly. It hurts so much. The life-devouring bone-grinding disease won't actually kill you but it can hurt to the point where you wish you were dead. Hence the name life-devouring. If we were to compare, it could be understood as a systemic toothache. And the level of pain is not something a toothache can compare to. Although Chen Chen had never experienced it, sometimes understanding a kind of pain doesn't require personal experience. Two to three days, at most a week. After that, you all come here to find me. By then, everyone will probably be busy. Upon hearing this, the crowd was also enlightened. Although they weren't quite sure what busy entailed, they could guess from some recent movements in Nine Dragon City that something big was about to happen. This matter was thus temporarily settled. However, upon returning to the camp, Chen Shen looked at the demon blade iron shattered tooth before him and couldn't help but fall into deep thought. What connection could there be in all this? If something bad were to happen after extracting this iron shattered tooth, it should have already begun, right? The young man pondered this, gradually feeling drowsy. From going to Jiangxin Island, then to the spirit realm, returning to Nine Dragon City, and experiencing everything today. He hadn't slept for four or five days. Physically he might not be tired, but mentally he was nearly at his limit. The iron shattered tooth was left beside him, and he didn't move again until he fell asleep. In the end, it was Zhu Lai who used magic to conjure a blanket for him. That night was very deep. The eternal frozen glacier. The Weilan of the Jinzi tribe. After hearing the report from a member of the Holy Beast Association, had already made up his mind. He looked up at the night sky, 
at the area where the clouds were relatively sparse. After a moment, the light points on his body lit up first, then the light point on his head followed, gradually forming a silver light map. The wheel of fate changes. The source of disturbance is determined. With one sentence, he sent it beyond the horizon. Hao Dian walked to his side and couldn't help but sigh softly. I said it was him, right? If the spirit realm gate is expanded earlier, with more pure spirit beings, he won't have time to grow. Waylon glanced at him but didn't speak immediately. Their tribe was inherently calm, considering more aspects than the Haoyan tribe. After a moment of thought, he said, since the data farming plan has been underway for billions of years, disturbances have occurred more than once. Should we open the spirit realm gate every time, reducing the final harvest to less than 30%? Haoyan replied, in the 305th year of Chen Lu, 1. 977 years of Tao, and 2. 229 years of Zhu Shi. All right, what's done is done. Why bring it up? Is there more? Do you need me to list them one by one? Wei Yang's calmness has thwarted Chang Zi's plans more than once. Wei Lan couldn't help but twitch the corner of her mouth. Anyone is fine, but you, Tong Chang, have no right to criticize me. Right. Shall we count how many times over these billions of years you've managed to bring the farm's harvest down to less than 30%? A hint of embarrassment flashed across Hao Yan's face, but he retorted, Isn't that better than creating useless beings that only drain resources? Exposing them to the grand rules, and then being unable to kill them, is that what makes you happy? Upon hearing this, Wei Lan's face showed some anger, but due to the nature of the branch family, it was hard for him to get truly furious. I'm not arguing with you, in any case, it's not too late to make amends now. Oh, by the time your message goes back and forth for 20 days, and then waits for Changzi's headquarters to make a decision, a month will have passed, right? By then, Wei Lan, let the Sacred Beast Association take action first. Is that all right? That's exactly what I've been waiting to hear. The next day, early morning, the 43rd day of arrival, in the tent, Chen Shen slowly woke up, but as he moved his right arm, he suddenly brushed against an unknown soft object. Immediately after MMM, the sound by his ear was like a little kitten suddenly awakened, murmuring, and then, MMM Oheyo, Ichikawa-san, Sigma, degree degree winky face. At this moment, though there was no sound, the expression was enough to depict the boy's confusion and shock. This, this, Zhu Zhu Zhu, Zhu Lai and I. What's wrong Zhu Lai rubbed her sleepy eyes, and as her elbow nudged Chen Chen, the white light in front of him swirled, accompanied by an indescribable warmth rising in his heart. This must be the feeling of warmth, right? But what are you doing? The boy forced himself to turn his head away, trying not to look too much. But honestly, this was a bit too stimulating for early morning. Fortunately, the situation did not continue to develop uncontrollably. After stretching, Zhu Lai put on her robe, tied her belt, and returned to a dignified and obedient posture. But the scene, reminiscent of a half-peeled red banana, could not be shaken off. Zhu Lai is sleepy. Sleepy? What kind of excuse is that? That doesn't mean. Isn't that comfortable? Besides, Ichikawa-san smells really good. Zhu Lai slept very peacefully and even had sweet dreams. Chen Chen was still stunned and silent. But the frog, who had watched the whole scene, spoke up first, third brother. So cunning. Having a body structure similar to the master means you can do whatever you want him. The spiritual energy flowing through daddy is very restless. Say one more word, and I'll roast you. Eek, frog meat is sour. Dragon meat is. No, it's bitter. What a coincidence. I actually like bitter melon. Isn't the taste of bitter bug similar? I'm a bit interested. Little Qinglong. Boss, is this the kind of life you used to live? Always on edge? The scheming frog, what else would you think? We need to add a dish of charcoal grilled frog as a side. Nabla asterisk, no, 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 master, bitter bugs are really delicious, why don't you give it a try? You definitely won't regret it. Little Qinglong, boss, I'm not human, but you have betrayed your own kind too. During this back and forth between the two pets and their master, Zhu Lai watched them with a smile, seemingly enjoying the warm atmosphere. However, this morning's farce came to an end with a decision made by Chen Chen after he got up, Taui. Here, a response came from outside the tent. Call them all over, we're heading to the spirit realm. Okay, because Chen Chen's decision was not hidden from anyone. Just before departure, the couple Yu Zhanfeng was already at the edge of the Jiulong city camp. You brat, 
you've only settled for two days and you're ready to go out again? In response to this, Chen Chen felt quite pleased, at this stage, I can't be of much help. Once the base city is established, the number of people afflicted with the bone-crushing disease will only increase. We have to find a way to solve it, right? Hearing this, Yu Zhanfeng fell silent. According to his preliminary statistics, one in every hundred people in Zhoulong City had this disease, which was indeed a bit excessive. Even Yun Wuwei spoke up, saying, it needs to be solved. The number of people with this disease in the north will only be greater than in the south. However, Chen Xiaoyu, is it enough for just you? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen also understood the underlying meaning in Yun Wuwei's words, Sister Long, you mean you want me to bring a few more people and train them, right? If it really involves too much, I won't force it. Yun Wuwei understood that everyone had their own secrets. Chen Chen's ability to treat the bone-crushing disease was one such secret. As long as he didn't speak of it, no one would ask. In this apocalyptic world, it was precisely people like him who needed to step forward to slowly change the world. Only then could humanity gradually restore its former glory. If they didn't get back on track, human society would eventually be devoured by tumors. Yun Wuwei's attitude, although it seemed a bit cunning, Chen Chen appreciated this approach. He was the kind of person who repaid kindness with kindness and resentment with resentment. Simply put, it was everyone for me, I for everyone. However, some things had to be said up front, the spirit world is very dangerous. Yun Wu Yi replied, when the bone-crushing disease descended, the cloud army did everything they could to protect them, and they were already prepared to sacrifice themselves for humanity. I don't think there's a more suitable moment for them. They, yes. Even in a survival of the fittest scenario, some weak meat still has value in protection. The young man fell silent for a moment and then said, following me could lead to total annihilation. Yun Wuli was even more carefree, staying by my side also carries that possibility. Besides, why don't you ask for their opinions? As soon as she finished speaking, several young people in camouflage uniforms stepped out resolutely from the crowd behind them. There were eight of them, both male and female. Chuan Shen. We are not afraid of death. The eight spoke in unison. It was hard to say what prompted them to call out Chuan Shen, but at that moment, the loyalty in the Xiaoji Tianyan was undeniable. Chen Chen smiled, genuinely happy. Indeed, it's not easy to distort one's worldview when staying with you. While everyone was puzzled, they heard him say, since you're not afraid of death, then get in the car and find a spot for yourselves. After saying that, a wooling van without a roof landed with a thud. Following that, Taui also took out gasoline from his spatial ring and began pouring it in with a clatter. Despite his rough movements, not a single drop of oil spilled. Seeing this scene, the eight were left dumbfounded. Sit. Sit in this? Sit? Shouldn't you consider? Squatting? Squatting is even less spacious than standing. At that moment, a girl with two braided pigtails suddenly exclaimed, If this car is carrying so many people, the traffic police won't stop us, right? Ha! Huh? Everyone seemed to be struck by lightning, momentarily stunned. Only Dongfan Yanyan's eyes lit up, as if she had found her organization. I've wanted to ask that question for a long time too. Chen Chen pinched his fingers at the acupoint. Well, regardless of whether we get stopped by the police, is there anyone here who can treat mental illness? Yunwui, you have a way to deal with the bone-crushing syndrome, so you must have a way to handle intermittent neural disorder, right? I'll leave it to you. Chen Chen, do you really think of me as a doctor? At the edge of the Nine Dragon City camp, the Wuling Shen Che, now without a roof, ended up crammed with 16 people, including the driver Chen Chen, Chen Chen's team of 7, plus Zhu Lai and the research team of 8, 5 men and 3 women. Looking at the fully packed Shen Che, someone in the crowd suddenly spoke up, this is how a Shen Che should look, just as he finished speaking, Chen Chen at the driver's seat felt a surge of spiritual energy in his feet and his souls were already pressing down on the accelerator. Yun Wuyi looked up, feeling an odd familiarity. The next moment, she instantly realized, no way, is it, spirit drive? Chen Chen at the driver's seat clearly heard this voice and then chuckled, that's exactly what it is. After saying that, the boy stomped on the accelerator with his right foot, his face brimming with childlike joy, Wuling Shen Che, transform, click. The sound of pure mechanical latches suddenly echoed followed by the mechanical balance wings that unfolded on both sides of the Wuling Shinche. Immediately, the gasoline engine of the Shinche roared to life, and as the speed reached about 70 kilometers per hour, 
A faint spiritual blow appeared at the rear end of the mechanical balance wings. Yet, under the conflicting forces of exhaust and spiritual energy, the Wuling Shinche slowly lifted off the ground, and once it was completely airborne, an incredibly strong spiritual force propelled it to a tiny black dot. Everyone below, the silent shock lasted for several seconds. W, W, O, 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 what the hell? Sigma, degree degree winky face it's a flying? Shen Che. This is a Shen Che. Wait, can your Wuling fly? Yunlui, this kid keeps surprising me more and more. Just as she finished speaking, she turned to Yu Zhanfeng. When will you give me a surprise too? The soldiers around them exchanged teasing glances at Yu Zhanfeng. A few words seemed to convey everything. Yu Zhanfeng, hashtag. You all think you're so tough. Ha, huh? jump into the river. Today's monster kill count better break 10,000, or I'll make you train your legs to the point of exhaustion. Wait, why is it always us training our legs? 20,000. Who the hell is being mouthy? Drag him out and beat him until his mother doesn't recognize him. Sigh no choice. We'll use punishment. The flying wooling Shinche took everyone into a whirlwind, especially the research team who had never experienced such excitement, each feeling as if they were floating ahead while their souls lagged behind it's the end of the world. And there's still a roller coaster to ride? No, this is way faster than a roller coaster. As for why the Shinche could fly? The answer is of course the spirit drive aircraft that Chen Chen obtained from the first kill gift pack. This thing doesn't restrict its shape. As long as there are the corresponding parts and a spirit drive array, it can be realized. It's not too difficult to manufacture. Using the time it took to find the team with Taui, Chen Chen modified it. He he, awesome. From the edge of the Nine Dragon City camp to the previous location of entering the spirit world on Jiangxin Island, it wasn't far, but while in the air, Chen Chen still had to be careful to avoid the airborne beasts. Because of the ultrasonic beast drive tower, these airborne beasts, which usually don't see many humans, were quite interested in them. However, at this moment, the combat power on the vehicle was anything but weak. Almost none of the ferocious beasts that dared to approach survived. The journey had been thrilling yet safe, and they flew to the location everyone desired. When the Jiangxin Island appeared not far ahead, no one knew that the thrilling adventure had already begun at that moment. The boy driving released the accelerator, stopped the flow of spiritual energy, and then spoke, prepare to collect the vehicle. Everyone hold on tight. Upon hearing Chen Chen's voice, everyone was momentarily taken aback. The first to regain composure was Tao Yi. Um, Chuan Shen, does collecting the vehicle mean putting it back into the spatial ring? What else would you think? No, Chuan Gu, don't take your hands off the steering wheel. Dong Fang Gao Bao exclaimed in shock, only to suddenly realize, ha, huh? why is my foot empty? Shang Tian Xiang, is it possible? that our feet are all empty. Oh my gosh, are we really collecting the vehicle? He he he. With a chuckle, Chen Chen had already grabbed one of the disheveled researchers in the wind. Let's treat this as an opening show. I'm picking that girl with the braided hair. Let's go. As his voice fell, everyone felt that they were missing someone in the middle. Ah the girl with the braided hair exclaimed, forget the roller coaster. There's also the drop tower. Wind breath of nature. After Chen Chen, Zhu Lai also chose one of the women, taking her hand and descending with the wind. For an elemental mage, this was merely the simplest wind magic. Little Zhu Lai didn't even bother to comment on Chen Chen's actions. Following closely, Shi Xiaoyu also moved, seemingly unwilling to be outdone by Zhu Lai. After choosing the last woman, a faint black light erupted beneath her feet. Shadow escaped from the shadows. Fulu, as the delicate voice fell, the two women directly vanished into midair. If one looked closely, they had actually slipped into the shadows of Zhu Lai and the other girl ahead, under the sunlight. In a flash, they had already reached the ground of Jiangxin Island. The female researcher she was holding was still in shock. Her cheeks splattered with fresh blood. This was because the place they emerged from was the shadow of a ferocious beast. Ha! Ha! At this moment, the female researcher still wore a face of shock and even a hint of dazed fear. Because this scene reminded her of the chaotic and terrifying world when Devourer had just descended. At this instant, the others in the sky also began to act. They couldn't just stand still. Could they? They were all falling down. Hexagram shield formation. Taui pulled out a steel shield. Forming the array. And each hand grabbed a researcher. I can take two. You all can split the rest. Meanwhile, Shang Tianxiang also sprang into action. The great sword on his back was quickly placed at his feet. Wind control sword technique. 
rising with the wind. He also grabbed two researchers, Wuhu riding the wind. The last remaining researcher was held by Dongfang Yenyan, who then turned her back to the ground. Hey, sorry little brother, my method is clumsy. I'll be your cushion, male researcher, degree A degree, huh? No way? Ah, after she Xiaoyu, the second to land was the Dongfang Biao Biao who acted as a cushion. This guy was sturdy and had some defense, so falling from a height wouldn't hurt too much. The deducted health would recover in a while. Following closely, Tao Yi, still operating the hexagram shield formation, landed and directly smashed several ferocious beasts into a pulp. Phew! Exciting! Haha <laughs> male researchers A and B, not exciting at all. Although they weren't harmed, what difference does it make to have walked through the gates of hell? After Tao Yi, Ling Feng and Tang Bei both landed gracefully on their own. Perhaps it was due to always being next to Chen Chen, but their luck was better than before, as they both drew movement skills in succession. Then it was Chen Chen's turn, as he fell freely. A bolt of lightning suddenly surged from beneath his feet as he neared the ground, drilling into the earth. He used this repulsive force to gradually lower his height until he finally landed. Wow, you really are like a drop tower, aren't you? The girl researcher with braided hair felt dizzy. Her vision filled with stars, and she nearly retched from the little food she had eaten that morning. But to be fair, Chen Chen's maneuver did resemble those drop towers in amusement parks before the apocalypse. It really felt like that, right? Free falling and then suddenly stopping just before hitting the ground, before slowly descending. After Chen Chen, Shang Tian Xiang, with both feet on a large sword, glided down with a shout of woohoo, along with the two men. He looked quite handsome. But the two male researchers had their faces blown out of shape, feeling their cheeks numb and their legs trembling. The most comfortable experience, however, belonged to the female researcher A sent down by Zhu Lai. The entire process could be summed up in one word, elegance. Seeing the content expression on female researcher A's face, all the other researchers shot her resentful glances, wishing time could turn back, wishing they had been chosen by Zhu Lai. Okay, everyone is here. After looking around, Chen Chen smiled. Those who can't fight, move in closer. Those who can, prepare to clear the area. With that, a silver long spear appeared in the boy's hand at Shenhai Longin Spear Pro. Shenhai Longin Spear Pro, forged from the remains of a dragon buried in the earth. Tempered and crafted with Chunli Mine Essence and refined through 77 times of heavenly lightning, when swung, it emits the sound of a dragon's roar. Level restriction, level 27 and above, base attributes, strength plus 32. Attack speed plus 21%, crafting quality, purple. Excellent, if you ask where the materials came from? Of course, it was from the roulette. Chen Chen wasn't idle enough to mine, and besides, Xinli Mine Essence could only be produced in environments with constant thunderstorms. On Earth, it could only be found in the West Wind Thunder Valley of that absolute beast domain. Since obtaining the refiner's secondary profession, Chen Chen has made full use of it, showcasing its potential to the fullest. The spear crackled with lightning. As the boy took a swift step forward, the darting lightning traced countless end shapes through the beast horde, claiming the lives of fierce beasts, whether from the sides or the corners. Among them were also some spirit beasts whose skills had been sealed. Clearly, the debuff from last time was still in effect. Seeing the boy start to kill, the others were not polite and launched their attacks. Now, with Ling Feng, Tang Bei, and Sheng Tianxian providing ranged support, Along with elemental mage Zhu Lai, Chen Chen could freely engage in close combat. Shooting birds with a slingshot was exhilarating, but it was nowhere near the thrill of close quarters combat. Of course, this was also because the current situation wasn't dire, otherwise, Chen Chen's strongest attack would have to rely on ranger tactics. Thus, the fierce beasts on the island initially felt nothing, but as more familiar attack methods appeared, the fear imprinted deep in their genes surged forth. The group of fierce beasts finally recalled the days dominated by slaughter. The momentum that had once surged forward gradually came to a halt. As the killing ceased, the bloodshed remained, and the eight in the center of the island became figures of death in the eyes of the fierce beasts, no longer daring to approach even a step. Seeing this, the young man sheathed his gun and ran to the center of the earthen slope, crouching down to deliver a thunderous punch. Boom! In the aftermath of the sound, a huge pit appeared on the ground. The very same hole where the little azure dragon was discovered last time. Then, the young man took a light leap down, a flash of light flickering between his fingers, and the entire Jiangxin island shook with a loud bang. 
The source of this commotion was none other than the gate to the spirit world. The last time he could access the spirit world was thanks to the golden Aichen Diao, and this time he had to rely on himself. The reason for choosing this place was that Jiangxin Island was the projection point of the spirit world on earth. No one knew what lay beyond the gate to the spirit world. It had existed for hundreds of billions of years, and who could fathom its vastness? Therefore, it was necessary to choose a possible landing point. What if he ended up in an extremely dangerous place? This was also the reason why Chen Chen couldn't guarantee he could protect the eight researchers before setting off. On Earth, it didn't matter, with his combat power, he could handle it completely. As for the threat of the UNZ, the incident with his senior sister Tong Huiqing showed that they probably couldn't directly interfere with Earth's development, which could be attributed to the irresistible rules. Thus, they resorted to controlling Tong Huiqing with mental power to attack him. If they could directly interfere, wouldn't it be easier to take action themselves? A pure gold carved archway, about a hundred inches tall, stood at an angle within the cave, with a faint glow shimmering between the door frames. At the curved part of the intersection shaped door, there was a circular groove. Undoubtedly, that was the place to embed the key to the spirit world. I'm not quite sure what will happen next. So everyone, get ready. Upon hearing this, a hint of confusion appeared on everyone's faces, but based on their trust in Chen Chen, they nodded in agreement. The next moment, Chen Chen let out a long breath and took out the key to the spirit world from his spatial ring. To his surprise, as the faint light flickered, the key to the spirit world had not yet landed in the young man's hand when it flew ahead like a returning swallow towards the circular groove at the top of the gate to the spirit world. In mid-air, only trails of lightning-like energy remained. Kong. This sound seemed to directly increase the weight of the gate to the spirit world, causing the archway, which had already sunk partially into the ground, to sink further. But at the same time, a whirlpool appeared in the center of the glowing waves. Then, please note, the spirit world passage will open in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The passage is now open. When the five large characters appeared before Chen Chen's eyes, the whirlpool inside the gate to the spirit world completely vanished, replaced by a deep, dark passage. At the same time, a faint pulling force emerged within the cave, just like how a whirlpool in the sea would draw in surrounding water. The soil and air around the passage were being swept in. It was as if the existence of this passage was a conduit between two worlds. Get ready, the real adventure is just beginning. With that, the young man didn't wait for anyone else to respond and leaped into the passage disappearing in an instant. Right behind him was Zhu Lai, her knees slightly bent to prevent her skirt from flying up. At the same time, two female researchers were helped down by a gust of wind she summoned. The others, seeing this, showed no hesitation on their faces, having followed Chen Chen for these days, they had gained some courage. Taui reached out to pull the male researcher AB. He he, here we go again. Asterisk. Oh no way. Not again? No. 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 I, I, I'll jump myself. No time, let's go. Hey, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, in less than half a minute. The more than 10 people who had been gathered around the cave had all disappeared without a trace. Boom. After passing through the spirit realm gate, the only sound left in Chen Chen's ears was this one. Before long, he felt a shift in the light before his eyes, and a familiar yet strange scene appeared before him. Looking around, the first thing that caught his eye was a vast, boundless grassland where the sky and horizon intertwined in an irregular manner. Resembling a distant painting, on the grassland, the undulating earth mounds rose and fell. A winding river flowed like a silver ribbon, bursting forth from the distant sky, cascading down like an exploded ink wash. The water was crystal clear, reflecting the blue sky and white clouds along the banks, with a few wildflowers occasionally falling into the water, drifting with the current, adding a touch of poetry and romance. If one were to only look at the scenery, this place would indeed be quite suitable as a destination for a journey. Without the mist, it really is quite beautiful. Chen Chen now had a total of 111 points of spirit energy, including the Shumi sword sheath, and could determine the area he was in just by the spirit energy he absorbed into his body. Of course, this came with the premise that he had been here before. There was no doubt that this premise included the area he was currently in. The young man did not linger in the beauty of the scene for long when a wave of fluctuations came from behind him, revealing that the remaining dozen or so people had followed closely behind. Fortunately, 
This spirit realm gate didn't play any ridiculous random teleportation tricks, they exited from where they entered, and the 16-member team remained clustered together. As soon as they arrived and beheld the vast grassland without the mist, everyone in the team felt a sense of refreshment. After regaining their composure, Taui stepped forward and asked, Chuan Shen, where to next? Chin Shen turned to look westward, his mind recalling the corresponding locations of each ingredient for the revitalizing bone elixir. White bone sword orchid, spirit plant, the rhizome is rough and straight like bone, with fine, tough spines, and has a pattern of rice brown interspersed flowers, the leaves are sword like, and the flowers are like ears. Hence the name White Bone Sword Orchid. Detailed description This flower is often found in the desolate sandy lands west of the spirit realm, with miraculous effects for nurturing and strengthening bones, and there is only one within 10 miles. Ghostly grass, spirit plant, the rhizome is tender and black. Often accompanied by fluff, the leaves are round, and the whole plant is only about a foot tall. It is said that this grass originates from the Nine Nether, connecting to the ghostly but not being ghostly. Detailed description. Therefore, the spirit plant connects to the ghostly, often found in places rich in dark elements, seen throughout the spirit realm. Consuming it can connect the heart to the ghostly realm, calming souls and strengthening the spirit. Seven Leaf Dragon's Saliva, Spirit Plant, the rhizome is as thick as an arm, difficult to grasp with one hand, tough as iron, suspected to be a spirit plant that grows alongside the heart bone of a dragon's tomb, with only seven leaves, and only the flower's nectar can be used in medicine. Detailed description. There are countless dragon tombs in the spirit realm, but all are to the north, if one needs to find it, they can head north, consuming this nectar can strengthen the body and prolong life, a great tonic for those recovering from long illnesses. 9-foot stone essence, spirit ore, or essence, the spirit realm is vast, with countless spirit veins, and beneath the veins, there are often natural passages, some 1 or 2 feet, others 8 or 9 feet. But only within the nine-foot stone bellows beneath the vein is this essence found, detailed description, there are thousands of spirit veins, but only those with fate can find it, consuming this stone essence has the effect of strengthening and nurturing bones, and if combined with the body forging flame spring, the effect is even greater, body forging flame spring, spirit ore, or essence, this spring is not that spring, it resembles water but is fire, fire like water. Hot yet not scalding, using this spring for body forging has excellent effects, detailed description, this spring is accompanied by geothermal fire, born from spirit energy, often found in underground magma areas, let's head west, there are too many ingredients needed, we should find them one by one, after determining the direction, the team immediately set off, heading west, with the first target naturally being the white bone sword orchid, however, the phrase, the desolate sandy lands to the west, was enough to keep the team searching for quite a while. All they could see were lawns and earth mounds. Where was the desolate sandy land? Fortunately, they were not completely reliant on their legs. After observing the surrounding environment for a moment, Chen Chen waved his hand and scattered some light points. The instant they left the spatial ring, these light points quickly returned to their original form. They were surprisingly, disc-like objects resembling surfboards? narrow at the front and wide at the back, with a folded edge around them. The rest of the area was almost flat, but both sides were covered in intricate patterns. River God. What is this? Spirit-driven flying devices. Using them is just like surfing. One for each of us. Heading west. West, are you going to seek scriptures? The researcher with braided hair blurted out without thinking after hearing this. The remaining 14 people were all speechless. Why 14? You ask? Need I say more? River God, you can't be serious about seeking scriptures, right? The fourteen were once again at a loss for words. Chen Chen, how about you two get married on the spot? The wedding might not happen, but a fifty-second token of affection shouldn't be a problem. Good suggestion. Each one San I think it's fine too. I second that. Congratulations on your marriage what about the drinks? We can't celebrate this joyous occasion without a couple of cups? Ha ha ha, may you have a son soon. A perfect pair. Oh Dong Fang Yen Yen, you guys are too much. Ahem. This little interlude passed quickly. The operation difficulty of the spirit-driven flying devices was indeed not high. And in just a moment, everyone had learned the basics. Then, they all took to the sky, leaving trails of spiritual light as they headed west. Earth. Eternal frozen glacier. On the glass screen that was constantly monitoring the disturbance, several red dots had not moved for a while and the virtual map showed the location of Jiangshin Island. Strange, 
He rarely felt suspicious and sent a message to his subordinates. The Holy Beast Society coordinates one asterisk, nine star. Send a small team to check the situation. Just observe from the periphery. Report immediately if anything happens. A quick response came from the other side. Understood. Last time it was here too. Could there be something fishy? A hint of contemplation crossed Hao Yan's face. Yu Elan, the last disturbance intensified after we were here, right? Surprising. You actually learned to think. Yu Elan looked at him with a half smile, her face showing a bit of father's relief at his foolish son finally getting it. Hao Yan, hashtag. In the spirit realm, above the endless prairie. Chen Shen's team had been flying on the spirit-driven flying devices for an unknown amount of time, yet they were still hovering over the prairie area, feeling as if they were racing on a highway before the apocalypse. The scenery was almost unchanged, and the speed was so fast it exceeded human reaction. Of course, the latter part didn't quite fit the current group, anyone with a bit of mental attributes wouldn't be too slow in reaction. And while following Chen Chen, the team members would receive a few pointers during their upgrades. As they flew, Everyone gazed at the unchanging beauty of the prairie, which, while stunning, was somewhat numbing, but suddenly, spread out to the sides. Don't hesitate. The one who shouted was none other than Chen Chen, positioned at the center of the team, with the equally quick-reacting Shang Tianxiang flying to his right. Almost as soon as the words left his mouth, Shang Tianxiang abruptly braked and darted to the right. With his lead, the other three also veered out. The situation on Chen Chen's side was roughly the same. Just as the team transformed from a V shape into a V formation, something suddenly burst through the ground in the middle of the V. This massive creature had a circular mouth filled with sharp teeth, and around the edge of its mouth, there was an incredibly dense layer of white fangs extending outward. The sudden attack was indeed extremely fast, as if it happened in the blink of an eye. But when it's long, worm-like body burrowed out of the ground. It missed hitting anyone due to the already changed formation of the small team. With a failed strike, it dove back down, leaving only an intersection shape in its place. However, you think you can leave after ambushing us? Special. The frog that was packed into the slingshot? Wait. Master, and yeah, the only thought in the frog's mind as it was flung out was a single phrase. Or rather MMP, people cannot, at least should not, treat frogs like this. But shouting aside, when it got close, the frog still used its newly mastered skill, Ice Hammer Explosion. Countless ice crystal spikes rapidly formed after the frog cast its spell, creating an overall shape like a meteor hammer made of ice. And the landing point of this ice block was the back end of the long worm's intersection shape. Bang! The explosion of ice attributes resonated in an instant. Immediately after, the area within 10 meters of the explosion point was instantly encased in solid ice. Whether it was the grass or the long worm that had burrowed into the ground, everything came to a standstill at that moment, leaving only the frog, which still glowed with blue fluorescence, on top of the solid ice. In the next moment, the frog transformed into a gust of azure wind, using a gentle breeze to blow itself back onto Chin Chen's shoulder. It was just like that saying, no matter how many times you mistreat me, I will still treat you like my first love. Stinky master. Bad master. Stupid master. Next, next time, next time what? Asterisk, next time, use my hands. On the other side, the little green dragon seemed to suddenly understand. Its eyes spinning as it thought, this must be the boss's way of survival, right? Learned it, learned it back to the point. Although the effect of ice hammer explosion was shocking, the damage wasn't particularly high, not enough to take down the long worm in one hit. However, Chen Chen wasn't aiming for something so lofty. What he wanted was merely in frostbite abnormal state, ice hammer explosion evolved from ice spike fall, and the duration of frostbite could last up to 8 seconds. At this moment, the long worm's attribute panel also popped up in front of Chen Chen, named Endless Shadow Worm Rank, Elite Level, 31 Attributes, Earth, Dark Blood Chi, 98, 766 slash 99, 630 Strength, 314 Spirit, 46 Defense, 157 Speed, 39 skills, magic earth devour, dark flow hell combat power, 3, 776. In terms of combat power, the frog was slightly inferior to this endless shadow worm, but just looking at both sides spirit attributes, the latter had to suffer this loss, the layer of solid ice on it was the best proof. However, in just a short moment, the endless shadow worm shattered the ice layer with brute force. Of course, the frost that had entered its body was not so easily smoothed out. And that was also the root cause of the frostbite. 
Altogether, take advantage of its illness to take its life. When frostbitten, it couldn't move, and after it was lifted, its defense would drop by 15%. If it couldn't quickly raise its body temperature with spiritual power to ease the frostbite, this weakened effect would persist. However, as Chen Chen finished speaking, Zhu Lai from another spirit-driven flying device seemed to understand something, her slender arms gracefully extending, and a wooden staff suddenly appeared in her hand, ice great snow without trace, with her delicate shout, the wooden staff in her hand seemed to draw upon the ice elements of the world, quickly sketching an ice blue circle on the ground, the speed was so fast that the endless shadow worm couldn't react at all, following that, a sky full of frost rapidly descended from above the ice blue circle, intensifying the frostbite on the endless shadow worm, while those that didn't hit it vanished into the earth, leaving no trace, truly deserving of its name, great snow without trace, Zhu Lai, well done, seeing this scene, Chen Chen couldn't help but praise, with this ice formation in place, regardless of the damage, at least the frostbite effect could last longer, he he, a piece of cake everyone, let's go, a mere level 31 spirit beast indeed couldn't pose much of a hindrance to the team, not to mention the debuff from Frostbite. Even with the dual attributes of Earth and Dark and some powerful skills, they still had to be used effectively, right? With Zhu Lai setting up the formation to maintain Frostbite and Wawa Wa binding it with Vine Whip, the alternating control and attacks could even make an iron tree feel like it was about to break. In less than a minute, this poor creature that launched a surprise attack was completely annihilated. He he, pack up, let's move on. As the team advanced, they naturally wouldn't miss the materials from the endless ghost hound. After all, the quality of materials from pure spirit beasts was never too shabby. Whether it was the skin or bones, they all had their uses. Chen Shen was too lazy to dissect it and simply stored the whole head in his spatial ring. It was just right for the final inspection. After all, living creatures couldn't be stored. After that, everyone set off westward once again. Compared to Earth? The intelligence of the creatures in the spirit realm was evidently higher. After witnessing the tragic death of the endless ghost hound, the disturbances from behind had noticeably decreased. There were a few that seemed eager to move, but upon seeing the spirit light spraying beneath everyone's feet, they wisely kept their distance. However, the vastness of the spirit realm could indeed be described as exaggerated. The group flew across the grassland for several hours before finally catching sight of the shadow of the desert on the distant horizon a distance that was hard to quantify. At this point, some might wonder, with such a vast spirit realm, how could it be filled with only low-level monsters? What about high-level spirit beasts? High-level spirit beasts certainly existed, but they almost never appeared in the direction the team was currently heading, a fact that Chen Shen learned from the Golden Aishindiao. The other team members were also aware of this. The reason was simple, since the birth of the chronological universe, the spirit realm has existed its vastness beyond measure, being the source of spiritual energy. However, even so, the concentration of spiritual power in various parts of the spirit realm was not uniform. Just like in the chronological universe, the number of stars and planets couldn't possibly be the same everywhere. It's the same principle. Where there is density, there is thinness. Where there is high, there is low. This is natural. The world is like this, and so is the universe. High-level spirit beasts naturally require areas with higher concentrations to survive. The last time, the Golden Eye Shindiao mentioned that the endless grassland was on the very edge, where the concentration of spiritual power was only enough to nurture spirit beasts of levels 20 to 30 at most. Reaching level 40 was already the limit. If it weren't for this, Chen Chen wouldn't lead the team boldly through this area. Although they could see the distant horizon, it still took them over 10 minutes on their spirit drive flying device to reach the desolate area. Tao Yi, with the lowest mental attribute, was almost running out of spiritual power. The formula for calculating spiritual power is mental plus level, asterisk 100, thus, the lower the mental attribute, the less spiritual power. Chuan Shen, how much longer until we arrive? Chen Chen, also in a resting state, couldn't help but smile. I say we're almost there. Do you believe me? Taui had a retort on the tip of his tongue since we've come this far. How could I believe it? However, at that moment, the girl researcher with braided hair took out a relatively exquisite glass bottle from her spatial ring. She was the only one among the eight researchers with a level. However, due to not frequently hunting monsters, she was only at level 11, far behind the pace of the main group. Sister Jiolian, 
Are you planning to collect soil? Another female researcher, seeing the girl with braids step forward, took a few steps closer to ask. Yes, it's not easy to come here. Don't you want to take some back for research? Kai Julian did not look back, but the glass bottle in her hand, now filled with soil, left her feeling somewhat conflicted. Kai Julian comes from a comment section post, provided by an old fan from the second year of middle school. A silly sand sculpture other great authors are also welcome to contribute characters for me to copy. Cough. I mean, use, he he he. After pondering for a moment, she suddenly mumbled. It's the end of the world. I'm not on earth anymore. So the law of conservation of mass doesn't need to be followed. Right. Or maybe, the scope of the law of conservation of mass can be slightly expanded. Hmm. It should be possible. With these words, Kai Jolian disregarded everyone else and directly opened the glass bottle, pouring out the soil she had taken from who knows where on earth. Just at that moment, puff, puff, the earth sand that spilled onto the ground seemed to be affected by the gravity of the spirit world, sinking down. After two soft sounds, suddenly bang, the loud noise came as the sunken area reached a diameter of over three meters. To think, that was just a cup of sand less than the size of a fist? No matter how dense or exaggerated the mass. Could it be that the ground of the spirit world is made of cotton? Everyone witnessing this scene. Q Q. What the hell? All the researchers exclaimed. Lavoisier does not deceive me. Now do you understand why the law of conservation of mass is called a law? No time to marvel. Everyone stay away from here. The one speaking was Chen Shen. The others had never seen such a scene. But he had. Wasn't this just like the scene when the gate of the spirit world was constructing the passage to the spirit world? A note. The gate of the spirit world was opened by Chin Chen, and he has the authority to allow or deny passage. And indeed, within less than a minute, the spot where Kai Julian poured the earth soil had expanded to a diameter of 5 meters. This big pit could easily fit an elephant inside. This, this, completely bewildered. Kai Julian stood frozen, she just wanted to take some soil. Did the iron law have to warn her like this? Didn't humans bring lunar soil back from earth without issue? Perhaps the materials of the two worlds have formed a connection, the other side of this passage should be earth. After a simple analysis, the boy asked again, where did you get that cup of soil from? He was naturally asking Kai Julian, Mariana Trench, wah, where? Chen Chen began to doubt his hearing, but why? Is it dry? It was dried. Chen Chen felt a lump in his throat, unable to spit it out, if you took soil from the sea. Shouldn't you preserve its research viability by keeping it in seawater? Did you dive down to get a cup of wet soil and then dry it on the shore? Aye. If he were a complaining alien, his hair would probably be standing on end by now. And just at that moment, a large amount of deep blue seawater surged into the spatial passage. The immense negative pressure caused the seawater to erupt like a fountain. Chen Chen felt his head spinning, it really was as he guessed. Wherever the soil was taken from, that was the connection point and the spatial passage opened there too. If she had taken magma from somewhere, then, but now that it had come to this, Tao E, go through this opening and send a message back to the dragon head, telling them to keep an eye on this side. The passages on both sides had formed, and the openings were not small, they were enough for some spirit beasts, which were still a disaster for humans at this stage, to sneak over and cause some destruction. Moreover, no one knew if the emergence of the new gate of the spirit world would attract the attention of those more powerful beings, or if they would take an interest in earth. Okay. Deeply aware of the seriousness of the situation, Taui did not dare to delay at this moment. He had the strongest defense in the team, and this task could only be handled by him. With a decisive leap, Taui plunged into the fountain, disappearing from sight. However, the situation on the spirit realm side had not completely spiraled out of control. Although the opposite side was the deepest trench on earth, the scale of the spirit realm was still larger than before. Shortly after the fountain erupted, a base circular array embedded with a six-pointed star descended from the sky above the passage, seemingly uninvited. Immediately, this array aimed at the space above the fountain and suddenly pressed down. Once the height was restricted, the erupting water column spread outwards. By this time, a large amount of seawater had already soaked the desolate ground creating the potential for a lake. In that water, some native ferocious beasts from Earth swam about, constantly observing this brand new world from their perspective. Taui had not been gone long when he leaped out of the water, drenched, and a surfboard-shaped spirit-driven flying device appeared beneath his feet. How's the situation? 
Hearing Chen Chen's question, Tao Yi nodded. We've made contact, but they're busy organizing personnel over there. It will probably take a few days before they can spare some energy. The boy sighed lightly upon hearing this, it seems that if the things from Earth are carelessly left here, it will create a spatial passage connecting the two realms. Everyone still needs to be cautious. His words were naturally directed more towards Kai Jolian and the others. The members of his own team had already formed a tacit understanding, they had a general idea of what could and couldn't be done. Faced with an established spatial passage, there was little they could do. They could only be on guard. As they spoke, the six-pointed star array in the sky pressed down completely, and the immense pressure caused the surrounding ground to rise slightly. The seawater that surged in through the spatial passage gradually formed an artificial saltwater lake due to these raised edges. The entire process took less than three minutes. To be able to change the terrain like this, shortly after the saltwater lake formed, a buzzing sound suddenly echoed from the sky, you little brats, you come without saying a word. As the voice faded, a beam of golden light swept by, and moments later, clouds and mist enveloped the area where the team was located, followed by the descent of a dragon's head with golden eyes. Without a doubt, the visitor was the golden-eyed Shindao dragon. However, upon the appearance of the dragon's head, it was the research team, who had never seen such a sight, that was first struck with shock. My god, a dragon, it's really a dragon, there really is a dragon, the ancients did not deceive me. This, is a five-clawed golden dragon? Compared to the astonishment of these people, Chen Chen, who had seen the world, Thought of another point, the formation of the spatial passage indeed attracted the attention of some powerful beings. This thought echoed in the boy's mind. And thus, of course it will. If we're not careful, the still budding earth might be torn to pieces by various powerful beings. Some of them are not as reasonable as I am. The golden eyed Shindao dragon clearly read Chen Chen's thoughts and spoke them out loud without reservation. What should we do? At this point, Chen Chen was too lazy to dwell on whether it was mind reading or not. Nor did he want to shirk responsibility, he just wanted to solve the problem. This attitude calmed the golden eyed Shindao dragon's mood, whether appreciating Chun Chen's demeanor or contemplating countermeasures, or both. After a while, this area is closest to me. As long as I cover it well, I won't be discovered. But if others are intent on finding me, it's hard to guarantee they won't notice the restrictions I've set. What is the likelihood of that? Chen Chen's question clearly referred to the four words others are intent, but the golden-eyed Shenlong shook its head and said, It's hard to say, but with the will of my lord, those who are intent will behave themselves a lot more. After saying this, the golden-eyed Shenlong also fell silent. This statement was double-edged, on one hand, it informed Chen Chen that it could be concealed without issue, on the other hand, it warned him that this required the spirit master to operate. Wasn't this just urging him? to follow the agreed-upon procedures and not abandon the spirit world halfway. Then I will trouble the spirit master. After understanding the other party's meaning, Chen Chen clasped his hands and faced the sky, saying a word, although he received no response. This world belonged to the spirit master, so how could he not know? With the goal achieved, the golden-eyed Shenlong smiled slightly. Originally, the spirit world was in a passive state, but now, at least there was a bit of initiative which could also be said to be a mutual benefit. Speaking of which, what are you little ones here for this time? Hearing the golden-eyed Shenlong's words, Chen Shen did not keep it a secret and directly stated the purpose of collecting materials for the reviving soul and healing bone pill. However, after hearing this, a look of surprise appeared on the dragon's face in the air. He he, to ensure the continuation of the era, he really does respond to every request. Respond to every request? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but recall the scene when he drew the complete solution to the devouring life and grinding bone syndrome, wasn't it that the hidden rewards emerged because there were needs among the onlookers? Could it be that the hidden rewards were what the golden-eyed Shenlong referred to as responding to every request? This possibility couldn't be ruled out. The prescription you mentioned has existed for at least over 200 billion years. What do you think? The golden-eyed Shenlong smiled as it spoke, and as far as I know, the dosage of the medicinal materials in that prescription has already been lost, right? Chen Chen was momentarily speechless, too. Over 200 billion. This was years. Not money, right? Money was already an astronomical figure, let alone years. Compared to this, what were 5,000-year-old antiques? Then, the golden-eyed Shenlong seemed to have guessed what Chen Chen wanted to ask and directly said. Useful. Of course it's useful. When this prescription first appeared, 
it also caused quite a stir. As long as it's useful. The dragon's gaze shifted, if you're interested, I can send someone to collect the materials. As for you, it's better to stay here obediently. Upon hearing this, the young man could only nod in agreement, not knowing the other party's intentions. Their original purpose was to collect the medicinal materials needed for the reviving soul and healing bone pill while exploring the spirit world. But now, due to unforeseen circumstances, it seemed that plan had gone awry. As the cause of the incident, Kai Jolian felt a bit guilty, but those big eyes seemed to be thinking of something else, and the slight fluctuations of spiritual power swirling around her fingertips appeared somewhat strange. Although the five types of materials were rare, the golden-eyed Shenlong knew the structure of the spirit world well. Shortly after giving the order, portals began to appear around them. Indeed, they were subordinates coming to deliver materials. Seeing this scene, Chen Chen felt a bit envious, one by one. They tore open the portals and came through. In comparison, they seemed a bit foolishly cute. All the materials are here. Enough for you to tinker with for a while. After consolidating all the materials into a spatial ring, the golden-eyed Shenlong gently pushed with its dragon claw, sending it to Chen Chen. However, looking at the spatial ring before him, Chen Chen was thinking of something else. Senior, how are spatial rings made? Aren't you stating the obvious? The golden-eyed Shenlong chuckled, naturally. It's made by compressing a piece of space into a small ring using spatial power. Then, how can one learn spatial power? Your curiosity is quite heavy, isn't it? The golden-eyed Shen Dragon glanced at him and said, Some things are still too early for you. When the time comes, you will naturally come into contact with them. Upon hearing this, the young man reached out and took the ring that was floating in the air, no longer lingering on the question. Senior, since we have already obtained the materials, we will take our leave. Hmm, go ahead. The golden-eyed Shen Dragon nodded, but just as they were about to part, Chen Shen spoke again. By the way, Senior Jean, I have one more thing. What is it? As soon as he asked, the young man waved his hand and directly took out a long strip of metal, its terrifying weight causing it to instantly embed itself into the ground. Without a doubt, it was the Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron. You even have this? Seeing the Spirit Iron, even the golden-eyed Shen Dragon widened his eyes, not out of greed, but because he felt that at this stage, Chen Shen should not have come into contact with it. He he, just a coincidence the golden-eyed Shen Dragon seemed half convinced, but the ability to read minds wasn't always applicable and required some opportunity. For instance, right now, he couldn't discern Chen Shen's true thoughts, you want to use it to forge a weapon, right? The golden-eyed Shen Dragon asked, after all, the properties of the Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron had already limited its use, and it was basically unavoidable to be used for weapon making. Ha! I heard it needs a treasure land in the spirit realm to forge it. Do you know where that is, senior? Since you have obtained this spirit iron and come to the spirit realm, it's fine to tell you. The Golden Eye Shen Dragon's words implied that the place wasn't somewhere anyone could just go. Moreover, the value of the Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron seemed to be higher than Chen Chen had imagined. Shortly after the words fell, the young man felt a jolt in his head, and then immediately received the precise geographical location of the treasure land. The golden-eyed Shen Dragon followed up. That place is a bit special. Once you arrive, it's likely that only you can enter. Think it over before you go. I have said all I can. The young man nodded slightly. Understood. If there's nothing else, we'll meet again next time. Ah, senior, take care. Suddenly, a beam of golden light shot out and the golden-eyed Shen Dragon, along with the mist he brought, vanished into the world, leaving no trace. The team fell silent for a moment. Wow, can you really talk to a dragon? No wonder it's called divine. Impressive. In a short time, the team had completely changed their perception of Chen Chen, including Kai Jolian. The eight-member research team didn't admire Chen Chen to the point of worship, but a sense of respect had already been imprinted in their hearts. Chuan Shen, where are you going next? Tang Bei, at the back of the team, suddenly asked. Chen Chen smiled and nodded. Now that I have the iron pestle, I need to find a way to grind it into a needle to maximize its value, right? That's true. Wherever you go, we'll go together, Tang Bei declared. But this time, the young man did not respond immediately. Instead, he walked to the Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron and examined each member of the team. He himself used a slingshot and long spear, 
Dongfang Yan Yan used a great sword, Tao Yi had a shield and sword, Sheng Tianxiang wielded a wide bladed long sword, Tang Bei had a sniper rifle, Xu Xiaoyu used a rope dart, Ling Feng was more variable. But the rope dart form might suit him. As for Zhu Lai, her spiritual power was the best weapon, there was no need for a replacement. So, after considering, the ones needing more materials were him, Tao Yi, and Tang Bei. Dong Fang Yan Yan and Sheng Tianxiang used swords, so two fist-sized pieces of material would be enough. Zhu Lai, can you cut this? Turning around, Chen Chen looked at Zhu Lai and asked. Little Zhu Lai stepped forward upon hearing this, her jade fingers glowing with spiritual light as she stroked the thousand illusion spirit iron, seemingly testing its structure. After a while, she nodded and said, Ichuan San, it's possible. All right, then according to what I said, cut this piece of spirit iron into seven pieces, starting from here. After that, Chen Chen synchronized his thoughts with Zhu Lai. The seven pieces of spirit iron varied in size, but since the overall shape was elongated, it wasn't too difficult to cut. After Zhu Lai measured a few times, she immediately held her fingers like a sword, gathering a sharp stream of spiritual power, and sweetly declared water blade, permeation cutting. Whoosh! Swish! This magic was simple yet complex, essentially, it was a water blade strike that flew at high speed, but after striking, it required continuous permeation cutting. The principle could be understood as water flowing through a permeation form, slowly dissolving the thousand illusion spirit iron, but the speed of this dissolution reached countless times faster than normal. Because of this speed, the decay that would normally occur during permeation did not happen. From the moment the water blade was unleashed to the spirit iron being cut into a piece, it took about 10 seconds. In total, for 7 pieces, 5 strikes took roughly a minute and a half. Once completed, a hint of fatigue appeared on Zhu Lai's small face. Clearly, those 10 seconds of water blade permeation cutting required her to continuously output spiritual power. Thank you for your hard work, Zhu Lai. Little Zhu Lai shook her head. Not at all here. Take this, drinking it will help restore some spiritual power. The boy took out the heavenly soul reigning extract that he had previously refined. However, it was an upgraded plus version. Expanded from being limited to level 10 and below to level 18 and below. Perfectly suitable for Zhu Lai at her current stage. Hmm. Thank you, Ichuan San. The boy smiled, gently pressing his large hand on the top of her pink hair. Saying nothing, just smiling. He then turned to the others. You all follow me. I can't neglect you either. This is called Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron. According to the information I received, weapons made from it have two effects. First, it can adapt to the user's level by nurturing it with spiritual power. Attributes can be enhanced. Second, it can change its form, turning into a shield or sword in emergencies, which will have miraculous effects. With the two effects revealed, the six people each held their expressions, but the shock and desire on their faces were undeniable. However, to turn it into a weapon, we need to go to a certain place. Where to? Six voices almost spoke in unison. After experiencing life devouring for so many days, how could they not understand the importance of weapons? And a weapon that could grow with their levels, its significance was beyond doubt. Since there was a path to obtain it, they naturally had to pursue it. The Spirit Realm's Treasure Land, Thousand Illusion Valley. Upon hearing this name, Shang Tianxiang immediately asked, this iron is called Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron, and the treasure land we need to go to is called Thousand Illusion Valley. There must be some connection between the two, right? That's right. Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron comes from Thousand Illusion Valley. If it weren't for the roulette, I wouldn't have been able to obtain such a large piece in advance. Chen Chen, upon hearing this, chose not to hide it. For the team, drawing from the roulette was quite common. But the former remembered a saying from the Golden Eye Shindong, Thousand Illusion Iron chooses its master. It's not something you can easily draw out with the game rules of your earth. The more he heard such words, the deeper the numbness in Chen Chen's heart became. But now that it had come to this, he could only bear the responsibilities that pressed down on him. Of course, without violating his principles. Moreover, he was also being cautious. There is an ancient saying in Huaxia, there is no free lunch in the world. Countless benefits may come to one. But who knows what kind of game the few gods behind the scenes are playing. Is it merely self-rescue? Chen Chen thought the possibility was slim. So, Chuan Shen, how do we get to this thousand illusion valley? We're a bit eager here. Tao Yi's words pulled Chen Chen back to reality. The young man lowered his head and smiled with a hint of self-mockery. 
perhaps he had been overthinking things, let's not rush, the main purpose of our visit this time is to complete our task, and we can't take so many people to the Thousand Illusions Valley, originally, Chen Chen had planned to gather all the materials one by one, concoct the revitalizing bone elixir, and send the research team back before dealing with the Thousand Illusions Spirit Iron, but who would have thought that an unexpected incident caused by Kai Julian would disrupt his plans? Of course, the outcome remained unchanged. After the young man finished speaking, he took a few steps forward to where Kai Julian and the others were and said, Everyone, I will explain the properties of the medicinal materials for the revitalizing bone elixir, which treats the devouring bone syndrome, but whether we can refine it will require our collective effort. Yes, just tell us, we are professionals at analyzing and recording. Kai Julian replied, and from the way other researchers referred to her, it was clear she was quite capable. Well, sometimes her thinking could be a bit off. Fortunately, she was still normal under usual circumstances. Next, Chen Chen explained the characteristics of each medicinal material to Kai Julian and the others, and they were particularly serious when it came to this specialized area. After all, since entering the spirit realm, they had either been slacking off or being led to slack off and they hadn't really done any substantial work. They weren't exactly ashamed, as not everyone had combat prowess, but there was a bit of embarrassment in not being able to help. After some discussion, Kai Jolian made the final summary. Chuan Shen, although your prescription is quite shocking, I must say, it may not be complete. Not complete? Why do you say that? Chen Chen did not completely doubt Kai Jolian's words. After all, it had been over 20 billion years, who could be sure that every medicinal material had been recorded and preserved? Even the ratios were missing, so it was normal for one or two materials to be absent. At this moment, Kai Jolian responded to Chen Chen's doubts, I believe that the white bone sword orchid is primarily responsible for bone growth and recovery, making up a large portion of the formula, with a ratio of 31.6%. The spirit connecting grass acts on the mental aspect as a main supplement, with a ratio of 24. 4%, the seven-leaf dragon saliva has a ratio of 11, 3%, and finally, the nine-foot stone quenching liquid in body forging flame spring should not be taken internally, they are likely for external application and soaking. After she finished speaking, Chen Chen frowned. So according to your breakdown, the first three medicinal materials only account for 67, 3%, what about the remaining 32, 7%? Kai Julian shook her head. That's hard to say, but based on the properties and the reactions of the spiritual energy, the elixir definitely consists of more than just these three materials. Is it possible to expand this ratio and fill in the 32? 7%, which happens to be divisible by 3. Ling Feng, who had been listening, suddenly spoke up. Kai Jolian turned around directly, formulating medicine is no child's play, using too much can cause problems. Ling Feng was momentarily taken aback and opened his mouth to speak. But Chen Chen suddenly interjected. That may be true, but how can you be sure that the remaining 32, 7% is definitely other medicinal materials? Kai Julian shook her head. It's too early to say absolutely, this value is just a preliminary calculation, and the ratios will need to be adjusted based on actual conditions, but the error won't exceed plus or minus 0, 5%. As she said this, there was only confidence on Kai Julian's face. The young man didn't know where her confidence came from, but he could sense a hint of firm self-affirmation, at least, she believed she was right. Moreover, this confidence even rivaled Chen Chen's declaration in front of others that I will definitely draw it. He was a man with connections, could it be that this woman had connections too? The speed of change in the world had forced Chen Chen to think this way. After all, who knew how many pieces the big shots had besides him? At least if it were him, the stakes would never be placed on a piece. What if, in the end, it turned out to be a rotten move? Wouldn't that be the end of everything? It was precisely this confidence that led Chen Chen into a brief contemplation. However, at that moment, Tang Bei beside him spoke up. I have a somewhat immature guess. Do you want to hear it? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but blink. Normally, he would have let Tang Bei stew until it was mature before saying anything. But now, with everyone at a loss, it seemed harmless to listen. Go ahead. Maybe it's just as you think. Tang Bei paused and then said, This is what I think. The white bone sword orchid nourishes the bones. The ghostly grass supplements the soul. The seven-leaf dragon's breath saliva strengthens the body. 
and the nine-foot stone quenching liquid and body forging flame spring are external enhancements. But what illness are they meant to treat when combined? Idiot, it's the devouring bone grinding syndrome. Dong Fang Yen Yen couldn't help but interject. Tang Bei, you're the idiot. I wasn't really asking. Chen Shen didn't pay attention to their bickering because Tang Bei's words had already led him to a crucial point, devouring bone grinding syndrome. Devouring bone grinding. The ground bones are nourished and refined. But what about the life that was devoured? Devoured life. Exactly. The key lies in devoured life. The name reviving soul healing bone pill itself raises questions, reviving the soul and healing the bones. But what about the life that was devoured? Although it wasn't truly consumed, the formula must involve it, right? Kai Julian, yes. 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 It's devoured life. As long as we fill in devoured life, the formula will be complete. Filling in devoured life. It sounds simple to say and not hard to understand. But, how to fill it in? How to fill it in? This question was posed by Chen Chen, directed at everyone present. As the saying goes, many minds are better than one, with each person contributing their thoughts. Perhaps a suitable method would emerge. After a moment of silence, a voice broke through, since it was devoured. Then, can't we just replenish it? Replenish. The word replenish seemed to trigger some kind of chemical reaction in the next moment. It struck a chord in everyone's mind's longevity pill? The uniformity of this exclamation surpassed that of a well-coordinated choir. Right? Devoured life. Replenished life. What was devoured is replenished. Isn't that the longevity pill? However, Kai Julian's face was filled with doubt. It can't be that simple. Do we need to add the longevity pill during the refining process? Another researcher, yeah. The longevity pill is a complete one. The formula is already very refined. Adding zero. 673 would disrupt the ratio, making it impossible to revert to 1, right? Then we use the medicinal materials for refining the longevity pill? This, the topic stalled here because, with so many people present, no one could refine the longevity pill, right? Or rather, in the entire Jiangnan settlement, there was only one openly known, before its destruction, the Lu family, Lu Sinyu, QAQ, I actually forgot her. What a sin. After Lu Tianyuan was backstabbed to death by his son, this woman disappeared without a trace, and there was no news of her on the Devouring Life World channel. Now, how could they find her to ask for the formula? But just then, how about we draw lots? Ha! Huh? Just as everyone was puzzled, the young man had already taken out several white wheels in public, each marked with longevity pill formula. All white levels, after all, the white wheels could only draw white longevity pill formulas. This thing is hard to achieve across levels. Damn. Chuan Shen. Where did you get so many? From monster drops? What else did you think? Tang Bei rested his chin on his hand. If it's the illegitimate child of the heavens or something, shouldn't it be easy to ask for? Just give as much as needed. Stop joking. Is that even possible? As soon as the words fell, Chen Shen was already shocked by this guy's keen insight, guessing so close to the correct answer. But... The longevity elixir recipe can't just be drawn out by sheer numbers, right? One of the researchers in the team spoke up. Since the arrival of life devouring, he had seen quite a few of the reward wheels marked with longevity elixir recipe. After all, it was from the Yunjoon army. But had he ever seen anyone draw it? The probability was so low it could be described as close to zero, right? Well, you haven't seen the river god perform. Degree degree, perform. Perform? I thought God was just a title born out of worship. It is, but, in any case, you'll understand when you see it later. The researchers, originally part of Chun Chen's team, were left stunned by the back and forth conversation, and in the end, they still didn't figure out what perform meant. Could it be that a master from a temple or an old Taoist from a dojo came down the mountain, set up a few tables, and then performed some kind of ritual? No way. Chen Chen, ring an equal to ring an equal to, is it really as exaggerated as you say? However, just as those words left his mouth, in the next moment, the boy had already taken out two brand new straw mats from his spatial ring. They were woven by Zhu Lai using magic. After laying the two mats side by side, the boy took out a bag of similarly sized pebbles, hoisted them onto his shoulder, and began to draw on the mats like squeezing cream. No need to continue, at this point. His previous statement had already been refuted. Not long after, a dragon and a tiger took shape on the mats, the dragon on the left and the tiger on the right, with some embellishments quickly added afterward. 
Shang Tianxian's eyes widened. This, this is insane. The master is right beside me? Isn't this just feng shui in action? Dragon on the left, symbolizing auspiciousness and vitality. Tiger on the right, representing fierce protection against potential threats and dangers. After finishing the dragon and tiger, Chen Chen took out an incense burner, gathered some soil, waved his hand to grab three sticks of incense, lit them, and began to dance with the incense in hand, chanting, Supreme Clear Vermilion Bird, do not move, do not leave my side, do not be influenced by evil, six ding seven stars, separate the evil spirits, dare to approach me, the North Emperor will not stop, urgent as the law commands, drawl, congratulations, you have won, heavenly birds dropping zasterisk 15 clumps, oh no, am I that unlucky, the Emperor is online, the moment he drew this reward, Chen Chen took a leap and dashed out over 10 meters. The others were. What the hell? Is this a joke? The auspiciousness that fell from the sky was everywhere in the area where the remaining 15 stood. It was all about sharing the wealth. Kai Jolian, what the heck? The ritual doesn't even work? After a moment of complaint, Kai Jolian directly took out a metal rod from her spatial ring, shouting, Heavenly Dipper Umbrella, Shield Form, as her delicate voice fell. The metal rod instantly expanded into 16 umbrella ribs, and between the ribs, a spiritual light appeared, forming the umbrella surface. But, ah, xx, oh no the speed at which the umbrella ribs expanded and the umbrella surface unfolded ultimately couldn't outpace the speed of the bird droppings falling, resulting in a full clump landing directly on Kai Julian's head, messing up her face. 3-3, three, three, what kind of bird's droppings are these? Are they from an elephant? Ah, mom. I'm dirty Chen Chen felt embarrassed, calm down, calm down, it's the end of the world, who hasn't gotten dirty before, little Zhu Lai, help her clean up okay, Zhu Lai immediately cast a cleaning spell on Kai Jolian, drenching her from head to toe, but this thing had a flaw, it can't wash where there are clothes, Kai Jolian, caught off guard, snapped back to reality, and then steeled her heart, clothes, where are the clothes, there are none, Zila, Compared to being covered in filth, she would rather choose to be exposed. Isn't it just a benefit? It wasn't much to begin with, so let it be. Yet, even so, this scene still shocked the hearts of every male present. How could one describe such a stimulus? No peeking? Laughable. What's inappropriate is inappropriate. And we are we, he can't look. What does that have to do with us? Of course, Kai Jolian wasn't completely devoid of shame. After letting July clean her up, she quickly took a bath towel from her spatial ring and wrapped it around herself. The white scene was just a fleeting moment. However, a total of 5 seconds. 5 coins per person. Everyone. 5 seconds. 5 coins? Why don't you go and grab it? Kai Jolian blushed. Those 5 seconds felt like years to me. You all effectively watched for 5 years. 1 coin per year. 1 second per second coin. Isn't that cheap? Everyone's lips twitched uncontrollably. Fine. Fine. So this is what you call feeling like years? Sister Jolien, do the women have to give it too? Um, okay, you don't have to. Taui directly expressed dissatisfaction. Hey, 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 isn't gender equality something to be emphasized? Tang Bei was even more direct. How about, I let you watch for five seconds too? Seeing the situation escalate, Chen Chen quickly called off this interlude. All right, all right, stop arguing. The main business is important. What's important or not? You saw the most from your position. The boy quickly waved his hand. You must be joking. I didn't even see the color clearly. No, hey? Chuan Shen, describe the color in detail. Um, I didn't see the color clearly either. Requesting a rewatch. I only saw a curve. What a loss, Kai Jolian. P, greater than over equal to less than over equal to. Q, as she was regretting it now. Very much regretting it. Cough. I said the main business is important but you wouldn't listen. Kai Jolian wore a face full of resentment, wishing she could activate the second function of the metal rod in her hand and give Chen Chen a hit from behind. Of course, that was just a thought, she couldn't really do that. Get on with your main business. The boy chuckled, then grabbed the second roulette and walked back to the left dragon and right tiger formation. Taking a deep breath, left Qing Tong Xin Ling, right Qing Tong Yuing, crown me, assist my form, all evils scatter, Ghost thieves urge essence, dare to offend me, heaven and earth will obliterate you, urgent as the law commands. Sheng Tianxiang scratched his head as he listened, why does this sound so much like a Taoist dressing spell? 
and the one before. Is that a hair combing spell? However, at this moment, Chen Chen had no time to respond to him. After urgent as the law commands, he immediately stretched out his hand. Drawl. Congratulations. You have won. Level 13 Typhoon. A fierce gale erupted the moment the words appeared before Chen Chen's eyes. A level 13 wind was enough to uproot trees in an instant, and a normal adult would be blown down, otherwise, it wouldn't be called a typhoon. As the wind rose, Chen Chen quickly shouted to his left shoulder, Not good, little Qinglong, quick, eat it. The azure dragon of the blue sea was born to master the three attributes of wind, thunder, and water, so since it could consume the thunder pool released by Chen Chen, this eye of the typhoon was naturally no problem. As expected, when the little Qinglong heard this, it had already swum forward and swallowed the entire eye of the wind before it could even start to stir up trouble. He he, delicious, delicious, burp a sudden burp faced directly at Kai Jolian, because what he had just eaten was wind, so the burp that came out was naturally also wind. Therefore, bang, the force of the wind was so strong that in an instant, it sent Kai Jolian spinning three backflips, and the only towel he had on. The next moment, all the male companions, oh, oh, hmm, this time I saw clearly, goodness, it's all clear? Kai Jolian, TT, heaven, you did this on purpose, didn't you? Cough cough, Zhu Lichan, hurry and get him some clothes to wear. Chen Chen closed his eyes and spoke after saving the game. Hearing this, Zhu Lai also covered her mouth and chuckled. Then used the magic she had used to make clothes for Chen Chen to simply make Kai Jolian a short sleeve shirt and heated shorts. The more fabric used, the more spiritual energy consumed, now they had to save it. Right? Kai Jolian, TT, thank you at this moment. Chen Chen also turned his head away sheepishly. Although he didn't cause this directly, the level 13 typhoon was indeed pulled out by him. So he couldn't escape indirect responsibility. Forget it, forget it, next time he would pull it out seriously. After thinking, he walked back to the front of the dragon and tiger formation, four great openings. The heavens and earth are constant, purifying the filth of the dark waters, dispelling the ominous. The twin emperors guard the door, the seven spirits secure the house, the clouds and tides refine and pour, all energies mix in health, internal and external benefit and purity, protect this yellow robe, urgently as the law commands. Shang Tianxiang, Sigma, oh my god. This time it's the bathing in hand washing spell, right? The boy chuckled, it's a lottery. Wash your face and then wash your hands. If the face isn't black and the hands are white, then you can draw again, right? Quite reasonable, isn't it? Reasonable my ass. Drawl. Congratulations on winning. Longevity pill recipe. Ha ha, I really won. After drawing, Chen Chen directly raised the fabric recipe in his hand, which was indeed the longevity pill recipe. Shang Tian Xiong, son, no way, really one? The others were also shocked. What a dragon and tiger formation. What a bathing and hand washing spell. It really produced results after reciting it. It's just ridiculous. But with the previous two failed draws, no one blindly doubted, truly believing that Chen Chen's strange method could work, especially Taoi. Looking at the dragon and tiger formation made of grass mats in front of Chen Chen, he nodded, this time it must be serious right? He he he. Remember, remember at this moment, because of drawing the longevity pill recipe, a hidden reward selection box also appeared before Chen Chen, congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can additionally choose one item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. 1. Antique Ink Treasure Asterisk 1 Set 2. No Silk Blue Elf, Super Long Endurance, Asterisk 1 Box 3. All Attributes Plus 1, 365 Days, 4. White Longevity Pill Materials Asterisk 21 Pieces 5 Life-sized Ultra-Realistic Doll Tanching Joga Asterisk Yenlingji Facing such rewards, was there any need to think? Mindlessly choose. 4. Reward has been issued to Spatial Storage Equipment. Hey, sometimes the treatment of a pillow for a sleepyhead can save quite a bit of time. So, River God, now you can refine the longevity pill, right? Hearing this, Chen Chen also smiled, then cut his finger squeezing out blood while kneading the longevity pill recipe into a ball. Before long, a voice also echoed in his mind, learning successful. Subprofession alchemist has unlocked the white level longevity pill batch production block. Please make good use of it. The boy chuckled, this was the benefit of having both the longevity pill recipe and the alchemist identity. Others could only refine one pill at a time, 
while he could directly produce them in batches. Don't underestimate it just because it's a white level. The average person can only refine to the excellent standard. But with the Qing Yan Yao Yin furnace, Chen Chen has the potential to mass produce flawless white longevity pills. One pill extends life by 10 years. Mass production, what does that even mean? As long as there are materials, he can create an endless longevity pill production line. The strategic significance of this is not something a single longevity pill maker can compare to. Of course, of course. After responding, Chen Chen, knowing the thoughts of the others, wasted no time and directly listed all the materials needed to make the white longevity pill, saying, these are the materials required for a white longevity pill. I can help refine them for a service fee of one annual coin. One coin for several years of life, doesn't that seem fair? Fair, fair, not a bit unfair. Everyone agreed without hesitation. It wasn't just one annual coin, even two sets of materials for one pill seemed reasonable. They understood that Chen Shen was only asking for a token fee, worried that if he didn't charge anything, they might feel burdened. All right, next, let's study the revitalizing bone pill. As soon as Chen Shen finished speaking, a researcher interjected, Chuan Shun, we can't call it that anymore. If we add the materials for the longevity pill, shouldn't we change the name? Does it matter? Of course it does. Kai Jiolian, recovering from her surprise, stepped forward, hoping to shift the attention of others away from her. The components have changed, so the project's name should change too. Is that so? At that moment, the usually quiet Ling Feng also spoke up, Chuan Shun. This seems to be a kind of mysticism in the research community. Changing the name might even improve the success rate. Mysticism. Hearing this, Chen Chen couldn't help but feel embarrassed. Was there really such a notion? However, at this point, he had no reason to refute it. Then what should we change it to? The researcher replied, revitalizing bone pill? Just changing one word doesn't seem very impressive, does it? How about you name it? That would be too easy. Hearing Chen Chen say this, the frog on his shoulder and the little azure dragon both gasped, exchanging glances around their master's neck, could it be? And sure enough, how about calling it the stretch leg and stair pill? Everyone. Frog and Dragon, their master really can't come up with a good name. Not a nice name? Chen Chen scratched his head. How about, eat it and live pill? Or, life extension pill? That's even worse than a stretch leg and stair pill. How about, longevity and healing bone pill? Eh? Longevity, adding the materials for the longevity pill could extend life. Healing bones is easier to understand. It makes bones recover. What a good name. Everyone turned to see that it was Zhu Lai who spoke. For this girl, the team couldn't help but be curious. But Chen Shen didn't explain much. Up until now, they only half understood, thinking she was from another world. Now, this also deepened their understanding of her. Zhu Lai has the ability to think independently. But just as everyone was appreciating this new name, Chen Shen sighed. I still think stretch leg and stair pill sounds better. The next moment, what's so good about that name? Everyone protested in unison then directly named it, Longevity and Healing Bone Pill. I protest. Protest invalid. After that, no matter how much Chen Chen protested, everyone resolutely adopted the name Longevity and Healing Bone Pill and began the formulation research. The research team that Yun Wui has preserved is certainly not made up of weaklings. While they may lack combat prowess, their skills in research are top-notch, both before and after the arrival of Devouring Life. It's not just that they are young, they have countless giants paving the way for them, and as the successors, they have grown by standing on the shoulders of these giants, their abilities beyond doubt. Before following Chen Chen to the spirit realm, they were responsible for studying various spirit plants that absorbed spiritual energy. Although most plants became the executioners of humanity during the arrival of devouring life, they adapted more quickly than most animals and soon learned to absorb spiritual energy. The end result was that they became spirit plants. The research team led by Kai Julian focuses on studying these spirit plants, with the analysis of their effective components being a fundamental skill. What they need to do now is this step. Research is tedious, but the moment of progress is exhilarating. With the vast boundless grassland behind them, adjacent to the Julian Trench Lake created by Kai Julian's mistake, the research on the Yen Yuan healing bone pill has been ongoing for over seven hours. However, during this time, they have only completed the component analysis of each herb in the white longevity pill. The Julian Trench Lake holds no commemorative significance, rather, it carries a heavier meaning of a lesson. If it weren't for the timely arrival of the golden-eyed Shendron, 
Who knows if the still embryonic Earth would have been crushed into powder by countless powerful beings out of mere curiosity. After analyzing the components of each herb, the next step is to compare the medicinal properties with the original reviving soul healing bone pill, list possible formulations, and then conduct experiments. Research is nothing more than this, this long lost knowledge. Even if Chen Shen wanted to cheat, he couldn't, after all, alchemists do not have a legacy of hundreds of billions of years. Time trickled away during this process. Three more hours passed, and the bright moon hung high in the sky. The spirit realm at night was not desolate at all, however. Since the team was in the spiritual energy deficient zone at the edge of the spirit realm, there were not many powerful creatures willing to pass by, making it relatively safe. Eight capable individuals took turns keeping watch, guarding the research team in the center, while the eight researchers, including Kai Jolian, continuously tried various pill formulations. Seven types of spirit plants had already been excluded due to incompatible medicinal properties, mostly auxiliary herbs in the longevity pill. Finally, as the moon rose in the west, Kai Julian and the others finally came up with three formulations. Among them, only one maintained the previous 67, 3% ratio of the reviving soul healing bone pill herbs, while the other two were reduced to 66, 9% and increased to 67, 4%. Respectively, the fluctuation was indeed within plus or minus 5%. Kai Julian, at least has the capital to be proud in terms of research. However, Sometimes his spirit seems a bit off, and his physical development ranks among the four divine beasts, not particularly okay. Perhaps all the nutrition has gone to his brain? Three formulations, ha, huh, good, then let's start with the one with the least ratio. Chen Shen took the three prepared sheets of paper and then divided the herbs into three portions according to the ratio of each herb. First portion, begin, with the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace present. Chen Shen didn't need to perform too many operations, he just had to place all the herbs inside according to the ratio. As for the furnace fire, it naturally used spiritual power as fuel. In the context of the game, this is the only convenience. If it were real alchemy, the steps would undoubtedly be much more complicated. After a few minutes of waiting, refinement failed. Indeed, a person's luck can't always be good looking at the slight black ash emitted after the fire of the Qingyan Radiant Flame Furnace extinguished. Shin Shin couldn't help but smile wryly in this aspect of alchemy. Even he could only rely on luck. But at that moment, Kai Jolian quickly took out a single lens from her spatial ring and placed it before her right eye. A flash of inspiration flowed from her fingertips to the lens, Chen Chen. Seeing this, did not interrupt her actions but quietly waited beside her, studying the lens pressed against her eye, his face showing an expression of curiosity. Before long, Kai Jolian stood up, the ratio of three-leaf longevity flower is off by zero. Twelve percent. Xuan Shen, try the third plan. Hiss, is it that precise? Directly accurate to the decimal point? Hearing this, even Chen Shen became curious about Kai Julian's abilities. But unfortunately, he had already searched through his past life's memories and found no such person. Clearly, this was also a result of his rebirth. Or rather, most of the people who intersected with him had directly or indirectly joined his camp because of his rebirth. Perhaps the strategist thought this would increase the odds of success? Not at all. My waist is just naturally like this. Chen Chen looked speechless, ring and equal to ring and equal to. Take my advice. Aside from pink and white, there's nothing else to be narcissistic about. Kai Jolian, eh? Caught off guard. She immediately clenched her fists and blushed. Delete that memory. Delete it ah ah ah. The boy shook his head. Can't delete it. It can't be deleted in this lifetime. Just as the words left his mouth. Kai Julian surprisingly took out a metal rod from her spatial ring, and after a series of clinking and clattering sounds, it transformed into a massive metal cannon. What the hell? Are you a gunsmith? Chen Shen jumped back over 10 meters, nearly getting hit in the face by the metal cannon. However, not long after, the metal cannon transformed back into the original metal rod, and a look of exhaustion appeared on Kai Julian's face. The boy's gaze sharpened. Fully aware that this was a phenomenon resulting from excessive consumption of spiritual energy. This Kai Jolian, not much of a squint, but she has many secrets. Ha, huh? no wonder Yun Wui valued her so highly. But this also reflected the significant leverage Yun Wui had over her. Such a character should definitely be kept hidden. At least until her combat power could ensure her safety. She wouldn't be made public. But because of Chun Chen, she appeared early. Or rather, she came out of hiding. 
Oomph the exhausted Kai Jolian turned her head away, but deep down, she had already started cursing Chen Chen for only drawing bad luck. After all, there was nothing else to curse. What if something terrifying was actually drawn? A small interlude passed. Chen Chen did not take her words lightly. He picked up the third batch of herbs and placed them into the Qin Yanya flame furnace one by one. In the next moment, the furnace roared to life. Originally, it was supposed to be rolled into pills first, but considering the need for mass production of longevity pills later, this step had to be simplified, about 7 or 8 minutes past, refining failed. TSK, still a failure. The flames extinguished, and the furnace spat out some black ash again. Although Kai Jolian was still sulking, she understood the gravity of the situation, it wasn't the time to throw a tantrum, so she stepped forward to check the pill ash. After analyzing with her single lens, the ratio of 8 treasure chestnut needs to be increased by 0. 0.9%. Following her advice, Chen Chen tried again. Refining failed. The ratio of 9-fingered infant ginseng needs to be decreased by 0. 0.17%. Refining failed. After several failures, Kai Jolian not only did not lose heart but instead became more confident the ratio of Tongyu grass needs to be decreased by 0. 0.21%. The ratio of white bone sword orchid needs to be increased by 0. 14%, and the three-leaf longevity flower needs to be increased by 0, 7%. This time, it will definitely succeed. Before these medicinal materials were the alchemy furnace, they had already been refined and processed, with solids ground into powder and liquids placed into droppers, so even a 0, 1% difference could be accurately distinguished. Looking at the confidence on Kai Julian's face, Chen Shen simply followed this final ratio formula and pre-rolled it into a pill of powdered medicine. During this process, with the involvement of spiritual energy, the ratio would not be reduced due to contact with hands. Finally, the rolled pill was gently sent into the Qin Yan Yang Yan furnace by a wave of spiritual energy, beginning the refining. Remaining time, 11 minutes 17 seconds. Every change in the ratio would alter the time required for refining, as the time needed to blend different quantities of materials varied. This time, before the nearly 12-minute refining was completed, a faint fragrance had already wafted from the alchemy furnace. Can it succeed? This thought lingered in the minds of everyone gathered around the furnace. After all, they had been researching continuously for over 10 hours, and had failed several times if it succeeded. Surely their previous efforts would not be in vain? When the remaining time hit zero, refining completed. Obtained, unnamed pill, asterisk 1. When the blazing furnace finally expelled not black ash, but a brown-red pill accompanied by a wave of spiritual energy, everyone's faces lit up with indescribable joy. Succeeded? Did it really succeed? The most confident Kai Jolian, upon seeing this scene, became the least confident one. The young man, hearing this, excitedly picked up the pill. We succeeded. Our Yuan Yan Bone Healing Pill succeeded. His exclamation also served as the official naming of the pill. The next moment, naming successful, the formula has been automatically saved. After saving the formula, next time, only materials need to be provided for automatic refining, even if the ratio is incorrect. The life devouring system will automatically assist him in refining according to the ratio. The remaining materials will also be refined to their purest state for future use. Chuan Shen, Chuan Shen, does the pill have an attribute panel now? As seasoned players of life devouring, how could everyone not understand the significance of the attribute panel? As long as this pill had an attribute panel, it meant it was recognized, marking a true success. Yes, of course. Shun Chen smiled and displayed it. Yuan Yen Bone Healing Pill, Refined Item. Pill, a pill refined based on the ancient formula reviving soul bone healing pill, which can treat the stubborn disease of life devouring bone grinding syndrome with a cure rate of up to 87% when taken according to the treatment course, level restriction, level 0, crafting quality, purple. Excellent. Why is it purple quality? The reason is simple. The only materials blended into the ratio were from the white longevity pill, so the quality naturally wouldn't be high. If it weren't for the balanced quality of the few medicinal materials in the reviving soul bone healing pill, it would probably only be yellow quality. However, treating life-devouring bone grinding syndrome is sufficient, according to the treatment course, and only an 87% cure rate. Once the attribute panel was opened, the most eye-catching two points in the main information of the Yuan Yen Bone Healing Pill were singled out. 
Shen Shen naturally noticed this and directly clicked on the differently colored words treatment course on the panel each treatment course, under specific conditions, take one pill every three days, requiring three to four pills. Upon seeing this prompt box, Shen Shen displayed it, revealing that the redundant one pill was to account for that 87% cure rate. This probability is already high enough, at least compared to the terminal illnesses we are familiar with. It is definitely considered high. Chen Chen's words received unanimous approval from the more than 10 people present. Not to mention far-off examples, just consider one of the most commonly seen in daily life, cancer. The cure rate ranges from 10% to 95%, but the average cure rate is only around 25%. In contrast, the Yuan Yuan Yugu Dan can achieve a healing rate of 87%, which is definitely high. With this matter settled, everyone, let's congratulate ourselves. Chen Shen said with a serious expression. The significance of the Yuan Yuan Yugu Dan is something everyone understands without me having to explain. Humanity, at least part of humanity, will become stronger because of its existence. The boy's words stirred the hearts of those present. Although it had only been less than a day, they had accomplished something worthy of being recorded in history. This boast would last a year without being broken. Humanity will definitely become stronger. This last sentence came from Kai Julian's mouth. Although no one knew why, one could read a hint of sorrow from her expression. No one asked her the reason, treating it as a beautiful vision. After that, the research team also left the spirit realm under the protection of the crowd, escorted back to Jilong City by those sent by Yu Zhanfeng. However, during this process, Chen Shen learned of a battle situation, Jilong City was being attacked by an unknown force, but it was not a direct assault. The opponent seemed to want to adopt a strategy of breaking through point by point, engaging in harassment warfare. This force had extremely strong individual combat power, and with the assistance of the transmutation altar, Jilong City had become a place where everyone was a professional. Yet in a standoff, they still needed 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. Even so, Chen Chen's thought of returning to support was still dismissed by Yu Zhanfeng. The reason was, you always steal the limelight. How can my group of rascals train up? You can't be my babysitter for life, can you? Chen Shen had no reason to refuse this reasoning. Yu Zhanfeng's concerns were valid, without sacrifice and suffering. How could a qualified human guard army be trained? Yes, human guard army. The Jiulong army had evolved from local militia to regular troops, and now it was about to upgrade again. To put it nicely, it was called adapting to the times, to put it bluntly, it was being forced. And since Yu Zhanfeng was so resolute, Chen Chen simply responded, All right, but don't come crying to me later. Yu Zhanfeng laughed and scolded, Go to hell. Will I cry? Although he was told that support was unnecessary. After returning to the spirit realm, Chen Chen still led his team to rush towards Chen Huan Gu. Zhou city could still hold on for now, but who knew if it could hold on later? On the other side, the eternal frozen glacier. The light point on Hao Yan's chest formed a circuit, flickering slightly, indicating that his communication ability was operational, and the report from his subordinate echoed in his mind. After a moment, he frowned slightly, are you sure they are still there? The subordinate replied, yes, they just sent away a few people with weak combat power half an hour ago. There are many fierce beasts nearby, and the smell of blood is heavy, the slaughter should have just stopped not long ago. Is that so? After a moment of doubt, he no longer hesitated. Forget it, you all go to Jilong City. Proceed as planned. Yes, spirit realm, north of the Woya grassland. Chen Shen led his team flying low at high speed. Although they were on spirit-driven flying devices, the location they were in was clearly more dangerous than the edge areas. Because they were heading towards the center of the spirit realm, the higher they flew, the larger the target became, and the greater the danger. Of course, there was still a long way to the true center. One must know that even with the speed of the golden Aishin Diao carrying them, it would take a long time to fly, let alone flying by themselves, but that said, the closer they got to the center, the greater the danger they would encounter. If it had been a few days ago, Chen Chen might have swaggered over, relying on his connection with the spirit lord, but today, after hearing what the golden Aishindio had to say, he realized that although the spirit lord was the master of this realm, controlling life and death, it was not without its dangers under his rule, perhaps. The master of a realm could grasp life and death in an instant with a thought, but Chen Shen did not dare to gamble. Life is but this one, who will bear the loss if the gamble is lost? The location of Chen Huan Valley was continuously approaching in Chen Shen's eyes, 
Perhaps it was because the earth had the irresistible rule of life devouring, that even in the spirit world, it was still governed by a game system. It can be seen that this irresistible rule is based on individual beings, rather than the world. Of course, it is also possible that both aspects are present. Everyone, pay attention. We should arrive there in about three hours. We can lower our altitude a bit more to avoid unnecessary trouble. Upon hearing this, everyone nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. After leaving the boundless grassland, each of them could clearly sense that the concentration of spiritual energy became denser as they progressed. In such an environment, once they reached an area with a certain concentration, even newly born spirit beasts would possess powers they could not contend with. But as the saying goes, fortune favors the bold. The characteristics of weapons forged from Qin Huan spirit iron were worth such a risk. The distance continued to close. One hour, two hours. The monotonous flight gradually approached its end as time passed. But the more it did, the more vigilant the team became, always on guard against potential dangers. Under such a mindset, the last hour felt even slower. Unfortunately, as the saying goes, heaven does not fulfill human wishes. It wasn't that Chen Shen and the others had bad luck, but a place like Qianhuan Valley would certainly not be devoid of visitors. Powerful ferocious beasts and spirit beast guards surrounded the spiritual plants and flowers, let alone a treasure land like this? When the team was just a short distance away from Qianhuan Valley, a sound like thunder still reached the ears of the eight, where do these little kids come from? Is Qianhuan Valley a place you can enter at will? Stop. Otherwise, do not blame me for killing you on the spot. Chen Chen, who was at the front, quickly hit the brakes. The spirit-driven flying device beneath him skidded forward for more than 10 meters. What was bound to come, has finally come. Chen Chen stopped abruptly and the seven behind him hurriedly reversed their spirit-driven flying devices to gain backward momentum and halt their flight. The uneven formation looked somewhat desolate before this somewhat empty valley. The actual distance from the team to the valley ahead was still over 10 miles, yet when they looked up, Qianhuan Valley seemed to be right in front of them, both illusory and real, as if they could touch it, but it was still far away. Even if you blinked and opened your eyes again, the valley walls might change their appearance. This is the origin of the name Qianhuan. However, the eight had no time to feel the shock. Chen Shen, who was in front, immediately spoke up. Which senior is there? Please come out to meet us. Chen Shen dared to speak because the other party had not attacked without asking questions. At least they were not unreasonable people. Hoof, the one who spoke earlier said in a deep voice, If you say you want to see, you have already seen me. Have you not? Already seen? The eight were taken aback exchanging glances, each trying to read something from one another's eyes. But undoubtedly, it was in vain. Only Chen Shen quickly reacted and said, Senior is, the spirit of this valley? You little brat have some insight. Indeed, the deep voice readily admitted, I am the spirit born of this valley, nurtured by the spirit world, also known as Chen Huan. The valley's name comes from you, senior? Ha ha ha. Chen Shen's words seemed to please Chen Huan immensely though I do not claim it myself. It is indeed so. The boy was momentarily stunned. This place in the spirit world truly nurtured all kinds of things? Moreover, most of them were born due to the abundant spiritual energy. It was somewhat reminiscent of the primordial in Chinese mythology, where every blade of grass and tree could become a spirit. The spirit of the valley sounds even more fitting, doesn't it? However, Chen Shen was not distracted by this strange event. His thoughts did not linger long before he spoke up. Then. Senior Qian Huan, may we have the fortune to borrow this treasure land to refine some tools? Qian Huan neither refused nor agreed, simply stating, it can be done, but it may not be done. Success or failure depends on you, not on me. What do you mean? Chen Chen pressed, if you can see the valley entrance, you may enter directly, but what happens within the valley varies by person, it could be a calamity or a rare opportunity that is hard to find in a thousand years. Once Qian Huan finished speaking, Everyone present understood, to put it simply, it was all about luck, right? Those with good fortune might enter without danger and easily achieve their goals, while those with bad luck could directly face calamity. The gap between the upper and lower limits was fully stretched. Chen Shen did not expect things to develop this way. He initially thought that the figure before him was a powerful guardian of the treasure land, and that they would need to defeat him to enter Qian Huan Valley. Who would have thought? Then, senior, shall we? Enter the valley? Qian Huan hummed. You may enter one by one. If you are all fated, 
You can meet again in the valley within a day. The youth was skeptical but quickly gave everyone a look, then took the lead. In the face of such a bizarre situation, he had no choice but to proceed this way. After all, his self-preservation ability was relatively strong among the eight. Everyone, see you in the valley. With that, Chen Shan raised his head to look ahead and nodded to himself. Without any so-called precedent, his speed of action was not fast. Although he was stepping on the spirit-driven flying device, he was only moving at a turtle's pace. But as he began to move, the surrounding environment and the clouds in the sky seemed to shift along with him. The more he moved, the more it changed. It could be said to be ever-changing. Could it be that the thousand changes in Xian Huan Valley meant this? After a moment of this, Chen Chen gritted his teeth, forget it, I'll just charge in. As soon as the thought settled, the spirit-driven flying device beneath his feet emitted a powerful wave of spiritual energy. And in the next moment, spiritual light surged forth in an instant. Bang! The sudden noise was no less than the takeoff of a modern supersonic fighter jet, just with different propulsion. However, just as he truly flew toward the valley entrance, the seven people behind him lost sight of him in the next moment, he seemed to have been swallowed by the air. You need not panic, that is the necessary path to enter the valley. The valley spirit spoke at this moment, explaining the confusion in the hearts of the seven. While flying, Chen Chen felt the surrounding environment rapidly transforming. A distance of several dozen miles sounds far, but at sufficient speed, it was merely the blink of an eye. Sure enough, in the blink of an eye, Chen Chen felt as if he had broken through something, and the scenery before him shifted, he had arrived at the entrance of the valley. A barrier? At this moment, Chen Chen finally understood what caused the previous shifting scenery. It was a barrier. Or rather, a boundary. It was precisely because of this layer of restriction that it gave the illusion of moving step by step. While in reality, it was different from the senses. Although he had passed through this boundary, Chen Chen felt no excitement whatsoever. Because anyone could guess that this was merely the first layer of the multi-layered challenges of Chen Huan Valley. Entering the valley might lead to a true deadly situation. But now that he was here, how could Chen Chen not enter the valley? Whether it was dangerous or not, to ultimately achieve the goal of refining weapons, this valley must be entered. And just as the youth stood before the valley, those who enter the valley will face a trial, if victorious. They may receive rewards from the treasure land. This sudden voice resembled that of the valley spirit, yet was somewhat different. However, Chen Chen's focus was not on this. If victorious, the two words made Chen Chen furrow his brows. It seems this is the second challenge to come. Shortly after Chen Chen broke through the barrier, the voice of the valley spirit echoed again. The former has entered. The latter may continue. This was clearly directed at the remaining seven people. As the voice fell, it was Zhu Lai who spoke first. After briefly glancing around at the six others, everyone, please, Ichikawa-san has asked Zhu Lai to wait outside. The six understood that she didn't need to forge weapons, and they knew Chen Shen had left her behind for this reason. So they all nodded. Then, without regard for order, the six stepped onto the spirit-driven flying device and surged forward. In less than half a minute, only Zhu Lai remained at the front of the valley barrier. At this moment, the valley spirit Qian Huan also spoke, Little girl, you aren't from Earth, are you? Although it was unclear if he had eyes, he likely saw the pair of pointed horns on Zhu Lai's head, hence the question. However, Zhu Lai replied, Where Ichikawa-san is from? Zhu Lai is from there, aren't you going in? After receiving Zhu Lai's response, the valley spirit asked again, Zhu Lai doesn't need to. Zhu Lai might say more to the other six members of the team, but with the valley spirit, she felt no need for elaboration, and her answers were mostly brief. Thus, the two fell into a state of disconnection in conversation. Inside Chen Huan Valley, Chen Chen's perspective. Upon entering the valley, the first thing the boy faced was, more than ten white giant wolves, each at least three meters long and nearly two meters tall. They were called white. But each giant wolf had two symmetrical zigzag runes on its head. This must be the test that requires victory, right? Before the thought could settle, the boy had already gripped a special bullet in his hand and pulled back the slingshot string, one against a group. Of course, he chose to attack from a distance to avoid being overwhelmed. Seeing the boy ready to attack, the giant wolves howled in unison, woo the chorus of wolf howls echoed in the valley, creating a sound that could indeed be described as intimidating. For an ordinary person, it would be quite oppressive. Fortunately, Shen Shen was not ordinary. Loud. Ha. 
I'll make you howl. Delayed spirit explosion fivefold earth rift lava plus. The earth rift lava bullet plus could deal 13. Five times the damage of the caster's mental attribute. Ignoring the opponent's mental defense. With his 111 mental attribute. The base damage was 14. 985 points. But the real kicker wasn't here. After reaching LV3, the delayed spirit explosion stacked fivefold, which was truly exaggerated. The explosion could deal six times the caster's physical attribute damage, and the fivefold stacking limit Chen Chen had recently reached was 30 times, 30 times the 221 points of strength. Just the base damage alone was 66, 300 foot points, which was terrifying enough, right? Even if these white giant wolves were made of iron, they would surely howl in agony after this. This was undoubtedly a true howl of ghosts and wolves. After the special bullet hit, the situation indeed unfolded as Chen Chen expected. Boom! The exaggerated echoes of the wolves' howls. The earth rift lava bullet caused a significant fusion of fire and earth attributes, didn't it? At the moment it landed, with the valley providing such support, the explosion's momentum nearly rivaled that of a genuine volcanic eruption. Although I really wanted to write a wool aru, I kept deleting and rewriting it, feeling the atmosphere was off. The massive damage feedback in the valley resulted in a flurry of damage notifications. Although there were some discrepancies with Chun Chen's calculations, the highest score still exceeded 50,000 points. However, the situation did not unfold as Chun Chen had anticipated. The white giant wolves, after taking damage, instead turned a bright red like lava. At the same time, the zigzag runes above their heads flickered slightly. Damn, they can also undergo elemental transformation? As Chen Chen said this, he glanced at the frog on his shoulder, but the latter immediately shook its head. No, it's not a different familiar element transformation. The boy frowned, then, be careful, dad. He wanted to ask more, but before he could finish, the little blue dragon circled in the air and then opened its mouth to unleash a wall of wind roar undoubtedly. This was the unique skill of Sanzong One Dragon, Storm Mastery. The power of this skill lies in the fact that it is not a specific form of skill, it is neither a wind blade nor a wind cannon, but a complete mastery of the storm. This means that as long as the little blue dragon's control level is high enough, it can achieve all the aforementioned forms, not limited to attack. The wall of wind blocking Chen Chen's path was clearly an application of the storm mastery in a defensive capacity. As for why defense was necessary? Pun. The moment the wall of the storm formed, it directly devoured a giant fireball that was hurtling towards Chen Chen. That's right. It was devouring. Wind is fluid, not solid, and certainly not gaseous or ionic. Bringing in the concept of the spirit master, the essence of wind is cosmic energy waves, which is a kind of wave. Fire, on the other hand, is in an ionic state. These two states, or rather, attributes themselves have no commonality. But there is an ancient saying, fire borrows the power of the wind, which means that the wind blows the fire forward using its vector force. So what if we reverse that? When the wind forms a wall, and then pulls back with a vector force towards itself, isn't that suction? Using this suction to counter fire would look like devouring. Witnessing this scene unfold, Chen Shen didn't even have time to ponder why the white giant wolves suddenly turned red. Not bad, little blue dragon. Well done. Hearing this praise, the little blue dragon spun in the air again and then landed on his shoulder. It's nothing it's still because of the wind you created earlier. Dad. Level 13 Typhoon? Chen Chen immediately thought of the prize he had deliberately drawn out earlier to mislead others. Yes, after eating that huge eye of the storm, I could do it. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen quickly opened the little blue dragon's attribute panel, and after scrolling down, Storm Mastery had indeed changed to LV2. The control over attributes really depended on the level of this skill, didn't it? Chen Chen was speechless, a dragon is indeed a dragon. With this ability, no other creature could possibly compare. Even the frog, as a member of the elemental spirit frog clan, could defy the heavens and change attributes. But each skill still had to be learned individually, right? The gap in the meantime, was undoubtedly obvious. Ha ha, that's great. Knowing the ins and outs of the situation, the boy laughed and said, then let's leave the next scene to you. He also wanted to see just how strong the little blue dragon's combat power had become. The previous wall of wind proved that her mastery of the water, wind, and thunder attributes was definitely not as simple as he had imagined, her actual combat power might even be somewhat beyond the standard. He he, no problem just leave it to me, 
Dad, the little blue dragon took on the task without any pressure, then climbed to the top of the river. He he he, tremble, little dogs, today, this dragon will make an exception and let you experience it. Special edition killing funeral one dragon service, stay tuned. Ah, just 10 minutes left to submit the manuscript. Since hatching from the dragon egg and recognizing Chen Chen as dad, the little blue dragon had never faced a complete battle on its own. Frog Frog had at least acted as Chen Chen's sleeve cannon in previous battles, so there was no need to cultivate its battle awareness anymore. Now, this battle in the Thousand Illusions Valley, which had some testing significance, was just right for the little blue dragon to practice. A great opportunity, why not seize it? Moreover, pets are also a part of his combat power. So naturally, they can participate in this so-called test. However, to be fair, dragon, can we get off dad's head first? Chen Chen slightly raised his head, a kind smile on his face. Be good the soon-to-be dragon knight was actually ridden by the dragon he was preparing to ride, how could that be acceptable? Of course, it couldn't. Wasn't this turning the tables? The little blue dragon didn't make a sound but had already jumped down from Chen Chen's head as if fleeing. For some reason, she deeply understood that dad was definitely not negotiating with her. Fortunately, things did not develop in a direction that was hard for her to bear. After jumping down from Chun Chen's head, the little blue dragon took a deep breath of pure spiritual energy, and then a long dragon roar erupted. Ong her voice was not loud, but thanks to the terrain of the valley, it carried a sense of endlessness. During this process, the little blue dragon, whose body was originally only about a foot long, continuously absorbed spiritual power and grew larger, from the initial foot to ten times, a hundred times, and finally, her length directly exceeded six meters, compared to her original size, it was nearly two hundred times, however, compared to a real giant dragon, this size could still only be considered a young dragon, barely twice the size of the giant wolves, there was completely no sense of overwhelming pressure, just by observing the dozen or so red-haired giant wolves that showed no signs of retreat, it was clear that they still felt they could defeat her. But did it matter? Come on, you wolf pups. Little blue dragons killing funeral one dragon service. Guaranteed to satisfy you woo. As soon as the little blue dragon finished speaking, a long wolf howl echoed. This time, however, it was not all the wolves howling together, but rather the single wolf standing at the front, whose voice sounded much more desolate compared to the beginning. But this howl also clarified its status head wolf. Behind. Chen Chen felt a hint of curiosity and opened the attribute panel of these giant wolves, after all, being able to withstand his fivefold delayed spirit explosion and still not die indicated their defense was likely not low. Name, Illusion Spirit Wolf King Rank, Lord Level, 28 Blood Chi, 178, 772, Group Integration, Strength, 304 Spirit, 55 Defense, 109 Speed, 76 Skills, Major Asterisk Wolf Pack Integration. Major asterisk thousand illusion system transformation combat power 3 507 true 4 507 false this unique panel was hard not to catch chen chen's attention and a little analysis made it easy to understand that the illusion spirit wolf king had an integrated panel no wonder a single fivefold delayed spirit explosion couldn't kill it it wasn't that this guy had high defense but rather that its blood was thick as an ox as for what an integrated panel means Chen Chen had only seen it a few times in his past life, this kind of panel generally only appeared on two types of ferocious beasts, the first, social, referring to groups that continued to live in a social manner even after the arrival of life devouring, which were not many, part two, special races, these are extremely unique beasts that are either born with or mutated to possess the ability to integrate the attributes of surrounding ferocious beasts, in terms of bloodline, they are even close to being pure spirit beasts, most of them are lord-level ferocious beasts, and if not, they must have mastered one of the eight major attributes to a very high degree. In simple terms, in the cases where an integrated panel appears, the leaders always have one or two beasts with irresistible leadership. In a wolf pack, this often manifests as the lead wolf or wolf king. This leadership is also a prerequisite for them to activate the integrated panel. However, having this leadership is not necessarily a good thing. The most obvious weakness is right out in the open, once the leader falls. The entire group will inevitably scatter like a tree falls and monkeys disperse. Even if a temporary group formed by special races comes together, once the commander dies, the remaining spirit beasts will surely flee. A similar instance is the previous demon sound mouse king. 
While Chen Chan was observing the panel, lost in thought, the little blue dragon launched an attack on the phantom spirit wolf pack at that moment. He he, killing a dragon officially begins. Feeling hot all over. Ha, let me cool you down. As soon as the little blue dragon finished speaking, its vibrant green color transformed into a near blue hue. And then, a torrent of water surged violently in the valley. The skill that controls the water flow is, of course, water flow mastery. The effect of this skill is similar to storm mastery, the higher the skill level, the stronger the control over the corresponding element. However, due to the little blue dragon not having absorbed enough water elements since hatching, there wasn't much it could do with this skill at the moment. The surging torrent of water was originally meant to create a tsunami, but due to the little blue dragon's insufficient control, it faltered midway. Yet, this water, gathered purely from spirit power, was just what the vividly red-haired phantom spirit wolves needed to counter the fire at that moment. Ordinary water would likely evaporate upon encountering such high temperatures, but what the little blue dragon produced was evidently extraordinary. As a result, the phantom spirit wolf pack suffered another wave of significant damage. Although most of it was borne by the phantom spirit wolf king, it alone could not withstand the damage that the entire wolf pack was supposed to endure. In desperation, the spirit light atop its head had to change again, if you use water to douse, then we will turn into water. When their fur changed from vibrant red to azure blue, water flow mastery lost its effect on them. Changed again? Let's see how many more times you can change. With that, the little blue dragon prepared to unleash another attack, but this time, the phantom spirit wolf king would not foolishly wait. Seizing the little blue dragon's wind-up phase, it led the wolf pack to sweep the water with their tails. The main component of this water was spirit power, and with this sweep, the phantom spirit wolves even skipped the step of gathering spirit power, and their move, whoosh, the water arrow shot out fiercely from the sweeping tails, not thick, not long, but extremely fast. These three words together seem a bit off, faced with this scene, the little blue dragon's move was not that quick, but just at this critical moment, second brother, I'm here to help you. The only one who could call the little blue dragon's second brother was, of course, Frog Frog. However, Frog Frog had only one defensive skill, Dark Flow Annihilation Shield. At that moment, a dark gray circular shield accompanied by a booming gong sound enveloped both it and Chen Chen. In the next moment, the water arrows swept in by the phantom spirit wolves all crashed against the circular shield. The annihilation power instantly activated, dissolving these water arrows one by one. Well done. Boss, the water arrow was blocked, and the little azure dragon let out a chuckle. Then, its entire body shimmered with bright silver light as its azure scales glinted. Suddenly unleashing a dragon's roar, ang boom, the sound of thunder shook the heavens. But before that, the world-destroying purple lightning had already descended upon the entire wolf pack. Before the thunder even struck, the phantom spirit wolf king had already perished. Basic physics. Water can conduct electricity. You know. Having killed the Wolf King, the remaining dozen wolves were no match for the little Azure Dragon. Without a leader, the pack fell into chaos in both attack and defense in a short time. Seizing this opportunity, the little Azure Dragon unleashed its full power. The entire process could be summarized with a three-character classic water soaks. Thunder strikes. Wind buries. On the dragon's back. Every time the Azure scales moved, it was accompanied by the demise of a phantom spirit wolf. The three major attributes of water, wind, and thunder were skillfully wielded by the little azure dragon, so-called, killing and burying in one go. Wind burial counts as a burial, right? He he in this way, in less than five minutes, all the dozen phantom spirit wolves had perished. Due to the level difference, the little azure dragon even leveled up twice, reaching level 23. Chen Chen casually opened the interface to check the current attributes. Name, Azure Sea Dragon Nickname. Sanzang 1 Dragon Owner, Chin Chen Level, 23 Vitality, 16, 100 Spirit Power, 16, 100 Strength, 92 Mentality, 138 Defense, 115 Speed, 69 Elemental Affinity, Water 17, 9%, Wind 23, 7%, Thunder 21, 7% Skills, Level Up Asterisk Storm Mastery, LV2, Combat Power, 2, 592, He He, not bad harvest, although it still couldn't compare to him and Frog Frog, it was already in the top tier compared to humans at this stage. However, the little Azure Dragon's improvement was merely a secondary gain from this battle. 
The main gain was whoa, it's actually a rare item? As soon as the Phantom Spirit Wolf King fell, this black roulette had already exploded on the ground, it was just that the battle wasn't over yet, and it was too early to clean up the battlefield. Then, after glancing at the rewards on the roulette, Chen Chen thoughtlessly murmured to draw, please specify the price you want. 1. Specify 3 skills proficiency plus 13, 33% 2, Spirit Source Evolution Heart 3, Equipment Asterisk Devour Life Apocalypse, 7, Combat Puppet Dragon Ball Asterisk No, 17 Foot, 9, Level Up 3 Levels, Although it was a rare item, there were 8 positive rewards, but after a quick glance, only the 5 mentioned above were worth drawing, and the most meaningful one, without a doubt, was 3, but the other 4 were also quite good, right? 1 could enhance combat power, 2 was uncertain, but the word evolution itself was worth a draw, as 4, 7 and 9, 1 was something Chen Chen wanted to understand, and the other was the most direct improvement for him. However, after the selection interface appeared for a while, the boy's mind was silent, growing a bit impatient. He couldn't help but look up at the sky. Isn't it time for multiple selections to appear? After asking, Chen Chen waited a moment longer, but his mind remained quiet. Could it be that multiple selections could only be activated in the hidden rewards? Forget it, one shouldn't be greedy. Since the rewards had appeared, there would surely be more opportunities later. Just like the fragments of two-dimensional characters, as long as they had appeared, they would always exist. He could completely wait to consider drawing later. And for now, among these eight positive rewards, the smallest area was three. Let's give it a try. Thought drop. Chen Chen directly responded. Choose three. Congratulations on winning. Equipment asterisk life devourer, apocalypse. It's from the Life Devourer series, he currently has the Life Devourer battle body and the long sword from the Shumi sword sheath. Life Devourer, Drink World. And this time the Life Devourer, Apocalypse is. Life Devourer, Apocalypse, Shoulder Guards. Shoulder Armor, made primarily from Life Source Silkworm Silk and woven through the refinement of 77 and 49. Embedded with a core containing a trace of the world's origin. Said to be crafted by a Realm Master, Basic Attributes, Strength plus 18, the highest skill damage increases by an additional 30%, effect analysis, life devourer asterisk if this shoulder guard is worn and the target is killed. There is a 1% chance to absorb the remaining lifespan of the opponent, if the opponent is in an abnormal state. This chance increases to 3%, and if they are filled with fear, this chance increases to 10%, apocalypse asterisk the shoulder guard is not a standalone item and can resonate with any life devourer equipment abilities. Enhancing the life devouring effect, level restriction, above level 1, crafting quality, purple, flawless, although it is only of purple quality, does its effect need further explanation? The reward draw was completed, and Chen Chen did not hesitate for a moment, directly fastening it onto his left shoulder, by this time, his left hand could be considered graduated, with life devourer, apocalypse on his shoulder, his arm guards were Xuanmu ghostwood arm guards, and his wrist guards were power amplifying wrist guards. In comparison, his right hand felt a bit empty. And next, congratulations on winning the grand prize. You can choose one additional item from the following prizes as a hidden reward. 1. Dragon Ball Asterisk 18, 2 thirds fragments, 2. Combat Doll, 1 piece Pirate King Asterisk Brook 3. Boa Hancock Asterisk 3D2 Y Special Edition, 1 third Static Figure 4. Ranger Class Exclusive Skill 5. Level plus 1 inch hair. Goodness, seeing this wave of rewards, even though Chin Chen had long been accustomed to it, he couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. However, after waiting and waiting, he still did not hear the prompt for multiple choices. Could it be that there really isn't any? The boy couldn't help but feel puzzled, or was it that there were none in the spirit realm? Speaking of which, this roulette had indeed become increasingly strange lately, first with some treacherous person claiming the roulette's prizes had changed, and now, what used to be a simple thought to get multiple choices was delayed. Could there be a connection between the two? Am I overthinking? Chen Chen furrowed his brows. QAQ damn it, I actually forgot Iron Shattered Fong. Forget it, I'll choose four. Without multiple choices, Chen Chen could only select the one most beneficial to him. Levels could be slowly increased, but skills were rare. Reward has been issued, just as the voice echoed in his mind. It was followed by, you have obtained the Ranger class exclusive skill shaker. Please check the specific effects yourself. As soon as this voice fell, Chun Chen quickly brought up his attribute panel to check. 
Shaker, LV1, any of your unarmed attacks can additionally consume 200% of the required spiritual power to add the Shaker effect, and attacks with this effect will deal 150% damage and knock back the target, knock back, guaranteed knock back. Hey, not bad? Another skill that could stack damage, if combined with, delayed spirit explosion and penetrator. The final effect. To be honest, he was already starting to look forward to it. Moreover, even using just Shaker, the combat effect didn't seem too bad. Just think about it. What kind of scene would it be if every bullet guaranteed knockback? He he. Next level. Next level. With this thought, Chen Chen was already eager to give it a try. Looking at the narrow valley path, the boy's spirit-driven flying device suddenly burst forth. At the same time, the valley spirit Qian Huan, who was always watching him, couldn't help but stroke its chin. This little guy's luck is indeed as mysterious as that guy with the golden eye said. And there's an indescribable disturbance constantly surrounding him. Strange. Very strange. Inside Chen Huan Valley, when Chen Chen rushed out of the valley path, he immediately felt that his field of vision had opened up significantly. From narrow to wide. From elongated to rounded. If viewed from above, it could be seen that he had rushed from a line into the interior of a. Moreover, the area of that was not small. All right, what is it this time? Just as Chen Chen's puzzled voice landed, a tremor suddenly came from beneath his feet, like an earthquake, but the mountain walls in sight showed no corresponding phenomenon. Given this, there was only one possibility, hey, something must have fallen from the sky, right? Before long, the tremor began to differentiate, turning into a dense series of light shakes, reminiscent of the sounds made by ancient warhorses charging into battle. The boy frowned slightly, just as he was wondering what existence had caused the tremor. A dense cluster of brown dots appeared on the distant horizon. He couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth, all right, all right, you don't want me to have some fun, ha? Huh? Initially, he had thought that if this challenge involved a single enemy or a small number of them, he would test the waters with the newly acquired shaker. The result, forget it, I'll deal with it later. With that thought, a long spear appeared in his left hand, while his right hand held a slender knife, named, Iron Shattering Fong. Demon Blade, Iron Shattering Fong, Blade, Demon Blade, a cross-temporal counterpart of the protective blade Tetsusaiga from Inuyasha Asterisk. The blade is 4 feet 1 inch long and weighs 72 pounds 3 ounces. The blade has 3 forms, basic attributes, strength plus 30, spirit plus 15, Iron Shattering Fong, spirit absorbs the user's spiritual power, transforming into form 1, spirit, in this form, spirit is additionally increased by 30 points. An Iron Shattering Fong has the ability to manipulate spiritual power, Iron Shattering Fong, blood absorbs the user's blood energy, transforming into form 2, blood, in this form, strength is additionally increased by 30 points, an Iron Shattering Fong has the special effect of blood energy attack, Iron Shattering Fong, fate absorbs the user's lifespan, transforming into form 3, fate, in this form, attributes are not additionally increased, but Iron Shattering Fong has the ability to sever the target's lifespan. Chen Chen had been curious about the attributes of this knife since he received it, and now the situation was just right. Just looking at the attributes, this knife was vastly different from what was described in the original work. The only common point was absorption. However, from the entries, it mentioned the ability to absorb spiritual power, blood energy, and lifespan, but did not specify the amount absorbed. So Chen Chen thought to take it out and give it a try. He didn't use the knife. But if he were to give it to someone, he needed to know what effect it had. Right? The distant brown dots were gradually revealing their true form. And at this moment, Chen Chen finally saw clearly, only to exclaim a stone. Person? Indeed. Charging from afar was a stone person that only had hands and feet. Well, it could hardly be said to have hands and feet. Because those hands and feet were basically composed of rounded stones. To call it a person was a stretch, it was at most a humanoid. Suddenly, Chen Chen wrinkled his nose, feeling a faint spiritual power lingering at the tip of his nose, confirming the composition of these guys before him. The next moment, Iron Shattering Fong, Form 1, Spirit. Just as Chen Chen's thoughts settled, the Iron Fragment Tooth in his right hand suddenly radiated a burst of spiritual light. Immediately, a line of prompts appeared before his eyes, Iron Fragment Tooth, Spirit Form Spirit, Spirit Plus 30, can autonomously consume 5 to 50 points of spirit power per second, 
Freely control all spirit power within 5 to 50 meters ahead. Ha! Huh. Isn't this just controlling demonic energy? After reading the analysis of the spirit status, Chen Shen immediately thought of one of the advanced functions of the Iron Fragment Tooth in the original work, controlling demonic energy. However, since demonic energy did not exist here, it transformed into spirit power, or rather, spiritual energy. Seeing the spiritual light flourish, Chen Shen couldn't help but raise the Iron Fragment Tooth with his right hand, the weight of over 70 pounds felt no burden in his hand. Instead, it was his slightly relaxed wrist that reflected the heaviness. In the next moment, Chen Chen tightened his grip on the hilt, and the already bright spiritual light on the blade surged once more, while at the same time, his spirit power was rapidly depleting. But at that moment, the surrounding spirit power continuously accumulated on the blade like swallows returning to their nests. Yet, looking at the stone men whose momentum showed no signs of abating, Chen Chen frowned, is the distance not enough? Absorb more. As he increased the output of his spirit power, the linear distance for the iron fragment tooth to absorb spirit power finally reached the charging stone men. At that moment, the situation finally changed dramatically. The first wave of stone men that entered the 50 meter range, as soon as their front feet stepped in, their bodies suddenly toppled forward, heads, torsos, and limbs scattered into six pieces on the ground, indistinguishable from lifeless objects. It was as if a healthy person had suddenly had their soul drawn away, collapsing in an instant. And for the stone men, it was as if they had lost their lives in a moment. Of course, this premise was only valid if they truly had life. Seeing the situation unfold just as he had guessed, Chen Chen couldn't help but chuckle. Game. And here. Iron Fragment Tooth Spirits Lament. Iron Fragment Tooth Spirits Lament. The Beige Blade Light. At the moment Chen Chen's voice fell was swung horizontally by his right hand holding the knife. The fierce blade light directly engulfed the stone men that had yet to enter the spirit control range in the next moment, perhaps because the status was spirit, possessing the ability to control spirit power. Wherever the blade light passed, those puppets made of spirit power and stone collapsed one by one. Not bad, ha? Huh? Chen Chen smiled broadly, then continued, what if it's like this? Iron Fragment Tooth. Form 2. Blood. The Iron Fragment Tooth. Having expended all its spirit power, underwent another transformation with Chen Chen's shout. At the same time, form transformation, spirit form cooling down, remaining, 30 seconds. Chen Chen merely glanced at it, knowing and then ignoring it, after all. It was perfectly normal for form transformation to require cooling down. At this moment, the brilliant spiritual light that had been flowing on the blade instantly transformed into a scarlet blood light. Meanwhile, a hint of blood color flashed between Chen Chen's eyes, causing the blood vessels in his right arm to swell instantly, and after blood energy seeped from his fingertips, it drilled into the blade. This iron fragment tooth, one second devouring spirit, the next second devouring blood. The transformation speed was indeed astonishing, and when the transformation was complete, a text prompt reappeared before Chen Chen. Iron fragment tooth, blood form blood, strength plus 30, in this form, each swing of the knife can autonomously consume 0, 1% to 1% of blood energy, allowing the blade to unleash a powerful blood energy attack, with damage ranging from 1 to 10 times the normal. Ha! Huh, is this a berserker? After reading the introduction, a character class specializing in blood from an old online game immediately surfaced in Chen Chen's mind. Exchanging blood energy for attack power was essentially the same. However, can't worry about that anymore. Being strong is all that matters. In the blink of an eye, Chen Shen was already wielding a knife in his right hand and a gun in his left, leaping into the air like a bolt of lightning. Before long, the blood-red blade light descended from the sky like a torrential downpour, raining down upon the enemy ranks. The sight was nothing short of handsome. Ha ha ha, exhilarating. Exhilarating. Although his health was continuously dropping, with each slash of his knife, the young man's heart felt an indescribable thrill. Midway through, he swung his left hand gun. Unleashing streaks of spiritual light, this was none other than Frog Frog's enchant elemental sphere, though it was merely a basic attribute enhancement. It was more than enough against these not-so-defensive targets. In the end, one star falls, 10,000 scales shimmer. The finely crafted iron scales burst apart, creating a void among the stone men. Afterward, Chen Chen sheathed his gun, and the blood energy on his iron-shattered tooth dissipated. Isn't the one in charge coming out? Do I have to wipe out all these puppet toys myself? Boom, boom, boom. 
Just as the young man finished speaking, those stone men that had already died began to gather and pile up again under the influence of the spiritual threads. Chen Chen looked on indifferently, waiting until the stones had piled up to over 5 meters high. He he, fivefold spirit shock, thunderlight penetrator plus, fivefold delayed spirit explosion plus shaker plus penetrator, effect analysis, upon hitting the target. The raging thunder element contained within will pierce through the target's body like a spear. And if the caster's mental attribute is higher than the target's, it will cause a armor break effect. Lasting for 5 seconds, armor break, defense value becomes ineffective, rated damage, the penetrating thunder element damages too. 3 times the caster's mental attribute, level restriction, level 20 and above, crafting process, purple, excellent. The thunder light spear, as Chen Chen sheathed his knife and gun, erupted from the bowstring with a resounding force. In that moment, the sense of intimidation was like the roar of thunder. Bang! As it pierced through the newly formed shaker, the inevitable repulsion triggered, an invisible force causing the still-forming stone giant to sink over a meter. But this was not the end? Following the repulsion was the killing move, the delayed spirit explosion, still at fivefold. At this point, Chen Chen had only one or two abilities left and used. Boom! The terrifying explosion of the thunder attribute completely shattered the still-forming stone giant into dust. Humph, you dare to recklessly unleash such a skill with such a long wind-up? Only a fool would wait for you to fully form, unless you become invincible during your transformation. I'll teach you how to be a monster all over again in no time. But the next moment, thud, in the center of the circular valley, it seemed a wave of furious rage surged forth, directly aimed at Chen Chen, the wind pressure of the spiritual energy washed over his face, slightly distorting it. Daddy, this guy is not easy to deal with MMHM, very strong, master. This terrifying rage even made the naturally royal little green dragon exclaim, not easy to deal with, there's no choice, I've already provoked it, and even if it's not easy to deal with, I have to keep provoking it. As he spoke, Chen Chen dared not be reckless any longer, seriously gripping the slingshot in his hand, not even moving his long spear. After all, the special bullet ranger was his proper path. As for Iron Shattered Tooth, after testing the spirit and blood forms, the final nether didn't need to be tried, the final conclusion was one word, strong. Although it differed somewhat from the original work, it was more suited to the current world. As for the knife, I'll give it to that brat Sheng Tianshan, though he had used a great sword before. There wasn't much difference between using a knife and a sword for a magic swordsman. Even after acquiring weapons crafted from Thousand Illusion Spirit Iron, a weapon with special effects would ultimately be beneficial for combat power. As Chen Chen pondered, the powerful aura in the middle of the valley seemed to erupt once more. The young man was poised to spring into action. But the next moment, he furrowed his brow slightly. For he sensed. Another familiar presence, a mental attribute exceeding a hundred points, which wasn't difficult to achieve. Is it? Shi Xiaoyu? Chen Chen suddenly realized, thinking, could it be that everyone who enters that barrier is sent to a certain linear valley, and only after passing through can they enter the circular valley? And if there are no dangers in the linear valley, or if they simply provide some opportunities, then what the valley spirit said about varying by person must mean this, right? Understanding this, Chen Chen set off towards the center of the valley, determined to resolve the crisis he encountered first before considering what to do next. He had a premonition that the treasure land capable of forging thousand illusion spirit iron was within this circular valley. He he, let's go. In the center of the circular valley, a giant statue made of sand and spiritual energy, perhaps out of anger, continuously hurled its sand and stone fists at a figure below that moved as lightly as a wildcat in the mountains. The bang bang boom sounds echoed endlessly. However, due to the agility of the figure below, none of those sand and stone fists could land a hit. After several moments of this, the sand giant seemed to become enraged and simply shattered its entire left arm, transforming it into a rain of sand, shooting out like bullets. Below, she Xiaoyu's pupils constricted. Damn it! This was exactly the kind of indiscriminate barrage she struggled to deal with, but it wasn't as if she had no way out. Shadow escape, from shadow. As the words fell, her graceful figure directly dove into the shadow of the sand giant, then leaped out from the other side, perfectly avoiding the sand barrage while her rope dart flew forward after a moment of charging. However, ding, what the hell? So hard? Compared to others, Shi Xiaoyu was a genuine assassin, one of the few early professionals in Life Devourer, with strong single target attack power. 
but she was helpless against such a behemoth. After all, this creature was specifically designed to target her weaknesses. Assassin, agile in movement, like a shadow, striking with lightning speed, elusive in escape. But the weaknesses were also quite obvious, insufficient destructive power. Faced with such a hulking figure, she could only stare in frustration. After failing to break through its defenses, Shi Xiaoyu quickly distanced herself, her shadow escape from shadow was already in cooldown. And if the opponent were to self-destruct an arm again, it would be hard for her to evade. At this moment, the sand giant, realizing it still hadn't taken her down, was roaring in fury. The left arm it had just destroyed was now being lifted by its spiritual power, kneaded into a sandball in midair, preparing to throw it down. But just then, goodness, is this earth exploding star? Hearing this, Shi Xiaoyu couldn't help but look back. Immediately unable to restrain herself from speaking, you still have time to mock? Hurry up and help. Ha! Otherwise, what do you think I'm here for? Fivefold spirit shock, beast tooth star, beast teeth. This basic bullet Chin Chen hadn't used in a long time, but in the current situation, no bullet could compare to the sharpness of beast teeth. Of course, these were no longer the teeth of the three or four level ferocious beasts, as the levels of the beasts he killed increased. The quality of these basic bullets had been continuously upgraded. As Chen Chen finished speaking, the slingshot made a whistling sound, and moments later, it directly drilled into the earth exploding star. Thud. Boom. The shock and spiritual explosion directly turned that sandball into powder. Now, it was truly earth exploding star. The sand giant, witnessing this scene, couldn't help but tremble with spiritual power. This wave of spiritual energy was that guy. Now, it had finally found its true target. Since gaining sentience, it was the first time it had been interrupted like this before its form was fully solidified. Shame and indignation, all thanks to the person before it. In its anger, the rumbling sound it emitted was akin to a powerless rage of ah, calm down. Calm down. Not everyone in this world has martial virtue. I certainly don't what exactly did you do to it. Shi Xiaoyu looked utterly speechless. What can I do to a pile of stones? I just shot through them. Shi Xiaoyu, the next moment, ring an equal to ring an equal to, if you're thirsty, you can totally charge at me. Why waste bullets? Chen Chen. He understood that she seemed to have misunderstood something, and if he explained, it would likely make things worse. Damn, it's all your fault. Chen Chen raised his hand, drew his bow, and directly shot out a ground split lava bomb plus. The opponent was of the earth attribute, making it the perfect cradle for this special bomb to unleash its power. However, this time the situation exceeded Chen Chen's expectations. When the sand giant was hit by the ground split lava bomb, the intense fire attribute quickly turned the middle of its sandy body into magma. Yet, the expected damage value did not appear, as if it hadn't hit at all. Instead, it seemed to have leveled up, didn't hit the core? What core? How did it become like this? As soon as Chen Chen finished speaking, Shi Xiaoyu's face was filled with astonishment, it had started as just sand. And now, we need to create some distance, this guy's core shouldn't be here. Whether it's sand or magma, they're just its puppets. After saying that, Chen Chen quickly pulled Shi Xiaoyu back. Since no damage was dealt, they didn't even get the opponent's attribute panel and had no information to work with. The entire process relied solely on guesswork. Puppet? Shi Xiaoyu looked incredulous, like the immortal baby old monsters in novels. As long as the immortal baby doesn't die, the spirit won't perish, and it will keep regenerating? Pretty much. But this guy probably just needs spiritual power and its limbs can continuously condense. Plus it can freely decide its form. After retreating a distance, Chen Chen had a rough answer in his mind. The ground-split lava bomb turned its sandy body into magma, yet not a single damage notification popped up, which was enough to explain this guess. At that moment, seeing Chen Chen and the others retreat, the giant simply scooped out a chunk of magma from its belly and hurled it like volcanic lava. Chen Chen's gaze sharpened. Frog frog, got it. Wind blast mortar, on the boy's left shoulder. Frog Frog leaped into the air, releasing a compressed wind ball. Its speed was so fast that the volcanic lava hadn't flown far before it was shattered in midair, scattering everywhere. The wind blast mortar also had a repelling effect, and its damage was more than enough to counter this attack. However, clearly, this wasn't a sustainable solution. We need to find its core. How do we find it? As Shi Xiaoyu finished speaking, a loud explosion sounded from behind, that's easy. 
just blow it to bits. The next moment, that explosion manifested on the humanoid giant. Dozens of meters away, the arm that had lifted to throw the volcanic lava was blown to pieces by a single bullet. Although there was still no damage, the sensory impact was undoubtedly powerful enough. You came here too? Chen Chen smiled and turned back, only to see a stern man holding an M99 sniper rifle, without needing to ask. It was Tang Bei. Hey, I got some good stuff. Heard the commotion and rushed over. Oh, what good stuff? Chen Chen instinctively asked. Is it related to this attack? Ah, that's right. Perhaps because it was Chen Chen asking, Tang Bei had no intention of holding back. It's a unique skill called Bombardier EX. Upon hearing this name, Chen Chen immediately reacted. The enhanced version of the ranged profession's unique skill Bombardier? You could say that. But the enhancement is not just a little bit. Tang Bei smiled and said, Originally, it could only provide a small area shockwave plus fixed damage. But now, at this point, he also shared the skill's detailed panel. Bombardier EX, LV1, unique skill for ranged professions. Only learnable by ranged professions, skill effect analysis. 1. All ranged attacks will carry a shockwave effect and add fixed damage equal to 175% of one's own strength. Shockwave, if the target's defense is lower than 120% of one's own strength, the shockwave will break through defense. If the target's defense is lower than 90% of one's own strength, the shockwave will shatter armor. 2. The base attributes of ranged weaponry are increased by 100%, and durability is increased by 300%, skill consumption of spiritual power, when carrying a shockwave. Each attack consumes 180 points of spiritual power, skill cooldown time, 17, 2 seconds. That's pretty good. Aside from the long cooldown, there's nothing to complain about. Hearing this, Tang Bei laughed, in just over 10 seconds, I can change positions. And besides this skill, I have other abilities, right? He he, that's true. Chen Chen chuckled. Among the seven members of the team, Tang Bei's creativity was second only to his, and he could occasionally come up with some pretty effective special ammunition, using those well, waiting out the 17. Two seconds cooldown wouldn't be a problem. There's no time for idle chatter now, right? We haven't sorted out the main business yet. Shi Xiaoyu couldn't help but interject. Hey. That's true. Let's follow your method next and blast it to bits. Absolutely. Chen and Tang quickly reached a consensus. As they were the main damage dealers in the team, it was only fitting for them to take charge. To blast it to bits, Chen Chen naturally used the Quaker he had just acquired. As for Tang Bei, Collapse Spirit Bullet Annihilation. Since obtaining the Collapse Spirit Annihilation Arrow last time and mastering the Collapse Spirit Power, Tang Bei had spent a few days integrating this power into bullets. Today, he finally achieved his goal. The two fired a bullet simultaneously, targeting the giant's left and right legs, and a tremendous sound echoed through the valley. The giant, which had just endured the shattering of its left arm, immediately followed with the left leg shattering halfway. But compared to that, the right leg roar. The sudden roar wasn't very high-pitched, but it was deep and resonant. One could hear the pain within. Is there damage? Tang Bei put down the M99 in his hand a smile appearing at the corner of his mouth. Chuan Shen, use this. As he spoke, several modified collapsed spirit bullets were tossed towards Chun Chen. If the sniper rifle could shoot, the slingshot could certainly shoot as well. Looking at the marble in his hand, Chen Chen couldn't help but laugh and scold. You little brat, did you secretly hide a precision grinder? You managed to make this. Tang Bei laughed in response. Who needs to hide? The Nine Dragons Army originally has an armory factory. But now there aren't many materials, and the energy is insufficient, so we can only produce some essentials on a small scale. I had to prepare my own materials for this. Ha! Even the leader kept it from me? Energy is easy to handle, I can convert it to spiritual drive another day. That can also be converted to spiritual power drive? Of course, but we'll talk about that later. First, let's figure out the attributes of this big guy. Do you have the panel yet? Not yet. It's probably just a clone, and it can't reach the main body. Although Tang Bei's attack just now dealt some damage, that damage couldn't be traced back to the giant's core, so we couldn't get its panel. It's quite tricky. Are we really going to break it apart? Let's give it a try, Shi Xiaoyu said. Be careful, that guy isn't even maintaining its humanoid form anymore. Not maintaining humanoid form? Upon hearing this, the two focused their attention and saw that the sand and stone giant, 
which had still been maintaining its humanoid shape, was actually using the high temperature of the magma in its chest to melt the surrounding layers of sand, which then surged up like jelly. It looked like, goodness, a magma slime? You still have the nerve to say that, didn't you give it the magma? She saw you couldn't help but roll her eyes, her figure quickly retreating along with the two. Chen Shan said nothing, just waiting for the next moment when the magma slime had expanded to nearly 10 meters, its body no longer having a trace of sand and stone. Hey, I did give it to it, but I did it on purpose. On purpose? The boy's words drew surprised looks from the other two. Chen Shan didn't explain, just turned his cheek to the left and smiled. Frog frog, it's time to show your real skills. All right, he he hearing her master's words, the crafty frog had already gathered strength, and in an instant, unleashed her prepared moves, sending water blades flying towards the center of the slime according to the pre-calculated trajectory. Before the battle even began, Chen Shen had observed that the head area of the sand and stone giant was the most flexible and active, likely its core. That's why he had fired a ground rift lava bomb plus, trying to reveal the opponent's core through magma transformation. But unfortunately, the situation wasn't as optimistic as he had imagined. The magma was created, but he still hadn't found the core. However, he didn't feel discouraged, always waiting until just now when the opponent actively transformed its body completely into magma. Chen Shan thought the opportunity had come. Otherwise, if he let the little green dragon send a few water balls over, wouldn't the magma just solidify into rock? The water blades continuously unleashed by Frog Frog formed the shape she and Chen Chen had pre-calculated in the air, presenting a perfect octagon, and almost simultaneously imprinted on the writhing head of the magma slime. Sizzle. The moment the low temperature made contact with the magma, steam billowed, but what Frog Frog unleashed wasn't an ordinary water blade, but a permeating water blade, even if part of it was vaporized by the magma, its power still seeped into the interior. This process wasn't slow. It was even extremely fast. Before the magma slime could react to being attacked, a piece of its head had already been cut out in the shape of an equilateral octagon. At the same time, permeating water blade final slash, a giant water blade, charged by frog frog for a moment, flew in from a distance and sliced through the middle of the temporarily separated equilateral octagon, cutting it in two. Whoosh. This time, the speed was so fast that even the sound of the steam couldn't be heard. 